fighting the Master Duel Ladder can be lots of fun, but it can also get stale very quickly. Everyone knows the best decks, and building them is not difficult, so you end up facing the same stuff over and over again. I yearn for the days of Playground Yu-Gi-Oh! When duelists cobbled together barely functioning jank from whatever random cards they could get their hands on. Every duel was something new, something different. It was... chaotic. I'm Hardleg Joe, if in ya didn't know, and this is the Chaos Draft, a progression series that seeks to replicate that nostalgic Yu-Gi-Oh feel. Each episode, me and my co-host RJ are going to open 80 packs, hand-selected from across Yu-Gi-Oh's history. From each of those packs, we'll get to choose one card to add to our collections. The rest go in the trash. We'll then use those collections to face off in a best of three on YGO Omega. The winner of the duel will get a shiny Chaos coin. Thirteen of these and you're crowned Chaos King of 2023. The loser gets to ban a card and pull a few pity packs for next time. Each episode will open 80 more packs, slowly growing our collections and evolving our decks from random jank to somewhat competent jank. And there'll be a few surprises along the way as well, just to keep things spicy. Grab a snack and lean back, it's Chaos Drafting Time. Alright, so here we are! Chaos Draft 2023, first episode! It's starting, it's begun, you're watching it. I am, of course, Hard Leg Joe, joined by my co-host for this season, the Luigi of Yugi Tube, the Monarch of Jank, the Samurai of Sealed Showdown, first of his name, Mr. Robert, the RJB Zero. That is me. That's a lot of titles that I've earned. I actually have certificates. Edia themselves gave me the Jank Monarch title. It was a big it was a big honor to get right before uh, all of their followers destroyed my planet. Lots of people don't know this. You're actually part of the landed gentry. Like you do have titles. There is a castle in your name somewhere. That is true. My uh, family survived the French Revolution. And as a result, uh, I am exactly the type of person we should have leading politics now. Uh, and I, exactly. I really, really hope that nobody shows up in front of my door sometime uh, between <laughs> now and the fall of the United States. <laughs> should be interesting. Should be interesting. And yeah... It's the first episode. The intro already explained just about everything. I don't think we need to spend a lot of time because this is already going to be a lot of pack openings and a very long duel, a very grindy duel. The first episodes always are. So let's go ahead and just jump into things for now. See how those 80 packs are gonna turn out, brother. All right, and here we are. The first pack opening of the first episode of the fourth season. We're just naming these by years now. This is the 2023 season. And uh, normally we would jump right into it, but just for anyone who's new, anyone who's curious about how we do this, and who maybe wants to do a chaos draft of your own, I'll just give you a little behind the scenes. We're here on YGOProDeck.com, which I have the, the premium of which has the premier pack opening simulator. You can do all sorts of stuff. And in particular, we've got a custom draft mode because they have actually added the chaos draft option. You can click it right here. And we're going to be doing 76 regular packs. We've got four custom packs we'll be doing later. But we're gonna start with the regular packs. And you could go through and put all these in um, manually or whatever, but they have a nice thing here for draft settings and you can import or export settings. And we have everything already set up here. This is every pack that we're going to be opening. And if you're familiar with previous seasons, we used to just go sort of chronologically. The first couple seasons, we just did every main set. Then we added in side sets. Uh, then we started skipping like the DM and the GX era because those sets don't really have anything good in them. And even a lot of the Zexel era stuff is kind of meh. So what me and RJ did here is we picked 76 packs that we thought would be the most fun. Um, so a lot of DM era stuff is represented with like Dark Beginnings, Dark Revelations. We've got like a Battle Pack, Epic Dawn, 
premium gold, a whole bunch of reprint sets, and we've chosen these specifically to try to hit a wide variety of things and make sure everything that we want to be playable is, and some key things that we don't want to see are out of here. So, so this is what we have, and if you're curious, if you want to do this yourself, there should be this list either down in the description or in a pinned comment. So you could do this and just import the draft settings, and then you'll have 76 of your own. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start this draft, opening with... Oops. <laughs> I did it alphabetically. I don't want alphabetically, I want it by order of release. So you know what, we're going to go back, choose pack, do it again, one second. If you want to make sure that it goes in order, you want to do sort by release date oldest. And then no matter what you have in the settings, it'll automatically sort it there. And now we can start with Dark Beginning 1, which if I'm not mistaken, let's go ahead and flip these up, has a whole bunch of DM staples. Skull Servant, Stop Defense, Mirror Wall. Most of it's not all that useful, but that Cyber Jar? I'm taking that cyber jar. Hello, kings, queens, and monarchs of every element. I am the one, the only, the RJB0, also known as RJ the Jank Monarch. You may know me from things such as the most mid-show on Alex Simo's channel, and the most mid-show on MBT's channel, and uh, a number of other things. I love limited Yu-Gi-Oh! It's largely what I do on my channel and what I do on other folks' channels, and I am so excited that Hardleg has invited me on for this season of Chaos Draft. Now, Hardleg has a number of advantages on me. First, he has read cards since 2017, and second, he's done this a large number of times. He may be looking for an easy win for me, a chance to break his loss streak, but I'm not gonna let him have it that easily. Today, we get to start with our very first draft. I've been watching Chaos Draft from the beginning, and I am so excited to finally be the one choosing a card from every Yu-Gi-Oh pack in history. Well, not every one of them, we curated them because some packs suck. These ones, however, do not. And without further ado, let's get this party started. Here we go. Magician of Faith is a pretty solid one to start with. I don't think this one is banned. No, and in the world where we are looking for good stuff cards, this might be one of the best just good stuff TM cards that we have access to. I will happily take this. All right, Dark Beginnings 2, more DM staples. Royal Oppression, definitely going to be good. Definitely a ban-worthy card. All right, Star Strike Blast. Let's get some Karakuris, shall we? I did get a Karakuri, ask and you shall receive. There's also Medallion of the Ice Barrier, which is funny, as is Watt Dragonfly. But I wouldn't say that Watt Dragonfly is the Watt that we want. Oh, there's also Swift Scarecrow. I don't like Swift Scarecrow. I think it doesn't do anything except not lose me the game. And I want to win games. So I'm going to take the Karakuri Tuner Nishipachi. If we can get a Bure or a Buredo, uh, one of which I think we have naturally in the set and the other we have through a Chaos Pack, I'm going to be really happy to have this. Dark Revelations 2. Chaos Sorcerer is nice. Manju. I think I'm just going to take the Compulse. It's not going to be particularly good this early on when, um, when, when it's mostly normal summonable monsters, but eventually this will be really good. All right. Extreme Victory, another set with phenomenal commons and rares. Would love to start getting some phenomenal commons and rares. Wow, I can't even pull the good TGs. Um, probably the second Karakuri tuner. I'm pretty happy with a second Karakuri tuner for the future. The victory will be extreme. Uh, well, probably not with this. Uh, we got, we got Mechlord Army. We've got Serene Psychic Witch. Karakuri's was something we tried to build last season and never got to. Um, and we might as well try again. Let's go ahead and take the, the Nisi Shashi. If nothing else, 1800 Defender and a Tuner might come in handy. 
Mm, oh, starting off Legendary Collection 2 very strongly. I think we take a Stratos here. I would love to be able to pick up three Stratos really early on and get some of the blue gadget magic going. We take a Stratos. All right, Legendary Collection 2. This has like all the GX stuff in it. Anything worth getting in GX is in here. And you can see it already with the Gladiator Beast Bestiari. You know what, let's go ahead and take that. And we're gonna go ahead on our chart of things to look out for. Let's try Glad Beast. I think this season, we have a better chance of pulling the Glad Beast stuff than in any season prior. Next we got, oh, finally some decent cards. Solemn Warning UFO Turtle Royal Decree. Is Solemn Warning banned? No, it isn't. We take those folks. We take those. All right, this is another pack that wasn't in any previous Chaos Draft. I don't think we even did this as a bonus pack. Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World, which also has a whole bunch of DM staples in it. Let's flip them up. And yeah, this one, you can actually see the DM staples. Swords of Revealing Light, Mirage of Nightmare, Butterfly Dragon Elma, The Dark Door. All some pretty cool stuff. And uh, I think we want to take the secret rare Mirage of Nightmare while we can. I don't think we can make much use of it in this first episode, but we definitely want to grab this while we still can. Battle Pack 2, War of the Giants. This one also has some intense things, but slightly less good than Battle Pack 1. Yeah, this is, this is what I was worried about. It might be Alexandrite Dragon, TBH. Beast King Barbaros is good if we enter into any kind of skill drainy situation, and skill drain is not banned who made this ban list, but Alexandrite is a dragon and it's a light. This is such a tough one. I don't know why this choice in particular is so difficult. I think it's gonna be Alexandrite Dragon. I think it synergizes with more things than Barbaros does. All right, Battle Pack 2, War of the Giants. Uh, ooh, got a couple things here. The Autonomous Action Unit is always funny. Pay 1500, target a monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your side of the field and equip it with this card. Only summons from your opponent's graveyard, not from your own. We've also got Horn of the Unicorn, which is just a good equip. Submarine Roid, which is great for poking in, doing that 800 damage, especially in these first couple duels. And Miniaturize. Target a monster with a thousand or more attack, reduce its level by one, and its attack by a thousand. So good battle trap, good, good, I think we're gonna take unit. Let's try the unit, it'll be funny if it works. All right, wow, I didn't even think about what we're opening here. Legendary Collection for Joey's World gives us Solemn Judgment, which is banned. God damn. Well, folks, are you ready to flip some coins? <laughs> All right, another new set. Legendary Collection for Joey's World. DM Staples Ahoy. And I guess also Dark World stuff? Ooh, and Giant Trunade, I gotta remember, is, is Giant Trunade banned? I don't think it ever got banned because we could never quite OTK hard enough. I do also kind of want to try Dark World stuff. So you know what? We're actually going to leave it up to Twitch chat. Twitch chat gets to choose this time. And by the way, if you want to see these pools live, you can come down twitch.tv slash hardleggaming. Usually every Sunday I'm going to be going over doing the, these polls. And uh, you can take part in the poll to try to help decide what I play in certain, in certain times. All right, it looks like chat wants me to take Giant Trunade. We're going for the staples more than the Dark World. Let's see how that works out for us. All right, High Speed Riders. This is our opportunity to get to Speed Roids, which is one of the things on my list. Hard Leg has made it exceptionally easy to get Speed, ro uh, speed Roids in these sets. Let's see what we got. Pod of Duality is a good card. Hush Psychic Cleric is also very strong. Ooh, and Speedroid Tucket Tomborg is interesting if we can get to Terror Top. Okay, I am going to leave it up to chat. Are we taking Duality or are we taking MST? All right, what do we got? Duality at 55%. Yeah, that's probably the correct choice. 
It's my favorite clash of rebellions. Boogie woogie woogie. I don't even know what's in this. I just I just like doing that specific part. Uh, ooh, Trapeze Magician. Pretty cool, pretty good in general. Take Spellcasters. Oh, how did I miss Trick Clown? We, we definitely want Trick Clown. Next, we have Invasion Vengeance, which gives us, wow, shockingly Jackal. Rosenix is kind of cool because it's an 1800 that gives us an additional token if we banish it. That's really the, I hadn't read that second effect. Wing Raiders. Oh, oh wow. Oh my. This is, this is a difficult choice. Call of the Haunted, Mystical Space Typhoon, Bottomless Trap Hole, Reinforcements of the Army, and Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy. Uh, we don't have a lot of ways to make rank fours, unfortunately. And as funny as this would be, I mean, other than just using Trick Clown, I don't think we necessarily want to go for the boss monsters yet. I think it's going to be between, and we don't have any warriors yet, right? No, we haven't grabbed, like, a single warrior. So I think it's going to be between these three staples. And once again, I'm going to let Twitch chat choose. We'll go ahead and put up a poll. All right, it looks like chat is saying MST. Even though this is probably one of the weaker spell trap removals that we have access to amid everything, getting one first episode is going to be very important because a lot of the duels are going to come down to, like, battle tricks and stuff. Also, we already got the Mirage of Nightmare. So having quick play that we can activate like in the draw phase, very important for making sure we can resolve that. So let's go ahead, add that MST there and go on to the next pack. All right, Duelist Saga. This has some cracked stuff in it. Again, none of which I got. I just have to ch close my mouth about the quality of things in packs. Uh, Vion is pretty decent. That's a pretty good card. Diamond Dust is very funny about against water monsters, but we'll take Vion. There is actually a really easy to pull two card combo with heroes. I don't think we've seen any of them yet, but we can get them pretty easily. Premium gold, infinite gold. Ooh. Oh my. Shared ride, Cosmo Goodwitch. I'm really tempted to get the Ignister Prominence because this is such a good card, but at the same time, I also know that I don't have a non-tuner pendulum to make it, and I'm not sure if I will. Good Witch, meanwhile, is one of those few Cosmos, kind of like Dark Witch, which is actually really good on her own. Um, just because once per turn you can pay 500, target a face-up monster, change it to face down. It's, it's Book of Moon on legs with 1800 attack. That is going to be exceptionally good early game. And if we can get other Cosmos, that'll be great. I'm not going to add it to the list, but if we find more, we'll consider adding some of them in. Okay, Extreme Force. There, I, I, I'm going to keep my mouth shut this time. I'm not going to say anything about the cards in this set. Ask and ye shall receive, I guess. What a pack. Holy... <laughs> <laughs> Rewarded for shutting up. <laughs> That's me. <sighs> oh, Saryuja is very strong. All right, here's something really new to this series. We're opening the Dark Side of Dimensions movie packs, which means for the first time, Cubics are playable in this series. Will they be any good? Hard to say. <laughs> No good cubics. We didn't get Sly for the Sky Dragon. Will we be able to summon it? Probably not. But if we do, it'll be very funny. So I'm taking it. We're taking it, baby. All right, Legendary Collection, Kai, but can you pull it through for us? Dragon Reveal and Ring of Destruction and Full Force Virus. Oh, boy. I think we take Ring of Destruction. Dragon Ravine is a secret rare. The ring is just better. Rage and Tempest. Ooh, Lost Wind. 
Is that Lost Wind? We're taking the Lost Wind. Hell yeah, that's like one of the best traps you could get this early on. Holy shit. Flames of Destruction, one of the worst sets in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. And I've got a Nightmare Cerberus. Or is this one of the better ones and it's Blaze of, Blazing Vortex? I'm thinking of Blazing Vortex. Flames of Destruction is very good and it gave me a Nightmare Cerberus and I'll take that. All right, here's another previous bonus pack that is now something we're gonna open regularly. Duelist Saga, a whole bunch of really good links in here. And we did not get any of those good links. We did get a Mirror Force though. I'm gonna take the Mirror Force. I think Mirror Force is a really good call here. Unless it's banned. I don't think Mirror Force is banned. No, I don't. we haven't banned like a single battle trap. The spell trap removal is too good here. Soul Fusion, garbage set. Nothing good ever came in this set. Ah, screw it. I've already screwed for episode one. We'll take Drago for the future. Another new pack, Legendary Collection Kaiba. We've got some blue eyes, got some hand traps, ABC. Ooh, boy. Oh, wow. Maybe this was a, a bad idea. So, Raigeki is banned right off the bat. We cannot play Raigeki. It was banned last time. Um, we could take the Eradicator. We could take the Enemy Controller. Chain Disappearance. I think we just go for the second Mirror Force. We just have two Mirror Forces on the first episode. And uh, hope that RJ does not have a wealth of, of spell trap removal. Dual power. The second Dragostapelli. <laughs> Oh, we do get seals though. Seal is really good. Flames of destruction. Ooh. Phosphorage, the light elemental lord. I don't think, oh, check this out. All right, Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. Wow, this pack is Garbanzo. What is the trap card? Oh my God, it's an attack negate. Hold up that summons a level four or lower tuner from your hand or deck. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. This card summons Nishi Pachi from the deck, which I can then use to battle swap my opponent's monster. Hmm. Dual power. Oh, oh my. Um, okay, so Ash is banned, we know that. Um, Ghost Bell might be neat. We do, we are kind of trying to build plants. I'm, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it up to chat. I can't decide. All right, it looks like Twitch chat has chosen Ghost Bell. So we add our first hand trap to the series. Not necessarily sure if that'll be useful for like several seasons, but, but we'll have it. And it's a tuner. There are some cards in here. I won't speak to the quality of those cards. Oh, wait, wait, this card's sick. Hold up, this is a good card. I know this card. I know this card very well. Oh, this one's very good. Battle of Legend, Heroes Revenge. I'd say true, true, uh oh. I tried to make Destiny Heroes last season. It didn't really work. I think we're just gonna take the Foolish Burial. We've got a couple things that work with Foolish now, so let's just go ahead and try that. Next pack. That's a lot of very good cards. It's good to know that Cynet Mining is in this set. Uh, that's something that we can look out for for Cybers cards, but Dinomiscus is nuts. Dinomiscus is just one of the best Chaos draft cards, period. Toon Chaos! Oh, is that, is that Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning? It never hurts to have, you know? Cool, what is this? Legendary Duelist Season 1. Um, woohoo! These are some, there are some decent ones in here. <gasps> and one that is better than decent. This is a very good card is not banned and in our format it is not even limited legendary duelist season one this is a big pack 
This is a very big pack with a lot of stuff. Big decisions. Looks like this is the GX pack. I think we just want to go for the, the more light machines and get the Cyber Dragon. Maximum gold, Ghost Bell, Rhoda, and a card that's banned. And the Transcode Talker, the Trans Agenda has arrived. Uh, Transcode Talker is a genuinely really good card for us. Ghost Bell is good because it's a, like it's a hand trap, but not an ideal hand trap for us early on. I'll take Ghost Bell. Phantom Rage! Yeah, so the fact that we have two fucking mirror forces means this is actually pretty neat. We could be like, yeah, go ahead, destroy it. It'll be funny, see what happens. Granted, it's the most telegraphed battle trap in the history of battle traps, but uh, you know, that might be enough for these first couple episodes. All right, Legendary Duelist Season 2. Anything decent in here? Red Rose Dragon is kind of cool. If we take... If we take Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, we get Blue Eyes, which is at least a monster we can summon. Copium. I'm gonna try and live the dream and get Maiden. If we wanna, if we wanna stock up on scales and extenders later, once we have ax like more access to them, I'm fine with that. Uh, I think Maiden is the call here. If there's a possibility we can get Blue Eyes stuff in the future, since I didn't pull it here, I'll take it here. The Grand Creators. Oh hey. Oh, hey, this is like one of the best rank fours ever printed. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. All right, Battle of Chaos. What do we got? Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. Hey, another opportunity at Blue Eyes. Here's my argument. If I'm going to go for Blue, Eye, uh, for Blue Eyes, a lot of the Blue Eyes related cards are in the same set as a Blue Eyes. If I'm going to get a Blue Eyes, I'm going to get it now when I don't have to contend with any of the cards I want to summon the damn asshole. Stupid nostalgia nonsense hype. I'm taking Tyrant Dragon so I could get Blue Eyes. We're doing this. All right, Tactical Masters. We can trap trick for Mirror Force because we have two of them. <laughs> that is very funny. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's add trap trick. Let's do it. Right. Power of the elements. Power of the elements. Power of the elements. Once again, I am going to learn the power of shutting my trap about the quality of a set. Vernisilf Corolla is really good if we get the Vernisilfs, but it's a super rare. Vernisilf of the Thawing Mountains is a really good uh, is a really good common, and so is Terrors of the Overroot. Terrors of the Overroot might actually be the best card we have access to. I am going to take this one. I want Vernisilfs for the future, but Terrors is so goddamn good that I think we have to take it now while we can get it. All right, and here we are, the final pack of this season. The final of the regular packs, at least. Battle of Legends, Crystal Revenge. This has all the Crystal Beast stuff on it, which makes me think maybe we should have tried to grab Crystal Beast stuff. Let's see. Oh, oh, I see. Boral Load Savage Dragon. Um, I have, I have hardly any links but uh, we have it, we'll get it. It's a Starlight Rare. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This, we've got a good start. This is gonna be a hard first episode because I am not sure if we have enough stuff to even make like a competent deck. Although it's not quite over yet. We still have four more packs to open. We'll get into those in a second. And then I think this is our last set that we have access to besides our Chaos Packs. Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge has some obscene cards in it. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut. This card's pretty okay. All right, so we've pulled 76 packs so far, which means in order to get to 80, we need four more. And what we've decided to do this season is to just create some packs of our own. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck has a few extra features, including a custom pack creator. So what's happened is I have created a Hard Leg 2023 Chaos Draft Pack, and there's a 2023 RJ Chaos Draft Pack. If you turn custom packs on and type 2023, you should be able to find these two, and also another person that I'm, that I, I'm unaware of. And then we're gonna open two from each of these. And these cards are basically just custom, custom fit based on what was already in the set, 
and what we'd like to see in the set. So in particular, I know that my set has a lot of Ursartix into it, because I think that's a really fun archetype to play in Limited, and we only have one chance to get them, and some of them are really like high rarity, so this should give us more chances to grab those. No idea what's in RJ's, we'll see. We're gonna go ahead and start with mine though. And these are fairly big, I think they're like 300 pack set, or 300 card sets, 200, something like that. I could probably look it up, but fuck it, we're doing it live. So let's flip it up. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I have, um... You know, your chances of getting an ultra rare here are, are pretty low. You know, we got some we got some exchange, there's the Ursartix, there's spirits, but uh Yeah. We're gonna be taking this. I have no idea how long it'll be before we can make it, but when we eventually can, brother! Looks like we're starting off with Hard Legs Chaos Pack. Did I do Chaos Draft? We're about to find out. Yes, we did. Okay, starting off with Utopia, very strong rank four. Legendary Six Samurai Anishi is very good. Infinitrack Trencher is strong. Dark World Shackles is a really good first week card. I think it's probably Utopia. So let's go ahead and flip up the second one. All right, and that's significant. Yeah, your chances of getting an ultra rare out of this pack are very low. It's, it's gonna be Probably Ruffian Railcar. This is gonna be good on the first episode. We need more monsters. And uh, this will let us get some Earth Machines if we ever get up to that point. So yeah, let's, let's try that and see how it goes. And then, RJ's packs. Okay. Pack number two, Spiral Super Agent is a pretty good just like one-off card. Machina gear frame is really good if we see Machina cards, but again, those are pretty hard to get. I think they are a super rare in Hard Legs pack. Super Agent is going to be good for us week one, and we are really struggling for things to do week one. All right, zero idea what could be in here, except for I think there's some Junior Journey references, so uh, let's see. All right, Tragodia, one of my favorites. Yep, B-E-S Terran. Got the Fire Hands, got some Yang Zings, Debris Dragon, Spell Shield Type 8, Breaker, Breaker the Magical Warrior. I, you know, I love Tragodia. Tragodia is one of my favorite cards. It's a great hand trap. I think I'm gonna go for that. We need more darks anyway for a certain special thing we've got. All right, start. <laughs> I mean, you know? Okay, and let's try number two. Flip it up. Gear Town, Thunder Hand, Return of Zombies. Okay, you've just got all the hands in here. Scrap Recycler. That's pretty good. Ooh, Lone Fire. Y you know what? I am trying to get Shiranui's, and this is a rare. So I think instead of all the stuff I mentioned, we're gonna take the return of the zombies because it's difficult to pull. I don't think it's, it's like in a structure deck so it's only ever here. So let's take that. And with those four, we're ready to get building. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, round two. Okay, we've got a lot of just generally decent stuff in here. Move Man is actually kind of good for us. Uh, Scape Ghost is a really good tuner. Girgi Armor is good for if we're doing machine things. Spirit Reaper is very funny because it's Spirit Reaper. Uh, Jack Frost is strong too. I kind of want to just grab Move Man. Move Man is just good week one. Just a good dude. Okay, chat is saying Move Man. I will take Move Man. Let's do this. All right, and that is our draft for this week. I'm, this is suspect for week one. Uh, I happen to know a couple of cards that Hard Leg got, and I may struggle with what he has acquired. Uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. All right, and here's what we came up with. It is, it's a pile of cards. It's just a big old pile of cards. This is exactly what the Chaos Draft is about. 
This looks like just a bunch of random jank that someone got in like a bundle of like a hundred commons with maybe a few old rares shoved in. Just a bunch of stuff that people had too many of with maybe like two actually good cards. Like we've got, we've got Mirror Force. I guess BLS is kind of good. We, we've mostly got light and darks, so that's a little bit of a strategy. We have no way to get to this. Uh, we have no draw power. So the chances we get to it are very low. We've got exactly two gladiator beasts. That's that's kind of like a synergy combo thing. And uh, we've got some extra deck monsters we can maybe make if we get lucky. If we get like a ghost bell and like a garbage lord. We, we can make an eight. Like a Boral Load Savage. We don't have, we can't make the links beforehand most likely, so this will probably just be a 3,000 beater. But maybe that'll be enough in this first episode. Who knows? I'm excited to see how it turns out. Let's go ahead and see what, see what RJ's got cooking up. Folks, if you thought all that Blue Eyes support that I drafted was all for show, then boy do I have another thing coming for you. Chat and I put together a shockingly synergistic deck for week one and i am very excited to play it that blue eyes tyrant dragon that i argued endlessly over with another probably bad card is actually coming into play this week because of it i can add a blue eyes white dragon to my deck which starts bringing together a real strategy blue eyes tyrant dragon seems unsummonable but it's actually fairly easy to get. Step one, get Maiden with Eyes of Blue. This is made easier by a strange standout from my draft, Sonic Stun, which negates an attack and summons a tuner from my deck, of which I have two. Maiden can then summon Blue Eyes, and once Blue Eyes is in rotation, it's a hop, skip, and a jump to Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon once we get a Keeper of Dragon Magic, which can summon it from the graveyard and get me a polymerization in the same turn. I, I know, I am shocked. This is a strategy that can put Blue Wise Tyrant Dragon on the board and it being immune to traps and having 3400 and being able to attack all of Hard Legs monsters at once seems like a pretty good choice to me. Next, we have the heroes, which can get into polymerization themselves. A bunch of just good stuff. Our gadgets, silver, gold, and my favorite precious metal, Cybers. And then some 1800s and our final package of the night, our Synchro Package. We can go into Link Monsters fairly easily. In fact, Asa is pretty practical for us to summon. Hieratic Dragon of the Heavenly Spheres, or Hieratic Seal, is a little bit of a pipe dream, but is actually possible for me to summon. And from there, a 5 and a 3 makes Boralode Savage Dragon. I aim to summon this at least once. The rest of this is good stuff, and my side deck is things that I can modulate into depending on the matchup. Things to look out for for the future. Heroes. I think we're actually able to build a pretty competent hero deck in this format, and Blue Eyes, I think, is not quite as big of a stretch as it seems like it would be. We've got a pretty good start to work with, Let's get into the duels. All right, here we are. First duel. The decks have been made. We're ready. The real question is, who will win the rock, paper, scissors? I think statistically, whoever wins the first rock, paper, scissors usually wins the whole thing. And it's a tie. Ooh. That's that's mm. not a good sign. What kind of man are you, hard like <laughs> Joe? You seem like You'll the tricky type it. of man. Ah, oh, and oh. you have tricked me. <laughs> I am a solid rock that can't be moved. And uh, I think in this case, I, I want to go second. I think we're going to try to go second. Okay. Uh, that's going to be pretty good for you here. I don't have a huge amount to do with this opening hand, but that could yeah. all change after the resolution of Pot of Duality. Pot of Whoa. Duality. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Give me some cards. What was Read that? nothing Wars? into any of these. Amazement to Delia. I I am Sonic <laughs> take Stun. Sonic Stun. <laughs> uh, this is a surprise tool that'll help us later. And I am going to set a monster and set mm, two. Yeah, I'm gonna set two and pass okay. it to you. The real question is, of course, do you actually have a TG you could grab off of this, or is it just negate attack? Oh, let me tell you, there are many surprises in your future. Okay. So I, I, I was sitting here about to explain that, like, 
These early duels have very much kind of like a GOAT format. It's a lot about like controlling your resources, not going too all in, because there, there's a there's a couple things of removal that are really big swings and we don't have any draw or search power. Uh, but given my hand, I kind of just have to extend all over the place. I'm just gonna extend like crazy. What? So here's- what? what do you mean <laughs> extend all over the place? What are you doing? Here's Toon Cyber Dragon. Okay. He's big. He's uh, big. I don't think he can attack this he turn. He has summoning no. sickness. Yeah. The American, uh, the the true American disease, according to Kazuki <laughs> Takahashi. <laughs> R.I.P. Mr. Wh Takahashi. What is? The, what are? What are we doing? Come Cosmo on. Cosmo. She's just Book of Moon on legs. I mean, why wouldn't you? That is true. And then. Uh, just in case it's like a morphing jar or something, because it honestly could be fucking anything. Uh, I'm gonna set three. Whoa, you're going, you're going ham. We're activating Mirage of Nightmare. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I have it's no your response to this. It's fucking nightmare. <laughs> uh, now let's go to the battle phase. Let's see if what you have is a two thousand beater. All right, buddy. <laughs> I hope you're ready. I was born ready. I was going to go Sonic Stun. Oh, okay. And do we get the TG Tuner? Oh, we're not getting a TG Tuner. I'm allowed to get any level 4 or lower tuner. And the oh. level 4 or lower tuner I'm going to get I is Maiden with that. Eyes of Blue. <laughs> So you're telling me in this in in 80 random packs from across everything, you managed to get a maiden and presumably a blue eyes as well. I have I have many cards that many would assume to be un unlikely. All right. All Fair right. Enough. Oh, that's it. That is a hell of a top deck. Um, I'll activate Mirage of Nightmare and draw oh, four sure cards. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm gonna be drawing a lot. It's gonna put Ooh. a lot of things in your graveyard unless you grabbed an MST off of that. <laughs> in which case I am just giga owned. There is there is nothing that I can do if that's the case. In the game of advantage. Let's set a back row. Daring, very daring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will set a second back row. <laughs> alright, <laughs> alright. That's it. That's the turn. That's All the right. whole turn. Come on, MST. That's not MST. All right, let's start um, discarding. Yep. I don't get to choose. It's random. I have no response to this. You may have your Mirage of Nightmare. Okay, well, time for me to get... What is all of... <laughs> royal <laughs> oppression, my dude? <laughs> I'm glad you discarded that. I'll, I will say that. My life so gets got, significantly diff uh, more difficult. That is all good. I ain't caught anything. Uh, I got to keep one card. You did. Uh, check this out. Oh, no! <laughs> He's big! He's so I have, big. I have many big boys. I have no response to his summon. Okay. So I'm going to activate the effect of Cosmo Good Witch, and I'm going to flip your maiden face down. I will chain my maiden. And I will chain don't you Lost do that. Wind. <laughs> don't you don't you do that. Because it was special summoned! Oh I am very I am I am <laughs> owned. I uh, I have cards that could protect this, but they can only hit your guys. So uh, we're uh, we're just losing the game, is what's happening here. Uh, Yay, I have do, no do. further responses to this situation. All right, face down, attack or defense, and let's just go ahead and beat over that. All right, I have one I... chance, one opportunity. Fairy <laughs> box. <laughs> Are you Toss feeling lucky? <laughs> yeah, I guess go ahead. We'll All flip right. a coin. It's a, you're a gambling man. Let's see if you're lucky or not. I am I am such a gambling... Hey, I am lucky. This actually works out gorgeously for me. You know what? Fuck it. It's going to come out one way or another. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Uh, There's a chance that nothing happens here. Wait. Can I... 
Does Fairy Box prevent Maiden <laughs> with Eyes of Blue from triggering? It's a when! When you can! Wait, this should still be in... This should still be in the same response window, right? <laughs> like, wha what? No, hold up! <laughs> you know what? Like I will not stand for this. I'm going to ring your cyber dragon. Fine. I guess we both take the damage at least. Ouch. We do. By most of me. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that. Fairy boxes, I think. I suppose mandatory. I probably should have just saved that effect to see what fairy box does. I'm I got very thrown off by Maiden with Eyes of Blue not yeah. functioning <laughs> under those circumstances. Uh we're gonna try again. Hey! Alright, it's all it's all coming together. All right, well, not much I could do about that. <laughs> Heck yeah, let's go. I do not have any responses during the end phase. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I just drew the best card in my deck. I think Fairy Box is messing with my strategy. It's it's served its purpose. <laughs> I, will, I will allow it to die. All right, fair enough. Now let's see if I draw the best card in my deck. Okay. Good. Oh, I see. All right, buddy. Uh, call me a song that we all got very tired of in 2008. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. Mech Knight Move Man, I see. He is the movingest man. Dang old Mech Knights. Uh... We'll go to battle here. Uh, All right. I, uh, I I hope you're ready to check this out. Yeah, go ahead. You can. I'll check Heck this out. Yeah. In hell. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, main phase two. I have a lot of motivation to move, but I will change my maiden to attack position. <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, your go. Okay. Come on, MST. Have I been well, out? Okay. This thing not working out a whole lot for me at the moment. Although I do get to trigger Trick Clown. Ooh, that's cute. Uh, yeah. No, no response to the Trick Clown. Ouch, a thousand. Don't Wait, that I... is a Visa Starfrost you sent to your graveyard. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> hey, Visa Starfrost here. Let's... Let's normal summon the, the, the Gale Whirlwind. Uh-oh. Um... I may have moved my last man here. <laughs> you have oh, 24, no. but soon you will have significantly less, you might find. I'm going to gamble <laughs> that whatever your rank 4 pool looks like, it is worse than the available level 7s. I'm going to Terrors of the Overroot, and I'll send Gale, and I'm also going to gamble that this trap trick is dead. Hmm. Don't tell me you have a response. You've had a response I, to everything. When I can I have, have the response. response? When's it my turn? Fine. With a negate. I will not. It's not a negate. It's just a thing. Don't All worry right. about it. You can have your trap trick right there. Okay. Um, all right. So I guess we're going to try the rank four pool. It's very okay. risky because if you have some kind of monster removal, I may be just doom screwed. But, um, oh, that behold. is a whole Castell. Uh, Castell, the <clears throat> sky blasting musketeer. That is, uh, unfortunately going to have to be okay. Move all you want. It won't help you in the face of Castell. Uh, I will move. <laughs> I will. I will face. Uh, face my killer. <laughs> Hunter killer. Okay. Can I finally see what this face down card is? <laughs> yes, you can. It is the finest of gadgets. <laughs> what is that? Uh, Just yeah, cybers gadget. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Well, you do have a tuner. So if you've got a level three Mistbird, Clausalus? I have much greater machinations for this tuner. Uh, all right. 
Castell versus Maiden. Oh, that's hilarious. That's... Does that do anything in my extra deck? I've, I've got to get to that MST eventually. Oh, okay. I'm probably going to lose for it, but this is very, very funny. All right, this does what I wanted to, right? Show yeah, me it does. Joke. All right, I will normal summon Karakuri Strategist to model 248 Nishi Pachi. All right. And I will activate its effect, targeting your Castell. Why didn't that do anything? What just um, happened? When this face-up card is selected, change it to defense position. Uh, it looks like you selected itself. What? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get on Omega, the UI devastates me. Okay, well, I'm probably going to lose due to that, but we're going to try for it anywhere. We're going to special summon from our extra deck, Asa the Earth Charmer Immovable. Awesome. I will get back this Lost Wind. That's an issue. Uh, <laughs> but we will activate the Asa, and I will take your Perry Knights. Uh, target one, special summon it to a zone this card points to. All right, but what if you did not point to a zone at no! all? Wait. What if you were compulsed back into the extra deck? How could this happen to me? <laughs> me. I, made, I it. made my mistakes. Oh, I tried for the cool move and I failed. I. It, to, it, to be fair, I was saving that for the blue eyes and now I cannot do it. Let me tell you, if you had saved it for the blue eyes, I had a I had a play in my back pocket that would have made life very difficult for you. There goes four more cards. Still, oh, still somewhere. I'm, I'm in getting the a lot of information about your deck, at least. <laughs> Don't mind that slifer. You know he's there. He does stuff. And I guess we'll just go ahead and summon a ruffian rail car. Oh. All right. So I could. I could attack into that and let you do it and then try to deal with the blue eyes once it's on the field. I don't think I can lost wind it because I can't negate its effects because it has no effects. <laughs> Alternatively, I could inflict 500 to you every turn for the next few turns oh, no. and just win that way. So let's just try that. <laughs> okay. Uh... Welcome to the slowest burn deck in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ruffian uh, rail car burn. Uh, uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, we're just, we're just, we're just gonna hope this works out. All right, I believe it is Jover, my friend. I finally found no! it. <laughs> I've been owned. Goodbye. That's okay. There is a play left in my deck that could still absolutely own you. So I don't actually remember what's in my deck. I'm going to activate this and just see what I've got. Is there is there okay. anything worth doing? No. No, there's not. Excellent. Um, I'm going to get this uh, garbage lord out of here, though, because I just don't want to deal with him right now. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. That's my plan. Oh, let's just go to battle. Okay. That is fine. Let's go ahead and attack this. Okay. I am going to activate the Maiden. I okay. am distressed by the fact that you can... Lost Wind can activate and damage step. Why? I just realized. Why is it still considered a special summoned monster? <laughs> it got flipped face down. I'm just getting owned by so many things I didn't know were mechanics today. The game remembers. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have any response to that. Yeah, it's kind of, it's weird because this is one of the formats that like, it's completely jank. You know, it's. You don't have to be a, have a great understanding of Yu-Gi-Oh! And yet at the same time, it's very testing in that regard. All right. There's still a draw. There's still a draw that not only puts me back into this game, but potentially wins me the game next turn. Oh. It needs to be exactly one particular dude, and that is not that particular. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> 
Uh, oh yeah, and just to make sure, oily and eighties. Let's get rid of that back row. Ah, uh, you fool! It is Paleozoic Dinomiscus. No. And to maximize the chances that you're not going to have a monster big enough, I am going to discard Blue Eyes. I wanted that. <laughs> Oh, you discarded blue eyes, I see. Yes. Well, you see, the thing about this is that I've had a card set on my field for a long time, Mr. RJ. I haven't had a good chance to use it until now. What? No. <laughs> Wait, no, no my blue eyes. Movie. <laughs> Your <laughs> blue eyes is mine. <laughs> oh, and Engraver no. of the Mark can watch. Oh, of course, it's Engraver <laughs> of the Mark that <laughs> ends this. I ha I finally got a chance to play it. It's my favorite card. It's never come up. Granted, all it's doing is being an 1800 beater, but it's still here. <laughs> all right. Game one goes to me. Now, the question is, uh, do you have a side deck? I do have a side deck. I actually have a pretty strong side deck into your strategy. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know I had a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Your strategy has been set back row and negate everything I know and love. My side deck, in quotation marks, is just all the other cards I didn't play for the most part. Okay. And I am going to go second this time. Ah, going for the extra card, I see. All right, all right. Okay. I have some go first plays. Who says I don't? And uh, I, I was like... I was going to do the, the, the classic I, you know, set a card, summon a card, and I'm like, I literally need to play around Mech Knights in this format. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do that, and let's normal summon Engraver of the oh, Mark. there it is. Consider your soul engraved. Oh, that's a very funny draw for me right here. Yeah. All right, buddy. Have you ever considered joining the CIA? <laughs> I, I was going for something, and I was like, I, I couldn't actually find a real joke there. Hell yeah, let's do it. Here's Monster the guy. Monster Cardo. Yeah, we'll use his effect. Get rid of that. Okay. I'm going to activate Engraver of the Mark. I'm going to target your super agent. And then I'm going to chain my compulse on my Engraver, because I don't want to lose that. Oh, I'll just That's take cute. the damage. I don't think that you can OTK me with this jank of a deck. I can get shockingly close. I will tell you <laughs> that. I will normal summon. I mean, I'm going to deal almost half your life points a day, which is what I mean by that. Uh, Many of the Czar's lost jewels can be found in the scales of this priceless dragon. That is true. That's actually a recorded history fact right there. Yeah. Get I'm curious, lore-wise, who, quote-unquote, the Czar is. Uh, actually, the lore, uh, this is one of those real-life break-the-fourth-wall lores. Uh, this is a mystical realism historical fiction of uh, of the Red October, actually. Huh. All right, here confirm. we go. Number 39, Utopia! Utopia! Ta -da -da. Uh, oh, I'm a dingo. Engraver of the Mark is a quick effect. That's the entire yes. problem I just had to deal with. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll set a card and end the turn! This is what right. I get for not playing Yu-Gi-Oh for five years. Yep. All right, let's go I was ahead. Like, That's the other okay, reason... I'll just out Engraver of the Mark during your next turn. There you go. Cyber Dragon. Okay. He, he blocks stuff. That's that's like what he does. That's true. Um, normal summon. Yo, it's your boy. Howdy. You got let's, me there. Let's go ahead and target that Utopia. Mm. I really love the theme of this where he's like, tonight, you. And Utopia's like, what, what happened? I don't feel any different. This doesn't <laughs> seem anything wrong. And then during the end phase of the next turn, he just suddenly dies. <laughs> I'm like, what can I build from this? Um, okay, that's useless. And that's also useless. Great. All right. <laughs> I mean, I can't right. kill it. <gasps> and you might be able to OTK me from this position. I don't know. Can that, can, can that just be activated again now? 
Is it yeah. a once per per? Okay, <laughs> once per this each is... person's turn. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna find ways around this. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to start by hitting it with a Paleozoic Canadia. Um, you want to mark my utopia again? No. Or your cyber dragon? I'm gonna mark the uh, <laughs> Canadia. <laughs> okay. So now uh, if you activate another trap and it comes back, it'll be destroyed in the end phase. All right. And then I am going to normal summon the Keeper of Dragon Magic. Ooh. Yes. You have some tragic dragon magic to keep, Mr. RJ. I uh, need you to not think about this too hard. <laughs> Start one card, add one polymerization. Okay. All right. Battle and for people. For people wondering, we do have a rule where you're allowed to play three polymerization or fusion substitute. Correct. No, I'm not going to negate my own attack. I got to get rid of this asshole. <laughs> All right. And into the cyber dragon. Yeah. Unfortunate, but, uh, you know, has All right. to go. Main we phase two. Thor the dark world. Oh, All you. Set card two. And That's then you my died. Strongest power, my one set card. Yeah. That <laughs> suddenly, from the grave, engraver strikes. <laughs> Let's. We're gonna we're gonna go big on this. Normal summon Karakuri Kamochi model two two four Nanishi. Oh no. Yeah. And then. You got hey, another. Visa. Visa Star Frost here. <laughs> How I knew this guy was you? part of the lore, but I had no idea that uh, what his effects do. But it's actually pretty cool. He's kind of like Truckroid. Okay. So there's a good version of this play, and there's the version of the play I want to do. <laughs> okay, so we are going to negate this with Sonic Stun. Ah, all right. Unfortunate. What the hell fast effect do I have in my graveyard? Uh, you oh, can Canadia! Summon the Canadia. That's cute. Yeah. Uh, does that do anything? Not really. I mean, it's a monster. Oh, actually, that does something. Okay, this makes me feel much better about my plan. Yeah, we're going to we're going to chain Canadia. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Can't All believe right. fucking oh, the gate minutes. attack is ruining my and life. And we will special summon Maiden with eyes of blue. <sighs> All right. She has the bluest eyes. Okay. Except the for is... the white dragon that she will summon if I so you, ever you find can, a way. You can make a level her. seven synchro. You can potentially fuse something together. I don't know. You got another normal monster and first of the dragons in there. I have something. Don't you worry your little head about what I have. I, th <laughs> We're versing each other, RJ. All I do is worry. That's why I'm here. Christron Rosenix. Christron, no! It's my favorite. All right. <laughs> uh, I am going to use it and Paleozoic Canadia to summon Nightmare Cerberus. Ah, brutal. Uh, we will trigger it. I'm going to discard Zaphion the Time Lord. This is huh. th this discard is the big gamble here. Uh, how much attack does the Crystron token have? Zero. Okay, Zero. glad glad yeah. glad we had that conversation. Nah, we're going for it. I'm kind of surprised right. you didn't use the Rose Nix to target the the Maiden with Eyes of Blue. That's a thing I can do. <laughs> oh, I do not. I. Uh, uh, oh, you don't have a Crystron tutor. I don't have a Crystron tutor. I was like, what oh, the okay. hell? I knew that I had written off a bad effect from that card before. No. Uh, and then we will attack it with Keeper. I am almost dead. You are very am... close to being dead. Yeah. Uh, I will not attack you with the Maiden. I think are that's just sure? a waste of everyone's time. Are you sure you don't want to attack this is me where with you, the This is where you top deck Dark Hole and I lose. Uh, I wish. Unfortunately, I am sitting on a Gladiator Beast that now does not have enough attack to get over anything. Because you got rid of the Paleozoic. 
Uh, I have Destructotron, and you have no back row. <laughs> and I have Slifer the Sky Dragon, who's been in my hand since the very start. And you know, if I'm going to side one thing out, it's going to be that. Oh, but you know no. what? It's fine. You know what? Here, you wanna you wanna summon your dragon? Go ahead. Summon I him. do wanna summon my dragon. I uh, this is possibly revealing something a little early, but I have something I really want to do, and this might be my only chance to do it this match. <laughs> now I still get to summon from the the deck, right? That's the okay. Yeah, go off, King. Go ahead. Let's see what you got. All right. Show us your Are spicy you ready for combo. the reason I have Blue Eyes White Dragon and Polymerization in my deck? <laughs> I will activate Polymerization. <laughs> Doesn't all the all the fusions take like two Blue Eyes? Do you have another one in your hand? Not this one. I will fuse Blue Eyes and the Keeper of Dragon Magic for Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. <laughs> I see, I see. Unaffected uh, by trap cards, that is pretty cool. And it can attack all the one monster I have once each. Yep, uh, so there there we go. There we go, <laughs> I I'm dead, to do. okay. I, okay, chat, I tried to get Slifer, you know, I gave him a shot. There was no way I was ever, not with anything that I had. At the <laughs> <laughs> I have decided I will side out, actually. I will side out the fucking Slifer. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, do I have anything worth putting in? Okay, I think that's good. You don't need a big change. We just need a little, just a little change. A little, a little, uh, a little adjustment. Some tuning, yeah. if you will. Let's go. I'm going second again. <laughs> All right. This time I'll draw my go dragon. first strategy. Uh, I kind right. of did actually. Mm -hmm. Let's start with pot of duality again. Pot of duality. Turn, turn, uh, turn. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we have to do it. It's the entire point of the deck. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, the other two are like so telegraphed that I could easily probably play around them. Yeah. Uh, your go. All right. Uh, I'll set a card. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're fine. We're fine. I have more That's cards than you do. We're, we're all good. That sixth card is going to make all the difference. I guess I might as well try for it, Senor Super Agent. Oh. There's only one thing we call in this room. It's a monster. No. Now. <laughs> Royal Oppression. <laughs> oh, you are kidding me. Um, I don't suppose you have a way to shuffle my deck, do you? Normal summon Cupid Dunk. <laughs> You're really over here dunking on me. That's the plan. <laughs> All right, we're, All right, we're switching this maid to defense. I ain't attacking with her. Okay. Battle phase. Oh, but you're attacking with this? Swing. Time for things to get very interesting, RJ. Uh oh I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Wait! No! <laughs> no, now you have jaw. royal oppression! <laughs> 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 I've been owned. Ah. Uh, I guess... I, I can't believe my deck is mostly monsters. Hold up! Hold up! Wait a minute. Okay. So, uh, Alexandrite Dragon. Okay, we're summoning that in attack. What's next? Cyber Gadget. Also attack. <laughs> uh, Stratos. I'll summon that in defense, sure. Do you get the Stratos? No, because it's face down. Oh, rip. I should have thought of that. Woo! I'm not sure if it works, because I think this is like the damage step or something. I think Stratos can use its effect during point. the damage step. I think if you, uh, if you, uh, a, a hero signal for it, you get it. There's the compulsory. Okay, I, I don't want to take that. Get out of there. Okay. Uh, main phase two. This is, this is a little awkward for me. Not going to lie. I'm going to um, give you the ruffian shuffle. What else did you get from there? Because you, I forgot you get to keep everything. So the huge revolution is over. I... <laughs> You wonder why you would put that in there. And of course, the Ring of Destruction. Uh, I'll end my turn here. Uh, sure, that's what they all say. And then they end their turn. Yeah, I think we're just going to check this out. Oh, there is that. Yeah. All right. Ring for 2k? This is probably the best chance you'll get. This is. I'm not going to summon anything bigger. Not a terrible chance for me. 
What? Uh, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Now things are much easier. Okay, we'll go ahead and tack over that. All right. Pop, pop. We'll use its effect. Of course you will. So you get that. Main phase two. Uh, I guess we'll just set for... I mean, oh, I'm pretty sure, sure call it is banned. Um, heavy Storm. Yes. Oh, that was heavy the one thing I... That was the one thing I didn't mention at the intro or at, at the beginning. Uh, the idea that we, we are carrying over the ban list from the previous three seasons with a slight change. The cards that were banned in season one are now limited. <laughs> we're slowly bringing everything off the list. But season one was really weird, so there were only three cards that were banned, which were Pancratops, Magical Scientist, and Divine Serpent Geh. I kind of want you to also be under royal oppression. Um, uh, yeah. What? You had royal oppression? Who would have known? Get out of here. I don't want to have to deal. Is that two super eight? No, it's just the one. Okay. It's just the one. I whiffed the other one, and that's how this royal oppression started being a problem. What? I can't royal oppression the, the, the Stratos? Okay. Uh, let's go battle. Okay. Let's see what happens when I try to crash. Uh, damage step? Damage step is okay. Uh, yes. Ooh, okay. There's the Lost Wind. Yep. Pretty okay with having gotten rid of that. I am going to, in main phase two, let's normal summon an Alexandrite dragon. Ooh, big. Uh... Folks who see the next Sealed Showdown will understand this will have been the second time in this week I got owned by not knowing my opponent had Cyberjar. <laughs> uh, and then I will set two. To be fair, we both drew like three cards off of that. <laughs> True. That was a big Cyberjar. Normal Summon Good Witch. 1800? I think that's bigger than whatever you got. All right, I just have to get lucky twice. <laughs> <laughs> you and fucking fair you know what no you're not getting oh. it this time get that shit out of here <laughs> i'm tired of it i don't want to have to flip coins i've got enough of that i got enough of that playing master duel you know yep there we go okay god that good witch exactly puts me in such an awkward position with the hand <laughs> that was my my entire deck like the the royal oppression is something we've pulled in previous uh episodes and like we've never played it just because it, it's double-sided you know you it, all it takes mm -hmm. is that one thing to swing in your way but in this case it's like my deck is 90 percent normal summons like you could have me under this, but it doesn't stop me from doing anything. <laughs> I mean, it's a prime candidate if you want something to ban, although it never feels good to ban something that it only exists one of. I mean, it's I'm, I'm gonna have to do it anyway, yeah, probably. Pretty much everything uh, I have is a one of. I You don't need to worry about why I normal summoned that. <laughs> you got honest. <laughs> Getting honest in here. Um, you know what, just in case you got honest, Fuck you, go back face down. <laughs> okay. I'll pay as many as it takes. Also, check out, I got an elephant. Oh, jeezy creasy. Yeah. Oh my God, yep. The question is, do I have any uh, fire monsters in my hand or on the field? That's a terrifying question. I would not like to know the answer to that question. All right. 2.0. Ah, Royal Oppression can't activate in the, the battle step. That is correct. I thought it could. All right. Gold and silver gadget, that I expect, but there's like, All there's right. no way you have more than one of each. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you got both in the first, te first episode. Yeah, we good. 1800 gang, okay. right up. <laughs> Train plus elephant plus witch. Best trio. No one can stop them. I have a plan. It's even like an almost good plan. <laughs> I have a plan. This is very technical. Nishi Pachi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
get owned Fire King Avatar Armada. You're lucky I don't have a fire monster. <laughs> Battle phase. I, I would not call any of what's happened to me this match lucky. Okay. Main phase two. Uh, we we set in a car. I could pay five hundred to flip that face down, but it wouldn't do anything. <laughs> ah, well, you may have eliminated my elephant, but another member of the eighteen hundred gang comes to join. God damn it! This card is also kind of yeah. good, isn't it? <laughs> He's surprisingly good in a limited limited format. So if this is summoned, I can banish a trap, increase this card's level by one. Uh, you can target one trap in either graveyard, banish it, increase this card's level by one. More importantly though, if this card is destroyed, either by battle or card effect, I believe, I can set one of my banished traps. So I can go ahead and reveal yep. the best card in my deck. Mirror Force. <laughs> Oh, and now if you destroy oh, Proof and S from the Cyber Jar that you have another one. <laughs> what? No, that's that's not Didn't the Cyber Jar reveal another uh, one? Um, it's in the no, log. No, that's not that's not what's set. Don't <laughs> Don't look at the log. That's rude. That's cheating. <laughs> uh let's go ahead and just banish another trap too. I like to have options, right? Oh, you can keep doing uh, that. Okay. There you go. Let's get rid of the compulse. That way, when you destroy it, I could okay. choose between Mirror Force or Compulse. That's true. Uh, okay, I'm not going to flip you face down, because you're going to go to defense either way. There we go. Okay, I think I do have to use Dynamiscus <gasps> on the Good Witch. Okay. Oleonides says hello. Hello, Oleonides. <laughs> Jules, in insert Oleonides sound, whatever those may be. Oh, Nisi Pashi goes to, like, defense. Yes, oh, it it's the royal oppression. You could oppression the... Oh, oh wait, I could have royal oppression that. You could stop Damn the it. only oh. ladies. I could have. That would have been the good play, too. <laughs> Take 800 to prevent from taking 1,200. If that wasn't exactly Cosmo Goodwitch, <laughs> I probably would have won this game. <laughs> Good Witch is just like Book of Moon on legs. You can't beat it. Doesn't even have to be a quick effect. Uh, okay. This is not yeah. once per turn. Oh no, okay, it is once per turn. And then eighteen plus twelve is that. Oh, game. the eight hundred wouldn't have mattered. I'm taking twelve hundred anyway. So the card ah. I have in hand is. Wait, you what? Oh no, I can attack. Oh, okay. I just, you are attacking. You were saying, I, I was curious <laughs> the, what you were going to say. The card I have in hand is Gore's the Emissary ah. of Darkness. So if you didn't have Good Witch exactly, you would have had to Mirror Force to out my Alexandrite Dragon, at which point I could have used Huge Revolution as over, cleared my board, and used Gore's. But because you had Good Witch, <laughs> I never got to activate Huge Revolution. <laughs> oh, geez. To, to be fair, in my hand. Uh, like right after I activated the the Royal Oppression, I drew BLS, and I had like the first two cards oh. in my deck were the, or the first two cards that hit the graveyard were the Dark Cyber Jar and something that was light. I fair. Oh, check this out, guy. So it's like as soon as you got rid of that, like if you if you had something, although can I I can't stop Gores I guess with Royal Oppression. Royal Oppression is such a weird Correct. card. It's a bizarre card, and I hate it. And I hate that I have to get rid of Mirror Force <laughs> instead of that. Card. We didn't even activate Mirror Force this game. But I saw two of them, and one of them I had to play yeah. around for my life this turn. Yes, I do have the two Mirror Forces and the one Trap Trick, so I can search for them. <laughs> so, it, it, yeah. you know, Royal Oppression lost you the game. Uh, good witch. That's good, a good witch. Point. Very powerful. She lost you the game, but you're gonna go for the mirror force. Royal oppression is also a massive asshole. It's a, mirror force is easier to play around than royal as, oppression. As we, I'll have to consider as, this as we one. get more spell trap removal, that becomes less. But yeah, mirror force, at least for the first three or four episodes, is gonna be really difficult to deal with, and then it becomes like you know uh, impossible to use battle traps once we get a little ways into this and we start getting like. 
twin twisters yes. and everything. Yeah, I honestly think Royal Oppression is probably going to be the one, but I'm going to have to give it con some consideration. Okay, you'll get to consider that, and then you'll come back next time and let us know what got banned. And then you also get some pity packs this for, for the next time. And we ha we have we haven't told people how the pity packs work this year. Do, do, do you remember? Do you want to tell them? Yeah, so our pity packs this year are Master Duel Secret Packs. <laughs> this is exciting to me because in limited in limited formats, I love uh, things that incentivize you to go into like go harder on an individual strategy. Uh, and so I'm really excited that we are going to get to open Master Duel Secret Packs when we lose. Yeah, you get to pick three of them. And I believe we had a thing where it's like, in order to open them, you can't just choose anything to try to get like the best cards. It has to be a pack that contains something you already have. So Correct. it is specifically trying to get you to build more archetypes and stuff, which I mean, I might be able to stop with a ban of like a specific card, but we should be getting some more interesting strategies. Make sure you tune in next time for episode two. Until then, good luck. And have fun. Oh, you got it. Nailed it. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, Season 4, Episode 2. I'm, of course, your host, Hardleg Joe, joined here by the Luigi of Yugi Tube, Mr. RJ. What does that, does that mean nobody cares until I end up rich because I fought the forces of evil? <laughs> is that, is that something? For a that, house. Is that something? I'm going to have happened? to fight ghosts for a house. I don't actually know. I am unfamiliar that might be the with only the way Mario I get to lore. Own property. I have not watched enough game theory to, to, to know quite yet. And I haven't played a lot of Mario. I'm more of a Sonic kind of guy myself. I like to think of myself as the Knuckles of Yugi Tube, you know? That's a that's a pretty good title. Are you do you think of yourself as a platformer? I guess so. I mean if the floor I'm on a platform. YouTube's a platform, right? That yeah, makes us all platformers, technically. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah we're we're here we're on episode two and oh boy do we have a whole bunch of stuff to tell you about things were exciting if you missed the last episode well one why are you here uh i mean i'm welcome i'm glad you you showed up but you should really <laughs> check out that first episode first to see what happens if you don't know i was the glorious victor which of course you means were. that rj got to ban a card you want to tell what people you actually settled on yeah, I, I as a person a person of conscience uh, cannot stand for oppression, uh, yeah. <laughs> especially when it's a part of uh, something as archaic as a monarchy. I will not allow it. Uh, we are banning royal oppression. Yeah, no more oppression for the royals. The jank monarch has to have his way. You can't have the people hanging him down. So that wait, hold up. That's not what. I <laughs> That's not the one I meant at all. I didn't come out looking good at the end of that one. <laughs> but it's probably for the best. Even though it wasn't super impactful last episode, it's only going to get better as the series goes on. The more special summons sure. we get, the more that's gonna that's gonna impact things. Although this episode probably not so much. We're still on a little bit of basic decks, but we do have something a little spicy to 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 shake things up. This season, in order to keep each episode feeling a little bit different, we've decided to institute something we call the Chaos Rules. Every episode past the first one, we're going to just make a little tweak to the Yu-Gi-Oh! formula, just something either with deck building or the rules themselves to, to make things a little spicier. And this episode, since we're playing kind of like old school Yu-Gi-Oh! since it can be kind of slow and resource heavy, we thought we'd speed it up a little bit by having the rule be that every turn we draw two cards instead of one. That's right. The number two is going to be very relevant in a number of ways yeah. this episode. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. It's two for the second episode. That's how thematic of us. I'm glad we're such geniuses. Yeah, we definitely thought of that when yes. we came up with the order of yes, chaos. Yes, very rules. much so. And it, as you were saying beforehand, uh, this should be very interesting, if nothing else, just because whoever goes first is not only going to be down one card, they're going to be down twice as many cards. Going second's very impactful here. It is. So that coin toss is going to come down to everything. Although, it's still a slow enough format. I think we'll be able to come back. Especially if we got a board wipe or two, you know. Surely you have some of those. I get the feeling that if we make it to turn four, it's just not going to matter anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just a matter of making it there. Hopefully all the cards one of us everywhere, all OTKs. at once. And, and who knows, you might get that because you are opening some pity packs as well. Some some extra little stuff. And those have changed I since am. last time as well. Previous seasons, we got to pick the regular packs. But this time, we're doing the, the, math, the secret packs, right? We are. We are introducing the Master Duel secret packs in order to encourage us to go even harder in on harder our chosen beyond. strategies. Uh, the loser of each episode gets to open and draft a card from three of a Master Duel secret pack that contains a card in our collection. And I have a couple of pretty good ones for my collection in mind. Yeah, I, that's another one of those things that I imagine as the series goes on will be more impactful. I, I, I find it hard to believe that you'll be able to build any kind of archetype deck this time. I had trouble even finding like two ofs of things, much less like a whole playset. I had some things last episode <laughs> that may lead me places today. I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and see how that goes out as we go on into the the pack pack pulling, the pulls, the 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 the, 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 the kraken. The cracker packer thing? The crack cracking packing? <laughs> you I don't can't know. say that word on YouTube. No, it's <laughs> Alright, here we are, episode two of pulls, and we still don't have like a whole big strategy or anything. I've got this I've got this like paper note of like all the archetypes that I'm thinking about doing all the things that we could possibly put in. But as you can see, it's just like a huge list. There's just like all this stuff that we pulled one or two of. And if it's anything like the last seasons, a lot of those will be abandoned as we start to settle in on more things. Uh, but we're still looking for just, just any generic good stuff, anything that we can get to help make the deck slightly better. And especially with today's chaos rule, we should be good. I, I think we, we should have already addressed that in the intro. All right, so anyway, dark beginning one, flip it up. What do we got? Um, hmm. This is a difficult one. Because we've got Dust Tornado, which at this point is still pretty good spell trap removal, but it won't be for very long. And we've got Messenger of Peace, which has potential to be a very strong floodgate, especially if we end up making like a burn deck or a mill deck, which is entirely possible with what we've got here. I think it's one of those two. Hane Hane is. Eh, it has potential, but I think. Oh, I don't think we want to be set in cards. Not in this one. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, we're going to start it off with a poll. And again, if you want to if you want to be part of these polls, if you want to help, you can join the chat by going to twitch.tv slash hardleggaming. I do my polls every Sunday. All right, it looks like chat has chosen Dust Tornado, so we'll add that in there and see what else we can get. Oh, boy. I mean, that was an episode one. It happened. I got to summon the big dude. I got, I got to do the thing, uh, but... It's very evident I haven't played on an auto sim in pretty much ever. The Omega UI and I were not friends last episode. But this episode, we have some really cool things coming. I'm really excited for today's chaos rule, and I'm very excited for our packs. Last time, we identified a couple of cool things. Earth Machine of a variety of ilks is really strong in this series. We've got Karakuri. We've got Infinitrax. We've got desk bots and we've got machina and all of these things have pretty good stuff to work with and we've already started with them blue eyes is surprisingly easy to get as our heroes so i'm going to be looking out for those these things primarily and secondarily dragons i've got a red md in the bank and i expect to be getting more of them let's get to the chaos draft let's let's the let the, let let's begin that took me too long Ooh, card of safe there are a lot of cool things in here card of safe return relinquish wished mm, mask of restrict mask of weakness a lot of good chaos drafty goodness in here okay card of safe return is one of those dm cards that is inexplicably still legal in this series let's take that dark beginnings two that's twice as many uh ooh, bottomless trap hole is not bad also tune table of contents baby Tune table of contents of who I do have a tune cyber dragon so this this would give me a bit of consistency bottomless the thing about bottomless is that it's in a whole bunch of other stuff 
I think I'm actually going to go for the Toon Table of Contents for now, because being able to search a Cyber Dragon, pretty nice, pretty nice. Mm, I'll take a Mirror Force, okay. <laughs> this is certainly a good reason for me to ban Royal Oppression instead of Mirror Force. Order from Chaos, ooh, ah. Oh, uh, let's see, Earth Armor Ninja is a free special summon, I believe. If only your opponent controls a monster, you could summon that. It's a level 5. And I believe I do have... Yeah, I can make, like, Omega or Savage Dragon pretty easily. But I think I'm going to go for the Earth Armor Ninja. This will be more useful later on. It's just free material. Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. Oh! Oh! <laughs> kind of want to take Gores. Gores is really strong in Limited. Gores is, like, unbelievably good in Limited. Yeah, if I can get to three Gores, I will be a very happy person. Legendary Collection 4, Joey's World. Ooh! Well, we already have three Poly. We just kind of get that by default. Uh, we've got some normal monsters, Release Restraint, it's pretty much between these two. Pot of Avarice or Spirit Reaper. And with how long the day things go, I think Pot of Avarice is probably the safer call. So let's try that. Alright, Battle Pack 2. You have the chance to redeem me for Zexel. Oh. That's not a banned card. I will take a Monster Reborn very happily. All right, it's time for the most premium of gold. Ooh, Ghost of a Grudge and Trap Stun and Cyber Dragon, the regular one this time. I've, I've always loved Ghost of the Grudge. The opponent has eight or more cards in the graveyard. The attack of all their monsters becomes zero. Kind of a late game trap card. I think I can't turn down the Cyber Dragon. Um, if we're gonna, we're, like, Cyber Dragon's one of the things we're trying to make this season, and you need the Cyber Dragon in order to do that, so let's go for that. Mm -hmm. I will also take Pot of Avarice. Seems pretty good. Oh, no, no, don't get confused. These are the new challengers. These are the new ones we've got. All right, we got Fusion Substitute, which we already get. Uh, another Punch in the Box? We've got a trap trick, so that makes the that makes it live with punch in the box. Premium gold. Ooh. Oh god, that's a hard choice, actually. Yeah, I have Boral, which is just better than Stardust Dragon, as long as we've made a link at some point. I think we take the Eclipse Wyvern. Eclipse Wyvern is so good for my deck. Clash of Rebellions. Boogie woogie woogie. Ooh, Trick Clown, Kaya 2 Waterfront is very funny. Yeah, I think I think especially at this point, Damage Juggler is just better. Because it, it's a it's a battle fader essentially, and it searches me one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what? Okay, yeah, we take Exciton. Wing Raiders! Ooh, Dark Rebellion for our rank four pulls. Uh, yeah, we are trying to get Raid Raptors. It's going to be a long journey, but just, just we need to get this while we can. Extreme Force. We will be extremely forceful. Yo, Boot Sector Launch. Hold up. Hold up. Boot Sector Launch, you say. Boot Sector Launch, you say. I'm going to boot well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna launch some boot. When the force is extreme. Ooh, we never, we never were able to make that work in previous seasons. Uh, I think we just go for the underclock taker here. All right, dark saviors. Can we get some good zombie things? No. We've got more link material though. <laughs> I'll, I guess I'll take some Link material. I need to start getting some generic Links. Legendary Collection Kaiba, home of the hand traps. 
Uh, we didn't get any hand traps. We got like a Kaiba Man. Got like a heavy mech support. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Yeah, might as well just take the Ancient Fairy Dragon. Why not? All right, Mystic Fighters. We got good stuff in here. Uh, math bag laundry dragon maid? I guess if I'm going after dragon things, dragon maids aren't terrible. Uh, yeah, we'll do laundry. All right, dark saviors. And we're going for the, uh, the sky striker stuff. We're trying to get sky striker things. Scapegoat is probably better though. I was like, we could save our reroll for this. It's this or the one that has the, the tier limits in it, but I think we're taking a scapegoat. Ignition Assault. Oh, Light Dragon at Ignister is just a good card, right? This is just a good generic card. Yeah, this card is phenomenal. We'll take Light Dragon. Easy pick. Dual Overload. Wow, they really, ooh. Ooh, is that Phantasme? Phantasme has the potential to be very good. Uh, Mayakashi Mayhem, I am trying to build towards those, but I think this will be like good almost immediately. This has decent, yeah, we're just taking the Phantasme. All right, dual overload. We will overload our dual. Those are a couple of link monsters I can't summon, but compulsory is very good. I can only get very specific link monsters. <laughs> I'll take compulsory. Toon Chaos! Pot of Desires, you say? Pot of Desires. Do I dare chat? Do I dare go negative nine? I could also take the Gamma or the Driver. These are both just rares. They're all just rares. Fuck it, let's go for draw power. Negative nine, here we come! Compulse is like arguably the best trap in this series. Toon Chaos. Oh, 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 oh. BLS or Stardust. So we know we're going after Chaos Dragons. So Light Pulsar is really good, but Light Pulsar I think also comes in a gold series. Yeah, we gotta take BLS. We've gotta take BLS when it's available. Rise, duelist, and be counted! Is that Dogmatica Punishment? Oh boy. All right, Legendary Duelist, season one. Hey, there's a red bed. We take those. We take those. Red bed is so good. A second red med. Oh, God. We are dragoning. We, we will be linking them dragons. Red med is such a good card. Maximum gold. Do we, do we take a second ghost bell? Do we, do we try to go for the playset of having a uh, trap car or <laughs> hand traps? Uh, Lady Debug is also good if we're trying to get Cybers monsters. You know what? I'll, I'll leave it up to you, chat. Doing another poll. All right, it seems that Ghost Bell just barely wins. We'll get other Cybers another time. All right, Genesis Impact. This is a small set. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Nightmare Phoenix, don't mind if I do. Genesis Impact. Ooh. 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 Okay, am I trying to get Drytrons? No, I'm not. Uh, I think we just want the, the Nightmare Unicorn, right? Nightmare Unicorn, we gotta take this while we can. We could get a second Juggler, but uh, yeah, we just want the Nightmare Unicorn. It's like a staple. Uh, I mean, Crystal Wing is a very good card. Uh, unfortunately, we got the wrong Sun Avalon out of here, <laughs> which is too bad. I'll take Crystal Wing. Sure, why not? Ghosts from the past. 
Uh, ooh, Cosmojo. We don't have hardly any Cosmos, though. We have, like, one. I think we just want the Fog Blade. Fog Blade, probably? Yeah, let's just take the Fog Blade. All right, Burst of Destiny. <gasps> hold, 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 hold. This card is Garbanzo. <laughs> Holy, this card is terrible. It's crazy. It's just the world's worst dark hole, right? It is a generic Link 3, and it's true. It can stop itself from being dark hold. I'll take Boral Code. El Dorado, well, don't you show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of. That's a lot of extra deck monsters, chat. There's there's so many things. I think we need to take the Falcon because because we took the Waking the Dragon. And and we want to be able to do that. We'll get to it eventually. Hopefully the rest of these will come up again, but uh yeah, we're just going to take the Ultimate Falcon. All right, Legendary Collection Season 3. The Legendary Collections have been so good. Magician of Chaos is good. Junk Foot Converter is extremely strong if we can pick up a Junk Synchron. Starving Venom is a strong card. This is just a good card. Yeah, we'll take Starving Venom. And up for our next category, Potent Potables. And, oh, hey, is that Havness number two? Could I just have two Havness? Am I having this Havness? Power of the Elements. Arguably the best set we have access to. Probably the best set in the last five years. Yeah, let's nab a Pit Knight. Pit Knight's very easy to use. Battle of Legends, Crystal's Revenge. This is the last one. Ooh, Token Collector? Numeron Dragon? What the hell is Dream Cicada? If you control an attack position insect monster, you can special summon this from your hand. Only special summon one per turn. It's normal or special, you could target one monster on the field, change its battle position. That's actually not bad. That's like free material for a um for insects. And it's a level three, and it changes battle position. So if we ever decide to go into some of those. Yeah. It's either that or the heretic seals, but I don't have hardly any dragons. So we'll take it. We'll take the dream cicada. And that's, that's all the main deck packs we got. We're, we're still not quite on something, but we're slowly getting insects together. We've got the starts of Chaos Max, and we've still got our, our uh, Chaos Packs to add into that. Four more, let's see what we got. What do we got? Mm, we already have seals. Uh, Salamangrate Circle is cool if we get to start doing Salamangrate and General Cybers things. Yeah, I'll take a second seals. Uh, yeah, this was very, very good for Link Pile. Uh, Link Pile looking real strong for us so far. We need a couple of more payoffs, but I think I have a set I'd like to go into at some point that will give us good payoffs. All right, two packs of the Hard Leg Chaos Pack, the best Chaos Pack. Let's flip them up and see what we got. A second Waking the Dragon, a second River Stormer. We could add Bagel Tech. Oh. <laughs> it's a pretty good card. It's a pretty good card. <laughs> That's a pretty good card. I'll take it. Yeah, we'll get him. Uh, I think we want to go for the, the bagel tech while we can. We don't have hardly any plant stuff, but I don't think we have hardly any chance to get this and we might as well get it while we can. All right, attempt number two. Uh, ooh, ghost sister and spooky. Oh, oh wait. Is that Zektrike Ko-O? We've got we've got to go with the rare one though while we can, and I I didn't use my reroll. I guess we'll use our reroll on one of RJ's packs. All right, chaos pack numero dos. Hey, less inspiring. Is it brutal dozer? I think if we start going for Earth Machine things, brutal dozer is going to be pretty solid. All right, RJ's Wimpy Little Packs, part one. What's that, a Kageki? 
on Ether, Absa Router, Lava Golem is funny. Ah, the Lone Fire. This does appear in a lot of things. I'm not sure if we necessarily want to take the, the Lone Fire. I think we want to take the Lone Fire, though. Yeah, let's take the Lone Fire. Now for my Chaos Packs. Um... Oh, Land for Link? Wait a second. This card is insane for me because of Dandelion. It's got to be this one, right? Like, like it's got to be this one. All right, and number two. Flip them up. Fuck it. I get one reroll. Let's reroll it. Let's retry. I've got one Chaos coin. Hopefully this one will be better. Well, we could get a second Dragodia. Sure, we'll take the Dragodia. Why not? We'll throw that in there. I, I think we may have flown a little too close to the sun here. We've got quite a divergent set of things. We picked up way too many extra deck monsters. Our deck's going to essentially be the same as last time, so we've really got to hope that the Mirror Forces carry us. I guess we'll find out, though. Ultimate Obedient Fiend Rip. <laughs> uh, I genuinely don't know what I take off of this. DDR is a bad extender. Lightning Vortex is kind of Raigeki. Yeah, that's a good point. Monk is good in Hero Pile. Okay. All right. Well, given that I already have Move Man and how incredibly good the normals are in this set. I think the only option that we have for our secret pack this week is the Mech Knights. Uh, Cosmic Mechanical Entities comes with Crawlers and it comes with Yellow Star and Red Moon, two incredible Mech Knights. And at worst, I mean, it's got Move Man. World Legacy Secret is basically Call of the Haunted. Its rares include Crawl or Crusadia Crawler and Crawler Spine. Just a very good pack overall. And the Supers also have more Nightmares, which are not bad either. I think let's go for, I think Yellow Star is probably the pick here. Just more, uh, more back row removal. Pack number two, we're starting off pretty hot, but it was always going to be hot with this set. Another Move Man? Or, ooh, is it Move Man or is it Unicorn? It's strong. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. And in the third pack we have, I think we take Red Moon. And the reason is because Secret's only going to be good if we get a like, it's only going to be better than something like Call of the Haunted if we get a bunch of Mech Knights, right? And if we get if we get a bunch of Mech... Like, the way we're going to get a bunch of Mech Knights is if we start, pull, like we start taking Mech Knights now. In which case, like, if we don't do that, then we're already then like all oh, the haunted is just going to be straight up better anyway so i think we take red moon yeah let's do it okay and there it is pretty interesting pretty interesting pulls all right here we are with the deck for episode two and it's it's still just a pile of cards we've just got piles of cards out the wazoo i mean it's a slightly more consistent pile of cards. Uh, we've, we've got two Tragodia now. We've got two Proofiness. We've kind of got two Cyber Dragons. They're like Cyber Dragons, but fundamentally different. But at its core, this is still just a bunch of really good cards put into a pile. The only real kind of strategy we have is we still have Blackluster Soldier, which is probably one of the best, like, late-game boss monsters you can drop onto a near-empty field and just absolutely devastate everything. Um, so I'm playing all the good light and dark cards in our deck. Like, that's... I went through and chose light and darks first, and then whatever we have left, I just filled in. Uh, we're playing two Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. I don't think we'll actually be using the Hand Trap effect. I'm actually just using these because they're level 3 tuners with 1800 defense. So this plus a Cyber Dragon can make us like an Omega or a Borolode Savage Dragon. This plus any 4 is the, the Black Rose Dragon. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of level 4s, some of which can be special summoned, many of which cannot. Uh, we've got a couple, I guess, Earth Armor Ninja is just like a Cyber Dragon, but with fundamental differences. 
And our extra deck's looking pretty good. We've got like a, a Dark Rebellion, we've still got the Castell, a Zena Master, we can recycle a little bit. And we've got a couple neat Link monsters that we might be able to go into, possibly. Uh, we're still on just a, a whole bunch of good back row along with the one Waking of the Dragon. If, if I can resolve this once and get the ultimate Falcon, I think I just win. There's no way this early on that, that Robert has anything to out an ultimate Falcon. So we've just got to hope that we can make him scared of the mirror forces and the punch in the box, and he'll use something on waking the dragon. At least that's the hope. And then pretty much every card that didn't make it into the main deck is in the side deck. Everything possibly worth playing. If these end up being useless, if uh, some of these other spell traps don't end up working, I can put in like, we've got some negation, we've got scapegoats. I don't think I could make like anything. Everything takes effect monsters, but it's, it's just a stall. We've got Pot of Avarice if things go grindy. But uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And really the only, you know, we, we have the whole chaos rule where we get to draw two cards each turn. And I was thinking that would really change up deck building, but it didn't for the most part. We don't have enough options to make that really worth it. The only real concession is I'm playing two Tragodia um, because this is really good in a format where you could draw a whole bunch of cards. Of course, um, I probably would have played two Tragodia anyway, so... <laughs> Chaos Rule's not doing a lot for deck building. Maybe it'll make the duel interesting, though. We'll, we'll have to find out. First, let's let's jump into that. Or Robert's deck. I don't know what order these are going on. Jules, you Jules. know what the entertainment. Now you got, you got options. All right, so did Blue Eyes work last time? Not in the slightest. It, it, it didn't work. But this time, we have two copies of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon in the tank, and I think these are good enough to take it over the top, especially with our Link materials, including Gofu and the ridiculous set of Link monsters we've managed to pull this last week, and some cool synchro payoffs to go with it. I think that this strategy is a lot stronger than the last one. We've got an additional Mech Knight in here, as well as World Legacy Secret to bring back most of the top end of our monsters. Gores will probably work a lot better for us now that we have two of them, and I'm going to be a little bit better at protecting my life points with things like Scapegoat, which can also double as a way to get into Saryuja, because we have the the, the Lancy guy, uh, who can use normal monsters as well as tokens in order to be made, which means that we can link off our Scapegoat tokens in in order to make our way up the link ladder. We've got some things in the side deck to play around depending on what he has. And uh, the pit night early in case cheesing on double spheres pass is not something we want to try for. One cool tech to keep in mind, we have laundry dragon maid and we also have dragon maid tidying in the bank. I think these two could be a clutch little pair of cards to bring us over the top. Oh yeah, and Angel Trumpeter is a 1900 tuner that could go into Borlode Savage Dragon. Oh. All right, finally the advantage is in my hands and I will opt to go second. This I, is an all right hand. I went for the this bro fist right. and you gave me the high five. I guess I'm going to set a card. Could be anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm I mean, also... it could, this is chaos draft. Yeah, it could literally be anything. I mean, the viewers know. Also, by your... the way, viewers, I've changed up how things look. Let us know. The first episode, I think, was all right, but I think this is a little bit better, but we could still change things up. I'm down for whatever. I see you're already playing around my move, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Gotta play around oh, Mech Knights. Too this strong. sound actually turned out less exciting than I thought it was. Ah, um, did, you, did you open your garnets? I may or may not have opened a number of cards. I should have played around your potential Mech Knights here. Uh, oh, that's what I thought what you were doing, is like setting up for a Mech Knight <laughs> column. <laughs> that, you know, my, my extra two cards were not terribly impactful for me this time around. Ah, I see, I see. It's fine by me. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, I'm going to normal summon. Oh no! Cosmo Goodwitch. She I, is very annoying. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not a quick effect. She can't flip things down. It kind of feels like a waste, but uh, I need to get into some bat damage while the, while the getting's good. Okay, I think I am going to 
leverage a little bit of the advantage that I had by going first. I'll discard for Dinomiscus to get her out of here. I do not want to deal with a quick effect flip. It's not Fairy a quick Tale effect. Snow is banned for a reason. It's a slow effect. Oh, um, it's a slow effect? Yeah. Oh, it's the engraver of the mark that's a quick effect. This yeah. is what I get for going off of memory. Yeah, I think... Solemn judgment. I think maybe. I want to keep this. Compulse. Okay. Um, no response. I will compulse it back. Uh, that might be bye a bye waste. Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, hey. Chaos. For sure. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, nothing. We're good. We're fine. Whoo! This hand does nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> How did I draw two cards and brick? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on all in my turn. Oh, wow. Wow. I know. I I, <laughs> I have not drawn my combo pieces, let me tell you. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's still better than nothing. You know what? Let's go ahead. Graver of the Mark. God damn it. <laughs> Your favorite. It. You could say that. That is true. Is unironically uh, my favorite. I love this guy. I will... Go ahead, show me your compulse. Allow that. Oh, okay. You're just lucky he can only target face-up cards. Your back row would be doomed if he could do otherwise. I think I let this through. Ha-ha! I draw first blood like Rambo in his prime. All right, your move, holy man. Hoo! I found a starter. Okay. Uh, I should hope let's... so. I hate cards. <laughs> let's just get that asshole out of here. You can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> all, all you boo. In, enjoy. Have all fun. Right. In two turns, okay. he's going to die again. <laughs> Spiral super agent. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know. The monster. This never worked for me last um... episode. Show it to me. Monster. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. It I'm just seems you are the foolish incapable one. of landing a super agent. <laughs> yeah, I am going to take this opportunity to summon your boy oh. Guan Yu. He's loyal. Alright. All we're, right. just, we're just we're just gonna send him in. Possibly to die, we'll see. That's oh, a yeah. sacrifice I'm sure he's willing to make because he, is, he has the choice. He is 100% die. There are some, like, major ethical considerations when it comes to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Uh, it, 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 that's fine. Yeah, it's just Exploder Dragon. We cleared dragon an Exploder way. Dragon. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, your go. That was my entire turn. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's put this in the leftmost zone. What on God's flat fuck is this? <laughs> Ghost bird of bewitchment. Leftmost, it gains a thousand attack. Yeah, it's just a twenty-three hundred normal summon. I could also put it rightmost. Oh, good. I, I, for some reason, I did that stupid thing where I started reading and I was like, can make two attacks, and I just didn't read the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's on on monsters. Okay, yeah, this is this is definitely getting in for more damage. Mm. Oh, this feels bad. Oh, you do have a compulse. I do. Uh, I'm just going hard neg literally every turn. That's fine. Nah. A coward's I death. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. I have... What's the seven cards in my hand? You do. <laughs> well, I guess I... I kind of wanted to save this, but I guess I might as well just fire it now. Okay, what are we hitting? Uh, we don't, we don't have a lot. Uh, I think we're just going to do this. Okay. Respectable. He's respectable. tricky. XP to rock around. To rock around all right on top. It's just, it, I'm going to take a thousand, but at least I put up some defense wall. So like, if you could somehow put on 8,000 points of damage... Which, I mean, you might. You have, like, what, nine cards in hand? You know, uh, <laughs> I am now considering whether or not I can win this game. This game. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let's try it again. Surely one day this will work. Go ahead. 
no response. Hell yeah! Oh god, it's Gale. Every <laughs> time I see Gale, I'm like, I was so excited to reveal a monster. Big bird. Yeah. All right, and we are going to chain trap trick. It's a tricky trap. It do be that. That's fine. Okay. Banish the mirror force. I'm shocked. Let's set the mirror force. Okay. Um. Go ahead. Go ahead. Attack the trap uh, clown. It'll be funny. Um. Smile. Uh. <laughs> well. I, I I mean I. Uh, you know. Oh uh, yeah. We I'm gotta fine try. With that. I had the feeling that wouldn't be, like, a huge issue for you. Yeah, I mean, it, it just came back. But it came back. All right. Um. You are technically winning. <laughs> God, do I have to pass on this again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just no, no back. Oh, God, I forgot that I have to discard at the end of the turn. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, this card is never going to be live. <laughs> Dread tiding. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to normal summon Goblin Berg. Uh-oh. We're going to activate Goblin Berg. We're going to summon... Not only is it a goblin, but it's also a de Berg. Yeah. We're going to summon that over there. No. Oh, okay. It big. It very big. And then... We're going to make something brand new. Something you haven't seen before, Johnny. Uh-oh. Dark oh Rebellion Xyz uh, Dragon. That dude be big and about to get way bigger. Yes. Very big. Okay. So let's have your attack. Um, okay. Do I want Am to I use assume? Trick Clown? No. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Because you see, I have something much better I could do with that. Uh oh. I will banish a light no. in the dark. No. To summon no. Black Luster no. Soldier on no. at the beginning. No. And we'll just go into battle phase, shall we? I'll just run over this. Don't mind me. Surely you don't have Earth Honest. Uh, yes, I would like to attack again. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Let's and show me we the We will take okay. this opportunity to activate Gores. Um,. He is we'll the Emissary of Darkness. And we'll summon this one here. <laughs> All and right, fair enough. That's where we're at with that. Okay. Uh, well, at least I can get rid of that token. That is true. The 2700 oh. does beat over my Ghost Bird of Bewitchment, but uh, gonna have trouble dealing with the other two. Also, I'll set oh. a card. Stop that. <laughs> Fine. Surely it wouldn't be another mirror force. I would have to have three mirror forces for that to work, Robert. Okay. Um, well, this at least deals with one portion of your board. I'm going to activate Alpha the King of Beasts. What? <laughs> no, nah, Alpha the Master of Beasts. Thought he was a magnet warrior. Uh, and we're going to send back... The ghost bird? <laughs> <laughs> a excellent plan. Surely There's that's an actual, the... actual, like, real consideration for whether the choice to send back is black luster here. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if I had another light monster, uh, I probably wouldn't have banished my trick clown. But also, to yeah. be fair, I will be drawing more than one card. True, you do have me there. God, Mirror Force is a card. Yeah. Uh, I am going to activate Alpha. Can you bounce the Mirror Force? And I will target Alpha. Of course. And BLS. All right. Fair enough. So now, I could just summon the Alpha again, but I feel like there are better uses for that Alpha. <laughs> Probably, maybe. Possibly. I will set one and set two. And you know what? I will even set a third. Ah! Discount and setting cards warehouse. Pass my turn. I was very down bad for that, Gores. <laughs> mm. 
you know what? We're going to move Ghost Bird to defense position. Hmm. And I am going to normal summon Wat Cobra. <laughs> And Wait, hold up. we'll just go hold to up. we'll just go to uh, hold, hold, battle. hold up, uh, hold up. I'll just attack <laughs> hold up directly. A just a moment here. <laughs> uh, just a second. You know what? I'm gonna make you show me the cowboy. Okay. I do not have another Watt Cobra. He's just here okay. so I can beat stuff over. But yeah, I think we're gonna Holy we're gonna shit. attack. You're in defense mode anyway. What what could you possibly I might have? Actually, win next turn. Oh, yeah. This is this is fine. I, uh, yeah, perfectly a okay. I, uh, no response to the attack. Alrighty, all right. I guess we'll just end it there then. During the end phase. I'm going to activate a goatee boy. Scapegoats! All right. All right. Uh, no response to my own goats. No. We're going to go one. We're going to go two. We're going to go three. Don't tell me four. four. Oh! Yeah, Summoned all a four shocker. of them. I know. I was surprised. I didn't think there would be that many goats. Okay. All right, Yugi, you've got some goats, but what can you do with those goats? Let's activate Archfiend Eccentric. Ah, how very eccentric. And I am going to activate Eccentric, and I'm going to target the one closest to your deck. Ah! Whoo! Glad <laughs> I hit that one. Okay, I have the plan. All right, let's see what so, you got. Special summon our good friend, the Zoo King. He is the king of all zoos. Alpha, master of beasts. You've never seen a king this zoo before. I can't believe you could summon this way of four monsters on the field. <laughs> they all have zero attack. Nonsense. And the monster that I am going to bounce by activating its effect. Hilariously, I could bounce a goat token right here. <laughs> if I so choose. You could bounce all the goat um, tokens and just remove my field. I am going to choose my alpha. I'm not going to bounce any of my goat tokens this time around. I'm going to just choose Jeez, alpha. Nice. And we are going to send back actually your ghost bird bewitchment. <laughs> my bird! I have I have plans. All there right. are plans in the works. Uh, so I am going to link off my tokens all of your tokens? Just two of them for now. Okay. I'm gonna grab Asa. Aw, oh, the Earth Charmer. Immovable. She don't she look that She is big. that. And I'm going to activate Asa. I'm gonna nab the... Um, I don't think it matters. We'll gr grab the Exploder Dragon here. No. No, I don't think you will. Cool. I am so glad you used that card on that effect. Okay. <laughs> A little, a little nightmare boy. Aw, come on. And Rude. I will use it discarding Mech Knight Yellow Star. I got this <laughs> from my secret pack. I see, I see. Oh, well, there goes the Mirror Force. Okay. You forced it. Ha 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 ha. Hey, <laughs> I ended up sounding super douchey. I didn't mean it. You're welcome. I'm going to... Link off Phoenix and my token for Unicorn. A Unicorn and a Phoenix? Oh, hell yeah. And I'm actually not going to use Unicorn's effect. Hmm. And I am realizing now I must not have read a very important card. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, it's got to be on the field. Uh, that can be arranged. Okay. It's not my ideal things. way to take care of this, but it is something that we can do. Uh, I am going to activate World Legacy Secret. Ah. And I will special summon a Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, from my graveyard. Ah, brutal. And I'll put it in the, 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 uh, this column. Sure. And then... 
and then... Excess code? I am going to activate polymerization! Oh? oh. Using my Nightmare Unicorn and my Gores the Emissary of Darkness into Starving Venom Fusion Dragon! Oh! We've got the Dimension Dragons! And I will trigger dragons. its effect. Yes, we do, and my Dimension Dragon is the superior one of the two of us. Uh, I will target yours, and then ah. I will banish <laughs> a light and a dark from my graveyard. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and summon Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Son of a bitch! <laughs> My arithmetic is correct here. I have won the game. Well, doesn't that just scoot my Ruta Toot Toot? Dang old Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Yeah, I guess I should have saved the, um, the Ghost Bell, but I was like, if you get the Exploder Dragon, you can use that to get rid of one of my monsters. You take no damage. And in goes the boy for game. I cannot believe we made it out With of that. 150. One. I guess I should have went even harder. Oh my god, what <sighs> a game. Well then. Okay, I've already realized the meta here. And first of all, I get to go second this time. That is true. Oh, but I opened with a playable hand, so take that. Alright. Let's see what you got. Alright, I am going to normal summon. <laughs> <laughs> a blast from the past, Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Ooh. And I will uh, set a back row, and I will end the turn. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Screw it. Bring your blue God eye. damn <laughs> The engraver is here. Ha, ha, ha. I refuse. I will not deal with this monster. Wow. Solemn warning on engraver of the mark. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've suffered at its hands too many times. That's fine. I'm going to. That's uh, so much back row. I'm going that's to so set much four. back row. We're fine. Okay. Oh, that's a hell of a card I just drew into. Sh sure, I am going to normal summon Alexandrite Dragon. Oh. And uh, I am going to switch my maiden to defense <laughs> and go to battle and just, just see what we can get in here. Um, I am going to punch in the box. How dast thee. So, we will negate your attack and send your maiden to That's the graveyard. So <laughs> Doesn't target, baby! Ha cha 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 cha! Uh, we tried. Punch in the box. The but good um, news here is that but, um, Punch bump, in the Box bump. did not reduce Alexandrite Dragon's attack. No. Because <laughs> our monster had zero. Exactly. Um. But you know what will reduce its attack? <laughs> Gale, Gale, Gale the, the whirlwind. whirlwind. Okay. Yeah. What if your What if your czar's riches were only at a thousand? Let's go ahead and get in there. Give him the old thirteen hundred attack point tickle. Okay. I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> Normal summon, laundry dragon maid. <laughs> She's so adorable! Are you gonna do my laundry here? Activate her effect. <laughs> Send the top three, alright. What did we Well, hit? there's your eccentric Ooh. and your super agent. Let's try something a little fun here. Oh. Ah, this guy. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. He's one of my faves. I see, I see. That is very effective, and that could get you just so many different kinds of monsters. Summoning... It could be anything. It could be a red eyes darkness metal dragon. Yeah. You know what? At the, the risk of locking myself out of the extra deck, I think I'm going to have to punish you for that. Okay. You're hitting the punishment button pretty early here. I mean, I don't have, like, an Entis so... or anything. <laughs> Nah, I'm going for it. I don't know what the end game for this is, but this combo is so cool, I want to try it. I am going to activate Blackwing Gofu the Vague Shadow. Oh, how vague. We're going to put a token here, and we're going to put a token here. So I'm going to Link Shokan, Lanferinkus. 
Interesting. I'm going to keep making bad plays. I'm going to summon by banishing a light and a dark from my graveyard. Oh, what a surprise! A copy of Chaos Sorcerer. Ah, big hands. I'm going to activate Chaos Sorcerer no. and banish your Gale. My Gale! Ah, uh, sure. I am going to special summon by using Chaos Sorcerer and Land... Oh, no, it needs effect monsters. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Land for Lucas I am has going to... no effect. I am going to Link Summon <laughs> a Nightmare Unicorn. It's a unicorn! Do -do -do -do. And I am going to choose not to use its effect. You sure? In the monster zone. You get rid of one of those back row, you know? How many back row yeah. cleanups do you got? But I like the card in my hand more than I like. You've got two cards in your hand. You can get rid of one of those. That's okay. I actually really like. Don't tell me you got excess code in your hand. Reborn the monster! We are going to reborn the monster, and I'm going to target Archfiend Eccentric here. Interesting. What do you got? An Ad Ignist Ignister Prominence? A Pendulum got and a level 5 tuner? Something a little bit better. Oh? I'm going to Synchro Summon Borloon Savage Dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Time to be savage! Is this an optimal play? Not in the slightest, okay. but I I'm, love I'm this gonna... card so much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop that. I can't allow you to get a negate on the field. I think I am going to stick with what I've got. Uh, let's go to battle phase. Okay. Let's just... All swing. right, I survive. You know, survival if is what I If this clears a mirror force, this clears a mirror force. It does, I'm not using a mirror force on 2200. Hey, there's a 300 or 3000 back there as well. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not super concerned with that at the moment. We're going to... Proofiness? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's Let's a problem. Let's just uh, banish the Mirror Force. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mirror Force Control playing over here. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and banish the... Uh, well, I can banish your Solemn Warning if I wanted to. Oh, please do. Uh, let's banish the Punishment as well. It gives me some okay. options. Okay, so this, in order to use its negate, Savage Dragon, it has to have, like, all the stuff on it, right? I feel a little bad using this, but I, I, I have a feeling you're going to link this away anyway. So I'm going to Giant Trunade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we'll just get that back. And then okay. I'll set some cards. Could be anything. And there you go. Wow, that is a draw and a fucking half. We're going to banish Borload Savage Dragon to summon my second Red MD. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll activate Red MD. What can you get back that I know of? Alexandrite Dragon, or in case you got something in your hand, sure, get the Alexandrite. Would you would you consider yourself a Kantian? Uh, you right, know, let's go to he's got some he's got some things. Uh, let's get Unicorn in. Uh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead. We're going to do the punch in the box. God, stop punching! In the box. <laughs> Sorry, your box is getting punched. Oh, That's just the way it is. I hate that so much. That you is that punishment or mirror force. Uh, that. I think is going to have to be fine. Okay. Use this. I actually think it's better to get the, the punishment in this case. Hmm. The mirror force is a lot easier to play around. You can just not attack until you're ready, but punishment uh, offers some, some destruction at any point I feel like it. Just, just going to fire off Sorry, huge. <laughs> I mean, it's big, so there's that. It is that. big. Huh. The monster it's a two mats that are you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope you're oh, ready. No. Are you ready to laugh? What do you think is the I... goofiest way to deal with Saryuya? Is it a uh, dogmatica punishment su send Saryuya? <laughs> Not quite. Um, but first, 
Pot of Desires, turn, turn, turn. Oh, God. <laughs> I want even more cards. What did I banish? All my good now stuff, Now I've got you on the seven turn clock for deck out. Yeah. <laughs> How much attack does this have? 28. Uh, okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to have to use the Dogmatica Punishment. Okay. Because I want to send Psyframe Lord Omega. I wonder why what? I would want to send something like that. No. Do you have any idea what, this what card could does. perhaps... <laughs> <laughs> um, just banish a light in a dark. No. Nope. There, there we go. And um, yeah, I guess I could show this off. Doom Caliber Doom Knight. Doom Caliber Knight. Interesting. Yeah, that was if okay. I had summoned it in the zone that Saryuya points to. Saryuya's effect would have activated, and then they would have both died. <laughs> that was that was the funny thing I could have done. As it stands, I'm just attacking for a lot of damage. Yes. Big damage. My chances of randomly winning the game have decreased significantly. You are about to draw two cards, though. That's true. Um, hmm. And my hand is pretty okay. Okay. I have a monster negate. It's not a very good monster negate. You can, it's the most easiest thing to play around in the world, but you do have to play around it. <laughs> Uh, I am going to special summon to the column featuring your <laughs> Doom Cal. <laughs> the Move Man. The Move Man. I, forgot, I can't believe I forgot to play around fucking Mech Knights. The fam famous Roman soldier, Movis Manus. Yeah. All right. Uh, battle phase. Uh, okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I will not activate a fast effect at this are, time. Are you I sure? Will attack into Doom Caliber Knight. Are you sure? You could activate a fast effect. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Goodbye, Doom Caliber Knight. Your caliber was high, but not high enough. Uh, anyway, Trico. What? It was already what? marked for destruction! <laughs> <laughs> you can't that! Come on! I thought it was already dead! <laughs> And just like that, we are back to card parody. Great. Okay. Um, <laughs> Fantastic. I hate this game. Stupid. Uh, Somewhere there's someone in a car going, Joe, no, no, don't activate Trigonia. Uh, the kingest of zoos. Zoo man. The zoo man group. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to negate that. Okay. That makes sense. Behold how the man doth move. <laughs> Methinks the man doth move too much. <laughs> it's kind of how this game is playing out, isn't it? Where will he move to? Find out next time on the exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. I think the ball's in your court, by the way. Nope. The little, the little uh, thing is on your side. Oh, God. I figured I had targeted something. Not quite. Okay. Tribute summon blue eyes. Link oh. summon. Knoitmare Phoenix. Oh. And I will use its effect. I'll discard this gores I certainly will not be resolving. <laughs> oh, look, it's Mirror Force. Yeah, I had uh, Mirror Force the whole time. And if and people I were wondering... <laughs> Oh, go! Oh, you have another. Shall remove a light and a dark. Uh, I was going to say, if, if, if my he... own BS boy. I'm sure people were wondering why I didn't activate this in response to the move man, and it's because you could have just chained move man, and it would have killed the doom caliber knight anyway. <laughs> that was the plan. It was the only way I could find to get around the fucking fog blade. Uh, your go. That's that's everything. That's all I got. Oh, if you top right. decks, Wat Cobra, I lose the game. Okay, I did not top deck Wat Cobra. I will. I'm concerned that that does not mean that you don't have a plan. Normal summon Avram. <laughs> oh, check this. <laughs> check this out. It's slightly bigger than your your guy. That's true. I will take four thousand damage plus whatever else you draw. But there is hope, for I have not one back row, not two back row, but also this. 
God! <laughs> Mirage of a Nightmare, do your stuff! Two cards, I get four cards! Ha cha 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 cha! I am going to go Foolish Burial here. All right. You're free to be and foolish what? if you wish. Eclipse Wyvern. Ah, I see. And I'm going to banish Blue Eyes so I don't draw it. <laughs> <laughs> Still playing blue eyes. End phase. I mean, yeah. I mean, maiden plus any seven is savage dragon, and blue eyes is a dragon. And I will tell you at the end of this match if it doesn't come up. Okay. What uh, what other things my deck can do with this? This is random, so I really gotta hope that this doesn't get rid of the things I want. No. <laughs> oh no. I was like, oh, okay, if it doesn't oh, get, if it doesn't I get the old Leonidas or the Watt Cobra, <laughs> holy! All right, uh, we're going to set this, mm. and we might as well activate this. Okay. Um, I'm going to send Sir Trickum of Clown. Okay. We're just going to get, we're just going to get this on there. And we're gonna hope the back row could save me for another turn. <laughs> still in the you draw. Still phase. have the MST in deck, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yep. Five cards. I've got to draw it now, or I'm fucking screwed. But I gotta get out of your draw phase first, buddy. Okay. Uh, oh no! I didn't mean to click. Oh no! I missed a trigger effect there. Oh boy. That's not good. Okay. Well, we're gonna go for him. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'm going to change him to defense. To defense. <laughs> Fair I'm enough. Gonna set a monster, and I will set. Uh. God, it does not matter at this point. Uh, one, two back row. It all comes down <laughs> to this. All the back row and back row city. Okay, end phase, I'm gonna goats. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Goats, goats, goats. What? Cards! Oh, because you had to draw two! I have to yeah. draw two! Oh, I didn't think about that! I didn't think about it either! The last card was the MST, by the way. It was literally the bottom card! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, what a match! Well, you, <laughs> neither of us thinking. Yeah, and it's unfortunate. I had link monsters I could have made. I think I could have chewed through everything if if that wasn't game there. Ah, uh, just unfortunate. <laughs> I guess I need more MSTs if I'm going to be playing Mirage of Nightmare, especially with the extra draws. Either that, or I got to put in like pot of avarice or something oof well there you go you get your first chaos coin mr rj yeah. how, do, how does it feel it feels great i had to <laughs> throw out literally every secret i've been sandbagging yeah. but <laughs> meanwhile you know. i still have many secrets that i just didn't unfortunately get to but uh man and that and man, if i had just got if i had gotten that that cobra if like it hadn't been, if, if it had discarded got... anything else but that cobra, <laughs> oh, it... we would have been onto a game three. But oh well, um... it came down to many thin wires. <laughs> well, the first one with 150, and the second one with 700. <laughs> yep. And you had to solemn the greater <laughs> of the mark. I had to solemn, and I think I was correct to do so. Probably it two cards I couldn't afford. Probably. Do you have an idea of the ban? You yeah, I think I think I have to go for Alpha Master of Beast. That guy's just a little too strong. Not only is it a, like a free special summon, it's just very very big. I mean, Pancratops is banned for a reason, and even though that thing is discount Pancratops, it's still it's still a Pancratops. <laughs> Way too I mean, much utility. I mean, it's arguably better Pancratops in that you get the guy at the end of the move. Yeah, you could just get uh, it back. Yeah. And especially with stuff like Scapegoat, where it's like, I didn't even think about that. You could just bounce the tokens and, and bounce four cards back to my hand. 
yeah, it it that could have been disastrous, you know, if it weren't for the fact that I was going to OTK you with those tokens anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, of all the zookeepers, this one is the king, and I think it deserves a ban. Yeah, yeah, we'll get him out of there. But there's still a whole lot next time. I'll get to pull the pity packs. You get to re-roll a card, and there'll be a new chaos rule that you'll have to tune in to find out. So make sure you come in same hard leg time, same hard leg place. And until then, good luck. And have Alpha in hand. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chaos Draft 2023 edition, episode 3. I'm, of course, Hardleg Joe, joined as always by the John Leguizamo of Yugi Tube, Mr. The RJB Zero. Now that's what I'm gonna have to Google. <laughs> not familiar with the work of actor and award winner John Leguizamo? Apparently not. <laughs> Comment to the comments if you get the reference. RJ will have to wait to find it out later. And normally I would maybe use that as a jumping point to talk about stuff, but we've got even more exciting things to talk about because today's chaos rule is quite interesting. Do you want to, do you want to tell people what we're doing today? Today we get to play a very fun rule. This is arguably one of the most chaotic chaos rules yeah. that we have on our list. Uh, today... We are playing Monster League format. Battle Monster Pack League. 3, Monster League. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. Monster League format means that all monsters are all types, except for reasons unto unknown for to me, tokens do not apply to this rule. <laughs> <laughs> but all other monsters, yeah, all yes. monsters are all types, which means a lot of the cards that normally affect, like, just warriors now work for any monster. Um, which was famously in the, the Battle Pack 3 draft. And I'm curious, did you ever play any of that back when it was released? I played a small amount of it. I didn't play nearly as much of that one as I played the first one, but I have heard good things. Yeah, ba uh, Battle Pack 3 is one of those things that... I remember I had a friend who worked at a card shop, and for the life of him, he could not sell Battle Pack 3. Because especially compared to the other, the first two Battle Packs... Like, the cards that are in there are just not good for standard play. Or even, like, legacy formats. I remember the first Battle Pack was, like, the first time I'd seen a Solemn Judgment in real life. The first time I'd seen, like, a Morphing Jar, these banned cards. I was like, oh my god, these are all in one pack? This is crazy. The first two Battle Packs were excellent examples of, like, if you wanted to draft, they were amazing. But if you, even if you didn't, they were still good sets to pick up to play with your friends and stuff like that. And then Battle Pack 3 had this really cool monster rule that was only good in draft. And then if you wanted to play it like normally, you're looking through the set list and I'm like, why would I ever want this that has like an equip spell just for warriors that's not even all that great in a pure warrior deck? <laughs> it felt like they just wanted an excuse to reprint a bunch of stuff that was never going to see play. Yeah, it was like the one reprint for Silent Psychic Wizard. Yeah. <laughs> It, w it was just not great, and it didn't sell as a result. It pretty much killed draft play. Like, after that, uh, I don't think uh, Konami has ever come out with another draft mode. Not until Speed Duels. Uh, Speed yeah. Duels, they have, they have started uh, printing cube draft rules into their ah, Speed Duel boxes, which is nice, very, very cool. Nice. Yeah, that's very cool. We'll have to check that out someday. But yeah, for now, we're just, we're taking those cool rule set and we're putting it into Chaos Draft, which means we're using it with an unbalanced card list that was not prepared for this. Might get a little insane. And on top of that, we have a little preview. Next week's episode is, is going to change things up a little bit too. Next week's Chaos rule is that we can't play any cards that we play today. So not only is our deck building going to be you know, changed up to be custom for this episode, but we gotta keep in mind that anything we do use can't use it next episode. But yeah, overall, very interesting times, lots of cool stuff ahead. Keep tuned in as we go into the pack opening dimension. All right, here we are, episode three of the Chaos Draft. We've got quite a few cores that are being built up I'm not sure if we'll have enough to make anything significant. We've still just got a whole bunch of random jank, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm here once again with Twitch chat. Twitch chat, if you want to say hello, put some cats in the chat. 
Maybe show off your critter emotes. Critter's my little mascot, aren't you, buddy? He's pretty cool. He's a nice guy, and he helps me pull cards from time to time. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna open that up. If you wanna watch this live, come to twitch.tv slash hardleggaming, where you can see in real time that I've got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, wow. Just really, really nothing. You know what? I think I'm gonna take the super rare blue eyes because I have a tune table of contents. And if we ever wanna search out a level eight, now we can. Starting off hot with Dark Beginning 1. Let's see if we can get any busted DM staples. Would love some back row removal, finally. I have been having to play around trap cards the entire time that we've been playing this. Uh, a Dark Magician. Yo, so last time I took a Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Taking Dark Magician again probably is not the play because I did take Dark Magician for that instead of the Eye of Tamias. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to end up playing a Dark Magician deck. So I think we have to go for Mask of Restrict. We are, we are going to the dark side and taking a Floodgate. Battle Pack Epic Dawn. <gasps> Graceful Charity. I believe that's not banned yet. No, we, we banned Painful Choice, we banned Pot of Greed, but Graceful Charity is still legal. I'm taking it, baby. That's gonna help, especially, especially with the Insectors. If we can get them in the graveyard, this is gonna be hot damn. Next pack, the Duelist Genesis. This one could be very good. Ooh, Mind Master is a pretty good card. We do not yet have a Mind Master. Krebens is also good, but uh, I, <laughs> I think that in Chaos Draft, Mind Master is... <gasps> Mind Master is very good this week because you contribute a Psychic type to summon a level four or lower Psychic type. I think this week I am going to have many level four or lower psychic types. I will take a mind master. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, rise and give me the fire dragon. Oh, hey, ask and you shall receive. I think that's, I think that's our second blaster if I'm not mistaken. No, we, we have a tempest. I don't think we've gotten the blaster yet, but hey, that's two dragon rulers and that'll work with the fire fist. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, Raging Battle. The rares are everything in this set, and I got one of the rares. Mirror of Oaths is cute, but I love me some Deep Sea Diva. Does Evil Thorn do us any good here? Okay, so Evil Thorn is really good in a Plant Link deck. That said, Deep Sea Diva does summon any level three or lower this week. Let's take Diva. When the collection is Joey's World. Oh, wow. Monster Reborn and Foolish Burial. Uh, I already have a Foolish and it's not particularly great, although having two for the Insectors would be really nice. Uh, this is also ultra rare. Yeah, I think we just want more consistency. Being able to get the Foolish is really nice. Yeah, we're gonna have other ways to revive things. Let's go for the Foolish Burial. Let's get two of them things in here. Yeah. Oh, wait! Oh. Evelzar Lagia. In an episode where all monsters are all types. You don't say. Sing it with me, chat. Clash of Rebellions. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Ooh, ah, we got a Kaiju, one of the, the good low level ones that can just get rid of stuff. Oh, uh, we've got Ferret Flames, which is one of the nicest removals. Uh, I think we're gonna go, when in doubt, go for the rare. Ferret Flames is funny, but we never actually played it. Let's just take this. This pack has not been terribly interesting so far this series. Uh, and it continues to not be terribly interesting so far this series. Battery Man 9 Volt is interesting because uh, it's just a battery searcher. But I'm not terribly convinced. 
Wait, resonance insect. Yeah, we'll take resonance insect. I will take resonance insect. I didn't miss the compulse. I saw it. We have more chances to get it. Wing Raiders. Uh, second MST? Second MST makes our Mirage of Nightmare better. We could get some more Raid Raptor stuff, but I think we just need more back row things. Yeah, I'm taking that. All right, Legendary Collection 5Ds, you know what to do. No way. No way. This card is not banned. I'm not seeing it on the list. I, I, I'll take it. When the illusion is dark. Ooh, oh, hey. Anomacolaris. That's, that's pretty neat. I don't think we have hardly any way to make it. I think we might just want like an Olean 80s or even a Canadia. I think we'd want these two first. Let me check what we, we got down here. Yeah, let's let's take the super rare while we can. We've got it. Well, there'll be more chances to get to get Paleozoics. Premium gold. The bling returns. Parallel Twister is spell trap removal. Kind of. Rose Lover is kind of cute. I am planning on doing plant things. This card is really good this week exactly. Card Trooper is pretty good but doesn't play with a lot of the things that I want to be doing. Okay, uh, despite the fact that Parallel Twister is an interesting removal card, I think Rose Lover is just better this week and better going into the future. We've got, there is good back row removal here somewhere. When the Saga Duelist. Well, there's the Judgment Dragon. We, we've got ourselves one. I could also get Dad. I do have a lot of dark monsters and light monsters. They're both good bosses. This requires me to go pretty hard onto light swarms though. Whereas this is just like generic. And previous episodes, I've already played like a dark deck. So it's just a matter of, are we playing something we can play this episode or are we playing something that we could do anything with? Uh, it's up to you chat. Let's, let's put it in a poll again. What do? All right, looks like we're playing it safe this time and we're taking dad, the dark arm dragon. If nothing else, you know, if we make the Insector deck, Insectors are all dark, you know. We have we have two foolish burials now and the, the graceful charity. So we can get some darks in the graveyard and do some shit, I tell you what. Duelist Saga. I mean, I could just take another Loggy. <laughs> When the collection is Kaiba, everyone gets a turn at doing stuff. All right, Tyrant Burst Dragon. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Delinquent Duo is here. Uh, that's not banned, right? Delinquent Duo's not banned? Let me double check. No, no it's not. Yeah, let's just take Delinquent Duo. Why not? You know, just have that. Everything else here is like, eh, okay, I can do it. But Delinquent Duo. Oh boy. Dual Overload. Phantasme. You do not say. Phantasme. Yeah, we're taking Phantasme. When the saviors are dark. Oh, Kagari. Oh boy. Just what I always wanted. Now we do have I believe let's let's go ahead and uh, reset all the filters. Striker. We have a ray. We have the the multi modules. We could take the at I guess the afterburners are a secret rare. This is probably the better thing to take. Kagari is really we don't have anything to get back. Yeah, we take the secret first. There will hopefully be more chances to grab Kagari, but we've got to get this one. Maximum gold. Do we need another blue eyes? Uh, Super Poly is interesting. Super Poly is actually really good because of the starving venom that we have. Toad is banned, I'm P sure. Yeah, we take Super Poly. Super Poly is very strong for us. When the power is dual, oh, 
baby. We get an infinite impermanence. I'll just add that if and you don't mind. Let's get that. Maximum gold, El Dorado. Round two really wants me to take Dark Magician, doesn't it? Is, it, is this our second Psyframe Gear Gamma? It is not. It is our first Gamma. But if we get Gamma, we also get Driver. And then we can just start collecting Gammas. I think that's pretty good. This is what happens when the duelist rises. Ooh, tidying. We could, we could tidy up a little bit. We could also play this stuff, perhaps. Uh, we do also need some warrior stuff. What does this do? Target a dragon and one monster, return them to the hand. So that works with any dragon. This is a generic level five, but it doesn't do anything except to have 2000 attack. And this, you kind of need other stuff. Yeah, I think we just take tidying. We've got enough dragon support that this might actually be worth it. You've heard of Ghosts from the Past. Now for Ghosts from the Past 2. Uh, Fossil Warrior Skull Knight's pretty good, if I remember correctly. This also lets us take Fossil Fusion. Yeah, this is also really good with Dogmatica Punishment. This card is really strong. Dimension Force. Uh, I don't know what any of these cards do. I think I'm probably going to take Yule because it's pretty good this week. And also, if we start getting Therians, like, there's no shot we're going to get Regulus. But what if we did? What if we did? Season 2 of the Legendary Duelists. All right, now we've got the Overload Fusion. That would have been great if we'd went harder on the, uh, the, the dang old Cyber Dragons. But we didn't. But we still can. Got Blue Eyes stuff. We've got Luna Light stuff. I don't think we've tried to go Luna Lights this time. Legendary Duelists Season 3. Oh, we got it. We got Malicious Bane. This is quite possibly the best payoff for heroes possible. I think we have to take Malicious Bane. I think we have to take this card. All right, so I just now remembered that episode three, the chaos rule is uh, the Monster League. I probably should have had that in mind for the first half of the pools because that's gonna be important. Um, but this has reminded me that, yeah, we, we're, we're going to be playing by Monster League rules. And in that case, Rose Archer is just negate any trap. And if I ever get a plant-based deck, this might actually be unironically good. So we're going to go ahead and take that. All right, Tactical Masters. Uh, that's a lot of cards I don't want. <laughs> Wait, Fair Welcome is pretty good. Especially this week. Just sets a trap from your deck. El Dorado. Oh, hey. IP Mascarena. That's pretty neat. Broken Nye line is also funny. And Romulus. We do have a, a fucking Dragunity. We do have a Dragon Ravine. And we can make this this turn. Uh... This is rare. This is harder to get. Yeah, we just take the Mascarena. Hey, Mascarena, Mascarena, Mascarena. All right, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. These cards suck. Uh, Toolbox is funny. Toon Black Luster Soldier is also funny. Wait, did we get a Starlight Rare Arm? We got the Starlight Rare Arm. <laughs> Amazing. Best card. I think... We take Toolbox. I know that Snatch Steel is banned, but there are some pretty good equip spells around. Yeah, Toolbox is just more generically good. All right, that is that for our main packs. We're going to open the Chaos packs next. And finally, Battle of Legends, Crystal's Revenge. <laughs> Oh, I went through all the trouble of putting an access code talker in the, the thing, and then we just got a... <laughs> we just got one out of the Starlight Pack. Two of them things, two of them things. The question is, do we take two just to be really funny? 
Or do we take the the, the revived King Hades so we can get the uh, the plague spreader zombie? I don't think we really need two, but at the same time, if Robert, no, uh, it'll be it'll be a surprise once. But after that, it's cool that we got the starlight. But I think we got to go for, I because I'm thinking, what am I gonna use the plague spreader on? I do have some zombie stuff. Ugh. Fuck it, we take the second access code. We're getting that starlight rare, baby. All right, time for the chaos packs. We've got we've got two of the hard leg pap. Flip them up. Well, there's there's an Ursartic. There's a uh, fossil. We've got a beast Noxious. This is actually a pretty good gladiator beast if we're trying to get that. So I think we go for Noxious just to add that in there. All right, starting off with hard legs pack. Uh, Elder Entity and Tiss is pretty good. Weathering Soldier is great because it is one of the fossil cards. Oh, let's go for Weathering Soldier. And then attempt number two. Well, we've got the, the Skullgar and the, the, the Chronomaly one, but we don't have enough Chronomalies. Got all the Earth Sartic stuff, all the... We got High Ritual Art. That's funny. Can use to be Ritual Summon any monster from the deck by tributing normal monsters from your hand. But we'd have to play a lot of normal monsters or have ways to search them. Uh, I think we're going to add the Skullgar. We'll just get that in there so we have it. All right, hard leg chaos pack number two. Uh, yeah, let's grab Harvester. If we can get to three Harvester, we can do things. And now for RJ's mysterious packs. Uh, I think we're gonna go for, the, like our chances of getting right and are very low. So let's go ahead and take that. And now it's time for my chaos pack. What will we get? Baby Sarasaurus is funny. Wind up magician, also very funny. Did we take a deep sea diva earlier? This would be our second diva. Okay, I'll take diva. I'll take Diva here. And we'll flip up pack number two. I know we've gone for enough milling stuff. Let's go ahead and take an Arc Break Dragon. I think that'll be useful in the long run. And from there, we've got all our Chaos Packs. All that remains is the Pity Packs. Next pack, Rise of the Storm Monarch. There we go. We're starting to see Monarchs. Uh, Yang Zings are also cool, especially this week, especially now that we have, um, Dang Long. Maybe we just take a Swanee or Terraforming just to get Terraforming. If we can get three Terraforming, pretty much any field spell based strategy is good for us. Terraforming isn't banned. Why don't we take a Terraforming? I don't know what we're going to be going after in the future. But the ability to get any field spell can't be bad, and getting more access to this card is pretty good. All right, and finally, since I lost last episode, I get to open three pity packs, three Master Duel secret packs added in here. And after looking over all my pulls, I've decided to go into Insect Metamorphosis, which has the Battle Wasps and the Insectors. I feel like we have, like, just enough of those along with the draw power and the, the the like foolish burials and stuff that we might be able to make them work as an engine if we can just get a few more of the insects and there's some pretty decent common stuff in here like insector center centipede and the, the the battle wasp that like special summons one so let's flip them up three of these see what we get well well there's a second hornet uh, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, pack number two? Yeah, I think we just want to go for this. Well, we'll try this for now. And then we get our third pack. Flip them up! Uh, well, we got the, we got the centipede. Centipede is going to be hard to get in the regular packs, and here it's at, at rare. So, not bad. We've now got a, a centipede, a dragonfly, and two hornets. Plus the zek trike, plus foolish burial, plus all sorts of other stuff. So let's take this into tank and see if we have what it takes to make this work. I, I doubt it, but, but maybe, maybe, we'll see. All right, ladies and non-ladies, we find ourselves with an interesting conundrum. On the one hand, this week is the Monster League rules. All monsters, all types, which really opens up what we can do with deck building. On the other hand, next week, we cannot play any card that we played this week. So not only are we forced to look at the stuff that, that may be useful only in the Monster League rules, 
but we also really can't play anything generic. Stuff like the Mirror Forces that have really put in a whole lot of work in the first two episodes, I don't really want to play this week, simply because if I do, then I can't play them next week. That, we, we have some stuff that's probably better. Stuff like Battle Guard Howling, that's essentially like a storming mirror force that burns your opponent if they attack a warrior. But of course, all monsters are warriors, so as long as I have a monster on the field, this is pretty good. We've also got stuff like Dragon Maid Tidying, Compulse, usually for, for dragons, but now for everything. We've got Shiranui Swallow Slashed, which is just, um, what's it called? Icarus Attack, but for everything? Except for it's Icarus Attack plus one, because you also get to banish a Shiranui from your deck. And we just so happen to have Spirit Master, who pops a card on Banish. So this is blowing up three cards if I can get anything on the field. And in addition to that, basically our win condition this time is Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Let's just blow this up here real quick. Made with Buster Blader and, in our case, any monster, because every monster is a dragon, must be fusion summoned, can't attack directly, gains a thousand for each dragon your opponent controls or in their graveyard, so every monster they control or in their graveyard, Change all monsters your opponent controls to defense position. They cannot activate their effects. If this monster attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing. So basically, if we get this out, we win. We just win because everything that this normally applies to dragons just applies to everything. Um, and we can make this a couple of different ways. The main one is with halfness. Yep, we're doing tier laments. When this is sent to the graveyard, you can fusion summon a fusion monster from the extra deck by placing the materials from your hand, field, or graveyard, including this card. So this card is the one dragon card, so all we have to do is get Buster Blader and this into the graveyard. That's why we're playing stuff like Resonant Insect that lets me add this from my deck to my hand. That's why we're playing Two Foolish Burial. We've got the One Graceful Charity, which is something I maybe want to hold on to until next week, except it's so good in this graveyard-related deck. Same thing with something like, um... Oh, hey, how come it's not here? Did, did I forget it? Oh my, one second. I almost forgot Mirage of Nightmare. You gotta have the Mirage of Nightmare, especially now since, yeah, we've got twice as many chances to get rid of it. And even if we don't, again, if we can just bin this and a Buster Blader or some way to get into Buster Blader, we're good. In addition to that, we've got Return of the Zombies, which is able to summon back Buster Blader. Same thing with Back to the Front. Um, and also, where's it at? Lone Fire Blossom. This is probably the best Monster League card you could do. Tribute this, summon any monster from the deck. It just summons anything. And we've got quite a few decent things to summon in addition to the Buster Blader. I mean, even Buster Blader by himself is not bad. Gains 500 for every dragon monster your opponent controls or in the graveyard. So yeah, just every monster that RJ has, this thing gets 500 attack. So it can get quite beefy quite quickly. Uh, and that's the hope. And I'm thinking that RJ is probably going to go along the same lines. I haven't looked at anything he has. But if his pools are anything like mine, there's a whole bunch of graveyard stuff that has to do with typings that becomes very powerful. That's why we're still maining the Ghost Bell, and also why we've decided to put in the Fossil Fusions. If you don't know, this lets you fuse by banishing the materials from either player's graveyard. And the Fossil Monsters are one Rock Monster and one level 5 or 6 Monster. Or this is a rock monster in a level 4 or lower. With of course rock being anything in this instance. And then we've just got a whole bunch of monsters we can make. Most of these are stuff that we wouldn't play normally. And we may not even necessarily summon. We've got a couple level 7s since we've got Gale. Since we've got the Ghost Bell that we can make. Since we have so many ways to make 7s and also some other 7s. I've, I've included Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Might be funny. We're playing both the Access Code Talkers. I, I don't think we'll be able to summon them, but it'll be funny if we happen to get two. And then something like Raten, two monsters with the same type, so any any two plus monsters. 
Pretty good. Oh yeah, that's that's why we're playing the uh, excess code talker. Because we can make update jammer with anything. Any any two monsters makes this and then any four. Granted, we can't spam a lot. We don't have a whole lot of special summons, but that's like pretty much everything else in the deck is just something to special summon, something that special summons, special summons, and, and graveyard mills. And then like Tragodia is just, we need two more cards to fill in. The, the Dragon Rulers are level 7s that can summon, e summon themselves by banishing any two monsters. Uh, we've got a couple other things in the, the side deck. I don't think any of them will really come in. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We're going a high roll. If it works, oh boy will it work. And if it doesn't work, well we'll be set for next week because we didn't use most of our really good traps. And I think a trap heavy deck is going to be pretty effective next time. Okay, real talk, I might be throwing both this week and next week by going with this strategy. <laughs> so this is a weakened version of the deck that I built for this week before. The problem is next week is the chaos rule where we aren't allowed to play any of the cards that we played this week, which means if I go with the most powerful version of this deck, I will have nothing to work with next week. But this deck has a really sick one card combo by way of Deep Sea Diva into Mind Master that allows me to go into Borlode, Savage Dragon, Evelzar, Logia, Spheres, Pass, and that is just too cool to pass up. So I am throwing out a bunch of my best cards and a lot of very type specific cards in order to hopefully facilitate that combo and a couple of others. I am running Dragon Link featuring a lot of not dragons, but because of the rule this week, they're all dragons. I'm excited to run this deck. I am horrified to see what power level hard leg was able to achieve. Let's see where this goes, folks. And today. Ha -ha! Ah, I have been beaten by the way of the machinist. Scissored! And I <laughs> will be going second this time. Oh, damn, and I didn't open with my ridiculous going first combo. <laughs> Good. Um, Wait, you have combos this time? We're I have, so league. I will warn you, there is a version of this deck that I call Monster Madness that is quite possibly the most busted stack of cardboard I have ever done anything with. Uh, and I had to nerf it because I would have had nothing to work with next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, instead, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to normal summon Balancer Lord. Ah, perfectly I will balanced. activate Balancer Lord and Man summon Cybers Warrior Dragon Psychic uh, plan <laughs> gadget. Well, you know, I was gonna say it's like this gives you the the normal summon of another cyber. So I'm like, oh, so you could normal summon anything, but you're just using it to summon another cyber. You could have done this any other week, RJ. <laughs> That's okay. I actually left out the most important type in its name, which is dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Great! And back row and pass the turn. Fantastic. Oh, fine. No, that's perfect. That's everything I ever wanted. I had, I had like the perfect card as long as I didn't. I drew my garden. Oh I no! A garden in forty cards. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whatever. I don't need anything. <gasps> Spell I drew the combo. Or... Okay. All right. Are you ready for this? I, I don't I would, know yeah. what this... So the turn one version of this combo typically ends on Evelzar Logia. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to do with it now that I already possess <laughs> Evelzar Logia. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to normal summon Deep Sea Diva. All right. Summon a level three from your deck. At any level three or lower yes. monster. And the level three sea serpent I am going to choose to summon <laughs> is Mind Master. <laughs> ah, okay. okay, now I understand. Now I get to figure out the version of this combo that already has Logia on the board. Okay, uh, so this just special summons any level four or lower monster from the deck. Literally any level four or lower monster. So we're going to start by sacking off Diva. 
and All the right. first thing that I am going to summon off of this Mind Master is Mind Resonance Master. Insect. And I am going to activate Mind Master again, sacking off my Resonance Psychic to special summon from deck a, a Psychic Lover, one might say. <laughs> <laughs> and with the resonance psychic in grave, or sorry, the resonance insect now in graveyard, I will activate it to add red eyes darkness metal insect from my deck <laughs> to my hand. Okay, it's at this point that I need to consider the way that I get to my main combo here. Uh, I am going to activate Mind Master once again, sending Rose Lover. Shit, I put this Logia in objectively the worst position. <laughs> uh, so that's what no, I'm it'll work out. on. You know, it'll, sometimes, it'll work out. sometimes you win because you win, and sometimes you win because your opponent loses. And at this point, I'm just hoping you lose. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, One way or another. So I am going to summon off of my deck a uh, 22 Brigade Nerval. <laughs> Try Brigade? <laughs> nah, all Brigade. <laughs> Everything Brigade. Um, <laughs> He's not picky, you know. <laughs> and then I am going to activate a uh, Rose Lover in Graveyard to special summon from my hand uh, Time Breaker Plant. Gotcha. Uh, and then I will use the Mind Master. Oh no, this doesn't do it! Yes! I've got a Mind Master <laughs> a couple of extra times in order for this to work and I don't know if I have it in the bank right now. We'll find out. Uh, we're going to sack off uh, Time Breaker Psychic. It does not get... go to the graveyard probably have game Summon. right now if you just move everything to attack. This guy. Eclipse Wyvern. And then we will sack off the Eclipse Wyvern. I need one more for the combo to work its intended way. <laughs> uh, um, uh, I'm just suffering from an, from an embarrassment of riches here. <laughs> I think we go... <laughs> I think we go... Silver Gadget here? We'll use Eclipse Wyvern in Grave. I'll banish... Uh, sure, that's a funny card for me to banish off of this. Uh, Therian Duke Yule. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> And Does then it gives a monster 700 attack. Okay, and now we can do. Oh, I didn't need to summon that silver gadget. Now we're going to summon Rescue Rabbit. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, and now it's time to activate the effect of uh, my 22 Brigade Nerval. Rescue Ditto. And I'll summon. <laughs> Sorry, you just scold, right? Oh, I was, I'm sitting here like, what Tri-Brigade do you possibly have? And then it's like, oh, oh, uh, you can use the Tri-Brigades to get anything. Yeah, and then I will use the Eclipse Wyvern. I don't really think I actually want to use this Resonance Insect to grab back my Therian Duke Yule. Uh, and then I will link off my 22 Brigade... Nerval uh, for guard everything LP. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. I see. And then I will activate guard everything LP and I will summon a, an angel trumpeter from my deck. A tuna. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to summon using my Sorry, Yuja, and my Elpi. I'll summon <laughs> Hieratic <laughs> Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Um, All right. Okay. I feel like you already had game, and then you just got rid of a bunch of the, uh, your attack. 
I'll, I'll have I'll have game in a second. You're not. <laughs> It'll get there. You'll, uh, get, you'll, be, you'll get back to game is what you I'm said. determining if there are more negates that I can make right now. Um, this was arguably a throw right here, but we're going to go for it. Uh, I am going to summon... Uh, any two level Deep three sea or lower beast fa and uh, arch beast eccentric. Oh, they don't have to be the same name or anything. No, they do not. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, and then I will activate mind master. I'll sack off deep beast diva. I'm just, I'm just hitting everything right now. I'm just, just going through my stuff. entire deck. Uh, I will and get things. Psychic gadget, and then it is time for the reason I went through this ridiculous combo. Just to make Boral load Savage Dragon. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's exactly the reason the I did this. The longest, most complicated Boral load Savage Dragon. Hey, it's Boral load Dra Savage Dragon plus spheres. So you know, uh, I I don't think you needed to go this far. I think you could have done this in the the non uh, Monster League. In fact, I think you did last week. <laughs> yeah, but this way I get to do a one-card format <laughs> Borlode Savage <laughs> and that's much funnier. Mm -hmm. uh, Just realizing I probably could have stopped all of this if I had realized something, but uh, you could have just negated it with Lagia. And then, okay. Uh, I am going to activate Mind Master one more time. This is dangerous. <laughs> I just realized how many life points I'm paying. If you have a way of clearing all of this, I'm probably dead. Yeah, uh, probably. But, you know, uh, we also have the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Sure. Um, and because we have Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, we also have a level four monster from my graveyard. And because we have a level four monster from my graveyard, I also have a second Evelzar Logia. On the board. There's two of them. Well, I'm kidding. Why did you pick these up in the first place? Are there you planning to build dinosaurs without Pankratops? It was this week, and there was literally nothing else playable oh. in the pack. So I was like, you know what? Being able to summon Logia this week seems pretty solid. Fair, uh, fair enough. I did not go that hard into this week. Let's go to battle phase. Okay. <laughs> I'll attack in with Logia. Uh, yeah. I will not activate a fast effect here. Uh, I think you can negate this with Boral Load. Uh, we're a yes, but it doesn't destroy it. <laughs> Interestingly. Uh, but we're probably going to have to try it again. Uh, and then I will attack in with Lagia. All right. I will and try it again. Go for it again. Okay. 3,000. You want to bounce it back with speed? <laughs> I'm really tempted to. Uh... Yeah, see, I, uh, ironically, if you just had the two Lagias... Trigodi is like one of the few things that actually gets over that because you cannot you cannot negate a monster effect even if that effect would summon. I'm a little confused. It's not actually allowing me to tribute off seal, uh, seals here. Um, this oh once per opponent's turn. Oh, it's the opponent's turn. Uh, awkward. So I guess I don't win this turn. <laughs> I guess, uh, man, I should have gone in harder. I should have summoned the Yule from my hand. <laughs> Dragonia preserves! I mean, I'm still taking a lot of damage, and you let me tell you, a lot of damage. this Ascendant of Thunder in my hand, I don't think I'm going to be able to pay the 3,000 to summon it. <laughs> I guess I end here? I mean, you have four disruptions in Chaos <laughs> Three Draft negates format. and a seals seems like it's probably okay. Oh, yeah. I wonder if you'll be able to stop. Who knows? Lone Fire Blossom? <laughs> I will not Logia that, but I will Spheres it. Okay. 
And then let me go. Oh, you got an amorphage Goliath in there too. Uh, I do not have that immediately available. <laughs> I will. I will. I mean, it is any monster. So if you've got like a Pachycephalo or something, you could summon that too. That would be incredible. But unfortunately, I'm not that based. Part of me is like, I don't think I'll get a chance to do this again. I'm like, I, I'll, I'll admit, no. Ah, fuck it. I'll just activate it. Foolish burial. Yep. I just like to bury things. What can I say? Let's let's see what it is before I decide what to okay. do here. Just halfness. Halfness? <laughs> you know, no big deal. You <laughs> like tier limits, right? <laughs> yeah, we are a hundred percent bore loading uh, this come one. Come on, you're like, I can't fusion summon just a little bit. <laughs> If you fusion sub summon something with 3,000 or more attack, I lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. Hey! Uh, See, the problem is I, I have a pretty good combo, but it's a two-card combo. And the chances that I get to that are low. Ugh. It's not full combo, but it's close. I didn't open with anything. <laughs> well, uh, here we go, I guess. Balancer Lord. Of course. Activate Balancer Lord. Normal summon Mind Master. <laughs> uh, and there you go. That is that is my turn one combo. There we go. The same thing again, but with fundamental differences. Uh, so it is written, so it shall be. I pass my turn on that. Uh, this wasn't the first turn, that was the second turn. What? That was the second <laughs> turn? No! Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't I, realize I was going to say I had I passed just because the there's. <laughs> I could have just. You could have, and I am uncertain of why you did not, but that's... I did not realize this was not turn one. I, that's, that's fine. I've um, done this combo so many times to make sure that I don't mess it up. Um, how important is this back row to me? Not particularly. You're targeting Saryuja. Perhaps. That's probably fine. I'm not going to use a negate on that. Probably. I mean, who can say? Okay. But normal summon Rose Lover. You're not the only one who found it. Okay. I will not negate the summon. I will spheres it, though. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and I will summon from my deck Silver Gadget. A very important card. With Something which, that will surely be the, the difference between game and not. I will <laughs> summon Cyber's Gadget? Sure. Yeah. Whatever you feel like, man. Uh, anyway. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, this was this has been this has been a good time. I'm, it's quite, I'm glad we did this. We quite should... <laughs> one-sided. I'm curious. We we gotta give people a game where something actually happens. Uh, can your deck do anything without Mind Master, or is it just entirely Mind Master Turbo? The Bor so my deck can do things without Mind Master. It's just Mind Master makes it so that I do everything in one turn. Okay. Because uh, I yeah. can summon Borolode with Angel Trumpeter plus any four. I can summon Logia with any two fours. Red so I'd say is... we'll, we'll go ahead and, and count the win. We'll, we'll go ahead and put that up there. But uh, let, let's do a third duel and take out the Mind Master so we can see I what will, this would I will be side like out if you Mind didn't Master. have the biggest combo. Okay. okay. Would you like to go first or second? I had already picked. Um, let me go second. Let me try going second again. Okay. I will go first. And this Let's... time I will not have the Mind Master combo. And I'll tell you, my hand looks significantly less exciting this time around. Okay, maybe uh, we'll make it past I turn will normal two. <laughs> Silver Gadget. I'll set to, I will apparently not play around Mech Knights. But you have, you have no, <laughs> no monster in hand you can summon? Nope. <laughs> wow. Um, Logia turn one is not happening this time. Okay, so here's a nice pickup I got this week. Hold! <laughs> 
pretty, pretty <laughs> it's neat. It's going to be pretty decent in future weeks. Pretty neat, you might say. I get to send three, right? Two. Oh, no, I just two, and then I get two. to... Gotcha. I'll just send both the residents and sex. Oh, it's only field to graveyard. Oh, oh that's rip. that's fine. I've, I've got okay. my combo. All right, um, we're about to find out what happens when you mill Murley. Okay, show it Havnis. to me. I have no response. Okay. Wait. Was it Havnis both times, or do you have Havnis and Merlin? <gasps> I just what? have Havnis. What did you just reveal to me? <laughs> what did you just show me? Wait. <laughs> Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, or should I say, the Everything Destroyer. Oh my god. And that's, you know, I had the first turn I had. I had drawn into the, the Buster Blader. Wait, like, oh, now I have no way to get to the graveyard. This is an infinite monster negate, this format. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I had something that was, like, you know, pretty pretty busted, a little busted from time to time, but um, didn't get a chance to, to get it out quite. Not until you already had all the things. And yeah, I, I, I could have summoned it first turn because I had the foolish burial, and I was like... Eh, uh, you know, this is gonna be a longer game. I wanna wait for him to get a couple cards in the graveyard so it can boost up its an attack. That's why I wanted to go second. Cause like well, either having, this or Buster Blader is just huge. Having seen you resolve uh, Majesty's Ruler here, I unfortunately <laughs> have to rain on your parade. Tidy, yeah, I figured there had to be some kind of back row. All right. And with that, we go to main two. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. I'll just uh, set a that's, couple that's a cards, row. you know. Yes. Yes, they do lots of stuff, and that is not a bluff. All right. I most certainly have things I can do, young man. Well, we will find out what they were are. I will normal summon Silver Gadget. All right. I will use its effect. <gasps> you have a target for it. Angel Trumpeter. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Let's go battle phase. I'm just going to see what happens when I get it with these guys. Not much. <laughs> Stuff. All right, we're just things dealing maybe. Some damage. Yeah. Occurrences. 1900 beat sticks. See, this is what I was expecting. Maybe a nice yeah. rank four. <laughs> to be fair, so I will tell you, I have fired off every good like every good combo in my collection this week so if i if this didn't work out there was a world where i just threw two weeks in a row <laughs> <this move. laughs> got the log yeah. so good uh, we are literally playing dino rabbit because every monster in our deck is both a dino and a beast another one let's send Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Oh, no. Let's uh, banish my two Resonators, who are dragons. I, that is a monster effect. I cannot Logia that card. Yep. It's pretty neat. Uh -oh. oh, and you are about to double Resonance Insect. They really chose not to put a hard OPT on that, didn't they? Yeah, just no, no resonance. It's, uh, and, you know, I, I didn't even imagine that this would be a thing that would happen. Uh, but I really can just because it's any insects. Wait, send wait, Buster no, Blader, no, don't you send Havnus. No! <laughs> Activate Havnus. God damn it. <laughs> this is the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever oh, I didn't realize how consistent this was. I didn't get a chance, but this is just silly. Um, oh no! Yeah, it's pretty pretty neat. You might you might say. And then this does piercing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does it only uh, affect your opponents? I'm going to have to world legacy clash away my Lagia. Oh, okay. It can't attack directly anyway, so. Yeah. We're good. We're fine. Uh, main phase two. Okay, so now that you've got, what, two monsters in the graveyard, let's go ahead and activate Fossil Fusion. And what is let's going summon... On? <laughs> let's You're summon Skullgar so using your... <laughs> 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 
This is a silly deck. <laughs> um. Oh wait, that remains. Fuck. No! <laughs> Oh wait, you're in defense, it doesn't matter. I might be in a little bit of trouble. Just a, just a wee bit. Just a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, Blaster comes back. Okay, you're in slightly less trouble, you know. Wait, is that permanent? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, whatever, we'll just do that. Okay. Uh, Skullgar clears! <laughs> Go, my giant rock! 500! I don't know, I guess I'll just put this guy into defense mode. Hilariously, if Skullgar didn't have... No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you draw something good, RJ? Did you have, you have something nice there? <laughs> no! <laughs> this card couldn't have been a turn earlier for me. <laughs> oh. Now you got the dark hole. Bastard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I don't got a whole lot else I could do except just poke with this fossil guy. He's very strong, to be fair. He's pretty, yeah, 25 and piercing. And I will say, damage. I did pull the okay. fossil guys. I just did not consider the fact that fossil fusion banishes everything from your opponent's graveyard <laughs> if you want. It's just like, oh, this was another card that would have four. been phenomenal like three turns ago. Yeah, I think you've got it. I don't. If I had drawn a monster at any time over the last couple of turns, yeah, I might have been in this one, but I, I did not. If thing were different, other thing would have happened. <laughs> do you have Do you have a uh, a trap that's going to stop this? Nope. Oh, okay. Well then, I guess I now we just my fair welcome labyrinth. <laughs> uh, after I lost a fiend, and fair welcome labyrinth would have dealt with the dude. Uh, you had no more monsters you could summon that would have been fiends. Yep, I had double red MD in my hand. <laughs> 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 Just like, well, after oh, that fossil I fusion, see. not really a lot to do with my life. All the bricks everywhere. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it's it. it do you, do you want to do what I've, you said you you summoned off or you showed off everything you could do right? I'm pretty sure there's nothing more that my can uh, my deck can do. There are some extra deck monsters I didn't summon, but yeah, Mind Master basically blows my entire strategy onto the yeah. board at once. <laughs> and then if you don't have Mind Master, then it's it's this guy. And yeah, that's, that's I'm not sure if we how much of that got included earlier, but it, it really is interesting to see like. Everything you pulled uh, that was that was super useful today was all stuff that you pulled this time in preparation for the the Monster League. Whereas on my end, everything I had is just like stuff I, I had tunneled into uh, a couple episodes ago and was like, eh, maybe eventually this will be useful. And then come to find out like, oh, oh, in this format, this is crazy. I mean, even yeah, just yeah, like sure. like a uh, lone fire into Buster Blader himself, when it's like five hundred for every monster in your graveyard. Like, if you did a combo or two, he's up to like five thousand, ten thousand. Oh, okay. We going again? I, we, we we. I was just I was just doing this <laughs> while I was like, I might as well have like the the uh, chaos draft equivalent of Subway Surfer playing on the side going right now. Yeah, we just got the podcast going. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it was it was really really interesting. I'm very excited that I got to that I got to play basically all the cool things that. Yeah, it just turned out that my polls this week lined up with nothing good for the long game and everything good for exactly this. Yeah. Week. <laughs> uh, and it is it is past. <laughs> it is really interesting too because I, I was talking with uh, Mr. Doug Zeef a few a few months ago when, oh. when we had our crossover, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe for one of these seasons of Chaos Draft doing Monster League because I, I, he had mentioned like really liking Monster League stuff." Um, and now that I've played this, I'm like, no, no, that would <laughs> never work. Yes, we're on episode three and we're already going like infinite combos. Monster League really just cannot exist outside of outside of what it was born outside to of do. The battle pack, yeah. I think I think just the ability that I can turn anything into LP uh combined with 
mind master i mean mind master is already banned obviously but like yeah. uh you know combined with uh anything is spheres combined with rota is any monster combined yeah. with lone fire is any monster combined speaking of lone fire is any monster Ooh, um yeah we are not we are not i i like how we have just what Okay, I guess I guess I was allowing it. Oh, okay. Neat. We'll just get yeah. a dang old Buster Blader. Oh, he big. He big. Look at that sword. It's like a scimitar. Uh, battle phase. Uh, we have just decided to do another game. I'll take it. We're just uh, rolling in, you know. It's like Adele rolling in the deep. Yeah, we will... Spheres contribute from your hand. Things I learned today. Oh, you're not getting rid of the Buster Blader. We will deal with Buster Blader in due time. Ah, sure. We'll see. Cool. Crack. But yeah, that's definitely... It's It's interesting in general, because I think Monster League is one of those big, great, like, what-ifs. Like, could this be an alternate format? It, it opens up so many things, but I think this is... Even this is shown that it's like... Yeah, this is just crazy. Uh, you would have wow. to really curate the formula. And yeah, Miracle I just have like nine copies incredible. of Foolish Burial. <laughs> it's really kind of amazing I didn't pull this off in the first thing, considering how easy it's been to pull it off here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I once again just straight up lose the game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I think that's, that's something I talked about in deck building. I think you mentioned a little bit too, the fact that because we know everything we use next week can't be used. There's a lot of stuff like, I wasn't even playing the Mirror Forces this week. I am on Mirror Force this week because yeah. I have a really, really good trap lineup for next week, <laughs> I think. Uh, so but good it, that you don't even need the Mirror Force. I was just like, uh, Mirror Force, we're going to be on, what, week four? I don't think Mirror Force is quite going to cut it at this point. I don't think there's a single level four lower monster in my deck that does not get positively dumpstered by Destruction Swordsman, right? No, you just you just got to, without activating monster effects, make something that has more than 4,800 attack. <laughs> my deck is nothing but monster effects. <laughs> <laughs> I built it's... this deck so I can mind master 35 times in one turn and do nothing else. <laughs> Which of my guys is the highest defense, so I'm least likely to lose on the spot. Okay, just gonna... Someday we'll get to a trap card, surely. I just like this duality, too, where it's like, we both had absolutely <laughs> busted combos, but yours is like a 10 minute long thing, and mine is just like, Fusion summon? <laughs> Just <laughs> foolish burial haveness. <laughs> foolish burial. To be fair, I had to foolish burial haveness and Buster Blader because I only have uh, one of each. That's true. But, you know, it's just when, yeah. you know, Miracle Rupture becomes foolish burial in this format. All right, just we got this. everything. Uh, got this it? card would be spectacular if, if I could activate monster effects right now. <laughs> Well, we got, we managed to get two matches in here. I won yeah. one of them and you won one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you took out your best card. The real loser here, the real winner here was Mindmaster. The real winner here was the audience. They got four duels for the price of two. Wait, I can summon Elpy. Does it do anything? Not at all, but no. I could summon Elpy right now. So it just, just makes gonna... me stronger because every monster you put on the field just gives me another thousand. Oh, yeah, oh, that's by a the new way, one. Here's... <laughs> there we go. Uh... Oh, wait. Let's put that back in the deck. There we go. Yeah, I mean you got it. I, yeah, I was gonna play. Gonna... I was gonna play. How big can we make this Buster Blader? But even then, there's only so much I can do when I'm not allowed to activate monster. Yes, yeah, it's just too big, <laughs> too strong. But yeah, that does. Oh, leave, there's my... one more thing we need to get to before the end of this episode, and that is okay. the ban, which you know is kind of interesting because you know if I was going to ban a card knowing we were doing Monster League, I would ban the Mind Master. But even though that's like a broken card in the regular series, I don't think you could get enough good psychics to make that worth it. 
Plus stuff like uh, one for one is like notoriously difficult to get in Chaos Draft. There's only like one or two sets that have it and it's always very rare. So I think I'm fine letting you keep that. I think instead I'm going to hit something that you got onto early, a boss monster you've been relying on that I don't have, and frankly I'm tired of dealing with. So RJ, get your <laughs> Boral Load Savage Dragon and no! throw that into the dumpster. <laughs> You're not allowed to negate me anymore with that shit. <laughs> I, I, that's really fair. I, I had been planning on building up to Dragon Link over time. I probably could still, but Boralode Savage Dragon is so goddamn strong if it's... you can get onto it, and it doesn't get exactly impermed like it did last week. Yeah. Uh, it, it really is in this format, uh, negates are very hard to come by. So something that's borderline generic like that, where just any level 8, any level 8 synchro, you could just go into it. It's like, yeah, you have to build a link beforehand, but as we found out, that's not too difficult. Yeah, for sure. It's very strong. It's one of my favorite modern boss monsters, I will say. It's just got the flavor, the je ne sais quoi of a boss monster. It's yeah. huge, it has a negate, it's a big gun dragon, you have to do a big combo to get it. I've never gotten to play it in actual TCG Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm glad <laughs> I at least got to summon one 4400 for negate Boral Load in this series. The biggest Boral Load. And I mean, you summoned it before. I mean, that it's just one of those things where I'm looking at everything else in your card pool and I'm like, there's some stuff that might be worrisome later, but that's going to be a thorn in my side for the rest of the series, unless I get rid of it now. <laughs> yeah, so, for sure. Tune in next week. We'll be doing something very similar. Things the power level should be back down a little bit if this was a little <laughs> bit too fast for you. And you'll be seeing very different cards because everything that's that was legal this episode, gone next episode. Completely different stuff. And until next time, good luck. And god damn Mind Master is a busted <laughs> card. Fuck that guy. Oh, fuck mine, master. Good luck and fuck mine, master. Welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft 2023, episode 4. I'm, of course, Hard Leg Joe, if in you didn't know. Joined, as always, by the Tucker Carlson of Yu-Gi-Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> there are no good connotations. I didn't have to Google that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, you were talking about this before the show. You're like, I have Google ready to look up whatever you call me. And I was like, oh, I forgot to get a name today. Usually I plan this stuff in advance. I just went with America's biggest asshole who just got fired. I, I opened Excellent. up Twitter and I looked what was trending and that was the first thing. So I was like, yeah, sure. You just got fired, you know. I don't know what there is to say about him. I feel like just about everyone realizes he's an asshole. We don't need him. Hopefully he just sort of like fades away like Bill O'Reilly did. But yeah, we're back here again to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And unlike last time, hopefully things won't go quite so off the rails. Our power level has been pulled back. This time the theme for, for the episode is just we can't use any cards that we used last time. Which actually isn't too difficult because last time we ended up using a lot of things like Lone Fire Blossom that I can't use now because I have three plants. <laughs> I, I, I'll i tell you, I went back and looked at my deck from last week and I was like, oh no, I <laughs> fired off a lot of very good, shockingly generic cards ah, that would help okay. me a lot this week. So, so we're going to see how it goes. Now I don't feel as bad, because when I was going through my deck, I was like, hmm, well, I could play the Mirror Forces, but I have access to stuff like the Shiranui Swallow Slash that does almost the same thing, and I won't be able to play that today, so I didn't use- I still got most of my good generic stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I hope you're ready. We're gonna go ahead and get into the pools, though. I get some bonus packs. There's lots of exciting stuff. Let's go over into the, uh... Have we come Let's up? dive into the card pool. Yeah, there we go. All right, and welcome back once more to the zone where cards get pulled, patent pending. 
so trying to think of a name. Put it down in the comments. I'm here as always with Twitch chat. We're gonna do this live, and as always, I'll remind you that if you wanna watch these live, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. We do a whole lot of fun stuff, including opening up Dark Beginning 1, which which does not have a whole lot interesting. Chain Energy, if we wanted to burn, Upstart Goblin. I mean, I guess if I wanna make a 37 card deck. Uh, actually, DNA Surgery. Let me check this real quick. All monsters become that type. This might actually be an interesting floodgate, now that I think of it. And it could be useful if we ever get our uh, Buster Blader Dragon deck actually working. So I think, yeah, we'll take we'll take the DNA surgery. That'll be an interesting one. So this week, I, I'm really not sure. My link spam strategy is really strong as far as the pool goes, but we now also know that Hardleg has a particular card in his lineup that might punish Link strategies. Mm, starting off with, oh, we could get a Buster Blader of our own, could we? I guess, is Card of Safe Return banned in Chaos Draft? Surely it must be. I feel like every time somebody tries to run Card of Safe Return, it actually turns out to be uh, kind of a cope card, but there's nothing really else I want out of here. So I think I will happily take a card of safe return just in case it becomes good. Also, Chad, at the end, remind me to save my polls. I don't want to have to do them manually again. Okay, Dark Beginnings 2. And we've got Horn of the Uni- Oh! Oh! Okay, so we can't play this this episode because we we played one last episode but uh yeah i think it's time to get graceful charity banned by getting two of them things two of them things uh, rj is going to be in surprise on episode five when we pop in with that hello sarah it's been a bit glad to have you here legendary collection two okay this is something we've really been looking out for Ooh, okay, so if we take Ga Dark Gaia, we get a second copy of Dark Fusion, and that's not bad, not to mention uh, Evil Hero Dark Gaia is a win con in and of itself. I could take Disc Commander, but Disc Commander uh, only really does something if we get DPE, right? It's like Pot of Greed, but if you jump through a lot of steps. Yeah, Disc Commander does have its errata. What is Disc Commander's errata? Oh, it can't be special summoned from the graveyard the turn it was sent there, okay. And it's a once per duel. Uh, uh, uh yeah, I'll take Dark Gaia and I'll get the extra copy of Dark Fusion to get us a little bit closer to Malicious Bane. What if the generation suggested instead of forcing? That would be, oh, hey, Goblin Bird. I'll take another Goblin Bird. <laughs> what do you say, folks? Do we need a third Evelzar Lockyer? <laughs> play Dino Rabbit. We take the Gem Knight because it's a rock that we could send with Dark Gaia. I think that might unironically be the plan here. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, hit me with a Dragon Ruler. It's that easy, chat. It's that easy. That's how you get another you get another blaster. You just gotta you just gotta say it with authority. That's two of them things now. Oh, Legendary Collection Yugi's World has been pretty quiet for us, but Phoenix Wing Windblast is an extremely good card. Actually, this whole lineup down here is very cool cards. Discount Silver. Oh, hey, Judgment Dragon. Beals is also really good. Forbidden Droplet is also really good, but I've been trying to get them Light Swords. We have a few. Do I have a Judgment? No, I don't. So yeah, let's go ahead and add that Judgment Dragon. We can maybe get some Light Swarms going here if we get enough of them. 
premium gold. Uh, Cyber Dragon and Breaker are both genuinely very good cards. I have needed back row removal, but Cyber Dragon is a very good card. And I like it. I think it's neat. It's good for machines. I feel like I can get better back row removal than Breaker. Let's take Cyber Dragon. Maybe I'll end up with a Chimera tech and then we can uh, destroy uh, machine strats. Yeah. The highest speed riders you could imagine. Red Dragon, we got the Psy Frame Gear Gamma. Shock, surprise. What, is, what does this do? Banish two speed roids, target that many cards on the field and destroy them. That's not bad and it is a rare. I could also get another Compulse and then I would have two to use with Trap Trick. And now that I'm saying it out loud, yes, I, I will do that thing. All right, premium gold, the return of the bling. Lavolve All Chain's banned, right? Lavolve All Chain is not banned. We're taking Lavolve All Chain. Duelist Saga, the Dark Magician. He's the ultimate magician in terms of attack and defense. Fuck it, we'll take the Dark Magician. The Dark Illusion. I'm getting the feeling that these packs are getting offended at the way that I announce them. This is a very funny card, but I think Scapeghost is the take. Yeah, it's either that or Heavy Freight Crane Derriere. Oh. Wait, is Oleanoids one of the good Paleozoics? Oh, Oleanoids is the spell trap removal. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> we gotta take the Oleanoids. Battles of Legend. Ooh, anti spell fragrance and Denko Seca. Those are both pretty funny. I do have a lot of traps to try to make this work. I could keep RJ off of spells, but also Denko Seca. Uh, I don't think I'm aggressive enough for that. I think I'll take the anti-spell. I think we could get some more stuff going here. All right. Invasion Vengeance. Catalyst Field is not a card we're ever using, but I will take another Dynomiscus. Thank you. My Paleozoic pool is looking strangely strong. Mediocre collection, Mokuba. Oh, hey. Utopia the Lightning. I can do this and then get, grab a Utopia. Oh, it doesn't mention it by name. It's any rank four Utopia. I could, I could get one of those, though. Either that or I could get the Secret Lair Stone and try to do more Blue Eyes stuff or Ring of Destruction. I think we want Utopia the Lightning. I think that's probably the better thing to take, because if we can get a Utopia, we'll be solid with that. Dual Overload. Hmm. Oh, Destiny Hero Celestial is really good. Uh, let's see. Banishes itself and a Destiny Hero to draw two cards. Okay, okay. The Purely Finite Chasers. Oh, hey, we've got a blue boy, and now we got this we could search. All right, Toon Chaos, what do you got for me? A Masked Hero or Pot of Desires? I think we take a Pot of Desires. Dual Weakness. Oh, oh, hey, is that a, is that a Borolo Dragon? That's a dang old Borolo Dragon. This is a very good Link 4 in a limited series. Not as easy to make as Access Code, but it's still pretty good. All right, now for the legendary duelist packs, the gigantic legendary duelist packs. We've got Red Eyes. We've got Red Eyes Wyvern. We've got pretty much Red Eyes Wyvern. We've got Sea Stealth Attack, which is very funny. But I think Red Eyes Wyvern is probably the move here. Ordinary Fighters. Oh, hey. True King of all Calamities. I think I have ways to make this. I have things I can do with this that are pretty neat, and I'm not getting math mechs, and I'm not getting dragon maids, I don't think. So let's take this, and if we can make it, we probably just win. We probably just win. A duelist rises. Melfi Caddy. Oh, there's Vespinato. I think we should just take Vespinato, right? 
Vespin Auto is just a great card. Yeah, let's just grab that. Ignition battery. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, but, ah. Uh, we're trying to get the Karakuris, and this is like a really good one that lets you do stuff. But this is just good in general. This is like uh, Pankratops at home, and Pankratops is banned, and Alpha the Master of Beast is banned for being too close to Pankratops. So, and this is super rare, so I think we've got to take it while we can. There'll be more chances to get common this, especially with what we've got, so let's just try this for now. Phantom Rage. Mutant Mist. Um. Oh, Proof S is strong. Proof S is a pretty good card. And I think we already have a Penguin Brave. Reality Sanity. Is that a second Pot of Desires? Do I have two fucking Pot of Desires? Oh, but also Keeper of Dragon Magic. This is normal or special summon, discard one card, add a polymerization, reveal a fusion monster, special summon one of the materials. This is how I make the, the fucking Buster Blader. This helps me get into the Buster Blader very quickly if I want to try to make that deck work, because it can just summon it from the deck and get me a polymerization. But Pot of Desires is going to be good in almost anything I play, and I've already got one of them. Having two just makes it more consistent. We do have Pot of Greed and stuff. I'm going to leave it up to chat. I'm letting Twitch chat choose. All right, it looks like chat is more excited about the Buster Blader fusion, so let's take the Keeper of Dragon Magic. Ancient Guardians. That is... <laughs> That's a card. So I know that Hardleg has been really pushing for the Ursarctics to be playable in this, but I mean, I've got the Ogdoatic boss. Wait, 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 wait. This could tribute tokens. This is not terrible in my token spam deck. Phantom Calmness. Got an Infernity. We got a Panda. We could get a third Proof and S. Uh, let's, let's read what this uh, Gizmec d does. One of these Gizmecs probably do something. While six or more cards are banished, you can normal summon this. If this card is normal summon, discard a card, add a, essentially a Gizmec. Okay. And Jabbing Pandas, Beast Warriors, you could special summon it. It's a level three, so it doesn't have a lot of synergy with the, uh, the the beast warriors that I would want to get. So yeah, I think we just take the third proof and S, and then afterwards we'll try to figure out something else. Burst of Destiny. Fun fact, my sibling actually opened a pack of this today because they're very excited about my about my hobbies. And I said that Burst of Destiny was the most fun pack for people who don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! to open because there are so many fun, just gimmicky things in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, the best card in all of sealed Yu-Gi-Oh! Mimicking Maneater Bug, we are taking it. Season 3 of the Legendary Duelists. Oh hey, another Magician Souls. I think I kind of want that. I think I, I think I probably want that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's take that. <gasps> oh, that's not just an evil hero, but arguably the best evil hero. Oh, that's really good. And finally, Battle of Legends, Crystal's Revenge, which is mostly Crystal Beast. And this... <laughs> Do I dare get three excess code talkers? Let's, let's look at what Gadget Box does real quick here. Place three morph counters on it. During your main phase, you can remove a morph counter, special summon a Gadget Box token. The player who summoned it cannot special summon except for Synchros. It's just a level one earth machine. Huh. Get a Morb counter. We could also possibly, no, there's no way we're playing tunes. 
get out of here. Yeah, I guess we take the gadget box. Maybe that'll be useful. Let, let's take it. And there we go. Everything that we could ever want. Everything that we could ever need. Uh, we're, we're in trouble. This is not good. Let's uh, save this draft to our collection. And then we go ahead, we get a reroll, and we get bonus packs, and we get secret packs. We get all sorts of stuff. Let's check it out. All right, and our final pack for the regular opening, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. The Starlight bore a load. No! <laughs> Oof. The biggest oof. Okay, what is on Eyes Phantasmal Dragon to do? Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, so we're gonna start with the Chaos Packs. We get two Hard Leg Chaos Packs, as always. The best Chaos Pack, and what do we got here? The Skull Wagon is pretty decent. It is also good for, um, for Dogmatica Punishment, which we have. It's either that or Gladiator Beast. We didn't pick up a single Gladiator Beast thing this time, so I think we're just gonna get, get the Skull Wagon. It's rare, we'll get it while it's there, and that gives us something we can do with our punishment, especially if we get another one. Starting off with good old Hard Leg Joe's Chaos Packs. Ultimate Offering is very cool. We've got more Machina and Infinitrack stuff. Infinitrack Harvester is very good if we can get them, but Ultimate Offering is very good. I think, honestly, I'd take Infinitrack Harvester. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, and pack number two, Unending Nightmare. We're just getting all the spell trap removal. Just discount spell trap removal warehouse. I think it honestly might just be better to take the keys on so we can get the, 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 the six samurai. Either that or just collect more, more Sartix. Get more Sartix stuff. All right, so after a vote, instead of any of the things I suggested, Ice Barrier ended up winning. This is a pretty good battle trap. It also searches water monsters. Uh, we are going on a trap-based deck. We do like a lot of back row, so maybe this will be worth it, especially if RJ can't get a whole bunch of uh, spell trap removal. We'll see. We, we will see, I suppose. There are some really good ultra rares in this set. I'm a little sad that's the one that we got. Oh no! <laughs> the Earth Arctic. Uh, yeah, we'll take Zect Caliber. Zect Caliber is pretty good. Speaking of RJ, let's check out RJ's pack. See what we can get. Deco Talker is pretty good. Tin Goldfish is all right. I mean, it is a water monster we can now search. We do also want the Karakuris we could actually summon. This is the one that summons a Karakuri from the deck. Yeah, it's an Earth Machine. You know, we're trying to get it. We'll, we'll take the Karakuri. It's rare, and I don't think we have a chance to get it in the main deck. And I don't really want a Decode Talker, even though it's a Cybers. So let's try that. <gasps> Ooh, Gear Gigant Cross. We've got Junk Synchron. We've got Fire Hand. Ooh, so many fun things to play with. Don't I already have a Gear Gigant? No, I don't have a Gear Gigant. Yeah, we'll take it. And pack number two. Ooh, Divine Felgrand. That is a uh, that is a nice Ixie, one might say. Ultra rare, two level eights. I did get some level eight stuff, and it's either that or like the common six samurai, maybe a Girgia, but I'm not really taking the Girgia stuff. She ends foot soldier, I don't want a monarch. Yeah, I think we just take the Divine Felgrand while we've got the option to take it. And then all that leaves is the secret packs, the pity packs, what we'll get. And pack number two. Pot of Avarice is pretty solid, as is Scrap Archfiend. Baby Sarasaurus is very good, especially because we have Misk now. Let's take Titanial. I'm a big fan of hers. 
Alright, so for this episode's pity packs, I have decided to go into Valiant Gladiator Beast, which if you didn't know, is the Gladiator Beast Super Pack from Master Duel. We have quite a few Gladiator Beasts already in the tank. Two Bestiari, Adamatanus, Eskid, Geyserus, Noxious, plus this thing that, that, that kind of protects everything. And these are all like the supers and, and ultras in that pack. Most of the, the rares and normal cards are like the regular gladiator beast that we just need to fill in. If we can get a few more names, back it up with some traps and some other tech monsters, I think we might be able to play them this early in the series, and they might actually be good. So let's flip it up and see what we got. We've got a comeback and a Lakari just right off the bat. Come back is just target a gladiator beast in the uh, hand or graveyard and special summon it. Can't be destroyed by battle, so you ensure that it goes off. Lakari just big for no reason. This is definitely the better card, but this one is like ultra rare and everything else. And you kind of needed to get off to the races a little bit. I think we're going to take the comeback though. This is going to be more important to get, especially if we happen to get a Test Panther. So that's number one. Number two... We got a Heraclinos, that's that's not bad. We got another Rejection, that was the continuous uh, spell that helps us out. But I think we want to go for Noxious. This is a really good one that a lot of people don't know about. It's especially good in Limited. When your opponent's monster declares a direct attack, special summon this, change the attack target to this card, proceed to damage calculation. This card can't be destroyed by battle. If it's special and if it's special summoned by a gladiator beast, send one from your deck to the graveyard. It just does everything. It's a battle fader that comes in, blocks, and of course after it battles, then you get to tag out. So hopefully now that we've got two of those, that'll be able to do everything. And then the third one, let's flip it up. All right. Well, this is another chance to get Lakari. Also got Gladiator Beast United. We've seen this a few times. This is a, a normal. This lets you, during the battle phase, shuffle into the deck from your hand, field, or graveyard the fusion materials listed on a Gladiator Beast fusion. So that's, it's essentially the spell, but it's a quick play during the battle phase. That ensures that if you do something like use Noxious to send a Bestiari to the graveyard, you now have the ability to just fusion summon it. Unfortunately, this is also, you kind of need to have some setup. You need to have a way to search this and a couple other things. It is super rare, but I think in the regular packs it's rare. So we're just going to go for the Lakari. We'll take the Lakari for now because that's going to be harder to get. And we do want an 1800 that we can just attack into things. Right? Yeah, let's take the United. It's super rare here. We might as well. It, it can maybe brick, but... We gotta try it out, see if it'll work. And with that, we go into deck building. Will I actually play the Gladiator Beast? Hard to say, hard to leg. All right, so I have decided I am going to be opening Maximum Gold and Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. I got Red Eyed Dice out of Maximum Gold and Rubber Band Shooter out of Heroes Revenge. And I don't think Speedroids quite cut it for me. And I'm really gunning for a hero strategy which is helped by both packs. All right, maximum gold. Show me the max. Show me the gold. <gasps> oh, that is so much better. That is a lot. That is actually a payoff. This is a payoff for my dragon link and link spam strategy. Okay, order of chaos reroll. Can we get a good insector? No. Remember how last week I said, I hope I don't throw both of these weeks by splitting up my pool? Boy, am I glad I didn't throw last week. Most of my dragons are in timeout right now, and my poor defenseless Borload Savage Dragon has been taken behind the shed and deservedly shot, which means that I have... Not terribly much to work with this time, which means I'm going to have to follow a new path. An evil path. 
Earth. Yes, it is time to finally bust out my evil heroes. Are they good? Not in the slightest. But they are what I have to work with. I know that Hardleg's pool is much better in the grind game than mine is, which means I need to find ways to stick explosive boss monsters. Malicious Bane is the most explosive one of all. It destroys the board, is un indestructible by card effects, and is untargetable under Dark Fusion. If I can land this plus a Dark Gaia, or plus a Starving Venom, or plus a Gores, or plus a Utopia the Lightning, or a Boral Sword Dragon, that's going to be my win condition. I cannot rely on my basic monsters to get me there. To that end, I have a large number of high-level monsters that can be used in combination with my evil hero a Dusted Gold to make my Malicious Bane, and some of these monsters are also fiends for the purpose of Dark Gaia. They're also largely pretty good cards between the Mech Knights, ya boy Guan, Yoon, our Cyber Dragon, and an interesting one for this week, Gofu the Vague Shadow, which is capable of instantly getting us to Nightmare Unicorn, or in the instance that I have a 5 on board, the ability to make Full Armor Master. Another absolute blowout card. It is unaffected by all other card effects and could basically steal your opponent's monsters on demand. I'm very excited to hopefully bust out some of these cards in today's duel. And if it doesn't work out, we can descend deeper into the path of evil for next week. Let's see what hard legs got. All right, ladies and non-ladies, after four weeks of episodes, we finally have a deck that is not just a pile of cards. I can actually give this some kind of name that identifies what it does. And I'm calling this Gladiator Beast Trap Control. Yep, we, we're finally playing Gladiator Beast. We have just enough of them to maybe do something. We managed to get a Geyserus a couple episodes ago. We have two Bestiari as a result, plus an Esket, plus two Noxious and a Vespinatus. And I think if we, again, if we could just get like this and any other Gladiator Beast on the field, uh, then we then we can make ourselves a Geyserus and that's just Advantage City. And we've got a couple other things to help with that. Gladiator Beast Comeback, Gladiator Beast United, Rejection, just a couple little support cards. And then other than that, it's just like monsters that can special summon themselves. Just something that can help beat over things. Things like Loyal Guan Yun, Cyber Dragon, Mech Knight Move Man. We got Parry Knights as a hand trap. I like myself some hand traps. Still playing Engraver of the Mark, still playing Cosmo Good Witch. And then we've got Proofiness, the Tactical Trapper, which is not really a special summoned monster, but works with all the traps we have. At this point, we have three Compulse, two Mirror Force, Lost Wind, Ice Barrier, Punch in the Box, Dogmatica Punishment with an actual uh, target that we can send to the graveyard, Pops a card, pretty nice. Uh, oh, and Beast King Unleashed, very, very funny card. We've also got the one Trap Trick, and uh, one Waking the Dragon, plus one Sunlit Sentinel. This is essentially a uh, artifact at home. If it's destroyed by RJ, it'll do a thing. So we've got a couple things so far that like, if RJ thinks he could just go in with all the spell trap removal and pop things willy nilly, there might be a few surprises for him. Of course, it's just two out of the many. So if he's got a whole bunch of spell trap removal, we might be in for a spot of bother. But hopefully stuff like Delinquent Duo will help us get over that. Uh, I mean, it is just one card, but you, you never know. Maybe it'll help. We've got a couple other things that we're, we're still filling in things with, with random jank. Brain Control, Cyber Jar, Exploder Dragon. These are all just here because I didn't have anything to fill in the gaps. Especially after last week, we lost a few of our other uh, techs and engines and stuff we could use. But we still got a full extra deck. We've still got some side deck cards, including a bunch of spell trap removal of our own if RJ goes heavy on the spell traps, and some uh, negation in case a lot of the spell trap removal comes from monsters. If he's got a bunch of monsters, like uh, two Nightmare Phoenix or whatever, then maybe putting in this would be better than, than losing something. I don't know, either way, he's he's putting in several cards in order to get rid of one, so I think we might be able to, work, uh, to make this work. Just trade two for one with all the traps, and then once we get in the bestiary or whatever, we can we can uh, start start blowing stuff up with Geyserus and get advantage there. So that's the plan. Let's see if it ready. works. Ready? You ready to rumble? 
We can't actually am... say that it's copywritten. It's unfortunate. That's unfortunate because the entire first season of I Challenge You is based largely on that phrase. <laughs> so I... Oh, I get to choose this time. I'm not used Ooh, to this ah. kind of power. I'll go second. Choose wisely, Mr. Robert. Oh, that's a fascinating hand. This is... Oh, oh, you're going second? Yes, I'm going second. Hmm. So I'm going to normal summon Proof and S, the tactical trapper. I believe very you good. are familiar with this guy. I am unfortunately very familiar with and... him. And... You know what? Let's go ahead. Just banish that. Not a bad one. No. Get the punishment. And then I will set a single card, making mm. certain to play around Mech Knights, and I'll end my turn. I couldn't imagine why you would <laughs> want to play around Mech Knights. It's, it's so... The Mech Knights are such high rarity cards that, like, in previous seasons, we, we only ever got, like, one or two. It's crazy that you've already got, like, five of them. <laughs> I don't quite have five mech knights in my defense. Okay, let's drop a fine mystical space typhoon. That's right, I got back row removal finally. <laughs> Unfortunate. Ooh, a compulsory. Not the ideal trap for me to hit off of that MST, but no. it does allow me to guarantee a hit in with my cyber dragon. Dun 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 dun. Battle. Oh, okay. After and last will... episode, I'm still kind of paranoid. I'm just like, oh god, can he OTK <laughs> me through this? All right. All right. You may have your Dogmatica punishment. Good. I'll take it. Ooh, it sets it directly. That's cute. Yeah. Um, now might have been a good time two. to save that mystical space typhoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No matter. Uh, I will set a back row and pass the turn to you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me check my extra deck real quick. That is I do not like the sound of that. An unfortunate amount of attack you have. All He's right. got a fair amount. So I am going to activate a Cyber no! Dragon of my own. <laughs> Your boy Guan Yun has shown up. Yeah, that's fine. And mine is bigger. Let's just attack him. The bigger it is the more damage it deals to our life points under Ring of Destruction. <sighs> rude. That's that's very rude, Robert. I'm not liking it. Extremely. Well, fortunately, that didn't use my normal summon, so I can set a card, mm. and set a card, mm. and you know what? I think I'll set a card. That's and so much back row. What know, are you doing? Don't, don't read anything into that. Oh... That is not the worst draw I've ever had. <laughs> I think I have to see if I can force that dogmatic punishment here. Uh, that's fine. Things are about to get interesting. <laughs> oh, things are about to get very interesting. That's a, oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. oh fascinating. Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'll put the Exploder Dragon here. Oh, do we that only That is a summon? large amount of back row. I just drew it. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, you don't um, get the high-level monsters. I see. I'm just going to take a second. An opportunity. An opportunity. To set... Is it Dark Fusion? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Robert, what are you doing? I still can't fusioning? figure out where the log is where you can see these things. It's, it's so on the, just... the right hand side underneath the camera options. Ah, okay. You can just scroll through. Is that a gladiator beast? <laughs> just one. You know. Hmm. It's pretty neat. Hmm. Gets big. Doesn't afraid of anything. Not a fan. <laughs> I will not lie to you. All right. Let's continue setting some baccaroni and cheese here. Fortunately, I'm not really afraid of most of your back row. Is that forbidden chalice? Spell trap removal? Oh, I know you have a mech knight, but I also know you have as much back row as you need to summon that mech knight, yeah. so I have to kind of not worry about that right now. Yeah. 
I think I want to let my cards carry me here. So okay. it's your go. Sounds good. So I've got three back row. And I think I want to make it four. Just to be mm. extra special safe. Mm. And we'll go ahead and put the yellow star down here. There it is. That is fine. Oh, you got bottomless? <laughs> God, I wish. Yeah, but I used my nightmares last time, so... I just... You simply don't have any battle traps, you know? I think I am going to let this <laughs> through. Yes! I'll take your thousand. Hard leg trolls first I will take blood. nothing, because it doesn't deal battle damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just testing um, the waters, you know. I'm going to let this one through, too. Okay. That's fine. 22. And uh, we'll end our turn. Okay. I am in the end phase going to Cosmic Cyclone this one. Oh. Uh, hmm. I guess that makes sense. Hit the one thing that you know. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take this chance. I am going to special summon from my hand one of my favorite cards in my pool, Gofu the Vague Shadow. How very vague. All right, get some tokens. They had to I chain will. him up because he was too he had crazy eyes. Society All right. and whatnot. The, exactly that. And then I'm going to activate World Legacy Secret. Okay. Let's bring back the Cyber Dragon. Correct. And what? then what? what? Don't tell me you have to. Did I just get you wide? What? Oh, it has to. Oh my God! I just got you wide. What? I have officially <laughs> lost the game. What? What happened? I denied World Legacy's secrets effect because I thought oh. it was asking me if I wanted to chain to it. Oh, oh I had a game-endingly powerful play <laughs> on this, and now I have officially locked myself out of all of the plays in my hand. Oh, you're welcome. I, to be fair, this has happened to each of us, I think, once per episode so far. <laughs> oh, no, but I needed this play. I have nothing after this. <laughs> You've got five cards in hand. How do you got nothing else? They don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you playing them? I mean, they do something, just not right now. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, it's, you know, we, we, right. we play these simulators because I'm like, there's there's no such thing as, like, getting a wrong ruling or winning because we forgot an effect or something like that. But then this is the trade-off, of course, is that sometimes you misclick and there's no going back. Aw, oh, come on. Aw. Oh. All right. There goes punch in the box. <laughs> I shall not be punched in the box today. Not this time. I mean, I have a very funny card. That could do a lot. But I don't think it's worth my just chucking it into the ether right now. <laughs> uh, this is my first opportunity to activate this card. It's not the best opportunity to activate this card, but it is such an opportunity. And, oh, this is Dark Fusion. I thought it was Dark It Calling. is Dark Fusion. All right, Dark Fusion. I don't see no rock monster in your graveyard. That is because it is in my hand. Let's go, Dark Guy. Weathering Soldier. And I will use the Weathering Soldier. <laughs> that is a big man. I will not chain any cards to this. I will take my Fossil Fusion here. Oh, no. And then let's go to battle. I will allow it. I will attack in. I will activate Trap Trick at the start of the battle phase. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Could be anything. Okay. Okay. In fact, it's just a compulse. <laughs> okay. Just a compulse. Uh, I don't want to deal with whatever that is. Get it out of here. Why can't I target it? 
Get owned, Fuck. buddy! Dark fusion protects from targeting for a turn. Fine then, I'm taking back my mech knight. <laughs> that's understandable, frankly. Um, That's actually a little awkward for me because you've just got an exploder dragon yeah. sitting there. <laughs> He just uh, explode, and he does not target. No, he does not. He does carry a spiky football, which is weird. I guess that's supposed to be a bomb. I think that is a bomb. It's just weird. Okay. I always uh, assume the exploder dragon exploded because of some dragon ability, not because he was just holding a bomb. <laughs> just because he's holding a bomb. <laughs> Me holding a bomb. I'm an exploder. <laughs> an ex I'm exploder man. Exploder YouTuber. <laughs> Mr. Explosion Man. Hell ass balls do I do now? Can't I'll believe Dark Fusion prevents from to. targeting. I'm like it reading does. this it's effect. I'm nice. like, oh, okay, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. We're gonna be, um, oh, but wait, you have a uh, forbidden chalice, don't you? I'll go to battle phase, mm -hmm. and I will clear up this token, and then. I will just go to main phase two. Interesting. Okay. And then I'll set a card. Hmm. Sus. And I'll set another card. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Nothing to do here. Go ahead. I am going to be good with that. Oh, not a terrible draw. Is there really nothing I care to do here? Nah. Let's swing in. <sighs> If this uses up a mirror force, it will have been a good death. Yeah, yeah. Have to use yeah. a mirror force. I can't allow you to keep that, because if you go over and then you do have the chalice, then it really is Jover. <laughs> <laughs> then I've lost everything. Pretty good. Yeah. It's okay. 3,900 is too big. Do be that. Okay, uh, main phase two, it's time for my own boy, Guan Yun. Oh. There he be. And I'm going to get rid of that Exploder Dragon. I don't feel like dealing with it anymore. He exploded. That's his whole deal, I hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does this card do? Stuff. Uh, and things, perhaps. Oh, that's cute. I've heard that most cards have Ooh. effects. Okay. Um... I'm going to stick with what I've got on board. You're All right. Card. Okay. Now, I've got a very old card for you. Perhaps you've heard of it. I'm, I'm glad. The cool thing about Loyal Guan Yun, right, is that it's special summonable, but it can be normal summoned or set. That is extremely silly. <laughs> Brain control. Give me your um, brain, RJ. I theoretically have things I can do about that. Oh? But I won't do them right now. Remove brainwashing, perhaps? Let's see what you've got. As it stands, I'll just go to battle. Okay. See if we can get in. I'm going to consider my options here. If this baits out a compulse or something... It will have been a valiant death, or whatever you said last time. Let's see. We'll do that. I don't think I can afford to continue taking damage like this. I'm going to use oh! my Terrors of the Overroot. Overroot. And I am going to give you back Trap Trick. I'm going to take the risk that you have another guy in deck, <laughs> or another, another double trap in deck. All right. Uh, I'll attack for 25, then. Fog blade. <laughs> Fog blade, eh? Yeah. On your own monster. On my own monster. Mm. Hey, now he can't be attacked either, so you know. Okay. Let's uh, <laughs> summon another Proofiness, shall we? Proofiness. Yeah. Okay. The other mirror force. We'll banish that. Okay. That'll be smexy. It's good to know th that's currently banished. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? We'll do it. I will link off these two. For Dark! Ooh, diabolical. Oh, the how dark dare! Charmer. Well, the what good news is there's not much in my graveyard I have to be concerned about right now. 
then I will activate the effect. Give me that magic. Okay. What are you targeting? The um, the keeper of dragon magic. The keeper of dragon magic. Yeah. What, are you gonna get a fusion monster? Maybe. You don't know mm. me. You don't know how I eat my breakfast cereal. I could search polymerization. You could search polymers. You know what? You can take it. If I'm going to lose this game, I might as well see what you're up to. Yeah. Um, nothing really. I just he's 1800. You know, big. Got an additional dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two dudes are better than one. That's what my. So I hear. Yeah. That's what my uncle used to say. Another draw that is not awful. Yeah, let's go for Fossil Fusion. Ah! Can't believe you got on the Fossil Fusions. I thought I was the only one who would read these cards. This card is insane. Yeah. Oh my god, Cyberjar is a rock monster. <laughs> yes, it is. For some reason. Um, The question is, what can you actually make with it? I have big Let's level hit. things. Do you have like Skull Gaios or Fossil Warrior? <laughs> These two things. Ooh, a level five. I have Skull Knigget. Ah, I see. Very powerful. Mm, battle phase. Big shield. Attack my Knigget. Take out my Keeper of the Dragon Magic. Hey, that's He is rude. a traitor and does not deserve to live. Ouch. My most of me. Yes, I will attack again! Uh, this is not looking good for old hard leg Joe. <laughs> At least I get something back. Oh no, I get something from my Ooh. deck. Yes. Um. It'll be interesting to see what you have. Hmm. I will take... Noxious. What on <laughs> God's flat fuck does that do? He's a gladiator beast, don't worry about it. He's an annoying gla gladiator beast. <laughs> He's a big tiger uh, man. He was in Tekken, I believe. Main phase two, I will set a back row mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and pass the turn. I see. I see. I am going to activate gladiator rejection. What? <laughs> okay. It's a continuous spell. It does things. Interesting. Okay. And then, I will set a card. Your move. Battle phase. All right. Yeah. Attack. And I will activate Noxious. Special summoning okay. it from my hand in defensive mode. Ouch. Wait, what? Why does that not... What? What did you well, what? What, did you, what did you think? You're gonna do something during the damage step? I thought it it's, it's the, the oh it does proceed to damage calculation. Yeah, it goes so damage step <laughs> tricks do not work. That is so annoying. This is a really silly thing that I'm just gonna have to hope works the way I want it to. I am going to. In the battle phase, Paleozoic Canadia, <laughs> your noxious face down. Just flip it face down. Yeah. You All don't right. get its effect. I ain't I letting you roll. What is going on here? United. <laughs> During the battle phase, shuffle from the deck, hand or field or graveyard, fusion materials listed on a gladiator beast fusion. Okay. <laughs> Not much I can do about that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No. What is the I fusion have monster it. of choice here? We will take the Noxious and the Bestiari and summon Am Geyserus. I about to get Geyserus? <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is it apparently does not get its effect here. Disappointing! <laughs> Fuck! I was like, oh, it's special summoned! When this card Main is special, phase two? Oh, it misses timing. I will... <laughs> the return, the revenge of missing the timing. Oh. I'll uh, pass the turn. Uh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Go, Cosmo Goodwitch. <laughs> oh, my God, this asshole. Um, 
I was like, how am I going to get over 24? And now I don't have to! Okay. I have one hope then. Battle phase. Okay. I will attack with Geysaurus. Dynamiscus. <laughs> no! <laughs> get out of here. Why can't I activate this effect? <laughs> I'm also <laughs> extremely confused about this. I'm going to lose because I don't know why I can't activate this effect. <laughs> There's got to be... Uh, do, do, do. This card inflicts battle damage. You can make a second attack. I just oh, lose. Oh, according to, according to my Fossil Warrior Skull Knight right now, Fossil Fusion makes it immune to targeting. What? Since when? Uh... If you banish oh. monsters from both graveyards because I banished your cyber jar, it gets targeting protection. <laughs> and gladiator rejection only stops you from targeting my gladiator beast during the battle phase. Or every time except the battle phase, which is the one yes. time I really needed them. Yeah, it's an effect that's very good for modern Yukio, but... Very not good for sealed. Well, <laughs> uh, let's let's go for it. Unless there's something, I think I I think that's just it. Just can attack again in a row. I'm getting top go of again, fossils. <laughs> oh, sadness. <laughs> Missing I the have... time. Okay. Well, at least I know. At least I know. Oh okay. my goodness. Well Going that was that was one for the ages. <laughs> what the hell do I do? Alright, I am going to go second this time. For reasons mm, that should shocker. probably be obvious at this point. Going first is kinda bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> Up against gladiator beasts exactly. <laughs> it's okay, how many could I possibly have? Ooh, <laughs> just passing. Yeah. That actually gives me a little bit of a trouble. But at least I have Proofiness to carry me through. Proofiness, always there for you. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we just do this again. That worked pretty good at keeping, keeping you out Old song and stuff. dance. Yeah. I have the one. I'll be able to activate it at some point. Weehee! <laughs> Gores. Of course. Okay, so main phase two, mm -hmm. I will set a card, mm -hmm. and let's just put up a 2800 defense wall. That's a significant amount of defense. I had <laughs> not realized that Yellow Star has all of 2800 defense. Just enough to surpass Gores. That's a fascinating draw. Let's... Go to battle phase. Yeah. All right. You may have your um, trap card. Okay. I will activate Proofiness. He will be mm. tactically, tac tac tactically trapped. True. Main phase two. After having survived Mirror Force, it's actually probably better for me to keep my Emissary of Darkness token in attack position. Seems good. Just Seems reasonable. Two. We've all been there. Shadoop. Huh. And then... Did, do you have Imperm, Robert? <laughs> I don't want you to concern yourself. Setting it in the same column. Matters. Interesting. You're, you're doing the opposite of playing around Mech Knights. Ooh. I mean, you, the strategy with mech knights a lot of the time is once you see a mech knight, you pile everything into the column with the mech knight. <laughs> I am going to normal summon Lilith, the Lady of Lament. I kind of feel similarly <laughs> here. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, fine. Okay. I do not have a response, and I will discard my 
incredible, my fantastic, my unstoppable go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, well, main phase two, I suppose. Mm hmm. And I'll set a card here. Okay. And, uh, yeah. During. No, that's not even worth my time. <laughs> oh, I had to draw into that right now, didn't I? <laughs> I had to draw into that right now. Timing! God, how likely am I going to get punched in the box? <laughs> I hate that card so much. 50% punch, 50% boxed. What you gonna do when you got the rocks? Exactly. Just like that. Yeah. One of those things. Let's... Let's go to battle. Okay. I'm going to attack with my emissary. Unfortunate, Robert. In that case, uh -huh. I will never force you. Oh no! Anyway. <laughs> uh... Would you like to activate Dogmatica Punishment? <laughs> I will! I will activate Dogmatica <laughs> Punishment. Mm hmm. I had the feeling. Um. That's probably a bad idea. Right? Just give you a free dude. What, you could stop the punishment? Yeah. I. Uh, no, but I could chain my Dynamiscus. <laughs> But that seems like a suspect play. Can't believe you're um, playing a fucking royal decree. <laughs> you have traps in this deck, Robert. Don't you need to I activate do. those? I will explain my reasoning once we're done. I actually think I am going to use my Dynamiscus from Grave. All right. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I have no further things to do here. Uh, I can't even send the thing that I want to send. Let's go for this, I guess. Okay. Oh, the Cyframe Lord Omega. Yeah. I forgot that... Did I know you had this card? I feel like I ran into this once before. I used it once. It doesn't really do a whole lot. It lets me recycle stuff from the graveyard, of which I have a use, two useless traps and uh, a card that gets me useless traps. I am suddenly confused that you used the punishment... On the token, I am confused and concerned. <laughs> oh, what are the chances that I have a spell here in the center? I'm, I mean, we'll find out. Yeah, we will. Eventually. Uh, no, that's fine. All right, and then I will attack directly. Okay, fucking dino miscus. Hell yeah. Hate that guy. No, Main hate phase that. two? What are you gonna I'm do? Set some traps? <laughs> so confused about why you sent the token. <laughs> it makes my it, it makes my choice to summon the Dinomiscus significantly more sus. Um I think I pass the turn here. All right. Is that a graveyard thing? Oh yeah, that's the, okay. Um, loyal Guan Yu. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty neat. Uh, let's just use that effect. Uh, send this yep. away. I don't want to have to deal with it. Let's go to the battle phase. Get rid of the Dionysius. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine here. All right. Come on, show me. Huh. 
Fuck. I probably that should have activated that to late. play around the fossil fusion. <laughs> I'm like, I'll wait until I get like Guan Yun in the graveyard. That'll be a nice thing to recycle. And now I'm like, no, I just can't. I just can't have mon high level monsters in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad idea. Although, oh, and go, 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 golem's a rock. Of course it is. It is. <laughs> That's not exactly the draw that I wanted here. Well, I mean, I guess I have yet to be punished for this kind of play, so we're just going to keep doing it because I'm just <laughs> going to be eternally unpunished. Oh, now you are the one with the defense wall. I see, I see. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Mm. I don't like this uh, much, Robert. Yorka. <laughs> Great. I'm trying to think if I have any good, like, links or anything, but the answer, of course, is no, because we're four episodes in. Uh, True. Do I? Yeah. I'll just do this. There's oh. the Omega. Okay. Yeah, we're just triggering the Omega. Oh, I can I can return any card in the graveyard. Yeah, let's just put your go 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 oh. golem back. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hold up. Uh, there we go. Now I don't have to worry about no fossil fusion. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this has got to be the play. I will activate from hand my evil hero, a dusted gold. <sighs> evil heroes. And I will add dark fusion from my deck to my hand. And then I will activate my Dark Fusion. Oh, and <laughs> Gores is a fiend! I should have sent is... the Gores back! <laughs> Unfortunately, Dark Fusion is not Dark Calling. Oh, okay. Uh, I am going to summon Dark Gaia, and I will Dark use Gaia. my Weathering Soldier. Yep, and now you've got a rock in the graveyard. That is correct. Uh, I will not use a fast effect. Um, let's put our yellow star forward and let's get to swinging. 3,800. Ouch. Yeah. I will activate parry knights. What? <laughs> 2,300. What do you think about that, Robert? <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. I. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Your go. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, come on. Uh, it has 2,300 attack. I'd say that's quite a bit. It does, but it's not as much as 3,800 attack. That is true. All right. All right. And then we'll. Uh... Set. Hmm. Set. Hmm. Set. Hmm. <laughs> That's very funny. Yes. That is extremely funny. It is extremely funny! <laughs> royal uh, decree! <laughs> the royalty has done me in again! <laughs> Hate All right. this card. Um, like, get for activated. Do, do you, how many of these do you, do you even have, Robert? One. Just the one copy? <laughs> yep. Uh, All right, battle phase. And it has completely ruined me. Let's send the guy in. Uh, yeah, let's activate Beast King Unleashed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like to pretend, you know. That would have been very nice. I could have bounced. Uh, yeah, I'll activate the effect. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. All right. Um, the stadium has gone dark. I am in dire. I'm not sure what I could draw that would get me out of this. End phase. Needs to be something big. And punch in the box is not it. Oh my <sighs> god. I have no idea how I made it out of this week. I do! <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I have I have one very good idea how composed, I made it out of this. Composed Beast King, Punch in the Box, 
And the other one is the Gladiator Beast card that I can't activate because I didn't see any Gladiator Beast. Well, touche, Robert. You you win it this time. I, I, and <laughs> fucking Royal Decree! Royal Decree, when the decree oh. is royal. And do uh, Yeah, so my reasoning for running Royal Decree, and I was maining it, uh, is that I lose the grind game against your deck. <laughs> I have seen Proof and S, I've seen Punch in the Box, Mirror Force, Trap Trick, multiple compulsory evacuation devices, and any number of things you could have gotten. And there's a grand total of one thing that could win me this match, and that is if I manage to stick a giant dingus <laughs> on the board for more than one turn. That was the whole plan. I have like five giant dinguses and Sticking them is everything. And it, it worked perfectly. It, it really is. I, I, well, you talk about this before where it's like you, you see these giant dinguses and uh, uh, usually it's not worth it because we have uh, access to so much removal. You know, even if it didn't have mirror force and compulse, like, you know, you could you could invest into fusion summoning something and then you just hit it with dino Mishus. It, it's just gone. Yep. Um, but if you have the Royal Decree to back it up, then there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. And it, it feels, you have so many good little engines here that I probably should hit first, rather than hit the one of. But the one of shuts down, like, all my power cards! <laughs> so if I have to hit anything this time... It's going to have to be Royal Decree. I must get it out of here. We have you to get rid of the You won't regret it. I have many cool things to show you that you didn't ban this time round. The yeah, Royal Decree yeah. is the best decision for content by yeah. far. I mean, we, we've had it before. Like, uh, what's it called? Hey, not Hey Trunade. Giant Trunade is still not banned. And that really True. created this uh, format once both of... I forget which season it was, but we both had three Trunade. And it's like... Yeah, there's no point in playing battle traps when both players have three true aid. It made it made things more interesting rather than less. But uh, yeah, being able to turn off a third of the cards, we're just lucky we haven't gotten Imperial Order yet. Oh God, we ha that isn't banned in this series. It isn't banned oh. because I don't think anyone's drawn it in four seasons. <laughs> It's absolutely crazy. By the way, go ahead, Jules, put up the the picture of all the uh, the banned cards at the moment. I don't think we've been going over that, and I'm not sure if people really quite realize just uh, what's banned from all the previous seasons, plus everything this season. So get that up, let them have a nice good look at it, so they can get prepared for next week, next time, on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft. Gonna be exciting! Do you, do you remember what the Chaos rule for next time is? I believe this time we get to Mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> Which, after all these really goofy ones that we've been doing, that just seems so, like, stripped down. But it's, you know, it's nice to have something pretty basic. Just to be able to redo your opening hand and hopefully try to get something better. Which is what a mulligan is, if you don't know people. Card game terms. So yeah, look forward to that. And until then, good luck! And try to have fun with Royal Decree on the board. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode five. We're officially a, there, there's a word for something when it hits five, right? Kind of like a decade or a centennial or something. It's one of those like, cause like the five, the five things in Roman numerals are really stupid. So it's gotta be something ridiculous. There's gotta be, there's gotta be something important. Comment in the comments if you know, but either way, I'm hard like Joe, joined as always by the Arby's of Yugi tube, Mr. The RJB Zero. How you doing today, RJ? You know, coming from anybody else, I would say that that's like a huge insult, but I know your opinions on Arby's, and so I take that as a relative compliment, especially compared to Tucker Carlson, uh, a nickname that I think I may have earned with my use of a particular trap card. You, you still episode. haven't gotten over that, have you? From last Folks, week. <laughs> what's up with these uh, with these <laughs> trap cards? Suddenly we're seeing them ev everywhere. You know, everywhere. I, why can't we just negate all of them? I'm not it, saying we should. I'm just asking some questions. You know, 
Yeah, I'm just pos posing the question. I'm putting the facts out there for you to decide if negating all of these horrendous, <laughs> degenerate, dangerous trap cards is the right way to conduct a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. We're, we're, we're here to play some Yu-Gi-Oh, and we're going to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't yes. think there's anything really important. We got a mulligan this episode. That should be neat. Let's just go ahead and jump into the pool dimension. Ooh. Right, here we are once again back at the tank. And we're not doing so good so far. We're <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of on a losing streak already, and I don't like that. But we've got a whole bunch of stuff ready. The last couple episodes, we've been kind of hampered by the chaos rules. You know, RJ got his stupid FTK thing, and then we couldn't use all our great cards. But now, now we're unleashed, and we get a mulligan to help us out. So I'm hoping we can use this and take back the steez from RJ. Don't ask me what the steez is. Anyway, we got Dark Beginning. And, uh, doesn't look like much of anything, really. Oh, we take magical hats? Magical hat- oh wait, DNA surgery! This is the one that changes the type, right? Yeah, yeah, we're slowly building up our Buster Blader stuff, so we'll get that. We can make everything dragons, it'll be funny. Alright. First pack, uh, Delinquent Duo. Is this card banned? Is this- this- Discarded better be banned. It really ought to be. Oh my god, Delinquent Duo's not banned. Uh, a Torrential is definitely banned, so yeah, Delinquent Duo is the take here. And up we go to the Duelist Genesis, the only decent-ish GX pack, and uh, another Gladiator Beast. We already have one Esket, though, and I don't think we need more than one. I'm kind of tempted for the D-Synchro, but I think Book of Eclipse is probably actually the, the best one here. Just being able to flip down everything might not be good right now, but especially in the future, if we get to bigger combo decks, this might be pretty cool. Photon Shockwave. This one has treated us interestingly in the past. Um, it's one day of peace banned. No, I'll take it. Raging Battle. More like rage. Oh wait, another evil thorn. Is this is this our third evil thorn? One second. One moment. Yeah, there we go, baby. Now we're getting the plant stuff going. We're going plant crazy here. I could be starting on my Medolce lineup, but no. Next part. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Breakthrough skill coming through for me once again. Extreme victory. Ooh, Reborn Tengu. We did some pretty cool stuff with this last time. You gotta get three of them, though, before they're any use. Uh, but we could start trying to stockpile them. I'm not sure what other packs they're in and the, is the problem. Localized Tornado's also good. This just, like, resets the graveyard. Warwolf's a pretty nice tuner. Uh, but realistically, I'm not using... Yeah, let's just take the Tengu while we're at it, and if we get more Tengus, we'll be good. All right, it's time for Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. This set is my guiding light in Sealed Showdown. What will it give us here? A Blaster Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Do not mind if I do. I will take it. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, will I get another Dragon Ruler? I've been doing pretty good. Show me another Blaster. Well, we didn't get Blaster. We did get... We did get another, like, Burner, which is kind of like a Blaster. We've also got a couple other things. I think we just want to take the Burner. We don't have a Redox yet. Let me check my dragon rulers real quick. Dragon ruler. Yeah, I've got one, I got two blaster and a tempest. So we'll just take that burner. Just make it a little bit, a little bit more uh, consistent. Dragons of legend. Yeah, sure, I'll take soul charge. <laughs> there's also steam the cloak, but there's also soul charge. Dragons of legend. There's no legend dragons in here at all. Uh, we do have another mathematician, which for our... I mean, this is just foolish burial on legs. If we're trying to get our Insector package up, that's pretty good. Wiretap is also pretty nice. Just for, like, you know, negate... Trap negate. Uh, I'm gonna take the mathematician, though. 
mathematician of better. Not another one. The not another one? Really? I guess? Return of the bling! 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 Ooh, solemn warning! Is that the solemn that's not banned yet? Yeah, solemn judgment is banned. Solemn strike is banned. Solemn warning is not banned. So we're gonna take that, especially because we already have three compulse. <laughs> High speed riders. Do we take another MST or do we start dipping into the psychics? Ooh, big questions. So reasons to take MST, it's another piece of backer removal. Reasons not to take MST, is that we have a lot of MST-esque back row removal now. We also have Red Resonator. Oh, Red Resonator rocks. We take Red Resonator, right? Yeah, let's grab a Red Resonator. Invasion, colon, vengeance, colon. Ugh, this is going into my colon, if you know what I mean. This would be really great if we were collecting super heavy samurais. I think we just want to take the Opabinia. It's super rare. We can make it with if we get some more um, paleos. We're always picking up paleos. They're, they're spread across a few sets. Let's take that. Ooh, another not bad series of cards. Trishula is not banned and I will be taking it. Code of the duelist. It's a duelist code. Is that topological bomber dragon? Is that a topological bomber dragon, chat? Don't tell me this is banned. Let me let me go back over these cards real quick. Ooh, topological bomber dragon. Now we could also get uh, the ascendant of thunder. I am I'm pretty sure we already have like two of those things. Yeah, could have three of those. Yeah, we have to get the secret rare while it's here. Can't pass that up. One of the best rank fours in the game. Absolutely nutty. Dual power. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, I think I know what we're taking. Duelist Saga. Oh, now I get a red eyes blackness metal dragon of my own, eh? That might be pretty good. Or a Sukiyomi. I am trying to get some spirit stuff. Monster Gate is pretty neat. Mmm, I think we need to take the red eyes, though, while we're at it. I don't know. On the other hand, RJ already has, like, three of these, and we may have to end up banning that just because it's so, so powerful. Uh, but nothing else I'm really going to use, so let's just, let's just take the, the red eyes. Yeah, continuing to get- oh, that's a crackdown. Never mind. I was going to say continuing to get uninspiring pulls from this set, but I will happily take crackdown. Extremely forceful. Oh, hey, there's another- there's another mech knight. Another rare mech knight. Pretty good. And nothing else? Yeah, we'll just- we'll just take that. All right, Battles of Legend, Heroes Revenge, one of the best sets for our strategy in particular. I'll take a Stratos. I will happily take a second Stratos. Oh, that's such a good pull. That is everything we could want from this pack. Flames of Destruction are not looking good. We got Conclave Control Overheat. Oh wait, the Insector Link. We're building Insectors. We need stuff. I'm pretty sure we don't have one of those already. One second, let me, let me just check my Insector Pool. No, we don't have Picafelina, and that would really help us out. So let's grab one of those. Dual Overlord. Oh, Overload. I am the Dual Overlord. <gasps> Wait. Wait. Wait, chat, we have it. We have Verte now. Oh, you have no idea how good this card is for our pool. We have Fossil Fusion. We have two copies of Dark Fusion. We're looking for Dark Calling, and oh boy, do we have things to work with here. I will happily take a Verte Anaconda. Now the heroes will have their revenge. Ooh, is that rubber band shooter? Hell yeah, we're getting the we're we're putting it, we're slowly putting together the speedroid stuff, people. 
All right, Legendary Duelist Season 1. What do we have? Um, not much is the answer to that. Red Eyes Fusion? Ah, not a bad thing to have in the bank. If there's any shot that we get Dragoon, then this card could be worthwhile. Yeah, I'll take Red Eyes Fusion. I'm Istin for a fist. Oh, wow. There we go. We're just trying. We're getting all the links. Now we've got the, the Speedroid link and the Fire Fist link. What more could a man ask for? Battles of Legend Armageddon. We... <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a large number of extremely good cards, almost all of which we already possess. I don't think I'm going to get a second Utopia the Lightning into rotation, nor do I expect to play a second Scurry Dow, so I'll take an O-Lion. Time to have an impact with the- AND THE GLADIATOR BEAST LINK! Holy fuck, three links in a row! I'm trying to make jokes and stuff, but we just got everything, baby, and that that really is a game changer. Holy fuck. Oh, we already have a Papliot. This is an ultra rare. I've been I've been doing I don't know how many and never gotten this. This thing is really hard to pull, and now we got one. Alright. What do we got? You don't say. You do not say. You you're you do not speak of it. You say nothing. We take those. We take those. Shen Shen is so goddamn good. Time to face Armageddon. Ooh, that's one of the good fossils. Hell yeah, the battle for the fossils continues. I'm taking that. We get ourselves a third fossil fusion. I think it's our third fossil fusion. Let's let's real quick. How are we doing on fossils? Yep, we got two. We got three of them, baby. Now we just need to get a lot more rocks. Maximum gold, El Dorado. Some pretty decent things in here. Uh, the one that really sticks out to me is actually Book of Moon. We do get access to Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss again. But we've had access to this card a million times, and we have yet to have a way to actually summon it. Breaksword is good. It gives us a reason to go into threes. Yeah, I don't have a single Dark Dragon yet. So I'll take Book of Moon. The grandest of creators. Ooh, another centipede. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, chat. We're getting there. We got it. Our Insector Pool looking pretty spicy. Ghost from the past to Christron Halty Fibrax is not banned in Chaos Draft. Do I already have it? I do not already have it. We will take a Halk. I don't know what we're doing with it, but I'll take it. When the masters are tactical, no one can win. Runic stuff. Valiant stuff, Droll and Lock. None of these are particularly good. I think we're gonna take the tip. Like we don't have any other runic stuff, but uh, if we ever get any, we can search it with tip. So let's let's take the tip, just the tip. All right, Legendary Duelist Season Three. This pack is absolutely our bread and butter. There's a Malicious Edge. That is the second. Oh, no, there it is. We have it. We have the dark calling. We are taking this shit right now. And finally, the crystals will have their revenge. Uh, I, I think we're I think we're gonna take the dream shark. I think we're gonna we're gonna dream about sharks. And there we go. There we go. Not a bad haul this time. I think we might be able to make something work. But we still get the we still get the chaos packs, and we still get our pity packs. So let's grab those, shall we? And for our last pack of the main opening, it's time for Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Uh, <laughs> guess we're being, <laughs> guess we're being forced in a particular direction, aren't we? We already have double seals. Take the third seals. All right, Celine requires a spellcaster monster. We could probably make that happen if this card is linked. Someone play spell counters on the field. 
While an Endymion card is on the field, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. We would need other spell casters. I mean, it's better than Bora, so I'll take it. All right, time for the Chaos Packs, starting, of course, with mine, which are the best Chaos Packs. I don't want to hear otherwise. Cause look at that! We've got a we got another fucking dragon. Let's put the dragonfly in there. We're playing insectors this time, baby. I don't care what anyone says. Hold up. Can Muckraker summon Bane? I'm gonna take Muckraker. And pack number two, which has Redox. We're talking about wanting to get wanting to get some dang old dragon rulers. Ultra rare. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna put that in there. As tempting as it is to get another Magician's Rod or maybe an Entis. I mean, we do we do have Dogmatica Punishment now that I think about it. Oh, uh, and that would make it a double pop. Entis is good, Redox is great. These are both very hard to find. Fuck, I'm letting Twitch chat choose. I can't decide. We're going for a poll, baby. All right, looks like we're taking Redox. We're getting ourselves a Dragon Ruler, baby. Adding that to the pack. And then it's on to Robert Luigi. Mm, Saravius is cute. Nibiru is very funny. There's Aratama, really punishing for me, me for not taking the Sakitama. Um, Nibiru's cute, but Hard Leg isn't really special summoning yet, and it's a common. This is actually a good time for me to take Sakitama, I think. All right, RJ, what do your stinky packs have for me this time? Artifact Morale Tack is pretty good. Pretty good for my back row heavy deck. I do like punishing him for trying to destroy my things. I do also like Lone Fire. I don't have enough for a plant stuff. I already have a Bagel Tech. Yeah, we're taking the morale tack. Getting that, that artifact in there. Pack number one, mocking a peacekeeper is very cool. Is that a junior journey reference right there? Squib draw is a great pull. If I'm going to be doing rocket things, but a second trap stun is actually very hard for me to pass up. I will take it. All right, not bad, not bad. What else you got for me? Yeah, this is what I was expecting. Got fucking Horus the Black Flame, Return of the Zambi. Another Lone Fire's good, but I think I want to take the Shien Smoke Signal. Oh, well, actually, let me let me look at my six Samurai pulls real quick. Six Sam. Wow, this, this, it's really so limited. Yeah, fuck it, I'm taking Lone Fire. Second pack. Junk Destroyer is very cute. S Small World is very good. A lot of good things to work with here. I want to take Small World. All right, after much deliberation, we've decided that this week the secret pack we'll pull from is Emerging Monstrosity Recon, which is the Kaiju pack, and most importantly, the Danger pack. All the dangers are in here. They're kind of high rarity, but even if we can just get like a Mothman or something, I think that'll still be good. We're hoping to play Insectors today, and you want to get those into the graveyard. They're also a deck full of dark monsters, so we have some synergy with like dark Dark arm dragon and such. So I, I think just having something that allows us to draw and discard will help us out. And then we we're also trying to build dark world stuff. I don't think we have enough to go into that pack yet, but if we get the dangers, that'll help out with the dark world. So let's go ahead and try this. Hopefully see what we can get. The only problem with this pack is it has a whole bunch of spells and traps that are just, just awful. Just you would never play them at all. And fortunately, we did not get all those today. We've got Danger Nessie and Danger Dogman, both of which would be pretty good for what we're trying to do. Now, Nessie's obviously the better one, but only because it searches a danger. You can add a danger from your deck to your hand. We don't have many. Dogman's a level seven, kind of a pretty good beater on its own. It's also common, and I'm pretty sure it's common even in the packs. We've seen it before. And they're both level 7, so either way we can make the, the Red Eyes Darkness metal with it. So, yeah, we'll try that. We'll get that in there. So there's one. All right. My first re-wool of the night, Maximum Gold El Dorado. Wow, this set 
has not been kind to me. Predaplant Verte on Anaconda is a good card, but not one that I need. There's also Win Verdant, which is all right. Pack number two, flip them up. I think we actually want to go for the Ogo Pogo. It's a level eight and it is a danger, even though it's all it does is it's a, it's a 3000 defense wall. And if this card is discarded, you could send one danger card from your deck to your graveyard, which helps if you get the spell traps, but uh, we don't have any of the spell traps. There's only like one or two danger spell traps worth taking and danger zone is not one of them, even though it's cool. Ah, uh, let's, let's put it up to a poll. Well, it's not what I came in here for, but we've got the opportunity to get a turtle and chat wants turtle power. So let's take turtle power. I think we re-roll this one again. Wow, this pack has not been good for us. How have my pulls been so bad out of this pack? One more time. I get one more re-roll. We're going to re-roll maximum gold one more time. All right, one more time. Maximum gold Eldorado. Whatever we get out of this one is the one that we take. <gasps> Rewarded! Oh, can I get some reels in chat? Can I get some reels in chat? We will take an access code talker. And then we just got to hope we can get a Bigfoot or maybe, maybe a Thunderbird or something on this one. Let's flip it up. And we did not get either of those things. In fact, we didn't get hardly anything good at all, but we could take a dog man. We've at least got a dog man. So we got two dangers to add to our list. Hopefully between that and the foolish burials and the mathematician and the graceful charities, we should have quite enough, no problem at all, getting uh, Insector Hornet into the graveyard. At least that's, that's the hope. Let's find out, shall we? I said I was going to do it, and gosh darn it, I done went and did it. Let me introduce you to Insectors. Specifically, what I'm calling Level 7 OTK Insectors. If you're unfamiliar with the Insector engine, it's, it's pretty simple. You've got these two cards, Dragonfly and Centipede. These can equip an Insector from your hand or graveyard. And what you want to equip is Hornet. Hornet, if it's equipped, can send itself to the graveyard in order to pop a card on the field. Hopefully a card our opponent controls. And then not only that, but these say if something equipped to it leaves the field, like, you know, if Insector pops something, you can either summon an Insector from the deck or add an Insector card from your deck to your hand. So these just kind of go crazy, right? If we get Dragonfly in this, we could pop a card, search a Centipede, re-equip, pop a card, search like a Zek Calibur or the Zek Trike. This allows us to like tribute off one dragonfly and summon the other dragonfly and do it again to get another centipede. Like it's absolutely crazy if it goes off where you can pop like four cards your opponent controls while swarming. The problem is um, one, your opponent has to have a board that allows you to do all this without uh, interrupting you. If Robert's on a whole bunch of stuff like Compulse, like the Dinomicious, we may be in trouble, um, which is why I'm playing a whole bunch of level seven extenders and specifically stuff like Loyal Guan Yun and Ascendant of Thunder that either have effects or your opponent wants to use removal on them that isn't destruction. Um, Robert needs to bounce this back or banish it. Otherwise, I'm going to gain 5,000 life points, which, you know, not great, but you'd still prefer if your opponent didn't do that. So my hope is like we can bait out his um, chainable stuff with these level seven things and then go into the insectors, destroy whatever he has, and hopefully OTK. Um, these are just all really big beaters. These are not big beaters, but they're big enough, especially when you swarm with them. Combine that with like the dangers, combine that with some of the other extension we have, and especially high roll stuff, Dark Arm Dragon and Blackluster Soldier. All the dangers and insectors are dark, 
and we do have ways to kind of shuffle our graveyard around, especially with stuff like Graceful Charity and Foolish Burial. So we can hopefully get exactly three of them into the graveyard, in which case it's even more damage, more destruction. And then if we can get a dark and a light, we can make BLS. And all the mech knights we are playing are light. We've got a damage juggler. We've got a ghost ogre. There's not a ton of lights, but there's just enough that I think I can make it work. And yeah, just going for that combo. Some number of these, plus either of these insectors can hopefully get us going, and we have to get Hornet in the graveyard. That's why we're playing Too Foolish Burial, Too Graceful Charity, just hoping these will draw us into things and help us get us stuff in the graveyard. And even if we don't have the setup for the Hornet, we can maybe set up something for the BLS or the Dark Arm Dragon, just by sending the right amount of things. We've also got Damage Juggler, we can send this, search Hat Tricker, that's extension. Hat Tricker plus any of our tuners allows us to go into our level 7 package. Um, we've got a whole bunch of level 7, so any two of these allows us to go into Red Eyes Flare Metal, which does 500 to your opponent anytime they try to do a thing. This is, this is the original Tax Dragon. So if we can get in for like 27 plus 25 and then put Robert under a clock, it, things are going to be a little bit difficult for him. At least that's, that's the hope. Again, we can brick really easily on this. We could also have Robert not have the proper field to do it. He could force us to go first. Uh, there's a lot of situations where this doesn't end up working well. But if it works, oh boy does it work. And who knows what we can get banned. Maybe Insector, maybe the Charity, maybe Foolish Burial even. Hard to say hard to leg. As for the side deck, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. If, if I think Robert's going to make us go first, I want to put in some hand traps to kind of prevent from being OTK'd because we really don't have any kind of disruption aside from the compulse. This is my one backup if we can't OTK or if we have to go first. So if he, if we win one and he makes us go first, that's when we put in Tragodia. That's when we put in the Mahama, the fairy dragon. And these can hopefully just prevent us from being killed outright. And they're also lights and darks. We've also got a couple uh, Kaijus. These can be useful if he happens to have some big boss monsters we can't get rid of. Also, Kamungus is searchable with Resonance Insect. I have two of these but they only search high-level insects, of which I have none at the moment, except for Kamungus, and I don't think I want to main deck that. But if Kamungus goes in, this will probably go in. Uh, we have a couple ways to banish this, I think. Maybe it's just one way, but if we can banish it, then we, or not banish it, send it to the grave. We have a lot of ways to send it to the graveyard, and then it searches the kaiju. Um, we're also playing Lancia in the side deck. This stops uh, Robert from banishing things. And we know that he's on, like, the Evil Hero Fusion package. He was playing the uh, Fossil Fusions last time. And I'm hoping this, along with the Ghost Bells, will be able to stop those. Because this stops you from basically doing anything related to the graveyard. Adding cards from the graveyard to the hand, special summoning from the graveyard, and more importantly, banishing cards from the graveyard. Not only do we fear his fusion spells, but also just the fact that, like, any anything he has that can remove Hornet from the graveyard is going to completely shut us down. So we're main decking these in the hopes that if he tries to go for a fossil fusion to get rid of the, the Hornet, or if he's playing called by or something, this can stop it. Uh, we're also on 3 MST, not only is this good back row removal, it's good for Mirage of Nightmare, and it can also be used to trigger the, uh, the Insectors in a pinch. If he doesn't have anything, we can always, like, equip Hornet and then blow it up with MST to trigger the Dragonfly. It, it's not pretty, but it might be the difference between life and death. Um, the rest of the stuff in here, I'm not sure if we'll use. I mean, if he's got a whole bunch of links, we've got Phantasme. Um, this is just another thing that we can send to the graveyard if we find we need more, more stuff on board. If it gets into the grind game, we've got Pot of Avarice. We've got more stuff to resurrect from the graveyard, which, I mean, we're putting everything into the graveyard. I was originally playing these, but after some test hands, I found that, uh... Usually, if I'm going second, they're kind of bricks. We don't really want this kind of stuff. We'd rather just OTK them outright with all the big monsters. And hopefully the mulligan will help us to do that. It's still going to be a bit high roll, but I guess we'll find out. I'm feeling gambling today. You gotta have high risk if you want high reward, and I want those chaos coins. The streak must end. It must. So let's see how that works. Hopefully it does, does pretty good.
I'm pretty sure that if GOAT format had happened in 2019, this is roughly what it would have looked like. This is another cringe combo player coming to the table with an OTK deck, but I swear this one is... And another OTK deck. Hard leg banned away Royal Decree, which was a very fair move and very good for the format, but I'm not here to be good for the format. I'm here to be evil. Mostly because, again, I have failed to draft a main deck that features a lot of monsters that get me value regularly, but I have gotten an obscene lineup of extra deck boss monsters, so I aim to use those to the fullest potential, and that means OTKs. Let's take a look at the deck. Our boss monster monsters in the extra deck feature our Malicious Bane, which is now all the easier to summon off of Dark Calling. This card is really easy to get to by way of the double Stratos, double Rota that we have in our decks. Gets us in a Dusted Gold, gets us the Dark Calling, and if Stratos is backed by a level 4 monster, we can overlay into Lavalval Chain and send away a level 5 or higher to get us instantly into Malicious Bane. We've got a lot of extenders as well. These extenders are very, very good for getting us into our link boss monsters, mainly our newly minted access code talker. Access code talker has a very easy line by way of any non-tuner and tuner monster. We can use Crystron Halky Fibrax to summon out our maiden with eyes of blue, and if there are enough spell cards in both players' graveyards, we can link off for Selene, Queen of the Master Magician, summon back our maiden with eyes of blue, and that is one card access code talker. That's not the only access code line we have though through dandelion and gofu it's extremely easy for us to make this guy and make him big this is a very fragile strategy, which means that we've got to be high on gas. That's why our back row is basically all cards that get guys, cards that bring back guys, cards that are guys, cards that tutor our guys, a lot of back row removal, and some haymakers in the trap card lineup. Our plan B is rank 4 Xyz monsters, both Evil Swarm Exciton Knight and plan B himself, Boguska. We're going with the EP version. And our side deck is for bringing in the cards that are good going first or second, depending on what we're doing, and providing us a little bit more resiliency in the hand trap lineup. This is going to be an interesting week for me. I am absolutely terrified of Hard Leg's chainable back row that he has access to, but hopefully Trap Stun will be enough to get our big guys on the board and get the big hits in. This deck is an OTK machine. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm excited for the duels. Time has come for me to make the hardest decision the one I always lose, this is my answer. Mm. Ah, go team adventure. We have venture. come to the same place. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I see, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Third time's the hmm. damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go second. I should have gone with the paper. I wanted to go second. Why not me, RJ? Or this hand is... Oh, wait, we have a mulligan. I yeah. may have to use it. <laughs> this hand is amazing if oh. I'm going second. <laughs> ah, I, I see. Do I really want to do four cards just to get lower when I already have most of the stuff? No. No, I don't think I do. Hmm. I think we're just going to have to uh, accept this into our hearts. Into our My minds. hand is really big bad, but if I draw, like, a good card, it's probably good again. Well, you could probably do something. Who knows? No, I'm gonna make a bad decision. I'm not going to mulligan this time. Maybe yeah. this was the time to mulligan, but I don't know. Oh! Probably not. <laughs> well, you, you passing potentially anyway. changes everything here. Can I win oh. this turn? Okay. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's all going to be decided by the <laughs> fucking coin flip. <laughs> I don't think that I can win this turn, unfortunately. Uh, you better not be able to. I'm going to activate Evil Hero a Dusted Gold and okay. add a Dark Calling this time. Time to get dusted. And then I will set two back row and I will pass. Ah, interesting. Not a single monster among ye. Correct. What do I do here? Do I activate this first? 
Or do I go for the high roll? Hmm. The highest of rolls. Mm. My gut's telling me to fire it. Okay. What you got here? It's a rough hit, I won't lie. It's a rough one. <laughs> It's a tough one. All the haunted. Okay, that not a big fan been, of losing that. It would have been five. Fine to hit that. Uh, anyway, normal summon in Zector Dragonfly. Oh no! Activate. Okay. Uh, Equip Hornet. <laughs> oh no! Um, I guess this actually does not matter in the slightest. Nothing really matters. Y yeah. Go off, King. Oh, thank you, RJ. I appreciate it. Let's pop now you can see row. why it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, okay. All right, let's see what you can do with Insectors with no back row to contend with. We've got yeah, ourselves I, a centipede. I now regret using that MST. This would have been very good. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see here. So I am going to special summon Dream Cicada. What on God's flat fuck is this? <laughs> it's a free special summon. It does things. Uh, the question is, what kind of things do it do? It changes battle positions. Yeah, I need to. And think that appears this to be over it. carefully. Is there a Pico de Gallo in my future? <laughs> there might be. Hmm. You don't know me. You don't know how I eat my breakfast cereal. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I will okay. pick the Hornet, and you live this time. Okay. For now. I am, given that I am not dying, very glad that I did not do the thing I was going <laughs> to do last turn. That you didn't commit everything? Yeah. Okay. Do that. Then main phase two... Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead. You read me like a book. We'll make the Pico de Gallo. Uh, All do right. I want to equip a card. Yes. Yes, I think I do. Discard okay. that. Interesting. We'll equip a another Hornet. That's a lot of Hornets. Two of them things. Two of them things. Uh, and then we will use a hornet on a <laughs> hornet. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we will I search. See. I see. In fact, we will search multiple times. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh. If I had known, perhaps I would have made a bigger play. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just got a, cu a couple of different things. You know how it is. So let me look at this. I could shuffle back. The yeah. one thing I'm really worried about is that last card you have in your hand that I don't know about. Let's shuffle these three back and draw an extra card. I'm about to have one more card. Oh, there are two about. more cards I don't know about. Ooh, I see. Um. <laughs> okay. So then we activate the Zex Caliber on the this. The Squad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna send these two to the grave. I'm gonna make Nani. raw ten. Oh, this guy. Okay. And then Zek Caliber will just add me back my dragonfly. <laughs> you could target one monster. This card points to special summon a level four with the same type. Okay, that doesn't particularly help me. All right. I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy. Passes with that. I, the. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I think it's the answer magic. to the question, can I win the game, may have just become yes. Oh, come on. All right. I've, I've How do we do this? I've got a with a stick. Um, you can't OTK me through a stick. I think I might be able to. So let's see, that puts that on the board. I have... Those, what do you have in grave? Interesting. 
uh, why are why is your hornet or your centipede targeted currently? Uh -huh. Interesting. You may not it be just... able to see this on your screen, but on my oh. screen, your 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 centipede is permanently targeted. Oh, I, I can see it. He just, you know, he likes to be the center of attention. What can I say? Very strange. I must be missing something, and I don't particularly feel like figuring out what that is. Entirely possible. I'm going to figure out my way there. Oh, my way there is actually shockingly easy oh. uh let's go foolish burial all right i am going to send away dandelion oh how dandy so cute fluff tokens dandelion is fun them. because it is a one card sylvan dance peony how many plants you got in there alongside your evil heroes we're just not going to worry about that little bit. Uh, I am going to special summon Garbage Lord. <laughs> Garbage Lord. All right. Garbage Lord. Uh, and Ugh. we are going to use that Garbage Lord with my Dance Peony to summon someone you may be familiar with. Nightmare Unicorn, of course. I am not going to use my Nightmare Unicorn's effect. I am, however, going to activate Monster Reborn. And I will target, oh, a fascinating array of cards, but really the one I'm interested in here is Dandelion. Ah, all the Link material. Very much Link material, but it could be a monster with no other effects for all I care because it summons a monster with a very important effect, Hard Leg Joe. It's, it's One I only it? recently got access it's to. <laughs> oh, I hate this fucker. All right. So I will use access code to increase its attack and I am going to chain. Oh, it didn't work that way. That's you okay. Cannot. It really did not need to work that way. Um, and Love then tokens. I will uh, activate access code. I'm gonna banish dance peony. I don't think that card's going to make much of a difference to take out raw 10. Sadness. And then let's finish it off with a hot, dark calling <laughs> for my Malicious Bane from Extra Deck. This is a card I've been very excited to potentially summon. And uh... barring the Trigodia you have been so fond of, Mr. Leg, I do believe this is the end of the game. Yeah, there's, there's no Trigodia this time, unfortunately. Whoo! That's that's fine. I didn't want to okay. go first. I didn't know I wanted to go second. And now that's true. This is now your opportunity. I get to go second. Okay, I will go second this time. Ah, another opportunity for a mulligan. Ah, uh, let me consider this briefly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redraw that one, Chief. That's even worse! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, but I think I have to stick with it because it at least does something. Uh, yeah, put that back. Hopefully I'll draw something decent. Okay, I am also going to mulligan. My hand does nothing going first. Um, I'll stick with this. Yeah, unfortunately we lose... I mean, we just learned this right before the episode. It works exactly like the Magic the Gathering mulligan. You can mulligan as many times as you as you want, but each time you've got to replace... You lose one card. So, like, I could mulligan again and start with three cards, but I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am going to open with another set two and pass. Fantastic. Let's set this. Mm-hmm. No big reason. You know, it's not like I would have Couldn't a move, be. man. No! <laughs> the man he moveth. The man uh, moveth too much. That's fine. Um, hmm. 
If this is sent, that doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll just hit you for 24 this time. Just going to battle phase? Yeah. <sighs> we'll just try that. Give you the 2400 attack point tickle. Yeah, I'm going to try for it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the card I meant. Okay. It, all is fine. <laughs> I still have opportunities to do the other thing that I meant to do. Uh... <laughs> I'll also activate Ring of Destruction. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that was against Insectors. That was a highly suspect choice of moves. Interesting. I will activate Perform a Pal Damage Juggler. <laughs> oh. Who can negate an effect that would inflict damage to me. <laughs> That's actually very bad for me i will not lie to you i don't know um, why i'm putting these in the zones that don't already have a mech knight yeah. <laughs> and i guess we'll just attack at the i did not know it could do that i thought it just negated the damage i didn't know it actually I, negated effects i also thought it only negated the damage until right now yeah <laughs> let's go ahead and banish this Mm -hmm. Grab ourselves a hat tricker. Mm -hmm. The question is, uh, what can I do? I, I didn't include any of those. I didn't think I'd be in this situation. It's a very strange one to be certain. <sighs> do I have anything that really gets me... Well, was... I guess that's better than nothing, but it's not great. <laughs> Let me think about this for one second. I was so convinced I'd put the ring in the left hand column and the, <laughs> the scapegoat in the right hand. <laughs> it just that's... felt correct to my brain. I didn't bother to look. We will normal summon the, the insector disturbing thing for you to do. Okay. And I will link summon Almirage. <laughs> Ooh, Almirage is a really cute piece of utility to get. Yeah. In this case, it's just like, well, if you have a dark hole or something, I can save the Indigo Eclipse. That is true. Or maybe a, uh, a nightmare of some kind. I mean, obviously not Unicorn, although you need different names, so you'd have to make something else with the tokens. Uh, I could also do that, which would invest everything in my hand. Do I want to invest everything? No, no, I'll wait. I'll see what okay. you got. I've still got a back row. Now uh, that's a funny draw. That's a very funny draw. Okay. Uh, this is a now or never type of situation for this move. I'm going to normal summon TG Striker. All right. And I am going to special summon another one of my link tools. Good old Crystron uh, Halky Fibrex. How you betrayed me again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How do you have so many good link tools already? I have done nothing with my life but draft extra deck cards. That's, that's... what that's what's been doing this. You could have a response to the Hulk. Interesting. I'll allow it. Okay. Well, that presents an awkward question for me. Oh, no, it doesn't. This card is extremely good. Uh, <laughs> I'll summon Mecha Fan and Beast O-Lion. We're just doing oh, the entire Hulk line. Let me guess. You got you got an Aurordon in there, too, Robert? I, uh, I am not quite that spectacular at Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, like Aurora Dawn, Martial Metal Marcher, just going to Link Cross, you know. The good news is I don't think I win the game this turn. That's the, that's the good news for you, I suppose. Oh, um, boy. Oh, my God. Is that the move? Yeah. Gonna link off my token with Halk for my Nightmare Unicorn. I see. 
I will use the Nightmare Unicorn effect, and I will discover element or discard Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. E heroes, eh? Yeah, and I'm going to put back your move, man. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> Behold, by moving to another. Co- <laughs> he is. He has, he has moved. I, moving I, did occur. I like to pretend. Okay. Um. I mean, access code is a pretty good card. He's pretty beefy. He's not bad. He beefs from time to time. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> let's let's keep the, up this train. And Just this one, I believe. my code every time. I believe I can actually chain block this one. I mean, I can't can't respond to it anyway. Also, you did the reverse of chain blocking. What? I put to do the lion first and then the access code. Well, the access. Oh, I guess the access code. Isn't the, the the destruction effect that can't be changed? No, you can't to? respond to any of his effects. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, well then I um, that was pointless. Mm-hmm, what else can mm-hmm. I do right now? Nothing super exciting. Nothing super interesting. Yeah. Um. I'm going to take this opportunity to use access code. You're going to hit me with the hottest waking the dragons ever. I okay. Wish. I'm pretty happy with that. And I Wait. will. Oh, it has to be face up. I was like, I'll get. Oh, back. no. <laughs> so All right. I could at least use it as a bluff. It didn't know. I am pretty happy with this. So I will pass the turn. Come on. Good draws. <sighs> Pretty much any Insector does it, right? Yes, any Insector would do it right about now. Oh no. Unfortunately, any Insector is not what I have. What I have is Garbo and nonsense. Poppycock even, perhaps. Oh. Uh, do I do I do I have anything? Did I literally just draw the worst parts of my deck? <sighs> you should I be have... able to mulligan like three turns in. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to mulligan now, if you will. <laughs> if in you don't mind. Yeah, that was really kind of dependent on me getting that thing out of the graveyard. Unfortunate. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't necessarily die here. I've okay. Got, I've got a glove man. I've he got is a, a glove set man. card. Her two. They're... I've got another set card. That's some stuff. Yeah. It okay. certainly is. Um. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm kind of kicking myself now. I have all these like cards just in for like niche cases. Like, oh, if I get two level threes. And I didn't put in two level fours because I only have two level four monsters in the entire deck. Oh. And here's both of them. And you know, it, it's, I, I really could use that, um, that uh, the, what's his name, Castell right now. That would be pretty nice. I mean, I can pretty much do everything with this hand. <laughs> so. <laughs> the <laughs> world just make is sure. over. Yeah, uh, I can normal summon my Cybers gadget. We can summon back the O-Lion. Just, oh, I can't believe you've got like every band tuner and Halka Fibrax. Oh, yeah, five buddy. Five episodes it- in. You think I'm out of incredible link tools that came out in this era? How about Verte? <laughs> Make Verte. Um, and what can you send with Verte, good sir? We were about to find out. Oh, I have two cards that can summon tokens. That's very fun. I don't know what I can do with those two cards that can summon tokens. You could summon tokens. We will summon tokens. You know, I'm going to make the most of my cards. Really get that ad revenue. Just really fill up all the tokens. We just want to see just you know, all the a zones. wide variety of tokens. Yeah, we've this is this planes, is really just... We've got a, gadget tokens, sheep. Yeah, it's really... It's a token extravaganza. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. 
and then we will use... Uh, this is actually where you hit me with the world's hottest. Oh shit, I can't do that. I don't have the, I don't have the zones! <laughs> you fool! I have tricked you into summoning enough! Oh <gasps> wait, okay, alright, there's another stupid play I can make. I'm gonna make the other stupid play I can make here. So I have to use this Verte. Uh, which I will link off with um, this token. We're gonna make we're gonna make Nightmare Phoenix. All right. Uh, and I will not use that Nightmare Phoenix because I'm gonna link off. You sure? Into... What if this back row is torrential tribute? Well, <laughs> I I will get thoroughly owned if you manage to bring that back off the ban list. And we will Nightmare use the Cerberus. Cerberus because I do get the draw because it's co-linked here. <laughs> How did you get every single nightmare? <laughs> I thought I had some good cards. I've just not been getting them. Uh, I will banish this. I'll take out your monster and then uh, let's just. Oh, that was on the field still. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, you it could was. Banish from the field for access code. Okay, yeah. this has been can, this has been real showcase himself. of my skill at Yu-Gi-Oh. Your real skill, and I, I don't know how you're pulling so ungodly good. Like you've got a whole <laughs> link extra deck. I've been I've been specifically trying to get all the cybers possible, and I have like two. I have like an access code and no way to make it essentially. Uh, I guess Jules, go ahead and put up that that thing. Let, let me have one more rematch. I gotta try and All see right, if I can do, do this. All right, let's do it. I've gotta prove that this can do something. Okay. Well, if it's ever going to do something, this is the hand that it's going to do it against. Uh, I am not going to mulligan this one, though. Because mm. it's got most of the things that I want to do. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I have to mulligan this one. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at this. Okay. I am going to... Activate Sakitama. That's the new spirit. He's a very new spirit. One of my favorites. Uh, and then I am going to go Rota. Okay. And with One that second. Rota, I'm going to grab an Elemental Hero Stratos. Go Stratos! And then I'm gonna normal Stratos. And I gotta figure out what I gotta With that Stratos. Too. I don't know what what the hell to I hit. will add a second Stratos. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, there's a really unfun play that I can make here, and I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna just set up for my malicious bane here. Ah, uh, you're not going to summon the Baguska? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I couldn't possibly <laughs> have a Baguska in my deck. That sounds like something a cringe a person would be change. running. It's just you whip every good extra deck monster, Robert. <laughs> I, I have to go back and watch your pulls. You have to be cheating. There's no way you have all of this already. I promise you, it really is because I have taken literally nothing else but red MDs. Uh, yes. And I am going to set a back row and pass the turn. I see, I see. Oh, finally. Okay. Um, well, we'll start by hitting out the loyal oh, Gon Yoon. It's your boy Gon Yoon. He's got big Very stuff. Loyal. And then I'll get to fire off something I was hoping to activate at some point. Oh boy, I forgot that you have this card. I do have this card. It's pretty dang neat, I w one one might say. Um, let's discard this and this. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, and Robert, I don't just have oh, one not, of them. Oh, <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> I have two of them! I don't have a response to this card. Okay. Um, hmm. And I guess we just send this and this. Yeah, sure. Okay. And then... Decisions, decisions. 
Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Normal summon the centipede. Okay. Activate the centipede. Okay. Get the hornet guy. Use the hornet guy. Pop that back row. Oh, rip. Well, uh, I was looking for the opportunity to use that, and I didn't get to chain on resolution, so, uh... Uh-oh. And... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure you have the always chain held down, Robert. I've gotta hold- I've gotta remember to hold it down. I've gotta learn the powers of the Omega UI. Yeah, you've gotta hold it down. Um... Zectrite Ko. All right. This is a card I don't think anybody has ever seen used. Yeah. No so one, no one knows. This how is to an use exciting it. one. Yeah. It's pretty neat though. It does some stuff. Maybe some things. Hmm. You know, popping cards, doing stuff, summoning more cards, getting more cards to pop more cards. Let's put this here. Um. Hmm. Oh wow. My cosmic cyclone would not have mattered in the slightest. <laughs> okay, well, you know. <laughs> it would have stopped that original one, I think. What does this do when um, uh, the guy specifically... If an equipped card is sent to the graveyard... Yeah, it would have, it would have shut me down. If you, would, if you would activated it, which I guess just goes to show how underprepared... I was like, you know, I have three MSTs. Somehow you've got a cosmic cyclone as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure, let's set this. Okay. Pop that. Let's grab the sword. Okay. Yeah. Swords everywhere. Just equip that to that. Uh, is this, is this game? I don't think this is game. 16 plus 16 plus 18. The plus sword add to hand? 25. Yeah. It's 7,500. Rip. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is game. Wait. Okay. Battle. Okay. Unless, d don't tell me you've got Trickodia now. No, I don't. Did you, did you learn from watching me? <laughs> uh, I do have two Gorzes, but they are not currently in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an evenly matched? I... Maybe make things... I mean, if, I, if I'm if i going to lose this turn, well, I suppose it would matter here, but yeah. I do not have evenly matched. Okay. And, oh, I've already normal summoned. Okay, it's not over yet. <laughs> I thought, uh, for a second, I was like, oh, it's Jover, and I, I am mistaken. If I had normal summoned already, then it would be Jover. Uh, as it stands, it is considerably, well, okay, actually here, one second. Let's use these two. Mm -hmm. Summon the Picofolina. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, add this back. Uh, no, I don't want to use her effects. How many bugs do I have in the graveyard? That's okay, a good. Terrifying question. Oh, because of her. Okay. <laughs> I can shuffle back three. Yeah. Draw a card. All right, and now we go for the one and three. Activate the <gasps> the a danger. Yeah, that's you are it. in danger. And now, Robert, that I have two level sevens. What are you? No! <laughs> <laughs> You're like I won't them. kill you. You will have to do it yourself. I was like, it's <laughs> over if I could get this dog man on the field. Okay, so now I feel my, you know, well, granted, if you had Baguska, if you would activate. Ah, I still feel so outclassed. How is your deck so good? Maybe I need to, I might have to consult the ancient sages. I might need to call, I wish I was dead. <laughs> and be like, sir, please, I need your assistance. You Help think that I wish I was dead is on your side? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me he's building for you already. We're gonna end. He this was in consultation for this one. Every series uh, inevitably ends up as an "I wish I was dead" mirror match. Fortunately, this was not quite that. I will go honorably with. Oh yeah, because it gets it's just negated. Okay. Um. 
What's negated? Oh, no, it's not just negated. I take 500 at the <laughs> end of the chain. Okay. I was like, what is going does it, it, on? Does it not work? Because I can't. Yeah. No, I just die. Okay. No, well, that was. just over. <laughs> Well, my uh, my streak of being the villain of this series does kind of continue. I am oh, apparently yeah. the eternal cringe combo OTK gamer here. Just absolute, and it's it, it always feels like you know the last episode. I was like, oh, I'll just go on all traps, and we'll have all these back row. Too much for Robert to to deal with, and it feels like you you either have like nine spell trap removal cards in your deck, or in that one case, you just got the the royal. Whatever it's called, one of those the royal, royal decree. Cards. Royal decree. I keep wanting to say oppression, but that's the spells, right? Which is yes. still not. No, that, that royal that's... oppression is the special summons. Royal decree is the traps, uh, and imperial order is the spells. I get all those royal imperial cards like mixed up or whatever. I mean, they're all the same, right? Royals, yeah. imperials, yada, bourgeoisie, yada, monarchs, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, this time I'll go hard in on the monsters. I'll get all the... And it, it didn't quite work out either. <laughs> when it comes to monster spam, you've got me beat. So I really, I really got to go back into the tank. And the thing is, I'm not exactly sure what to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of excess code yet. Because I have excess code. Uh, same thing with, like, Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, which kind of leaves it down to, like... Okay, I can get rid of the dandelion, because that thing's just going to give you infinite link material for the rest of your days. Or I could be really mean and just ban uh, Malicious Bane. <laughs> <laughs> I like feels... I like the spite logic there. You're like I can't ba ban oh, out the unfun part of your deck away, but I will happily <laughs> ban the like cool, interesting boss monster you've been working on. <laughs> oh, what has happened? Oh, Everything. we've apparently been forced into the next game. Oh, okay. I didn't know it would do that. It's fine. I'm not gonna. No, I'm yeah. not redrawing anything. You're good. All right. Yeah, it's... it just timed us out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, that, that's the thing, though. Is like malicious bane just represents this, like, you know, at 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 any point, if you find a way to get into uh, evil hero gold, you could just make malicious bane essentially, who is a thirty five hundred undestructible dude. And because you have Stratos and you have all these other things to search it. I feel like that threat's always looming over me. Just the fact that you could put on 3,000 damage on top, and a board wipe on top of everything. But you are right, it is fun. It is <laughs> <it's> so cool. <laughs> I like the idea that Malicious Bane might be in this series. I will tell you, if you ban Malicious Bane, I am intending to make heroes continue somehow. <laughs> uh, between my Vion and my Solid Soldier, I've even got the, the Dark Gaia out there. Yeah. Heroes will be in my heart this entire series. I saw that heroes were playable in a limited series, and I had to go for it. <laughs> and yet you're here playing the villain, playing heroes. How very dynamic. This is like the boys on HBO, but with Yu-Gi-Oh! It's exactly like that. It's exactly like that. So my heroes that's... are even evil. <laughs> so I'll have to think about it. I'll think about it. I'll take a look uh, at what you're playing, and I'll come up with a I'll come up with a band next week. You'll have to tune in next week to see what happens, to see if I can come back from this awful losing streak. Hopefully, I have a chance. I get more. I get more pity packs. So uh, yeah, check that out. And until next time, good luck. And have fun. And welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, Episode 6, Something About Dicks. I'm Heartleg Joe, if and you didn't know. And joining me as always, the Jeffrey Bezos of Yu-Gi-Tube, the RJB Zero. Not a flattering comparison, but one I'm beginning to earn in this series. Yeah. <laughs> you have so many cards, Mr. RJ. How do you have all the secret rares? I don't... Uh, it's, 
I, I'm not sure if there's Joe, any way. Joe, you just have to. If this is if you just have to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. It's clear that you're just not choosing the secret rares when you get them. They're I'm, there for you. You just have to have the intelligence and ingenuity to take them when you get I, them. I've just got to go into the pack openings with the Sigma male grind set. You know, I just got to be like, I believe if I encounter a pack of hyenas, I will not be afraid. <laughs> Exactly. Just like that. <laughs> That's, I'm not sure if people get that reference. I, I often watch the Duel Logs, who was in the first season of Chaos Draft on stream, and uh, he likes to go every once in a while when he loses, he'll he'll watch one of those like Sigma male affirmations. And one of them, they're like, I'm confident, I am smart, I'm a leader. And then one of them is just like, if I encounter a pack of hyenas, I will not be afraid, <laughs> but they do not fear. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> I, I cannot believe that there is a Sigma male affirmation more ridiculous than your Ojama line, <laughs> uh, Ojama line Sigma male affirmation. I'm still sad that that video doesn't have as many. That should have like a million billion views. Jimbo did such a good job on that. That video is so incredible. I was literally so Keegan E3 Yu-Gi-Oh was in town this weekend, and we literally sat there watching that video <laughs> and like trying <laughs> trying to pretend that we were like we were like nodding around, trying to be like super yes. like macho. That's the word I was looking for, and we just couldn't get there. We were just destroyed <laughs> us. So go watch the Ojama Line Sigma Male Affirmations. That's They're your assignment after. After you're done watching. It's only like five yes. minutes long. Uh, but yeah, we're back here. We're here to play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Granted, Ojama Line is kind of tangentially related. Uh, but we should mention, before we jump into things, the ban from last time. I had one. I'm not sure if I said what it was. But I have decided... On Dandelion. Dandelion is banned. Get it out of here. Jules, put up the new list if you would. Rip. You and know, every, I everyone had... Everyone thank Jules down in the comments, by the yes. way. Yes, yes. Like thank you, driver. Jules. Mm -hmm. Jules, Jules carries the weight of atlas upon her shoulders yeah with making this making this series snappy and fun yeah we sit here and talk for like four hours and she always like edits it down to like five minutes somehow it's just amazing anyway dandelion's gone i'm gonna win this time there's no main phase two let's jump into the packs all right here we are back again for week six and uh things Still not going all that well. Don't like this whole losing streak I got going on here. But there's not a whole lot I can do, at least from the pack opening perspective. I mean, there is a little bit. We've identified the problem, right? I either need to be able to OTK Robert so that, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about him just, like, saving things up. Or I need more battle traps. I need to trick him into thinking that he has game that he can just go in and then shutting that down, and then maybe having some sort of counterplay. So in addition to all the other archetypes we're trying to build, we're looking, we're on the lookout for stuff like that. Stuff that'll allow us to survive another turn, or go in for maximum damage. I'm not sure if we'll find anything like that in Dark Beginnings 1. Uh, Call of the Haunt is all right. It's better than anything else, so I guess we'll take it. All right, today we are looking for expanding our heroes, getting some rockets, expanding our link spam pool, as it is. We also want some tri-beasts to work with. If we can get the tri-brigades, it's a little bit of a long shot, but it'll help us out a lot. All right, pack number one, pot of greed. This has got to be banned, right? Yeah, I think we've got to take Shining Angel. Dark Beginning 2! Well, Book of Moon. The thing we've been looking at is that Robert has has trap stun, unfortunately. So even though I've been thinking about going on a big trap-heavy build, uh, we're, we're running into a little bit of problems. But Book of Moon is a good example of a quick play spell that he can trap stun and we just don't have to worry about it. It's also chainable, we can activate it at just about any time, we can maybe use it on our own, so yeah, let's take that while we're at it. Next is Raging Battle, can we get another Deep Sea Diva? We can get Kalut? <laughs> we'll take Kalut. Oh, this really is just turning into progression series. Legendary Collection 2! <gasps> Ooh, is that a cyber twin dragon? 
Is that a payoff for all the cyber dragons we've been getting? And also another free cyber dragon? We could take the Judgment Dragon, we could take the Grand Mole. I think we're gonna go for this. It's secret rare, we have very few chances to get it. I want it. I want it and I get to add a Cyber Dragon. It's time for the Force of a Generation. Uh, ooh, Mask Change is not bad. Go, 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 Golem works very well with our Dark Gaia strategy, but honestly, I will take a Mask Change. Battle pack, epic dawn, full of epic cards like uh, Raikou and Dark Bribe. These are these are actually pretty good. Uh, Dark Bribe stops anything, although it does give Robert a card. Raikou's pretty good for our Light Swarms, although it's a very slow Light Sworn. I think we've got to take the Dark Bribe. This is going to be more useful in more decks. Being able to have a de generic spell trap negate is very good, even if it is a minus one. It's time to enter Yugi's world. Well, I'll be. Uh, Mirage of Nightmare is not terrible. Neither is Dark Greffer. Ooh, it's a tough choice. I've got a very, very good dark pool to work with, but Greffer is very easy for us to get. And Mirage of Nightmare is Mirage of Nightmare. It's an incentive for us to run MST. Yeah, I'll get Mirage of Nightmare. It's a fun card. Legendary Collection 5Ds. Five 5Ds five nuts. Uh, D Synchro is funny. I think we just take the TG Striker though. That's Tuner. It's a free Tuner. Special Summon Tuner. I like tuners. I'm for Joey's world. Can I get the giant true nade that has eluded me this entire time? No, but I can get the third red eyes darkness medal. <laughs> that seems pretty good. The bling has returned and brought with it. Uh, well, we got another herald of perfection. Five headed dragon is funny. Uh, Rose lover, very good for the plants we're trying to get together, although not great. I think we'd rather get a Lavel Lavel Chain, just fill up the extra deck a little bit more. All right, say it with me, chat. Clash of Rebellions. Dogaron. Yeah, I will take a Dogaron very happily. Chicken Game is also a pretty good consideration, but if it's not banned, uh, it's an annoying card to work with. I'll take the Dogaron. Especially if we can get ourselves a Slumber, I'll be very happy. Clash of Rebellions. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Ooh, Cosmo Town. Oh, we don't have hardly any Cosmos, though. We could get the Funny Lanius. We could get Keeper of the Dragon Shrine. Let's let's check here real quick. How are we doing on our Raid Raptor? We've got, we've got like five of them. How are we doing on dragon type monsters in general? We've got quite a few dragons. We're doing pretty decently on dragons. So I think we may actually just want to take the Keeper of the Shrine. I think that's more better. Someone's also saying Kaya 2 Waterfront, but I don't think Kaijus are going to help us in our current battle. Uh, Black Metal Dragon, what does this do? Uh, it has to be a Red Eyes monster. Yeah, let's just take the Keeper. That'll help us survive, hopefully. Premium Gold, Infinite Gold gives us Emergency Teleport. A second copy of this is actually very strong in our card pool. I will take it. The dimensions are dark and sided. Oh, is that a second Chaos Max? Second Chaos Max, also Soldier of Stone. I think we want the second Chaos Max. We're slowly getting... We're slowly getting things. This requires a specific card, right? Chaos form. Yes. Yes, with all the ripe oil. Invasion of Vengeance. Oh. Oh. Mare Mare, you say. I don't know if we have access to Yazi, but if we do get access to Yazi, this is going to be a very good card. When the illusions are dark. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora. 
It's a super- I don't already have this, do I? But don't- don't tell me I'm getting freaked out about something I already own, right? Right? No, okay. We don't have the Earth Machines to make it work, but if we do get the Earth Machines, oh boy, is this a big payoff. Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge. Um... Probably not another copy of Crystal Wang. Probably Vanity's Feed, honestly. Ah, oh, I'm committing to war crimes with this. But I've already become the villain of the series. What's a little bit more villainy? Duelist Saga. Soul Charge. Or... Wait, how many... How am I doing on Cyber Dragons? Let's Cyber... Ugh. Cyber Dragon. I've got two. And two core. I could get the third Cyber Dragon. Or I could get Soul... I'll, I, you know, I, we're on episode six. I've already got two Cyber Dragons. I think I could get a third at some point. The Soul Charge only comes once a year. Well, we'll take that. We haven't gotten this the whole time. Extreme Force. It's pretty much this series so far. I don't need a second Saryuja. I really, really don't need the second Saryuja. Is World Shield anything? Yeah, World Shield is probably the thing to take here. Dark Savior! Whoa! -ho 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 -ho. Is that an engage for our Sky Striker core? Sure, don't mind if I do. The Infinity Chasers. Wow, I am chasing a better pack. Uh, Magician's right hand is really good, right? I'm not really sure that I'm going to get access to a rank nine ever TBH. I'm gonna go for Magician's right hand. I don't know what we're doing with spellcasters, but we'll, we'll find a way. When the revenge is heroic. Oh no. Oh no, chat. Why would they allow me to have this? Uh <laughs> I don't I don't think I have the, the, the brain power to make a Cyberstein deck, but I mean it's either that or maybe artifact scythe, but I mean when in Rome, get Cyberstein. Dual power. This is the source of my power, very literally speaking. I mean, there's really no point in my taking a third seals, right? I guess we go for the second Vion. Let's assault the ignition! Ooh, Light Dragon at Ignister, but also Sky Striker maneuvers. What does this do? If you control no monsters in the main monster zone, target a level four ace in your graveyard, add it to your hand, or special summon it. Oh, okay, that doesn't do, I don't have enough. I think we just could take the light dragon. It, this is just like one of the better rank fours and it's a super rare, get it while we can. All right, Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. Another one of our bread and butter sets. Okay, so folks. <laughs> I could take the third Stratos. I could take the third Stratos, but Almirage is also really good. I feel like we take Almirage. Yeah, diversify our strategy. Almirage is something I have been really wanting for our link pool. I'll take it. Dual overload. I already have, oh wait. Oh wait, Chaos Dragon Levionaire? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Mystic Fighters. Well, folks, this desire for me to get a Jinzo is starting to look a little bit more likely. I'm not going to get VFD. We really do not have the nines to work with, but another Dragon Maid also isn't terrible. Yeah, let's go for Nurse Dragon Maid. We have a disturbing amount of Dragon Maid stuff in our pool. When the gold is maximum, maximum gold. Is that a second Entis? Wow. Uh, I'm not sure if I have two ways to even activate that, but I'm not taking anything else here. Might as well take the Entis while, while we're here, while we got it. 
Ignition Assault. It's a Megalith. Okay, but we also have Cross Sheep here. I haven't gotten a Cross Sheep to my knowledge so far. We really are just playing Dragon Link. I'll take the Cross Sheep. Genesis Impact! Another Herald of Ultimateness. I think we want the Damage Juggler, right? We did say we needed Battle Traps. I could also just start taking Drytron stuff now that we have so many Heralds. It's gonna be like impossible to get the few the, the ritual spell, but if I do, then all the other Drytrons would be useful. Juggler searches to Yeah, we'll get Juggler. Ghosts from the past. An evil thorn, a second evil thorn, or a second evenly matched. Hmm. Hmm. I'll take the evenly matched. Evil Thorn is a common enraging battle, and we've got enough link material to go around. El Dorado. Unfortunately, we don't have a Verte. We don't have a Neos Fusion yet, I don't think. We do have a Neos Fusion. Uh, I kind of want to get like the Cybers gadget to help with the Cybers stuff. But I can't turn down the Rainbow Neos. Let's do it. We'll add a Rainbow Dragon to our collection. Burst of Destiny. Can you imagine if we got a DPE? Could you imagine? I was trying to manifest it into existence. Um, it's probably blackout, honestly. I think we're a little bit beyond the use of mimicking Maneater Bug. I've had a copy in my collection and I've been doing nothing with it. I'll take blackout. Time for the power of the elements to be revealed. Well, I got Melfi. I think I just want to go for the Vernaself. This is a pretty good one. Discard this card and one monster, one Vernaself. Send from your deck to the graveyard one earth monster that can be normal summoned or set. This is really good if I ever get the Machina stuff. Wally can justify future Melfies. Uh, no. All right, maximum gold to El Dorado. Show me a rocket. This is a lot of very good cards. That's the thing. These are a lot of very good cards. Diva is also good if we can get a, another sea serpent to summon off of her. I'll take I'll take Diva. Bigfoot is very strong. But I'll take the the Diva. When the masters are tactical. Oh boy, another anti-spell fragrance. Another Imperial Iron Wall. Neither player can banish cards. This would stop Robert from using um, evil heroes on me. Who need Hoogan? Yeah, Hoogan's pretty pretty all right. I guess Hoogan is an ultra rare, and I do think I have some runic stuff. Let me see what I have runic wise. I have tip. We could start to get runic things. Iron Wall is crazy, actually. Yeah, but it's also a floodgate. Fuck it, I'm getting Hoogan. I'm Hoogan it. Dimension Force. That's not a bad one. That is not a bad one. Of course we take the Supreme uh, Sea Mare, the number one voted hottest fish guy in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now we're taking the Therian. And finally, Crystal's Revenge. Arm couldn't even get me the leg. No, it's one of these two. And I think I think Rockhammer's probably the best. We need to try to build up our cyber stuff. So I'll get that. Not a whole lot to be proud of, but it's it's a start. We'll have to see what we can get out of the uh, the chaos packs. All right, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge to end this main opening. I think we have enough good Link monsters. I'll take the Clockwork Knight. That card's pretty funny. 
Okay, we're gonna open that in the deck builder. We're going to save this to collection and it's time for the chaos packs. All right, four chaos packs, each one more chaotic than the last. Let's flip them up. Well, there's, <laughs> could get a third Entis, but at this point, I don't think that's worth it. I could get another Gladiator Beast. Yeah, let's go for a Torix. We're gonna try that. Now, Hardleg's Chaos Pack has some ridiculous things. The thing I am looking out for the most, though, are the Machina monsters he put in here. Um, another Weathering Soldier is not terrible for us, honestly. We do like the Fossil Fusions. Gear Frame's also not bad for if we do Machina stuff. Hmm. I think I'm probably going to take gear frame here. Gear frame is one of those things I've said a couple of times in this show, there are some cards for which the fact that they are commons works in their favor. And those are the cards that you want to see multiples of over the course of a duel. And gear frame is one of those. And pack number two, Dogmatica Maximus, you say. I could be Maximum. I could also get another Gladiator's Fusion. I could also get Sakitama. I could get Seravius, the Ancient and Ascended. This is good for rituals, but I do also have two Entis now. So this could be pretty useful, actually. I think I'm gonna take the rare Maximus while we can and hope that that works out for us. Pack number two. I don't need another one. <laughs> I really don't need it. I really don't need <laughs> the second access code talker. <laughs> mm, how many harvesters and brutal dozers do we have? We have two brutal dozers. And two Harvesters. Okay, I'll take Harvester. All right, and then we get two of RJ's pack. Let's see what we got in here. DD Crow is neat. Got more Super Heavy Samurais. Got some Zex. Pervert. Uh, Land for Linkus is just a nice generic Link. I think we probably take the Crow. The crow or the land? Yeah, we'll take the crow. Now it's time for my chaos pack, which is a little bit more suspect. Oh. Or is it? Or is it a little bit more suspect after all? Oh, hard leg Joe. Oh, Mr. Leg. I'd say I'm sorry, but that would be a lie. I'll take the Protoss. And pack number two. There's another, another, the Karakuri. Another Karakuri Synchro, which we do need. Gen X Ally Birdman is also very funny, but I don't think I can make use of it. Yeah, I think we take the Beret. I'll, uh, uh, second? Chaos back? Noctivision Dragon is not bad for us. Neither is Junk Synchron. But I think Noctivision is the one that we take here. Working on our rocket stuff. All right, after looking over what we have, I think our best route is with Dreadnought Advance. This is the Rank 10 Train and the Infinitrack uh, packs. We already have the, the rank 9 Infinitrack, their boss monster. We have Adora. So we have the payoffs for this strategy. We just need more of the down low earth machines. So any of the commons, any of the normals, these would be very good to get in this. A couple more harvesters. We might just be able to make it work, maybe in combination with some of our other machine stuff. Uh, we'll see. If nothing else, this puts us closer on that line. Let's flip it up. And that's immediately what we want to see, just a Brutal Dozer. This one just lets us get any Infinitrack out of the deck, I believe. Yeah, 
and we've already got like one of these tunnelers so that's an instant rank five and we've also got the the one that searches everything so that that's a good pickup let's flip number two part of me wants to take the gustav max because it's another it's another payoff that just does a good thing but at the same time, what we really need is, I mean, we've already got a pretty decent payoff. We need stuff like Heavy Forward or Infinitrack Goliath. And I think Heavy Forward's probably the better, because this just gets anything that we could ever get. This is nice, but it doesn't help us in the way we want. Yeah, we're just going to take the Heavy Forward. That searches everything. And finally, for pack number three... Ooh, urgent schedule. Do we already have an urgent schedule? Urgent. No, we don't. And that gets like everything? Another brutal dozer is good, but I think urgent schedule is harder to get. So we'll, we'll add that into our collection. And uh, hopefully that should give us what we need. I don't know. We might also be playing Gladiator Beast. We might try to go back on the Insectors, even though we didn't get anything to help improve them. Only, only time will tell. So despite going in hard on the uh, Earth Machine stuff, we just don't have enough to make it. We don't, we don't, we don't have enough Earth Machines. So instead we're playing this monstrosity, which... I would call Chaos Max Turbo, but uh, it ain't Turbo. There's nothing Turbo about this. Instead, we're trying to make use of today's Chaos Rule. The fact that there's no Main Phase 2, I believe, makes it so that battle traps like Trigodia are all the more powerful. We can summon them um, during the battle phase, hopefully at the end of the battle phase, and then RJ will just have no way to get rid of them. This is a house. We can use it to steal monsters. We've got level 4s. We've got level 7s. We can Ixie, it just has a whole bunch of attack. Um, we've also got something like Gladiator Beast Noxious. Like, we're playing this whole Gladiator Beast package, mostly because this is a battle trap. When RJ attacks, this will absorb the attack and then do some some uh, Gladiator Beast shenanigans that I don't want to spoil. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to pull that off. We've also got stuff like Mahama, the Fairy Dragon, and then just a couple of damage jugglers to hopefully negate a few attacks and then allow us in, uh, in the next turn to either search a Hat Tricker or a Trick Clown, either of which can be good for rank fours, links, shenanigans, all sorts of stuff like that. So the idea is basically just to stall out for enough turns that we can hopefully get our way to Chaos Max Dragon. We might not even necessarily have to get to there. We can pop a bunch of stuff with Geysaurus. We can make rank uh, sevens in the, or a rank seven in the form of Flare Metal Dragon. I actually remembered to include a rank four package that's pretty strong. We've got some links. There's a lot of stuff we can do and hopefully we won't get OTK'd this time. Helping with that, we're not playing like any traps. This is zero defense deck. The idea with that is not only to force me to play more monsters so that I always have gas so that I can do stuff, but also just to blank all of RJ's back row removal. I've been playing a lot of really powerful traps lately. I believe in the last game he was playing a whole bunch of like MSTs and Cosmic Cyclone, and I think he might've had trap stun too. So now we've just got zero traps. The only things even close are Book of Moon and Book of Eclipse. And these are, again, more of like battle tricks than anything. We can set these, but these can also be good to just go into the battle phase, attack with a gladiator beast, and then flip it face down in the attack step. Either that, or if we do manage to get Chaos Max Dragon out, we flip something down and this does double piercing damage uh, to defense position monsters. So just like could be an OTK in and of itself. And then other than that, we've just got basically a whole bunch of foolish burial-like things and a soul charge. Hoping those will be able to get us in there. Uh, you know, don't pay attention to that. That may or may not work. And we've got some dragon rulers, just level 7s. Big level 7s, big level 7s everywhere. Uh, should hopefully work out. Oh, in the side deck, we have a bunch of traps. So if... <laughs> If, uh, I'm hoping I can try to play it up, the fact that like, oh, you thought your spell trap removal would be good, I have no traps. And then if I lose, I get sighted a bunch of traps. And we're also playing some hand trap stuff, we've got a whole package of extra deck monsters, pretty much specifically for Dogmatica, Punishment, and Maximus, which I'm not sure I want to go into yet, but th th there's an option. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the deck. Still a little bit high roll. But high roll is about all I could do with this time. My pulls just have not been great or I've been picking poorly. I don't know. Either way, 
Let's jump into the next, the, the Robert's deck, or maybe the duels. Which one is it, Jules? Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, this looks all right. This looks like it'll do it. We may have lost our dandelion, but our evil plan has only gotten more dastardly with the addition of Arch Nemesis Protoss. What a ridiculous boss monster. Many of the deficiencies that we lose in our ability to get to access Code Talker have been made up for in other forms of utility, such as a hero lives, giving us access to turn one Stratos plus an extra normal summon to work with, and negate in the form of Therian King Regulus and a number of other little bits along the way. This deck is getting only more streamlined with time. I just wish that this bottom half of the monster section could come into something a little bit more coherent. But what complaining can I really do? I sit upon the throne. The crown is mine for the taking. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, here we are. It's duel time. Rock, paper, scissors. Who will win? Who will not? Oh, did you pick one? I didn't. I'm reading this banner that might explain the problems we've been having with sleeves, which says they have to be JPEG files. I have them as PNGs, I think. Ah. Which would explain why I haven't that. had those very pretty golden Luigi's sleeves yeah, showing up. I made, I made some very nice sleeves, but uh, they ain't showing up. Only mine get to show up. Which wow. I mean, at this point, that's fine. You know, you can you can not have sleeves, as far as I'm concerned. This hand is actually unplayable. Enjoy going second. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's, that's You're what welcome. I always wanted. Um, do I even do anything from this position? I didn't expect to be in this situation, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Me I with have, no cards on board. I have everything I could ever want, and yet I can't do anything with it. Ah. Uh, Fine, whatever. Here's Trick Clown. Our old friend. Look at him. He's doing hands. He's got hands. a kind of disturbing expression. Did he lose an eye? Or is that a mask? I think that's like a... It's like a clown paint thing. They paint like little crosses over their eyes. Yeah, but there's no eye behind... I am ah. disturbed and shocked. Oh, okay, I can win the game now. Oh, okay. Uh, it was Rhoda. <laughs> That's what I was missing. Yeah. See, I was expecting, I was like, okay, if, if he's bricked, he's got to have like a million gores at hand, and then I'm just going to get hit. So I didn't want to commit too much. All right. Let's do this. Uh, uh, what am I getting off the guy? Yeah, let's get my man. Evil my hero man. of dusted gold. He's dusted. Your old nemesis. Yeah, I'm uh, familiar. You could say the bane of your existence. I, I'm familiar. <laughs> All right, let's go for emergency teleport. Yeah, you better. <laughs> uh, let's get... Wait, so you had this last time. You didn't at least set it? What if I had OTK'd you? Uh, that, do you know, then I was weak and I deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, don't tell me you've got a punk engine. Aren't these all like secrets? No, they're mostly supers, but I don't have a punk engine. I just have a punk. Oh, but I okay, do have good. Crystron Halkia Fibrax. Hello, uh, Hal. I should have banned you last time. I've given you a stay of execution because I think Hal is really cool. I like that it can turn into any tuner synchro. It That's is the coolest very, thing very about cool. It. And I have tuner synchros. It just also does a one card access code combo. Oh, uh, of course. Let's go. I mean, you're going to have to blow I have up. To do... uh, you're going to have to blow him up twice, though, because he comes back. That You're, you're right about do that. Do you have the ability to do that, Robert? I sure may or do. may not have the ability to do that or make it not matter. We will find out. I've just been doing nothing with my life. All right, let's go Monster Reborn. <laughs> let's grab back Stratos. Every time you seem to get this. Every time. I'll use Stratos to get myself yet another Stratos. Of course. And then... I think, so it's really funny, I can go for access code very easily here, and it seems like the play, but I feel like I'm being baited right now. No. Uh, but I I'm cannot, bad. I cannot <laughs> let this cow me, I must move ever onward. Inching forward. 
All right, let's go, Celine. Like that song from V V V V V V. You ever play that game? I I I hear that, and I think bo 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 bo, which is a very different thing. Bo bo It is. I thought there were more bows than that. No, it's three bows, and then the dash, then one bow, and then three more bows. Okay. Oh no, two bows. Two bows at the end. Bo 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 bo. Or is it? Fuck! I can't remember. Comment in the comments. How many bows is it? All right. Let's make the guy. Oh, okay. He came out anyway. He's dancing. He's moving. He's moving. He's pretty good at what he does. He's doing something. The question some things. is. So, unfortunately, this does not leave me the ability to put Malicious Bane on board. Let me take this opportunity to put one into rotation. I am going to summon the Therian Duke Yule to the oh, board. It's not even Christmas, and already there's some Yules. All right. I just like this dude. He's just kind of a ball with a cannon arm. He's big. And kind of candles. He's very big, and he's also, I think, unaffected by things? Not destroyed um, by things. Okay. Yeah, they can't be destroyed uh, by my card effects, if I had any. And then... I will use access code here. I'm going to banish Halk. We're okay. just going to try and use up this trick clown while it's there. But it came back. I'll take a thousand. That's less than I would have taken if you had just attacked. But that's okay because I I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. We're We're doing fine. I don't yeah. know what to do when I'm not winning the game in one turn, hard leg Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we're discovering. Okay, so what are the chances that you pulled Gores this last week? I know you have Trigodia. Trigodia would go to 24 if I attacked here. We will we will go for it. I take deal less damage this way, but I have more potential to deal. I will to perform a pal damage juggler. Oh, there's also <laughs> that. Swing in. Ah, Am I about to again. get gorsed for my life savings? Uh, no. But you no, will get Trigodia. Okay. He's not as big, but uh, I have a monster on board. That's better than I was doing. That's true. I will go to end phase. Because I can't go to main phase 2. Yeah. <laughs> there is no main phase 2. Cower and weep, pathetic fool. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, what can I actually do here? I don't... <laughs> uh, let's see. So, can I win the game from here? That's, that's a disturbing question. That's something I like to do from time to time. Alright, so we're going to activate Tragodia. Mm -hmm. You remember he actually has several effects. He has some very good effects. So I can send a level four to take control of Stratos. There's Str Stratos is yours now. It's my Stratos. Uh, then I can activate Tragodia and target the level four in the graveyard and he becomes level four. That's true. Uh, and then let us make your good friend Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Oh, that is a very large Dark Rebellion. Big. Big, big, big. Let's just detach both of these and target your biggest monster. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we will banish the damage juggler. Get ourselves a hat mm -hmm. tricker. Mm-hmm. Time to be tricky with a hat. Uh, let's special summon that. Mm-hmm. And normal summon Gladiator Beast Bestiari. What? <laughs> okay. And then I will overlay both of my level fours for mm -hmm. Light Dragon at Ignister. Ooh, it is at here. This yeah. is here is where it's at. Here's where it's at. And then we'll just pop access code. Good. This is this is the first time access code has died this series. Good. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> something has happened, and then I will attack for decidedly not game. 
That might be enough, though, that the play I really wanted to make here will not work. We'll see. Um, I mean, that the thing is, you do have a very robust combo deck, but uh, the pieces are also... Like, once you use them, they're gone. I don't think you could do it again, can you? I can't do that combo again. But... You, you don't have two when access all hope is lost, I can always turn to the power of evil. And I hear this calling... All right, what do we got? Bang! The guy. Ya boy. Out of here. Uh, no? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> what the? What have I not read today? <laughs> Light Dragon has more effect text! If a monsters you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you could detach one material instead. Cool. Okay. Um... <laughs> That uh puts a minor damper on at least one of my plans. I just, gotta I gotta learn to start reading cards. I, I possess this card. I read it that I was like, oh yeah, I can destroy stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pops a card, 23, you know. Oh my god, I have the stupidest way to win. Hold no, up. I gotta read Malicious on. Bane. I actually did some stuff, Robert. Let me have this. I need it. The fans are waiting for it. Okay, I actually... Th all right. Uh, well, it's time for you to see uh, one of the uh, special tools I have acquired this week. Oh? And that special tool is something that has... That really made people hate Yu-Gi-Oh! for a brief period of time. And may have that you. effect on our audience. <laughs> I am going to banish from my graveyard. No Punk Zay Amen, Elemental Hero Stratos, and Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. Oh no. Do those elements tell you anything, Hard Leg Joe? <laughs> Wait. No, I have no idea what you're about to do. Is it I a, will special nemesis? summon from my hand Arch Nemesis Protoss. <laughs> I will on the field with that attribute. Son of a bitch! I will activate its effect, declaring dark. And of course, Bane just can't be destroyed by monsters. That is correct. I, 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 I let's see what we can do here. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure you attack over, and that's like game. It's probably game. I feel like game's I don't. On. I have just realized that Protoss can't attack the turn that I do this, can it? Or no. Mally can only... Oh, only Mally can attack the turn that I do that. Okay. I mean... I, only I, I, heroes I, can attack. <laughs> I don't think it... Ma I, no! <laughs> Why? Uh, it did just occur to me that I have a Stratos in my hand. <laughs> Stratos is pretty neat. I was going to get all cute and be like, oh yeah, I'll summon Cerberus to take out the the light dragon. I'll do all of these things. And I was like, I could just attack, but I could not. I go out on my own terms. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I had exactly a thousand. If I had saved just a little bit more life points, I maybe could have done some stuff. I'm going second again. You can't make me. All right. All wow, right. Again. All right. I will tell you, this hand continues to not do it. One of the hands of all time. I am going to set a back row and pass turn to you. A back row? We didn't see anything like that last time. All right. We're going to start with a good old graceful charity. All right. That will get you only so far, hard leg Joe. <sighs> I think it might get me all the far, to be honest. Um, Honest? I don't even have a monster on the board. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I am going to discard Trick Clown and Burner, Dragon Ruler of Sparks. Oh. And I will use my Trick Clown's effect to bring it back. Okay. I, what the hell card do I have face down? Oh, no. That's fine. <laughs> and then Robert... 
Are you prepared? Here's All something right. I'm not sure you'd quite expected. I activate chaos form. What on <laughs> God's flat fuck is this? I have no, wait, wait. Blue Eyes Chaos Max deals double battle damage. Double battle damage, Am baby. I about to just straight lose here? Big number. This is the biggest number. Po oh, wait, hold up. It oh, it only deals double, double battle damage to monsters. Oh, yeah, to, yeah. it does double piercing. Okay. Yeah, it's not quite oh, over, okay. but I mean, you know, I, I I had you there for a second. I got you to shake in your boots, and I got to summon Chaos Max. That's that why it's on true. the thumbnail, baby. So it can't be targeted, and it can't be destroyed by card effects. Correct. Oh, God, I have the most anticlimactic ending for this possible. It doesn't Aww. win the game. But it deals with this situation in an extremely boring way. Tell me you have, like, psychic eraser laser in there or something. <laughs> uh, actually, this is kind of cool because it's something I haven't gotten to do yet this series. So right. I am going to special summon from my hand TG Striker. All right. And He's then I am going to normal summon from my hand Mind Master. Oh! I am not going minds. to use Mind Master's effect, but I will use these unassuming monsters for another unassuming monster, Predaplant Verte Anaconda. Ah. I'm going to activate Phantasme in response to that. Oh, shit, fuck. Uh, just a moment. I'm going to have to read Phantasme <laughs> again. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, cool. That's fine. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Summon. All right. Two. I'll return that to the deck. Cool. Activate Verte. Down to 2,000. I'm close. I can taste it. What do you Send got? Is it super oh, polymerization? Super poly. I will not chain. Well, Phantasme All right. was a bad so idea. So unfortunately, in this, uh, in this circumstance, I am not allowed to leave Verte on the board, which I means mean, you I could. have to use it as one of my materials but i will take out that chaos max for starving venom fusion dragon he's so hungry ladies and uh, gentlemen for just one dollar a month you could feed a starving venom fusion dragon in your town today yes its first effect doesn't target i believe anyway here comes keeper what? of the shrine on the Fuck is go. I oh, you're not hard light. You are the making me read cards. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. He's very cool. He's cross-legged. He's got little wingalings. He's a wingaling dragon. He's neat. It's when a when a dragon is destroyed, I summon itself. it. Okay. And also, it's two right. tributes for the tribute of a dragon. So, if I get say a level seven dragon, I can just normal summon it. Okay. Well, uh, we're good. We Gucci. Defense. Yoink. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I think we go to battle phase here. Uh, Starving Venom doesn't target. His wing. Uh, its first effect does not. The rest of its effects do. A sad state of affairs. Why yeah, aren't I'll do things... That. Oh, Trigodia. Okay. He's pretty neat. Well. There is no main phase two, Robert. <laughs> end phase? <laughs> There's nothing you can do. We are here. You are destined to live in this hell. Uh, I will use the effect of Tricodia, and I will target a level 4 monster in my graveyard. I like to be Hard level leg. 4. If I wasn't the villain of this series already, I sure as hell will be now! <laughs> <laughs> Maxi! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> hashtag ban Maxi. Uh, I don't think that is going to save you this time, though, Robert. Uh-oh. Uh, because if you oh, forgot, I have a very specific level 4 monster that's very useful. Uh, I was a little bit hoping that I was going to draw into an out for this. Yeah, you know, just something. <laughs> you got one draw. Does your back row uh, help you here? Uh, no. no. <laughs> okay, I need go. you to tell me something. <laughs> Do you have another level four monster in your hand? Uh, no. No, oh. I do not. Rip. Okay, well, I made bad decisions this duel. 
<laughs> it's fine. You're like five games ahead. I got to summon Chaos Max and I got to win. We did it. Mission Congratulations. accomplished. I'm not completely worthless. I stick with what I've got. Whoa, and I will go second. Whoa, I am the and champion. And I will draw all of my going first cards. Wonderful. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. It's just hmm. a single set card. What could it be? Nothing important. Well, we're sure as heck probably going to find out, maybe. Let's go for a little bit of reinforcements of the army. Okay. Going to reinforce my army. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I am going to normal summon a copy of Elemental Hero Stratos, with gotcha. which I will acquire the oh, no, second the Elemental Hero Stratos. Now, if you double summon that so you can blow up my spell trap, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Should I do that now? <laughs> Don't tell me you have double summon. <laughs> No, there's a there is a similar thing to double summon that I can do with my time this turn. Oh. I'm going to set a back row. I'm going to set another back row. Oh. Back rows everywhere this time? Where were these before? I am not actually going to go for that play yet. I think I want to see what my draw is before I do anything further. Stratos, get in there. Uh Stratos, no. God where are you getting all of these jugglers from? <laughs> the Circus of Values, baby! <laughs> Alrighty then. So, we will banish the juggler. Mm -hmm. And we will add the hat tricker. Mm hmm. Hat Tricker's pretty neat. True. Does some stuff in some places. You've got me there. I can't disagree with you about that. You can, but it wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. So I've got the big play, and I've got the smart play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Fair. smart that actually is, uh, but we could try it, I guess. Let's normal summon damage juggler. All right, uh, that is fine. I opened all jugglers today. Let's put a hat tricker in there. Hmm. Two level fours, your arch nemesis. That is okay. Okay, I am going to make Lavaval Chain. Ooh. Yoink. That's very rude, Robert. <laughs> That's You're what they call me, rude, rude, rude Ruderson. <laughs> the rude not. JB Zero. Yep. I guess you just gotta take that. Cracking down. I see how it is. Yep. <laughs> you risk all, right. all sometimes, and you lose some. The good news is I don't know what I do now that I have this. <laughs> You're like a dog chasing a car. It's exactly, <laughs> it's exactly like that. I got it. Now now what do I do? Uh, I can tell you for sure that one of the things I do is normal summon Stratos. Another one. Activate Stratos. Much as I would love to use Stratos to you, get a spell trap pop out of my other Stratos. Oh, come on. That spell trap is very important. It's going to stop all your plays. I think this is the thing that I want here. Yeah, probably. I want my my guy. Okay. I uh, He's a Dustin. Okay. Your back row hasn't done anything yet. It's it's but there's a do thing. you want it done fast or do you want it done right? There's something I kind of want to try here. I don't know if it works the way I want it to. I'm going to activate trap stun. Negate do you all have other a trap effects on the field. When that monster leaves the field, oh, you're a son of a bitch, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't come back to me, it just, um... I think I... If this works the way I want it to, I may be able to activate a Lavalval chain at the end of this chain. Uh, take control while you control that monster. It cannot attack or activate it effects. I don't know if that's a separate effect. We are really going to find out here. I miss, this really sucks to do this now, but I've got to. 
I'm gonna send it back. Pulse that. away the Stratos. Okay. I do get it back. Okay. You do. Okay. That's. I cool. wasn't. I seem to remember there's some interaction where you could do something with Crackdown and you just get to keep the monster. Ah. Okay. I I legitimately just wanted to know what <laughs> happened when I did that, and I'm glad that I got rid of the compulsory there. Yeah, that would have been really nice for the bane. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what I was saving it for, my guy, but okay. I was like, if I use it on the uh, Lavaval chain, uh, then you have two Stratos or a rank four plus the, the guy, and that's probably dead for me. Okay, I am going to activate a Sakitama in hand. Ah, the new spirit that I haven't gotten yet. Yes, I um, actually got it because you put it in your chaos pack. So it's just a free okay. rank four, but it gets normal summoned. It is. Now, I have a couple of options here. I actually have an option I really like, but it a little bit loses hard to a couple of things in your deck. <laughs> and doesn't get me where I need to go at the end of all of this. Just a few things. I'm going to special summon a one that's near and dear to my heart. Number 39, Utopia. You've got a Utopia and a Utopia Lightning already. <laughs> I do indeed have a Utopia the Lightning. The Lightning! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Uh, I got a Lightning earlier on, and I'm like, all I gotta do is get a Utopia, and I haven't gotten one. Why must you be blessed? I am so blessed. I am the most hashtag blessed on Earth. Let's go to battle phase. No. I mean, you can't now, because it's a battle phase. That is true, but there are other plans in my future. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll use its effect during damage calculation. Why not? I thought maybe you'd want to save the materials for like a more important thing. But if you just want to do some are... damage, that's fine. Oh my god, I have just thrown the game. Well, you won't beat me next turn, surely. Oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> Let's see here. What can I do? Oh, wait, does this... No, because it's an earth. Gosh, darn it. Uh, and this is a light. <laughs> Turns out, sir, that your l soldier has less black luster than you thought. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, nerd. You gotta be such a nerd about it. <laughs> Okay, this this is not good. It's not clean. It doesn't do what I want it to do, but it might be the only chance I have at survival. I think if it's long, if I just had another earth monster. Uh wait, can I make an earth monster? Nope. <laughs> so I'm going to activate Tempest, the Dragon Ruler of Storms by discarding okay. Bestiari. What? That's a synergy I never thought I would see used in my life. I didn't think it would happen, and yet here it is. And I will add Blaster. Okay. Dragon Ruler of Infernos. No, that doesn't really do it still. <laughs> Fuck. I've ruined everything. Well, I guess that does at least. Okay. Activate Blaster. Blaster. We're going to banish Lavavel and Tempest. Okay. Summon Blaster. He big. He is big. Oh, and then we'll normal summon Gladiator Beast Esket. <laughs> Hold Battle up. face. What is going on here? I will attack over Utopia the Lightning. Mm-hmm. I will attack with this. Mm-hmm. End of battle phase. Mm -hmm. We will activate this effect. Mm -hmm. And I will tag out for Vespinatus. Oh god, what is <laughs> this? Is a big it's a big serpent thing. Gives everyone 500 attack. I don't think it'll be enough to save me, but you know, 3300 is bigger than 3000, so there's that. Neither of these is a negate of any kind. That is no. a 3,300 attack point blaster. He's a big boy. 
That's all I could do though. Big boy turbo. Oh, this absolutely does it. Okay. No, uh, don't do it. Let's do the dark calling. And I hear dark calling. Comment in the comments if you know the if you know. Okay, get rid of that gores. So by experimenting with trap uh, with trap stunning my crackdown, I turned off my gores because the crackdown doesn't destroy <laughs> itself when I took out the. I just I just had to I I just had to try something. It just sticks around. What do I not know about blaster? Oh, it's because blaster had bigger attack than it. Has. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bigger attack, and then you blew up the Vespinatus, and now his attack is small. Okay. And also you gained some attack. So I, Blaster's still around. He's there. I could have destroyed my own crackdown here, but I will instead add an elemental hero solid soldier to my hand. A haha solid move. So they tell me. So it is written, so it shall be done. Ouch. All right. Stratos, get in there my most of me all right i'll end my turn all right i've got like i've got like three draws that do it and i don't think that was one of the ones that done it well i think i'm still not completely out of it but we'll try it anyway we're on the redox pass okay <laughs> let's see what we got redox activate blaster okay let's grab a uh, Another blaster. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I wish I had more dragons, but I don't. I do have this trick clown, though. I he's, see. He's pretty okay. tricky. You know, he does some stuff. Very tricky. Um, let me read Dark Calling again, because I've messed this up before. This Plus... one doesn't do anything. This one is oh, okay. just Miracle Fusion. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And this one can't be destroyed, but it can. I can target it all I want. You can target it. Till the cows come home, hard like Joe. Nice whole whole de a whole evil hero deck full of light monsters. I don't I get I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, I am very confused by how much light there is in my explicitly evil deck. Right. I pee Mascarena. I certainly pee from time to time. <laughs> it's been known to happen. And then we make the whole. So is the there unicorn. like a comma in that sentence? <laughs> IP Mascarena. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, we'll go ahead and use this, and back you go. And then we just attack over the uh, Stratos. You wouldn't have an Honesty Neos, would you? I do not. That would okay. be a very funny thing for me to have, though. So I cleared, I cleared the Bane, but if you have anything, I'm fucking doomed. And you have so many cards, Robert. Granted, a lot of those are, like, level 2 tuners that you want to summon off of stuff, so... Maybe I got lucky? I have Okay, no I do I do have some options. So I am going to special summon TG Striker. I remember that guy. And He's I will like. normal summon Tenyi Spirit Mapura. Interesting. Level and six. it is all in the service of our Lord and Savior, Christron Halky Fibrax. Good old Hal. Nothing beats that. Alright. That's true. I that is that is my exact opinion. All right, let's go for Maiden. Going for Maiden. I have two spells in my graveyard. Ah. Briefly, I have Foolish <laughs> Burial. Foolish <laughs> Burial does not put any more spells into your graveyard, Robert. It puts itself into my graveyard, and that's the only oh, spell yeah. I need. Good point. Uh, let's that. send Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion. Oh. Lion. I don't have a particular reason to use its effect, but I will. Why not? Free token. Uh, and then I will special summon our good friend, Selene. Selene. And this is the combo that does it all, the hard like Joe. of magicians. Oh, and big stuff. all that it does is give me the access I need to the end of this match. Da dun dun da dun da dun dun da dun. And I will uh, activate. Access code talker. We will banish the Christron Halky Fibrax that. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> it was made with IP. <laughs> oh. I will special summon <laughs> from my hand. 
I mean, I'm pretty Arch sure Nemesis. if you attack, you just have game. You don't need to special summon stuff, but, uh, you know. Uh, oh, you have 16. Okay. Again. Yeah, there we I go. have 1,600. Sadly. You know, when I went into this, I did not think that of all the stuff in my deck, the dragon rulers would be the biggest bricks. <laughs> that is... It's, you know, I guess it makes sense if you've got, like, a bunch of different attributes in your deck and not that many dragons. Yeah. It's it's really, it's all in the service of, um, I have a whole lot of ways to send uh, Eclipse Wyvern to the graveyard. And then if I can banish Eclipse Wyvern for with any of the dragon rulers, it gets me the uh, Chaos Max Dragon. Oh. So that, that was my hope, is, like... Get one of my five ways to get Eclipse Wyvern into the grave and get any one of my four dragon rulers, and then then I would be good. And instead I opened with like three of the dragon rulers. <laughs> that and all the perform ages, the two damage maybe I should have saved a damage juggler, but uh, unfortunate Robert once more takes things. And you you know what must go now, right? I mean, it's it's it's. I said last time that this would happen. I can't abide by the Hulk any longer. You have two monsters that get you into everything. But we can't we can't be allowing that. It's been banned in every format, and now I must take off my hat and ban my good friend Hal to hell once more on Chaos Draft. I mean, that Protoss is next, but the Protoss without being backed up by the uh, excess code isn't nearly as bad. I am a little bit shocked, Hard Leg Joe. Oh? If I were to choose a ban out of my deck to make me build an entirely different deck, it would be Elemental Hero Stratos by a long <laughs> shot. But I how... Mean does turn off my easiest access code combo, and I no longer have particularly easy access code combos without it. My entire Selene line is dead now. Your Selene line is dead. A bunch of your tuners are dead. I believe that makes your, um, whatchamacallit, emergency teleports less useful. There's just been a couple times here where, like, I managed to kind of get a foothold, and then the fact that any two monsters is Halk just allows you to go into excess code from there. And it's just, I could ban excess code, but I still kind of like having it in the, the game. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I have one too. It just can't seem to make it yet, yet, but soon. <laughs> and I can It'll also happen. get the, the Protoss, but like that's a one of unsearchable card. And I guess you're right. I, I could also ban Stratos, but uh, I kind of want you to play Heroes. Heroes is a fun, neat deck. I, I, it's My interesting evil to see what lives you can do. another week. <laughs> Your evil will live another week. I don't think that. Let's see that I can get rid of. I can deal with the evil. You know, I have ways to play yes. around to beat the evil. It's everything else I can't deal with. <laughs> For sure. Uh, and I will say, as unfun a card as Arch Nemesis Protoss is, it did literally jack all this match. <laughs> I expected this card to be like a Haymaker follow-up card that ended the game if I couldn't already, and it really accomplished nothing. Not a whole lot. There, there wasn't the first time you used it, I had like... Uh, I, I think it was, I had the dragon in hand, the Chaos Max dragon, and I think the field spell, but I didn't have the, the material. I was very close to summoning it, but it was like, even if I had, I wouldn't be able to because it's dark. <laughs> Fucking Protoss. I mean, that thing's probably on the chopping block, but we'll, we'll have to see. You could also play around that just by playing, you know, elemental dragons. I've got all the elements, baby. <laughs> you do. So we'll, we'll see. I get more pity packs. I can hopefully claw my way out. It's the age of RJ or the something. We'll have to think of a rhyme for it. Oh, uh, well, we will. Uh, 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 God, I am far too tired to come up with anything <laughs> funny right now. I'm sleepy too. Chat, you've been given many, many tasks this episode, and this is your final one. What do we call RJ's win streak? What is, what is he on? Uh, let us know. And until next time, good luck. And goodbye, Halky Fibrax. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode number seven, Lucky Straight. That's me, also known as Hard Leg Joe, joined by my friendly rival, the Pixies of Yugi Tube, the RJB Zero. Pixies as in like Sprite Pixies? 
No, like the the band, the Pixies. Are you, are oh, you the Pixies. I am. So oh, fun okay. fact: uh, the Pixies are frequently cited as the major genre sibling to my favorite rock band on earth, which is the Pillows. Are you familiar with the Pillows? Yeah, the Japanese band. Yeah. Who did everything for Folikali? Exactly. Ah. Uh, yeah, so I know the Pixies because I fell in love with the with the Pillows in the <laughs> early 2000s, and the Pixies started existing somewhere around when the Pillows started, because the Pillows ah. uh, were founded in 1979, mm. and they're, they both have the, like, never quite left the garage band feel to them. Yeah, that's the, that the, I really the thing like. about the Pixies that's really weird is depending on who you talk to, the, the your answer that you get is either, like, no, never heard of them, or of course I've heard of the Pixies. They're one of the most influential rock bands of the last hundred years. <laughs> they're, they're like somehow not very well known outside of the music sphere, but almost anyone who's picked up a guitar is just like, oh yeah, their their work was amazing. And it's for the exact reason you, 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 you mentioned, right? It's like you listen to them and you're like, oh yeah, this is really good, like 90s alt rock. Like, I, I, I really like this. It sounds kind of like Nirvana or whatever. And then you find out it was made like 20 years before that. <laughs> like yes. you look at the music yes. that was out in the 70s and then compare what the Pixies and I guess the Pillows were doing at that time. And it's like, they were just so ahead of the curve on that. <laughs> Like, yeah, holy for sure. Shit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I do know the Pixies because every time I mention my favorite rock band, people are like, oh, yeah, that's like the Japanese version of the Pixies. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> exactly. And I, of course, compare them to you because they're kind of underrated if you don't know anything about music. Just like I think you're a little underrated if people don't, if they're not super into the Yugi sphere. You know, there's there's some people who well, are thank like, you. yeah, of course, RJ. He's on Simo's channel and MBT's channel, and some people. Are That's like, true. What the AI I have guy? this like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have I have this weird superpower, and that weird superpower maybe it's a curse, maybe it's like a genie wish, is that I am very good at producing cult classics, <laughs> like things that have really really loyal fan bases that are very very small. Uh, we found out recently that the number three and number four most watched videos on Simo's channel are two of the early, like, jank-ass episodes of <laughs> Sealed Showdown. For whatever reason, people can't get enough of those two exact videos. The ones it's with, very like, the funny. bad mic quality where you're still a little bit nervous because you haven't recorded anything in you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the, the very ones... I still, I remember watching those and like, I didn't even make it all the way through the episode, to be honest. I was like, uh, this is a little rough, but I kept checking in and you improved so much. And now that's just become like a fixture of my Wednesdays. <laughs> so good job. And you know what? If you think Robert's done a good job as well, if you do like him, he does actually have his own channel and he's almost at 10,000 subs at the time of recording. You should absolutely go check it out, subscribe, give him a like, let him know hard leg sent you. And then tell him not to win so much. I need some help here. <laughs> I, uh, something tells me that by the time your subscribers find me, it will be all too late to stop me from winning Mr. En Joe entirely Leg. Entirely possible. We are like four episodes ahead at the, currently, if you're, if you're curious. But anyway, enough, enough about that. Enough behind the scenes. It's time for action. We're going in this week, and, and with all the, the hubbub I completely forgot to mention, uh, we're also changing the rules slightly. We realize the pity packs aren't as impactful as we would like just three of them not really doing a whole lot so we bumped them up to five and we've made that retroactive so from now on the loser will get five pity packs and this episode i'm opening a whole bunch of extra ones because lord knows i need the pity there will be no pity for you here hard leg joe no not as we move into the opening dimension perhaps all right, here we are back once again to open a bunch more packs and hopefully, hopefully our luck will be better this time. We're starting as always with Dark Beginning. We'll flip them up and there's this is nothing really that you want to see there. 
Pack number one, Dark Beginning One. Can I be the recipient of a giant Trunade finally? Wow, these DM packs do not... Painful Choice is banned, right, folks? Painful Choice is banned, right, folks? Painful Choice is absolutely banned. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's probably Gravity Bind here. Star Strike Blast. Ooh, Formula Synchron? I can maybe do something with Formula Synchron. I don't already have one of these, do I? Let me let me double check and make sure I don't have a Formula Sync. No, I don't. Not sure if I'll be able to use it, but it never hurts to get it. Next pack, a Formula Synchron from Star Strike Blast. Uh, yeah, I will take it. Sure, happily. The most premium of gold. Ooh, that's that's a toughie. That's a difficult one. Wow, so mind control, just great all around removal. Dark Magician Girl is a level six spellcaster. So my magician souls would finally have a target at least. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer is good, but I don't think I have a very good chaos package at the moment. You can souls Chaos Sorcerer. Oh yeah, it's a spellcaster and it's level six. All right, yeah, we'll do that. We'll take in the Chaos Sorcerer. Thanks, chat. Battle Pack, Epic Dawn. Hardleg's favorite pack and my least favorite so far. Premature Burial. I'm not sure if we have anything that really takes advantage of Premature Burial's unique advantages, but I will happily take it nonetheless. When the gold is infinite. <laughs> Whoa! Now, oh, there's a pretty good rank 8. Again, I still don't have the stuff to make it, but we'll find a way. Cosmo Blazer. Oh, a Fire Formation Tanky is not bad. I will happily take Tanky. When the victory shine bro- Oh, pre-prep! Pre-prep, we got it! <laughs> Chat, we have the Chaos Max Dra- Wait, can this search Chaos Max Dragon? Fuck. It has to be named specifically. Oh, I don't think this could, it could search other stuff. We've got a lot of rituals. We're getting it. It's it's better than the Pachinko card or whatever, or finite cards. War of the Giants. Mm, I feel kind of bad taking this one. <laughs> I feel kind of bad taking this one. I'll take it. The Raging Tempest. Well, second Lost Wind isn't bad. But first we have Premium Gold. It's not particularly premium, is it? Um, Mind Control is probably the take? Cyber Dragon is very cool, but there are a million Cyber Dragons out there. We'll take the Mindcon. Spiritual Warriors. Gateway of the Six. Let's take it. We're still like nowhere near playing Six Samurais, but if we ever get enough, ooh, baby. Duelist Saga. We'll take Plague Spreader. Plague Spreader is not bad. Pretty good card. I'll take it. Future Fusion's also cool, but I think it's a little bit of a pipe dream in our series. Besides, we have Verte. We've got all the fusion potential we need. It's a powerful duel. It's a dual power. Wow. Neat. Um, cool, even. We've got what I mean, I can't make this. This is this is too difficult. A tomb is two level six, but it takes dragons, and I don't have sixes, I have sevens. I think we just take the Link Karibo. Link Karibo is so powerful. There's so many cards that you could just put into the graveyard. Having that there, make sure you could just pass without having to do stuff. Savage Strike. Guard Dragon Pisty, you say? Yeah, this can go with the LP we already have. I'm about it. Toon Chaos. Ooh. Oh my. Oh me. Um. Wow, I have not been taking equip cards. I may have to consider taking equip cards. 
because this thing is pretty absurd. I didn't think I would pull one. It is a fire monster, so it has stuff with other things. Envoys also need another sorcerer would be good. Keeper of dragon magic. But we've got to take a negate. We've got to find some way. Any equip cards we can find. I have to I have to write that down, be like, don't be afraid to take equip cards if nothing else is good. Security dragon and infinite impermanence. I think we take the imperm. I think I think this is a great time for an imperm. We do have a lot of machine monsters for genius. Mm, I'll take imperm. We probably need hand traps at this point. Armageddon. Uh, Goyo Guardian's pretty good. I already have one of these, so I don't think we need it. Yeah, we'll take Goyo Guardian. Dual Overload. Hey, is that a second tour guide from the Underworld? No, because I respun the first one, right? Nope, it is a second tour guide from the Underworld. We take those. We happily take those. When the gold is maximum. Well, Ash is bland. Ba bland. It is bland. It's banned. Toad is banned. Super polymerization is not banned, but I don't think I have anything I can use with super polymerization at the moment. Uh, uh, Drago Stapelia, maybe. Could take the super poly. Let's take the thing we don't have now. Toon Chaos. Second pot of desires? Second pot of desires? I think it's second pot of desires. The second season of Legendary Duelists. <laughs> Dare I chat? Dare I do what needs to be done? Take the third Chaos Max Dragon? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get Ch Chaos Max is so good. Let's take it. Battles of Legend, Armageddon. The end has come. We already have Utopia the Lightning. I think we take Obedience Schooled here. We could. <laughs> we could take Dragon Buster and just be the biggest assholes possible. We could just. I don't know what our access to Union Carrier is, but I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Let's. Take Dragon Buster, Destruction Sword. El Dorado, Plasma, pretty nice. Another Rainbow Neos. Uh, Psyframe Lord Lambda, pretty decent. Although we could just take another Gamma and then we'd have two of them things. Two of them things, two of them things. What does Lambda do again? Yeah, I don't think we want Lamba until we get more Gammas first. Yeah, let's take a Gamma. All right, maximum gold. This is a set we really need in our wheelhouse. Ghost Bell is okay. Uh, there's also Morning Star. Discard a Mech Knight, add one World Legacy card, but I don't think... I don't think Morning Star does any one, anything that we want for it. I think we take Bell here. The ghosts are back, baby. Yes! The second Manju! Oh, the second Manju. This pack is huge for us. I don't need it. I don't need it. There's King Calamity. King Calamity is pretty sick. The Masters are just a little bit tactical. They're just being tactical from time to time. Which to... Oh, wait. Trap Trick. Yeah, we're taking another trap trick. Ghosts from the past. Two. No shot. Oh, that could not be a better card. Oh, that could not be a better card. Those of you who have been paying attention know that I have been steadily collecting a minor fortune in worm monsters that we can play, and Yazzie is just about the best one of them. We will take it. 
And finally, the crystals will have their revenge. We'll just add that for our for our zombies. So we got we're getting we got a pretty good list of things. We got some stuff doing. Let's go ahead and save these to the collection. And then we get reroll and we get we not only get the the pity packs, but we get a whole bunch of back we get a backlog of pity packs. Oh, I still haven't done the chaos packs. There's there's so much work to be done. And our final pack of the main sets, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Hmm. This one didn't give us much, did it? What do you think, folks? Do I need the third spheres? <laughs> We'll take the third spheres. All right, we're going to open this up and we'll consider our re-rolls. But before we do that, it's time for the chaos packs. All right, time for the chaos packs. Let's get these out of the way. Hard leg pack one. Let's open it up. Well, we've got Codebreaker Virus Swordsman. There's a there's a Dooza. BV's in the chat really wants me to get uh, the Cubics, but I don't think they are worth it. Not when we have we have access to such treasures. And also a Darius. A Darius would actually be critical for allowing us to do Gladiator Beast things. Because then it just summons one back. Get some stuff. Uh, Seravis is also pretty cool, because we can get the, the spell, although I mean rituals, I mean rituals are neat. Uh, Codebreaker is just a pretty good, like, link to... Yeah, I'm taking Darius. I don't think we have another chance to get it. We'll take the Darius. First Hard Legs Chaos Pack. Uh, we already have all the Harvesters we could possibly want. Another Fossil Fusion isn't bad. I would think I would prefer to get one of the Fusion Monsters themselves. Invenantrack Brutal Dozer is something I think we need three of. Do we have we do not have virus swordsmen, but I think I have better things than virus swordsmen at this point. Let's take Brutal Dozer. And number two. Ooh, Flint Cragger. Infinitrack Goliath. Or we could take another Brutal Dozer. Just be absolutely brutal with our dozing. Revolving Switchyard is also a possibility. If a level 10 Earth Machine is normal or special, I don't have enough Earth Machines, I think, to make that work. What does this do again? Special Summoned. Send one from your extra deck. I'd have to find some way to Special Summon it. I'm letting Twitch Chat choose. Another poll for the poll people. All right, it looks like we're going on the Gladiator Beast Chaperone today with another Darius, which I guess makes sense. That lets us make rank fours. We do have a pretty good rank four package. All right, now let's try RJ's packs. Pack number two. <sighs> Folks, how do I do it? How? I don't, I don't know how I do it. I, I genuinely... I genuinely couldn't tell you how I do it, but for the explanation that I am just built different. I am just built diff. I guess, I guess it's just a skill issue. It is just, it's just a skill issue. I will take Kashtira Fenrir. All right, flip up chaos pack. Number two, summoner monk, gear gigan, mathematician. So that's where he got the traps done. Kage Musha is pretty good. I do have some cool six samurai stuff. Uh, this is also a spellcaster. Balancer Lord is great for cyber stuff. It just gives me an extra cybers. Uh, I'm feeling democratic today. And it looks like, very easily, Summoner Monk is the one that won? Not, not what I would expect, but I guess it is the most generic of all of these. Hmm. Wow, this pack is deeply uninspiring. I'll take another Gear Town. I've already got two, or I've got one, and I've got Reactor Dragon. So I'll take it. Now we get one more. Let's go ahead and flip it up. 
Uh, ooh, that, that. We can get the third Lone Fire. Zombie Master is pretty good. Yeah, I think we just take the third Lone Fire. Just make sure we get that, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Let me make sure, though, real quick, that I don't already have three. No, I have two. Okay. Yeah, so we get those. We got it. Two Darius, a Summoner Monk, and a Lone Fire. And now we just go to those those pity packs, and there's there's a lot of them this time. And my second pack. Ooh, there's a rocket recharger. I will take the recharger. All right, so as we hopefully explained in the intro, we are upping the pity packs from three to five, and this is this is applying retroactively. And because I have lost so many episodes, I've got a lot of pity packs. There's four specifically, and I get to go back and open two more of each of those. Plus, I get the five pity packs from the pack I've chosen this time. So let's go down the line. First, we get Dreadnought Advance. This is the Earth Machine Pack. In which case, we just instantly get, like, a Heavy Freight Train Dare Crane. Uh, heavy Forward is also pretty good, but I think... Looking at uh, when I tried to build the trains, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't have as many level 10s. So having a free level 10, I think I'll take that. And then pack number two, bullet train, no, no. No, I think we just take another dare crane. This thing's hard to pull in the regular packs. All right, this is the new pack for this time. I wish I could put this at the end, but I don't get to choose the order it seems. Miraculous Advent. This has a whole bunch of ritual stuff that'll hopefully help us with the chaos max stuff. So let's flip it up. And immediately we just get a, a Manju of the 10,000 hands and another pre-prep, and I think even though the pre-prep is good, I don't actually think this works with a uh, chaos form. So we're just gonna take the third Manju and call it there so we have it. Flip up number two. We've got some incantations. We've got some megaliths. We got some stuff we can do. Uh, what does Chalice Slime do again? I always forget. You can reveal this card, discard a card, special summon an incantation from your deck. We don't have any incantations yet. But this is a super rare, and if we get any of them, they're going to be pretty good. Pack number three, and now we have some incantations, so those might actually be really good. The, the question is, which one do we want? We'll get a Talismandra. Open a pack. Oh, we should have taken the other one, because there's a second Talismandra. I think at this point, we just take the Fool. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll necessarily be able to use the Megaliths or anything, but... Having the Fool on guard is better. Either that or we just get another Talismandra. Yeah, yeah, we don't have any... Yeah, let's just take more more incantations, as many as we can. All the incantations. Yeah, we'll just take a Bookstone. Why not? Okay, and that just leaves us, I believe, with the Valiant Gladiator Beast. We get two more Gladiator Beast packs to hopefully level things out. And there's the third Noxious. I've been wanting a third Noxious. The Lakari is still tempting, but just being able to take a hand trap, I, I really want that. So we'll take that and then flip up the second one. We don't have nearly enough to make that work. I think we're gonna take this one. It could have good like toolbox uses, uh, especially with, with Robert playing a whole bunch of like dark calling, fuse from the graveyard shenanigans. We'll take that. So there we go, we add quite a few things to our list. Will it help us? Will we be able to do what we were unable to do last time? You should have to watch to find out. Or skip ahead, I don't know, fucking, whatever you wanna do. All right, we are re-rolling at maximum gold Eldorado. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Cal that's a very long name. King Calamity is pretty cool, but a Rocket Tracer would really get things rolling for me. Hmm, there's a Zephyrin you? Oh, oh, so I have a nine pillars already. My heart says Zephyrin you, but chat says Mascarena. And chat is probably right. We will take the Mascarena. Okay, that is one reroll. We have five more to go. So we are re-rolling away an ancient gear wyvern in hopes of getting ourselves a black metal dragon. It's a common, folks. It's a common. 
All right, I'm bolt burning reroll number three on it as well. There's a red eyes black dragon. Oh my God. <laughs> There's another red eyes. There's an ancient gear of wyvern. You already got one of those. Folks are saying to take the red eyes flare metal. It's a pretty good card. Some people are goading me to go for another spin. Okay, I'll take the flare metal. Let's roll away our Kaleido chick for a rocket monster. That's a Baguska. Oh, that's an Anesta rocket and a Destrudo. Those are both very good cards. Destrudo isn't banned. I I will I I I guess we take a Destrudo. I guess we take the Destrudo there? We have returned once more. For the first time in this series, I'm, I'm playing the same deck again. I, I've realized that maybe I shouldn't be jumping around so much. Maybe I should try to refine a strategy for a week or two. And this, this time worked pretty well. So we're back on the Chaos Max Dragon Turbo with a side of Gladiator Beast. The big difference this time is instead of going on a, a Dragon Ruler package, because that didn't work out very well, well, we're going harder into rank fours and chaos typings. Specifically, we've got three Gob Lindberg and three Manju. This, of course, is going to make the chaos max a lot more consistent because it can search either the ritual or the spell. And then the fact that Gob Lindberg with any of our many level fours allows us to go into that rank four package. The rank four package, pretty neat in general. We've got removal in the form of Castell at Ignister. We've got things like, uh, where is it at? Dark Rebellion Ixie Dragon that can just attack over problem monsters and possibly even end out games. But probably most importantly, we have Laval Laval Chain, which can send a card from the deck to the graveyard. Last time I was relying on a whole bunch of other stuff to do that and really just having this and being able to either send like a blue eyes to the graveyard if I've already got this and I just need the material for the ritual or being able to send wyvern so that I can banish it with something like an envoy or a levian ear and then get the, the max dragon to my hand or just send a damage juggler if I need to search a hat tricker for an extra rank four. There's a lot of options there and of course if it survives we could do it again or maybe even slowly stack something on top of our deck if need be. So that, that's basically the three parts of this deck. We've got the rank four package, which can either supplement the, the rituals or just do stuff on their own. We've got Chaos Max Dragon, which is hopefully a win condition onto its own. I don't think Robert has an easy out to this other than maybe a excess code talker. But even then, that's why I'm playing a couple more things. Uh, Book of Eclipse, a Book of Moon. This will hopefully keep him from getting to that point, uh, as well as Dogmatica Punishment and Lost Wind. I've decided to go with these because they're chainable, and the Lost Winds in particular are really good because Robert seems to be on a Link package anyway, so these will come back. Even if he destroys them or uses like Trap Stun or something, the fact that they recur themselves I think will make it a problem if the game goes more than a couple turns. And then finally we've just got the Gladiator Beast package, which is roughly the same idea as before. If we, if we go first or if we don't have a rank 4 that we can use, we can use Noxious. This will allow us to blank a battle phase and then hopefully afterwards go into Geysaurus, which is made a lot easier now that we have the uh, Gladiator Beast Darius. When this is summoned by a Gladiator Beast, it can target another Glad Beast in the graveyard and summon it. Which means if we, we use this to Foolish Burial a Bestiari, this will bring it back and as soon as our turn starts, Bestiari plus Darius equals the Geyserus. Of course, these are also two level four, so if need be, we can go into a level four package. And I've also kind of realized that I, I've really been underestimating the power of Test Panther, even with a pretty small engine. This can be made with any two monsters, including one Gladiator Beast. So even something like an Eskit or a uh, Bestiari on its own, along with Goblindberg, or even something like Hat Tricker, can go into this. This can then search Gladiator Beast Comeback, brings back a Gladiator Beast from the graveyard, so whatever material we used comes back. And then this thing can tag out a Gladiator Beast, and it counts as getting its effect of being, you know, tagged out by a Gladiator Beast. 
So if we've already got something else in the graveyard, we could do that same Darius play, bring it back and then overlay, or if, if nothing else, it's a free rink link three, which can get us up into Nightmare Unicorn. If we have something else in the graveyard, then it can get us to Excess Code Talker with the Unicorn. Uh, we're also playing scapegoats. This is another one of those chainable traps that may be able to help us. We've got the link Karibo now, which means between that and the IP, we should be able to, to make our way all the way up into Excess Code Talker. Oh, and Raten. Raten is just three monsters of the same type. Doesn't matter if they're tokens or effect monsters or anything. So, so scapegoat is just Raten plus link Karibo. So that's, that's pretty neat. Other than that, and the side deck, we've just got a whole bunch of random stuff. Honestly, things I was just thinking about. Abyss Dweller, if he's on a a, uh, a graveyard-focused deck. Uh, Ghost Bell, if it turns out that the Dark Callings are being being critically good. Tragodia, if we need more hand stuff. We've got the uh, Kaiju Package, if he somehow gets onto some big boss monsters we can't get over. A couple more Gladiator Beasts, including the Domitanus, which we probably can't make, but but there's a chance. Um, and then Soul Charge felt almost like bad not to include, but in testing, I wasn't really using it that much. I was usually winning the games before this really came up. It's a great top deck, but I'm not sure what I would remove to make it. Um, and then these three, I was playing this until just recently, and in fact, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm looking at these and I'm like, I really don't have a whole lot of traps that can do stuff. So let's go ahead and get rid of these and the trade-ins. Those were options because I had a whole lot of level eights. And let's really quickly just replace those with Compulse. If we need more back row removal, if, if Robert's uh, link things are just too turbo, we can bring some more traps in, maybe do something with those. Uh, maybe we should have some spell trap removal of our own, but uh, I was focused too much on getting this deck to work, not countering his deck. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully, again, I don't think he has a whole lot that can get get out the Chaos Max. And with how, how many I have and how fast and easily I can make it, I might actually be able to make two of them. And maybe he can out one, but I'm not sure if two will be quite so easy. I guess we'll have to see. We'll jump in, see what Robert's up to, or into the duels, whichever comes first. A uh, hard leg attempts to ban this deck out from under me every single week, and yet I and my Discord continue to find new stupid ways to make access code talker out of a hero deck. But RJ, this is the 13th week in a row you've brought heroes that make access code talker, but this heroes that makes access code talker now features a synchro line. I'm very excited about this one. And if you are disappointed to see my evil heroes taking to the stage, at center roll once again, you'll be happy to know that I have a number of decks, including dragons, waiting in the wings to take flight onto the stage. I also have a Therian build I really, really wanted to bring this week, but I could not argue with my Discord and with I wish I was dead about this list. It is impeccable. So the Therians are going to have to wait until the summoning sickness week. I'm looking forward to that one. For now, here is Heroes once again, but even more heroes than before. We've got a lot of things to do with the Destiny heroes this time around. It's very easy for us to set up Celestial, and we do have a copy of Extra Hero Cross Crusader, which can combine with the Destiny heroes to pull off some ridiculous card of safe return draw plays. But the thing that really brings this version of the deck together is the Destrudo combo. It is shockingly easy for us to get Destrudo into the graveyard and with another monster on the board summon Yazzie and even in the three zone week we can use Yazzie to blow itself up and another card go for Mare Mare use Mare Mare to get uh, IP Mask Arena and Cross Sheep onto the board, and you guess it, that is four materials for Access Code Talker. Or if I'm feeling very spicy, a Boral Sword Dragon. I'm finally probably going to get to bring this one out this time. With any remaining material or things like revival pieces, I can summon a Verte Anaconda, and of course, the returning villain of the series, Evil Hero Malicious Bane, can hit the board. Our Plan B is actually very strong, featuring Plan B himself 
himself, Baguska, the terribly tired Tipir, can put things to defense position for an extended period of time, overlay into Vespinado, and start hitting over. If Hardleg brings back Chaos Max, this is going to be one of our ways to get out of it. Our rank fours are generally very good, and we have our nightmares to back them up. Uh, this is, again, another hero list that makes access code talker, now featuring such lovely things as <laughs> Cash Tira Fenrir. Oh boy, it just, it's a matter of skill pulling secrets like this. What can I say? Let's see how it goes in the duels. The ready button. I have also clicked the ready button. Like this SpongeBob. is my submission. Like SpongeBob, hmm. I am ready. Hmm. I am prepared to do battle with the likes of you. This speaks to me. And you I will win the rock, ooh. paper, scissors once again, as always. Uh, you got two seconds. I will go second. Of course. I don't know if that's correct still, but I will do it. All right, I guess. Oh yeah, and I should mention we forgot with everything else, the chaos rule for this week. Pretty simple. I'm not sure how limiting it actually is. I think it's more limiting to you than it is to me, Robert. The We only got the three spell trap, three monster zones. The other ones are True. crumbled. Uh, I, I will tell you, uh, this did prevent me from finding an extra link strategy this <laughs> week. <laughs> good, good. Uh, anyway, I'm going to use Graceful Charity. And we're hey, there dump. it is. Oh, boy. That's a very go. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> I may be on a similar strategy to last time. I don't have okay. it yet, but you know, maybe someday I'll get there. That's not terrible. Do I have access to the move TM? <laughs> the I don't move? think I have access to the move TM, but I have access to the beginnings of some moves here. Uh, I'm gonna start off with our good friend Rhoda. Of course, which you have three of, I realized. I do have three of it, yes, that's true. Which is probably true. the next thing I should ban, to be honest, because uh, looking at your, I was like looking at your deck from last time, and I'm like, it's so full of one-ups, how is this consistent? And then I realized <laughs> you're playing lives. three Rota. <laughs> <laughs> you could search everything. And the copy everything. of a hero lives. Yeah. Okay, um, what am I doing with this turn? Ironically, not a lot in my hand actually accomplishes anything into an open board state. Uh, so I'm going to take you know, this. What am I going to do? A 4, I'll take this meter? opportunity to grab my good friend, a dusted gold. Ah, okay. He's dusty. And what are the chances? I'm. I, I am not going to chance the possibility that you have something silly like Book of Life that you're going to banish a dusted gold with <laughs> next turn. <laughs> kind of need this guy to work out. Okay, go into battle phase. Let's swing in with Stratos. Uh, I'm going to draw okay. Dark Calling for my efforts. Oh, boy, there's Gladiator Beast Noxious. Gladiator okay. Beast Noxious. He's obnoxious. <laughs> that is, you've got me there. Okay, sending away Bestiari. Uh, that's uh, fine. Uh, yeah. Your go. Okay. Probably. Let's just tag this out, shall we? We'll see. Ask it. Ooh, adding back the Bestiari. That's the best. Spicy. Iari. <laughs> <laughs> What what can I say? Sure. <laughs> you shut, shut, hey, you did laughing at me like I'm some kind of modern plebeian. Okay. I'm going to normal summon Manju of the 10,000 hands. Okay. And we're just going to get Chaos Max Dragon. That you know. concerns me, considering you have a Chaos Max Banished, which just... makes it sound like you have a Chaos Form <laughs> in rotation. I may already have a Chaos Form. I just need to look at this real quick. I think I may be able to do something. Ooh, something. Something big, something special, something the likes of which Ooh. we have never seen before. But I'm not sure if I should do that or if I just already have game. <laughs> That's really concerning. I, I might just already have game. One second. Um, no, of course I what am I stupid? What <laughs> why would I think I have game? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make something new, something you haven't seen here before. Ooh, okay. Use All my right. two monsters and we're gonna make Ooh. Test oh, Panther. Oh, Test Panther. All right. We're, he's testy. You know, what can I say? Let's go ahead and add Gladiator Beast Comeback. 
I think we've got to go for it anyway. We've got to go big or we've got to go home. And baby, I ain't going home. So we're going to activate right. this. We're going to bring back the Esket from the graveyard. We're going to go ahead and use this because I want this guy back in the deck. And we're just going to summon out another Noxious. Does Noxious do anything on Summon by a Gladiator Beast? And, uh, Foolish Burial's a card if I wanted to. I just don't feel okay. like it. Yeah, you could do it if you wanted to. You just you just you just don't want to. We're going to Hello Nightmare, Nightmare Unicorn. Unicorn. I use this effect oh, and good. we'll just send the summoner monk. I'm very happy that you <laughs> sent my Stratos back to just deck. That's exactly happy. what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, just in Chaos case. form. <laughs> Here it goes. All right. He's back, baby. Look He's at that. Big. This card is animation. so sick, by the way. He's I'm so... very happy that this deck is happening. It's funny because you started with the Blue Eyes deck and I started building Dark Magicians and that's what people were preparing for. And somehow I just got all the Chaos Maxes. You pivoted to Blue Eyes and I pivoted to Heroes. We yeah. just had all sorts of anime transformations here. We're going to banish Dogmatica the Test Panther. Maximus. <laughs> He's Maximum. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this isn't quite enough. And then I forgot. I have an Accessco oh, Talker. Oh, God! <laughs> I've had an Accessco Talker for a while. The access is on the other code talker. Okay! Well, uh, Finally, I've been owned. I OTK! Unless you've got, like, a Trigodi or something. Nope. Uh, I do not. Well done. That well was... done! I oh, finally boy. did it! Everyone cheer down in the chat! <laughs> So I went second last time, and that went kind of poorly for me. I'm not sure going first would help, but I'm going to try it. Okay. I want to see if I can get things started more easily. This is the worst hand possible. Okay. Um, Let's get it started. Huh? I'm going... Speaking of cringe, the didn't age verse. <laughs> set... What? True. <laughs> I'm going to set two and... Impass. I'm going to... Normal summon destiny hero draw hand? <laughs> what, you pointed Pass at the D turn? me? I have this card, which is like a universally good card, mm -hmm. but it, I don't feel like I want to activate it, but I probably should anyway. Oh, uh, that, yeah, yeah, that doesn't seem bad. Uh, the thing is, I don't have any cards I, like, want to discard at the moment. And this... Ah, the, the eternal problem of Graceful Charity. You draw three, but then you have to discard two good cards. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, um, that is a chaos setup. In fact, it is very much like a chaos setup. I'll banish a light and a dark. Who knew? Let's get BLS, shall we? Oh my god. Oh no. I I just realized I've made the most critical error. I... <laughs> Why did I think about this? Oh, it has nothing to do with what's on the field and everything to do with what's in my hand. Why did I play oh, this no. card today? I think that's okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to banish you because you have a graveyard effect. I don't want you to have that. Lame. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. And we'll set a card, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, it's. I'll, I'll give you a... I'm curious if you can guess what card did I, I have in my hand based on this hint. I cannot play it with only three zones. I need to have at least four. Oh, no. <laughs> God, I'm going to get hit with the sickest Waking the Dragons right here. No. Oh, I will take it. I will happily take that hit. Oh, good. Good, wonderful. Well, uh, I mean, this is as good a time as any to drop my latest ridiculous secret rare. Here's Cash Tira Fenrir. Oh, no. <laughs> Never had to read one of these. You're going to make me go in here. Fenrir, look at that grumpy boy. Where does he even see? He's very grumpy. Wow. It's very strong. Brutal. Very uh, much so. Let's go to battle phase. Uh, I will attack... And in testing, I couldn't figure out how to activate this effect, so I'm just gonna really, really hope that it works. <laughs> yes, I will use it. Okay, it worked out. No, I will not chain anything to that. Cool, I will attack directly. Oh, you just get to, to... huh. Yeah, it's, 
It, yeah, it's like it's like Cyber Dragon plus DD Warrior Lady plus the Stratos plus everything. It's very very strong. I Fortunately, see. I don't have any Cash Tiras in here because we've had the good sense to not include Darkwing Blast or Photon, Photon Hypernova in yes. our lineup. <laughs> I believe okay, when we were um, making our decks, those weren't out yet. <clears throat> uh, to 2400 Direct, my signature move for those of the have, audience who know no me. I have no idea from... how this works out, but we're about to find. Damage Step? Can I activate this without getting banished? Oh yes, because uh, because Fenrir does not negate nor does it modify stats. Also, I just realized that Fenrir is explicitly says not during the damage step. I also yeah. just remembered that a week ago when I pulled this, I had a whole big summoning chant announcement that I pulled it and got it and is summoning it and just totally forgot about it. <laughs> that was a big dramatic thing that the audience now doesn't get to see because I I have the worst hand ever. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Let me make sure these aren't mandatory effects. Because this isn't the damage step, but this is the end of the battle phase. It is. You can target. Okay. I'm going to choose not to target. Oh my god, it activates on a new chain. I'll take it. <laughs> well, I might as well, you know. If I'm already going to Yeah, I die. guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Although, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that doesn't... Oh, it got shuffled back! <laughs> yeah, it just goes back into the... It's fine, it wasn't doing anything in the graveyard anyway. All right, well, uh, your go. We'll just set a card and your move. <laughs> All right. Oh, finally. Okay, my deck can now do things. Your and deck also is stuff. already doing many things, Rupert! <laughs> It's do it's doing Caius every you turn. You have it's, one of the like... best cards of the last five years. <laughs> that is true, but it isn't doing things. I want to be. I want to be proactive. I want to be accomplishing things. I want, I want to, to be free. Stratosing for Stratos, I guess. I <laughs> uh, battle phase. Let's swing with Stratos. I will allow it. Ouch, my most of me. I will also attack with Cash Tira Fenrir. I will activate the second Lost Wind. Don't yet! <laughs> so now, um, hopefully, uh, its effects are just. Yeah, its effects are just permanently negated. Good. Yes. Good, I didn't want to have to deal with that anyway. Yeah. Normal Summon Goblin Perk. Fascinating. Okay. I will not activate the effect. I will go to battle. Uh-huh. I will attack over your Fenrir. Oof. Main phase two. Mm-hmm. I'll special summon a hat tricker. It's okay. Uh I will make Light Dragon Adagnister. Oh He big. Yeah, this is the only opportunity I'm going to get for this. Yoink. <sighs> yep, I was worried about that. That's why I had to go in and attack first. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Is it the time? I think it is the time. Uh, let's... Ooh, this is fun. Oh, that doesn't do... Whatever. We're going to normal summon Stratos. Okay. I will activate Stratos. I will use its first effect. <laughs> oh, it's the scapegoat. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, just a sacrificial <laughs> lamb there. Yeah, I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh, it's cool. I got a scapegoat. I even thought of combos I could do with it. Then I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have made a critical error. It's fine. It's fine. I, okay. You know, I won't mess up. Um, it's cool. Yeah, I I think I will go to battle phase. Oh, I will think? attack. Go to battle. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, I drew a little, just a little brick. It's fine. It's fine. I'll make it up for it on the third one. Uh, I am going to go second again. I would like the extra card, mm. please. All right. Okay. We have things to be done here. 
Good. Let's see what things I am going to do. Most good indeed. Okay. God damn it, I drew the hard garnet again. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna the activate Rhoda. The trolls are on my side this time. Okay. Uh, let's go... Let's normal summon the blue gadget himself. Oh, look at him. And I will use his effect as it was intended to be used to search for himself. He's got big hands and everything. Yes, he do. I... Uh, uh, and he is literally all I have. Your go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And for the third duel in a row, I'll activate Graceful Charity. Oh my goodness. I suppose you do have two of them. All the so time. So I shouldn't be that every surprised. Time. All the time. Every time. We're going to go this and this, just in case. What are we sending here? There's the Lost Wind. Okay. Yeah. Lost Wind can come back. It'll just, it'll just come back. True. Get that Lost Wind back that we spent. First things first, I'm the greatest. Go face down. <laughs> oh, no way. No, <laughs> you will not. You no, no, hat. no. Get chaos I, no, wait. <laughs> no. Special summon hat tricker. <laughs> Joe. And then... I need you to think I about this very ahead. hard. I'm going to make a Lava Lava Chain. Mm -hmm. You may be familiar with this card from the ban list. Uh, let's just send a card from our deck to the graveyard, shall we? Mm -hmm. um, a nice mm -hmm. little blue eyes white dragon, perhaps. Okay. And yeah. then we'll activate Chaos 4. Uh, anyway, get wrecked, buddy. What?! <laughs> Are you serious? I don't even I don't even have to use I have I can use cards from my hand What what do you mean that negates chaos form? Oh. Well at least you don't get your draw card get out the of here. same reason that Ash uh can negate Book of Eclipse, uh, because Konami hates us personally. I, I hate the world. Okay. What, I, what I'm Ooh, curious that's about. Not a terrible draw. If, if I um, didn't send the blue eyes, would you still have been able to activate Ghost Ghost Bell on that, even though I didn't have it in the grave? I do not know the answer to that question. Comment um, in the comments. <laughs> so the good news is. I drew Cash Tira Fenrir again. <laughs> of course. I shouldn't uh, expect anything else. Let's normal summon Stratos. And I'm going to use Stratos to get everyone's favorite guy a dusted gold. Okay. And then I am going to accomplish nothing with my life. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll accomplish getting rid of the Lavalval chain, so that's pretty good. So that's uh, the... I am going to use my gold now because I really need to not draw the Dark Calling with the hand that I have. Yeah, that would be probably nice. I have not seen your Noxious yet. There's a good chance that you've drawn it. I'm going to attack in with Fenrir, and I'm actually going to not use its hard OPT here. Gotcha. Just doing less damage and hoping. Your loss. And then I am going to pass the turn. Okay. If mask change came down, I was going to be, ooh, a shad panda. Um, hmm. I'll set a card. Hmm. Your move, holy man. Oh, that's a very good card I just drew. Hold up. Does that make access code? <laughs> That would be very funny if that made access code. I'll attack in with Stratus. I will activate Dogmatica Pun- What? What? <laughs> what? Was that not supposed to be the Noxious? Uh, no, it was not. I- Okay, I imagine now you're going to punishment and- why I is there something that prevents me from targeting your monsters? I am confused. 
Do you not have an extra deck monster bigger than Fenrir? I absolutely, even if I didn't, I have ones bigger than Stratos. That's a fair point. <laughs> You've seen them. I don't know why I can't activate this. A a end phase? Oh, now, now, na okay, fine. It, well, fuck it. You know what? We're getting rid of it. <laughs> Go for it. Take Entis. Oh, is it, dur is it a main phase card? No. No, it I, is I really just target... <laughs> I don't know what is the dang UI. We wouldn't. I have no idea what's going on there. It wouldn't be okay. chaos draft if the UI didn't mess up somehow and make a complete leader. <laughs> I could have done that and then still had the noxious and done so many plays. Uh, okay. Well, main phase two. It's time for Plan B. Green. And there is no Plan B better than the original Plan B himself. Bagoo. The EP boy. He's so sleepy. He like me for real. Oh, thank you, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit. That's good a thing you that. can do. <laughs> uh, the good news, I suppose, is that Chaos Max can't kill me through Baguska because Baguska's got 2,000 defense. It feels like kind of a waste. Woohoo. Let's just get Thrasher in here. Nope. Yep. That does it. He's thrashing. He's got a hundred more. Get out of here. Wish I had my Noxious. Could've been doing gladiator beast things. Ooh. Okay. I've had about enough of this. No. <laughs> I, I feel like doing this the silly way because I haven't gotten to summon this card yet, and I've been f sitting on this stupid garnet in my hand <laughs> that I still can't garnet? use, but I insist on doing something cool here. <laughs> so I am going to use my two tokens to summon IP Mascarena. Okay. And then I am going to special summon from my hand <laughs> by banishing the Bagoo, the Stratos, and uh, the Summoner Monk, Earth Arch Nemesis Engine. Protoss. Oh, okay. Just Protoss. And that's not the cool thing I want to do. I, the cool thing I want to do is summon Boral Sword with IP Masquerade. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a big Boral of a time! All right, let's activate him. We'll switch the guy to defense. Let's go to battle phase, see if we can end this game. Does that end the game? It should be able to. Well, you don't do piercing or anything. Yeah, but he attacks twice. Oh, he attack. Oh, well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking UI shenanigans. <laughs> oh. I don't know how. What is? What was making it so you couldn't activate punishment? I have no idea. It just wasn't giving me the option. I guess once an attack was declared. Hmm. I don't know, I was holding down the, the chain, I thought. Like, I wanted to do it as soon as you went into the battle phase. Uh, do the people deserve a game four? Sure. Sure, All right. why not? We'll do one more. We'll try it out. Just see how it goes. All I right. try to think Would you like to go first or second? Or I, will go, I will go second, as always. All right. So sad. I had so many things... <laughs> I felt like I had it this time. That and the the, 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 the the ghost bell. All right. The question is, All do I pass. do I ban Rhoda or do I ban Stratos? <laughs> One of those two must go, I believe. Graceful charity every single game. Every game. This is a this card is a powerhouse. Why well, wouldn't just get everything? Uh, let's toss both of my. <laughs> Lost ones into the graveyard. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Uh, normal summon. All right. Activate. We get the chaos form. So now, if you have the ghost spell, we can test if this works when it's not in the graveyard. I unfortunately do not. Oh, okay. No ghost spell this time. Nope. Um, I'm about to be maximumly chaosed. Yeah, he's big. 
Oh, even Maximus. Yeah. Maximus for Max. <laughs> the double Max. Uh, of course, this isn't Gabe or anything. I'm sure, I know, I mean, I, you have Access Code Talker. That gets rid of this. Uh, Boral Sword gets rid of this. You've got many I ways to deal with this. I swear the next card I'm going to draw is going to be the hard garnet for my yeah. access code play. It is going to be. It is written in the it is written in the tomes. Um not quite actually. That's okay, here it. we okay. go. Okay. Let's see this here comes access the play. combo. What so, can do? I uh, it's going to start off with mind control, one of the most fun and interactive cards of all time. Stealing my dude. I'm, I don't like that. We're going to normal summon Destiny Hero Celestial. Oh, big back shield. And I'm going to special summon Laval Val Chain. <laughs> All combos begin with Laval Val Chain. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Let's just get both of them things. All right. I will activate Laval Vault Chain, sending a card from my deck to the graveyard by detaching Destiny Hero Celestial. Oh, you're gonna get the draw power too. And the card I am going to send is Destrudo the <laughs> Lost Dragon's Frisson. Fr Frisson. Oh, and Mr. hard French, like Joe. French guy out here. I am absolutely going to get the draw power because I'm next going to activate Card of Safe Return. <laughs> And I'm going to activate Premature Burial, targeting my Destiny Hero Celestial. All the banned cards in Banned Card City. And I will use Card of Safe Return. I'm going to eat a lot of damage this turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then I am going to activate Destrudo. All right. Turning my Celestial into a slightly littler guy. Uh, actually, I think it changes Destrudo's level. Oh, it does d uh, change yeah. Destrudo's level. The important thing is it is a, still a level set, a, a level seven synchro, exactly. with which I shall make Yazi Evil of the Yangzing. Dun 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 dun. dun. And I will... Oh, I goofed this combo. It's not going to be a problem. It's not going to be a problem. I was supposed to put Chain in the extra monster zone, but it's not going to be an issue. And now to finally get to summon the hard garnet that I've drawn every single other game this series. Mare, mare. Mare, mare. That's right. Uh, the and nightmare. then I will activate the Mare, Mare. I've heard it's actually the Mare Mare because Mare is sea and then Mare like seahorse. Huh. That's what I've been told. I guess that would make sense. All right. And then I am going to... <laughs> the thrice per off... turn is not that, that good when you don't have the zones. We'll make it work. I am going to use my token and my Lavalval chain to make cross sheep. Oh, we went from an EP boy to a sheepy boy. True. I will activate Mare Mare. I will summon my Mare Mare token. I will activate Mare Mare again. I will summon another token. Tiny token. Why can't I use the token for this? Do you not have the zone? Oh, it's because Mare Mare is in the zone I need, Rip. Okay, well, I can still make access code here. Uh, I will summon <laughs> IP Masquerade. Um, and then I have so few life points left. I am so <laughs> close to death here. Uh, I will, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna summon, if you manage to summon another Chaos Max, I actually lose by way of my defense position token here. <laughs> I might, All right, access code. <laughs> All right. I'll grab mask stats here. Okay. And it is now just big enough. Just, just slightly. big enough. If only um, I had set one of these lost wins instead of sending them all to the graveyard. <laughs> uh, I'll know. activate Monster Reborn. <laughs> I'll bring back... Uh, I, I'm going to have to the link all of these off anyway. Uh, Gee, I Billy, will... How come your mom gives you all the power spells? <laughs> Monster Reborn, Mind Control, Premature Burial... <laughs> I'll uh, summon, it's, to be fair, a couple of these were commons in Dark Beginning 1, which has basically nothing else good. I haven't gotten uh, them. 
Uh, I cannot... Okay. All right. We, 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 we've gotten out of the chaos max zone. I'm not going to attempt to use Nightmare Unicorn because I know how that ends for me. <laughs> I, <laughs> you don't want to shuffle back your back code. row? Uh, no, I think, I think I'm fine. And I'll attack in with the Unicorn. Okay. I've got the Noxious oh, well, uh, <laughs> I've God, always got the Noxious. <laughs> Highly obnoxious, one He's might say. He's something that would be banned if I could win a duel. <laughs> if I could win a match. All right. Do it again. All right. Uh, th that's 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 what I got probably. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. We're going to get uh, Esket. Okay. We're going to grab this back, if and you don't mind. Yes. Sounds great. It is great. Thank you. I am great. Oh, you're not going to pop it in main phase two? I forgot about main phase two. I won't that, lie to that you. That was last, last, last <laughs> time, Robert. Um, sure. Normal yeah. summon it. Yes. Let's that, yeah, you got it. Let's do the thing. Yep. Here comes Geyserus. Finally. Okay. After 10,000 years. Oh, wait, this was made with IP Masquerina. It was indeed made with IP. That's correct. Okay, so I ain't going to pop that. I'm getting rid of your back rows. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sucks for me. Oh, just MST. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, check this out. We're going to go to battle phase. This okay. isn't enough to kill you. Not quite. But it is more damage. Uh, main phase two. We will activate mm -hmm. this effect. Okay. Um, I don't have one in the graveyard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to summon a Noxious and another Noxious. Double Noxious. There's two of them things. Uh, and then we're going to use one of their effects. Okay. Uh, we're just going to send this again gonna overlay into Pleiades. I wish. That requires lights. No, we're just gonna make this again. Are you gonna make your own access card? I might, you know, I was thinking about it. I got... I, I can do whatever I want. This is my show. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go ahead for this. Let's activate this. Send All right. him back. Summon out E Darius. Darius summons back the best Iari. Mm hmm. Here's where I'd make Geyserus again if you could be destroyed by anything. True. Uh, and yeah, we need to do these two, right? Yeah. Oh, your access code will be bigger than my <laughs> access code. And your access Truly code modern will go back into the oh, No, wait, deck. hold up! <laughs> I have a card for mine. <laughs> okay, there oh, we go. Oh, goodness. Because well, um, the access code wars have. <laughs> uh, actually, now I could have done that main phase one, couldn't I have? For some reason, I thought I needed to attack. To, no, I needed to set everything up in the graveyard. Okay, yeah, we're good. Your move, Scrublet. All right. Oh, oh, fighting words coming from you right now. A okay, yeah, I will happily. A charity of your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about okay. it. I will happily discard. Oh, I can just make an access code again, can't I? <laughs> um, <laughs> unfortunately, my access code can't out your access code right now. I will send Destrudo and... Ten ye spirit Nahata. Uh, and then I will special summon Cash Tira Fenrir. It is Cash Tira Fenrir again. <laughs> just Fenrir again. Just, just Fenrir things. Okay, let's go monk. You know, monk effect. Dis despite everything, that might be the the better ban than either. Like the other ones, shut down your deck. True. <laughs> But this fucker is gonna be such a. It's like Pankratops at home. <laughs> and we banned Pankratops. We banned everything close to Pankratops. All right, let's activate gold. Uh, right. I'll grab my Dark Calling. 
I will special summon. What's a good card for make my extra? Nightmare deck? Unicorn, shuffle back my excess code. Make I have one. unfortunately <laughs> already used my Nightmare Unicorn, you so have that is two not of an them. option don't available to me. to me. I have a Unicorn and I have a Griffin, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have two Unicorn. Mm, that's what they all say, right until the second okay. Unicorn um, shows up. I'll summon, but Man. in attack position. The myth. The legend. He's All right, and then it's dark calling time. No, it's not. <laughs> no! You're not the only one, Robert! Wait, get wrecked. <laughs> That's fine. That was going to happen anyway. It's true. It was going to happen anyway. I'm just glad right, I know uh, this works. I can't believe I've been playing this at like two for the last three episodes. Like, man, if I can activate this on dark calling, it'll be so sweet. And then you activate it on chaos. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, th that's what I've got. I've I've done what I can do. Yeah, and oh, maybe I should have gone for dark calling first there. Uh, I mean this kind of sucks, but I think it does what I needed to do. Right? Let's just go ahead and banish a light and a dark. Oh wait, wait, that does it. <laughs> and a light. <laughs> Oh, that is not the card I expected. Yo, that's a sick one. Love you, yeah. He's he's pretty nice. Level eight dragon. It would be cool if I could use his effect, but uh, Baguska wouldn't be killed by it, and I would get I banished. And I don't want those things to happen to me. I'm confused if, about. Oh, did you have something that didn't activate now? No, I'm confused about why you didn't attack Baguska. I forgot that life points existed. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. It's it's um, the, it's the casual duel. I'm no longer, you know, the coins have already been put up. Hopefully, Jules, did you put the coins up? If not, put the put the coins up now. In fact, put the coins up now. Even if you didn't, just just I like the coins there. They're so pretty, spinning around. So many on Robert's side, and so few on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what happened with that Dogmatica punishment. I, I'm sure there's something I messed up. I don't think the game's really that that bad, but it is really just, just unfortunate. I thought it said, like, would you like to change something? And I hit yes. And then uh, Noxious came down. Oh, it's this. Yeah, it is this. <laughs> this fucker. This is... Yeah. He's I mean, an I... asshole. I could have won this one if I just attacked into the terribly tired tapir. Just, yeah, I yeah, for, sh for sure. Well, the good news is this was a much closer match than it has ever been. We're get I'm, I'm catching and up. And you get to ban again. <laughs> I do get to ban again, and uh, I still haven't, haven't decided. You've got so many good things. The Protoss is really good. The, uh, the Fenrir is really good. Those are both like haymakers, but they're also one of Stratos and, and uh, Rhoda are both really good consistency tools. And it, you know, part of me is like, I really like that heroes could be playable in this game. I don't want to kill the hero strategy, but part of me also doesn't want to lose the, the entire series. <laughs> Just to hear. Just yeah, to I, like, I, the, you know, it'd be me with like, you with like 13 chaos coins. Like, well, I'm glad I got to see heroes before I die. <laughs> I will be real with you. The heroes have gotten to play hard like Joe. <laughs> they have gotten their time in the sun. They haven't gotten everything. Uh, I'm just trying to think too, because it's like, we probably want Rhoda gone as a kid. Oh, but he's a name and a thing. I'm going to think it over. I'm going to think it over. I'm going to talk right, to my okay. chat. And once again, you'll have to tune in next time to figure out, because I am an indecisive and somewhat crazed man of indeterminate intelligence. But hopefully you enjoy watching the ramblings and, and RJ's here too. Say hello, RJ. Hi, chat. Now Hi. say goodbye. <laughs> Bye, chat. <laughs> Until next time, good luck. And I don't know what that was. That was... <laughs> And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode eight, the Ocho. Is this even eight fingers? I don't know. 
I'm I'm a hard leg Joe, if any you didn't know, joined once again by the Mr. Burns of Yugi Tube, the RJ. I am not going to try the Mr. <laughs> Burns voice right now. Excellent. But we do know for a fact that the kids are wrong. It is there. It is. Uh, I, I refuse to be. I, it really is appropriate. I refuse to be self-critical on this show. That is a uh, principal Skinner. <laughs> Fake is fan. It God, not I, even, I, not even a real Simpsons fan over here. I know I'm not. I I won't even try to be oh, a, Sim okay. a Simpsons fan. I'm not even a fake. I'm just like You're like Joe. You brought this reference on me. I never claimed anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just here. I'm I'm just here pretending. Now it's one of those things. It's uh, I remember I used to watch The Simpsons like it was at that perfect time after school for like two years. And they mm -hmm. had reruns, so it was it was on like every single day, right? It wasn't just like once a week. So I must have seen like it felt like three hundred episodes of The Simpsons. There's so many. We we I barely saw reruns in like the two years that I watched it, despite seeing it every day. And then not long ago, there's another YouTuber whose name I can't remember. I think he's an Irish guy, but he did a thing where he sat down and watched like every single Simpsons episode and reviewed it. It's like a That's six hour long undertake. video. <laughs> yes. It, it's absolutely huge. And I remember he got to like season five and I was like, wait, I don't recognize these episodes. Did I was uh, everything I saw was from season five. How many seasons are there? It's like 32. <laughs> like, oh, my God, there's, there's more Simpsons I haven't seen that I have seen. And it's crazy to think that there's that much content out there. There is a lot. Uh, that was a discussion that I had with some of my journalist friends back in college was we were like, there is so much stuff out there. Yeah. There is so much data, information, so many ideas. We once discovered a video where the entirety of all Star Wars content was played like each word, like word by word in alphabetical order. <laughs> The entirety of Star Wars in alphabetical order. I was just like, this is incredible. It's just, uh, man, mankind has gone too far. Made a sick hip-hop beat out of it. <laughs> I will say something that's either going to explain a lot to a lot of people or is just going to fit right in with people's understanding of me as a person. I was not allowed to watch The Simpsons as a kid. Oh. <laughs> it was one of those many things that my parents thought would rot my brain. Possibly. I mean, look how I turned out. Wearing a Hawaiian shirt and a top hat. I don't think any parent imagines their kid at 30 doing that. I I would say that you have broken the yoke of society. You yeah. are not just what was created of you. You are a creation in and of yourself. I am not a number. I am a free man. Comment in the comments if you get that reference. Uh, but anyway, enough about old style TV shows. We're here. We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Jules, put up the bad list. I often forget to put up the bad list. Everyone can see everything that we've got. There's a lot of stuff on there, including what we banned last time, which was, um, what did I ban last time? My brother in Christ, you <laughs> banned the card. <laughs> Reinforcement of the army. Oh, is that this episode? I'm getting so confused because I'm editing a lot of episodes and stuff in between. <laughs> Or not edit, Jules edits, but I like go back and yeah. But yeah, we got reinforcements of the army up there. And of course this week's chaos rule, which is summoning sickness. Monsters cannot attack the turn they're summoned, not until the next standby phase, which I think we wrote this down as like one of these early rules where we're like, yeah, this won't matter that much. It matters immensely. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it turns out that both of us were running kind of OTK decks before, and the concept of OTK is non-existent yeah. in this episode, and I'm not sure what to do with that information. Yeah, neither of us can OTK, but we also don't have enough, like, disruption to really make, like, a bunch of negates or anything. We can't play it's a control true. deck. They, they don't exist. Which makes me wonder, like, maybe maybe this might be one of the rules. Like, if we take one rule for Season 5 and just have it be the whole time, maybe just add Summoning Sickness onto everything. <laughs> that on it, maybe I can win then. <laughs> yeah, stretch the games out long. 
So yeah, we're gonna be dealing with that, but first we gotta get all those pools, so let's go into the chaos space. And here we are, back once again in the pool zone, in the pool dimension, in the, the, the chaos, chaos zone, perhaps? I forget what we called it, but uh, we're here, we're pulling cards, hopefully trying to get better pulls than Robert this time. I've got, I've got Critter here to keep me guard. I'm not sure if Critter said anything. Critter, do you want to give a message to the people? Like, let them know about the Chaos Draft. Give me a message of hope. <laughs> well said, well said, Critter. Thank you very much. With words like that flowing through my veins, how can I not pull the best card in the game? Like that, apparently. Um, I guess we take Nobleman of Extermination. That's, that's a back row removal. It might kind of do something. Starting off with Dark Beginning 1. What will we get? Will I finally get a giant true nade? Yes! After all of this time, I have the back row removal. Dark Revelations. What are you revealing? That these packs are awful? Ah, I see. Well, you know what? If we ever get on the Dark Magician stuff, it'll help to have a Dark Magic attack. Yeah, in order to activate this, I need a specifically named card. So I'm going to say, yeah, I can take Dark Magician because I took Dark Magic Attack. Thank you, people in the chat. Speaking of which, I should get the chat on here. I almost forgot. Raging Battle. Oh, another one for one and an Evil Thorn. Uh, Overwhelm is very funny. I'm actually going to take Evil Thorn, I think, because I think that's my third copy. Okay, chat really wants me to take one for one. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. Yugi's world. It's a whole world of Yugi's world. What does Dark Magic Curtain do? Pay half your life points, summon a Dark Magician from the deck. Not the greatest Dark Magician card, but it might be what we need. Attack all once each. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take the Dark Magic Curtain. We might be able to do something with this. Premium Gold. Ooh, Dark Flare Dragon's cool. Oh, I do not have a Dark Armed Dragon already, though. Oh, is it Dark Flare or Dark Armed? Both of these are extremely good for Chaos Dragon things like Dragon Link. I do have Eclipse Wyvern, so Dark Armed is searchable. Okay, chat is saying dad, except for the people who are saying obelisk, and I don't, uh, I, I, I don't truck with folks who say obelisk. Cosmo Blit, oh, hey! Is that Brotherhood of the Fire Prince Horse Prince? We, the, we, we've been trying to get Fire Fist for a while. That's a good one. That opens up a lot of stuff and it's super rare. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that every day. Shining Victories. I think we'll take Priestess. It's like a bad card, but pretty much everything in here is a bad card. And this is very funny because it's a way for us to get to alt. Nah, we'll take Fire King Island. I'm sure we'll find combos for it. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Can I see a third blaster? No, but we got a second Pebbles and that's not too bad. Helps with the Dragon Ruler stuff. The Dark Side of Dimension. Speaking of alts, I will take a second alt. This is what I get for not choosing the card that comes with alt or helps us get alt. That also gets our third blue eyes. Okay, all right. I like where we're at with blue eyes. Blue eyes is probably not the pick. We would need to get Sage. We would need to get Stone, but Another alt is not a bad place to start. Let me just make sure that I get that blue eyes for alts. Now the giants are at war and they're not doing much of anything. I'm gonna take Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Saga of the Duelist. Legacy of the Duelist is cute. Skydive Scorcher is cool. Cosmic Flare is cool, but I think honestly, it's going to be honest here. See what I did there. Dark side of dimensions. Well, we could take a third Chaos Max Dragon. Uh, we do already have a Blue Eyes and we could add another Blue Eyes because we need to reveal one. 
Yeah, I mean, we've, we've already got level eights going. We've already got blue eyes going. Might as well add another one. We'll get the alternative, and that'll allow us to get the blue eyes white dragon to our pool. A second one. All right, legendary collection Kaiba. There's an Azure Eye Silver Dragon. Ooh, and our first melody of Awakening Dragon. You know we're taking it. You know we're taking the melody. The Darkest Illusion. Oh, wait, I already have a Dora, right? Dora's the one I already pulled. For a second, I was like, oh, I guess I could have two of them things. Uh, I already have three of the Heavy Freight Train Dara Crane. I guess revolving the switchyard would actually be better. Because that would allow me to make it more consistently. Special summon one level four from your deck, and if you do, its level becomes ten. Yeah. Yeah, let's get the switchyard. Savage strike. And <laughs> do we take the second guard dragon LP? Um. We might actually. Guru's kind of cool. Oh, chat really does think I should take LP. I'll take an LP. The light will have its revenge. Ooh, Gladiator Beast on Domdba. Oh, this is so hard to make, though, unfortunately. I mean, I could get an Augustus. Is Augustus a good one? Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, that might be worth playing just to get that. Because we already have a Judgment Dragon and not a really easy way to summon it. And Denko Seka, I'm not sure, would be really great. Yeah, we're going to take this just so we can get the Augustus. That lets us summon from our hand. It gives us the ability to make other stuff. Battles of Legend, Heroes Revenge. What do you think, folks? Do we need another busted rank three? Vision Hero Trinity is very cool, uh, but for obvious reasons, we probably shouldn't be hunting down hero stuff anymore. I'll take Soldier of Chaos. The Flames of Destruction. Ooh, Called by the Grave? I think we want to take Called by the Grave. We do also have Altergeist stuff, but this isn't even like a good Altergeist card. Yeah, we'll take Called by the Grave. Chaos Impact. There are a lot of things with impact in their name. Marincess Blue Tang is a hell of a good Marincess card, uh, but we don't really have Marincesses to work with. What is Galactic Spiral Dragon? Is this an eight? It is an eight. Let's take Galactic Spiral Dragon. This card is great for our strategy. We just need a rank eight to summon with it, and then we have the giant asshole dragon to summon. I'm down. Dual power! Another goddamn Max Dragon. We got Max Dragon, we got a Tomb that we can't make, a Necroz we can't do. We've already got a Link Karibo, so that means we're taking the Dark Magical Circle, baby. Legendary Duelists Season 2. What do you got? Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is okay. Red Rose Dragon is very okay. I do like Rose Dragon things. Yeah, we take Red Rose. We take Red Rose. Very good card. Maximum gold. You can't get gold more max than this. Forbidden Chalice is pretty good. Terraforming is also very good. Trying to think what field spells I have. I guess I could look that up real quick. Um, well, I've got, I've got the two Aroma Garden. I've got the two Dragon Ravine. I've got Fire King Island. Yeah, actually, I think the terraforming is probably the better way to go. We've already got quite a few ways to get a, a monster negation. This will be this will be a little bit spicier. Burst of destiny. Is that a mo -ye? <laughs> Is that a mo -ye? I will fucking take a mo -ye. Let's go. <gasps> oh, yeah, we're going to take the Moye for sure. For sure we take Moye. Yeah, this worm strategy is starting to pick up. El Dorado. Hey, fire formation tanky. Ooh, but an urgent schedule. <sighs> Time to put my fate once more in the hands of Twitch chat. 
All right, looks like we're going for the fire fists more than the earth machines this time. We're taking the 10 key. Call me a janitor in a place with 10 rooms. You get the pun, I don't have to say it. <laughs> All right, folks, power of the elements. One of the sets I've been really excited, the commons in this set are some of the best cards in the series. Let's open them up. No shot. No shot. No way. No way. Oh no. <laughs> so I haven't been taking tier laments this entire series because I've known that it would take Kit Kalos or it would take a, a what is the other card? A Kit Kalos or Kaleido Heart in order to make the deck decent. I have a copy of Melfi Penny already. I've got Terrors of the Overroot, and Terrors of the Overroot is genuinely just one of the best cards in the series. But Kit Kalos is really good. If we take Kit Kalos, we can start taking things like Tierlament's Meta Noise, which becomes a searchable Book of Moon. Yeah, it's gotta be Kit Kalos. It's gotta be Kit Kalos. Oh boy, this is gonna start getting very fun. The third legendary duelist. Oh, Apprentice Illusion Magician. This is really good. This is really good for the spellcaster stuff I've been getting together. Yeah, it's either that or the rod, but I think we want to go with her. She's she's a little bit better. All right, and our final pack of the main opening, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. And we get basically nothing. Yeah, I'll take Numeron. And finally, the crystals and their vengeance are here. Uh, I think this has to do something with, like, Cybers monsters. I've been taking some Cybers monsters. We'll just take that. Nothing else seems particularly good. We got quite a, again, we got quite a few good things here. We've got some Insectors, we got some Zombies, we got some Cybers, rank 10 machines. It's really gonna be up to those, uh, those, those, uh, the Chaos Packs and the Pity Packs to figure out what direction we're going today. Hard Legs Chaos Pack, my Chaos Pack. It's time for some more Chaos. Imagine if I got the Fortress. Imagine mocking a Fortress. Mm, none of these is that. Uh, Res Avenger is okay. Nikitama's kind of cool. We do have a Sakitama. Oh, actually, Jeff the Person Man is very right. Uh, I am doing hieratic things, kind of, maybe, and so Convocation is pretty decent. All right, Chaos Pack number one. Really, I'm just, if I can get like a Machina Fortress Citadel or whatever, this, that would be, that would make all the difference. And it doesn't look like I got one. Yeah, I guess the revolving switch yard is the better one to take, especially since I already have the Earth Slicer. All right, Hard Leg Chaos Pack number two. Whoa, ah, that's a mocking of Metal Cruncher. I almost got very, very excited. Metal Cruncher is pretty okay anyway. If we're already kind of coping on whether or not we get Machina's, uh, it's a very good card for that strategy, but also Hieratic Dragon of a set is cool. That would start us on the path of Hieratics. Psychic Eraser Laser is also just a phenomenally good card. I think I like going for combo pieces better than I like going for outs, but a set is not the ideal combo piece. I'll take Psychic Eraser Laser. I do kind of need outs to towers like things. Okay, pack number two. Ooh, Mermilio. Or I could get another Brutal Dozer. Or the Trencher to search with the Dozer. Oh, we were going so hard into the Earth Machines and now it's like, well shit, man. This is like one of the best Gladiator Beasts. This is really good to have to just be able to summon stuff off. The rank four is good, but I already got good removal. Uh, I think I have to go with the Mermilio. These are in other packs, but Mermilio, we're not even opening the pack that has it in it. So we've got to take the Gladiator Beast. And now it's time for my Chaos Packs. 
starting with the Horus the Black Flame Dragon level four. Hey, yo. Uh, Noctivision Dragon is great though. Yeah, I'll take another Noctivision Dragon. I have one already, but two is not bad. Open up chaos. Well, we could get another another keys on. We are looking for equipped spells. Megamorph's pretty good. We almost took an Armageddon Knight. I think we want the other keys on though. I think we're still trying to get that because we do have a gateway of the six. Might be able to do something with it. All right, pack number two. Uh, ooh, rocket recharger. Does this one? Does this one have the effect? Does this one have the effect? Also, I got a Zen Mighty and an Abyss Sphere. Yeah, I think we take the third Noctivision Dragon. Rocket Recharger is an okay card, but it doesn't have the good rocket effect. Much as I love the idea of, of Zen Mighty, I think we take the third Noctivision. And pack number two. Uh, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of those. I'm, I'm gonna take the 10 goldfish. We're gonna do that. So a mixed bag as always. Not gonna make it easy to depict what uh, pity pack we do. It is time to get to rerolling. All right, season one to start us off to attempt to get that black metal dragon we've been working toward. Did we get the black metal? No, we did not get it, but I am definitely going to reroll this again. All right, Black Metal Dragon, show us the way. There's a Red Eyes Wyvern, but that's still not a... Oh, it's a common in this set. Okay, I am officially cursed. <laughs> Flare Metal Dragon. Black Metal Dragon! Rewarded. Rewarded. Okay, and I have two rerolls left. Yes, we take the Black Metal Dragon. All right, so after spending way too long going over our options and considering the chaos rule for this week, I've decided to tunnel in on Dark Magicians. We have just enough tools that if we can get like two, maybe three Eternal Souls, we could actually make a pretty solid Dark Magician deck. We have two more Dark Magicians. We have two Magician Souls. We've got the Magician's Apprentice. We've got some Spellbook stuff and some other Spellcaster support we've been sitting on. I don't think Robert is prepared. I don't think he'll, he'll understand it. And it's a solid control deck that doesn't matter if it can attack the turn it summons because it's gonna be summoning during his turn. That is, if we can get the Eternal Souls. We're gonna be opening five packs of Darkest Magic. See if we can get them. If not, it'll start to help build up for a potential uh, Dark Magician in the future. And, you know, we've always got Earth Machines and Gladiator Beasts or whatever we can roll back on. Although Gladiator Beasts without being able to attack the turn they're summoned, not, not necessarily great. Let's flip it up. So I think as, as, as tempting as this will be, we need to have the ability to get a Dark Magician first. So let's take this so we just have a third Dark Magician to work with and a fusion. It's probably not a great fusion, but uh, you take what you can get. All right, Legendary Duelist Season 2. We are looking for either a Dragon Shrine or a Rank 8 Photon or Galaxy Exceeds monster. Well, we could also get another Red Rose Dragon. We could just keep the Red Rose Dragon and have accomplished nothing here. We got Harbinger out of Ghost from the Past 2. That's actually a very good argument in favor of taking the White Stone of Ancients, right? Because that's more blue eyes stuff, and Harbinger is actually really good this uh, this set, this round. Ancients is we're gonna do the blue eyes content, folks. We're going for the blue eyes content. Let's take Ancients. Okay, pack number two. Oh, there's a dark magician girl. If I wanted one, uh, put on my wizard hats and robes. Uh, I'm gonna take the inheritance. I think that's probably the better way to go. Okay, every pack has to contain. Uh, magician souls, or not magician souls, eternal soul, if we want this to have a chance. And that is not eternal soul. We did get the super rare salvation, 
which is a field spell. We do have terraforming, and this lets us set an eternal soul from our deck. So if we get one, then, then we can get this. Uh, I think that's the way to go. It's either that or the Magician's Rod, which just gets us like the uh, any 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 card that mentions it. Hmm. Do we get the one and hope that we can get it, or do we get something like this? We know gets us the Dark Magic Circle, and then Dark Magic Circle immediately lets us do stuff. I don't want Ebon Illusion because the chances that we'll get two on at this moment is not not easy. Yeah, I'd have to get like a Dark Magician girl. I'm gonna take the Rod. The Rod's probably better. I believe this gets us Eternal Soul if we don't have it, right? Yeah, because Eternal Soul specifically mentions Dark Dark Magician. So that's just as good, hopefully. Although there's no other way to get this in this entire series, I don't think, is the problem. Because we don't have a pack that has this in it. There are other ways to get Magician's Rod. I mean, we've already got one. No, we take the rod. We take the rod. We gotta low roll it. Pack number four! Uh... Well, we get another rod. Why not? And then pack number five. Can we get a single eternal soul? Just one? Not, not even one. Not a single eternal soul or a dark magical circle. Uh, we did get another apprentice illusion magician, which is nice. But uh, yeah, that makes our prospect of playing, it's a rare, it's a rare in this pack. Uh, my pull luck is just awful this season. Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll have to, we'll have to take another thing and find out. Finally, after all of this, because of the rule change last week, I do have to get my two extra secret packs of cosmic mechanical entities. And from that, I will receive... Oh, well, I'm not sad that I did that. I I will take a Mech Knight Blue Sky. Sure, why not? And for our last pull for Cosmic Mechanical Entities, sure, I will also take a Mech Knight of the Morning Star. Sure. Ladies and non-ladies, we're here, and we're playing Dark Magician. It is not a great build, but looking over the pulls for what I had this week, what was available, and especially considering the chaos rule, I think this is the best we can do. We still don't have enough for earth machines. I have a pretty good dragon deck, a pretty good insector deck, and a pretty good chaos max deck, but the problem with all three of those is that they're kind of OTK decks. They're kind of reliant on putting a big thing on the board and then being able to push for a lot of damage. And we can't do that because the monsters can't deter, uh, can't deter, can't attack the turn they're summoned. And specifically, the dragon rulers are just awful in this format. You can summon them, they can't attack, and then at the end of the opponent's turn, they come back. So you pretty much can never do anything with them unless you're using them exactly as Link and Ixy material. And I mean, we do have some rank sevens, but they're not not that great. So instead we're playing this, which is kind of a neat control build. Uh, we don't have a ton of ways to summon Dark Magician, but I mean, Magician Souls can summon Dark Magician. A lot of people don't remember that. I'm playing to Call the Haunted this, this week so that if we get into the graveyard, we can bring it back. And perhaps most importantly, we have one Magic Karibo, which if you don't know, is actually kind of nutty, especially in Limited. If it's in the graveyard and you take damage, you can add it back to your hand. And if it's in the battle phase and you took damage this turn, you can discard it to summon a Dark Magician from your grave or deck. So yeah, if we can get this in the graveyard, uh, this is pretty much just like, infinite dark magician works every time it's coming back um and and we just we could just use this as link material we can get it you know use it as ixy material whatever we want to do with it and we could just keep keep bringing it back as long as we could take a little bit of damage uh hopefully to stop us from taking all the damage we've got stuff like compulse we've got stuff like punishment lost wind trap trick can search both of these um, and if we need to, we can always side these out for things like Mirror Force and the Solemn Warnings. Oh, and of course, the, the whole reason why you'd want to bring the Dark Magician back, aside from the fact that it's just an infinite 2500 attacker, we got the one Dark Magical Circle, 
which, you know, may not be enough to build a whole deck upon, but we can get it really easily with Magician's Rod, uh, and between that and all the draw power, getting to it, not all that difficult. And then in addition to that, we have uh, just, just a bunch of stuff that's either special summon enablers. I realize now the power of both Gofu and, and Scapegoat. With the pulls I have specifically, either one of these, I believe, is just an instant rank 4. And I've got quite a few rank 4s. And something like a Borolode Dragon made with IP so that it can't be destroyed is just very strong. Uh, and then stuff like Engraver of the Mark is actually kind of good in this format where we can't attack the turn we're summoning because that just means anything that Robert summons, I can tag it with Engraver of the Mark and then it can't attack that turn and next turn it's dying. So <laughs> so there's that. Kaiku, meanwhile, is kind of an anti-Robert anti pull. He can't banish from the graveyard while this is on the field, so he has to get rid of it. It's another attacker. And both of these are dark spellcasters, which means... Apprentice Illusion Magician is kind of, like, honest with them. Like, if Robert attacks, I can just discard this and give these 2,000 attack, which makes them pretty, pretty brutal. Uh, will I be able to get those combos off? Will we be able to do everything we need? I don't know. But, unfortunately, this, this Chaos Rule that I didn't think was going to be that impactful, the Summoning Sickness, actually really limits a lot of what we can do, and I'm really curious to see what Robert came up with to stop this. Uh, hopefully it works out. Maybe I can finally clench in a win, especially with Dark Magicians. That would be cool, but we'll have to watch to find out. Much as the exhausted hero recoils in terror upon breaking the villain's impenetrable armor and realizing that it was only holding back their power, so too has Hardleg's ban of reinforcement of the army only served to reveal the true horror my collection is capable of. This is the end game of my chaos draft. This is what I have been building under the surface, the final boss to Hardleg's heroic attempts this is my dragon link deck i have been so excited to play this deck but i haven't quite had the pieces to put it together until now we finally have the ability to make full use of guard dragon lp and guard dragon pisty and our three copies of hieratic seal of the heavenly spheres only assisted in their power level by the summoning sickness rule with their power and ip mascarena we can make impenetrable bosses such as boral sword dragon and access code talker and even after that we have follow-ups like verte anaconda wherever the hell i put that to put Starving Venom Fusion Dragon onto the board using Hardleg's own monsters as its materials and Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, which becomes untargetable using any one of our plethora of gigantic dragon monsters. We also have reoccurable bosses in Dragoonity, Arma, Graham, and Blaster, Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Although Blaster doesn't do us a huge amount of good when it comes to summoning sickness, it's a free body that helps us get into additional copies of Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Three copies of Knock Division Dragon allow us to follow up on our multitude of level four and lower dragons that can be turned easily into Striker Dragon and then into Spheres. If we have access to the Black Metal Dragon we worked so hard to find in our rerolls, then that means that we are going to be summoning ourselves a Red MD. And that will play in with the incredible amount of resurrection support and the two copies of Card of Safe Return. Just like last week, though, our marquee combo is the ability to put Destrudo into the graveyard, summon it back, use it to make Yazi, make Yazi to destroy a card on the board, and summon Mare Mare, which is a one-card access to an IP plus access code talker. This deck is arguably even more powerful than the one that was limited to create it and i think it's even going to be good in a situation where we're not able to otk simply because of the size of monsters it can put on the board and protect even if we aren't capable of protecting them that easily with what we have in the main deck the side more than makes up for it three copies of basically mst we've got forbidden chalice and book of eclipse to deal with monsters on the board and a large number of traps and hand traps to back them up. This deck is incredibly powerful and 
oh boy, am I going to mess up playing it. I'm looking forward to doing so, though. Let the games For begin. Now, though, we're jumping into it. We're ready to duel, ready to battle, but not too ready because our monsters are feeling a little EP today. Yes. Oh, I've been owned. Um, what will you choose, Hard Leg Joe? I am going to go first this time. That is concerning for me. <laughs> oh, this is an okay hand, though. I'm a concerning man. What can I say? Okay, so I'm going to start, of course, as is as is the style at the time, by playing graceful My God. charity. <laughs> <laughs> Every single game. <laughs> Every game. This and this and oh wow those are at least one very good discard they're, they're decent we'll discard that and let's get trick clown ah the classic yeah and no fear trick clown in attack mode <laughs> normal summon trick clown a power play if i've ever seen it it's one of those things, normally this would be a, a very bad move, um, but I, if I want to attack with it, I got to summon it this turn. True. Hopefully it's you won't have anything. Yeah, I do not, not playing a ton of back row, but I happen to get all of it. I have absolutely nothing. <laughs> you have nothing to, to contest my 1600 clown? Like, more than a quarter of my deck is starters, and I haven't drawn a single one of them. I will pass the turn. Ah, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, end phase, scapegoat. Oh, boy. Well, at least I know you can't kill me this turn. Uh, true. True. It's not like I have anything that would give those scapegoats 2,000 attack, do I? I'm going to take two of these tokens, mm -hmm. and we're going to make a nip. IP! All right. <laughs> and go to battle phase. And this is going to be tricky because obviously there's no mechanical way to add in summoning sickness. We just have to remember, I can't attack yep. with IP. Don't, mustn't be too hasty. <laughs> uh, main phase two. This is a little tricky. This would be better if you had other cards on your field. Oh, but... I agree. My, my hand would also be better if I had cards on the field. As it stands, we're going to do this. What on God's flat earth is this? Puzzle. 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 Lomino, Lomino. The drop in the leader. Or Puzzle Mino, as some people call it. But I think Puzzle Lomino sounds much cooler. I mean, that's how it's spelled. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know what? Fuck it. We're not doing anything else. Might as well. I'll make Link Karibo too. <laughs> Ooh, this is a cute one to get. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's a nice thing. And I'll just end my turn here. Well, fortunately, I think this is technically a starter that I just drew into. Oh. Um, let's go Foolish Burial. How <laughs> foolish of you. Yeah, let's start getting this guy into rotation. I am going to send the White Stone of Ancients. Ah, I see, I see. I see, and said then the blind man. I will activate a card of safe return. Ah, uh, I see, again. Okay. Okay, then I am going to go mm, premature burial target my white stone of ancients i think it is i will sense. mst this premature burial and prevent your thing from even coming out okay i am going to monster reborn my white stone of ancients <sighs> i see i see go ahead okay all right let's do this thing uh i'm gonna put white stone of ancients the way over here uh for no reason you don't have to worry about it okay and I will draw a card. Of probably. Course. I was tempted Ooh. to take that out, but I was like, maybe he only has one way to summon out of the graveyard, and I could just prevent this from happening. This is not a bad draw. It doesn't do quite what I want yet. I am going to special summon via Link. The Strikey Dragon. Ah, the Strikey Dragon. All right. I think what I'm going to do, Robert, is chain my IP Mascarena. 
Okay, where are we going with this? Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to send her and Puzzlomino. And we're going to make a topological no bomber dress. shot. <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, now I have to avoid one zone. Summon very carefully, Robert. Oh, I mean, this still does what I want it to do. Let me see it. Let me into okay. your mind, Robert. Let's do this. Uh, I am going to summon my Noctivision dragon to your topologic bomber dragon zone. Oh, okay. I want to activate the link cloud. Take another thousand. Yeah, I'm still above on life points. Okay. I'll just put it over here. Okay. Then I am going to special summon from my hand. My friend, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Ah, I see. My Darkness. guy, my dude. It feels All fills right. my heart with pain. All right, let's activate Red MD. Unfortunate. I thought I had the always chain on, and maybe I could activate stuff. But the it's fine. We'll just wait. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I will summon back out my Noctivision Dragon, and I will take a card for my okay. efforts oh that is an incredible draw okay um do i use it now is the question special summon from my extra deck a little oh. number by the name of preta plant verte anaconda all right i will activate trap trick okay we'll just uh no. <laughs> Go away. That is unfortunate. Um, do I still have moves? I do kind of still have moves. You do still have four cards, thanks to that thing that I maybe should have gotten rid of. I continue to have options. They're not necessarily good ones. But I suppose we'll find out after I activate... World Legacy Guard Dragon. Just all the resurrection spells. I see. Yep. I see, I see. And we're going to special summon out our White Stone of Ancients, and I will draw a card. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. I'm very angry. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's hard to tell when you say something like that. Is that a good god or a bad god? <laughs> um... I have to just set a card and pass the turn. Yay! Okay, what do what do I do from here is the question. There's not a lot going on. I could obviously summon something, but it wouldn't be able to attack. I could not summon something. We're just going to go to battle. Okay. I'm just going to run over this. Mm, yet. Well, okay. So I'm going to activate Magician Souls. Okay. And we're going to send a Dark Magician to the graveyard. What? Okay. And I'm going to special summon this card. And I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the effect because with what you have on the field right now, this particular spell is of no use. Ooh, no, I really think you should activate that card. <laughs> I, I really, I, I, hard like, I really think you should reconsider discarding that card. Very, very useful. We're going to go ahead. We're going to use these two. Hello. Hello, it's Dark. It's me, Dark. I'm a Dark Ooh. Boy. Is our code about to become very accessible? Uh, possibly. That is something I should probably consider. I didn't actually get that wait, far. I wait, was just like, I can wait, take your red that... eyes. <laughs> ah, you fool. You have summoned a monster from my graveyard. <laughs> Fuck you, Robert. Get that out of here. No! <laughs> <laughs> no more draws for you, all right? Boo. I've got it. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to make what I should have made a while ago. 
He's a he's a load full of bowls. And uh, sure, I'll activate this. Oh, hello, Nessie. Yeah, I'm just gonna deck them. Give me a moth. <laughs> Lamp. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so it costs me everything. I'm not sure if it's worth it. You've still oh, got that's... five cards, but I got rid of your your engine. That's a hell of a draw. That's an unbelievably good draw. Okay, I am going to normal summon my white stone of ancients. Do you do you do you have uh, anything anything you'd like to do right now? Uh, nope. I'm gonna fire off this card because I might as well. I'm gonna summon off a guard dragon LP. Elp. <laughs> Uh, help. sure. I need somebody help. help. Not just anybody. Summon our second Red MD. What do you have to say about that? Uh, fire God off trap fucking trick damn again. it. Stop that. And they're going to get a Lost Wind. Okay, now you can proceed. <sighs> Would you like I'll to activate, activate the... Activate Darkness Mental's effect. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. I don't suppose you have a third one. You're going to Spanish this one to summon. <laughs> okay, anyway, my Garnet is finally going to come into rotation. Let's go Boot Sector launch. But I, I'm the one who has the Boral load, Robert. Your, your, your Boral's certainly going to take a... Oh, I'm not going to finish that joke. <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> How very rude! And here I thought I was the rude one. <laughs> okay, well, I... Uh... We're going to try this again, and surely it will work this time. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Super poly. Fuck you. <laughs> Become <Okay>. zero. <laughs> zero attack, Verte. All right. And you know what? <laughs> and he moves! <laughs> Move bad isn't alone! <laughs> All right. Well, I can't attack with anything I summon this turn anyway. True. Normal summon magician's rod. Oh no, that is <laughs> slightly bigger than my <laughs> starving venom will be. Oh Dark. my god, you really are going for it. Dark magical circle. All right, um, let's see a whiff. Oh, it's it's absolutely a whiff. I have like nothing in this deck. <laughs> uh, let's do these. The point is. I know what I'm up with. I got next. Uh, your move. Okay. <laughs> Two oh, that's turns a whole from now. Card. I should have foolished a different card. <laughs> My defense, like I did not expect ago. that turn. I did not expect that turn to go the way that it did. Okay. Uh, I'm going to force out that Lost Wind. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you saying that it doesn't matter made me realize, yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, okay. I, I got a Mothman in my hand. That's even bigger. That is... You are not wrong about that. I will then... Ooh, do I... I have one of the most asshole cards in my deck available to me right now. Another one? <laughs> it feels like your deck is yeah. nothing but asshole cards, Robert. <laughs> That's, that is my deck in a nutshell. All <laughs> right. So what are you going to do? Summon a Mothman? Uh, Lost Wind is enough of a problem that that isn't the move for me right now. Uh, I will activate my World Legacy Guard Dragon and put Star <laughs> Venom in a different location. <laughs> move aside, Venom. Excellent. It's very important that, that your Starving Venom Fusion Dragon gets its uh, regular exercise. This is exactly what I thought Venom. I was going to draw. Set a card. Um, your powers of prediction are uncanny. Hello. A moth! There you go. All right. Oh, I love you, deck. I love <laughs> you. You're my favorite. Uh, so you may have guessed by now that the number one problem is that I drew into my blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know you had a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> I do. I guess that makes sense with the stones and whatnot. Yeah, and it turns out white stain of ancients can only summon from deck. Uh, and what I am going to summon is a copy of a little number named Black Metal Dragon. I think the move here is to throw away my final copy of Guard Dragon LP. Just to get that into the graveyard? Yeah. All right. 
it doesn't actually do anything though. Uh, I'm going to summon myself my final Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I'm going to use my guy's effect here. I'm going to attempt to summon a guy. Okay. Well, I, I can't allow you to do that. I am going to finally fire the Lost Wind. Okay. Okay. Robert, I mm -hmm. activate Call of the Haunted. No And I shot. target my Dark Magician. No way. <laughs> this triggers the Dark Magical Circle, allowing me to banish your Starving Venom from the field. <laughs> and I won't use Magician's Rod, because that would be foolish. Okay. All right. Um, we are not totally out of this main phase two. I am going to flip summon keeper of the shrine. Ah, oh, okay. I was like, there's one and we more. We are unknown. going to do the true panic button of any dragon link deck. Spheres pass. <laughs> Fear the spheres. Ah, I see. I see. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. I hope your deck doesn't like to banish Robert. Oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. I didn't need to banish. Battle anyway. phase? Mm-hmm. Let's go in with the Mothman. Okay, I... I am going to have to sack off my spheres here and put that kaiku back. <laughs> I cannot allow you to stop me from banishing. Uh, especially... Okay, especially since... Does that reduce both attack and defense to zero? Crucial questions. Yes. Okay. Um, especially because... What could you possibly have that's going to be able to withstand this... I can summon from my deck Dragoonity Arma Graham. Ah. He big. <laughs> Continue the attack. Uh, yeah. I'll get over it. All right. He is big. And the Kaiku would be really good here. Oh, and you've got this. I'm like, oh, at least get it for damage. And I for gore. <laughs> I for gore. Mr. Beast. Okay, main phase two. We mm -hmm. have an old peek at the uh, the extra deck. All right, Robert, your go. Ooh, ooh. Perhaps oh I wait, I can use that effect. Oh, that's very very cool. I very much like that. Uh, what am I doing with it? Is the question here. Should have waited on the Kaiku. Yeah. Yeah, that's the move. <laughs> I am going to activate Boot Sector Launch. <laughs> I have an extremely good play that if I had thought about the fact that I can activate Boot Sector Launch would have made my last move much stronger, but that's okay. We'll get there. It'll happen. We'll um, get there eventually. I am not going to do... Yeah, here we go. All right. We're going to summon this guy. Back. Uh, and then activate my Armagram... And I am going to banish a Spheres and a Red MD from my graveyard to summon him. Hmm. We're going to put him over here. All right. But and he can't then, attack this turn. Can't attack this turn. I'll normal summon myself a Nurse Dragon Maid. Oh, damn. You do have the Dragon Maids. And then I will... <laughs> spheres pass again. Surely it will work this time. There's two Your go, them. hard leg Joe. Battle phase. Mm -hmm. Let's attack with the Dark Magekin. I cannot think of what you would have that would summon your Dark Magician from hand right now. <laughs> so I am going to Spheres away, Dark Magician. I activate Called by the Grave. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> Rip. Okay. Uh, okay. I cannot attack with the rest of these. Are you sure? Main phase two. 
<laughs> normal summon Kaiku. Oh no. And then we will make Castell, the Sky Blasting Musketeer. It's a small issue for me. I will not activate a fast effect. You have a fast effect? I have a dragon maid tidying and a dragon maid in my graveyard. Ah, <laughs> it's not I the see. most it's it's not the most inspiring fast effect I've had, ever had access to. Yeah, this is unfortunate. It would have been great if I could have used that called by on the armogram, but for now I'm just gonna have to shuffle it back into the deck. And okay. I hope that's enough. End turn. Okay, I, I'm not going to activate a card during my end phase. Oh, what a draw. Holy shit. Okay. It's not the um, Armagram, is it? <laughs> it is not the Armagram. Okay, I worked so hard, Robert. Okay. If that was the back of the deck, I'd be very sad. Welcome to the field. One of my old favorites, Go Through the Vague Shadow. Uh, I will not use a fast effect at this time. So here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do, Hard Like Joe. I'm listening. I'm, I'm not liking it, but I'm listening. My extra deck, a copy of IP Mascarena. At two IP. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, and I am going to activate the dragon made tidying in my graveyard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what I am going to summon is... The only thing you can summon. <laughs> my nurse dragon maid. Now I have some interesting options to work with in terms of what I go for next. But it's just going to be excess code. Why can I summon that card? Do I have a tuner on the field? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Kofu is shit. a tuner. You can make a level seven. If you want a black wig and just reset this duel back to zero. <laughs> oh, black wig, black rose. the UI giveth and the UI taketh away. Blessed be the user interface. Oh, did you get locked into something? Oh, no. I usually complain about the YGO Omega user interface, but it has gifted me with an absolutely gorgeous play I can make here. I'm gonna synchro off for Yazi Evil of the Yang Sing. Rude. Uh, and I will activate my Yazi, targeting itself and doesn't Dark Magical Circle fuck up your Dark Magician if I destroy it? No, that's uh, Eternal That's the Soul. other one? That's the okay. trap. That's unfortunate. Um, I suppose I will hit then. Yeah, I'll hit the Dark Magician. Okay. And I will use Yazi's effect, and I'm going to summon myself a little number by the name of Mare Mare from. I'm deck. familiar with it. You summoned it last time. <laughs> I will activate Mare. Thrice Mare. per turn, token. chat! Thrice! We go in thrice! Okay. And then I will activate Mare Mare again. I will summon another token. And you know what? Just for good measure, that's a very funny thing I could do under these circumstances, but I'm not actually going to. They really are called uh, Mini Mare Mare Tokens. They are called... I, I'm a big fan of the name of these tokens. Mini We're going to go for this. So it just occurred to me um, that I cannot summon Access Code Talker anymore. <laughs> because I took out a particular card for my extra deck, so we're just going to stick with Soldier of Chaos here. I mean, that's still a pretty good one. Uh, and I cannot go to battle phase, so I will pass the turn. Although, okay, it's indestructible by effect because it was it was something yeah. with IP. But Mare Mare doesn't count because it's uh, no longer it a level 7. It was not a level 7 at the time, yes. Yeah. Uh, do I have anything I can do with this? Uh, yep, unfortunately for now, we're just gonna get rid of a token. You would do such a thing to one of my mini Mare Mare tokens. Mar Mare Mare, whatever. Mini Mare Mare. My, my beautiful little guys. 
They're so they're so small and they're so good. And this card does absolute jack under these circumstances. Okay. It's your um, fucking nightmare. <laughs> let's go to battle phase. Uh, I'm going to swing in. I haven't decided what effect I'm going to use, but I'm going to use an effect. Of course. Uh, You're not killing I'll it with the Mare Mare. Activate and uh, I'll... What are you going to do? Summon a Blue Eyes Chaos Max? I'll banish the Dark Magical Circle. Oh, come uh, on. And then end phase, it's your turn. I can't have you getting a Call of the Haunted and getting back your Dark Magician and banishing <laughs> my guy. I just cannot. I cannot allow it. <laughs> Came just one turn too late, buddy. I will end my turn. Hmm. So I could, if I wanted to be really, really silly, shift my mini mar token to attack, but that's a bad idea. So I'm going to go to battle phase and I'm just going to swing in for 3k. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, I was looking at my own life points. I've got me on top and you on the bottom. Wait, I thought I had third. What? <laughs> oh, well, um, I could have stopped that. I, for some reason, I could have swore I had more than 3,000. I thought you had more than 3,000, too, because Wait, I have my life points above yours on the screen. <laughs> Well, wow, this has been this has un, just been unusual. truly the best the best of the best minds at work in this the duel. The best of uh, the best duels. All right. Well, All that right. was a long ass duel one. More starters. Speaking of which, I'm going to I'm going to go first again. I'm going to try this. Okay. God fucking <laughs> Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh wow. Thank you. Everything? <laughs> Oh, no. I've always wanted everything. Uh, let's start with a Gofu of our own. Oh, he has found the Gofu. The shadow's getting vague in here, baby. Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Uh, and let's go ahead and normal summon Magician's Rod. Let's grab right. a Dark Magical Circle. Wow, that really is everything. Let's activate the Dark Magical Circle. Which ones do I want next? Yeah, I think we'll go that, that, that. Yeah, we're going to use these two. Going to make a masquerade. There she is. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> it's so rude, Robert. <laughs> I say it because I'm going to be staring down an access code I can't destroy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I want to make the whole load or the... I was like, do I be tricky and wait for the, the Mask Arena? Nah, eh, fuck it. Let's just make it now. All right, there it is. The Boral Load cannot be destroyed by card effects. Wow. That is easily not the worst draw I've ever had. <laughs> Uh, by a long shot, that's not the worst draw I've ever had. Yeah, sure. I will take a Black Metal Dragon off the top. All right. Uh, and I will use it to summon a Striker Dragon. Yay. I will not be activating the Striker Dragon for reasons I invite you to consider. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I am going to special summon a Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from my hand. As expected. Too predictable, Robert. Too predictable. I'm so predictable. I... Uh, and I'm going to activate that Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Why would uh, you? And I would activate I am going it. to summon Black Metal Dragon. He came back. And then I will activate Boot Sector Launch. All right. I will use the Boot Sector Launch's effect. Big boots, gotcha. I will summon a Metal Rocket Dragon from my hand. These boots were made for walking. That's just what they'll do. Ah, uh, and then we'll make my favorite guy, Predaplant Verte Anaconda. Don't need to target in order to get rid of that boar load. Uh, let's just reduce the attack while we're at it. All right, sounds good. I'll grab my other red med, because this is not a hard OPT, it turns out. <laughs> uh, I'll activate Verte. We'll send the Super Poly. We'll do everybody's favorite extremely fair combo. Yoink and plus summon yoink. out a Verte Anaconda. That's not a Verte Anaconda. You already summoned a Verte. 
No, I'm pretty sure that's a Verte Anaconda. That's pretty much what people do with Verte Anaconda. Uh, <laughs> this is Verte Anaconda post HRT. Okay, uh, I'm going to <laughs> set a back row and leave it to you. See what you can figure out. Okay. That is unfortunate, but I summon Engraver of the Mark. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not this guy uh, again. <laughs> let's just activate this. I'll tag your starving Venom. Mm hmm. And I'll end Fine, my turn. I didn't want my starving Venom to survive the turn. And, you uh, know, while we're here, let's just go ahead and tag this boot sector launch. I don't want that to survive for very long. I will not activate a card or effect at this time. <laughs> You're not going to compulse my engraver of the mark? I think I might as well start by going to battle phase here and figure out what I'm doing with my life afterward. Yeah. So what yeah, could it's going to die anyway. I'll allow it. What could you possibly? And then, yeah. Robert, I will discard... Magic Karibo from my hand. <laughs> no, no, hold, hold on. Yeah, hard, like, I need you to consider this for a second. Are Allow you sure me to summon the Dark do? Magician. Uh, and yeah, let's just go ahead and banish that Metal Dragon. I don't want you to summon anything with that. And uh, yeah, let's Magician's Rod. We'll tribute this off and add it back to our hand. Main phase two. Get my money's worth out of my boot sector <laughs> launch. Use it while you can, Robert. All right. Uh, and then I am going to banish my rocket recharger for the second Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Be back. And this is why this is my favorite loop, because I can just summon my black metal dragon back from the graveyard again. <laughs> Another one. Uh, and then I will Spheres last the name spheres. Oh, the big spheres big spheres city oh there was a better play I could have made there I, uh, you know what uh, spheres pass is good enough for me let's hope so ah. ah I see the question is how much do I want to spend on this no, I don't think I want to use that. Okay, let's just soul charge. Oh, cool. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty neat, you know. It does some stuff, some things, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we're just gonna soul charge for two. God, maybe that I asshole. should have gotten more, but uh, who could say? Let's activate Engraver of the Mark and target that <laughs> Red Ox Metal Darkness Dragon. Yep. And, uh, I mean, I guess while I'm at it, I might as well just lower its attack to, you know, <laughs> why not? You know, what are you going to do about it? Cry? You're going to cry a little bit? Probably, honestly, I'm kind of feeling like that. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll just summon a Magician's Rod. Okay. And that primes your magic curry, though. Okay. I can't go to the mm -hmm. battle phase. No, you can't. And even if you could, none of your stuff would work. I was hoping you forgot, and then you would, like, use the, the seals just, like, in response. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I am going to activate spheres here. Let's send off Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> this is a bad position. I'm going to send back Engraver. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to call that good. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to summon out... Uh, just a Magna Rocket Dragon. I do not like it one bit. I'm going to link all of this off into the only guy I can. It's got to be the Soldier of Chaos. Chaos! With the summon uh, animation. And then huh. I will pass the turn. All of that for just a link off for Soldier of Chaos pass. All that just to pass the turn. Uh, but I think this at least deals with Boralode. Okay. Now. I'm going to hit your back row here. Okay, I'm going to uh, trap stun. <laughs> okay, no good. No imper for you? Uh, at least that's out. Uh, I'm going to summon an engraver of the mark. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to battle phase. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to attack your Soldier of Chaos, and then I will activate Borolode's second effect, which does not target, which just steals your monster. And oh. then I'm going to attack with Magician's Rod. Oh, I forgot about, I was reading <laughs> all of its effects, and I just like, I was like, okay, we'll deal with this. Borolod is a hell of a card in this format. <laughs> it's a hell of a card, I tell you what. Uh, and that's it. And we, for those who are wondering why I didn't attack with the Soldier of Chaos, we had ruled that, uh, this works like Summoning Sickness in Magic the Gathering, which means this card can't attack until Robert's next standby phase. The standby phase of the turn of the player that summoned it. I legitimately do not think I have any answers to this board. <laughs> it's a uh, pretty big board. There's a lot of stuff going on. Summon a giant access code, but it would just eat the bore load here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will allow you to take your victory lap here. Yay! Da 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 da. Uh, what's happening? During the end phase, activate a car. Oh. <laughs> Do uh, you want to use engraver of the mark here? <laughs> no, but Borolo does send the thing away. Okay. So there's that. We did it. We got it. I actually got one. Yay, Bor! And all it took was me making Boral load and then reviving it with the one soul charge that I had. <laughs> We got it. And then, Engraver of the Mark! Attack Engraver for game! Engraver of the Mark for game! Engrave his soul! Alright, I'm gonna go first. Oh, you're going first Oh this my time. god. My deck continues to be incredible. Just really <laughs> spectacular. I, I'm very angry about a decision I just made that is the first time this entire match that this has gone the way that it's going right now. I uh, I am I am livid. I uh, <laughs> what do I do? Um uh, okay, well here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to normal summon myself a white stone of ancients. Okay. And I'm going to go for a striker dragon. Let's find a rock. I and mean, a I'm big going ass to rock. activate my knock division dragon in hand. Noctivision also doesn't have any arms. True. With all just these a armless lot of... dragons. Are they... So are armless dragons universally wyverns, or is that just like a particular classification you have to know you are kidding? Why didn't <laughs> my striker dragon activate? Um... Okay, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to lose the game. Your go. <laughs> Stop. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm clearly like, not doing very well. I, in, like in the brain, like mentally. <laughs> this has been a rough in day. Insane at the brain. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could do anything. But what if I only had a face down card? Oh, then big you questions. Can't do, like, what are you going to do? Attack with zero? I don't care. Go for it. I will pass, the t or I will allow you to pass <laughs> the turn. Um, That's actually an interesting one. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, oh, I just realized you could activate spheres. You could tribute a dragon from your hand and bounce itself. Which would yes, probably be I the could biggest, do that. <gasps> I biggest could use do of that. resources. <laughs> All right, here's what's going to happen. I am going to activate a soul charge of my own. Soul Karge. Would it be funny if Striker Dragon searched Boot Sector launch when you brought it back? That that would be incredible. <laughs> that would just be like, okay, Omega was a mistake. We'll just go, go back to whatever <laughs> the other one. All right, let's link off into everyone's favorite crime gal. IP Mascarena. And is I will she, use my Noctivision's effect. Is she a Woo! crime gal? That's a pretty solid one. Just because um, she rides a motorcycle doesn't mean she's doing crime, Robert. No, I'm pretty sure she is like a cyber criminal or bank robber or something like that, which is why she's like contending with the S-Force in the lore. I always assume the S-Force were just like assholes. <laughs> I mean, they are that. I mean, you know, they, they are the cops guarding capital for professionally. Yeah, like they're um, just out here harassing people for, like, driving on the streets and loitering. 
Okay, and here's what I'm going to do next. I am going to boot sector launch. Get that out of I'm there. not going to resolve the boot sector launch, apparently. Not today! Uh, let's, in that case, special summon my good friend Red MD. A doctor. A medical doctor, in fact. Dr. Dragon. Uh, and I am going to activate Red MD. As you would. I wouldn't expect and anything I'm going less. to grab back Noctivision Dragon. Normal summon. Because apparently I haven't normal summoned this turn. I'm going to normal summon Rocket Recharger. No, you used and uh, then... Soul Charge to get three monsters on the field. I did. Uh, and then I am going to end my turn. Oh. Just ending your turn like that, eh? Yeah. That's hilarious. I'm a hilarious comedy joke. Uh, Loyal Guan Yun comes out. That is okay. It better be. Uh, okay, I'm just going to use this effect and bounce these spheres. I am going to tribute my spheres and i am going to chain ip mascarena okay i'm gonna summon my access code talker using gotcha. ip rocket recharger and an octavision dragon sounds neat and then a large number of things is going to happen at once I am going to bounce back my red med and then I'm going to activate spheres. I am going to chain. I am going to chain my <laughs> Noctivision dragon. Having and trouble then over I am there, going buddy? to chain block with access code talker targeting my IP. Okay. And then the card I am going to summon. Oh, none of this does what I wanted it to do anyway. So that whole thing was kind of pointless. <laughs> You're always um, so patient and long winded. Like, yes, I've calculated this. And then you get to the end. You're like, oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, it turns out the play that I was like, this is this is insane. I'm unbeatable. It just does the exact same thing no matter what I do here. I will summon a Dragoonity Armagram from my deck. He's gramming it up. There was genuinely no point in my bouncing my red med. I had this whole plan around a particular card I could summon my fr from my deck that would just do nothing under these circumstances <laughs> anyway. Folks who have seen me play on, on uh, Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh! should be prepared for me playing Dragon Link at this point. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to Normal Summon Trick Clown. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate Foolish Burial, and I'm going okay. to send Perform Age Damage Juggler. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate that juggler, and we're going to get uh -huh. his friend Hat Tricker. Okay. Since there's a whole bunch of monsters oh. on the board, I'm just going to make a thing. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. yeah. I've got stuff yeah. under the hood. I've got stuff above the hood. But most importantly, I got a dang old Castell, the Sky Blaster yeah. Musketeer. Yeah, that's not ideal for me. And I, I can't I can't like. destroy that access code talker, so... But you can just put it back into the deck. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of that. I don't want to have to deal with that. Go away. <laughs> okay. Uh, Trick Clown comes back. Yay. Yep. Okay, time to do something really spicy, Robert. We're going to activate Magician okay. Souls. I'm going to oh, send a Dark we're gonna Magician. Oh, from hand. Okay. Um, That's okay. And I guess, yeah, now you have it. Okay. That does keep the Magician Souls in your hand for now, but it does also keep the Borolo Dragon in your extra <laughs> deck. <laughs> oh, I could have made Borolo. I wouldn't even think about that. That would have been cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to use all three of my monsters to make Ooh, Nightmare the Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn. We're going to put back my Gram. Yeah. So oh, I that, deal with that. <laughs> you could uh, Discarding him is essentially free. <laughs> and there right. we go. Not the worst draw I've had, but the really good draw that I got was Graceful Charity. Of course, of course. And what am I going to put away right now? Oh, God, that's a couple of very strong cards. This. 
Oh, dang. Well, the Mari Mari you can't really summon anyway. But another yeah, red Yeah, unfortunately, I am like on I am like on draw garnet turbo <laughs> with this deck here. Um, let's normal summon Keeper of the Shrine. Oh, look at him. He's got hands and everything. All right. It's time to send off an LP. All right. Oh, and okay. You just banish it for the red eyes. Exactly. And that way you get to keep the Keeper of the Dragon Shrine. Exactly. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And I am going to activate my red eyes. All right. And with that red eyes, I am going to summon. Very funny that I could summon spheres here. That is very <laughs> funny. Just um, summon another spheres. Get the armor dragon back out. We'll just True. play this idea that you bounce the unicorn back so I could use it again and just shuffle your armor back in. So it turns out now that I'm thinking about it, summoning back spheres was the correct play here. <laughs> Let's link summon our second spheres. Two of them. Then I'll draw a card. Okay. Oh, that's such a good draw. Okay, I'm very happy with that. We're, we're just going to try this again, right? We're just we're just going to try for this uh, an additional time. Uh, I'm going to go Premature Burial. Another one. Okay. Uh, and oh. surely this time. <laughs> but you were targeting the red eyes. Uh, surely this time. Making it again. We're making it again. Let's go again. Uh, sure, I'll target IP. Let's access the code. Um, What's the over under that that's waking the dragon in your back row? <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. But that's a problem for future RJ. Uh, I'm going to first take out Unicorn, though. And then I will do this. Like, what are you going to do? Summon a Revolution Falcon? No, call let's just haunted. call the haunted. Okay, let's go to end phase. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try this again. There's the magician souls. That's fine. Let's send this to the graveyard. Oh, I mean, or I could just you, do this. You again. got another one again. <laughs> All the ghost bells every single time. Just hitting me with that ghost bell rhyme. Well, normal summon magician souls, I guess. Okay. Uh, make Link Link. <laughs> Help me, I'm just an EP boy. Um, holy shit, what a draw. I... Uh, I, I mean, that would just be kind of BM at this point. Aww. So I'll just... I'll just do this. My little leapy boy! Uh, I'll just go to battle. <laughs> okay, I get hit for 43. <gasps> wait! Wait! No, I did the thing! <laughs> what? I, I have our I have our life points swapped. I thought you had forty two hundred. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, well, this uh, it is no longer BM. Let me tell you to do what I need to do next. Uh, main phase two. I'm going to normal summon divine dragon apocalypse. Wait. How come? Oh. Oh. Okay. I did that wrong. Oops. I I will activate Apocalypse effect, discarding Destrudo off the top. <laughs> I'll grab back this guy. For some reason, I thought Magic Karibo came back if I took damage. So I'm like, it's okay, I'll get Magic Karibo back. Okay, uh, and then we are going to summon Red Eyes. Hilarious that Spheres only works from the extra monster zone. I'm sure that was an intentional move to keep it balanced, but I still find it extremely funny that that's the way this card works. All right, let's summon out a Knock Division Dragon in defense. And I'm going to pass on that. Probably no reason for me to go for a random Yazi play here. Gosh damn it. 
by a no, I could have just kept the magician souls on there. And then when you got rid of it, the magic Kariba would come back. Ah, uh, that was such a big move, but it's it's been like almost two hours, and this is a one of, and I forgot how it works. That's that is okay. I tried to go for a big combo that would have ended with a zero defense point Amorphage sloth against your already on board loyal Guan Yu. Yeah, but but you won the game, Robert. So your misplays don't matter. Uh, oh, tell that to your comment section. The, they're going to be going insane over my over my <laughs> Dragon Link play. It's it's almost <sighs> mandatory at this point to to rip me for Dragon Link play. Uh, all right, activate card of safe return. MST. Okay. <laughs> well, just uh, get out of here. Just attack. Yeah, let's, it's let's fine. Just go for it. Uh... I got so close, and once again, a fatal mistake was everything that it took. Uh, and, what, uh. and I think I need to ban Red Eyes Metal Darkness Dragon because you're just doing crazy shit with it. Yeah. <laughs> or or maybe I should just ban Excess Code Talker because I no no we're banning Red Eye. Get it out of here. Red yeah. DM, too strong. You could make so many plays off of it. You've got way more dragons than me. Get out of here. And uh, next time, what's the chaos rule next time? Something fast. Highlander. Highlander. It's Highlander. Oh, yeah. boy. From the hills of the Highlands. You know, it's funny. We went into this and I was like, oh, it'll slow down the game. This will be fun. And it slowed it down way too much. Very, very much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon definitely deserves the ban. I was like, maybe having three is a little excessive. And then I realized you can just keep linking off copies of Black Metal Dragon to search it. And I was like, oh no, three is incredible. <laughs> it, it's just crazy. But yeah, we'll, we'll see you next episode. Until then, have a good one. And another, there's saying, I, I, yeah, broken. You don't get to say anything. <laughs> okay. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode nine. We're almost to double digits, baby. I am, of course, Hard Leg Joe. If any you didn't know, joined as always by the Kurgan of Yugi Tube, the RJB Zero. Hold up, how do you spell that one? <laughs> Kurgan? It's it's spelled pretty much how you'd expect. I uh, I've got a city in Russia. <laughs> this is the largest city and the administrative center of Kurgan Oblast in the south of Ur the Urals Federal District of Russia. The population yes. of three hundred and ten thousand nine hundred and eleven. That's a very exact number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that's uh, what I was. That's what I was saying. That you were like okay. that, that city from Russia. Okay. Clearly, I'm like I'm like the reference. capital of one state in Russia. <laughs> It's spelled K U R G A N. Yep, that's the city. That's the city. Yeah, that's the city. Oh, huh, interesting. I guess our our Googles are just different. Did you type in the Kurgan? Oh, I didn't Kurgan? put the in. Hold up. Yeah, gotta have the <laughs> the Kurgan. You're not just any Kurgan. Oh. You're the Kurgan. <laughs> oh, I know where we're going with this. Okay, uh -huh, I know what we're talking it. about. Yes. Comment in the comments if you already figured it out like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, if you don't know, the Kurgan is the bad guy from Highlander. <laughs> Because yes. we're playing Highlander format. And that doesn't mean that we're going to the Scottish Highlands to battle with swords. Although maybe one day if you keep up this win streak. But no, we're playing uh, Highlander oh, format the because there can be only one. Yes, there can be only one. I don't know how I forgot the catchphrase. There's, there's a whole card named after that. I've never actually watched Highlander. I know three things about it. I know the name Connor McLeod. I know wow. there can be only one, and I know Connor McLeod's stupid fucking weird Scottish katana, because <laughs> all the edgy nerds in like 2005 wanted it. They just absolutely loved it. It's I, I had heard a lot about uh, Highlander long before I actually saw it. Uh, I did eventually go back and watch it with my friends. It's pretty good. It's a nice like little action flick. It's got some some cool like historical stuff to it some period uh costumes and whatnot and i mean the kurgan i'm sure you're looking at pictures of them jules just get a picture of the kurgan up here he's he's uh he's he's mugging he's he's, 
He's wearing <laughs> bone armor. He is wearing bone. That's pretty sick. That's like the that's like the Skull Knight, the Fossil Warrior. So, so the interesting thing about Highlander, I guess you don't know anything about it, right? Other than Connor McCloud. Yeah, and I know that they like they they have to fight each other until one of them, only one of them, is alive. Yeah, it's it's basically that's like what are, I've got. There are immortals, and you're immortal. You live forever uh, as long as you aren't decapitated. That's the only way to kill an immortal. So they're not completely immortal. Okay. And all the immortals are driven towards each other. They they must seek each other out to fight until there can be only one left. And somehow they all know that once they once there's one left, they will get the prize. And none of them know what the prize is, but they want it. They're like driven to seek it. And so most of the story actually takes place in like the 1980s, but because they're immortals, they all have this past going back to the highlands in like the 1700s and like Victorian England and like uh, the Revolutionary War. So it doesn't actually take place in Xena times. It takes place in Earth, just, you know, over over this huge span of history. Fascinating, fascinating. Okay, and, that's and, pretty sick. And, and then they made a Highlander too, even though there was only one left at the end of Wait, Highlander 1. That's the whole, that's the opposite <laughs> of the whole premise of this series. It's, the, it's like, this is the one series that shouldn't have a sequel. And if, if you wanted to talk about the absurdity of Highlander 2, we would be here for a million years, but we must focus on the Yu-Gi-Oh. We can't lose, lose track of that. So let, let's go ahead. We're playing Highlander, one of each card, pulling cards in the chaos space. Let's jump into it. All right, here we are. Another week of pulls. Just gotta hope this this will be the week. This will be the week we get something. Surely, surely our pulls will be better this time. Uh, I'm here once as always with Twitch chat. If you want to watch the pulls, maybe maybe try to help me out. Come down to Twitch, help me pull some stuff, pull the good stuff, make good decisions. But yeah, let's just flip this up and, uh... But... Yeah, not a whole lot here. We are trying to go for the anti-dragon stuff, so maybe, a uh, dragon capture jar? This week we're doing Highlander. I'm excited to pick up some crazy one ofs as if I haven't been doing that already. Let's flip them up. We've got tra Trapple. Uh, Dragon Capture Jar is, is pretty funny. Kisatai is pretty funny. Ooh, we could pull Sangha and then do nothing with it. Um, Dragon Capture Jar is funny. Dragon Capture Jar is very funny. Dark Beginnings 2. It's twice as well. Oh, well, we could get the third tune table of contents. I think we'd rather go for Witch of the Black Forest. This might actually be decent with some of the links we have, perhaps, maybe. What do we have in here? <laughs> Montage Dragon as my first ultra rare from the Duelist Genesis. Truly, uh, truly a comedic moment here. I think we take Book of Eclipse. The Duelist Genesis. Well, we could get another Book of Eclipse or another Gladiator Beast Esket. I don't think we want another Esket. I think we're good with that. Quillbolt is also funny. I think we'll just take the other Book of Eclipse. It's kind of removal. Rage and battle. Oh, hey, there's a Koki Miru and also a good rock monster. You know what? Let's take the good rock monster. We've been... We've been in desperate need of these to make the uh, the fossils online, and we don't have any yet. All right. Extreme victory. Um, I'll take Esper Girl. We talked last episode about getting psychic tuners, and this is a pretty good psychic tuner. Legendary Collection 2. Well, we could shut down the graveyard entirely. Uh, I don't think I want anything else here. So, yeah, we'll try that. All right, Legendary Collection 3. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus, much as I love Nephthys and her hand. Interesting verbiage. Uh, I'll take the Gold Sark. There are cool things that we can do with this. Epic Dawn! Well, we finally get some graveyard stuff. Robert has all the broken graveyard cards, but I finally have a premature burial. 
And this is also a good equip card for, for that equip card monster I got that might actually do something. Premium gold. I have one regular mirror force and a drowning mirror force. I'll take the mirror force. Why not? World belongs to Yugi. And this ass belongs to Seth. I guess we get the gold sark. This is probably good for s something. Maybe? What's Dark Flare Knight made of? I already have three Dark Magician. Yeah, we just take the gold sark. Legendary Collection 5Ds. Naturia Barkion is pretty sick. Naturia Barkion and Colossal Fighter are really good. Breeze Zephyr is also not a terrible Blackwing tuner. Uh, we do have a lot of Blackwing tuners so far. That being said, a level 3 Blackwing tuner does allow us to go into Full Armor Master with the inclusion of a 7. And Full Armor Master is redonkulous. It's a very good card. We already have a Colossal Fighter too. So it's either the Barkion or the Breeze the Zephyr. I think we're going to go with Barkion. I think it's just more likely that we're going to be able to use a different card to make Full Armor Master than Breeze the Zephyr. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, and there is our third blaster. We, we, we've got to start blasting. I mean, unfortunately, this doesn't help us this week because we're on a Highlander. But uh, next week, next week, we might be able to start blasting. Code of the Duelist. Yeah, I'll take a back to the front. I've been thinking about doing some World Chalice things, but this card is so generic that it's just worth having around. Let's break open that circuit, and hey, a Baguska of my own? Don't mind if I do! Don't mind if I do. Flames of Destruction! Oh, yo, is that Goki Octa Stretch? I think we take Octa Stretch here. Our Gokis are pretty good. Yeah, we've got a Headbat and a Suprex. I'll take Octa Stretch. Just working on our Goki collection. <laughs> Flames of Destruction. Hey, here's another Nightmare Cerberus. But also called by the grave. How are my nightmares doing? I don't really have any good, like, generic links. Oh, but the Firefighting Daruma doll is pretty good, too. I, I think we need to take this while we've got it. We haven't run into one of these yet, and we really need just, like, a generic link that can do something. These two are both really tempting, but at the end of the day, this is going to see more use. Saved by the darkness. Not really. I mean, we've got Kagari. Uh, Widow Anchor is pretty good. Yeah, let's take Widow Anchor. Dark Saviors. Ooh, is that another Ray? Yeah, I've always wanted another Ray. Let's take a second. All right. Ignition Assault. Ah. It's happening, folks. It's happening at long last. I have a Karakuri Synchro. Oh, look, the heroes are getting their revenge. Isn't that quaint? Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Well, that's a payoff for Speedroids. I still need to get all the Speedroids. This is specifically for Battle Wasps. Yeah, this thing is just a house, though. And I might be able to make it, so we'll take it and see what we can do. Now we now we have something to go for. Maximum gold. That in a beer. Oh. There's a house dragon maid. Okay, we're going to grab the house dragon maid. And the reason we're going to grab the, dra uh, the house dragon maid is because dragon maids are good for me right now. And so far, Nibiru has not been relevant to this series. We could also do Miracle Contact. Nah, we're gonna take House Gr Dragon Maid. The gold they got, they got Matt. Oh, blah, blah! <laughs> now that is a rank four worth making. Now that is something that I don't think Robert has. Appaloosa, goddess of the bull, but we have negates now, chat. We can, we can actually make negates. Let's, let's try it. If we can make that, that'll be, that'll be a game changer. The grand creators. Okay, grand creators. I know we've had our differences in the past. 
I know, I know we've had our, I, I know you've done your best to give me the adventurer package. You've, but I have the water enchantress. I chose her last week. I'm changing my ways. Oh, oh, oh. The grand creators, the grand, uh, it, I mean, if you insist, I will happily take an ogre dance. I will happily take an ogre dance here. For sure, we are taking an ogre dance to go with our Zayaman. Got some ghosts coming from the past, trying to do stuff, be things. We've, we've already got, do we already got a skull convoy? I'm pretty sure we do. No, that's the missing one we don't have. Okay, we've got the last fossil fusion. We just need more rocks, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's time for Power of the Elements. Last time, we acquired ourselves a Tier Lament Kit Kalos. Let's see if we pull anything worth adding to her pool. Let's go! <laughs> yes! <sighs> Folks, it is just that easy. It is just that easy. God, folks, it is just that easy. Tierlaments Kaleido Heart. And you know what's incredible about this card? It gives me a copy of Rhino Heart. It just gives me a free Rhino Heart. I'm just casually pulling the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh deck of all time in Chaos Draft. I'm just casually pulling the best Yu-Gi-Oh deck ever made. And finally, the crystals are getting their revenge by doing some stuff. Ninjutsu Art of Mosquito Marching? Special summon two level four lower insects from your hand at the same level. If you control number two Ninja Shadow Mosquito, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Target monsters your opponent controls up to the number insect. Place hallucination counters on any of them. Huh. How very strange. Well, I have some insects and none of the rest of these are all good. So let's just take this. And with that, uh, it's, it's not great. We didn't get, we didn't get something super cool, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll go ahead. We still get a reroll in our bonus packs. Maybe that'll pick things up. All right, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge, the final main set of our opening. Hey, there's a refund on our Blackwing Breeze the Zephyr. Might go for that. Let's see what our Performa Pal is here. Target a Performa Power Odd Eyes in the graveyard, add it to your hand, then destroy this card. That's okay. It's a one scale, too. Oh, this card's actually pretty solid. Perform a pal, Odd Eyes Seer. But Breeze gives me full armor. No, we're going to take Odd Eyes Seer. Well, this has been silly, but it's not over yet. All right, Chaos Draft Pack. Number one, flip them up. I think what we want is probably the Anchor Drill. The Anchor Drill just gets us another thing. We'll just go for, for that. More Earth Machines. It's time for two of each chaos pack. Chaos, uh, uh, it's time for chaos packs, hard legs and mine. Both of us contributing to the series in equal measure. Flip it up. <sighs> what else we got? Gear frame, anchor drill. Anchor Drill, because I know that we're going to have infinite tracks to play with. Maybe one of these days I'll get the Machina. We get a, we get a Machina, we'll be really good. We didn't get a Machina. We've already got three Magician's Rod. 
We've already got that. This is another rock. Discard this card, send a fossil fusion. It's either that or the Brutal Dozer, and I honestly think we just want to go for more and more Earth Machines. Now that we've gotten more of that, we'll just go for another Brutal Dozer. All right, Hard Leg Chaos Pack, round two. Not quite as exciting. Okay, I'm going to make a weird decision. I'm going to make a weird decision. I'm going to take Ursarctic Megapolar. I think that's the plan. We will start building Ursarctics. Is it a good idea? Not in the slightest, but I'm going for it. And then RJ's pack. Lightning Vortex. Funny, not necessarily great, but funny. Uh, Balancer Lord is like one of the best Cybers things, right? Is just pay a thousand, normal summon another Cybers. Yeah, I think with all the math mechs and stuff, we just want to grab one of those. All right, now for my Chaos Pack. We pulled a Bure Boo. Can we pull a Bure? Not looking like it, unfortunately, folks, but I will certainly take a free Yang Zing here. And then pack number two. Oh! We finally got it. The biggest payoff for the Karakuris. With this, the Karakuris, like, I could put them in the Earth Machines and have them actually do something. Yeah, let's, let's take that. Let's take that and hope that that does something. And round two? Oh, there's a Lone Fire Blossom. All right, so after consulting with a certain gentleman who perhaps wishes that they were no longer alive, I have decided to open up Singular Strike Overthrow. This is the pack that contains Mathmex and Sky Strikers both of which I have almost enough stuff to build with. Um, I'm not sure if this will necessarily give me enough to build a, a regular deck, but today is the day of the, uh, the, 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 the Highlander. I almost said Hydrolander. It's the Highlander episode. Lots of one-ofs, and in that case, um, the Sky Striker spells are just kind of like good spells in general, especially if I can make a deck that focuses on putting one monster in the extra monster zone and just protecting it with, with back row and stuff like that. And I think I have the back row and the front row to do that. Uh, we just gotta hope. So let's flip it up, see what we get. And, ooh, ah. So we got a Laplacian and we've got a Zeke. These are both really good. The Laplacian gives us a payoff if we ever get a super factorial. Uh, Zeke, I don't think we necessarily need. The rest of these, like, this is good removal, but I think we gotta take the, the SR when we get the chance, get the Laplacian. Yeah, I'll take a Lone Fire in case it pays off for Preta Plants. All right, folks, this is a bad decision that I'm making here, but I'm going to re-roll Burst of Destiny. I got a magnificent map, and that's all right. And this pack doesn't have much at common that I want, but I really, really, really want a Sword Soul Taya. So let's go for a Sword Soul of Taya. Let's go! We're re-rolling once. A Robina. We aren't taking a Robina. You think that we're going to stick with a Fluanderies card? We're going to try it again. Let's go! Another Fluanderies card! Why are you giving me Fluanderies? Pack number two! Ooh, we could get a third Widow Anchor, or not third Widow Anchor, we could get a first Widow Anchor, or we could get a Ray. Again, I think we gotta go with the Super Rare. This is gonna be even harder to pull. So we take the Widow Anchor while we have the chance. We've already got two of these. The Super Factorial is hard to, pull, uh, to pass up, but it is a common, so we can maybe pick it up in another one. All right, retry number three. This one may be, this one may be a sunk cost a little bit at this point. A Trouble Sunny. We can get an Evil Twin Ultra Rare. But not a Sword Soul Super Rare. I pulled one Sword Soul and I've decided I'm just going to pull all the rest of them. Yo, Sword Soul Emergence is a pretty sick Ultra Rare. It's not the Sword Soul Monster we're looking for. But it does add the Sword Soul Monster we're looking for. 
Maybe we just take those. Maybe we just take the double. We got it. Pack number three. All right. This time we've got to choose between the afterburners and the diameter, I think. I'll let I'll let Twitch chat choose. Chat, you can vote now on your phones. All right, it was pretty close, but nine to seven, it looks like diameter is getting the vote, so we're taking that. All right, that means we have three re-rolls left. All right, we got three real rolls. Reroll number one. Gallus the Star Beast is cool, but it's not an instant fusion. Reroll number two. None of these cards are particularly good, except maybe Mizuki. Reroll number three. Uh, eternally punished. I have been, I have been punished. Uh, what do we take? A Neos, an Ocean? Maybe we take an Ocean. We could take Wolf because we can, we can Foolish for it. Yeah, that's funny. We'll take the Wolf. Okay, flipping up pack number four. <laughs> well, we already know who wins this one. Yeah, we did already get a diameter previously. Let's let's take the jamming waves. And finally, hopefully we could get a we could get a super factorial. Hopefully we didn't pass up on our only chance for one. Okay, we didn't. We we can get that super factorial. That seems like a good thing to add in there. Alright, so we've got Mathmex. We've got a payoff. We've got a payoff for uh Sky Strikers. Some of the best payoffs. I'm not sure if we'll be able to combine all those into one deck. I guess we'll have to find out. Alright! Here we are, episode 9, the Highlander episode, and it has reverted my deck list back into a pile of cards. It's, you know, I really thought with Highlander, um, I, like, we weren't gonna be as consistent, but I thought we'd see some more archetypes, and really there's no archetypes in here unless you count the Sky Striker, but really, these are just, these are just removal spells. This is a stealing spell. And then we've got something to search them. We are playing the one Ray because like, if we can get Ray, then we get Kagari and it goes into something that searches us something and does a thing. But other than that, yeah, it's just a pile of cards. And uh, after consulting with a certain gentleman who wishes they were uh, demised, uh, we ended up coming up with this list, which is pretty much just a rank four turbo with a little bit of Link's Shokaning in here. It's a lot of stuff. We've got like one big beater in, in Guan Yun, and then everything else is just something that special summons itself, something that summons tokens, cards that pop other cards that might be useful with one of these other cards to make a rank four. And then other than that, we're just playing all the best like spells we possibly have and all the best traps we possibly have, or maybe not necessarily the best traps, uh, one of the things I've realized is that, unfortunately, Robert's going to have access to his his uh, Nemesis Protoss and also his uh, Blackluster Soldier Link, both of which can't be destroyed, and the BLS can't even be targeted. So that puts me in quite a deadly position, because almost all of these destroy our target. Um, even stuff like Mirror Force is going to destroy, so even though I have that, it's useless here. That's why instead I'm running stuff like Ferret Flames, which is non-targeting, non-destruction removal. Assuming I get to low enough life points, which I mean we'll get there. And Beast King Unleashed, which has a lot of potential if I can set it up properly. Uh, we're also on the Solemn Morning, which combined with Cyberstein and Soul Charge might be more life points than I can handle. But hopefully the game will close out before we, we use all, but hopefully we won't open with all three of these. And then the extra deck, we've got a target for Cyberstein. Not the greatest target, but it's something. We've got the Entis to use with Punishment. And then just a whole bunch of uh, level 4 monsters, including Laplacian, which is also non-destruction removal, if we can get to it. It is 3 or 4 monsters, uh, or 3 level 4 monsters, I should say. And then we've got a whole bunch of links, most of which aren't that great unless we can get up into, like, a Boral Load with Mascarena, although unfortunately, access code does still out that. But we've also got access code. And then if that doesn't work out, we've got some graveyard stuff, hand traps, more back row removal, more non-targeting if it really just does look like BLS Turbo, as well as Time Lords and Kaijus. 
So, yeah. Hopefully that'll work out, but I, I really do feel like this week's probably going to be a lot of luck. Because when you're playing 41 ofs, it's it's up to the draw depending on what we get. If we get like a scape ghost and a, and a gofu right off the bat, we could do some shit. And if not, we may be in for some trouble. Well, if you wanted chaotic nonsense, here we have chaotic nonsense. For once, I don't have a particularly linear game plan to my deck. I've got a few engines, which I hope can come together in some significant combination. We've got our Mech Knights by way of our shiny new Mech Knight Blue Sky. We've got heroes, which are pretty much what they've always been. We've got Rank 4 material like Summoner Monk, Sakitama, and our Tenyi Spirits to hopefully get us into boss monsters fairly consistently, and then our level 4s to go along with them. Spyro Super Agent for getting rid of Backrow, Mimicking Maneater Bug for getting rid of monsters, and Engraver of the Mark for getting rid of my sanity. Next, we have some Link Combo Materials Blackwing Go for the Vague Shadow, which pretty much solos. We've got the Destrudo Mare Mare combo, which is still pretty good, especially by way of Laval Vault Chain being able to put Destrudo into the graveyard for next turn. And then it's boss monsters. We've got Protoss, Gores, Guan Yun, Kashira, Fenrir, and a Blackluster Soldier. Our spell cards are pretty much everything we need for that Dark Calling, Graceful Charity, Delinquent Duo, Soul Charge, our Resurrection guys, including Premature Burial, Call of the, the uh, Call of the Reborn, the Monster, <laughs> Foolish Burial, we've got the Super Poly. This is a little bit of a Garnet. We really only want to be making this if we have Verte so we can guarantee the Dark Material, but Dark monsters are generally good, so I think this is worth the main deck card. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus is just great in Highlander formats for choosing what you want to get. Giant Trunade and a Hero Lives to get us into easier hero combos. And the rest is just kind of my best back rows. The number one thing we need to be thinking about here is Call of the Haunted. This is the one that we really want to get good monsters back off of. If I only get to use each monster once, then I want to be able to bring them back. So Call of the Haunted is here in the main deck, and the side deck is for modulating things depending on Hard Leg's deck. If Hard Leg is really, really good at putting extra deck monsters onto the board, Neospatian Grand Mole is solid. If I want to get just extra special summons in, if like my rank fours are turning out to be the thing I want to go after, then we are going to be bringing in the dangers and then everything else is really just kind of dependent on whether i'm going first or second this is going to be wild my deck looks roughly the same as it has in previous decks just vastly less consistent and kind of throwing everything i have at once except dragon link rip dragon link but that's a benefit for the viewers i can't wait for the duels all, All right. right. Oh, we're here. I've been owned. All right. We're here, and I am going to go second. I think that'll work okay. best with this. I have instant regret. This hand would have been much better going first. Will I get punished for doing this? Uh, All right. I'm trying to All right. think. Unless you have, like, Vision All Hero right. Witch Raider, I think. Okay. You know what? Let's just go all in. All right. Set five pass, All baby. Right. Only one proper way to respond to this situation. Uh, I, I, see. I mean, statistically speaking at this point, <laughs> it's probably not a trap card on top of your deck. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Ooh, well, well, that's a nice thing to draw next turn. Yes, it is. Let's summon a Stratos. Um, okay. All right. Let's activate a Stratos. Uh, fine. Let's get ya boy. Ya boy! A dusted gold. Battle He's phase. getting a dusty. New. Do I want to take this damage? You know what? I don't think I do. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ooh, I've got a bunch. with the punishment. Yeah, let's just go ahead and punish card on the field. Yeah, that seems good. And let's just get oh, rid of this Oh, that's well. an intis. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> that was my big backup plan. Yes! Uh, uh, main phase two, let's activate a dusted gold. Grab okay. my dark calling for later. Um, dark calling. I'll just set a back row in pass. End phase, that's fine. And then I will activate Scapegoat! No! <laughs> goats and no. goats and goats and goats and goats! Oh no, I know who's coming and it's We've very bad for me. We've got all the goats! Me. What the fuck? 
Did this did this do something again? Why can I not link something? Oh, because of punishment. Oh, because of punishment. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Okay, well. Yep, though there that goes. Uh yeah, that's fine. Uh okay. I guess we drop this and this. Seems good. Where are your monsters? Good question. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, well, I mean, the Stop scapegoats that. are monsters. I have them. Okay. Uh, end phase. Yeah, let's go call the haunted target Stratos. How about you? Yeah, know? fuck. <laughs> Let's okay, get well, Stratos um, out of there. Everyone loves it. Super Agent. Surely there's a monster in your deck somewhere. There, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I am sorry. Oh, I mean, you found a monster. I guess I did. Let's go Super Agent. We'll use its effect. We'll target this guy. I'm gonna, like, uh, hit Waking the Dragons now, aren't I? Unfortunate. Ooh, pretty decent one. Okay, and that then That would have been I... good with all these tokens. Everything's in a column. True. Let's go gold sarcophagus here. I have two very good options here. <laughs> but I think I am going to banish Graceful Charity here. I see, I see. All right, movement man. He's moving... <clears throat> Battle phase. All right. Mm. Two of my tokens will give this world for, for farewell. Goodbye, red token. That I could have summoned you this turn would have been better. Can't believe I forgot punishment. To be fair, it's All a right. one of. I mean, I, I barely hardly ever use it. I forgot the restrictions. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's better than me last episode, just like having the access code combo and then deciding to get funky with Yazi and then having no <laughs> end board. Just decided to get <laughs> funky with it a little bit. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we're going to turn these two into a Masquerina. That would make sense. And we're going to go ahead and normal summon Cyberstein. This is horrifying. Let's okay. activate it, baby! 5,000 life points! 5,000 life points, that's a lot of them. And behold, the ultimate fusion! It's just a Dragostapelia. Oh, Dragostapelia is not a bad fusion, though, by no, any stretch of the imagination. But it's also not a great fusion. And let's do this to prevent me from dying horribly. Okay. Um, and you know what? You are forbidden from moving. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't stop me from moving one last time. <laughs> one last time. We're gonna celebrate. Uh, okay. Battle phase. And... Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of that. Okay. Maybe, in retrospect, I probably should have put it on Spiral Super Agent to stop him from being level 4. That way you can't make rank 4s, but, uh, you know, we live with what we live with. Alright. Graceful chair. Oh, that's It'll hilarious. It'll be here eventually. That is hilarious. That actually deals with the one concern I had here. Here's the very silly gamble I can take here. Let's go Super Polymerization. I'm gonna discard BLS. I, how is that a gamble? <laughs> I forgot that you can't chain to super polymerization. I can, I, yeah, you can ask the whole thing about super polymerization. Uh, Guess I'll gain zero here. I'll set lost wind. Okay. I I don't think it matters. I think that's that's just the game. You got the super poly when I had two dark monsters. <laughs> I was uh, like, oh yeah, what are the chances that he can Masquerina away into a Link 3, with a, a, a non-dark Link 3? And then I was like, zero. 
because yeah, you can't because I, I just can't activate anything. I a thought the good thing about Super Poly was certain. you could... My brain sometimes gets very strange ideas about what the important thing about a card is, and apparently <laughs> this time the important thing about Super Poly was it could steal your opponent's monsters. Well, I, I can't not see him in the opener. <laughs> Why not? All right, let's get the guy. Then... I'll just the the set a back row. Pass the turn, it's all you. I don't know why I didn't discard a dusted gold there. It was it was all a psyop. Okay, so let's make sure my plays go through by getting rid of that. No! <laughs> Yay, it worked. And uh let's get rid of a couple more things out of your no, hand, shall no. we? <laughs> The delinquent duo doth arise! Oh, when you hit my blue sky, too. Hey there, oh. Mr. Blue. Now, unfortunately, these both counter each other. Okay, let's go foo it. Oh, all right. Tokens? We're going for the foo. Tokens? tokens? All the tokens and token city... Token These tokens are so like funny. Believe. They're just the weirdest looking cloud ever. I was going to use all three of them for Rotten, the Heavenly Rotten. General. It's pretty neat. Start of the battle yes. phase. He's just going to be like, nah, get out of here. I'm going to take some damage. Yep. Just go in, poke for 22. Give him the old 22 skidoo. And then we'll set a couple of cards. And hopefully that'll be... I was like, I did so much, but we're... I think you still... No, I have one more card than you. Because I do right. for turn. <laughs> Here goes. A dusted gold. All right. He's getting dusty. Got the dark calling. Gotcha. Uh, Sarcophagus. Go for it. It's it is golden. Very golden. It's shiny. So shine. Last time the duel was over before you had a chance to draw from it. I know, and I'm very tempted to go after the same card, but I think <laughs> actually the thing that I want to guarantee I get is Cash Tira Fenrir. Yeah. It's a yeah. very solid card. Uh, Monster Reborn. Ooh. Stratos Effect. Uh, I will get a Celestial oh. for my deck. Celestial. Oh, that's a very funny thing I can do here. Like, haha, -ha, funny, or? I, <laughs> uh, like, uh, I am so, so sorry, funny. Ah, I see. A lot of nice cards ah. you got there. Exiton. How exciting. Yes. Very exciting. Let's uh, try to use its effect, see what happens. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to stop that. Okay. Oh, and that's permanent. Yes. <laughs> Uh -oh. Yes, it is. Nine to fifty uh, is a fine number. That's a that's a pretty decent number. Uh, I mean, I take comfort in the fact that this would have happened the way that it happened, one way or another. All in my turn. Oh, okay, good, good. Yes, indeed. Ah, excellent. Uh, battle phase. Yeah. Uh, get out of here. Yeah. Uh. Nah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will flail in frustration. <laughs> Twenty-two. All right. 22 and you. We're coming back to it. All right. And I'll just set another back row. Okay. Rotten beats. <gasps> He's the champion. He's ready. Not a terrible top deck. Let's go for Graceful Charity. All right. All right. Woo. And a level five or higher monster. Don't mind if I do. I'll go Dark Calling. Um, God says no. <laughs> I am not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, consider yourself warned. Evil isn't valid here. You could set a card that might protect your life points a little bit. I mean, that's the plan. <laughs> your go. <laughs> Uh okay, what the fuck am I going to do about the uh <laughs> the oncoming Fenrir though is the problem. <laughs> that's a that's a big man! It's a big scary man! 
All right. Um, do I want to? You could target one card your opponent gets to. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I should have considered that possibility. <laughs> okay. Well, I, for, you know. For some reason, I thought it was just monsters. And I was, oh, okay. That's neat. All right. You got All right. you got one more turn. Um, is did Gold Sark up? Fenrir, Fuck. take the wheel. <laughs> take it from my hand. No. <laughs> Fucking Fenrir. <laughs> when will Cash Tira learn? <laughs> All right, let's go. When will it learn that its actions have consequences? No! You get Wait. back in the banish zone. You're not allowed to be out of here. Do I have a way of winning this game now? Rotten beats somewhere. <laughs> he's he's the heavenly something general. Yeah. Uh, no, I think Rotten ends Rotten. the game no matter what I do yes. here now that Fenrir is gone. Rotten too strong. Go in it's there, really buddy. Good. You got a Hit lot of value the there. Interestingly, <laughs> if I had maintained that foolish burial, I probably could have done a Destrudo combo that last turn. But I was like, I have to bluff it. There's no way Hard Leg doesn't have a second monster in rotation. <laughs> I am going to go first again. Oh. Not the best hand I've ever had. Not the worst one I've had, for sure. Okay, okay. But certainly not the best one. Let's um, see what you got, Smakey. Let's go for Tenyi Spirit Nahata. Okay. It's a big green hand. dragon. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I didn't have to do that. I knew there was one card in my hand that required me to not have a monster on the field to use, and I thought that it was a Nahata. It was not. It was the other card in my hand, and now Oops. I can't play my turn. Your go. Oopsie doodle. All right. So, obviously, this is a huge risk when you're playing 41 ofs, and some of them search other ones, but... No one ever won a war oh, by playing it boy. safe. <laughs> That's not a bad plan. Two more cards. What did I banish? Well, there's Graceful. <laughs> oh, That's no. unfortunate. I kind of kind of wouldn't like that. And you don't have to worry about Delinquent Duo. Uh, unless I'm lying to you to try to trick you. But I wouldn't do Possibly. that. Would I? Would I? No. Oh, it worked last time. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Photon Thrasher, <laughs> say hello. Okay. It be thrashing. Uh, and then we're going to normal summon Tin Goldfish. Mm-hmm. going to use Tin Goldfish to summon Clock Wyvern. And Surely Clock you haven't... Wyvern is going to make a token. Surely you haven't found a way to uh, um, shock master. <laughs> no, no, no. I I mean, I do have an Ixie that requires three materials, but uh, it wouldn't be prudent, not at this juncture. Instead, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take these two and make IP Mascarena. Mm-hmm. A Mascarena, Mascarena, Mascarena. And then we're just going to go ahead into... Boral load There's Boral load. Boral load is solid. Monster. Let's go ahead and battle. Okay. Let's attack this. Nah, uh, surely uh, having access to a rank four this turn wouldn't have helped me. <laughs> Probably not. And then we're going to set a trio of cards. It's a large number of cards. It's, it's many cards. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. This certainly helps. Five cards to get rid of a Boral load. I know Graceful you have charity. many ways. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Call three, discard two. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh... So, last turn, <laughs> the thing I was supposed to do 
was activate a hero lives normal summon Nahada, but I saw Nahada and was like, oh, that's the card I'm supposed to not have monsters on the field to activate. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, and I'm guessing you have the Stratos in your hand, which is why you're not about to activate a hero lifts. Uh, I'm going to start off with a giant true nade. All right. Fair enough. All right. Nothing I can do about that. Ya boy, Guan Yun. Oh, no! Taking Nahara was a bad choice. All right, now I'm going to activate more. Guan Yun. I'm going to target my Nahara because I have to. Target Normal like. summon Stratos. Activate okay, Stratos. Okay. Gonna grab a dusted gold. He's I am dusty. Not making the mistakes I made last turn. I'm gonna activate my adusted gold so I don't draw into the target. Mm -hmm. And then. And then. I'm gonna activate Monster Reborn and I'm going to target your Photon Thrasher. Oh, uh, okay. He's right. thrashing. He do be. Let's thrash about. Also, I just noticed, like, I thought this guy was, like, some sort of weird, like, uh, alien creature made of energy, but he's got, like, one human hand. Like, the one holding the sword is just, like, regular. Wait, what the hell? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> At least I think, unless that's just like flesh colored. Maybe it's like, but yeah, maybe it's like flesh colored. Orange? I don't know. Uh, like it's the X on its chest? Maybe. I don't want to think about it. Instead of thinking about that, I am going to think about Utopia. Utopia! And I am also going to think about Utopia the Lightning. The Lightning! Is it real lightning, Robert? It's as real as it needs to be, hard like Joe. Let's go to battle phase. Uh, let me Sweet. This Why well, can't oh, I? I hate this thing. I'm activate. holding down the chain, and they're like, "Start of the battle phase." Nah, you don't get to activate anything. You could have lo lowered Guan Yun to two thousand. You could have. All right, Rip Guan Yun, get in there. Uh, that's my play. All right. Well, well, well. There you go. All right. Uh, no messing around. Let's just go to battle phase. Okay. Start of the battle phase. I need to get rid of this, so I'm just going to balance Utopia the Lightning understandable have a nice day thank you uh 35 uh i've got so many things that require life points this feels like a waste but i'm doing it ice barrier yep it's a whole barrier made of ice oh and it's it's just a zero guy now yep just zero in attack mode surely i don't have something that'll do double battle damage I'm squinting at you, <laughs> squinting, s squinting quite Squint a bit. Squint all you want. Ooh, okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and activate this ice barrier. Let's uh, send Gamma Seal and then add a water from my graveyard and, oh, I could add 10 goldfish. You could. That's pretty neat. I think I'll take the Gamma Seal though. Mm, don't Not like that. Not for now, but there's just something later on that might be good. Mm, don't like that. No, no, you would not. Uh, let's normal summon Breaker, the magical warrior. Oh, he's very magical. Yes. This card and your back row is out of here. This card is <laughs> bizarrely good under these circumstances. Okay. Yes. Why? Why can't I do this? This is a spellcaster monster, right? For the rest, until the oh. end of your next turn after this effect resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except water monsters. I have made a mistake. But that's fine. I still got rid of a back row and a front row. Best of both worlds. 
I think we're I think we're good. Okay. That is not a bad card. Uh, let's mm, set a back row. Just setting a back row. So that the row? men may move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking move, man. Alex. Get in there, move, man. All right. He Fair hath enough. moved. He hath. Face. He did move, actually. Oh, that's true. I mean, he moved in to attack the breaker. I guess there's a possibility that that's not how the mech knights attack. Stop the worst that. thing is, I could have stopped that beforehand, but I was like, no, nah, I gotta wait till end now phase. Now I'll move. <laughs> <laughs> end phase is surely where... To, okay, well, that's that's what's gonna get used on that anyway. Um, set a card. And okay. we'll set a card. And okay. we'll end our turn. And hope you can't kill me. All right. Let's go Dark Calling. All right. Call no! by the grave. Let's just get rid of your enough. evil hero. Don't tell me I you have move ghost in bell. defiance of your call <laughs> by the grave. <laughs> to stand in solidarity with my dark calling. There um, we go. Battle phase. Uh, <laughs> okay. To get in there, move man. <laughs> so, okay, I had another thing to deal with that. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, oh, I turn. had too many ways to deal with that. All right, all right. This this works ish. It works decently enough. It gets the job not done, but existing, which is oh wait, might this get the job done? To dream, perchance to get the job done. Uh, let me normal summon a tricky clown. It's very tricky. Let me special summon. The Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness! Oh, because there was a spellcaster, I understand. Now you know what I was trying to do and failed to do. All right, let's make Dark Rebellion. <laughs> okay. Let's make this boy big! All right. Uh, I target. stand to face my accuser. <laughs> Uh, do I want to activate Trick Clown with 2,000 life left? No, no, I don't think I do. Okay. I end up If I end up top decking a level 4, I'm going to feel very foolish, but we're going to try this. All right. Oh, and I'm just re- oh, uh, Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me too. Okay. Oh. I, I have made several mistakes. Um. Monster Reborn's gone. Call of the Haunted is gone. You could still have a premature burial. You could have Gofu get you into God knows what. I don't think I know what your other card is. Hmm. What deals with Dark Rebellion? This is going to be a bizarre turn, let me tell you. Uh, I am <laughs> going to set a back row, and I am going to special summon Yellow Star. All right, all right. All right. Look at the stars. Soul charge. Ah, ah, Let's I go see. Stratos, Nahata. I knew there was another, <laughs> another resurrection spell I wasn't considering. All right. This is a very dangerous play because I am summoning three off of this. I oh. just realized I did not need to summon three off of this because I have Stratos' <laughs> effect and I would have been able to get the fourth material anyway. Um, let's but go... Now you can make a Link 5. Haven't you always wanted a Link 5? I have always wanted a Link 5. That's true. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Uh, let's send away these two for IP. All right. Surprise and come out then... of the monsters in your deck. Let's send off. That would be funny if it worked. 
It didn't <laughs> suck. Um, let's send off my two dudes. Is that a good idea? No, it's not a good idea. What are you going to do? S summon a monster I could destroy, but I couldn't have otherwise? Um, yeah, we'll s summon my otherwise useless Verte. Oh, okay. Uh, and then let's go for the guy. The guy! He's very much the guy. He's accessing my code! No! Uh, and let's get this Dark Rebellion. I here. need that code to exist! And that's all I got. All right, I've got to top deck something really good here, and that may just be it. So uh -oh. your thing was summoned by uh, IP, but this turtle was what? not. What? No, wait, no, no, <laughs> I forgot about the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking 12 steps ahead. <laughs> and then I all will right. summon to go this through the big shadow. turtle will stand strong. Surely you don't have anything decent you could summon off of Gofu here. Oh, you know exactly what I'm summoning off of Gofu, Robert. Oh he no! He won it's... me the previous game, and the he will win me man again. himself. <laughs> the the heavenly general goes into battle phase, pops the turtle, and finally oh, I have escaped <laughs> from hell. Joker. I have played the coin. The age of Robert is over! Oh. Go crazy, folks! Go crazy! Finally done. <laughs> oh. Thank wow. you, Ten. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Look at him, he's smiling. Look at that big green face right up on the thumbnail. You know why now. <laughs> I guess I should have just set the Celestial? <laughs> Celeste, uh, yeah, maybe. I guess I, I, I probably wouldn't have had a play the next turn in the face of Raw 10. Yeah, he just pops something every time. Yeah. And there, there were, once again, mistakes made on, on both sides of things. And this was Highlander, you know, you're really at the uh, the mercy of whatever you top deck. I just I just prepared with Raw. I'm so glad, too, because I had a little help deck building this from a gentleman who wishes they were they were no more. Ah. And he didn't include Raten. I was like, oh, you need to put this in because Gofu can make that on its own. He's like, you yeah, that's learned... a pretty good inclusion. <laughs> you have learned the cardinal lesson of progression series on YouTube. <laughs> you must learn from I wish I was dead, but also uh, grow beyond I wish I was dead. At least, at least I hope so. But yeah, we finally did it, people. Thank you. And the question now, Robert, is uh, what What are you going to ban? Do you have any idea? Do you want to ban Rotten? <laughs> there are a lot of cards I just don't want to be in this series anymore, right? I don't want to be summoning Access Code Talker anymore. I don't want Borals to be around. I yeah. don't want to be... Like, I love Malicious Bane, but I'm not going to ban Malicious Bane just because, you know, because I'm the only person who has it. I could just choose yeah. not to play it. I'm not sure yet, but I think the ban is IP Mascarena. Oh. There are all of these really good extra deck monsters that I could try to start banning out from under us. But the thing is, they all have counterplay, right? You can destroy them, you know? Yeah. There are and various IP forms of removal. makes everything indestructible. But yeah, if you go into an access code, that's now an indestructible access code. If you go into a Bora load, that's now an indestructible and untargetable Bora load. But if you take out the IP from the equation, now you have other possibilities. I have no idea what non-targeting destruction I have, <laughs> but I think IP, I'm not sure yet, but I think IP Mascarena is going to be the ban. And she just that makes the extra duck strategies way too good. It makes it very easy, because she's also the most generic. It's just two non-Link monsters. Yeah. You can make her with tokens. Although that is the other alternative, is like, what about Gofu or Scapegoat? Because both of them are like, yeah, just getting four tokens is pretty brutal. That's true. But I feel like, again, if I ban if I ban one of those, you still activate Scapegoat and you still have IP <laughs> access code or IP Boral. 
Uh, if I go for, you know, if I go for Gofu, I know you have two of those now, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. So, like, you could just go Gofu, summon another, you know, it, it, there's just always, there is always another thing that you could go for. But the card that makes the extra deck monsters the most annoying is IP Mascarena. Again, right. I'm not sure that's the correct ban, but I think for the health of the format, that might be the one. We'll be able to confirm it next time when we come in on episode 10. Hopefully you're excited about then. Come back and find out what happens. Until then, good luck. And have fun. Yeah. We're back in the series, folks. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode 10. I'm officially out of fingers. This is the most I can possibly do. And, and we may or may not have had an awesome theme song. If not, it'll be here shortly. I am, of course, Hardleg Joe, you should know by now. Joined by the Asgore of Yugi Tube, Mr. The Robert. Asgore, those are two categories of video I didn't think we would fall under. No, 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 no. It's, it's one word. One, I, I, I wasn't sure if you would, you would recognize it. I'm sure the people in chat will know. It's an oh. Undertale track? <laughs> I was worried you wouldn't actually look it up. No, it's the, the name of a character from Undertale. He does have his own theme and everything, but I guess you haven't played Undertale. I'm listening to it right now. It's kind of bumping. Oh, yeah. All the music in Undertale is, like, amazing. If you've never played it, it's almost worth playing just for the music. Oh. He does a really good job. And then everything else is kind of meh, in my opinion. It's pretty funny, like, the first time you go through. But for a game that's meant to be played, like, multiple times and has multiple endings, it's uh, it doesn't really hold up a whole lot to repeat visits. At least in my opinion. I don't know, I feel like I'm... It's one of those, like, the, the famous painting of, like, the guy standing up, like, I didn't think Undertale was that good. <laughs> me when my opinion has me stand up. <laughs> 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 me when my opinion is a famous painting. Anyway, uh, we're here to play Yu-Gi-Oh! as always, and the chaos rule for today is quite the interesting one. We are going on no extra deck. Zero extra deck monsters today. Excess code, get him out of here. He won't matter for one episode. But you know who won't what matter for a lot longer? IP Mascarena. Oh yeah, yeah. Who is now no. banned. <laughs> yeah, I forgot at the end of the episode, you were like, I'm not sure what exactly I'll do, but we have decided it. And while we're here, Jules, I know I've already asked you to put up stuff, but put up the ban list now too. So, yeah, IP banned. Doesn't really have a lot to do this episode, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. It should be interesting. We're gonna go back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! roots. You know, normal summon, dark magician, blue eyes. I will probably not be doing either of those things, Aww. but there will be normal summoning, I'm sure. I'm sure. Check out. But first, we gotta open a whole lot of packs. Uh, what, what's today's uh, name for the pack dimension? The Unsealed Realm. <laughs> The Unsealed Realm. Ooh. Right, here we are. We're back in the pool zone. And for once, I have excitement. I have momentum. We can do this. I believe in us. We've got a foothold. We just got to keep going with it. And we're going to start by pulling the best card in Dark Beginning 1 right here. A Jar of Greed. A Jar of Greed is clearly the best card in Dark Beginning 1. Don't at me. Beginning at the beginning, the dark beginning. Confiscation. Is that banned? Really should be if it's not. No. Confiscation is somehow not banned. Yeah, we'll take that. We will 100% take that. That's like trap dust shoot, but like infinitely better. Dark beginning two. Ah. Oh. Oh, I see. I mean... That's pretty much guaranteed to get it banned, right? Like three graceful charity? That's, uh, that's, yeah. But we might as well. It's got to get banned eventually. Well, let's go ahead and take the third graceful charity. <laughs> yeah. Mechanical chaser. Cyberstein. Cyberstein trap dust shoot. Mmm, the hard leg may have been on the Cyberstein before, and it uh, may have backfired 
for him, but I don't believe in the concept of hubris, and I think I'm just built different. I'm gonna take a Cyberstein. Let's blast! Well, Droll and Lockbird, that is, that is a thing. We've also got a couple Karakuris. Let's see if these are worth playing in, in Limited. I guess we take the Droll and Lock. It is a hand trap. I doubt it'll be useful in this format, but who knows? Maybe Robert will go on to spell books or something. Next pack. Ooh, this is Legendary Collection 2. I didn't even notice that. Macrocosmos is a very powerful card, especially this week, but I don't want to run it because all of my strategies, bar none, are graveyard-based. Uh, Hero Blast is an option. A second Dark Gaia is not bad, but I'm going to be thinking about re-rolling this one because, because it contains Instant Fusion. And if you've been paying attention to my pool, Instant Fusion has become very powerful for me. Battle Pack Epic Dawn! Not much here. I don't think we want another Doom Caliber Knight. I think, I think I'll just take a Battle Fader. He's fading your battles. You know, I like a good Battle Fader from time to time. Helps with the OTK decks. It's time for the Duelist to be aligned. Yo, is that a Sinister Shadow Games? Uh, I'll take it. Um, my Shadal pool is currently, I'm pretty sure, exactly one copy of Shadal Construct. But I'll take a Sinister Shadow Games. <laughs> Why not? Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, we've got three Blaster. Can we get some burners? Some of the little wee little baby dread, dread fire Dragons? Yes. Yes, we can. Ask and ye shall receive. Ooh, time for Legendary Collection 5Ds. TG Hyper Librarian and Ancient Fairy Dragon. So neither of these are things I can use this week. Ancient Fairy Dragon is really good when it comes to my Ancient Gear deck. I will take the Librarian. Ancient Fairy Dragon is obviously very good for my Floodgate, or not Floodgate, my Field Spell. Ooh, that was a Freudian slip strategy. But, but, I've got to continue coping on Synchrons. What are we if not dreamers? It's Joey's world, and we're just living in it! Ooh, Gate of the Dark World or Silva? Let me look. How are we doing on dark? It's not how you spell dark. Dark world. We've got a grapha. We've got a gold. We've got a brow. I think we need the gate more than anything. This will help with some stuff. Jinzo might also be funny, but Robert has hardly any traps. And I'm not sure how he would even summon it because we're not playing pendulums or anything. And it's like a dark machine. Yeah, we take the ultra rare while we're at it. We have not been getting much in the way of main deck monsters, by the way, this time around. My quest to get good main deck stuff has been questionable in its success. Raging Tempest. <laughs> I will take a white princess for now. It's one of those things where it's good for it to be a common because we want to get multiples. Clash of Rebellions. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Whoa. I think I already have an Ignister prominence. Let me... Ignister. No, I don't. But I also don't have any, like, pendulums. I've been going out of my way not to get any pendulums. So I don't think I actually want this. I think I just want a Kaya 2 Waterfront. Let me look again at the Kaijus real quick. I have one sticky string. I could get another one. It is an insect. I assume that has some kind of searchable synergy with um, my Insector deck and the stuff that it can do there. All right, looks like we're going with Kamongus. Kamongus. All right, Duelist Saga. Hey, there's the Gale I didn't get, but Castell the Skyblaster Musketeer is also very strong, and I don't think I have a copy yet. Very good day for rank force that I am not going to be able to play. That gold is infinite! 
four. Max C? Max C, perhaps? Sure. Sure, I'll put the hated bug into this. The more it shows up, the faster it will be banned. It's time for Dark Saviors. Well, one of these is banned. Foolish Burial Goods is arguably very good for us. It can send things like uh, Endless Engine Argyro system. It can also send away um, the... It can send away Clockwork Knight, which is good for searching out machines. We'll take Foolish Burial Goods. For sure. All right, Dark Side of Dimensions pack. This has a lot of really good Blue Eyes stuff in it. So I'm going to, I might re-roll this if I don't get a Blue Eyes card, especially for this episode where we don't have access to the extra deck. This might be very good. And yeah, it doesn't look like anything. The Kiwi Magician is tempting, but we're gonna add this to the re-rolls and see if we can get something a little bit better. Maybe an alternative dragon or something. Dark Neostorm. God, I keep wanting to take Fusion Destiny, but none of the Destiny Hero Fusions we've had access to is at, at all good. But nothing else here is good. And if I do, for whatever reason, pull DPE, we go for Fusion Destiny. That force is looking a bit extreme. Uh, another move, man? Yeah, I think we take another move, man. Level 8, free special summon, 2800, and it moves? Why not? Maximum gold. Polyester. <laughs> I could take another Foolish here. Foolish is not a bad choice. Yeah, I'll take a second Foolish. Dual power! Ooh, another Eternal Soul. The High Priestess of Prophecy is also good, and so is... I think I already have Galaxy Armor full Photon. Let me let me look at my Ixies real quick. No, I don't have full Photon. And I could stack it on top of stuff. Like, I have a couple generic level 8s, including Galaxy Eyes Tachyon, so I could, like, stack this and have a 4,000 beater. The Klee Link is also good. I already have one of those, though. I'm not... Yeah, I already have a Genius. We don't need two Genius. It's between these two. Oh, I have no Eternal Soul. Yeah. Yeah, we take the Eternal Soul. We've got three Rod. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. As tempting as this is, it's really hard for me to make rank eights, and I'm not sure if that'll get better. Whereas this turns some stuff on, like, immediately. Ancient Guardians. <laughs> hey, look, it's that Nunu I keep turning down. Um, let's see, do I finally have a King of the Feral Imps? No, I don't have a King of the Feral Imps. What else we got in here besides the Nunu? <laughs> King of the Feral Limps is all right, but I just don't have reptiles so far, and there are so many ways to get it. I'll take Nunu. It's a bad idea, but I like it. It makes me happy. All right, Legendary Duelist 2. This is a potential reroll. This has a lot of Blue Eyes stuff in it, including Blue Eyes Solid Dragon, the Blue Eyes themselves. We've got White Stone of Legend. Burst Stream of Destruction. All right, we're just going to take the White Stone of Legend. We'll get that. It's another way to search Blue Eyes. Maximum Gold, El Dorado. A lot of Math Mech stuff. We are, we have more than enough Math Mech stuff. That's a Cyframe Gear Gamma, though, and we do have one of those already, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I will take a second Cyframe Gear Gamma. The elements are powerful. Oh, hello, Kit Kalos. I, I haven't seen enough of you lately. Do do I do I do it, chat? Do I take the Kit Kalos? I mean, it's only an extender. I do have a whole lot of tier limit stuff. And by a lot, I mean I think I have two Havnus and a Murley and a Soliac. I mean, this searches the Soliac, doesn't it? And I do have a lot of ways to mill stuff. It's either that or the Melfies, but that requires more. Yeah, we'll take the Ultra Rare while we're here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use it. I mean, I know I can't use it this time, but we might be able to find a way. Battle of Chaos. Can I continue to get punk stuff? 
We've already got a Nonibi Maru. Samorg Bird of Perfection is funny. Ogduatic Serpent Strike is ironically uh, pretty okay card if I'm building up Ogduatics. Like, literally, if I get Ogdo Abyss, Ogduatic Serpent Strike is just a pretty good card. Yeah, there's nothing else good in here that I want. I think I already have an Onibi Maru. Yeah, there's nothing else good in here. I'm going to grab the Serpent Strike. I'm going to live my Ogdoatic dreams. And finally, the Crystals will have their revenge! Uh, Clockwork Knight. All face-up monsters on the field become machine monsters. All machine monsters you control gain 500. All machine monsters your opponent control lose 500. Banish this card from your graveyard. Discard one card. Add an earth machine from your deck to your hand. Yeah, as cool as Thunderball is, I think I'm going to have to take the Clockwork Knight because it's an earth machine searcher uh, out of the graveyard. And I have a lot of ways to get it in, into the graveyard. So we'll take that. Not a bad collection of cards, not a great collection either, but we still got some rerolls and some bonus packs, so let's try those. All right, Dimension Force, you have the chance to really make our night. <gasps> I mean, I was looking for a Reaper. I was looking for a Reaper Foom. I was looking for a Reaper Foom. But I suppose I will take the secret rare Lily Boria. I guess. I if you will twist my arm, I will take a Boria. Yeah, sh sure, fine. I'll take a Boria. And for our last pack of the normal opening, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Another Soroko the Dawn. We've already got Selene. I guess we take the Soroko? Soroko is a thing that we can summon with Gofu? <laughs> All right, starting with the Hard Leg Chaos Pack. Let's flip them up. Well, another pre-prep of rights is pretty good. Sure, we'll take, we'll take spaghetti. I like spaghetti. First, Hard Legs Chaos Pack, which has Machina Metal Cruncher. We have been considering Machina stuff quite a bit so far. Uh, rubber Band Shooter is a very good rare. But I think we'll take Metal Cruncher, just in case. Okay, Chaos Pack number two! Ooh! Ah! Mmm! I, I think I think we need to take the Eternal Soul while we can. We've invested so much into Dark Magicians. And who knows, maybe we can make a Dark Magician slash Blue Eyes deck. That would be funny. All right, Hard Leg Chaos Pack number two. Oh, no! <laughs> I mean, I will happily take a Triple Tactics Talent. I will happily take a Triple Tactics Talent, but what is with like the millionth access code talker of this series flip them up book of life pretty good for the zombies the terraform yeah we'll just take book of life and now for my chaos pack uh i've been wanting to pick up debris dragon for a while oh beyond is another worm though yeah, I think we take Yang Zings where we can get them. Yang Zings are going to be very good for me at some point. And pack number two! Ooh, Michael the Arch Light Sworn. That's a pretty good Light Sworn to pick, although so is Raiden. And there's also Kageki, which desperately for the six Samurais... Let's remind real quick, six Samurai... I, I've got, like, two keys on. I've got a Grandmaster. I've also got two Gateway of the Six. So I'm definitely getting there. Yeah, yeah, let's take the Kageki. We'll see if we can get there. Probably not this time, but we're getting close. And pack number two. 
Scrap Wyvern is cool, but I think we're going to take Junk Synchron. I'm going to continue to try and live my Junk Synchron dreams. All right, my first set of rerolls are going to be getting rid of that terrible, terry, uh, terrible, outstanding dog, Mary, in Burst of Destiny in favor of maybe a decent sword soul card. Taya is a super rare. I would love to pick up Taya. All right, Burst of Destiny reroll number one. Mm, that's not going to do it for me. Number two. Reptilian Melusine. Uh, not really much to work with here. There we go. We take the Taya. We take a Taya. Okay, Dark Side of Dimensions. We. I said I was going to re-roll it. People have been telling me I shouldn't. Let's see if I'll be vindicated. And there we go. It's that easy. You just get the Blue Eyes alternative. Or the Neos Ultimate Dragon. No, this takes three blue eyes exactly. Yeah, we'll just take the other alternate. I think that's I think that's a pretty good thing to pick up. What did you say, chat? Ultra rare. And for my pity packs, I'm going to be opening one you're probably familiar with because it is arguably one of the top three secret packs for sealed play in Master Duel. Emerging Monstrosity Recon, the Danger Kaiju Pack. You're not seeing chat right now because I'm re-recording this. I recorded it and pulled double Suchinoko, double Jackalope. My pull luck continues to be incredible, but I, like the Ding Dong I am, was recording music at the time as well. So we're going to do this again so that y'all can hear it the nice way. I'm in a position where I'm not going to try and negotiate for double Tsuchinoko, double Jackalope. Let's see what the Chaos Packs give us. Secret Packs, Chaos Draft, the Packs. All right, flipping up pack number one. Oh, those are really good. Those are both really, really good. Yeah, I think it's got to be Jackalope, especially because I already have a Nessie. And if you can get multiple Jackalopes or a Jackalope with Tsuchinoko, it's really strong. Pack number two of Emerging Monstrosity Recon. A bunch of Kaijus. You know what? I'll take a Kaiju. I am happy to have a Kaiju. We will take the Kaiju. Flipping up pack number three. Ooh, this is a card I have never read in my life. Pen Transaction. Okay, this card is bad. We're taking the Tsuchinoko. All right, pack number four. Ah, uh, Kimungus. I will... Ooh, Ogopogo is pretty good, though, right? Right? Ogopogo is pretty good. You discard, you can send a danger from your deck to the graveyard. Never mind. Ogopogo isn't very good. I'll take the Sticky String Kaiju. And a last pack of the Pity Pack opening... That's a lot of Jisoo Kiras. <laughs> we destroying a lot of daddies today. Uh, it's probably gotta be Jisoo Kiru here. Yeah, we will take... The pack really wants us to take Jisoo Kiru, and we will oblige. Not as good as the first version of it, but I seriously can't complain. All right, here we are in what I'm going to call the Jevil deck. Not only because I'm revolving, but because chaos. Chaos! We've got doubly the chaos. On the one hand, we've got... Chaos in name with Chaos Max Dragon. We're back on this turbo because without an extra deck, I'm not sure if Robert even has a way to counter this. There are very few cards that can deal with non-targeting, non-destruction removal. And with how fast this deck is, all the search power, the graceful charity, three trade in, all the level eights, I can probably make all three of these in one duel, backed up by a whole bunch of other stuff, including the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos, the light and dark monsters. We've got BLS and we've got Chaos Dragon Levianir. It's not a lot, but again, with all the draw power, getting into either one of these is not that difficult. And if we can get this alongside Chaos, uh, Chaos Max, it's pretty much just an ODK. 
So that's what we're going to try to do. Go second, put a whole bunch of stuff on board, put a whole bunch of lights and darks in the graveyard, and hopefully we can hit for big number. Now in order to help with this chaos OTK strategy, we've got a couple of very high roll tech cards, a couple sussy bakas in here, namely Book of Eclipse and Cyberjar. This has the ability to flip everything face down, which in a world without links means this is probably going to be the most active it ever is. And if Robert has anything with zero defense, this is just an OTK. And if he just has one monster, then this plus pretty much anything is probably going to be an OTK. Because if you don't know, this does double battle damage against defense position monsters. And at 4,000, that's just, oh boy, a whole lot of damage. Of course, if we fail to do this, or if we have to use this during Robert's turn to just prevent some attacks so that we can get to this... Uh, at, during the end phase, all the monsters that are still there get flipped face up, and he gets to draw a card for each. So, we have the potential to give him a lot of cards. Same thing with Cyberjar. Cyberjar is flip, destroy all monsters on the field, then both players look at the top five cards of their deck, special summon any level four or lower monsters, add everything else to your hand. Now this, in combination with the draw power and the search power I already have, like if I can resolve this and make it to the next turn, I've pretty much won. Unless Robert has a whole bunch of negates that I'm unaware of, I don't think he's going to be able to play through the fact that I'm going to have like 10 cards and then be able to deep draw on my deck with everything else and flip all his stuff face down. Of course, if I'm wrong... Robert will also be drawing five cards, and if he has a way to out this or some kind of, like, storming mirror force or something, I will be absolutely owned. But that's why we have the side deck. I have another ritual card with the preparations of rights. This just barely didn't make the cut, mostly because it's redundant when you've already got this, but being able to search this with one card, it's another level eight in the deep draw engine, just magnifico if he does have any big negates or any kind of towers of his own we've got a couple kaijus which are also level eights uh we've got mirror force because the only way to really deal with this is to like move it into defense and then attack into it so uh preventing him from attacking pretty good and same thing curse of anubis is essentially just another copy of book of eclipse except it doesn't t turn the monster face down so i guess it's not as good we've also got mst another soul charge uh, this, I feel kind of silly for not playing this, but in a, in a deck without an extra deck, uh, summoning stuff back and then just passing on it doesn't really do a whole lot, especially in this deck where everything's just like a big beater. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything in here is either trying to get like searches out Chaos Max, this searches Chaos Max, and then everything else is just like a level eight beater. Um, because if you don't know, a lot of people wanted me to play, like, incantations and stuff. But Chaos Form must use exact levels. I need exactly level 8. So it's all the level 8s and then a couple level 4s, but but more 8s. And I, I originally had even more 8s. But the one flaw with this deck, sometimes it bricks. It's Brick Eyes. That's what it does. It's like 1 in 6 duels. I'm hoping it doesn't happen here. But there's only one way to find out. Let's keep revolving. Let's get into it. Call me an ocelot. Oh, I'm dizzy. Okay. This might be a rough one, folks. It was only as I was doing my polls today that I realized how focused on the extra deck my collection really is. I've got a lot of cool things to do in the main deck, but only as they pertain to extra deck payoffs. The reverse is also somewhat true. I've got a lot of great main deck guys that are best set up by the extra deck, see Arch Nemesis Protoss. So in order to put together something that can function with only a main deck, I had to dip into some suspect things. Fortunately, the Therians are here for the rescue. We've got the King Regulus, the Lily Borea, such a powerful search card for us. It gets back our Therian Stand Up, which allows us to recycle our Regulus combos and a couple of Yules and the Foolish Burial plus Monster Reincarnation that is Endless Engine our Gyro system. Such a cool set of cards I'm excited to be playing today. We've got a mini engine in the Mech Knights to provide us Psychics and additional Light Monsters to work 
work with our Honest. We also have a Neospatian Grand Bowl in here. You'll notice that there are a lot of special summon heavy monsters in here, which allows us to get a lot of value out of our normal summon, and Grand Bowl is a great piece of value. Any card worth running in this episode is going to require a little bit of setup, and Neospatian Grand Bowl is good into Gladiator Beasts, it's good into Chaos Max, it is great across the board as a pair with our special summons. We have Ogdo Abyss. Now hear me out, folks. This card is terrible in the TCG, but in Sealed, where I have access to double Foolish Burial, triple or double Graceful Charity, triple Paleozoic Dynamiscus if I want to get it into the grave, and a bunch of resurrection cards, Ogdo Abyss is incredible. It is a quick effect board wipe that can out things like Chaos Max. Just a super cool card, and I am excited to possibly run it today. And the rest of it is just things to supplement that. This is a little bit of a bricky mess, but if we can get the right hands, we can get some Therian loops going. We can summon Ogdo Abyss. We can summon Fenrir, and that may get us through this episode. Our side deck is largely to determine if we're going against Gladiator Beast or if we're going against Chaos Max with a couple of extra things in the side in case Hard Legs hits us with something a little bit spicy. I can't wait for these duels. This might be a little shaky. Let's see if Regulus can get us there. All right, here we are. We're ready to begin. I'm turbocharged. I'm speed is the key. I be Oh, boy. This mm. rock, paper, scissors is mm. going to be very impactful. Now this has become a thinker. Mm. Aha! Oh. I will go second. Oh, that's bad for me. Oh, boy. But this hand is okay for me. This is certainly a hand. I tell you what. I kind of feel like I need to pass. <laughs> I was going to say, if you tell me, I think I could win the game from here. I'm gonna I think call I'm bullshit. going to pass. No, 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 no. I definitely am not going to win the game from here. I have a hand that is playable, just not turn one. Okay. I'm going to activate trade in. We are going to discard. A concerning start. Vanguard, oh, of, the Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Emperor. I love this guy. You know this guy? <laughs> yeah, in Power of the Elements Sealed, he's like the meta because everybody runs Vernisylphs and Tierlaments, and he's really good in both of those decks. <laughs> I, I got this. I was like, I'm going to show off something new, something Robert hasn't seen before. And it's like the one thing you absolutely know. Um, okay. The question is, do I go one step beyond? And I think, I think the answer is always yes. Oh, uh, oh no. Joe. Yeah. Joe, you yeah, aren't doing this, this to me again. again. <laughs> you are not doing this to me again. We are absolutely doing it again. We're going to get one. And yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even need it. Control two more cards. A power move, if ever I saw one. Ooh, Which will here activate comes the Vanguard. Vanguard. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. He's big. He's big and he's doing stuff. Which is the best of both worlds. Oh. <laughs> I, so, somehow my mind went crazy while I'm on this calculator. I'm typing in stuff. And I'm like, whoa, this is way over 8,000. And then I realized I put plus 8,000. Because <laughs> I was thinking of what I was trying to get to instead of just, what I wanted to. We're starting baseline at 8,000 here. Okay. Okay. Let's go for it. I will activate Chaos Form. And I will summon oh. that using two monsters in my hand. Holy shit, that is exact game on board, isn't it? What? Yo, you figured that out a lot faster than I did. You just had to make me feel dumb. <laughs> And yes, this is exact game, I've unless you have gores or something. Devastated. Um, that remains to be seen. No, I got nothing. <laughs> I got owned. Vanguard, too strong. Going in for the Vanguard. That went very well for you. Okay, that I'm going to have to okay. make some changes. We did exactly what I wanted to do. OTK, baby. Okay, this hand is significantly worse. So... Um, I'll just set a card and 
okay. So, surely if you weren't expecting to get OTK'd, you can't OTK me, right? What could he mean by this? <laughs> Let's normal summon Thunder King Ryo. Ah, I see. Go to battle phase. What All you right. got down there? Things are about to get interesting. <gasps> oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, hard leg Joe. You have no idea how happy I am to see this card. Let's get it twisted, baby. Let's go, baby. Five cards. What woo, will we woo, get? Woo. All the stuff. What do you think? Oh, let's see. It's that there's your BLS, some kind of thing. <laughs> Is that a fucking octoatic? <laughs> You, you don't you don't know my life oh can i not do anything with the rest of this hand you gotta go to the main phase too oh that explains it i was like <laughs> wait i seriously can't activate a card in this hand what, okay why can't i do anything it's still battle phase i like also how neither of us got a level four lower monster just that's true <laughs> no, all right no low level monsters allowed let's put fenrir into play and of then course. I will set two back row. Ah, that's twice as many. You wouldn't like Harpy's Feather Duster me, right? Harpy's right. Feather Duster is banned. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Giant all trade right. isn't. That's that's fine. That's all fine and good. Okay, fine and dandy like sour candy. So I'm gonna start with Book of Eclipse. Just go to sleep. The, the boo. Okay. I don't want to have to deal with that. Set this one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to activate Danger Thunderbird. Ooh. Okay, let's I see. I better not hit the Thunderbird because I have a lot of cards to choose from. <laughs> All right. Let's see. No! Not because... a bad hit for me. Okay, we take those. No, not bad at all. So let's activate Return of the Dragon Lords and summon back my blue eyes. Oh, you've got a blue eyes there. Yep, that's fine. I do. And then we'll activate Chaos Form. Here it goes. Yeah, we'll send off this. Mm, the guy. And then we're going to activate Chaos Form. <laughs> No shot, you have the ability to go for two of them! There's two of them! Let's uh, banish this out of the graveyard, shall we? Okay, now if you have Storming Mirror Force, I am completely owned. I have gone in too hard, and I will not survive. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you have anything else, I think I, I, think I win. Got Drowning Mirror Force. Robert, these back row have to do something. <laughs> they do <laughs> something. Whether they do anything into this board is another question entirely. Continue right. your attacks, hard leg Joe. Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack them directly! Burst Stream of Destruction! So, unfortunately, this punch in the box has to hit the Thunderbird here, because otherwise <laughs> I lose this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> but I do not yet lose this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Not white. Negate the attacking. Oh yeah, because it can send any- okay. Um. Damn. You know, if I had summoned this monster, uh, I would have won, but instead I will set it. <laughs> Okay. I didn't think I'd need it. I had so many big boys. <laughs> All right. There is, I think, one draw in this deck that does it for me. That's not quite it. It's not not it, but it's not. Oh, hold the fuck up. Wait, I have that in my graveyard? <laughs> Okay. All right. King. We are not out of this game quite yet. Let's do this. I'm going to summon Therian Duke Yule by equipping right. it with Kashira Fenrir. Why is the Duke in quotes? They is all have their names, their titles in quotes. I'm guessing it's because it's he's not like legally a Duke. <laughs> 
Like they don't actually have an aristocracy in the Therian world. That's just what they call themselves. It's, it's just like a coliseum, right? So it's just like yeah, exactly. Thing. Like oh, this guy is battle phase. Oh okay. It's attack. Okay. Goodbye, blue eyes. You tried your best. You tried so far and you got so hard, but in the end, you were big. And now you're dead. All right. End phase. Interesting. You are aware that your monster has uh, less attack points than me, right? I am aware of the board state, hard like Joe. Okay, because 800 life points would be 4,000 bigger, so I'm trying to think, what do you have? So they tell me. Humanize, honest. Hmm. Well, the thing about that, you know, is that you can't use either of those if you're face down. You're not wrong! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, let's just flip this up. Oh, imagine drawing into your copies of Book of Eclipse. <laughs> oh, the Book of Eclipse. Now that Link monsters aren't in this game, oh, they're so good. God, I've been so destroyed this episode. Utterly wow. destroyed. The hard leg rampage continues. Oh, Chaos Max no. too strong. <laughs> Chaos <laughs> Max is really too strong. I complained about IP into Boralode, but Chaos Max just is an IP'd Boralode. <laughs> Who could also can Oh yeah, Boralode can't be targeted either. Yeah. Yeah, he just... So what, is this Is this his last hurrah? Is that what we're doing? Ban Chaos Oh, probably. Max? Probably. <laughs> I, I cannot think of a single card that has caused me as many problems as Chaos Max, except maybe Boralode. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's all... You could hit the Cyber Jar or Blue Eyes. I could. That's that, true. That You've got me there. Me. Then all my Blue Eyes cards would be useless. <laughs> but then my Blue Eyes cards would be useless. Ooh, ah. But uh, yeah, Jules, go ahead and put up that, that third Chaos coin. I, I'm on my way back. You got I, assume, it. I assume you're up for at least another duel, maybe another oh, two. Oh, I'm absolutely so up fast. for some more duels. <laughs> okay, okay. This time I'll go first. Okay. I'll just set a card, you know. Could be anything. Hmm, no big deal. It could deal. be literally a, anything. Nothing suspicious here. Okay. Uh, Let's go Pot of Desires. Ooh. What did I lose? Uh, Not as much as I was worried I would lose. Okay, um, now for something a little bit fun. I'm going to normal summon Proofiness. Oh, you learned by watching me! I did. I'll banish Terrors of the Overroot. All right, fair enough. Uh, go to battle and attack. <laughs> it is not it's, the... <laughs> it's not the jar at all! Keep getting baited. Okay, main phase two, let's... Oh, oh hold up. I drew into that card. I didn't realize that I drew into that card. Uh, this is something <laughs> I absolutely should have done main phase one. Uh, I'm going to go Endless Engine or Gyro System. Ooh, and I'm going to send nice. away my Therian King Regulus. Finally get to use this guy. Huh. Uh, and let's activate the Duke Yule in my hand. Ah, I was about to say, don't you not want him in the graveyard? <laughs> You want him in the graveyard because all Therians become Regulus when equipped with him. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's that's an Omni Negate, which is very powerful. Now, the thing about Keeper of the Shrine, a lot of people don't know, is that uh, it can be used as a tribute for two tributes of a dragon-type monster. Hello, blue eyes. <laughs> but he came back. So I'm just going to ignore this negate and walk over you. Uh, you got me. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And then I'll set a card. I don't know. It could be anything. I can't believe it's turn three and I haven't summoned Chaos Max yet. It's true. So this, wild, this deck is a failure. <laughs> All right. Let's keep drumming up the engine. Wait, what does this do? It puts, it chooses a Therian in my graveyard and puts either itself or the Therian into my hand and the other card onto the bottom of my deck. Ah, I see. So it just, it is an actual engine. Yes, it is. All right, and let's activate Regulus. 
Oh, it's a machine or a okay. or a gotcha. Therian. And here gotcha, he gotcha, is. Gotcha. Uh, and this now I once again have an Omni to gate. Yay. Let's go to battle. Let's do it. I'll attack into blue eyes. I'll activate Book of Eclipse. Would you like to negate it? <laughs> I just hear like a muffled groan in the background. Oh, well, fair enough. End phase, you do get two draws. I do. The question is, will you draw into chaos? Oh, there was a thing I could have done here. Oh, well. All right. Wait, Blue eyes is back. <laughs> oh, it's flipped. Okay. Uh, all right. Graceful time. Let's get graceful. Guess graceful. what? He's still an Omni Negate when he doesn't <laughs> equip with something. Wait, what? Yeah. He yes. can just send Etherian to the grave to Omni Negate. Uh... I'll bide my time. That's fine. Unless you want to crash it, take some damage. Okay, I have an extremely oh, stupid way of approaching my turn. Uh, I am going to sacrifice Proofiness to normal summon Cyber Dragon, <laughs> and then I'm going to use the BLS in my hand. Oh. Oh, hello there. Uh, and let's get that Blue Eyes out of here, shall we? Oh, Blue Eyes! All right. And my the chances, of the shrine doesn't activate. <laughs> the chances that that's a cyber jar. <laughs> pretty much like 100%, high. right? You should just not attack. Just don't, All no, right. don't attack. It's going to be bad. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you can't attack with a BLS. It is cyber jar. All right. I tried to warn you. Oh, that is a hell of a hand you just drew into. Oh, hey. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, I'll put Witch of the Black Forest to defense mode. Uh-oh, confiscation and honest? And, All right. Oh, okay, you do have a gorse. You're prepared. Let's, yeah, let's summon the honest and face up attack position. And then add it back to your <laughs> You bet your booty. Uh, <laughs> what did you set? Witch of the Black Forest? How much defense yeah. does she have? 1,200. So just oh. not quite Boo. enough. <laughs> All right, main phase two. I wouldn't think that you'd oh, want that's to do really the Witch good. of the Black Forest. You know she could search uh, Chaos Max, right? I, uh, I, I am aware. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's add Honest back to hand. Honestly, probably a good idea. A confiscation. Show me what you yep. got. I got quite a Woo, bit. That's a lot of very cool cards. Yeah. Um. But the coolest of them all is Graceful Charity yeah. by a fair margin. Uh, and then... Oh, my Graceful's gone! <laughs> all right. Uh, let's do my absolute favorite move in this deck. I'm going to go Foolish Burial. How? Uh, I'm going to send away Ogdo Abyss. All right. Set one. Set two. And then... Dang. Sure, why not cash to your Fenrir? <laughs> eventually will do something okay, and a fact at some point i will end my turn all right uh okay well you probably knew this was coming i had no idea all right um so let's see what is this it's when it attacks or when i activate a monster effect right correct Either of those two things could happen. They could, I hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if I didn't activate an effect? If I just attacked you with a big boy, there's nothing you could do. Oh, wait, that's like the one card that Giga owns me here, and I knew that it was coming. <laughs> I had no reason to summon this Fenrir. Uh, that's all I could do. Hello. All right, that's fine. Hey, I outed Fenrir. You did. Uh, <laughs> modern cards don't mean shit. Uh, not being able to activate these uh, graceful charities is really not doing a number for me. All right, end phase. Let's get back, Fenrir. <laughs> Hello. 
no response to my own call of the haunted it will shock you to find out okay uh yeah and then i will use back to the front and grab back bls i hate you <laughs> if i don't you're gonna do that i would have activated this sooner hey the maxi maxi has been utterly useless this series so far everyone's favorite <gasps> oh set. shit i activated wait really okay all right your opponent activates a monster effect you could target oh oh you okay, use so... maxi let's go <laughs> i thought it was you banished that monster not one face up um <gasps> oh i was like wait when did i trigger i i didn't get a trigger fenrir you did well Goodbye, blue eyes. All right. Uh, no, I have no further effects. I believed in the heart of the cards, but it didn't believe in me. Um. Yeah. Just... No, wait, I meant to move it to. Okay, whatever. <laughs> ah, the UI strikes again. Uh, let's normal summon our good friend Thunder King Ryo here. He's the king of thunders. What can I say? All right. Yeet. Yep, I got it. I'm being yeaten and eaten. Alright. You want to activate that effect? You know, just no, no thank you. Face down. That'd be cool. I, I think I'm good. Alright, your go. I may be in for a bad time here. Well, I'll set a card and I'll forget a card. Or move. Uh, let's go for the MST here. You can't waking the dragons me for revolution, Falcon, no. this time. <laughs> you keep expecting that. I still haven't put it in. But <laughs> when I do... Uh, what do you have? A mirror force? I might. Let's... Hmm... I don't need all these cards to win. Fenrir can hang out in defense position. Okay. Battle phase. Yeah. Uh, oops. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> I will take it. More draws. Okay, I just gotta draw uh, the best card of my life. Main phase two. Sure, let's do it. I like this guy and I haven't gotten to use him yet. <laughs> I'll give up draw three in order to sub it by... The Big snakey snake. boy. Big uh, snake. And I will also. BK. Biggest snake. Activate okay. the endless Burger engine Argyro system. Rip. And end my turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> God darn it. I'm so glad this is the third duel and I already won because I would be so upset if this was <laughs> happening now. All right, Endless Engine Argyro System, time to do your thing. Let's do it. Time to regulate. And, of course, the king. Yeah, and it's just another, the third book of the clip. <laughs> Which does nothing here. You can just negate it with that. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just for the BM's sake, let's yeah. go for honest. I'll also let you. I'm sitting on uh, two chaos max. Oh I yeah. A, I got advanced ritual art, but both my blue eyes are banished. And oh. I've got, I've got blackluster soldier, <laughs> but my only light monsters are banished. <laughs> oh boy. You just happen to hit everything that I know and love. A sad state of affairs. So I'll be real with you. I uh, don't know how I took a game off of you. I had five effectively useless cards in my hand, and it was pretty much Fenrir, BLS, Ogdo Abyss, Regulus that got me through that <laughs> game. <laughs> I think it's like we were talking about before. You have a whole boss, mo a whole bunch of boss monsters, and just few ways to summon them. Yep. And, uh, you know, I guess uh, Cyberstein, not Cyberstein, Cyberjar giving you, like, five cards and not giving me anything. 
<laughs> just like, ah, gave you the resources to summon them, and I just yep. didn't get, I have like a million ways to get to uh, Chaos Max, but I didn't get any of them that turn. Yeah, well, it was fun. I got to show off Regulus. I didn't really get to show off Ogdo Abyss. Ogdo Abyss is really cool because it turns uh, it turns any resurrection spell into a gigantic dude that outs Chaos Max. Yeah. Uh, that is also a quick effect board wipe. It's non-targeting. Send every car, every monster to the graveyard that wasn't summoned from the graveyard, right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So you did have that because that's what I was trying to think about before. I was like, well, we know obviously that excess code can get over chaos max, but uh, what else does Robert have that doesn't? And turns I, out very little. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously you had the honest, but uh, I could kind of like, it's weird how telegraphed that has become, even though it's not outed, um, it's not like seen play in years, just like, oh, they've left one light monster in attack left position. Left a light monster in attack position. I, I wonder, wonder what could what be going be. on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has less attack with my monster. Like I just gonna run into it like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain. <laughs> yep. Uh, my hope was that I could also pull off maybe a honest BLS combo. Ah. Once again, the duel just just keeps going. It just started itself. Yeah, That's so nice. that was that was really something. Not playing with an extra deck really showed off uh, how much my strategy when it comes to deck building and when it comes to drafting so far has been centered around the extra deck i've been very excited about the therians and the therians are a great main deck engine but they're very very high rarity uh, and so i don't have a huge number of them yet they're i have also... a lot of really cool strats on the side but most of them have at least some extra deck payoff or reliance to them and also, all the Therions, I believe, are only in, like, one set, right? Like, they're not spread out a whole bunch, are they? Uh, so there is a Therion in Power of the Elements. There are two Therions in Power of the Elements, but both of them are hollows. Yeah. <laughs> they're all rare. And I meanwhile, I thought going into this, I was like, oh, this is the episode that gets Graceful Charity banned. But it's not even good. Not even worth it. Barely even, even used it at all. I basically didn't draw into it. <laughs> oh boy. I did not expect to get OTK'd in the no extra deck episode, but you put together something pretty sick. The use of Vanguard of the Underground Emperor was really cool. I had actually considered running Prime Mineral Congrate as an out to some of your strats, <laughs> but that card loses so phenomenally hard to Chaos Max exactly <laughs> that it was just like, if you're on that strategy, it is not worth. Oh yeah, I also had this guy. It's pretty neat. You ever seen this before? I discovered this, I believe. This last is episode. not a real Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Does it look like one? You can only use each of the following effects of Primal Dragon, the Primordial. I also, <laughs> I will say that's a very Yu-Gi-Oh name for a card, so it's got that going for it. Once per turn, you can banish Dragon from your graveyard. It gains attack and defense equal to that monster's attack until the end of the next turn. If this card's tributed, you can target a monster, and it can make a second attack during each battle phase. That's a wild card. What does yeah. it come from? Uh, I it's one of the much newer sets. It's I think it's like uh, past Pote or close to Pote or whatever. But it's just like, yeah, no, there's no reason to play this in the modern game. But it's like, oh man, if I could tribute the Chaos Max with this, it just attacked 4,000 attacks twice. Thank you. Plus, I mean, your opponent takes no da damage from it. But just having a normal summonable that's not only 2,000, but like, oh, I could just banish a Blue Eyes from the graveyard and have a 5,000 normal summon. Who needs yeah. Utopia the Lightning to get over stuff? <laughs> Choose this guy. Indeed. He's very neat. He's very neat in like a series like this exactly and nowhere else, which is kind of why I like showing off this series. I love these like newer modern cards that don't see play because the game's too fast. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, we should probably bring this to an end. Uh, thank you for watching. Oh, did you decide? Do you do you want to go ahead and hit Chaos I'm Max? I'm going to ban Chaos Max, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's probably for the best. He's I, just too much. I mean, I banned Gaff for less. 
ever since I saw it the first time, I have had to deck build for that card. And my yeah. cards that are good against Chaos Max are terrible against the rest of the field. Okay, hats off in the chat, everyone. We did it. Chaos Max completely banned from Chaos Draft. You can stop saying it. He's no longer going to play it. We hit the max number, which was three. Let's True. Let's look at there. The ma there was the maximum chaos max in this series. Yeah. So I get I get to keep graceful charity for another episode. Robert gets to pull some more pity packs. And uh, what's our what's our chaos rule for next episode? Do you know? Oh, let me find out. I actually don't know off the top of my head. Give them a little preview of coming events. Yeah. Ah, it's this one. Yeah, this one might be a little tricky to do. We're, we, it's a, a, a format we call Respect Play. Oh, We're, yes. <laughs> basically, total information. Every Both players must reveal their hands and then declare every card that they draw. So you get to yep. play with perfect information of what's going on. Might be a little tedious. Might make for some really strategic gameplay. Hard to say. Hard to leg. Hard to leg. You'll find out by tuning in next time. And until then, good luck. And have fun. Ha -cha 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 -cha. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode 11, the good old 1-1. One, one. I'm, of course, Hard Leg Joe, if in you didn't know. Joined, as always, by the Robert Jordan of Yugi Tube. Robert, not Jordan. <laughs> I actually don't know your name. <laughs> that was Although, a good one. Uh, you had me up until the last name. I'm going to have to look this one up, too. <laughs> You're like, We've I, got I, Robert F. Kennedy. We've got the epic fantasy. Oh. Aha. You I'll found take it. it. <laughs> okay. It's the author yep. of Wheel of Time, which is my, my favorite, like, series of all time. Love Wheel of Time. Huge Wheel of Time fanboy over here. And I guess you would say that Robert Jordan is a man I very much respect. And today's chaos rule is respect play. At least that's what we're calling it. I think someone else had another name for it, like transparency format. It's it's respect play. Anytime re this is a thing you need to know about Yu-Gi-Oh players. Anytime we can name something after a Yu-Gi-Oh card, we will name it that. Yeah. Like there could be tons of great names for it, but if there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card that kind of matches, we'll name it that. <laughs> yeah, like common charity. It's like not many people know common charity is a card. Yes. It has nothing to do with being common, but yeah, and if you don't know, Respect Play, though, is a continuous trap from the early days that says both players must play with their hands revealed. And that's what we're doing today. We're going in. There's going to be no surprises, nothing hidden. We're going to be telling each other what's in our hands and also every card that gets set. And uh, I assume we don't need to, like, write down the whole extra deck. But if you ask me if I have something, I'll let you know if we have it. Because today we're being very respectful. Very respectful. There's been a lot of disrespect <laughs> in this series, a lot of bullying one way or the other. But we need to we need to set aside the animosity and and mm -hmm. come together over Yu-Gi-Oh! Played with no secrets to be kept. No secrets. We're going to give peace a chance. We're going to put on our monocles. We're going to be a might bit fancy. I may use an accent that's inappropriate, but you know what? We're going to have some fun. But first... We gotta get into those card pools. Let's go into the card opening space. All right, here we are, episode 11, back with Twitch chat. They've got cats in the chat. And we're, we're pulling some more stuff for respect play format, which unlike the previous ones, I don't think there's a whole lot that uh, we really need to like be on the lookout for this format or any real things we need to deck build around. Other than we probably don't want to pick up any more traps. I feel like traps aren't very useful in a format where every trap is public knowledge. Uh, and obviously, if we can get some stuff that requires hand knowledge, stuff like Mind Crush, that might actually be good here. But other than that, it's it's just the general dang old stuff. And um, yeah, not a whole lot here. I'm going to take the Nimble Momonga because it's a level two beast. All right, let's get this party started. There are so many things that I am excited to pull out of this set of Chaos Draft pulls. Let's get to it. 
let's get to it. Let's get started. And it, you have to start at the beginning with the dark beginning. Uh, um, the Banisher of the Light is a kind of okay floodgate. By the way, respect play. It had to come up this episode with uh, with the, the respect play chaos rule. Very excited to see that. Uh, also, left leg of the forbidden one is funny, but let's grab a banisher. Much more likely to actually use that. Star Strike Blast! How do you like me? How do you like me? Drollin' Lock. I'm not sure if we're getting that good yet, but the Karakuris are not great. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take another Droll. Who knows? Maybe, maybe someday it'll be useful. Time for Legendary Collection 2. Remember, this is a very important pack for us for a number of reasons. Yeah, I guess I'd take the third Stratos. I'm not at three Stratos, right? Yeah, yeah let's let's grab the third Stratos. Why not? Three Stratos is pretty good. Hoarder of Chaos! Oh, hey, there's an Insector Dragonfly. I think we already have three of those. Let's check once more. No, we have two of them, but now now we'll have three. We'll have three Dragonfly, three Centipede, three Hornet. The best of all worlds, let's do it. It's time to order the chaos. We've got an order of chaos. We're ordering we're ordering chaos, and chaos is on chaos chaos is on the menu and we're ordering it. We got there eventually. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. How many hornets do I have? I have one hornet. I'll take a second one. I'll take the second one. The bling has returned! Uh, Dark Hole's pretty nice. All right, chat. You know what to type. You know what time it is. It's time for the moderation of the current power regime. Uh, ooh, chicken game is cute. I'll take chicken game. And the reason I'm going to take chicken game is because I have my three gear towns now. And I want to do gear town things. Infinite Gold! Dark Destroyer. I wish I wish my Cosmos were better. Do I do I have any good Cosmos? Cosmo? No. I have a single Cosmo. You know, the world if I had thought about doing that. Emergency Teleport, also potentially good. Let me see what targets I even have for that real quick. Oh, that's not bad, especially for, like, I have a couple tuners I can use. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be more useful than reasoning. We'll go ahead and take the emergency teleport. High speed riders. Oh, talking Tom Borg is great. We've been kind of waiting to get that back after I snubbed it episode one. I'll take that. We're now up to two Terror Tops and one Taket Tomborg. We are very close to completing that set. Break open the circuit and see what you can find. Doing all the stuff like I don't mind. Uh, I got an Altergeist card. We have been taking those. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to take the Altergeist card. I think we'll try that and uh, see if that's any good. Duelist Saga. Mmm, second soul charge? Don't mind if I do. The most extreme of forces. Oh, hey, speaking of Altergeist, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just take this one. I like a Hextia. It's time to chase infinity. Ooh, River Stormer is solid. I will happily take River Stormer. Finally, a payoff for our Earth Machines. We take that. Assault the Ignitions! Uh, Genie, Portal... We are trying to get some Megalith stuff, and this is Ritual stuff. Uh, Cross Sheep. Two monsters with different names. Do we already have a Cross Sheep? I feel like we do. No, we don't. And it is generic... And that's probably the most useful, and it's rare, so... yeah. Alright, dual overload. Ooh, is that a Sasahara? 
we probably take the Sasahara. Do I already have Al Mirage? Yeah, I do have Al Mirage. Let's take the Sasahara. I'm overloaded with duels. Ooh, Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. Another generic link to points down, send a destruction sword from your deck to the graveyard, then special summon a Buster Blader from your hand. This helps with all the Buster Blader stuff I've been getting. And I think I already have Cyber Emergency. I don't. That would be pretty neat, although I still don't have a payoff for that. I do have the payoff for this, and it only comes in this. We've had other chances. Yeah, I'm taking it. Fuck it. We're taking it. Tomb Chaos. Oh, Immortal Phoenix Gearfreed is a very strong card. Banish an equip spell from your field or graveyard to special summon it. The start of the damage shift this card attacks. You can nab one of your opponent's cards. Yeah, let's... Ooh, it's this or it's Lithosagip. Ooh, these are both very good cards. Immortal Phoenix Gearfreed is a little bit harder to use, but is just a game-winningly strong card. Let me see what we have in the way of equips. I know we have some decent equip cards. I think we take Lithosagym. I think we take Lithosagym. As incredible as Immortal Phoenix Gearfreed is, we have enough, like, insane powered boss monsters to work with and like Ogdo Abyss is a much easier one to summon. Maximum Gold, El Dorado. This is a transcode talker which we really need if we want to get this Cybers pile underway. Unfortunately we did not get this Cybers pile underway. We did get more Altergeist stuff. Altergeist really coming together in a way that I didn't think it would. Yeah, we've got the Silquidius, we've got the Kunkuary, we've got Melusik. Let's take the Multifaker. Multifaker is like the main playmaker in the deck. Ghosts from the past. Very haunting. Uh, Dragoonity Phalanx is funny if we get Dragoonities, but I think we just take the Photon Thrasher. The Grand Creators! Well, this is another Insector name. While well, this card is equipped, it's uh, levels. When it's equipped, you can send this. Yeah, I think I think uh, I wish I was dead. Said we just needed more Insector names, and this is playable. And everything else is not something I want, except for maybe Castell, but we already have one. So yeah, let's go for Ladybug. All right, Dimension Force. The card I want out of here is a common. These are words I shouldn't say because anytime I say words like this to the pack gods, I don't get it. But the card I want is a common. Can I get it? No, I cannot. Another Yule is not bad. Uh, it's not the Therian I want, but it might be the Therian that I take this time around. And finally, the Crystals will have their revenge. Yadagarasu? Probably Yadagarasu. What's a Dyna tank? It takes a dinosaur and I don't have a dinosaur. Uh, yeah, we'll just take the Yadagarasu. Starlight rare. Ooh, ah, fancy. So a pretty good collection of things. We got like a Dark Hole, Card of Demise, more Altergeist stuff. Not sure if this super changes up our card pool, but it definitely gives us some more things to work with. And we've still got three rerolls and some bonus packs, so let's get to those. All right, our last main pack, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. What do we have? Blizzard? Blizzard's pretty good. We don't have any Blizzards yet. It's a pretty good card. I'll take Blizzard. All right, time for the Chaos Packs. The last of the packs. Flip them up. What will we get? Well, there's another heavy forward. There's a, a Heraklinos, which is pretty nice. Armor Blast, Iris Sword Soul. Hoppiard. Which one? This gives me a Lakari. That might be pretty good. Let me look real quick. Uh, heavy forward. I do already have one of those. How many Infinitrax do I have? Uh, I'm getting pretty decent with them. Wouldn't necessarily summon it or... Yeah, we'll take the heavy forward. This is going to be more instantly usable, although we still need a payoff for the Earth Machines. Pack number one, 
we've got a number of really good choices here. Uh, Kageki, Niki, oh, uh, Niki Tame isn't very good. Uh, there's another fossil fusion, but we can get all the fossil fusions we want, to be frank. Um, Dragonfly is really good. How many Brutal Dozers do I have? I'm full up on Brutal Dozer. Well, let's take Dragonfly. Sure. I'll work on my Insector pile. Hopefully, maybe, maybe there'll be a payoff for it in this one. Still hoping that I can pull the Machina Gear Mega Frame or whatever it is, the Earth Machine Boss Monster. No. No, they got, I got a fucking Electromite. I haven't picked up like a single pendulum this entire time, and they give me fucking Electromite. Oh, I could also get the third Eternal Soul. I could get the Gladiator Beast Charge. I could get Hopper. That would be three Eternal Soul. I can't believe I have to pass up the Electromite. Let me let me look double. Let me double check this real quick. Is it too late to start trying to get pen? No, I have I have three Pendulum Effect monsters. I have no Pendulum normal monsters. No, I got no Pendulums this season. Oh, so unfortunate. Hopper, you don't need three Eternal Souls. I feel like I kind of do. Eternal Soul is like the, the, the Dark Magician card. Although I do have a lot of ways to draw and everything. But I wish does say that my best deck is probably the Insector Pool. And Insectors are probably going to be the best this week. Setting Eternal Soul when Robert knows everything I have might be pretty bad. So let's go ahead and take the Hopper. Add one more Insector onto there and hope that's good. All right, hard leg pack number two. That's a 10,000 dragon at rare. Way to be hard leg. Um, this one's not very good. I think we take the Zect Caliber. Now we go to RJ's packs, which don't have the whole lot. Well, there's Gores. There's Lava Golem, which is funny. Lava might be useful. I'm trying to think. I'll still have to nor well, not if I get the Zek Trike. I might be able to do some stuff without it, and I can pop it. E do I already have a Lava Golem? No. Yeah, let's take the Lava Golem. We'll see if that does anything. Time for my Chaos Pack. Starting us off with Lightning Vortex and Austin CK's favorite card, Magic Drain. Uh, another Trap Stun is an option that we could go for. Did we uh, pull for two Trap Stun already? Did we take Trap Stun out of... No. We didn't take Trap. We could get our third Trap Stun out of here. Oh, or I could just take the third Deep Sea Diva. We'll take the third Deep Sea Diva. <laughs> Keep forgetting that we only have two of this card. Let's grab the second or the third one. And pack number two. We'll flip them up. Karaz, Crane Crane, Shien Spy. He says the Shien Spy should be better. I am doing decent on six Samurais, but they're also all low. But Smoke Signal does get me Kageki. And it's rare. Yeah, let's just take this. Probably going to be going on Insectors anyway, so... A decent little pick of things. Let's add it to the collection and see what the hell we can come up with. Next pack. Oh, folks. Oh, folks. That's not a bad card. That's a pretty good payoff. We've already gotten a double evolution pill to work with. Uh, let's, let's do this. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, let's get in the collection. Okay, so reroll number one, the new challengers. All right, let's try this again. Can we get Herald of the Arclight? No. No, we got another Odd Eyes Rebellion Ixie Dragon, but I already have a Dark Rebellion and I'm not going to use two. So, yeah, we might as well just take the Oracle, the Herald, and add another ultimateness. All right, we are continuing to reroll Burst of Destiny. Are worms, like, the best thing I could be going after in my collection? Probably not, but I'm very excited to maybe pull some more Sword Soul stuff. All right, pack number one. 
I'm being... I'm being trolled. They give us a secret rare M-Pen. But the secret rare they chose to give me is M-Pen. I will not introduce this series to... to uh, I, I, I will not bring Fluanderies into this series. I'm spending my next reroll on this again. I refuse. I will take a common over M pen. Mm, and I might have to. <laughs> High speed riders! Try number two! And. Uh, and I didn't get anything. Red eyes, not great, not great. Red sprinter with his weird, oddly human hands. I, I think we just take the uh, we just take the red resonator we were gonna get anyway. All right, reroll of ghosts from the past two, one. It's not gonna do it for me. That is not gonna do it for me. Let's try again. We call that unpunished. Rewarded the Bashia. This is exactly this turns on our worm pool. This turn because Taya and Moye are both instant Bashias. And finally, re-rolling Mystic Fighters. Can we get the Super Rejuve? No. No, we cannot. And this is, this is even worse than before. We get a uh, Rekindling? Sure, Rekindling might do something. And for my pity pack for having lost in the main deck episode. I'm going for a pack that rewards you for only having a main deck. Well, it keeps you in your main deck. The best pack in Master Duel, Echo Chamber Nation. All right, we're looking for a number of things. The Tri Brigades are really, really good for us. Even if we just get like a Rugal, we're in really good shape. Uh, we want to see things like Dogmatica Punishment and Ecclesia wouldn't be bad either. Let's see what we got. Uh, a lot of Tri Brigade kits. Uh, Tri Brigade kit is the best Tri Brigade out of the main deck ones, right? We've already got a Karis. Yeah, we'll take kit. Uh, Nexus isn't very good. Sargas is okay, but only really works if we have a pretty good Springens pool, which we do not currently. I'll take the second Karas. Pack number three of Echo Chamber Nation. We have, ooh, there's Rugal. We certainly take a Rugal. Pack number four. That's a Bear Broom super rare and a Kit and a Fractal. This is just a really good pack. Bear Broom is all right, but it actually doesn't do much for the strategy for us. I think we probably actually take Fractal. All right, pack number five of Echo Chamber Nation. Mm, not a great one. Awkwardly, the best card in this pack for us is Nerval, but we already have three copies of Nerval. We probably have to take Maximus then. That's okay. Uh, this was a pretty okay opening. This is our first kind of slow one, but I'm excited to build for this week. We now have three copies of our... Stratos, and we also have some pretty good worm monsters to work with. I'm looking forward to this. God, I want to play this worm pile, but it's just not quite there yet. It's it's just a little too bricky in testing. I keep drawing into things that I just can't work with. It's got so many things like Destrudo and the Mare Mare and the Spined Gilman, all those types of things that I don't want to have in my opening hand. It's so close. Next week, next week, it's going to happen. For now, we're going to focus on getting a dub on the board for my Therians. This looks much like many of my previous decks, and this is probably the last time you'll see this deck on the screen. Next week is 60-card format, which means we're going to have to have a 60-card pile, which this is 
far too multi-card combo dependent in order for that to work. And then after that, it's a bunch of extremely ridiculous, chaotic chaos rules that will restrict us down to probably not being able to pull something off like this. So this is the last time you're going to see Hero Link Access Code Pile. Let's take a look at the card by card. We, of course, have the heroes. Then we have our fours that help us make things like Lavalval Chain and Baguska on turn one. One. Then we have our Cash Tira Fenrir, obligatory. We have our Protoss because our attributes are off the chart. Our Mare Mare, which is the big brick of the deck. Our soft brick of the deck in Destrudo. And then our Therians. Lily Borea, which allows us to get our Monster Reborn. King Regulus, our favorite himself, and then the three Yules to get our Regulus online. Then we have two Psychic Monsters. Why? Because we have three copies of Emergency Teleport. Both of these Psychic Monsters are kind of extenders by this fashion. Psychic Tracker has the ability to just be a name on the board to go into links, but Zay Amon lets us go into Yazi without worrying about Destrudo, and that's a real treasure for us to be able to have. We've got our Endless Engine, our Soul Charge, two Foolish Burial to get us to things like Destrudo and Therians even faster, two Graceful Charity because it's Graceful Charity, Monster Reborn, the Dark Calling, a Hero Lives, Super Poly, and a Big Trap lineup. I have a different philosophy when it comes to respect play format than others. I'm seeing folks in my Discord, on Twitter, saying that respect play format means that trap cards are useless, but I think the opposite is true. I think that rather than your opponent being able to play around trap cards better, this format makes it really easy to find your opponent's choke points because you know exactly what the card you have to hit in your opponent's hand with a trap card is. That's why spot removal like Compulse, like Dinomiscus, like Terrors of the Overu is so powerful in this format is you always know the optimal time to use them. And with spot removal, the optimal timing is everything. Our extra deck is exactly what you would expect it to be, just a bunch of combo pieces and baguska. And then our side deck is for a large number of things. Hardleg has a bunch of stuff, and I don't know what he's going to be doing with his time, but stopping access to the graveyard, being able to take out towers, and just kaiju things in general are never bad. Let's see what spice he's brought to the table to counter arguably the best version of this particular pile I've ever had. Let's see how it goes. All right, you bugs and bastards, we're here and we're finally running back the Insectors. It is time for the bugs to shine because they're about as strong as they can get. Three Dragonfly, three Centipede, three Hornet. Ladybug, who I didn't know was key, but this thing is actually super important, especially if you want to go first, along with Graceful Charity and Foolish Burial. All of these together just make this deck very, very consistent, and having stuff like Goki Pole that we can go into Black Squatter and the Resonance Insect, all these insect extenders really help things out. Now, of course, with Insectors, you want to go second. Hornet is all about blowing up all the cards on the field. And I think, honestly, if we can win the coin toss and go second, I'm not sure Robert will stand a chance. I mean, there's it's possible that he's playing a whole bunch of trap cards, but uh, the fact that this is respect play format, the fact that like he has to tell me what's in the back row, I, I don't think it's worth playing back row. Most of it, like you can play around it if you know it's there. At least that's the strategy I went into. That's why I'm playing no traps in the main deck. Uh, we've got some on the side, chainable ones that are difficult to play around, along with Trap Trick, which is kind of funny in this format because knowing they have Trap Trick doesn't doesn't like give you any information. But yeah, so that that's my assumption that Robert's going to also go on a monster mash, and that hopefully Hornet can just plow its way through that. Without IP Mascarena, the chance that he'll get an indestructible Link monster is very low. And while I do have to worry about stuff like the evil hero Malicious Bane or the uh, the arch nemesis Protoss or whatever, um, we do have some stuff in the the uh, extra deck to help deal with that. Castell, Exa Beetle. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn. We've got enough stuff to deal with those indestructible monsters, and then everything else can just be popped by Hornet, and our chances of getting into Hornet again, very nice. Oh, and then also we've got uh, Immortal Phoenix Gear Free. This is something I've wanted to play since we, we got it, 
and I wasn't sure if it would work because we don't really have any warriors or equip cards. But all the Insectors, when they're equipped, they count as equipped spells. So as long as I have Insector stuff, this is live. Or if we have a Zek Caliber in the graveyard or a Premature Burial in the graveyard, we can summon this. And this is more non-targeting, non-destruction removal and a negate on top of that. And if it turns out that this is what we absolutely need to decimate Robert, we actually have a pretty cool combo with Red Resonator plus any level 3 can go into Roland, and Roland can search it in the end phase. Uh, a little bit slow, but uh, hopefully Robert's not also on an OTK deck. And if he is, again, we've, we've got a whole bunch of trap stuff. And even going first, if, if we can not get bricked, which does occasionally happen if you open with like, three centipede, two dragonfly, or something like that, all your, your, um, combo pieces and none of your, like, starters, you can brick, but most of the time we can end on something like Apoloza plus Baguska, which is just, like, absolutely devastating. Oh, and we can, we can search Kamungus, too. There, there's a lot of moving parts on this deck. There's a lot of interesting bug stuff. I can't possibly explain it all, but hopefully you got some idea of what we're going into. You'll just have to see it in action as we jump into the next thing. Yeah. All right, here we are. The Battle of Five Mountains. The Battle of Things. <laughs> And I am going to go second against perhaps Have my better I judgment. Won a single rock paper scissors this is. Well, I'm I don't pretty think sure I you have. have. All right. Okay. Robert. So let's let's just start out. I'll do this. I have uh, shiny black sea. Here, I'm just going to type what? all these jewels that just cut. The so photon thrasher, foolish burial, emergency teleport, Therion Yule. Okay, so no traps to worry about, really. I mean, so, not to play your own deck for you, but Baguska would be pretty <laughs> good right about that. I think Baguska is a pretty decent opener. We're going to special summon Photon Thrasher. We're going to put down an Elemental Hero Stratus. We will do the good old Yoinky Sploinky. Add ourselves oh, a Stratus. Stratus. Okay, <laughs> and it is time for Plan B, who in this instance will be Plan A. A great Bagoo in the sky allow him to hang out over to the right here and it's uh your go you sure you don't want to put that into attack mode you know that'd be, that'd be kind of I, I, I am i am fairly certain <laughs> that i do not want to put it in attack position okay and i drew i drew gofu the vague shadow Ooh, it's pretty neat a very know. vague response um let's see while this card change all monsters to defense position negate the activated effects yeah I like to live All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, it activates We don't Google on things summon. on this show. Okay. Uh, that's... That's... Fine. I mean, it's not fine. I gotta pretend like it's fine. Yeah, people... Okay, let's go ahead and fire off this graceful charity. See if I can draw right. anything. I have gotten... Goki Pole and... Bee Trooper Descent and a Dragonfly. Insector Dragonfly. This Goki pole would be really good if the you know Black Sea Squatter wasn't in my hand. Uh, yeah, this... uh, that does put a damper on things for sure. This is still fine though. You know what? Let's just put let's just put both of those into the graveyard. I could still activate the Goki pole. I get to add yes, one can. to my hand. Um, oh. Let's add B Trooper Assault Roller. We are B Trooping. Yeah, I've got all the insects and bugs and stuff. Okay, so we're going to put that on the field. And we're just going to go ahead. Let's see, the terribly tired tape here can't be destroyed while it's in attack position, but it can be destroyed in defense position. That's correct. So let's use these two. And we'll oh. activate Nightmare Cerberus. That does not get shifted to defense. No, it cannot. It is a link monster. Oh, and I get the resonance insect effect. That's pretty that's, cool. That's yeah, that's neat. Uh, what do I just? I gotta discard the dream cicada. Yeah, and we'll pop the tape here. Goodbye, and then, Bagoo. What do I add from my deck to hand? Uh, I think I'll add Kamungus. That's an insect. <laughs> Ooh, it is an insect. A high level insect, even. And. Uh, Okay, then I think we go off to the races. 
going to activate the Zectrike. Okay. The discard Dragonfly. Mm -hmm. And we're going to summon another Dragonfly. Okay. And we're going to Assault Roller. Going to banish that Resonance Insect. And that's going to send a card to the graveyard. Oh! And I wonder what I could send! Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's, it's a Zector Ladybug. Oh, that makes sense, because you can use that while I don't have stuff on the board. Yes, yes! I... I've had a chance to grab, like, three of these, and I was like, eh, all it does is increase levels. What good does that do? And it didn't occur to me that, like, oh, I can activate all the things. I can summon all the dudes. Uh, let's go. All the things. All this the is things. slightly more than a minor inconvenience. <laughs> it's quite a, quite a bit of a lot. Um... Sect Caliber? Yeah. Okay. That's a neat one. Spinning is a neat trick. Okay, so let me... This is 18, 16, that's 32, 42, 2,000, that's like 6,000. Um, I don't think I can quite kill you. Well, I could do a lot of damage... So let's go for maximum damage. Ooh, the the added descent. Okay. Uh, you better kill me. Ooh, actually, can I kill you? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Ooh, actually, let me reconsider my life choices. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I completely forgot after last year, uh, or last episode, I was like, we don't have an extra deck. But this time... We have an extra deck, and there is one monster in the extra deck which remains unbanned. And oh, I will use it, it to maximum efficiency. Oh my god, okay. The Baguska means nothing in the face of the bugs. And there we go. Nice and yeah, quick, that'll nice do it. and easy. Interestingly, I may have been able to get away with this if I'd put Baguska in attack with a Therian <laughs> on board. I will have to consider this for the next Ooh, round. Ooh, I'm so glad I navigated that. There was a lot of ways I could have messed that up, but I'm ha Insector's got to shine, baby. And All right, I think I am going to go second this time. Oh, oh this hand first. is... Ooh, actually, it's okay. It's an okay hand. Um... Uh, Hmm. So here's what I have in my hand. I possess. And the other is a dragonfly. Oh. Uh, this hand does very little for me. Uh, I'm going to set the soul first. charge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just let you know right off the bat. And then we'll activate the Mothman. Go gamble. All right. You kind of won. All right. What'd you get? I got a nice little fellow you might know as Pin the Bullseye. I do not know him. I look ah. forward to becoming acquainted. So if I control an insect, I can summon it, and also it can inflict damage to you equal to its attack. So take 200. <laughs> I will eat 200 <laughs> damage. And that's time in the round, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. And with that... I think we've got it, because now I can normal summon Dragonfly. Mm-hmm. I can use these two insects to make Picafelina. Ooh, Picafelina, okay. And we're just going to use its effect to discard this. And we're going to attach a Ladybug. There it is. Ladybug from the deck. Let's use that Ladybug. Let's increase it by one, and that'll summon an Insector from the deck. Hello there, I'm a centipede. Um, that you are. Let's go ahead and equip this. Mm-hmm. Then we'll send it off. Increase the level by one, and we'll search out a card. Let's go for the Zektrike Ko-O. Very strong. And then I haven't used the Dragonfly effect, so let's equip the Ladybug again. And then we're going to use the Zectrike. I can send any Insector card to the graveyard to summon an Insector from the deck. 
So we'll do that, and that'll trigger the dragonfly. <laughs> And uh, that'll summon insane. another centipede. <laughs> this deck is wild. <laughs> this deck is insane. Uh, let's just uh, get Lady... But yeah, Zek imagine if Zektrite came out and it wasn't like four years in the making. Real. Um, I am out of things. Let's go for Hornet. Okay. Sure, why not? Then we will... Yeah, we'll get Ladybug... Ladybug increase and I'll add um fuck is there anything I even want at this point do oh, you let's... desire the power of a sword let's take the sword shall we uh what's in my graveyard okay Book. so we're going to put the sword on dragonfly okay yeah, I think we need to do... Okay, so we're going to use Pick a Felina now. We're going to shuffle okay. back the Kamongus and... Uh, I think the Mothman. We'll shuffle back the Centipede and pin the Bullseye! See if I can get 200 more damage in on you. That'll be the only damage that you get, Hard yeah. Leg Joe. <laughs> and I drew a Resonance Insect. Oh boy. Resonance Insect. Exciting. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to get a new card. A card I don't think you've seen before, not in this series at least. I'll get Pick a Felina and a Hornet and Dragonfly, and we will send all of them to the graveyard mm -hmm. for Apollosa, oh, Goddess of the Bow. <laughs> that's a very good Yu Gi Oh card. It's a oh, pretty good shit. card. And then uh, Zek Caliber activates, you know, even if it's used as Link material, that allows me to get a monster out of the graveyard, so I'll just get the Dragonfly for next turn. I liked it when you did it. It was pretty cool last time, so let's just go ahead and make a plan oh, B those are of our fours. own. <laughs> They're all level fours, thanks to the, uh, the, the, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the ladybug. And I think that's about it. I hate to say it, Baguska Apo might just be the end of this game. <laughs> I don't think I have an out for both Baguska and Apo. Oh, you got you got Destrudo. Uh, let's go for a Hero Lives. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else, the the Hero Lives makes the uh, Destrudo in your hand live, right? Like if you had not gotten that, you'd be screwed. Uh, no, I won't negate that. I don't think I have to. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, let's go for Graceful Charity. All right. You can go into Scarred and tell me what you, what you retain after. Yeah, okay. So we're going to discard these two things. It was a Summoner Monk and a Destruder that I just discarded. And the additional items that I drew into were the Endless Engine Argyro System and an Emergency Teleport. Hmm. Now that gets me the things that I need. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we're going to go emergency teleport. I will say this is interesting. Like looking at your your like knowing your hand, I'm sitting here trying to like solve their your your puzzle. All right, How what I'm going to summon is I psychic tracker. Yo yos. All right. I am going to activate Destrudo. 1950, a good year. Stratos. Um, yeah, I guess I have to negate that, don't I? Okay, so I'm going to start by linking off for Nightmare Phoenix. All right. I will not be attempting to use Nightmare Phoenix's effect. Oh, you don't want to get rid of my back row? I, you know, I, I don't think I will. Okay. I'm going to go into the app, though. Good idea. Main phase two. This is a tough one. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I may okay. not be out of this one yet. Uh, I'm not not out of it, but I'm not out of it. All right, yeah. we're going to go Monster Reborn. Of course. All right, this is tough, but I think it's the way that I have to do this. I am going to grab... The Pika Felina. Ah! And make access code. It's not the biggest access code. It is not. 
very rare to only see it have 4,300. True. God, I really want to use the Therian stuff that I have in my hand, but unfortunately, I don't think I can get away with that right now. Um, I'm going to use access code okay i'm gonna do the balls to the wall solution um i'm going to with the phoenix i'm gonna hit the dragonfly and then i'm gonna do something that's going to seem extremely stupid <laughs> i'm gonna activate the access code talker again ah the paguska okay okay and the reason I'm going to take out the Paguska is this now puts Endless Engine our gyro system online. I can send a Therian Liliborea from my deck to my graveyard. And I can activate the Regulus that I have in my hand, grabbing the Liliborea. Hello there, King. I'm going to then use regular well i'm going to use borea's effect and i'm going to send borea to get therian stand up and then i am going to set to and pass it to you all right what do you got during the standby <laughs> i have drawn immortal phoenix gear freed <laughs> oh <laughs> well that's a that's a pretty it's like the best top deck in the deck that could not have been worse for me god oh, okay. that couldn't have been worse for me oh is it just not going to give me a chain uh well it's the main phase now I don't oh think held it down i just I... didn't get my chance to use mind crush i get to do one thing first that's um, wonderful i really needed that standby phase resolution uh, you know what? I'll, I'll make it easy for you. I will normal summon the Resonance Insect. Okay. Uh, that does make it extremely easy for me. Um, I don't have a hand, so I can't activate Mind Crush. It doesn't uh. matter. I forgot about that back to back. No wonder I didn't get a trigger. Okay, well, uh, mess me up okay. now. Oh, okay. Uh, all you want. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to you now. I forgot about that. Um, oh, I should have kept the stand up in hand. Oh no, I deserve this L. It's still it still acts act, uh, saying you can activate something. Oh, it 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 is, but I can't do it. Okay, it's like priority has switched over to your side. Um, oh no. Okay. This is a sick deck, by the way. I gotta oh, yeah. say, I'm getting I'm getting absolutely dumpstered by it right now, but it is a <laughs> sick one. It's got a lot, of, and I wish I wish there, there's like another cool thing. I wish I could show you, but I think I have to go for the Kamunkus here. Mm, yep, that uh is a problem for me. Yeah, because I completely forget what your trap does. That was a weird one that I haven't seen before. Some kind of Therion thing. Yes, uh, it is a monster reborn plus equip. Target one Therion in your graveyard. Special summon it, then you can equip one Therion from your hand or graveyard. Oh, so you can't you can't actually do this now because you don't have two Therions. That is correct. Okay, I was about I was about to come you. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that would be a bad. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about this. Psych, there is everything I can do about it. Yeah, what? I'm gonna <laughs> use Regulus here. Oh, Regulus can send itself. Yeah negate that effect but it doesn't destroy it true so you'll have to put another equip card in your grave before you can do that yeah, is regulus once per turn it is a hard once okay so even if you summon it back you can't you can't destroy I'm pretty my sure entire it's a hard once? yes uh, each effect is a hard once okay let's do the soul, the soul charge. charge yeah let's charge our souls shall we Fuck, if we're going to go hard, we might as well go brazy, right? I mean, there's no reason not to. Yeah, let's just summon everything. Okay. That is going to be fine. All the summons. Resonance well, that does mean back. I survive another turn. Yeah. Probably. And there's nothing else I could do from this position anyway. 4,000... 
So let's activate this. Let's get the Hornet on board. Okay. And let's just bait out. That's fine. Uh, that that would be the mind crush. Oh, okay. Well then, my game seems to be slowing down. It can't handle steez of this magnitude. Or it comes back. He All zip right. zap it around. Okay, get your thing out. Do your stuff, King. Yeah, let's do the thing. Flip it up. Hey, Cal, what, what's her name again? Kit? Kit's just back there like, Stand up, you bastards! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. Uh, okay, trigger the centipede. Let's grab another Zek trike. Okay. Um, ooh, wait, can I do the thing? I might be able to do the thing, Robert. Uh -oh. Holy shit. Um, is it time? Wait, this uh, resonance insect isn't once per turn, right? No. No, no, no. Okay. Um, but I haven't been using ladybug, so I can't make an ixy. I can. Um. Well, first of all, we should just take care of this, shouldn't we? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think everything's fine. There isn't anything on board you need to deal with. Oh, we're good. Let's just get rid of that. We'll just search, I don't know, Hopper. All He's right. poking. Okay. So we're going to send these three off, and we're going to make Ra-10, your Ra -10. friend. Yep. Yeah. We're going to trigger Resonance Insect. Okay. And we're going to grab Super Armored Super Robot Arm Black Iron C. <laughs> Where did you get all of this? <laughs> I've been stockpiling it for generations. I just need to focus on... I, I'm not sure if there's anything you could even do to come back from this, is there? I don't know. I don't Maybe. The problem is I don't have, like, any other negates or whatever, so even if you can, like, I don't know what I could do. Um, yeah. Fuck it. I probably will have the gates. That's fine. Let's draw another card. Okay. My, my hand wasn't good enough as it is. What'd you get? Goki Pole. Ah, okay. He's pretty neat, you know, he does some neat things. He's been neat from time to time. Ah, okay, here's what we do. We'll send these two off, and we'll make Dark the Dark Charmer. Ooh, I do not like that. And just just to stop you from doing any rank 7 or level 7 shenanigans, let's just steal this Destrudo. Okay. And then, finally, all I ever wanted. <laughs> it's huge. He's huge. I just wanted to summon him. He's the king of the seas. Maxi thinks it's so smart, but it answers to this fucker. And now I can put him on the thumbnail, you know. Just flex True. it, just doing his... Oh, he doesn't get any other... Th uh oh. Well, I guess he's not that huge. Uh, whatever. Fine. Break my brain. All right. I drew Dark Calling. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can you activate Dark Calling? No. <laughs> because of fucking Baguska. <laughs> Baguska's not here. No, because the reason I can't activate it because of Baguska is because my Stratos couldn't search turn one. Ah, okay, okay, gotcha. Well, this this turned around surprisingly. After after the whole series of feeling like I've been underpowered, uh, I felt that this feels a little bad. I'm sorry, Robert. I was supposed to oh, respect I mean... you, and instead I styled on you. Also, I just want to point out, Fucking Super Armored Robot C is level 17 right now. <laughs> it is. It's huge. It is gigantic. Um, it's, a, it's attack is fine, but it's level is <laughs> an overlay. Oh. Make a level 17 Ixy. Okay. Oh. That doesn't help me a huge amount right now, but it could. What does this do? Okay. Can you do something? Yes. I mean, I've been, the reason I haven't surrendered already is because there are things I can do. Let's activate the Endless Engine. I am going to add to my hand Therian King Regulus. 
Oh, I remember that guy from the movies. All right. Okay, if you somehow overcome all this, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I don't know if I am going to overcome all of it. Uh, to be fair, it doesn't do anything at the moment. It's just kind of there. I think I still lose by merit of the fact that you have every resource in the game and I have a <laughs> King Regulus and a dream. <laughs> you gotta go out like a true king on your feet. We gotta feet. try it, though. We gotta <laughs> stand up. We will not be moved. All right. Big attack. He's pretty big, but unfortunately not big enough. Uh, I think... Yeah, yeah. We'll negate it. <laughs> Rotten's right, think... like, I was the star two episodes ago. <laughs> God, this is annoying because uh, Iron Sea can destroy... Regulus, and also so can Raw 10. Uh, can Iron Sea destroy Regulus? It doesn't it? Isn't that what it says? It says that you can send one of its materials to the oh, grave. Oh, greater to than! Wow, I thought it was less than. Oh, no, 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 it's a good card. Um, <laughs> I mean, I might as well try what I can do here and see if it helps. We'll take out the sea. <laughs> I mean, you did send a lot of cards to my graveyard just now. Main then. phase two, I'll activate stand-up, equipping Borea back to Regulus. Ah, I can okay. see if that helps me. <laughs> we can certainly... Um, we could certainly do it. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna... We're gonna do this. Okay. Fuck it. Equip... Uh, flip it to pick a Felina. Okay. Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh... <laughs> <gasps> and there Jeez, we go. This deck is rough. That's, yeah. That was a tough one. It's, it's a toughie, that's for sure. And you know what? I want this guy to get out here. Let's do it. Oh, there he is. Yeah, the, the cool thing that I didn't realize until now, because I, I got one of these after the whole time, every time I pulled a warrior or an equip card, I'm like, we're not playing warriors, we're not playing equips. And then someone pointed out that if an insector is equipped, it counts, and you can banish it off the field to summon gear free. Yeah, that is a little bit nuts. Just, just a little bit. So we'll go in. He got to do it. I got to show all the boss oh monsters. God. I'm so happy. Yay! The wow, Page that of Lake was continues! Sick. That was a sick deck! I That's... came in here, I was like, I'm finally gonna get my dub with Therians, I'm gonna do my normal thing, I'm gonna go Stratos, I'm gonna go Yazi, I'm gonna go <laughs> Access Code Talker, and then you hit me with Bagusta, <laughs> Appaloosa, Immortal Phoenix Gear Freak. <laughs> I finally have payoffs! The question, oh of course, goodness. is, uh, what what do you hit from there now that you've got the ban? Do you... I, I, you know, on the one hand, it kind of feels like, yeah, maybe we should hit Baguska, maybe we could hit Excess Code. But on the other hand, you might want to just hit, like, Hornet or Dragonfly. I was just thinking, the real issue here was Dragonfly, right? Because yeah. the non the non-OPT summon from deck it was really the reason you could get apo baguska on the first turn yeah it just summons like crazy and the fact that like you know it used to be you know you dragonfly and then you'd get centipede and centipede can only add to hand and you could do a little bit of shenanigans with that but it's a little bit difficult but the fact that it can search zectrike and zectrike can then just summon another dragonfly from the deck and summon another centipede like, it's just absolutely nutty, the loop that they can do now. Yeah, and I think, like, Apo is obviously unbelievably powerful, and Baguska is annoying, but 
I think I gotta cut this off at its source. I think <laughs> I gotta hit Dragonfly. I cannot allow that to continue. And all, all of the rest of this so I could have beaten if it weren't for the fact that it was all happening at once thanks to Dragonfly. <laughs> I had things prepared for this, too. I had, like, Bell. I had Imperm. I had all sorts of trap card shenanigans and, and the kaijus of my own, and none of it mattered because yeah. you could do everything turn one. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the thing, it's, uh, you know, I, I set it up to be a go second OTK deck, but just figuring out that combo with Ladybug, just like, oh, well, if I go first, I can still end on Apo. That's that's nice. And I just happened to get a good enough hand to get the Bakuska out there, too. But yeah. Yeah, and if Dragonfly, it had been one or the other, I could have dealt with it. Summoning from, and just the fact that, again, when you got to the end of there, where it's like, yeah, then any normal summon just, like, ends the game because I could do it all again. <laughs> or at yep. least close to it. But it was fun. I'm glad we finally got to show full power and Zectors in here, even if it is Dragonfly's last hurrah. Now all all my bugs gone. All my bugs useless. It looks like I'd find a way to build bee troopers or something. <laughs> and I still cannot get a dub for my poor Therians. <laughs> Won't the Therians get the dub? You'll have to find out next time. You'll have to tune into the next episode. Will I keep up my streak? Or will Robert make the comeback with the Therions? Who knows? Until then, good luck! Buzz off! <laughs>12 i don't have enough fingers i'm putting up 10 robert can you put up the other two? Oh, i got you you got you awesome thank you very much i'm a hard leg joe if and you didn't know joined as always by the michael jordan of yugi tube mr rjb zero now that that is an accolade i don't <laughs> deserve unless this has to do with his gambling experience in which case I, my deck building recently probably would suffice for that comparison. I, I was going to say, you're like Michael Jordan. You should be playing baseball right now. <laughs> or wait, no, he was the opposite. Either way, yes, I, it was meant to be a be jab at you. I'm just not very good at this whole thing. Oh, no. okay. No, actually, uh, what was it? I The reason I picked Michael Jordan was because he turned 60 in 2023. Good for Michael Jordan. And, and you know what else has to do with 60, right? Our deck size! Aha! There you go! The light bulb came on. Now we realized it, yes. Today's chaos rule is we're playing 60 card decks, big fat decks, unable to have any consistency whatsoever. Just a big old, just a big old pile of cards. Should be a fun time, big old right? Pile. Yeah, absolutely. Unless, I, I don't know, you've been collecting heroes. There are theoretically enough heroes to make a pretty consistent 60 card pile. Oh, I've been collecting something that has consistency elements to it. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up my streak. Before we do, though, Jules, you want to go ahead and put up the bands for so far? The bands we got. Look at all those. There's so many. And we still haven't gotten, like, a magical scientist or anything. That's at one. So is Gab, but I haven't taken one yet. And what was the latest what? thing we added on to it? I forget if we said that last Insector time. Insector Dragonfly. Ah, yes. Dragonfly is gone, which which is fine. I wasn't going to play that anyway. That was a that was a one-turn thing. We don't need that anymore. I still got enough power, baby. We're going to be rolling. So let's go ahead and roll on into the pack opening space. The country of pack opening. Pa Pakistan? Sure. Let's go to Pakistan. <laughs> right. Right. Here we are, episode 12. At this point, I don't need any more introductions. Let's just jump into it with Dark Beginning 1, see what we've got, and... Uh, ah, third Cyberjar? 
just to make our cyber stuff better? I mean, the Shallow Grave's alright. What does Grave Robber do again? Select a spell in your opponent's graveyard, use it in your hand until the end of the turn, then take 2,000. Uh, yeah, I'll just take a third Cyber Char. It, if nothing else, it's a rock monster for the fossils. So this is the week where things get really wild. We've got our 60 card decks this time around, but after that, things get really wild. So things that I'm going to be looking for are, of course, completing the strats that I already have. Things like Earth Machine, I'd love to see more of. Heroes, I'd love to see more of. Worms, I would absolutely love to see more of. Maybe a new way of playing Dragons would be good. So let's see, let's see what we can get out of our first pack. We start off with, um, some suspect choices. I think Trap Hole is probably, probably the best thing here. Uh, not a lot to work with, obviously. Maybe Gradius to do some spaceship things or a Curse of Dragon in case we get Hieratics. Let's grab the Curse of Dragon for the like random off chance that we get decent Hieratics. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, can we get more Dragon Rulers for the pile? Yes, yes we can. We can get we can get drafts. I believe I already have. Let's let's check real quick. Let's check how our dragons are doing in general. Yeah, this works out pretty well. We've got two Tempests, so being able to get the baby Tempest will allow us to get that faster. Just more consistency for the consistency pile. Here we go. Legendary Collection GX, one of our most crucial sets. A second Super Poly. Oh, that's a tough one. The fusion card we really want out of this is Instant Fusion, but Super Poly is also a goddamn phenomenal card. I think we take Super Poly. I'm going to consider this for reroll, but Super Poly is extremely good. Well, it's time, chat. Sing it with me. Clash of Rebellions. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Well, we got another kaiju. I think our kaiju line is already looking pretty good, though. Yeah, like we've already got one, two, three, four, five kaijus. I think I'd rather take the Kaiju Waterfront, and that'll help us get to the kaijus more often. That'll especially be good depending on what, what uh, RJ goes for, but maybe we can actually start using this now that we got two of them. Battle pack. Do Potter duality is not bad. Twin-headed behemoth is also kind of cool. It's like a free special summon, but it's during like the standby phase or end phase, right? Yeah, uh, we'll take a second pot of duality. Infinite gold. The heck is this? This doesn't look familiar at all. The fiendish monarch, when this is tribute, banish a spell, add a card with the same name. Someone's just laying on the horn out there. I'm not sure if that's picking up. Hopefully not. A uh, breakthrough skill is pretty good. Storming Mirror Force is like a personal favorite of mine. I do like this because I can toss it off, although I already have like two Lost Wind and that's just like a better breakthrough skill. Yeah, I'm taking the Storming Mirror Force. I like it. I love it too much to ignore it. It is time for not just the regular gold. We don't accept the regular gold around here. We only go for the premium gold. Ooh, Effect Veiler is a premium pull from premium gold. I think we take that over Stardust. Invasion colon vengeance colon Denlong? Denlong is the first of the Yang Zing. Uh, you can add one Yang Zing from your deck to your hand if a worm type. I feel like this is too good to pass up. I feel like we just need to take this while we have the ability to take this. Even though I don't have any Yang Zing stuff, we might get some. Premium gold, return of the bling. Yeah. A second ring of destruction, Paro Paro Cerberus. We already have the giant asshole dragon. I'll take the second ring. There are things I could imagine doing with all of the rest of these, but none of them are good enough for it to be worthwhile. A long, long time ago, we got another soul charge, and I can't finish the song. It's time for Duelist Saga. A second effect, Valor. 
You know what? We take those. We absolutely take a second effect failure. We are the warriors. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> one second. One second. I already have two gateway of the six. I could get a third one. Or I could get this. This is secret rare. Banish two six samurais from your graveyard or field. Target one in your graveyard. Special summon it. This is like a really good extender and it's a secret rare. The gateway is like surprisingly easy to get. But it is fucking gateway. So... <laughs> I don't know, the smoke signal we have chances to get in other places. I don't think we really need to worry about it. I'm, I'm gonna take the secret where? I'm gonna take the secret while we've got it. All right, legendary collection Kaiba. Chain Disappearance and Lullaby of Obedience are both very, very funny cards. Oh, I think actually Ancient Fairy Dragon is the take here. It's definitely not banned. It is the errated version. But it's still pretty good. And we have a lot of seven materials to work with. Yeah. Let's do it. Kaiba's legendary collection. Full of stuff that we don't get a recollection. This is Blue Eyes Twin Burst, which names Blue Eyes and is fairly easy to make. We could get another Ghost Ogre. I'm not sure if I even need Blue Eyes now that Chaos Max is gone. Yeah, I think Ghost Ogre is probably the best. I already have one of those, so we could get some decent hand traps going. Sure, sure, let's do it. All right, Dark Saviors, will you be my salvation? Armageddon Knight. Oh, Armageddon Knight is very good for me. We love to see that. Armageddon Knight allows us to get a one card Destrudo combo into rotation. We do love to see that. When the strike is savage, we get a pisty. And yeah, I think that, yeah, we're just taking the pisty. More dragons. All right, fists of the gadgets. We raise our fists. There's a raster. And a master Cerberus. Oh, we take those. We absolutely take... We already have a Jackal King, too, which is sick. Raster Liger is a fun payoff. Uh, Fire Formation Tanky is a great card, but Cerberus is so goddamn strong in my decks. All right, Dual Power. This has Heavenly Spheres, which we're trying to get a second copy of for the Dragon deck. And we did not get it. We did get a... Oh, wait, Dark Magic Circle. Oh, that's our second Dark Magic Circle. We've been needing that. The Dark Magician deck is coming together. Yeah, we're taking that. We're absolutely taking that. All right. Maximum Gold, El Dorado. Oh, Zephyrinu is gorgeous. Oh, we love to see a Zephyrinu. We will take a Zephyrinu. Time to overload the duel. Hollow Giants, Speedroid, ooh, another Phantasme. Okay, Hollow Giants, no. I think we want to go with the Phantasme. It's another Dragon Monster. It's another level 7 that works with the uh, the Dragon Rulers for Ixies. Robert is almost certainly going to be making Link, so this will be live. Yeah, we take that. All right, Dimension Force. The card we want out of here is a common. Every time I want to get this common, we get a hollow that I have to take instead. Can I get the one common Therian Reaper Foom? No. <laughs> of course we can't. I'll take the cross. I'm still coping on Therions to this day. She moves in mysterious ways. Oh, uh, Nightmare Phoenix. Do we have one of those already? Let me check. I may just want to take the Nightmare Phoenix so I have one. Because this is generic and I have no Magistus. I already have two of those. Uh, yeah. We're just going to take the Phoenix. Link 2. And finally, Battles of Legend. 
Crystal Revenge. I guess we take Simoon. Sorry, I said it wrong. It's Simoon. Well, this was fascinating. Let's see what the Chaos Packs have in store for us. And finally, Crystal's Revenge, which doesn't have anything. What's what's this thing? Raijin, the Black Bolt Star. Oh, this is one of those star warriors that takes stuff and does things. What's Chaos Daedalus? Must be special summoned by banishing a light and a dark. All the field spells on the field, your opponent can't target lights or darks. You can target cards on the field up to the number of field spells, banish them. Uh, it's a level 7. Sure, sure, I'll try that. I'm not sure if we'll play it, but... Pretty good! We've got a nice list of things here to add to our collection. And then we've still got our pools and our bonus cards, so let's get right into those. Flip them up. There is a Trencher, a card that I don't already have, I think. Let's take the gear frame. All right, and finally the bonus packs, which I realize I may have done out of order, but that's fine. Y'all don't care, right? Comment in the comments. We need the algorithm demands engagement. Uh, but yeah, let's flip these up, see what we can get. Nice little ice barrier. Ooh, the third dark magical circle. That's the, the, then the dark magician deck is just perfect. It's, it's just perfect. I mean, the, the Gladiator's Proving Grounds are pretty nice, although it's only level 4 or lower. Yeah, we've come this far. We've got to get the third circle. Let's add it in there. Pack the second. Hey, is that our third Terror Top? Hold up. Hold up. This might be an entire thing. Just a moment. Yeah, that's our third Terror Top, and we got the Takatomborg. We have three Terror Top Takatomborg. That is a phenomenal combination to work with. We will absolutely take a third Terror Top. We now just have a full Terror Top engine in the deck, which I think has to be good. And then open up pack number two. I don't know what it could get that would be more hype than that. No, it doesn't look like it. We do get another one of these. Uh, we already have, like, three Weathering Soldier, I'm pretty sure. Don't we? Uh, let's... let's check real quick. No? Do we build for what we've already got, or do we build for what we want to hopefully get? Yeah, I really want to... I really want to play. We've got so many things. Let's take it. And now it's time for my Chaos Pack. There are two things I'm really looking for here... for... for... from here. One is Cyber Dragon Nova, and the other is Karakuri Good Stuff. What do we got? I think I'll take a Spirit Reaper in anticipation. No, we're going to take Wendy. Wendy is a rare, and Spirit Reaper is pretty easy to get for the purposes of top deck format. Let's take Wendy. And finally, RJ's Dumb Packs. What up? <laughs> get another Karakuri. What do we... We already got one of those, right? And we don't really need two. I think I'd rather just take another another Kizan. Or Kageki, rather. Kageki? Yeah. Yeah, let's take the second Kageki. We're, get, we're gonna get those six Samurais, baby. Next pack, we've got a second Arma Knight is not bad. I think that would be our fourth Knock Division Dragon, so we don't need that. Let's take another Armageddon Knight. This card is very good for our particular deck. And going into the 60 card deck format, uh, this card is very, very strong. I will happily take the ability to get Destrudo into our graveyard more easily. And number two! Ooh! <laughs> RJ! Why do you put all the broken Link monsters together? Why must you give me the tools to defeat you? I mean, yeah, we're taking Avramax. Why wouldn't we take Avramax? Uh, you foolish, foolhardy fool. Man, could you imagine? If we can get Avramax and Boral End Dragon, this is going to be a nightmare. We just need all the extenders. We'll show RJ the meaning of haste. Yeah, I'm going to reroll Burst of Destiny. Is this a good idea? Absolutely not. But I am so, so coping on worms that we've got to try for it. 
All right, Burst of Destiny, what do you have out of our first re-roll? A second mimicking man-eater bug. I feel like we try for it again. All right, Ghosts from the Past re-roll. Will we get what we require? No, but Emergency Teleport's not bad. We'll, we'll add that to the list. We're getting pretty good things on these re-rolls. One more. Well, that's a Sword Soul common. Number five. Oh my god, we got the tax man! Finally, re-rolling circuit break. Can we get the Destrudo? It's very unlikely, but... Today will be no exception. Uh, we did get a rocket, a decent rocket, and we do have the Boral End Dragon now, so... Yeah, we'll add the super rare rocket, and then we just get our bonus packs. Last reroll, all the rerolls on Burst of Destiny, let's go! Sword Soul Blackout, after all this time. That's what it took to get a single common, okay. Right, there are many packs that I can choose. There are the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I'm probably choosing the bad one. I've apparently just decided that worms are everything I want and need. So let's go for five packs of Dragon Spirits. So both the Tenyis and Yangzings that are in here are very good for our little uh, <coughs> Sword Soul lineup such as it is. And we're starting off with a couple of really, really good ones. Uh, Tenyi Spirit Vashuda is just one of the best Tenyis there is. I will happily take a Vashuda. Pack number two of Dragon Spirit. There's a Zhao Tu and a Suwani. Both of those are really strong cards. I don't think I have yet a good reason to go into Monk, so I think I'm going to take Suwani. Pack number three. And there's an Ashuna. Okay, Ashuna is really, really good. I think this is our second copy. This is actually a really good reason for us to go into Monk now if we get another common Monk. Because uh, I think this is our second Ashuna. All right, pack number four of Dragon Spirit. A second Basha. Do not mind if I do. Oh, this card is very strong. All right, pack number five of Dragon Spirit. And an Adhara. Oh, you do not say an Adhara. Yeah, I will take an Adhara. A Monk of the Tenyi probably would have been good in the end, but uh, I'll take a Swanee because that does give us a third Yang Zing name in the, in the main deck. And this does make Taya much less of a brick now. Sorry, Moye. So we have Moye, we have the Taya, we have Sword Soul Emergence. I think we might be able to make the worm thing happen now. I don't know when we'll be able to do it. 60 card decks do not seem to be the time of the worms, but I will happily take this draft. This draft felt very, very good. All right, ladies and non-ladies, we are here once again, and we have returned to the pile. The jank pile meta that began this series has come back to roost. Although this time, I guess it's at least sort of a themed pile. We're, we're playing a whole bunch of dragons. I finally have enough dragons to play a dragon pile. We've got three Blaster Ruler of Infernos. We've got a Redox. We've got two Tempest. We've got none of the Water Dragon Ruler, because that's the only one that's banned for some reason. But the rest of these are pretty good, along with a whole bunch of other dragons. We've got Baby Dragons. We've got Anti-Meta Dragons with Kokimiru Dragu. This can just, uh, Drago, whatever. Uh, this can, uh, neither player can special summon light or dark monsters, which we have some, but not as many as I'm betting that Robert has. We can always edge this out, but I'm hoping this might be able to help us. This, or Dragon's Bind, which is kind of like, uh, Vanity's Emptiness at Home. You, uh, target a dragon monster you control with 2,500 or less attack or and defense, so I can't, I can't target Redox with this. Neither player can special summon monsters with attack less than or equal to the original attack of that monster. And then if that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Between this and Drago, I'm hoping we can go first and just completely shut Robert out of the game. And if not, we've got a whole bunch of links. We've still got Gofu, we are on three Scapegoat, 
We've got Dragon Ravine that we can send dragons and then summon dragons by banishing dragons and banishing the dragons searches more dragons. So just dragons everywhere. The only thing we don't have that aren't dragons really is like this Lone Fire package. And basically the idea with the Lone Fire, right, is that we can Lone Fire into Lone Fire into Lone Fire into Evil Thorn and then this tributes itself to summon the other two Evil Thorns out of the deck. So not only does this turn one normal summon into two link materials, which can help me get into my bigger boss monsters more easily, but it also gets six cards out of the deck. And that's when we're playing a 60 card deck, being able to just deck thin as much as possible, very useful here, just to get us down to the best cards. And then not only that, but Lone Fire is a fire, which means having the three of these in the graveyard makes for a uh, material for, for blaster. These are darks, which means that if we get Chaos Levianaire, just having these three in the graveyard allow me to summon it. We don't get the best effect, but it should still be live. And we can, of course, search Levianaire with Eclipse Wyvern, which we could send to the graveyard with Dragon Ravine. We've got Terraforming to search that. And perhaps most importantly, we have Remus. We can discard this to search the Dragon Ravine. And this is a Wind Dragon, which means if we find a way to banish Tempest, we can search this which searches Dragon Ravine, which once you get that started, it's just every every uh, turn we're just dumping a whole bunch of dragons into the graveyard, getting a whole bunch of combos. Um, other than that, just a couple tech cards, Dark Hole, Lost Wind, uh, Maxi, just, you know, why wouldn't you play this if you could? And the idea is basically, as I said before, either just stop, uh, stop Robert from special summoning, or go up into something like Boral Ends Dragon. This thing has 3,500 attack, can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. If Robert had trouble getting out Chaos Max, this is essentially Chaos Max. Unfortunately, we don't have enough rockets to actually make this use its effect, but just being a, a Chaos Max at home with uh, a lot more investment, still pretty worth it. And also Crusadia Abramax, which is very close. We've still also got Appalooza, we've got Ra-10, and we've got these two little guard dragons to help us make it. it. It's not easy, but we can do it. We've also got a couple rank 7s to make with all our, uh, our dragon rulers, plus we've got a couple other 7s that we can use to make this, including Phantasme, Dogman, Arcbrave, uh, Nessie. These are all just nice. This is just an extra light dragon that we can use for uh, Levy and Ear. And then other than that, just, just a bunch of like link climbing tools and generic toolbox stuff. The side deck specific outs, we've got a couple uh, kaijus to deal with things. We've got a couple hand traps. We're actually not playing excess code talker because we have better rank fives that we want to make, fours and fives. And uh, this thing destroys stuff, and unfortunately against Robert's deck destroying stuff, not all that useful. His two big boss monsters that I have to worry about, this just can't deal with that. Um, if he's not on the, the hero package or the Protoss, or if he can't get it out easily, we can put this back in if we find it would be more useful. But for now, it's in the side deck. Along with Giant Trunade, Mystical Space Typhoon, just for back row. I don't think Robert has hardly any good back row, but just in case, we have a couple outs for that. And then just a whole bunch of stuff to bounce things back to the hand, in case he's gotten more consistent, or if he has some boss monsters of his own. Things like Abramax that can't be destroyed, these can deal with them. So, I think we're pretty good. It's a pretty decent pile. The only problem is, of course, if you're running a 60 card deck and you don't have a lot of draw power and search power, your opening hands are really going to, 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 to make a lot of difference. Uh, in general, just like, you know, there's a chance you could play a 10 turn duel and still not see most of your deck. So it's really going to be luck reliant this time, but that's what we like here on the Chaos Draft. That's what makes things fun. Now let's go ahead and see what Robert's doing. Okay, okay, I, I know what it looks like. I know that it looks like I just spent all of my drafting points on Ten Yees and Sword Soul and then didn't run Ten Yees and Sword Soul. And it is true. 
<laughs> but I am running Worms today. I discovered that even though the Tenyes and the Sword Souls in a 60 card deck situation are extremely bricky, the Yang Zings on their own aren't bad, especially as a going first strategy. Let me explain. Deep Sea Diva into Spined Gilman is Denglong. Denglong gets you a nine pillars, and then you could have any number of back row and hand traps to go along with it. A not bad opening start. Even if you are going second, Denglong is not a bad piece of link material. It gives you extra cards in hand, gives you a potential negate, and the Yang Zings themselves are a great series of monsters that you can go through in a low resource situation. Say if you use your Denglong, and then you have your nine pillars, and then you have a Sword Soul Blackout. I told you it was worth it. Two Sword Soul Blackouts in this deck. A hilarious thing that you can do with Sword Soul Blackout is you can turn Proof Finesse into an honorary worm by banishing Blackout to summon a token and then getting Shen Shen on the board. And Shen Shen Pass is a board state to end on, uh, but not a bad one. And our going first strategy continues to get better as you see things like Lone Fire Blossom into Lily Borea. The Therians are unique in that it is great to get a Therian that does something early on in the game. And a Borea searching into Therian Cross gets you a negate plus a Therian engraved to continue using Therians from there. If you manage to keep the Borea on the board for a turn, you can also grab Stand Up from your deck to get yourself repeatable Therians. I promise I am not just coping on the Therians. We, of course, have Regulus and our Triple Yule. I would love to have a Foom, uh, a Gofu for Link Material, all of the dangers I've got, except I think Mothman. These are great for getting our Therians into the graveyard. They can set up Link plays, draw us into more cards. They can get us small monsters into the graveyard as well by way of Cyber's Gadget. Cyber's Gadget is an incredible incredible card in constructed and in this deck in pile format exactly cyber Skadget is great for getting back our low level monsters if it gets back to effect villain it alone can go into denglong and then denglong plus the token can get you even more materials to work with but it's also great late game material for things like raw 10 potentially uh black luster soldier soldier of chaos and of course our access code talker. This card is very, very powerful with the lineup of hand traps that we have, including Effect Veiler and Maxi. Our deck works really well in a low resource situation, so the ability to negate opponent's monster effects is very strong for us. We also have a couple of other things that are worth discarding in Damage Juggler and Trick Clown. This gives us things to do with our discards off of things like Graceful Charity and extra card advantage and materials on board to make links. Then we've got three Cyber Dragon. In case we are made to go second, or in case Hardleg cracks back and establishes a Link board, we can summon Cyber Dragon and we can summon Mega Fleet to deal with something like an Appaloosa or like a uh, Borolo. Did I ban Borolo Dragon? A Link boss monster. This card is great for outing that. Next, we have Double Pot of Desires. We're on a 60 card deck. We can banish almost any one of these things and still have a very competent deck. So two extra cards is absolutely worthwhile. Uh, double Grace. Graceful Charity, one giant true nade confiscation because we are on a going first deck. Uh, Scapegoat is in here. This helps me get additional link material and give me a little bit of defensive capability during the opponent's turn. Mind Control is a great board breaker into things like Appaloosa. Uh, and then we, of course, have the Ethereum cards, the Sword Soul Blackouts, the Nine Pillars, and a couple of other going first staples, some of which are great going second. Our extra deck is largely based on the things that we've talked about before, plus our standard use of Yacht to make access code. You'll notice this Geonator Transverser. This was originally a holdover for when I was running fossils in this deck, but it's still very funny in case Hardleg stops thinking for just a second. And of course, the Soldier of Chaos, Starving Venom, and Mega Fleet for the things we mentioned before. Everything in my side deck is just for if I'm going first or if I'm going second. If I'm going first, I can set things like Traps Done if he's on a trap deck or a Royal Prison. He's been on a lot of very graveyard focused decks recently. Uh, another compulsory evacuation device. Or if I'm going second, we've got things like the Kaiju's Psychic Eraser Laser, Evenly Matched, and Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. This deck is shockingly competent for being as much of a spaghetti whatever dish is going on here for being as chaotic as it is and if we're being chaotic in a 60 card week on chaos draft how could we possibly lose let's get into the match all right 
What's it going to come down to? How's the Rocky Paper Scissors going to go? Ah, ooh, go Team ooh. Venture. Let's try this. Mm. Ah, mm. Bro Fist. Does that mm. mean we go for the high five next? No! <laughs> <laughs> You're too I tried predictable. to outplay you. Uh, I am going to go... I'm going to go second. Let's Ooh. try going second and hope this doesn't screw me over. All right. I have got, got a couple of tools that are okay. a little bit better. And plus, I want that extra card. Okay. Here is the plan. I'm going to normal summon Lone Fire Blossom. Oh, this is an element going to of activate your Lone Fire Blossom to summon Lone Fire Blossom. I will then activate Lone Fire Blossom to summon something significantly less interesting. It's Lilyboria. We're back on ah, Lilyboria. Okay, okay. Uh, and then I will activate the Lilyboria. I'm going to tribute herself to grab a Therian Cross. All right. And then I will activate Therian Duke Yule in hand. Someday we are going to get a dub on this deck. Hopefully <laughs> that day is today. I'm going to set two and pass it to you. Uh, what was that trap again? <laughs> you don't need to worry about it. Oh, I'm worrying, baby. I'm worrying all day. When your opponent activates a monster effect, while you control a Therion, you can activate one of these effects. Negate that effect, banish that monster. If you have a Gyros in your graveyard, you could do both. You do not have Ogyros at the graveyard, I'm Correct. pretty sure. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with a Graceful Charity. Uh, as you do. Of course, as I do. I mean, you do it every single game at this point. Yeah. All right, let's toss out uh, these two. Which two? Oh, those two. <laughs> Uh, the question now is, what do I do? What do I do? I have a couple options. I think I need to do this. I need to get these out of my deck. <laughs> Hello, Evil Thorn. So I'll activate Evil Thorn, and if you want to banish that from the graveyard to keep me off dark monsters, I completely understand. This is a tough one. You've got a lot of potential link material to work with and it's not like i am making it much more likely that you brick by negating this yeah i uh, you make sure that there you. are two cards it gets me two evil thorns and it inflicts a whopping um 300 300 damage, damage to you so if they call yep. time you'll be out buddy i think i have to let this go Oh, okay. I don't think this is the choke point in your strategy today. All right. Two evil thorns. And then I'll activate another graceful charity. God <laughs> damn it. How does it feel? Like a rolling stone. Okay. Okay, okay. And that's why I needed to do that first, because if I drew into one of the evil thorns, then all of them become useless. True. The question be... What do from here? You know what? At the risk... Well, I've already used the Evil Thorn, so I guess I don't need this. And... Yeah. I've already used my normal summon, so we'll get that out. Oh, that is a whole chamber dragon made. <laughs> Where did you find this, hard leg Joe? Uh, you know, it was just around. Just, uh, just hanging out. Just hanging around this town in the corner. All right. From here, there are several things I could do. And I think one of them is activate Danger Dog Man. He do be, he do be doggin'. Uh, dog you man. can have that dog man. Ah. Oh, God. Nice discard. That's a hell of a discard. That's a good one. I tell you what. I think I can do this. What do I have in my graveyard again? Okay, some stuff. Let's go ahead and activate Dragon Ruler of Drafts. Send off that. That's pretty solid. Um, You're going to get probably one more Dragon Ruler activation this turn. 
but that's fine. Okay. Tempest, dragon ruler of storms. Who is Dogman? A seven? It is a seven. Yes. Ooh. Getting spicy. I am. And then, yeah, let's do it. Activate this. There is Blaster. Okay. I'm going to banish this from my graveyard and the Lone Fire. I'm going to summon a Blaster, and Blaster isn't great for me here. He's but again, you currently have four Link materials on the board. I don't think Blaster is the thing I can concern myself with. <laughs> It's up to you. And then we'll use this. Do I get my search? I forget that you get to do that in the same turn that you use lightning. <laughs> just a small one. I'll just take a uh, Drag Unity Remus. Okay. And then, Robert, we will see something a little bit new. I will send off all five of my monsters to oh summon my God, what is this? Dragon. It's the end for you. Just go battle phase. 3,500. Okay. That's big. Bada bingo, bada bango. Main phase two, and now we'll activate this where you can't negate it. Hopefully. I am going to allow this. Ah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And... It's not great this for me, for obviously. Seconds. Yeah, unfortunately, all the dragon rulers are surprisingly fair in that you can only use, they have three effects, but you can only use one of them per turn. So I True. can't summon them back. I can't do anything. I could summon. I could do that. I'm not sure if that would help me. Um. Yeah, we'll just pass on this. Okay. We'll see um, what you can do against a Boral End Dragon. So let's see. It can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's exciting. It can't be targeted. Oh, that's the, <laughs> the thick plotins. Um, it's Chaos Max at home! Can't be yes, targeted. Yes, it is. Can't be destroyed. Uh, it can attack all monsters. And then, in order to use its effect, you have to have a rocket in the graveyard, right? Uh, perhaps. It's negate. Possibly. Okay, it says, and if you do, do the thing. <laughs> uh, so, I'm, oh, it also targets. <laughs> Never mind. I don't have anything during the end phase. Okay. That's not the ideal, but it is kind of something. What does that get us? Something is better than nothing. Yeah. Show okay. me what you got. Uh, ooh, I get to do some of my favorite things this <laughs> deck has to offer today. This is this Ugh. is gonna be fun. I'm gonna normal summon Deep Sea Diva. All right. I'm gonna activate Diva. Sing all you want, it won't help you against the Boral End. I'm gonna summon Spined Gilman. Oh no. And Mr. Joe, I am going to Synchro Summon. Oh. Level five, making. Hyper for Deng Long, first of the Yang Zing, ah. and I will activate its effect. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and I'll set Lost Wind to my field. That's fine. It may oh, not be as fine as you think. Okay, and I am going to add nine pillars of the Yang Zing to my hand. Oh, negate. That is what it do. I am then going to activate from my hand. Another Therian Duke Yule. And what the heck, I will equip it with Lily Boria. <laughs> all right, all right. Got 2,800 attack, 2,800 defense. That is correct. 3,500. If it's one thing I know, it's which number is bigger than the other number. Ah, but Joe, there are two words that King Scarlet Yukio taught us that you should know better than that one. Those words are uh, make verte. <laughs> make verte. Fucking verte. One of these Fucking days I'll verte, get one. Indeed. And then we'll see who's who. I've got a super poly too, buddy. And I'll summon my Suwanee Fire of the Yang Zing from my deck. He's just a big doggo. Yeah. 
I am going to activate Therian Stand Up, and I will summon Boria from my graveyard. All right. How boring. Am I right, gamers? Uh, that is, it, I mean, it is pretty much what I've been doing the last <laughs> few weeks. Uh, and then it's time for Verte. Uh, I do not need to target a monster on the uh, board to make it dark. You've already provided it for me. Unfortunately, yes. Oral End is a dark monster. Hello, uh, Starving Venom. And... One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, Oh, there is six, a seven. gamble I could take here, but it's not a gamble that I like. Uh, let's go to battle phase. I will swing in first with... Swanee. All right. Is this... This is like a hundred off, isn't it? It is very, very close to lethal. <laughs> it, it is, is 200 off. close to okay. lethal. But I'm not dead yet. You are not dead yet. Main phase two, I will set a back row. And it is your turn. All right. Unfortunately, though... I'm glad I actually got to do the thing this deck do. That was a fun turn. Uh, it, uh, ironically, if I had, if the Dog Man hadn't sent Lost Wind, if I had said it, I would have been in a much better place. That is true. All right, well, this should bait out something. That is a whole fucking <laughs> gofu. I will use my Nine Pillars here. All right. Each pillar. Oh, it destroys Swanee. Back. Yes, it does. You got another Yang Zing in there? I assume you, you just you played the Swanee one. You think Swanee is the only Yang Zing I'm on here? Yes. <laughs> we're going to activate this. And You're we're going, going to, to banish the Tempest and... Banishing the Tempest. I think the Blaster is fine. Oh, okay. Then we'll activate this. Yeah. Uh, let's just grab... Oh. Kokibiru Drago. That's an obnoxious card. You don't have any light or dark monsters, right? Never had a light or dark monster in my life, actually. Uh, let's see here. Let's just go ahead and attack into the Liboria. Ah, and you're going to Lost Wind it. Yes. Yes, I okay. am. Damage step shenanigans! And now you can do pretty much anything. Yay! Stuff and things and things and stuff! Can I did we not think about the Lost Wind. Enough? I should have been considering that with what to do with my Borea. <laughs> we'll discard this, and what do we want to send into the graveyard? Okay, we are going to send Redox. Surprise! Ooh, okay. There's a third one. I I figured uh, you were probably on more than two dragon rulers if you're playing dragon rulers today. Probably. Uh, let's just banish these two. Okay. Summon this. Yep. And then let's overlay these two for big eye. For big eye. The biggest okay. eye. And let's go ahead and take this starving venom. Okay. And we still have a normal summon, so Drago says hello. You have a second <laughs> one. Oh, no. Oh, the Drago's a big Drago city. And then I'll just oh, reveal a dragon type monster in my hand, if you don't mind. Didn't have the second one. <laughs> Lock down the special summons, at least of lights and darks. But, I mean, look at, you got Yang Zings, you got like wind and stuff. Oh, I am so close to being able to attack over that Drago for game. <laughs> no! I'm so close. If if this card... All right, we have to roll the dice anyway. We have to see if it happens. It didn't oh. work. Uh, okay, so I have officially lost the game probably, but I am still going to <laughs> discard this Bigfoot and take out Big Eye. No! All right, and then... Hope to dear God that you can't end me this turn. Ah, okay, so that was hoping you discard the Bigfoot to pop the Drago, and then yeah, you can summon I, what Fenrir. I really wanted... Wait, Fenrir's dark. 
No, what I wanted was to be able to destroy my own Yang Zing so I could summon Fenrir. The other option was for me to crash the Yang Zing and not use its effects to have Fenrir, but ah. then I couldn't go to battle with the Fenrir, in which case you were just going to steal the Fenrir with Big Eye, and it really didn't matter that I have to banish. Okay, okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to Dragon Ravine. I'm going to toss Soul Charge because I can't activate it. Um, okay. We're going to send Eclipse Wyvern. Oh, that's a good card. Okay. Uh, it's Spanish Levianir. Oh. It's all pretty okay. neat. Um, yeah, so I hear. Let's see here. Yeah, let's banish this by banishing that uh, that good old Levianir we had just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. And I guess that... Howdy. Yeah, we're just we're just going to assume we're gonna to go to battle and hope you don't have any okay. Yang Zings. Nineteen hundred. I in fact do have Yang Zings. Okay. How many Yang Zings? Oh, do they Enough. have to summon an attack mode? This one does. Uh <laughs> Go twelve hundred. Ah, uh, speaking. This one's really coming down to the wire. Oh, I don't have any other Yang Zings. Oh wow! And you know that I'll, I'll let you know right now. I don't play Red Eyes me, Rare Metal Darkness Dragon or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was really close, and I wish I was dead. Was like, eh, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> it's not gonna come up. There surely there will be no point in this match at which in which that would just us... close out the game. Let's go big. I'm probably overthinking this, but you have to make sure. If I find out later that, like, I failed this and I just die because of it, I will be mega sad. So let's banish these two. All right. Pebbles. Um, mm -hmm. Normal summon. Mm -hmm. And then we will make... My good old buddy Raten. My, so, my best friend, Raten. So just in case you have a cyber dragon, you can't summon it and attack over Drago for game. <laughs> um, you know? Oh, reveal a dragon in my hand. Yes, I will reveal that. All right. Regulus, I need you now. That is not a Regulus. Congratulations. Yes! God, I, I should have negated that blaster. I just forgot that Lost Wind has a second half of its effect. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to go first again. Oh, okay. Wakimaru Drago really changes the calculus on a lot of things <laughs> for me. Uh, I'm going to normal summon a copy of Deep Sea Diva. I'm Vader familiar effect. with this play. Uh, you are. It's my favorite play in the deck. All right, we're going to special summon ourselves the very first Yang Zing, both in history. I mean, not in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, both in the lore and of the duel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Add myself a nine pillars. And after having gone through that whole kit and a caboodle, I think it's time for a graceful charity of my own. Of course. Ooh. I can't be ooh, the only one. Ooh. I, I am going to discard these two. Oh, I'm going to activate the trick clown in my graveyard. That seems like the obvious choice. What was the other one? The Therion? It was the Therion. I mean, you do need a Therion in the graveyard to do stuff. All right. Okay. I have a thing that I can do here. It's a little bit of a risky thing, but given my hand, basically anything else would be a bigger risk. Specifically, just not doing anything. So I am going to... All risk all the time. Make a Synchro Summon here. Yeah. There is a level now. Of Virtual World Kyubi Shen Shen. Ah, I see... And I will use Denglong. I'm going to summon myself a Beyond. Beyond. Activate. A card. Yeah. And the name of that card is John Cena. The name Cena. of that card is Soul Charge. Da, 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 da. Uh, I am going to target... Oh, it could be any of these, TBH. Uh, I'm going to target Diva Gilman and Therian Duke Yule. Ooh, three. You going for the five the five piece uh sync or uh, link as as well? Uh 
Honestly, I wish that I could. I have no going first boss monsters, <laughs> like at all, except arguably this one. I, I am going to link off three materials oh. for Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. I see. So because I, I see. used a level seven or higher, I uh, cannot be targeted or destroyed. He is big. And then I am going to set two back row. It's twice as big. And pass the turn to you. All right. Well, that kind of cements my play. Um, let's normal summon Eclipse Wyvern. Eclipse Wyvern is pretty solid. Uh, suddenly regretting not continuing to have Shen Shen on the board. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a wee bit, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and send that to the graveyard for Pisty. I am actually going to take this chance to banish that Eclipse Wyvern. Oh? So you're still going to banish a monster, but you don't get it at the end of this chain. Do I not? Nope. Uh... I shouldn't have told you that. Otherwise, you would have banished a good monster. Let's... Hi, Phantasme. Yep, you're correct. I mean, it doesn't... I, I remember this from 2012. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there were Therions out and in 2012. Oh, no. Uh, but you can't uh, use Dark Flare Dragon to discard Eclipse Wyvern and then banish Eclipse Wyvern off of um, off of the Dark Flare Dragon. Otherwise, you won't get the Eclipse Wyvern's effect. All right. Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial. Yep, I think I'm going to be a gambling man today. Ooh, using the Glow Up Bulb. Okay. We're going to Glow Up. Except we won't, because I'm locked into dragons. Oh, yes! <laughs> well, Forgot about that. I was like, and then I'll have two link material. Uh, let's just attack into this, if you don't mind. That That's perfectly fine. There we go, 600 damage. And uh, let's activate glow up Now you... Okay, show me a spell card. Hey, the best spell card it could have been. The best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Oh. I I think you may just have this one, Robert. Unfortunately, I'll I'll just let you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and surrender. I've got I've got premature burial in hand. Which would have mm -hmm. been good, or uh, significantly better, if you didn't banish my Eclipse Wyvern. <laughs> yes, it would have. I, I was expecting the negate. I wasn't expecting the, the banish, necessarily. And That's why I thought about it. All I could do... Well, I guess it's, it's fine to play this out, because I don't think I'm necessarily dead. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, okay. wait put it here. Ooh, get your draw? Yay, draw! Unless you negate it, which I, I mean, mean... I am why, going to yeah, negate it. Yeah, why would you negate it? I need you to not read into the fact that I didn't just summon another Yang Zing monster. <laughs> 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 Alright, so things aren't as bad as expected, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my turn. Oh, things are... Oh my god, things could not be worse for you. No. Um Well let's no, start could let's not. start with our good friend Shen Shen. I have I have sixty cards and I'll let you know there's there, the reason I didn't summon the evil thorn is another evil thorn is in my hand. Oh 60 no. Sixty cards and I drew two of them. <laughs> um And then another normal yeah, I summon mean... that kind of competes with the Eclipse Wyvern. And just no dragon rulers or any way to get into a dragon ruler. So, yeah. Okay. That's, but you know what? We'll save the time. We'll go with surrender mode. All right. All right. We're going to start with Foolish Burial. Okay. And we are going to send. Yeah, I think we're just going to send this. Yep. And then we're going to activate Pebbles. 
Yep. And we're going to summon a Redox. Ditching the Levianir. That's cute. Yeah, well, I didn't have a whole lot of options, unfortunately. Uh, that does seem to be the case, doesn't it? Yes. And... I'm trying to think, what do you have that gets rid of stuff? No, we gotta, we gotta go for maximum. Last time I didn't put up enough stuff, we ended up getting mega-owned. So I'm going to banish those two. We're going to summon the Tempest. Mm -hmm. And we're mm -hmm. just going to make the good old standby. Behold, the power of Draco Oh my Sack. god, Dracosack. Incredible. Just beautiful stuff. We'll detach that and we'll just put up a token and another token. Um. And then we'll set a couple cards oh, to play around the neck knights. Two back row. <laughs> Yeah, this deck has back row, and I drew all of it. <laughs> okay. Um, I have had worse hands in my life. I will tell you that. No. And this is this is a very beatable field. Let's start off with Old Reliable, Deep Sea Diva. Every time. Do you have three of this, or are you just getting very lucky? I do have three of this. <laughs> I think I've had three of it since the episode where all monsters are all types. Ah, I see, I see. Let's go... I'm going to take out your tokens. Okay. Tokens gone. All my tokens disappeared. True. That's exactly what happened. Main phase two, I am going to special summon everybody's favorite funny little guy, Dang Long first, the Yang Zen. Use its effect. Dang Long. I'll allow it. I'll grab my nine pillars. And you know what? I've taken so much from you. It's only fitting that I give you a gift in return, hard leg Joe. Oh, hey, a level seven for my dragon rulers. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I mean, I'm going to set three. So I uh, have at it, buddy. It's a lot more back row than I was expecting. not great at this juncture not at this particular period but we're gonna try for it we're going to tempest we'll banish the redox and the draco sack okay um i'm going to learn from my previous mistakes this is a great time for nine pillars <laughs> away it goes called by <laughs> get that sure. yang zing out of here no more yang that zings for you sir okay let's just go ahead and activate remus uh that's fine also i guess i didn't have any other earth dragons i thought i had another one in my deck but that's fine. okay well among us among us the humongous among us um i think I will accept this damage. Thank you. Accept it as a gift from my peoples. You're just you're just re-gifting this humongous. I agree. I mean, you get yeah. You gave me the twenty four hundred. It would be dishonorable not to attack you with it. Uh, let's. The gift of sticky string is very important. This is a really weird arrangement of things. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon another diva. There she is. Now, do you have a second Denlong that you're going to summon on me? Uh, unfortunately, I would need a second Gilman, and I don't hate <laughs> myself like that. Uh, gotchi, gotchi? We stalling? Nope, we are going aggressive. Ah, I see. But I am not a dark monster. Oh, well, that is unfortunate. All right. Let's get our good friend Starving Venom into rotation. He's hungry. Uh, let's go to battle with him. I'll attack. I'll take it. I mean, right. I, I could it's choose not out. to. I just, I just don't feel like it, you know? Yeah, for sure. I, I believe you about that. Uh, gotta make things difficult for me, don't you, buddy? 
Wait, no, this yes. isn't difficult Yes, I do. That is explicitly my job on this show. There we go. It's normal summon a beyond. Let's get beyond this, shall we? Go beyond plus ultra. <laughs> plus ultra. Okay, time to take off my weighted clothing. Get storming mirror forced. Oh, um, <laughs> sure. Goodbye. Have a wonderful time. Your go. Uh, before the end of your turn, if you don't mind, just gonna put a Ooh. couple of goats on here. Just be a little goaty over here. You know, deep beyond, is... et cetera, et cetera. All right. All right, then. What do I do from here? Okay. So first, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a little thing you've probably never seen before by the name of backup supervisor. Ooh, backup supervisor. Okay. Uh, let me read this card quickly. Oh, this is a totally generic link monster. That's, That's cute. the only reason I'm playing it. I don't actually know what its effects are. It's just okay. two monsters, um, so scapegoat can escape its goat. That is fine. Uh, and then I will summon Link Karibo. Ooh. Got a lot of guys going on here. Okay. Let's make Nightmare Cerberus. Okay. You've got four, two, what? What could your game be here? Still have a normal summon, buddy. I am going to... <laughs> uh, uh, compulse. <laughs> The backup supervisor. Okay. Uh, normal summon evil thorn? Shit. Uh, I am going to ring of destruction <laughs> the evil thorn. Um, not today. Oh. Is a link three? Okay. It is a link I'm three. somewhat less concerned. Um, damn, I still can't do this. Well, at least I baited out all your shit. You did. I am on considerably fewer resources than I would like to be right now. Yeah, I think as unfortunate as it is, I'm just going to have to go into battle with these two. Okay. I got to draw into something pretty spicy here. Something. I mean, you'll have four cards, so you'll be in a pretty good position. I will tell you, most of my deck is two-card combos, which <laughs> is not an ideal position to be in when you're in a 60-card deck situation. All right. All right. We're ending it there. That could be worse, but it certainly could also be a lot better for me. I do not like that draw. Okay, uh, I am going to normal summon the Beyond we've been on this entire okay. time. Beyond comes Let's go back. go battle. I'll and attack. Yeah, we'll have to use that. Yeah. No, I will not continue the attack. It will shock you to find out. Oh, are you sure? You can afford to take I it, going and then you can get any Yang Zing out of the deck. Set a back row and pass the turn. Okay. Just in time, buddy. Uh, activate the Dragon Ravine. Here it is. Uh, let's discard that. <laughs> That's fine. I'm glad to see that card not in your hand, although I suppose it's not great for you at this point. Yeah, I think I, what I need to do is just send this. Makes sense. Get it out of my next turn deck. you get a Dragon Ruler, and then... Yep, if I can do stuff. Um... Let's let's go ahead and banish the Phantasm, eh? Okay. And uh, then I will end my turn and hope that once Are you again sure you, you don't want to draw step. attack it. You had the choice last time. Uh, all right. I mean, I didn't have the choice because you would have just Link Karibo'd me. I mean, you still would have gotten the summon. That's true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Okay. That that's was the important part just of what about you wanted to do, right? The best top deck available to me. Great. Um, 
Oh, and the second best follow-up. Let's see, what did I lose for my efforts? Uh, not actually much I'm sad to lose. Normal summon beyond? <laughs> Another Because I can't one. not draw every brick in my deck. I'm just incapable of not b drawing every brick in my deck. Okay. You are probably not dying here. Get hit. Ouch. And I'll use Beyond. Me. And unfortunately, this one has to summon in defense. Oh, thank the Lord. And I'll attack for 16. All right. Main phase two, I'm going to set a back row and pass the turn. If you even MST my Dragon Ravine, sir, you're going to MST my Dragon Ravine, aren't you? We're going to find out. Oh, oh no. This doesn't MST my Dragon Ravine at all. Nope, I did not do that. Let's go for this. Okay. Let's activate it. I'm going to banish Eclipse Wyvern and Romulus. Or Re Remus. Whatever, Leolus. Two of them. And I will activate the Ghost Bell in my hand. Unfortunate. That has to be a high level one. And unfortunately, I opened with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the Levianir. Not that I could summon it. I'd be one off. And what is this? 16 plus 18? 19. <laughs> 35. So if you have any monster, I'm just done for. Holy shit. Um. So I know that's a Phantasme in your hand. Yes, I just added it. Normal summon Effect Veiler. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, I am going to link three for Soldier of Chaos. Would ah. you like to summon that Phantasme of yours? Uh, yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Because you are providing me a monster that can be destroyed by battle. Uh, yeah. But I also get to draw a card, and also I'm not dead. And I'd That's prefer a fair not point. to die if possible. Standing Battle at the phase. walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I am the warrior. Swing. A cheated heart to do piercing. Call of that the would be haunted. Great. I'm actually going to use Black Luster Soldier's effect to banish a card on the field and take out Dragon Ravine. Unfortunate. I kind of liked that card. I had the feeling you might. And then I'm just going to go to end phase. Okay, all right. Uh, what do I do? What can I do? What will you be to do into me? <laughs> uh, uh, wise words. Yes. Uh, sage, sage advice. Mm -hmm. So they tell set me. A card. a card. End of my turn. All right. Oh, you present me with such a difficult choice, deck. So many opportunities. They give you... Pot of desires. <laughs> you got two of them? Yeah, I do. Oh, not bad, deck. I have, not I have bad one. Not bad at all. I wish I was dead, wanted me to play it, and I took it out because I was like, if I banish, like, even two or three of the, uh the dragon rulers that just like completely cripples my ability to to do everything with them it's like i kind of okay. need all my stuff or if i hit an evil thorn or anything really all right deck there's not much i ask of you the one thing that i ask is that this works if this card is discarded cold okay so that starts a chain so if it lands on that i'll get another opportunity to activate this. I don't have to activate it now or potentially lose it. Correct. Uh, okay. 
Oh, that was the worst hit of them all. <laughs> Holy shit, never mind. Oh my god, the best draw in my deck. Don't mind if I do endless engine our gyro system. Oh. Send one Therion from your deck to the graveyard. Oh no. I will send away. <laughs> I love it. I really and truly could not love it more. I'm going to send away Therian Lily Boria. All right. And I will activate from my hand Therian King Regulus. All right. Let's just summon a couple more goats then, so I hopefully don't die. Uh, fair. Yep. Okay, let's go to battle. We're going to go Soldier of Chaos. And then I will activate Soldier of Chaos. I'm going to banish a token. Uh, for some reason, then I thought tokens I will... couldn't be banished. You can target them for card effects that do things like banish, um, because until they leave the field, they're still on the field. You just can't target things for things that set because they are, like, incapable of doing the motion of setting. Yeah. I think is the way that they work. Was something, I thought there was something where if you evenly matched people, they have to keep a token if they have it. I guess because it banishes face down and the tokens can't be face down. Maybe. Okay. Main phase two. We're going to... What can you do next turn? You can maybe summon a dragon ruler. Do a lot of things. I could even cook an egg, maybe. I get two negates. Am I overthinking the fact that I get two negates next turn? Uh, yeah. Potentially. I have two cards and you have two negates. Yeah. Uh, let's go for Regulus. Uh, using Boria's effect, I am going to discard evenly matched here. <laughs> and the question is, what do I want to get here? And the answer is Therian Cross. So three negates. Yeah, three negates. Or two Wait, cards. Two negates. Because I get Regulus and then I get the cross. Oh, okay. I thought yeah, Regulus that was could the send the Boria I was talking and then about. it could send it. Well, that's not bad, actually. Yep, let's fire it. What else could you be doing with this? I am going to use cross here uh and i can negate and banish here for all the good that it does me it's a dragon out of my graveyard okay um we just grab this all right um special summon guan yun what uh, did you, you added you added a, a what activate guan yun effect Lightning, uh, Dragon Ruler of Drafts. Yeah, uh, Imperm. Okay. Three negates. Every negate yeah, that we was... could ever have. Uh, normal summon. Cool. And... Uh, I should have said that. Unfortunately, it looks like my streak is already over. I could, I could do something like this, but... Can't get over the Regulus and the, uh, the Negate and the stand-up and all those things. So, wait, do you have enough attack to kill me? I think you do. Yeah, just with, like, the Therion. Almost alone. certainly. Yep. Well, I'll let you do it. Oh, all right. sad state of affairs. I... I'm trying to think of what had happened, but it's been, like, a million years, so... <laughs> I don't even remember what place. Yeah, I, I feel yeah, I feel you for sure. Okay, uh, the the soldier of chaos doesn't have something dumb like you can't deal damage for the rest of the turn after you use its effect. Okay, yeah, uh, let's swing over Pisty. Let's use its effect to banish, and then Adios. finally, after a million years, Therian King Regulus gets me a dub. Yep. Good job, Regulus. Oh you got God. a thing. That top decked Regulus was the most unbelievable draw I could have gotten off of that uh, off of that desires. I had banished all three of my Yules, and what <laughs> I had in my deck was uh, Liliboria and both of the Therion traps. 
Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> and all the pieces and nothing else. But uh, yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed your theory on because I think Regulus has had his time. Anytime we no. can get an easy to get negate in this this series, we've got to get rid of it. But, it's just but too he's strong. A combo. He's, 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 he's just a guy. <laughs> he's just a 3500 guy with a negate. And he's been a constant thorn in my side. Despite everything else, I'm surprised we didn't see the heroes. We didn't see the Protoss. But your entire... I will tell you. And the thing, too, right, is it's not just him. It's the fact that you have all the other Therion spell traps and everything. And I think without him, I'm not sure if it's worth it to play all the other stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, there is one common card in Dimension Force that could make it worthwhile that I've just been incapable of pulling the entire series. Uh, but yeah, uh, Regulus is absolutely the primary payoff of the deck. I'm sad to see him go. I'm happy he finally got a dub. I. <laughs> uh, I will tell you, I was not on the heroes at all today. The Yang Zing package took it over. I've been coping on worms for a long time. <laughs> and I was finally like, you know what? Diva into Danglong turn one or Lone Fire into Borea plus a discard to get cross is not the worst opener in the world. Yeah. And that is another thing. I guess maybe I, I should hit the Danglong. That might be a better one too to keep you off the Yang Zings. But I feel like the Regulus package is is more powerful especially it's, because like once you bring that out it's like the dang long if i have effect negation on the field i can negate it and stop it from searching but regulus kind of activates in the hand that is true and the crazy thing about regulus is once you have one regulus every therian for the rest of the duel is also regulus yeah and i i just can't be be dealing with that but it was at least a close one. It's just unfortunate. I, it was. I, I didn't play. Um, I didn't play Access Code. I wasn't playing it, and maybe I you should have. I had I had better Link Fours, which you didn't get to see, and I will not reveal. You'll have to find out next time. What the hell were you on, Hard Link Joe? <laughs> You and all those back row. Ooh, you were so close to being screwed over. I can't believe you used the, the fucking uh, ring of destruction on the, uh, the the evil thorn. I would have done so what much. What was I going to do? Let you get two free link material and then deal 1600 to myself by hitting the Cerberus? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you could have done is uh, waited for me to summon, like, the access code that you thought was coming and then just use the Ring of Destruction on it. Yeah, but you would have gotten the opportunity to use, um, to go into, like, a Phoenix before that, and then I still would have been in the same situation, <laughs> but I would have taken 1,900 points of damage instead of 100. I suppose, I suppose, but I also would have only taken 100. We were pretty close either way. It's, it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time I get more packs, maybe I can come back. What's the what's the uh, the deck theme for that time? Next week is a wild one. Next week is top deck format. Oh my. That is going to be an interesting one. If you're if you're unfamiliar with that, we did a DBC of that a while ago and it's a crazy format. Should although you've got all these one card combos, so we'll see. I don't. I feel like I have very few one card combos. Uh, you just you just explained a second ago how you could go lone fire into a bunch of stuff, or you could go diva into a oh, bunch of stuff. Oh, that's a good point. I can lone you fire have at into least, Borea. You have at that least is, six. <laughs> I won't be able to use Borea's effect in top deck format. Um, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll, it, we'll see. Either way, until next time. Good luck. And tell me. What you were on, hard leg. <laughs> and welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode 13, baby. It's unlucky for you. I am Hard Leg Joe, if and you didn't know, joined by the Titanic of Yugi Tube, the RJB Zero. There's a lot to consider there. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're, like... un you're unsinkable. It's fine. <laughs>
the Titanic has kind of uh, has kind of suffered the fate uh, undeservedly of of the person who started the concept of marathons. You know how the marathons were started because one person died trying to run a particular distance, and now for the yeah. rest of time, we we run that distance to show that we're better than that one guy that died. <laughs> I feel like the Titanic has suffered a similar thing. Like the Titanic was a good boat. I feel like people forget this. The Titanic was a very good boat. Its staff just sucked ass. Yeah. Like the crew, the crew, the crew was the problem with the boat. The thing that uh, that interests me about it, right, is because obviously we just had that that submarine uh, disaster where they went to go see the the Titanic and imploded, and there were a lot of people mocking them and making fun of them, and there were a lot of people like, whoa, whoa, too soon. And someone on Twitter brought up, they're like. If you think this is a new phenomenon, I would like to show you some clips from, like, local newspapers the day the Titanic yes. sunk. And it's all these, like, opinion pieces where they're like, it's so nice of the Titanic to make a ballroom for the mermaids. <laughs> I will say, um, it was very funny that the guy who made that submarine ended up on the Wikipedia list of people killed by yeah. their inventions. <laughs> and because his name was so close... He ended up right underneath the guy who designed the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, well, you know, they're not going to stop tours. You can go down, but now it's a two-for-one shipwreck special. Indeed. Ba -da 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 -da. Anyway. Now that we're about, both going to hell. Enough about the tragedy of, of maritime disasters. It's time for the tragedy of Robert losing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because today we're playing top deck format, baby, which is a... A DBC I did once, and then I, I lost so badly that I was like, I'm never going to do this again. But yet, this here is your we chance. are. Time has made fools of us all, and I have learned my lesson. I think I have what it takes to dominate top deck format. What is top deck format? You have to watch ahead to find out. We won't explain it here. You'll see it when we get to the duels. But first, we need to pack, pack opening. Go to the pack opening, Jules, quick. Quick up. All right, here we are once again in the pack opening dimension. We've got Twitch chat down here giving me cats in the chat for strength. Although I don't need a whole lot of it this time. I, I, I don't need a whole bunch. We're doing top deck format and I wish I was dead has already cooked up something pretty good for this. Something that I've been pulling for this whole time, which just happens to work really well in this format. And there's not a whole lot more we need to make it work. Um, in fact, we don't need anything to make it work. We just need a couple things that could make it better. Maybe another card of demise, maybe some more powerful traps. So we'll be on the lookout for those. Otherwise, we're mostly going to be pulling for future episodes. I'm still trying to get my cyber spile underway. Still working on the dragons a little bit. Not sure if there's any of that that'll be here. I mean, confiscation. I feel like these, uh, I feel like these, like, discard from the hand cards just aren't worth it. I almost would rather take another Buster Blader because I have a Buster Blader package and I kind of need it. Uh, yeah, you know, if I get a delinquent duo or whatever, that might work it, but paying a thousand just to look at the hand and take one card from it, not sure if a one for one is really worth it. Yeah, we'll just take the Buster Blader. All right, folks, today I am looking not for this format. I think I actually have a pretty phenomenal lineup of cards for top deck format. Between the heroes, some of my power cards, Scapegoat is incredible, and I have two of it. My draw power is unbelievably good. I don't think I need to worry about this week. What I need to worry about are the weeks that come after. Monotype, mono attribute, and no extra deck. That's what I'm going to be looking out for. For Monotype, I have a great machine pool that I haven't really gotten to explore into. And my worm pool is there, as are my dragons, but they're not as strong as I'd like them to be. We'll see if we can bolster that. For the mono attribute, my dark pool is a little tough to argue with, but my light monsters may have a little bit more in the way of easy payoffs for them. And for no extra deck, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's probably gonna be machines for that too. Let's begin. All right, starting off hot with a right leg of the Forbidden One. I always put this as a reroll candidate because Giant Trunade is in here. But for now, yeah, Magical Hats is fun. Dark Beginnings 2. Oh my. 
dare I take it? I, I, we've never dealt with power on this scale before. This is absolutely nutty. Last turn. This is, in my opinion, probably the craziest, most broken Yu-Gi-Oh card ever printed. And I'm not sure if I want to introduce it into this format, but I'm going to take it. <laughs> Legendary Collection 2! I am... Oh, that's actually a whole Destiny Hero Malicious. I will take a Malicious. My heroes have been very good, but one of the things that they've been lacking is two copies of Malicious to use with my Denier. We'd love to see it. All right, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Will we get yet another Dragon Ruler to add to our collection? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get a another Sparks. I believe this will be the third Sparks. Premium Gold. A lot of cool things here. That's true, Magi Draymond. Ryza for no extra deck week is pretty good. The bling has returned. Ooh. Barkeon, Goyo. Let me look at my synchros real quick. Specifically the sixes. These are sevens. Okay, I already have a Goyo. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what I can make with it, but I think the Barkeon might be good. Astral Force is not bad either. Same type and attribute, but two ranks higher. This could work for the the Raid Raptors if I ever get that. I think we just need to go for the mostly generic tra or synchro at the moment. The Dark Illusion. Oh, there's a Super Dora. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, a lot of really cool things to consider here. Metal Foes Counter is very, very strong for Metal Foes, a deck that we have been slowly working our way toward. Third, Gofu, also pretty solid, seeing as Gofu is one of the most powerful singular cards in our format. Maybe worth having three of it just for top deck format. Metal Foes Counter, her Super Dreadnought Heavy Dora, Super Dreadnought Cannon, Super Dora. Dora is very strong, but we still don't really have a lot of rank 10 capability. I think I take Gofu here. Infinite Gold! Ooh, these are some good ones. A second Storming Mirror Force means I'd be able to Trap Trick it. And we are trying to go for, for, um... For, for traps this time. So I think I'm going to take the Storming Mirror Force. It's time to uh, invade with a vengeance. Uh, oh, Amatrix? Is this the good synchro? Is this the good one? And it's a machine. We love to see it. The Dark Illusion. Oh my. Oh my. We're working on that... Um working on that Dark Magician deck, and here's Evan a High Magician. And activate quick... Oh, this isn't the one I think it is. Ixie Summon card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. You get special summon a Dark Spellcaster then. I mean, that's pretty good. But also the third Gofu? I think the third Gofu is probably better. That's just, that's just like a free Raw 10. And we all know how good Raw 10 is. Even though this is super rare, I think I'm going to have to take the Gofu. All right. Circuit break. Uh, is it really going to be a Mono Awato? Oh, Goki Headbat is pretty solid. Does it have the Goki effect? Yes, it does. I have been p picking up Gokis. I have been picking up Gokis. I will take a Headbat. Headbat's not bad. We are the Warriors! Ooh! Every six Samurai card? Don't mind if I do. The question is, which one? I've already got two keys on and one Grandmaster. I can only control one Grandmaster at a time, even though he's bigger, though. This, I believe, is not a hard once per turn. Yeah, it's just if you control six Samurai, summon it. If you control a six samurai, summon it, but you can only control one. They're both equal rarity. Yeah, I think we take the keys on. All right. Let's approve this with Legendary Collection Kaibo. Ooh. Ooh. 
lots of fun things going on here. Beals the Diabolic Dragon is just a powerhouse synchro. I think I gotta take the Beals. Sage is also really strong if we get to do blue eyes things, but the chances that we get to do blue eyes things in the near future are decreasing drastically. Flames of destruction. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Well, there's another nightmare. Ooh, called by the grave. This has been very useful for a lot of Robert's stuff. Defrag Dragon is also... Yeah, we just take the second called by. This is this is really good. Doc Saviors. Oh, that's a lot of actually very good cards, including Sky Strikers, which I will never take. Uh, Scapegoat is very strong. I currently have two copies of Scapegoat, and Scapegoat is very, very good for us. Uh, Horn of the Phantom Beast is cute in a lot of limited formats, but probably not something we can get away with running. Uh, I'm going to grab the third goat. Okay, dual power! Oh, hello there, Naturia Beast. How are you doing? Do I have one of you? Could I have all the Naturia monsters? I'm not sure if I have what it takes to make an Earth Synchro, but if I could make you, that, that'll do a lot. We also got Platinum Gadget, which is pretty good for all the machine piles that I have. You can special summon one level 4 machine from your hand to a zone this points to... If it's destroyed, special summon a gadget. I have two gold, two silver now. Ghost Bell and Beast are crazy. Yeah, I think we... I haven't had a chance to pick this yet, and we want to try to get extra deck cards. Robert has shown me how important that is, so let's get it. All right. Mystic Fighters. As a Geomath Mech Final Sigma. What does this require as its materials? whatever the hell you want this is a generic synchro boss monster if i've ever seen one we will take the simga all right ghosts from the past which is apparently one of the best sets in this whole collection i didn't even realize it but i can see why you got another spheres we got another emergency teleport but i think spheres was like high on the list of things we need Helps with our dragon pile. We've already got one, but getting two just just makes us that much more powerful. It's just a nice generic removal thing that we can get. And I think it also helps our dragon link. So, yeah, we'll take that. All right. Battle of Chaos. Ooh! Legitimately the best card in the set. I'll take a copy of Dark for sure. For sure. Without hesitation, I will take it. All right, El Dorado. This has a whole bunch of stuff that we want, and if we don't get anything good, we're gonna re-roll it. But we don't need to re-roll it because the Verte is right there, baby. Ha cha 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 cha. Now that puts a lot of. All we need is a Red Eyes card. We have the Red Eyes Fusion. We have like three of them. We just need a target. We also do have Super Poly. We also have Neos Fusion. This opens up a lot of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and for the last pack of the main set, it's time for Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. I say all these packs with so much hype, and then they let me down so severely. I... I... I'll take Toon Harpy, lady. Okay, th this opening so far has not been hugely inspiring. I've got a lot of basic tools out of this, but I, nothing that makes me really excited. Who am I kidding? I just forgot that I got that I got a final Sigma out of here and an easy way to summon Super Dora. Never mind, I ain't complaining anymore. And finally, the Crystal's Revenge, which is mostly Garbo. They got an invalid Dolman. Two plus earth monsters. Discard one cyber, draw one card. If this co-link card is destroyed, negate the effects of all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, this might be good for the link pile, right? I mean, it takes earth. It's either that or dream cicada, which is a pretty good extender for bugs. I wish I was dead is saying great with G. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take the G golem. Why not? It's secret rare. And there we go, that's out of the main set. We still got the bonus packs. We still got the pity packs. 
we still got a couple re-rolls to do to see if we can get something better. But we've picked up some pretty good stuff. We got Verte. We've got another Gofu. Last turn is funny. All right, Battle Pack 1. If you don't pull Nutty from Battle Pack 1, you gotta re-roll. Let's see what we can get. Mm, I don't want Skill Drain. I don't want Skill Drain. It's a good card, but I don't want it. Let's do it again. We can get better things than Skill Drain. <laughs> Obelisk the Tormentor. Uh, not exactly what I would call a nutty card. Snowman Eater could be good for this week exactly. Okay, re-rolling Dark Saviors. Let's go. That sucks. I wanted I wanted a um I wanted a Sky Striker card. I mean Drowning Mirror Force isn't awful. Especially in top deck format, this might be worth taking, actually. Sure. Sure, I'll take it. Why not? Frowline is decent, but it's it's pretty much limited to zombies. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Change of heart! I will take a change of heart. Alright, Rise of the Duelist reroll. Let's see if we can get one of those uh, Dark Magician cards. Uh, no, but we did get the second punishment, and I will be taking the second punishment. Thank you. Come again. All right, next, it's Power of the Elements. We have some phenomenal tier limits for our extra deck. Let's get some tier limits for our main deck as well. Or a Therian Irregular. Unfortunately, even though our Therian engine is very strong, I don't think it's. I don't think this card is good enough, and I will 100 per take, uh, percent take happiness here. Let's let's make something good with Battle of Chaos this time, shall we? Or just fuck me, I guess. All right, maximum gold. What do you got for us? Honestly, I will take a second Monster Reborn. Second Monster Reborn is pretty good. All right, it's bonus pack time. Open up those hard leg packs, see what we get. Oh my. An Ecclesia to go with the to go to go with the things I just got? I mean, don't mind if I do. Sure. It would be kind of cool if I could pull a second small world. That would be very cool. Let's start with hard legs packs. Uh, starting off with not much to speak of, Mrs. Radiant is a cute card, but nothing really exciting. I'll take Link Slayer. Okay, pack number two! Well, I got Cubic Karma, we've got stuff I already got. Uh, I did pick up another Harvester, so this would be the third starter. It's either that or another Six Samurai. My Six Samurais are looking good. My ritual stuff is looking good. I wish I was dead is saying Saki Tama. What does this do again? Uh, if this card is normal or flipped face up, return this card to the hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. Reveal this card, immediately normal summon a spirit from your hand. If this card is tributed, target one spirit in your graveyard, add it to your hand. It's just a free rank four. And you think it's better than the Harvester? I guess this isn't in the packs we're opening, so we want to take it where we can. Sure, we'll take the Saki Tama, I guess. Ultimate Slayer. Oh, now that's a Slayer card if I've ever seen one. Ultimate Slayer is insane. Okay, now for RJ's stinky packs. We got the Ninja Link, we got Generic Lamb for Linkus. Terraforming. I mean, we already went why Cyber Wizard is awful. Uh, I think that's probably the best, right? Like, we just want another Terraforming? It searches all the field spells. Yeah, we'll try that. Alright, time for my Chaos Pack. Uh, Mist Valley Falcon is cute. Another Yang Zing is never bad. Um, I think it's Probably Junk Warrior to get Junk Synchron or Baby Sarasaurus. Baby Sarasaurus is cool because if we start taking this, we can use our um, Lithosa gems. 
to start doing some things. But also, I like Junk Synchron and Junk Warrior, so let's take them. Act number two! Free level one, Necro World Banshee, Cataster. Good level five. We could get a Raiden that would help our Light Swarm package. What are we doing in terms of Zombie World? We do have two Zombie Worlds. We have no Banshee. I think we take the Necro World Banshee. She's rare in this pack and also not in any of the packs we're opening. This was a... Uh, this was a structure deck exclusive, which is why it's in the packs. The, the whole point of the Chaos packs was to include stuff that wasn't in the regular stuff. So, yeah, we'll add that, especially now that we've got Super Poly and the, the Necro Dragon. Pretty good, pretty good pickups, and we're not done yet. We get some pity packs as well. Next pack. Ooh, there is a Shogun. We love to see a Shogun. I will take a Shogun for sure. Woo! All right, so after much deliberation, we have decided that today's pity pack is going to be Soldiers of the Storm, which is the, the Cybers pack. It has a whole bunch of stuff, specifically the Code Talkers. We've got a lot of support for that, and a Cybers pile is really going to be useful in future episodes. Not necessarily this episode, but this episode we've already got just about everything we need. And the only stuff that we could pull, the only packs we could pull from that would help us out more, like the Dark Magician pack, we already pulled from, so we can't use that again. So this time we're just preparing for, for next episode. This is just getting some insurance, thinking a couple steps ahead of Robert and hoping it works. And right off the back we get ourselves a Code Talker, which I think is what we want to take. It's a rare, I mean, Xcode is also pretty good. It takes three. The critical thing, right, is there's a couple of cards, I forget what they're called, but they're all like, you can use this card in your hand as link material for a Code Talker. And Code Talker is the only Code Talker that requires two materials. So it means you normal summon, and then you just instantly get to, to, to link off from the hand and go into this and then extend from there um x code is pretty cool it's a super rare but it doesn't really do anything it's just kind of a monster so i think we're gonna take the code talker in this okay pack number two yeah i think as as neat as this would be again we have to go for the the thing that lets us extend because we've already got good payoffs we don't need this necessarily, especially when we have to get tuners and stuff to try to get it. Okay, pack number three. All right, this one, this one kind of sucks. Yeah, I think we take the optimization. An extra normal summon should help. And I think there's, there's another card that lets you search a Sinet card. Okay, pack number four. Well, I got another chance at Cybers Dragon, but also Code Exporter, and I believe if a Cybers would be used as Link Material for a Code Talker, this card in your hand can be used as Material. It's sent to the hand of the graveyard. You can target a level 4 Cybers in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Yeah, I think we want another Exporter. I think we take that. And number 5, can we get a Transcode in the last days of June? No. No, unfortunately we cannot. We don't even get anything great. This has more potential and it's rarer, but I think we need to go for this. It's going to be more useful in the long run. Just the fact that it just says three monsters. So not everything we were hoping for. Maybe we can find the transcode next time. For this time though, let's hop into the deck builder and see what we can come up with. I have no idea what I am doing. I have tried to test this format and I still have no idea what is good and not good. For example, Gofu, very, very good card. In top deck format, seems like it would be very good, but one of the names of the game when it comes to top deck format is maintaining monsters on the board, something that conflicts a little bit with Gofu. Gofu's great if you draw before your other monsters, but the chances are we're going to draw a million other monsters before we draw into our Gofu. I'm still running it because Gofu is still killer on the crackback if we're behind and so is Fenrir and so is Guan Yun. Ah! 
The rest of this is just a amalgamation of things that we've done before that are pretty good in a low power environment. Triple Stratos without the other elemental heroes because they are bricks, but I am citing a Celestial in case Hard Leg is on some floodgates. We've got some fours that are good. Maneater Bug is unbelievable in this format. Super Agent is MST plus a guy. We've got some gadgets. Gadgets maintain field presence and our fours for our rank fours. We've got Proofiness. Proofiness is a guy plus a trap card and is possibly level five for the sake of using Gale to make Cyframe Lord Omega. I kid you not. Next, we have a Triple Deep Sea Diva and Spine Gilman. Diva is great for making rank twos or link twos, but it's also pretty good for making Crystron Amatrix, which is great crack backplay. It shifts all of your opponent's special summon monsters to defense position, which is pretty solid against a number of decks. It can also make Pit Knight early, which, by the way, is just a phenomenal card in this format, exactly. It keeps itself coming back to the field, and if you activate a monster in a zone next to it, you can make your opponent's monsters zero and negate their very very strong card and very repeatable our uh, oh yeah there's angel trumpeter and gale these are great with sonic stun they're just generally good tuners and guys and cyphering lord omega is an ftk we've got scapegoat because it's a one card access code talker a bunch of draw cards monster reborn and change of heart which are a little bit sus but they're good enough that i feel like they're probably worth including a hero lives is great and then just some trap cards i swear sonic stun is legit folks I swear it's legit. Uh, the only th interesting thing about our side deck is the double MST, double Mirage of Nightmare, which I'll bring in if a Hard Leg is on a back row deck because they're a pretty good combo together and gives me an incentive to go into back row removal. This deck is weird. I have no idea what's going to happen. All right, ladies and non-ladies, we've gotten a Blue Eyes card banned. Rest in peace, Chaos Max. And now it's time to get a Dark Magician card banned. We are playing Dark Magicians today, along with a whole bunch of draw power and a whole bunch of link tools. We've got three scapegoat. We've got three gofu. And honestly, in testing, these are probably going to do a lot more than the Dark Magicians, but the Dark Magician still helps out quite a lot. I've played this format once before. This was on a DBC that I believe had MBT in it, actually. Lots, lots of letters going on there. But yeah, I've played this before, and the thing I learned from that is that in a format like this, where you have very limited cards, any cards that can allow you to plus one, anything that searches or, or draws, is just insanely important. Way more important than it is in the regular game, where it's already very important. So, stuff like uh, Ecclesia, where we can just immediately get a Punishment, very good. Punishment itself, where it can um, take out two cards with one, very important. And of course, Dark Magician is very good at that. You've got Magician's Rod, which on summon searches Dark Magical Circle, which upon activation lets you look at the top three cards of your deck and add a Dark Magician-themed card from among them. So we have a potential to go plus two if we get this, and this can of course get this, which can then get us like this. So we've got a whole bunch of like circular stuff there, but more important, the fact that circle allows you to, um, even if you don't find a Dark Magician card, stack your deck, super important. This is, I don't think a format where we're going to die very easily. Even the best cards are only going to get you like 3000 damage. We should have a couple turns. And so being able to look at our top three and just be like, oh, oh, I'll put the card of Demise on top of my deck for next turn. Going to be very important. And yeah, we have the two card of Demise and now is the best time to flex them. Dark Magician, very normal summon reliant. There are a few times like if we if we card of Demise into Gofu, we're going to have some trouble. But like we want the Dark Magicians in the graveyard. We can normal summon all these or set them. Um, I mean, setting Magician Souls is not great, but we can do it. And then everything else is just like, we've got a couple key traps. We've got Trap Trick to search them. We've got things like Graceful Charity to draw us in, Pot of Duality to draw us into more cards, and Scapegoat, which we can't use that turn we get it anyway. Just set that, and then on the next turn, make just a plethora of Link Monsters. And we've actually started to get a leg up on Robert by picking up things specifically that work with Scapegoat. Uh, not only do we have stuff like Ra-10, just two plus monsters with any type, so a scapegoat is this, plus an extra thing that we could just like, you know, make a Link Karibo if we want to. But we've now got Power Code Talker, which is also any three monsters, and can just once per turn negate a monster on the field. It can also double its attack by tributing a monster it points to, 
And again, with Scapegoat, you're getting this plus like a Link Karibo, so you can have a monster to point to if you need to go up to 4600 attack. Uh, we've also got the ability to make G Golem Invalid Dolmen, because this is just two plus Earth monsters. And all of the Scapegoat tokens are Earth. So we can make all of those. This is pretty nifty in certain situations. It's like co-linked monsters are unaffected by monster effects. And again, Link Karibo pointing down, this pointing up. Now they're co-linked. <laughs> pretty, pretty sweet play, if I do say so myself. So that's our plan. Now, of course, top deck format is also really known for being very luck dependent. Um, if you draw, like, two awful cards in a row, that could be it, especially if your opponent does get some draw power. So if Robert has some Graceful Charities or some Card of Demise on his own, and I draw, like, both my Dark Magicians, I'm, I'm just screwed, There and there's a chance that could happen. Um, there's a chance that I draw just, like, two Trap Tricks in a row, or, like, Mirror Force, Mirror Force, Trap Trick, and then I might be screwed. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, as for the side deck, we've got a couple other things worth suggesting. Uh, most of these are just things that I wish I was dead said I should run, and I'm like, I don't really trust the Cyberstein or the Desires. These could screw me over more than they could help me. Um, but we've got things like Parasomnia Pillow. Really been wanting to play this, and this might be the great place for it to shine. It really depends how many monsters Robert's going in on, but we can maybe get rid of some of this other stuff depending on what he's got. Lost Wind may be useless since it's only useful against special summoned monsters. And then we've got stuff like Storming Mirror Force and Compulse if the regular Mirror Forces and the Punishments aren't working. If he somehow got a bunch of stuff that can't be destroyed, we've got him covered. Uh, there's also Yadagarasu, which I don't think realistically I'll bring in unless I'm just absolutely dominating Robert. This is one of those cards where if I draw it on the first turn... I can just stop Robert from ever getting cards. You could just Yada lock them straight off the bat. So there's a potential for this to be really funny, but only if you draw it here. I like the first turn, which is very unlikely. So yeah, I think I think we've got pretty good stats on this. Um, oh yeah, mathematician sends Link Karibo in this. I don't think I mentioned that, but this is another like you activate this and it instantly gets you a card that can plus one you. Pretty pretty nice. I think this deck is really good. I'm not sure if Robert has anything that stands up against something like this, but I guess we'll find out. I am not giving him any mercy. No mercy in this dojo. Not until we win. Let us begin. He's the one they call Dr. Top Deck. No! The one that makes you feel all right. How are you so in my uh, head when it comes to rock, paper, scissors? I, I just pick, I just like scissors. And uh, welcome everyone. This is This is Top Deck format. There's, uh, there's no hands. You start with no cards. So it's just from the very beginning, we are top decking. You'll, you'll have to end your turn, Robert. Oh, I'm going for, yes. I yeah, was like, I have why selected you to go first, but the go oh, right. first doesn't draw. Ah, yes. I have many choices I can make with this card. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> All right, drop it. Oh, the best top deck in my deck. Let's go Elemental Hero Stratos. Oh. Stratos. Nab me another Stratos. <laughs> another one. <laughs> yeah, Battle this phase. was this was originally I went through a phase where I'm like, I can fix Yu-Gi-Oh! I can come up with a custom rule set that does it. And uh no. It's just all this format does is ensure that like all, right. all the plus ones in this game are ten times better. Oh, and speaking of plus ones, I have a monster! Behold, Magician Stratos. What is, what are, Joe. I am showing off my mighty rod. <laughs> Don't tell YouTube. And here's the circle. All right, what do you um, got? Show me the whiff. I mean, I did whiff, but that has nothing to do with anything. Uh, the question is, what do I want to get from this? It may seem obvious to the people at home. Because I do get to decide the order, even if I don't get a Dark Magician card. But in testing this, there are some things that like seem really good, but actually kind of aren't in this format. Agreed. Um, I think I'm going to go for this, and then this, and then this. Okay. That's kind of cool that you get to stack your deck. That's very good in this format. Very much so. All right. What do I want to do with this? 
I assume someone another Stratos searched another car. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Just getting another one. Do I want to search another Stratos is the question. <laughs> do, do you play any other heroes? Or is this basically like blue the secret blue gadget? Hmm. He's got more attack than the other gadgets and only searches himself. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. I am going to opt to destroy a spell or trap card on the board. That Do you doesn't have a target. No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, I think I have a response. Oh, the dogmatica punishment. Yeah, I think we're going to punish you here. And let's just do one of these. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, I am taking out the dark magic circle. It'll find it, it'll shock you to find out. Yeah. Okay. But All right. my rod survives another day. <laughs> Your rod stands strong. Prepare to be poked, fiend. Battle phase. <laughs> okay. Uh, why can I not attack? Oh, I can't attack. Okay. Weird, the little right. attacky thing was coming up. Let's go. 1600. First blood, if you ignore the other blood. Alright. Beta, why was it staying there? Did, did, I, is that, don't did worry you open about it. evenly match, young man? Don't worry about it. Go ahead, activate it. It'll be funny. It's actually a scapegoat. Ah. I see. Scapegoat is very effective. The question is, what can you make with the scapegoat? I can make a number of things, especially once I have resolved a pot of desires. Oh, that was very good. That is a very good pot of desires. Okay, what am I doing here? See, I, I have a pot of desires, and I opted not to use it in this deck because almost every card I'm playing searches other cards. And so if I banish, like, one or two of them, I, 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 it just turns off my deck. That is where you have goofed, hard leg Joe. Okay, uh, we are going to go... We're going to start the fun combo. The combo everybody loves. The thing that really makes Chaos Draft Chaos Draft. You know, we really think about Chaos Draft as being this place where anything that can happen. Where uh, any deck can survive and any combo can can be effective. Uh, and that could really mean anything, especially when I normal summon a Deep Sea Diva. Uh, and I'll grab a Spine <sighs> Gilman out of my deck. Same old story. Same uh, and old then, song yep, and dance, this is the, every you, everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. It's our good friend Access Code Talker, uh, who is going to gain some attack points, and then is going to uh, yep, destroy a rod. Uh, that is just it, unfortunately. Yeah, that <laughs> perhaps perhaps I should have saved stuff. Everybody knows him. Everybody loves him. It's access code talk. Yep. Yep, indeed. Okay. I am going to do the same thing I did last time. All right. I end my turn. <laughs> the greatest end board of all time. I special summon go for Oh, fuck. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go fuck yourself in the evening twilight. Uh, and let's just go for, you know, um, go for Raw 10. Raw yep. 10. But of course you haven't had a chance to defend, so I'll just... I'm effectively going first by going That's second. That's the funniest card possible. Okay, I'm gonna set a card and end my turn. Sure you don't want to go to battle phase first? Very sure. All right. Go to battle phase. Yoink. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Fair enough. Can't um, admit its effects, right? Okay. That is correct. I, Some yeah, let's normal summon Deep Sea Diva. I can't believe, I can't believe this. This was supposed to be a slower paced <laughs> episode. <laughs> I didn't think it would be so easy. Uh, really, Scapegoat is an incredible card. That's all I have to say. We didn't uh, even get to the Scapegoat! 
<laughs> Unfortunately for me, uh, this really, I can't really do any follow-up for this other than hope that access code swing does anything. So like a dogmatica punishment ends my life if you have a good enough target. Yep. Yep, it certainly would. All right, give me a monster. That's hilarious. So what's the over under? No, this is just the way to do it because you cannot chain to this effect. Ah. So, uh. Well, that's, I, I was very confident going into this that I, that I had some cool stuff, but unfortunately, I, I drew my my dark magician. <laughs> oh no! And I had the eternal soul, but obviously I can't activate. I only play one of these too. Oh! Well, Jules, I guess go ahead and put the stuff up there. But uh, I assume you're up for at least a couple more. Couple yeah, more for of these. sure. See I if have you can like try it again. <laughs> Things my deck does that are not access code. Surely, it's just unfortunate because I, I get I have such a robust cybers pile, and I have like two access code talkers, so I really don't want to ban it because I'll have the advantage. But at the same time, it, it really is just like every, the fact that we can make that, and then that plus any monster is like more than half the life points, just makes all the game super short. Yeah. Oh. You know, crack down on my rank three versus any monster. It did work out very nicely. Let's try something new this time. Uh, by which I mean I'm going to summon Stratos. <laughs> <laughs> by which I mean, let's go back to the thing I did. Let's first. just do the same thing I've been doing since episode one of this season of Chaos Draft. All right, let's normal summon Stratos. I'm going to activate the Stratos, and I do not have any other targets in my deck. Uh, yep. Let's go battle phase. <laughs> I only play one Eternal Soul, by the way. <laughs> oh! you've That's impressive in its own way. Yep. 40 cards, drawing one, Eternal Soul, two games in a row. Oh, granted, right. last time it was the second card on my deck. Babuska, yep. He's a sleepy yep. boy. Super EB. The eb guy. Eh. Uh, hey, I mean, you know what you'll draw next turn. Hey. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I doubly know! There we go. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just... You just, you just have... What's her name? He's just, he's just a wasp. He's just Best a waspy Bonato. boy. Uh, you have Deep Sea Diva again? I don't have Deep Sea Diva, so hilariously, I don't think I have game on board. A summoning this Vespinato may have been a misplay. Uh, f f f we're gonna go to battle phase. You don't have any more monster. I mean, there's no reason to go easy on me. You've already won. We no, just do I do like a best of seven. <laughs> I legitimately, so I have a monster I can summon in my hand, but it is a very bad monster to summon when you don't have any monsters of your own on board. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. One, two, three, and we'll just set that. Hmm. Let's go to battle phase. Okay. Let's see what a Vespinato can do. Uh, well, it has to bait out the Mirror Force. Cool. Let's actually have Vespinato. a machine. Oh, it's warrior. It is l any any level four or lower. Ah. Okay, a hundred life points. <laughs> I'm feeling 100 this. Hundred life points in a dream. I, uh, I don't think there's anything I can do in my main phase two to make. Oh, I have something I can do in your main phase or in my main phase two to make your life more difficult. Let's do that. I'm going to activate Monster Reborn. I'm going to summon back Stratos. Monster. I will activate Stratos. Take out one of these. <laughs> and then you may have the other one back. Baguska number two. Oh, wait. 
No, I, I wanted the top deck. Don't shuffle my deck. That's rude, RJ. <laughs> ah, well, at least I've got this. And there she be. Behold, Ecclesia, the virtuous. Unlike Robert with his very unvirtuous bird. <laughs> Such a dirty bird. <laughs> um, Someone take that out of context, please. I want to see that clip. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Angel <laughs> trumpeter. The fuck? I need normal <laughs> monsters, Robert. I need you to not worry about that too much. Actually, okay. I'll tell you now. It is because I... Because Cyframe Lord Omega is an FTK in this uh, in this format. Huh. Um. Well, let's see. I I mean I guess it's just the best card. Let's go. Just battle on phase? down. Oh, Ecclesia can't be destroyed by Monster Summon from the extra deck, can she? Correct. Okay. Well. Take uh, that. Main phase two. I'll uh, set a back, or it could be anything. Would be anything, and it will die. Okay. Let's just send the end tis. Fuck it, you know. All right. Oh, okay. You had actually said it. I thought you would know better. I did. <laughs> um, <laughs> go mathematic. Ooh. Mathematician, pretty sweet. Go glow up bulb. Send a glow up bulb. Okay. Yep, we're bulbing. All Let's right. Send that back. And I can't summon out of the extra deck because I used... <laughs> ah, punishment. because of the Dogmatica punishment. I was like, aha, my 1500s will be fine because I can convert them into something else. But I was wrong. All right, so if you have anything with 1600 attack, I'm dead. Uh, hard leg, you've lost in a lot of stupid ways this this series, and I've lost in a lot of equally stupid ways this series, but I don't think anything will compare to, in a format that includes access code talker, you losing to me normal summoning Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Okay, the best, best, uh, what is that, three? Best five out of seven. All right, let's do it. I, I really should have tagged in some of my goofier stuff while we're here. Okay, one of these days I'm going to get a really good card, and then you'll see... Okay, go for that. Get the Dark right. Magical Circle. Uh, activate the Dark Magical Circle. Ah, that's pretty nice. Let's do that. And you have To be fair, this opener is basically Pot of Greed plus you stack your deck. Like, it is yeah. not a bad way to open the game. Let's it's see what not Pot bad. Of Desires gets me. It just feels like every time you either get the, the Desires or you get the, uh, the Stratos. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Um, Do you have three Desires, by the way? I have two. Okay. The optimal number of Desires. <laughs> I just drew two cards that require me to have no monsters on board for them to work. <laughs> well, you have I no am, monsters however, on board. Not going to complain about these draws. I uh, let's go for a hero lives. Okay. Gonna summon out the boy. All roads lead to Stratos. They do. All right, we're gonna get another Stratos. Well, maybe that's the better call. You're gonna need to get rid of Stratos. You just have right. so many ways to get to it. It's so good. I shouldn't have hit Rhoda back what I did. Stratos was clearly the key. So I have a combo that wins the game if I use the search effect. But you also stacked your deck, which means a Magician's Navigation immediately ends my life next turn. Well, you just said you could win the game right now if you search. Oh, next turn. It wins It wins the oh, game for okay. me next turn. Okay, we are going to use the pop effect. Uh, Stratos okay. also kind of wins me the game. He's pretty neat. He's a big blue boy. Ouch, my most of me. Uh, main phase two. We will do what we've been doing. Do what we're doing. Hello, All Kabu. right. Your go. All right. Finally, I get to show off my broken draw card. 
heart of demise. That's a nice one. Um, and then we'll go ahead and graceful off of oh that. Oh my god. Yeah, I, card um, of demise, you're one broken draw card. Yeah. <laughs> Spaguska's gonna have to do a lot of heavy lifting here. Let's, let's discard the fear force. We'll activate this again. A one, two, three. Then we'll set, and we'll set. Mm, I there feel a go. magician's navigation coming on. I've got advantage all over the place. You don't even know. Dare we do it again? <laughs> oh, one. yes, we do. Um, God, my banishes weren't bad either. Let's go Pot of Duality. Pot of Duality. Turn, turn, turn. Woo! Some a large number of very solid cards off the top. Then that means <laughs> it's ugly head. I have a it feeling do that. that soon I'm dead. Alright, um... But you control monsters, Fee! What will you do now? Uh, I will... Change Babuska to attack position? Yeah. Sweet. I'll allow it. Okay. And not because I can't do anything about it. I could, I just choose not to. <laughs> I'll set a background. These back. are all live cards that do a whole lot of stuff, and they're very powerful. Card of Demise number two. G! <laughs> Another one. Um, and these are like the worst cards I probably could have drawn. Uh, well, not the worst worst, but they're not great. Okay, so we're gonna normal summon this. Hmm. Give me a search. Yeah, that's you. fine. That Wonder what I'll point. pick. Hmm. It's a shock. Yep. Uh, said it could be anything. Activate mm -hmm. Magician Souls. Not a bad one. Yeah. Uh, I can't special summon, of course, but I could send Dark Magician to the graveyard so I don't fucking True. draw it. And, True. And then we go. <laughs> okay. And goodbye, Gofu. Goodbye. I could not summon you. Not under demise. Alright. Okay. It's gonna be like, if you hit me with the tornado duster, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I'm going to throw things at the wall. Oh, no. Um, this is a weird hand. So we have to... We have to Bagoo. Yes. Let's, let's punish you for using that punishment. I'll just get my lost wind back. That's fine. The card is just the bane of my existence. A thorn in my side. I like Lost Moon. It's um, a fun one. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very interesting, man. Uh, yeah, fuck it. What? Tribute off her, add the, the rod back to my hand. Sh sure. Uh, battle phase. Vespin. Yeah, sure. Cool. 25. Still alive. I did not have a plan for what happens after that. Your go. You think I was just gonna do the same problem I did just Dogmatica punish? No. <laughs> anyway, I figured with notes. Dark... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's not good. It's good for me. I'm liking it. Yeah, I bet. I'm having a fun time. Okay, finally. I get to... I have three of these, by the way. I haven't seen one all duel. And I mean, obviously, I could make Ra 10. I've made it before. I could make it again. But I could also do something different. Something perhaps you haven't seen. The Linky Karibo. Link Karibo. Mm -hmm. And then I will use my other three to make Invalid what? Dolmen. God's flat fuck is this card. Um, These big hands, man. Cool. I would like it. Cool. I don't want you to have it. Okay. <laughs> I just said that. All right. Give me that shit back. <laughs> to fair. Uh, yeah, we are going to use Vespier. Of course. We'll shock you to find out. I mean, why would... Point is, you don't use it on my turn. Or you don't use it on your turn when bad things happen. Give me that back. Okay. Give me back my dolmen. All right. And finally, I could... Get up. Now I have the combo. Behold the combo. 
I mean, I guess you can't behold it right now because you're you're too busy dying and stuff. It's on but, its way. Yeah. It's getting there. Do you want it done fast or do you want it done right? There's 28 from the Dolman. Turn the lights back on and Link Karibo will give you a little tickle. All right. Karibo! Huh. I've got Cash Tira Fenrir. You do. And it is nothing against the might of the Dark Magekin. It is Behold, so dark. So magical. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Able to remove your Fenrir without activating a monster effect. That's true. Uh, okay, let's let's do Gofu instead. Equally dumb in the face of my lost wind. Hmm. Hmm. I could be cocky even though I lost four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally right. happy. What can I do here? There are arguably things that I can do. You can do nothing, Robert. You will lose just like the the something that loses. That's that's me, the the loser that is like something that loses. Yeah, not like me. I've got the Coca-Cola Ultimate. It's it's XP flavor. What does that mean? I don't know, but it tastes it tastes kind of like fire, so that's very concerning. Okay, um, uh, so I have two Gofu in hand. If you had destroyed the second <laughs> Gofu instead of negating it, I would have had things to do here. But unfortunately, I do not think I do. Yeah. Uh, even going into some Link plays leaves the invalid Dolman very, very valid. Yeah, you do not uh, want to do Link plays around him because you must attack him. Yep. Uh, and that is you. You. You got it. I. I finally got one. Ma, get the camera. We did it. I did not get the check. I do have a witch of the black forest. Damn, that is definitely not jank. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't attack. I should have set this. Oh no. <laughs> I was excited <laughs> to do damage. Power also, move. It, it's weird that like the pop out art like for witch they somehow got full art. Like where did they get that from? Yeah, it's like the exact it's... same art. It just shows her, like, down to below the waist, even. Huh. Also, I think I... she's doing, like, Egyptian stuff with her hands. Oh. In it, it, Define Egyptian stuff. Like, the, the walk like the Egyptian, kind of. So, I could do that and make a link, too, and that wouldn't do anything. But instead, I think what I'll do... Ooh. Send that... And then we'll use the effect of Magician Souls that only Dark Magician players know. It and summons summon. the Dark Magician. That's very good. There we go. And with no monsters left on the field, I attack directly with Dark Magician. True! Gee, I told you I was the master, you know? I'm just the master who lost three games out of six. Alright. I was so prepared! I was like, I'm gonna be able to say the line. It's gonna be so hype. But no. <laughs> All right, okay. So, we gotta try for this one. Okay. Yes! Okay, all right, we're in all right. it. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't actually do everything, but it does quite a bit, actually. Um, so, it is a rank four, and the rank four that it's going to be is Castell. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And I am going to put the Dark Magician activate. back into my deck so that I'll draw it again. <laughs> you that would be a funny thing to do, uh, but I'm going to do the good thing instead and put back the Witch of the Black Forest. Oh? And then I'm going to Vesp over the Castell. Oh, the yeah. The ultimate bug back. in terms of attack and defense. I suppose so, even though it's a machine. It's a bug in my heart. It's a transformer. Yeah, I'll use Vespinato here. Uh, and ooh, Super Agent is the fun one, but Silver Gadget is the one that I think is better here. Then you get the floaties. I do. Let's swing it. Now All I'm right. Get my mathematician next time. Shuffle sure stuff into my deck. True. Ah. Uh, uh, sure. Hello. 
I glow up Bolton. It's oh, you can link a Rebo. That's cute. Yeah. Hello. Uh, okay. Of course, that's the card that I draw. Um. Battle phase. Yeah. I will continue the attack. Take that. All right. No respect. The respect play is completely off. You had your week for respect play, hard leg Jeff. And now I have the no! Goku! Wait, hold up. We can talk about this. He who controls the Goku controls the world. Time for another trick up my sleeve. Behold! The power code tar talker! Activate. Okay. Target? You're yeah. Max negated. True. And, uh. Sure. Oh, damn. Um. Bring this hold, back. hold on. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. Yeah, this, the question is does it. Does it negate it even if it's in the graveyard? I guess we're gonna find out. True. Behold. Now I am the one with access to your code. Let us banish the power code talker. All right. Let's get a guy. Damn it. <laughs> Let us banish We're just going to keep Link going. Rebo. Let's get another guy. Double damn it. <laughs> Surely you don't have a second gold gadget, do you? So, fun fact, you can only use silver gadget once per turn. Okay! At least <laughs> It's a hard something. once! But I oh did not get to end your life like I was hoping. Uh, no you didn't, and I drew cast your Fenrir. <laughs> Exciting and frustrating! <laughs> Goodbye, excess code, we hardly knew you. Oof. And it gets to redeclare. That's yeah. such nonsense. I'm a big fan of this card. <laughs> nonsense and poppycock. Just a little too late, buddy. Just a little too late. Maybe next time. Can you get another 2,400 points a day? No, okay. We're gonna we're gonna do our best. <laughs> okay. We're All right. Need a good I'll clue you into something about my hand. It turns out Gofu is not actually that good a card in this format. Ah! Now here <laughs> is something interesting. Behold, Parasomnia Pillow. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, and then we'll just go to the end phase. In the end phase, I can destroy the monster. And then activate this effect. Of course, now you have Gofu, as you hinted. <laughs> what can Gofu do? Hmm. Ask not what the Gofu can do for you. Ask what you can do for the Gofu. Uh, we also got Deep Sea Diva. So it's success code again. That is <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I guess that cements it. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> as much as I would like to help my cybers file, I think I'm going to have to ban access code. He yeah, has, it's... he has ruined me for the last time. <laughs> it is just the health ban for the format. You know what? Yeah. I'll take that dark magician. It is mine. No. Wait, no. wait, do I get to do the thing? Hold up, no. hard leg Joe. <laughs> Hold up. How much attack does Paris I refuse! Get out of here! No, you don't know. <laughs> it was my turn! I want to do it so much to be the one. field attack with Dark Magician uh, for game. By the way, the card in my hand, uh, Yanagarasu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, if you can top deck him on the first turn and your opponent gets a spell trap, hey, you just won the game. You did. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, this episode just makes me look so foolish. I, I went into this like, I've played this before. I understand the format. I know exactly what I'm doing. I have the big advantage. And then I once again got bamboozled by how fast it would end up being. <laughs> oh, just My deck was very owned. much... 
It was just Stratos and all the cards that make access code instantly. I did have interesting things to do. I, like I hinted at, I can make Cyframe Lord Omega pretty easily. A uh, Pit Knight early is insane in this format. I... Uh, so I also built in a lot of capability to do that. But as you saw, uh, Gofu, Stratos, Scapegoat. Uh, yeah. Really, I really assume, do, do some things. Do you have three Gofu and three Scapegoat as well? I do. I do have both three Gofu and three Scapegoat. So you're yeah. actually... So so I figured out while I was in, on stream last week uh, doing my polls, because I made a comment about two extra deck monsters on the board... I figured out what it is that you're on, and if I'm right about it, that means that even without access code, your extra deck lineup is vastly better than mine yeah. is. I, I have a lot of pretty good... I mean, you saw some of it, just the fact that, like, Scapegoat can make uh, Dolman plus, plus Link Karibo and stuff. I have some other tools. I mean, I have the, the Appalooza and everything. But yeah, it's just surprisingly, even these cards that just make tokens, just they, they get into access code so easily once you get a few generic links. And uh, yeah, as much as I'm like tempted to be like, maybe I could just hit the scapegoat, it'll be fine. But you again, you have so many ways to get into it. Yep. Yeah. So there we go. Access code. Get the hell out of here. Hopefully that'll reduce the OTKs. Right? Right? Or hopefully? Surely. <laughs> I guess Surely. we'll find out. What's what's the thing for next time? What are we doing I next time? next week is a scary one for me. I want to say... Oh, or no. Is next week double deck? No. Next week is one of your ideas. The Konami Ratios. Ooh. Konami Ratios. That's a, that's a wild one. We've got a lot of, like, cool combo things. But having to do Konami Ratios might mess with that a little it, bit. Traps are going to be... Very important. Yeah, I forget where you got these ratios from. Isn't this like an old like uh, like tip yeah. card or something? It's yeah, it's from like a dark beginning one tip card. It says uh, it says it's often a good idea to have a ba a good balance of monsters, spells, and traps. A, go a good balance to start with is twenty monsters, ten spells, ten traps, and that's just been yes. known as Konami ratios ever since. So that's what we're doing next time. We have to play those exact ratios: twenty yep. monsters, ten spells, ten traps, and then after that, we've got like mono type, mono attribute, double deck, whole bunch of very limiting stuff. Where I thought I would have the advantage, but uh, the the age of leg has not been going as well as I hoped. Uh, but we'll see. I fight onwards. You'll have to tune in to see how it goes. Until then, good luck. And good God, give us a few more cards. Ban yeah. access code. What am I talking about? Ban access code is ban the thing to do. Good code. luck Get and ban access code. code. And welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft episode 14. I think we're on 14. Robert, yes. do you know? I'm pretty sure... My deck is named episode 14, so I'm really hoping that's the case. We're going to assume it's 14 and hope that that's right. And yeah, if you don't know us by now, well, uh, welcome. It's weird that you would jump on at the 14th episode, but you're welcome here anyway. I'm a hard leg Joe, joined as always by the dimension shifter of Yugi Tube, the RJB0. That was where you chose to go tonight. Yes. I picked a Yu-Gi-Oh card because we're doing Konami ratios for the Chaos Rule. That's true. I'm 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 the dark beginning one of Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, plus, I, I believe that was a thing going on Twitter right before I came on. A bunch of people were like, "Dimension Shifter need to be banned," and I got tagged by several people where they're like, "You hate Maxi. You must hate Dimension Shifter too, right? Right?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Uh, not really." It doesn't have any of the same problems as Maxi, in my opinion, but I'm curious, what, what do you think of that? Was calling you the Dimension Shifter of Yugi Tube an insult? Um, uh, uh, probably. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of lingering floodgates on the whole. I think that they're like a not good space in card design um, because they're the kind of things, they're not like one-time activation things where like after it resolves, you're good. I... Uh, 
They're not like floodgates where you have the opportunity to remove them from the field in order to make them stop working. They're things that are like one-time activations that if you don't negate that activation, then you can't do anything for the rest of the turn. Or two, or a number of them in the case of things like Eradicator and Deck Devastation Virus. Yeah. Just not a big fan of the design concept. I I've been thinking about it. I think I like the idea of lingering effects specifically because of that. Like if you think of comparing Dimension Shifter to something like um, Macro Cosmos, right? Yes, you have the ability to destroy a Macro Cosmos if you draw the out. I kind of like the idea that like no matter what you draw, Shifter is going to be over in one turn. All you got to do is survive that turn. Now, of course, but as we see with Max C, like one turn makes the entire difference frequently. I don't think there's that much of a distinction between a floodgate that lasts for one turn and one floodgate and a floodgate that lasts until you draw the out. Except with like the case of Mystic Mine, where like the whole yeah. point of the card was to make sure that the duel took a million turns. <laughs> to me, I think it really depends on how powerful the floodgate effect is, right? Like, I don't think a lingering, like, skill drain or a lingering, like, the virus cards feel kind of unfair to me. Something that was, like, a lingering, uh, like, rivalry of warlords I don't think would be fair. But I think Dimension Shifter is, like, right on the cusp of, like, this can hurt a lot of decks, but it doesn't completely prevent you from playing unless you're playing zombies or something. I feel like most decks can at least put up a couple things, or maybe they can make a big play and then they just have no recovery because all their graveyards vanished. That's a fair point. I really would like the the realm of hand traps to be roughly the equivalent of spot removal back in like <laughs> the pre-duelist alliance days. I think I think Yu-Gi-Oh is at its best when both players are playing almost in their entirety during each player's turn. Yeah. And the things you can do during your opponent's the individual things you can do during your opponent's turn are more powerful than the individual things you can do during your turn, but you have more opportunities to activate them during your turn. I think that's the the best design space for Yu-Gi-Oh to yeah. be in. That, that, that I'd agree with. I'll, I, I just want to say as a final note, I think it would be interesting to have cards that, more cards like Dimension Shifter, that have these lingering effects, but just have them be less impactful. Uh, I'm wonder, I'm really curious, like, where the line is as far as, like, what's the least useful lingering effect you could still have? Like, would a hand trap that's like, you discard this, both players can only attack with one monster until the end of the next turn. Like, would that be worth playing? Or is that not impactful enough? Because it doesn't stop your opponent from doing anything. It just prevents them from killing you unless they put 8,000 attack on one dude. I feel like that probably wouldn't be good enough because, like, Threatening Roar isn't good enough. And I feel like that's a card that's best going first. Yeah. But I, I, I feel where you're trap. at. Something like that. I don't know. I'd have to think about it more. And this is not the space for it. This time, we're here to play Chaos Draft, which if you don't know the rules, go back and watch an old episode. We used to have an intro that said all the rules. Now it's musical and it's happy. I like it. Uh, we're going to be jumping in. Uh, Jules, put up the ban list real quick. Everyone take a moment, pause the video, check it out. Pretty neat. And then it's into the pack opening space. All right, here we are, back at it again, opening packs, and with today's chaos rule, I'm I'm not really sure what what we could need, but uh, we'll see. We're just flipping up. We'll just take whatever good stuff and a second giant trunade. Don't mind if I do. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Chaos Draft. All right, this is going to be an interesting week. YGO Pro Deck just came out with a new UI, and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get things to work in chronological order for Chaos Draft. Our list that Hardleg and I put together is in chronological order, but when you import it, something gets a little wiggity along the way. I figured out how to sort it alphabetically, but not chronologically. So this week is a little bit weird. We're going to try and get this as chronological as possible, but uh, uh, Jules is only human. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, the good news is 
we did start on Dark Beginning 1, so let's see what we get out of Dark Beginning 1. That's a whole Call of the Haunted. I will take an entire Call of the... Do I already have three Call of the Haunted? I do not have three Call of the Haunted. That's a very nice super rare I will take right now. The victory is extreme this time, but not here. Do we already have three Nanishi? Let's check our Karakuri, shall we? Uh, we've got two, and it's a pretty good tuner. Might as well take the third one. Nothing else here is good. All right. Dark Side of Dimensions. What have we got? We got a third alternative dragon. That is my third alt, and I will take a third alt. Epic Dawn. A fourth graceful charity? Should I take a fourth one, chat? I already have three. I can't believe I don't even need another one. Uh, I think we take the Morphing Jar because it's a rock. A big ass rock. Here's Breakers of Shadow. Fiendish Rhino Warrior is pretty cool, but there's the second Draco face-off. I have re-rolled over and over to try and get this card, but goddamn am I happy to have it now. I will take a second one of these. If we can get three, then I have a really good reason to run Pendulums. A Saga of Duelists. Imperial Order. Is this this band... I feel like this is one of those things that is banned or should be banned. Let me double check here. No. No, I don't think we've gotten enough of them for it to be banned. We banned the one that does traps. I forget the name, the, the royal whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take the, the Imperial Order. Extreme Force. No. No. You couldn't have given me another card that's better at the same rare. You couldn't have given me another card that I can justify taking over this one. I can't, I can't justify taking anything else. The duelists have their code. Oh, hey, I'm trying to get a Cybers pile together. And you know what? This is one of the, one of the best Cybers monsters. It has its errata, but now we can use that. Hell yeah, Firewall Dragon. Hell yeah. Kaiba's collection of legendary cards includes Delinquent Duo. I think I already have one of those and I haven't used it, but having two of them makes all of them better, right? Because it's more likely to be used. Yeah, we just take the duo. It seems weird that we had to think so long about that, but yeah. All right, it's time to chase infinity, whatever that means. Oh, that's a, <gasps> that's a lot of very good cards. That's a lot of really good cards. That would be a, our second Jackal King. It's really good. And we already have a Dracosac. I, my mind has been made up just by that alone. I will take the second Jackal King. Assault the Ignitions. Oh, hey, there's another Link 2 Code Talker. I mean, it got sideways arrows, so it's not the most useful, but it is another Code Talker. And we are working on a Cybers pile, and everything else here sucks, so we're taking it. All right. Toon Chaos! That's a su super magic sword of Rapturedness. Isn't this a uh, Gemini support card? Uh, that's an okay card. Oh, wait, is that a third Gamma? It is a third gamma. We're going to take the third gamma. Armageddon to the legend of battles. Or some Oh! Oh! We got we got the, the, the Dragon Buster Welp! We got the Buster This is the one swordsman card we need! It's an ultra rare! It's only in this pack, I believe. Yeah, we're getting that. All right, Dimension Force. This is one of those packs where I am still looking for a common card. Oh, and look at that. We actually received it for the first time in, like, ever. I'm looking for a card, and I got it. This is Therian Reaper Foom. Now, for those of you who do not know why I have been trying to cope on this card for so long, even after I lost my copy of Regulus, this card is a compulsory evacuation device that's kind of repeatable because you can use it to bounce itself and repeat things. And here is the real real 
real thing. This is an aqua monster. And an aqua monster is very, very good in our tier limits deck that we're trying to build because we need it for Kaleida Heart. Let's take a Reaper Foom. El Dorado. Whoa. Super Dreadnought Cannon Juggernaut Libe. You don't say. Well, that gives me a bit of a difficult choice here. On the one hand, my, my train game is not great, but I do have two Juggernaut Rail Cannons. I do have quite a few level 10 things. Like, especially I have three Derecrane, but that's about it. I have three Derecrane, I have a Switchyard, I don't have any other level 10s, and it's hard to get the level 10s. But if I can get them out, Libe is just like an OTK machine, and I can stack it on top of the things I already have. On the other hand, Altergeist Multifaker. I already have a Conquery, a Meluseek, another Multis Faker, a Silquidius, two Manifestation, and two Hextia. So I'm in pretty good shape if I can get more of these to make like a very solid trap deck that actually makes use of all these. We don't have all the other ones quite, but that definitely helps, and it's a very high thing. All right, after considering it for probably way longer than I should have, I'm going to take the, the Juggernaut Rail Cannon Libe. I have more Earth Machines, it's more likely to work. The Altergeist is very tempting, especially since this is like an ultra rare in the secret packs. But getting the rest of it together is going to be very difficult. So I think we're going to take this one. Here we are at Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. That's a, another Super Poly. I think that is my third Super Poly. Yeah, Super Poly is very good. Dynatank, I think, is also pretty good. Takes a machine and a monster out. Uh, uh, yeah, we're taking Super Poly. Oh, it's the Starlight Super Poly, too. Hell yeah. When the masters are tactical, no one can survive. We get a third Drollin lock and put it in the side. All right, and the last pack ostensibly of our main draft before we do rerolls and rolls of sets that came up weirdly in the draft. Let's take on Battle of Chaos. That's a lot of nothing in here. Probably, yeah, I'll take the third Serpent Strike just to make it even easier for me to get Ogto Abyss. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Add this to the collection, move on with our life. Finally, revenge of the crystals. The crystals are having their revenge and giving me nothing. Chaos Creator, sure, this is something I could actually summon. And because they changed it, we don't actually have to do a separate thing for the bonus packs. We could just roll right into Hard Leg Chaos Pack 1. Flip it up, see what's inside. Uh, not a whole lot, but I think we want to take another Weathering Soldier because that'll help us with the, the stuff we've got going. Medionis Drytron is cool, but it doesn't mention the, the name of the monster. These are both cool. Yeah, we're just taking another Weathering Soldier. I am looking a little bit for the common Yang Zings that I have in my pack because, uh, spoiler alert, I think, I think Worms might be the strat for this week. Let's start with Hard Legs. We're going to get, uh, Serravius is pretty decent. I think I've got all of the Infinitrax that I really want besides the extra deck ones. Actually, I'm going to take Sue. If I get to do Hieratic things, I'll take it. Chaos Pack 2! Show me that Earth Machine! Well, Metal Cruncher. Metal Cruncher's pretty nice, although I don't have... Um, you can reveal three Earth Machines. So just get you an Earth Machine. This also gets me an Earth Machine, and that would be like the third Infinitrack. Yeah, that would be the third Harvester, which is like the starter for the, the whole thing. Harvester gets Dozer. Dozer brings that in. We've got everything. Alternatively, Kageki would be the third Kageki. That would make our six Samurais. We'd have three Kageki, three Kizan, plus the Shien, and two Gateway of the Six. 
Yeah, I have nowhere else to get Kageki, and they voted for it. Let's take it. Let's see if we can make the six samurai shine. Hey, there's another gear frame. We love to see those. And an elder entity in Tiss. That goes really well with the Dogmatica punishment I just got. How many gear frames do I have? I'm going to take the third gear frame. Just in case. Just in case. All right, RJ's pack, flip them up. What do we got? Nothing as you, I mean, Lightning Vortex is not bad. Lightning Vortex, Agave Dragon is another dragon that might be worth. Lightning Vortex gets us stuff in the graveyard. Yeah, we'll take the Lightning Vortex. Now it's time for my Chaos Packs. Uh, starting off with a Ninja Grandmaster Saizo. That's kind of sick. Uh, Telekinetic Power Well is also kind of cool, but I don't think it does anything for us. I'll actually take another Terraforming, for sure. For sure we take another Terraforming. And the second pack! Instantly just goes down. I don't need that. Oh, hey, there's another Kageki. I could have taken the other one. We just get another Kageki here anyway. Yeah, let's, let's take that. We'll take the Magna Rocket. And with that, we get our collection of things, which we've got to remove some from, because for some reason it opened doubled up a few packs. And for our last Chaos Pack, what was that fusion? Was that a Sheki Naga I just pulled it super rare? Oh... Sheki Naga, you don't say. That's a pretty cool card, but that's also a ninjutsu art of super transformation. Nah, I'm taking Sheki Naga. Of course I'm taking the high rarity shit all. What would you expect of me? All right, we're re-rolling the soul fusion. See if we can get anything better. And we did not, really. All right, we're going to start by re-rolling Battle Pack Epic Dawn. Let's see if we can get either a busted DM staple or if we can get ourselves a copy of Machina Fortress. What do we have? Um, Ring of Destruction doesn't super inspire me. All right, re-rolling Mystic Fighters. And well, it wasn't what we were expecting. But another Dragon Ruler is pretty good. I'm pretty sure we don't have three of these. Let's double check. Nope, we have two. Now we have three. Getting all the Dragon Rulers, baby. We're going to try for Battle Pack Epic Dawn again. High Speed Riders. Can we get a Psy Frame Gamma? I just want to Gamma. I did not get the Gamma. Uh, no, we'll take another Takatom board. Perhaps this time Battle Pack will give us a Machina Fortress? I'm gonna try one more. And finally, Dark Saviors. Rerolling this to see if we can get a Sky Striker. Uh, hey, a second Widow Anchor. That is a Sky Striker. I will take a second Widow Anchor. That's, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. That's a bunch of banned cards. <laughs> this is what I get. All right, so after sitting down and thinking about it for a while, we've decided to open Dragon Luster, which is kind of, it's kind of the Dragon Maid pack, which we don't have a lot of, but it's also got some pretty good generic dragon support in here, including the Keeper of Dragon Magic, which is kind of critical for our Dark Magician pile which is something we might go back on today because it's got a nice mix of spells and traps and being able to fusion summon in it, I think will be game breaking. So I'm going to open this up, see what we get and not a whole lot, but I mean, tidying, this is one of the things we were thinking about was like, even if we don't necessarily get the stuff we want, there's still some pretty decent stuff in here and tidying definitely good. Not only is this a compulse for dragons, for any kinds of dragons, but it's also a normal trap we can activate off of Trap Trick. Okay, pack number two. Hmm, we've got Felgrand. If this card is summoned from the graveyard, target a monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard, banish it, it gains attack equal to the banished rank or level. It destroys a monster by battle, target a level seven or higher, a level seven or eight dragon and special summon it. Pretty neat. We've also got Mana Dragon Xeratron. 
which is again a decent dragon, but also something I might want to play in the Dark Magician build. This is one of those neat tech cards that's al almost like, al almost it's always almost playable. If a spell trap you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect and is now either in the graveyard or banished, special summon this, um, and then set the spell trap that is banished or in your graveyard in the spell trap zone. So it, it lets you get a free monster while returning something that gets destroyed. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And I believe you can special summon this from the graveyard or hand. So even if we use it as like a fusion summon for like the Dark Magician stuff again, pretty nice. Why is Fury of Kairush in there? I do not know. I'm going to take the Xenotron though. I always wanted to try to make this work. Okay, pack number three. All right, we got Brotar. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and take the Brotar. We're going to be a real bro. Okay, pack number four. Flip it up. Ah, ooh, eh. I am having big regrets. Send the top three. This is the one that we just read that doesn't do anything all that much. We got the Starry Knight. I think we just go for Arc Brave. Arc Brave or a second Brotar. Yeah, I think Arc Brave's a one of. We'll take the second Brotar. And last pack. Can we get something we really wanted? Oh, we got another Fury of the Kairushin. And yeah, with this, I think I think we just take the changeover. We do have something to search, and if we ever get a Dragon Maid fusion, it might work. But uh, oh boy, not a great. Wait, is that only four? No, we've got all five. So yeah, not a great mix. Not what we were looking for. Maybe we should go on with the other Dragon Pack, but that's how the pack crumbles sometimes. Let's go ahead and just add this to our collection and see what we can come up with. This one's a little bit weird. I'm going to do something a little silly this week. I have a couple of extra deck boss monsters that I want to trot out that I probably won't be able to play in any other format. And my card pool is not particularly excellent in this one. My main advantage comes from things like the Therions and the Dangers, things that are extremely monster heavy and don't really like to play with back row other than what they search. That means that I have to play something that has a lot of monsters that are a little bit more self-sufficient or do more or bang for their buck. Enter whatever the hell this is. A few of my boss monsters that are really going to shine in this week are Geomathmech Final Sigma and Blackwing Full Armor Master, two cards my deck is very, very capable of producing by way of Gofu and Pinaki. Pinaki is cool because it plus a Mech Knight or a Fenrir can get me into Full Armor Master on turn one, and then it searches Gofu. There are a lot of things that I can do with this card that basically get me into something plus Gofu during the end phase if I can survive for the turn, but I get the Gofu next turn. That's why it's helpful for me to have things like a Hero Lives, the Tenyi Spirits that are clogging up right there, uh, and some of the back row that we have to work with. We can make Baguska while we wait for this combo to show up, and once we've got it, it's very, very difficult to out. Hardleg will have to put a monster on the board that can destroy full armor or your final Sigma by battle, at which point we have a million different ways to disrupt it. I've just got to see a couple of the cards to make it. My side deck is really, really going first versus going second dependent. We've got the Kaijus to deal with big boss monsters, some hand traps in case the trap traps that we have aren't going to cut it. We've got the one Celestial in case Hardleg is on Dark Magician again or a Floodgate deck and some going second cards to boot. This deck is a little bit weird, but it's very good at putting a couple monsters on the board that are extremely difficult to out, and I'm hoping that's going to be good enough for this week. Next week, I think we have some fun things to play with. Let's see what we can do. Hokey dokey, ladies and non-ladies. I was originally going into this intending to maybe do the, uh, the Dark Magicians, maybe do some Six Samurais, but at the end of the day, I think the best thing to try out is this. It is Math Mech, kind of. I mean, I could do the Math Mech combo once. Uh, we've basically got a setup where any two level four monsters is going to allow us to go into Alan Bershin. Alan Bershin lets us search Circular, and Circular lets us do a little yoinky sploinky so we end up with Super Factorial. If we can get Super Factorial off on the first turn, that's going to give us a huge advantage over Robert. 
If you don't know, this allows us to make Laplacian during his turn. We can send, it's basically Trishula, it's Ixie Trishula. We're gonna send two cards from the field, one from the hand, all to the graveyard, and we're gonna get a monster that has an Omni Negate on it, at least for that turn. And if that weren't enough, this combo also searches follow-up for the next turn. So if we're able to stop Robert on the first turn, then next turn we can make something like Mech Knight Crusadia Avramax, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any kind of uh, native out to, unless he's got some sort of new thing he can make with Super Poly, something other than Starving Venom. Uh, or, or if he plays Kaijus, this is going to be exceptionally difficult to out. And even if he does that, uh, the way this deck is set up is like, you know, if we top deck a Gofu, we just get a free Link 3. Gofu plus anything else, free Link 4. If we get any two level 4 monsters, or if we get a Diameter while we have any Math Mech in the graveyard, that's a Rank 4, or a, or a Link 2, which can maybe link up into other stuff. We can also make something like Omega, which if we're already taking stuff out of his hand with Duo and Super Factorial, Omega is just going to insult to injury, just get rid of that. And that's the hope. We're basically banking this week on having a very strong first turn play, because that's essentially what ended up happening with um, with Insectors. Insectors had a really strong play going first um, that was just really consistent to do. And hopefully if we can just shut him down enough on that first turn, then subsequent turns will be fine. Especially because we've got a pretty good suite of things. Uh, decent spells like Soul Charge, Monster Reborn, Graceful to get us into our... Basically, all of these are things that we're going to be operating on the first or second turn. If we end up going second, we can hopefully remove all this back row and then do what we want to do. Or we can get two cards out of his hand, or we can extend with something like one of these two. And then the rest of the traps are just all things to back up Avramax or Topological Bomber Dragon or whatever else we happen to make. Uh, the Compulse, the Imperm, Lost Wind, uh, these two in particular are searchable by Trap Trick. And then if that weren't enough, we have Imperial Order to back up everything. There's a chance this screws us over because we've got a whole lot of spells, but most of these, again, are things we're going to fire off on the first turn. And then once we have a boss monster established, being able to turn off all of Robert's traps should be pretty good. Um, as for the side deck, we've got a couple different options. We've got a lot of spell trap removal, both MST, trap stun, anti-spell fragrance, because we know that Robert's going to be playing traps, and he's got a lot of very powerful ones. If he's got those monsters that are going to be difficult to deal with, things that can't be targeted or destroyed, we've got some storming mirror forces, which can also be taken with something like a uh, compulse, or I'm sorry, which can also be taken with trap trick, is what I meant to say. If he's on a whole bunch of spell trap removal, I finally sighted in the Waking the Dragons. If we end up getting blown out because he's just on so many MSTs and everything, we could do this to try to maybe do some head games. Um, and then called by the grave, because once he knows we're on this, the one thing that really stops this, that could really shut us down, would be Ghost Bell. He's done that to us several times before, so we want a little something that can stop that. If he's on extra graveyard stuff, we can make Abyss Dweller. We've also got the Appaloosa in here. Uh, it's kind of difficult to make with this particular build. We're often locked into Cybers, which Avramax and Topologic are, but this is not. And also, when only half of his deck is monsters, being able to stop all that, not all that strong. But if he happens to have, like, all his spells and traps just search monsters, then maybe we'll put this in. Um, same thing if you got a bunch of graveyard, we got the Dweller, and this is the target for Waking the Dragon. So, kind of a risky deck, but at this point we've got to take big risks and hopefully get a win. We've got Dark Magicians for, I believe, next time. We've got Dragons coming up. There's a whole bunch of decks that are going to be seeing a bunch of play during the next couple episodes. But this, I think, has the best chance to work this time. And if not, we'll always have the Salty run back. Right, this is the call. Yeah, wow, I am incapable go. of winning Rock, Paper, Scissors in this oh. series. <laughs> oh! Oh, Robert! Your days are numbered, Robert. Uh -oh. I'm going to start off with something we haven't seen here before that's maybe a little fun, maybe a little bit of an asshole. Let's hit with Delinquent Duo. No! Oh, God. Uh, goodbye, goodbye Protoss. and Protoss. Wow, you're tossing the Protoss. Interesting. Uh, 
a spoiler, my hand is not particularly good at making Protoss live. Ah, I see, I see. Um, and then I'm going to activate Mathmex Circular and send what Sigma. What are you? <laughs> yeah? Bet you weren't expecting that. You got something you could do? Uh, well, marginally speaking, I'd say. I see. Let's bring back Sigma. I'm not certain about this, but this does feel like it's the choke point. On the on the diameter? Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sigma, we could summon it if we have nothing in the extra monster zone. That'll trigger circular. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. search a spell trap. Don't worry about that Oh, hello, one. Super Factorial. <laughs> He's super. Thanks for asking. And you just found Math Mech. I you just, just <laughs> you have acquired Math Mech. I've been slowly collecting them. Let's just get rid of those. And what do I want? I think, I mean, I already have almost every, yeah, we'll just take an addition. Then I think all we do is we send these off or Wicked. Okay. Look at him dancing around in his little shorts and everything. He's got a big old staff and a hood and a cape and a little bow tie. It's just a dapper little dude. Let's go Gofu. Ah, and then you get two tokens. True. Oh, it seems I missed my spot. Well, I guess you get to summon whatever you want then. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that does a lot into exactly this right now. Yeah. Um, Super Factorial is a pretty, pretty busted card, I must say. It's a very, very solid one. Yeah, um, and very rare. It's It says a lot that it took me this long to get one. I was so excited I got everything, and now it's sinking in just how much I screwed you, and I'm like, now I feel bad. Robert's such a nice gentleman. Oh, that's okay. So I've had my times. <laughs> This card is destroyed by opponent's card effect. Okay. Let's just right. go ahead and activate this then. Super fact. Okay, and I didn't get hit by the ghost bell. I was that very worried by the ghost bell. And yes, I do indeed have a Laplacian. Oh, let's go, baby send a monster and then that also triggers wicked when a monster summoned the zone he points to you can banish a cybers from the graveyard and add a cybers tuner from your deck to your hand ah okay so i'm not the only one on hand removal no you are not i don't um, feel as bad now i'm surprised you didn't activate it though uh it i, I probably needed it for the play I was going to make more than I needed to remove a single card from your hand. Ah, okay. I see, I see. Because at this point, I don't think removing that single card from your hand was going to make the difference here. Ah, uh, well, you know. <laughs> okay, that's not compulse. That's good. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can just clean this up here, shall we? Let's see what you got. Let's go ahead, put this here. Um, we've got these two, so let's make an Omega. Okay. Grinding on down. Um, let's go ahead and addition. All right. Gonna give myself a thousand attack. Yep. Summon that. We're going to use these two to make Underclock Taker. Okay. It was only important because it's an extra deck cyber. And here comes the Avramax. Yeah. Maximum! Mm. And, uh, let's see. 3 plus 38, that's... That's not enough. I did so many things that it's just not enough. Okay, okay. I think I can do this. Let's go ahead. The last card in hand... Oh. Monster Reborn. Mm hmm. We're going to bring back the Laplacian. Okay. And I'm Cyber Slocked. So never mind. I'm stupid. Don't pay attention to me. I was never going to win. 
but I, I'm getting in for a lot of damage. All right. I do actually have a card that gets me out of this. Okay. Let's see what I that card I just need to draw you, uh... and then not get it hit by Omega. Oh, well, oh, that okay. takes care of my, my concerns. I think it comes back during okay. the standby, right? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're not dead in the water here. Um, we may be dead in the water now. <laughs> um, hold on. Hold we up. We might not be. What does your ass do, Avermax? I know that you're annoying as fuck. He's big. During okay. battle, it adds attack equal to the opponent's attack. So it honests itself. He's the George Washington right. of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Too honest. Here we go. And the card that may get me out of this is... A Hero Lives! <laughs> Half the life Summon points. Stratos. Use Stratos. I'm gonna get Stratos. All right, all right. Why do you have a response window there? I'll activate Stratos again. Okay. We'll add a dusted gold. Time to get dusty. We'll activate a dusted gold. Okie dokie. Grab the dark calling. And I hear this All calling. Right. Now I'm beginning to realize that I'm not actually sure that I... Uh, <laughs> that Malicious Bane's effect works the way I think it does here. I guess we're about to uh, find out. Let's see. Oh, it is less than or equal to this card. That's true. Okay, let's activate it. Pop, pop. Yep, that does get rid of it. Um, You do get the Avermax here, but that's not the worst thing that could happen to me here. No. Uh, and I'm really we, regretting having used that Monster Reborn now on something that didn't win me the game. True. Let's go to battle phase. Stratos in. Stratos 2.0. There's two of them. Main phase two. What are we going to summon next? That's a very I, funny card, but I, I don't think exactly it does what I know exactly what you're going to, to summon next. There's only one I option, have, Robert. I have a feeling that after plan A failed, plan B might yep. be the way to go. <laughs> yep, yep. Your go. Yep. Okay, there are a card that gets me out of that, and... Oh yeah, I forgot I still have Omega. You do still have Omega. He's in defense mode, but, uh, you know, he exists. He's there. Uh, let's activate a graceful charity of our own. Oh, we? good. Okay. Uh, not great. Not great. Uh, I think I have to discard these two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again. Wait, you've got two duos? <laughs> you have two duos now? I have a duo of duos. Oh um, my god. I'm never letting you go first again. <laughs> never again, never again. Yeah, I think I'm going to send those two. Yep, I think we just have to pass here. All right. Let me into your mind, Robert. Let me take a peek at what your fears are. My fears are double delinquent duo Avramax. <laughs> well, there you go. You've already faced your fears. What more do you have to fear? I will set a back row. I will special summon <laughs> Mac Knight Indigo Eclipse. I see. I see. I... Battle phase. Uh, I will compulse. Unfortunate. Uh, let's go. Something in the graveyard you could do? Oh, you could turn it into Vespinato, can't you? I can turn it into Vespinato, which I considered doing during the main phase, but uh, you probably would have hit me with the compulse anyway. I'll let you go here. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a decent one. All right. Let us normal the diameter. That is a decent one. Yes. 
It is very good. I like it. Diameter is my friend, and you can't tell me otherwise. And I know that back row can't be used, so... Um, oh, and it's special summons <laughs> if I destroy Vespinato. Uh, okay, fortunately, I have a way to deal with that. You know him. You love him. Castell, there it the sky-blasting musketeer. All right, that was way tighter than it had any right to be, but I've survived. And and go in, Castell. You earned it. We got ourselves one win. Now, unfortunately, you know about all my tricks. You've seen everything this deck can do, and I'm pretty sure you've got some side deck cards that can handle it. Oh, I do have some side deck cards. Also, I'm just realizing, I'm not sure if we met, we didn't mention it during the intro or in the duel. Maybe we mentioned it during the pack opening section, but uh, today's chaos rule. We're doing what's called uh, Konami Ratios which is uh, from an old, like, Konami tip card, which was like, you should have 20 monsters, 10 spells, 10 traps. Also known as 2010-10 format. Not to be confused with 2010 format, which is different. And I'm going to shock you by going first this time. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to go first? I don't I'm fairly I, I sure. I don't have Delinquent Duo in my hand. Uh, let's do something you've seen me do before. I'm ah. going to summon Tenyi Spirit Nahata. Nah. Hata. And I will normal summon Stratos. I don't remember Activate Stratos. Activate Stratos. We'll add another Stratos. Of course. Uh, and then the greatest end board of all time that has yet to actually win me a game, by the way. <laughs> I feel like Baguska has never actually succeeded in keeping you from playing the game. But I'm kind of hoping that this time not being able to activate monster effects on the field will help me. Possibly. Set a card. Hell yeah, let's and go. And I'll set a card. Okay. And uh, your move, salesman. All right, draw for turn. Uh, detach Stratos here. What do we want to do with our time? Normal summon Stratos. I am familiar with this Activate man. Activate Stratos. Uh, I'll add a Dusted Gold this time. Surprising. Why do you have Activation Trigger Wound? Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's go a Dusted Gold. All right. Things we'll are getting dark dusty calling. once again. That's that's what I do, hard leg Joe. I'm gonna set a back row, and it's time to get moving. Move, man, cometh. Have I ever told you that I like to move it, move it, hard leg Joe? You may have mentioned this from time to time. All right, let's go, Yellow Star from hand. Another one. That is true. I do have multiples of them. Let me. See, that's a funny thing that I can do under these circumstances. Is it a good thing, given that there's a decent chance you're just sitting on a compulsory evacuation device <laughs> waiting to end my life? Probably not. I love how um, everything we do in this is just centered around, like, this is a good monster, but Compulse exists at three. <laughs> real. Okay, I think that I have to try and go all in on this. I'm going to activate Dark Calling here. Ah, I thought the Dark Calling was the thing in your hand. No, you had set it. Nope, it is, in fact, the uh, second Mech Knight Morningstar or Yellow <laughs> Star in my hand. All right. Now, this, of course, all loses extremely hard to one copy of Storming Mirror Force. Uh, but save for that, I think I'm in okay shape here. Storming Let's Mirror get in Force with Stratos. be pretty cool. Oh, ah! that's, no! <laughs> oh, all of my plans dashed by a single 2,000 defense monster. He's got a big booty. Uh, okay. Yep, we're gonna do that. All right. That is fine. Okay. I will be taking a lot of damage. what 2100 and then we've got 3000 <laughs> yep if i had attacked in a different order this would all worked out not quite 
No. That's fine. We're just gonna lose your wind here. Main phase two. I've got 2,000 life points left. It's not very many. I think the plan here is just to let you play. Just let them play. I don't think there's anything that I could summon there that would keep you from playing the game sufficiently under. Hello there. There's a... <laughs> God fucking damn it. Yeah, that's... I guess that's fine. Um... Okay, so I'm guessing that's not a solemn warning this time. God, I wish. Okay, so you're just going to be able to do math mech things after this. Probably. It's a good assumption. Uh, I think I have to Canadia the Gofu, <laughs> because otherwise you're just going to be able to nightmare Phoenix away, my Canadia. That does actually hurt my calculus. Good. I need it. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait Never mind. one second. No, that's effect monsters. Gosh darn it. Hell yeah. <laughs> now it's my turn to go through the roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Just sitting there, I'm like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a better way. And all roads lead to maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It could uh, be. Could be. Let me think. Okay, I'm just gonna have to start doing stuff and hope hope I don't All fuck right. it up. Hello, Link Karibo. This Link card, Karibo. more than anything else, I feel like has been a major advantage in your card pool. Yeah. Just the... There are so many more things you can do with your tokens because you have Link Karibo than I am capable of doing with mine. The shadow. Yep, here we go. There we go. Let's just go ahead into my good friend Alan. Perhaps you've met him. We've met, we have encountered each other, correct? Uh, let's get the circle. Okay, there he is. Activate the circle. We'll send. Okay. I don't know. Subtraction. Does it matter? Okay, I think I can do this. Okay. Let's go ahead. We're going to use these three to make Power Code Talker. Power Code Talker is a dude. Uh, I'm going to use his effect. Your effect is negated. No moving for you. <laughs> okay. Then uh, I just realized I fucked up, but that's that's fine. I think I still got this. Then we're going to got this through 7800. We're going to special summon Topologic Bomber Dragon. Oh, I forgot that you have this fucker. And oh then Monster Reborn on the multiplication that'll summon it in this zone, which will wipe all the stuff, which will trigger multiplication, doubling his attack to 6,000. I will attack for 6,000. And then he will deal burn damage equal to your attack. <laughs> Which is not Oof. game because Baguska couldn't be destroyed. But, all right, you know, we did some stuff. We cleared the whole board. Go topological. No, bomber. it had to be this <laughs> top deck. God, the solemn warning couldn't have <laughs> showed up any sooner for me. It had to be all of my mech knights, and then I top deck the solemn warning. Oh, oh you've got it, hard leg, oh, Joe. Another chaos coin. I was worried I'd never see you again. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. I have no idea what to ban from your pool. <laughs> You have so much flexibility in the extra deck in a way I just do not possess. Which is weird because like five episodes ago, it was this, I was saying the same thing for you. It was like everything you have goes into access code. And now I've got- But it like, was only access code. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> now I've somehow, see, that's the thing too, is I've had Bomber for a while, but making it is just so, so difficult and it doesn't do a whole lot unless you could do exactly something like that 
and just clear the whole board with it. That was just that the was tool. Just the two. We Let's got do the a two game three. Out. Let's okay. see if I can actually do what my deck does this time. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll just go first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, good. Um, Maybe this wow, my deck you an is... idea of what to ban. This deck, my deck really just cannot give me the remainder of my deck. It's really <laughs> determined to give me exactly this portion of my deck. Um, so obviously I haven't seen your deck profile at this point. What was the theory going into this? Is it really just like the best stuff you have in a pile? You will see. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I had the worm stuff, but the worm stuff just didn't accomplish that much with what I have. Those I good hits. Yes, they were. <laughs> also, not to interrupt your explanation, but I think I have an idea of what you might want to consider banning. This motherfucker. This uh, fucker yeah, is... I <laughs> gotta use my the fucking thing here. And maybe it's... Oh, granted, you have a raw 10 now, too. The fact that this guy can just make, like, a raw 10, or I got Power Code Talker, which is just three monsters. And you want to know something wild? Sure. I... My Gofu is searchable. <laughs> my Gofu is searchable, and you have resolved it twice, and I have not seen it at all. I have six copies of Gofu in my deck. It's, it's almost exactly like with, um with access code like you can consistently get it out i had two of them and that guy that lets him double attack and just never could make it work um let's see what we got here okay i can still do stuff okay i got balancer lord he's got a sword and he's got a second normal summon to him yep it's your good friend multiplication it could be worse yeah unless you're just sandbagging a circular in your hand no Although it doesn't matter because... I yeah, mean, because if, you have Alan Persian. If, you, if you're afraid of the math mech portion of it, then probably Alan Persian is the way to go because he's... Any two level fours allow me to get this and then just get two more monsters on the field. It's also tough because you've got three graceful charity over my two and you've got the <laughs> double delinquent duo and it's really just a... It's, it's just... The fact Trouble. that... Trouble. <laughs> I've been holding on to all these things. You haven't gotten any bands. Uh, That's true. Let's... Yeah, the real problem is I've just been winning too much. <laughs> You're just too good. What can I say? Uh, yeah, we go for this. Hello. Oh, there's that. Yeah. Okay. It's the only, like, rank 4 Ixie I have, which allows me to maintain the Sigma... Uh, yeah, I'll just go in. All right. And I mean, Light Dragon, pretty... This is another one of those things where, like, if this card was released in... Oh, I can only attack with one monster. Hell yeah. I always forget Circular has the weirdest, like, restriction, right? I don't think there's any other monster in the game that's like, okay, you can special summon this, but you're only allowed to attack with one guy. Uh, let's True. go for... This dude. Here's the wicked. Yep. I wonder what that could be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is just like the first duel. Okay. It's the um, first duel all over. You've been delinquent duoed and super factorialed. Okay. Um. Then I end on wicked pass. <laughs> let's go Mapura. All right. Oh, there is a dragon there. I always thought this was just a volcano. I never saw the dude there before. Another Stratos. All right, let's add this guy. Hey, here's a card I have. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought Baguska was coming down again. No, I mean, Baguska would not do me very much good into this field. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I don't know what this actually does. I think it just takes a card out of your hand. Do I even get to yeah, resolve which... it? That's a good question. I think you can... Oh, because it is just a wipe. Uh, we'll oh, we'll find out, I suppose. Oh! Oh, shit! I forgot about <laughs> that effect. Yeah. Oh, Wicked stop God. stuff from being destroyed. Oh, wait, no. I had to destroy it? that. Cybers monsters this card points to can't be destroyed. Yeah. All right. I really need you to not hit a particular thing. 
And sure, we'll use multiplication to double Wicked's attack. Excellent. He's a powerful boy. Uh, sure. Wow. Oh, this is... That doesn't do anything. Uh, well, activated anyway. <laughs> Again. And Wicked's just like, no. Oh, oh God. God could not have any mercy on me this time. Oh, God. Just the way he's pointing, too. He's like, uh, no. <laughs> Get out of here, old man. You're not allowed <laughs> What was the other card in your head? <laughs> Confiscation. <laughs> I feel like I need to ban Graceful Charity because it's just so bad for the game. And you do have three of it, which means that you... Uh, Oh my, of course, I have once again drawn the capability to do Baguska Pass. This is, my <laughs> deck is really unrivaled at doing the main thing that it was meant to do. I've I've never seen a Blackwing deck more capable of summoning Blackwings in my life. <laughs> Too many uh, heroes and spirals in your Blackwing deck, what can I say? I guess. Let's, I mean... This this hand does actually have a chance at stopping you from doing things, so that's that's good. Let's yeah. see if let's see if we actually get to see me play the game this time around. It's really tough. So uh, so you do have the three graceful charity, and you have a much greater capability to take advantage of it than I do through things like Lost Wind. Yeah, but you also have things like Avramax, Topologic Bomber Dragon. Uh, the entire math mech line uh, is really interesting. I am going to have to put some serious consideration into what I banned this week. I was sitting here like, I can Baguska too, and then we'll have two Baguskas staring at each other. Um, but I forgot that subtraction locks you into uh, Cybers. True. And all my Cybers would be negated, except for... Except for the links, of which I don't have any good link twos. And I can't extend further, so... Yeah, I guess we're just, uh, ended on this buddy. Alright. He's a light dragon, you know, what can I say? True. You get what you want on the tin. Never seen someone more light or more a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Attribute light? Oh, wait, but his type is... I was like, his type is actually... Dra no, it's Cybers. That's why I can make That's it. That's true. I, I suppose it is it is not more of a dragon. No. Um, More like light Cybers rank 4, Attic Mister. I will, I will end my turn. <laughs> <laughs> my deck is truly unparalleled at doing its main game. To be game fair, player. there was like a 60% a chance that I would be on doing the exact same thing. My deck is just all rank fours to make the math mech stuff, and I've only got the one Allen version. So if you um, if you like imperm that or something, my my entire strategy is Baguska stall until I can get some links on. That is a fair point. I should have been more studied on the math mech matchup. This is what I get for not playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh these days. Yeah, sure. Yay. Da 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 Um, check it out. The most sinister person. Tin goldfish. It's so, it's so tin. It's such a goldfish. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to get solemn warning for my life savings. Uh, not quite. That's fine. Gonna hit me with torrential oh, tribute, even though that's banned. Um, getting you with the, the sandbagging you with the hot needle ceiling. Yeah. Oh, that's generic. Yeah. I said any two level fours makes Alan Bershin. I could have stopped this from happening. <laughs> but you can't stop uh, it now? What do you uh, have I that... mean hmm. I can I can put it back. Oh, okay. Oh uh, okay, I see. Yeah. Begun the Compulse Wars half. Uh, circular. Uh, Trick Clown? Sure. 
I like free level fours. That's fine. He's tricky. I I just can't believe. I think the last season I had like three trick clown by now, and I just have not pulled another trick clown this entire time. I think this is the place to do this. Ah. Send away your circular. There's also the world where you just already have the super factorial in your back row, in which case, like, you know, <laughs> we were we were always destined to die. Uh, no, I do not have the super factorial. But, okay, Alan Bershin. Oh, I could, tr Wow. Tribute any oh. monster. Uh, but it came back. <laughs> this is, this is, I did not realize, I just needed to read Math Max today before going into this duel. To be fair, I didn't know they could do that either. I've been, like, struggling to try to learn these. All I know is this combo, like, circular send Sigma, Sigma summon back. Um, make an Ixie monster so that Sigma doesn't go to the graveyard. Oh, making the Laplacian now. Yeah. Fascinating. Just get rid of that. God damn. <laughs> Your sniping capability is unparalleled. Yep. They call me, um... What do they call me? Uh, they call me Coheed and Cambria. Get the reference? No? I don't. Any kids no, I in don't. the chat? They had that song where it's like, Good eye, sniper, will I shoot and you run? Pretty good song. Oh. They're pretty good That's, band. This is kind of okay. Okay. Uh, let's go for a hero lives here. I am, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here like, ha, you fool, my super factorial. Then I look at my graveyard to make sure I have three math mechs to use. And notice both of my math mech Ixies, like, oh, why did I search that? That was dumb of me. <laughs> it's a great question. To be uh, fair, let's I've take already a won a couple of games, so, you know. Fair point. It's fine. Uh, let's... Ooh, can I do that? I think I can. You have four? Yeah, I think that does what I want it to. Four. Uh, let's... Normal summon a dusted gold. Ah! Just yeah. going into uh, Exiton again? Just making the dude. Things are getting exciting over here. Alright, let's activate its effect. Uh, okay. Well, might as well. Well, you know. Wicked remains! Uh, and then you don't take battle damage? Is that what this does? Uh, Takes no. no further damage this turn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're talking about x uh, I am going to set a back row, and let's go for Morningstar. Yellow, the other star, the star guy. Gotcha. Uh, battle phase. Starman. David Bowie and his yeah. prime. Wait, it just can't be destroyed? Yeah. Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Oh, wonderful. Okay. God, I'm just, I am getting, I am getting destroyed by the text box today. <laughs> He's just being a wicked man. What can he say? Um, wicked pass. <laughs> Can't be destroyed by battle or card effect, huh? Yep. Um, He's just kind of there. I'm just staring I, at it. I suppose I could have dealt damage. I do take damage now, I should say. <laughs> Not sure if you realize that. Uh, there we go. All right. I have no response during the end phase. I will, however, take Wicked. Uh, rude, but okay. Yes. No. Yes. So this is what it feels uh, like to be Robert staring down a wicked kid. True. That's that is exactly it. okay. Let's uh let's make a a link three out of this. Hey. We'll go for nightmare unicorn. It's a unicorn. 
Uh, we'll use it. I don't have any use for this Mapura. Um, I don't want to draw this again. And this way, if your back row is like Call of the Haunted or something, you can't use it. Well. <laughs> was your back row exactly Call of the Haunted? No, but um, it, it would have been useful there. Ah, okay. Ah, neat. Okay, so now that Wicked is dead, let's just get a bird down here. All right, okay. Big bird, all right. every time, all the time. Uh, there we go. It's my big There's boy. The, there it is. Big boy Punchman. That's his name. Yeah. All right. And then we attack. And then I discard that's rough. World Lance of Heavenly Lances, and that's game. Because that's honest for Link Monsters. Don't at me. I... Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. Okay. Uh, I'm very, very glad that you didn't hit my back row. I don't know what I would have <laughs> done otherwise. Cried. Live the life of Probably. Pride. I'm surprised that I haven't done that already this game. Uh, let's activate Bane. No! All right. Battle phase. <laughs> Rotten. And I hear this calling. <laughs> All right. Your go. Back row. What do you know? Oh, hey, perfect. Just in time. I meant that literally this time. Oh, spot. wonderful. Yeah. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Now you can just cast out. <laughs> Everything is a link for. I could cast El Robert, but instead I will do something funnier. Behold! Oh, his big. rebellion is dark. You may be big, but he is bigger. Dun, dun, that dun, is a dun, dun, very dun, dun, large dun, dun, dun. Xyz monster. Yeah, I think I just had the advantage here. <laughs> I got donked by so many things that are bannably strong. Circular <laughs> is an obvious one here. Uh, so is super factorial. So is the multiple giant true nades, the three graceful charities, the double delinquent duo. Uh, you know, uh, there I is have, a I lot have, to consider I here. Have two giant true nades, exactly. That is more than I have. <laughs> uh, you have one, don't wow. you? I do have one. That's okay. the other thing. Is like giant trunade and graceful charity are hard to, for me to ban because I do have two of them. <laughs> do you, are you going to? Do you need another week? Should we wait until next time? We may need to wait until next time. There's All a right. lot for me to consider You'll this time. You'll have to tune around. in next time to find out what was banned. Until then, make sure you like the video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. This show comes out every week. I probably should have been mentioning that from the start. But we're going to try to get more views on these. I really It's a really fun series. I, have, I enjoy playing it. Hopefully you enjoy it too, Mr. Robert. I do. Yeah. This is actually my favorite thing. I genuinely think Chaos Draft is the way Yu-Gi-Oh! was meant to be played. <laughs> it's so fun. I, it's one of those things where it's like, even if it's not profitable, I still want to play it. I just, I just love this series. Even when I lose, it's worth it for the wins. So tune in next time to see if I keep up more wins. We'll have another Chaos Rule and another ban. And until then, good luck. And have fun. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode 15. I've got the 5, he's got the 10. We're just a, we're just a perfect duo here. I'm Hard Leg Joe, by the way, if in you didn't know. Top Hat Extraordinaire. Joined by the Ayn Rand of Yugi Tube, the RJB0. You really are finding fun <laughs> new ways to drag me every single time. Just every time. Ayn Rand is what you decided to go with did, this time, Do you Rand. know why I went with Ayn Rand? I have no idea. Because you've banned charity. You're a greedy devil oh, who's right. gotten rid of it. <laughs> yeah, and I guess that's the resolution from last episode. Robert couldn't decide what he was going to ban, and he has decided on grateful chari graceful charity. 
Yeah, you have gotten away with some heinously sacky nonsense <laughs> just by na by merit of the fact that you have triple graceful charity. I also noticed over the course of the week that your graceful charity discards drastically outstrip mine. You've got dragon rulers, yeah. you've got lost wind, your cyber stuff all operates out of the graveyard. I've got like Ogdo Abyss yeah. to discard. Got like so Arch graceful magicians, charity. But hell, even if I bring back the insectors, like those were like things you wanted to pitch in the graveyard. Everything revolved around that. And building for this week, I gotta tell you, oof, a little bit difficult without that graceful there. You're going to have to come by your consistency honestly now. Yeah, unlike you, Mr. Pot of Desires at 2. <laughs> Good luck with that. At least I guess that has some downsides. you got to get rid of some cards. You can't just toss them in the true. graveyard. you got to banish them. So. Yeah, so that's, that's what we're looking at this week. And I guess this week's um, chaos rule is monotype, if you didn't know. We can only run one type of monsters, which... You know, for the main deck, not all that limiting. I remember looking through my pool even before I, we did our pools and everything, and just being like, "Wow, I could I could build all sorts of things." There's machines, warriors, spellcasters, but the extra deck. <laughs> the oh extra boy. deck is a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, it it, it really sucks to just like it, it makes you realize how much stuff you have is generic. Where it's like, oh, unless I play fiend, I cannot play any of the nightmares true also hand traps oh hand yeah traps are a big deal in monotype format i mean we didn't we weren't playing like exactly a ton of hand traps or whatever but i will say it's nice going into this one knowing that you can't play ghost bell unless you're playing exactly zombies and i don't think true. you have the zombie pull for it robert we shall see oh Oh, surprises abound. I guess you'll have to check out those surprises as we go into the pack opening space. Woo! All right, here we are, opening packs once again. And as we hopefully mentioned at the start, this is the monotype challenge. Only one type of monster allowed. And for my pool, I think that the, the two options that make sense, the only two options, are dragons and machines. I have enough of both of those to make a pretty confident deck with some strong boss monsters. Warriors are a close second. Rocks might work. But mostly we're going to be looking for dragons and machines. Although I don't think there's anything for those in the start here. No. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, I don't know. Fuck. Let's let's take chain energy. I'm going to, I'm going to make a burn deck. Folks, this week's going to be a little bit of a difficult one. We are catching up to a point where we're not quite in modern limited and we are not in old school constructed. And with those constraints having been lifted, we are thoroughly in the range of shit I do not know how to play, as evidenced by the fact that I have no idea how to beat a math mech deck, evidently. I'm hoping that I can pick up some cool things tonight. We are on the monotype chaos rule this week, which means... The pool we're going to be going after, real hardcore, is one we've touched on a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, one we've coped on quite a few times in the last couple of weeks. It is machines. We are creating machines this week, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can get some good ones. Let's begin the Chaos Draft. All right, beginning with the beginning, as all things must. Dark beginning one... Yeah, I'll take the Forceful Sentry, <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, going first is just so ridiculous in this format. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, we've got so many Dragon Rulers. I think the only thing we need is like another Redox. Maybe maybe one of the, the Pebbles or whatever. Let's see if we can get one of those. Uh, no. We did get another Drafts. Do I already have three Drafts? Let me check. No, I only have one. So we do get another dragon ruler for our dragon package, which is pretty nice. Makes things just that little bit more consistent. This is a big one, potentially. Star Strike Blast contains the beginning of the Karakuri archetype, one of the premier Earth machine archetypes. And we got a Strategist. Honestly, Strategist is pretty good. This is one of the tuners we really want. We have one, now we have two. This is going to be great for triggering Burebu. 
which we need to be doing. Golden hour two. Ooh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Now that is a devious lick. I have all the Cyber Dragons, and this might be a monotype challenge. So if Robert goes in on machines, perhaps we could have the most deadly game. Pack number seven, Extreme Victory, I think also comes with some Karakuris. What has it got in here? Oh, Nanishi. I would take a Nanishi. Okay, so I now have two of each of the main Karakuri tuners. I think that's probably good for Karakuri tuners, at least. Don't even matter. Ooh. Oh, hey. Exoton Knight? Exoton Knight's pretty good to have. Pretty sure I don't have that already. I know Robert has one. Yeah, that's like the only really solid rank four we don't already have access to. So, yeah, we'll take an Exoton Knight. How exciting ing. All right, here we go. Battle Pack Epic Dawn chat, send me your energy. There is one monster in this gigantic pack that could turn my luck around entirely. It's not it. That is a pot of duality. Do I have three pot of duality already? I do have two pot of duality. I'll take a third pot of duality, but I'm hella gonna try and reroll this one. More than words, they got nothing to say, and this is decent. So all dragons gain 300 defense. If a link monster is on the field, neither player can link summon. Uh, monsters cannot attack except link monsters. I mean, shit. If I can make like a, if I can make a straight up like oral end dragon, this just shuts down the game for Robert just can't do anything. I could also just take a shell rocket dragon, which is a decent rocket. Granted, I don't have like hardly any rockets. I'm getting a couple of them. I'm slowly stacking them up. I don't want to lock the game down. Let's, let's take a rocket. Dragons of legend. Uh, I think we're full up on soul charges at this point. Uh, no, I'm not full up on soul charges. That would be my third soul charge or a second mathematician. I feel like second mathematician is honestly better than third soul charge, unless we have a deck that fully revolves around soul charge, but those haven't been good for a long time. Let's grab mathematician. Or we could get construction, construction train signal red which is an Earth Machine, but it's not a great Earth Machine. Let's take Mathematician. Right in the storm out. Do, 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 do. Hey, Crackdown? Crackdown. Crackdown. I like Crackdown. Let's, let's take Crackdown. Battles of Legend. Armageddon. Armageddon. Time Stream is pretty cool, but I've actually been regretting not taking in or Cicada King the last couple of weeks. Uh, it is a great card that you can make with your Terror Tops and tuck a Tomborg. When a monster on the field activates its effect, you can detach one material from this card, then target that monster, negate its effect, then an insect monster on the field gains 500 attack and defense or changes its battle position. So it can negate a card and make itself 17, uh, which is real, real good. We will take that. Uh, Black Whirlwind's also pretty solid for our Black Wings, but our Black Wings also kind of suck still. Uh, and Cicada King is just a card I wanted to. All right, Mystic Fighters. This has super rejuvenation, and I think nothing else. But we're gonna, we're gonna try it. Maybe we can get that. Not super rejuvenation. Another Laplacian. It's a secret rare. That makes the Mathemex so much better. And that I can use it again. Although, you only really want to use it once, for the most part, but it's secret rare. Oh, that is... it's... it's difficult to pass up. Let's... let's look real quick. What else is in here? What else do I have a chance to get in the, like, secret rare slot? Because, like, I'd really like a Sigma, a Magma, another one of these, another Alan Bershon would actually be better in case the one gets ruined. 
And then there's the super rejuvenation just tucked in here with everything else that we haven't drawn. Uh, yeah, I think considering we need to take the Allen version while we can. Any kind of math mech, so we won't be re-rolling it this time. The Grand Creators. That's a foxy tune. Hold up a moment. No punk foxy tune? Do not mind if I do. We need to get a couple more copies of Zay Amin, but we also already have an E-Telly, so like, we'll take that. Over the river and through the woods to duel overload we go. Ooh, Ancient Gear Ballista. Two Earth Machines. Mad and Ancient Gear or Gear Town. Target one spell trap. I swore. I swore there would be zero ancient gears. But I find myself with no choice. I must break my vow. From this day forward, an ancient gear is in chaos draft. Da 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 da. All right. Come on, Dimension Force. You've got so many good commons in here. And I pulled one of them. There it is. There is a second copy of Therian Reaper Foom. This really turns on our Therians. But eat, but eat. That's all, folks. Hey, finally! The last Gamma! I can add that in. We won't be able to use that this turn. And the True King Lithosa Gym is very tempting. Two other, including an Earth. And if you do special summon this, and if you do, and then destroy monsters with Earth. I, I need to take the third Gamma. We need to get the Gamma, so now we have the whole package. We can't use it this turn or the next turn. But the same could be said of all of these, except for maybe this, if we wanted to play Toon Cyber Dragon. But yeah, we got three Gammas. We're set. All right, power of the elements. What kind of power do you have to offer? Asuliak. Uh, I, I will take Asuliak. For sure, I will take Asuliak. Uh, Vanguard of the Underground Emperor is also a pretty funny card, but I think we have better things right now. And finally, Crystal's Revenge, which it, it always feels like the last pack is underwhelming. What's Stonehenge? Target a monster with zero attack in your graveyard, special summon it, equip it, it leaves the field, destroy it. Oh wait, I am trying to get evil twins. Hmm. Yeah, I've got like a, a bunch of reborns at this point. Let's go ahead and take the evil twin so we have one. And then it's on to the bonus packs. And for our last main pack, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Doom BLS. Not the worst card that we could search out with our tune table of contents. We also have G Golem Pebble Dog. This card is a normal special summon. You can add to your hand to special summon a G Golem Pebble Dog from your deck. This is a very good cyber starter. Yeah, I'll take a Pebble Dog. I will happily take a Pebble Dog. All right, the hard leg packs have quite a few infinite tracks in them. Let's see if we can pull one good. Well, we could get our third Brutal Dozer. Or I think we already have an Anger Knuckle. Anger Knuckle, pretty cool. Yeah, we only really need one Anger, I'm pretty sure. But having three of this would be pretty good. And nothing else looks particularly good. The Spirit Warrior is neat. The incantation is neat, but if we're going for stuff we can use today, there's no dragon, so we take a machine. All right, next back, we are getting Hard Legs Chaos Pack first. What do we have? There's a Machina Air Raider, a pretty good Machina card. I'll take Weathering Soldier. Weathering Soldier is a very good card. We could use one more of it since we do have the Fossil Fusions to work with. Okay, chance number two. Will we get it, or will we pull poo? Oh! <laughs> Hello there. Nice to meet you. A really good dragon synchro, you don't say. Well, you're not exactly what I was looking for, and I'm not sure if I have the ability to make you easily. But uh, I'm not going to turn that down. I'm, I'm going to take a chaos ruler. We'll see, uh, we'll see if we can do something with that. And our second... Hard Leg Chaos pack. This is the only pack in the entire series that could give us Machina Citadel. 
There's a ruffian rail car. There would be a second Infinitrack trencher. And a mocking gear fame. Jesus Christ. Um, there's also Psychic Eraser Laser. This card is very good to add consistency to our capability to deal with opponent's monsters. But for the most part, we have the ability to do that through Kaijus. Uh, I will take... The second trencher. I like trencher. And now, Robert's stinky packs, which are full of fail and bad and, um, and a, and a really good Cybers extra deck monster for, for the Cybers pile that gives me, like, a win condition beyond, beyond, uh, excess code. There's no dragons. There's only one machine. Yeah, we take this. Take the Trigate. Let's see what we got. This one also has Karakuris in it, which we do love to see. Or a Nachuria Barky on it. Super rare is not a terrible card. Uh, Lava Golem also pretty cool. Nachuria Barky on, unfortunately, we can't run this week, but we can do with future, uh, with future Earth things. Um... It is probably that. Storming Mirror Force is pretty good, but I don't think that's the take. Let's take my, uh, the Naturia Barkeon. And RJ Pack 2! It went down there. Ooh, card destruction. <laughs> I could take two Trigate Wizards. I don't think we want to or need to. Um... I'm not sure if this will be useful necessarily, but I think we can't turn this down. This is like a really good tool, especially for like fucking dragon pile, especially for like, for most of my decks. I do have a lot of graveyard strategies. Yeah, let's take it. I'm getting the secret rares out of Robert's pack. We're doing pretty good. We'll see what we can come up with. Probably machines or dragons, unless I manage to surprise myself. And for the final pack, of our chaos opening prior to our pity packs we have another junk destroyer there's an encode talker that's a pretty cool card junk converter is very good another swanee isn't bad honestly junk converter is a nutty card i'll take it all right infinity chasers reroll can we get an actual infinitrack yeah we can get anchor drill We'll add the Anchor Drill. That's like one of the best starters. Go team me. All right, our first reroll is absolutely going to be the Infinity Chasers because we got a terrible card out of that and it's pretty good for us this week specifically. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> Derek Crane? Uh, sure. I've gotten worse things than Derek Crane, I think. All right, and finally, Legendary Duelist Season 2. Looking for more Earth Machines. Can we pick up an Earth Machine? We got that Seeger that we got last time. Barrage Blast. Doesn't look like it. There's like a Twin Burst. Nah, nah. We doing this. We doing this again. So I'll just add that. Flip them up. Come on, let's go. What was that? Uh, no... No. No. Sadness. Nothing all that great. I guess we just keep the Seeger. I think, I think we're allowed to do that. Originally, that wasn't the plan with the rerolls, but I think that's how everyone else rerolls them. I don't know. This is my series. I'll do the rules how I want. <laughs> Let's try for a better card out of maximum gold. Uh, hey, Trunade. Hey, Trunade. Ooh, and Imperm. Those are two very good cards. I think we're probably going to take Imperm here. And for my pity pack this week, I'm going to be going into Dreadnought Advance. Ah, uh, this is this is the responsible choice. I had the opportunity to potentially go into Rapid Aircraft Advancement to super de duper cope on Machinas, but the only thing worth taking out of that pack is the two Machina Ultra Rares, and I am not going to cope quite that hard this time. Let's see what we can get in the Infinitrack pack. 
Starting with pack number one. Ooh, we've got another Outrigger extension or Heavy Forward. Heavy Forward is just the card to take out of this set. Pack number two of Dreadnought Advance. Ooh, a double-headed Anger Knuckle is pretty sick. Uh, Anchor Drill is also very good, but I'm not really sure what we make out of it. I uh, can summon an Earth Machine from your hand. I think we take the Anchor Drill. This actually opens up a potential strategy for us where we can get level four machines out of our hand and use them for Dengirsu. And Dengirsu is very, very good. Next back, there's another heavy forward, and there's a Goliath. That's a very difficult choice, but I think we have to go with the heavy forward. Goliath is great for getting additional material for our in Infinitrax into the graveyard. But I think probably it's going to be the second heavy forward. I'll take a Goliath. Goliath is just a pretty good card. We have a lot of searchability in our deck. All right. Pack number four of Dreadnought Advance. Oh, good. The many, many Derek Reigns. Uh, there is also the third anchor drill that we could take. Let's take anchor drill. And for our last pack, what was that? Mountain Smasher and another heavy forward. Um, I will happily take a second heavy forward. You know what? We will we will take that. That is a pretty good set of packs, I'd say. God, I got two Night Express Knights. Imagine if one of those were a River Stormer. Oh, well, I think we have a real game plan here. Anchor Drill gives us the ability to go into Dengirsu with some of our level four Earth Machines that we have. And then, I mean, Dengirsu is just a ridiculously good card. We also have the ability to use it to make some of our Infinite Track guys. I think that we have a solid game plan for this week. Let's cook. Last week after I get basically dumpstered by constructed math mech i vowed that i was not going to spend my time trying to build big boss monsters that i'm excited about i was going to take this seriously god damn it i told myself that but i think i lied i'm pretty excited for this deck folks this is karakuri infinitrack or you know earth machine this is a deck that I am looking forward to playing. It has a really cool turn one into turn two setup that is allowing me to go into some pretty sick things. Things like Chronomaly Vimana, which is kind of like CDI at home, but maybe better in certain circumstances, allows us to do an entire Karakuri OTK line by way of Burebo into Buredo into Stealth Ninja. And we get to play Dengirsu in this deck through Infinitrack Anchor Drill into the Karakuri Nisamu. So a bunch of really cool things that I can do with this deck. Here's the main combo. We use a turn one Infinitrack Harvester or Anchor Drill to get us into a River Stormer. Ideally, we're going to have multiple back row otherwise we may not survive turn two we can search for spin turn and we have a decent number of traps and other going first tools to work with once we've got that we can search for either nisamu or the karakuri bonze which i have been affectionately referring to as bony uh in order to start our combos next turn once we have both a nisamu and a bony in hand we can go into burebu which can get us nishipachi which can banish a card on their side of the field and then another level five usually going to be an infinitrack summoned from the graveyard off of trencher gets us into beredo which gets us into another monster which can be used to make stealth ninja or can be used to make vespinado or any number of fun things this is a pretty consistent second turn otk and so i am pretty happy with this build our side deck is based on largely whether we're going first or second pot of desires helps us get into some of our going second strategy cards including our ultimate slayer psychic eraser laser and triple tactics talent we've got a couple of extra cyber dragons to go into chimera tech mega fleet dragon if hard lex plan features around link monsters and some evenly matched and a royal prison royal prison and clockwork knight are both different types of medical 
Royal Prison locks down special summoning from the graveyard, which is great against cybers and dragon rulers, two things that Hardleg has been well known to use. And Clockwork Knight is pretty good against almost anything monotype. Most monotype decks are that way because they require the type in order to function. This turns everything into machines, so as long as Hardleg isn't on machines, this card is going to be a pretty decent floodgate turn one. That's what I'm hoping the deck can do. I think it's going to be very successful in doing that, as long as Hardleg doesn't find another silly haymaker to hit me with. Let's see what he's got. What do you know? It's dragons. We're playing dragons. There's all sorts of dragons, and we are dragging them back out. You may be asking, Joe, where's Dragon's Ravine? That's so good for dragons and drag unities. Well, I tried it, but it was dragging me down. So instead, we're playing this. And it may look kind of weird, it may look a little sussy, but uh, it's actually quite good. It's actually quite decent. And I'm not sure I really need to go over most of the stuff here. I mean, it's dragon rulers. They summon themselves. They search themselves. We got blue eyes. We got blue eyes alternative. We've got Levian air. Together, we can use these eights to make a couple rank eights, perhaps. Mm ha, possibly. We can also use our level sevens with our level one tuners in order to make chaos ruler, the chaotic magical dragon. That puts more dragons into the graveyard and also it's a level eight and we can make rank eights i just mentioned those and uh yeah it kind of sucks not having graceful charity uh trade-in is not a great replacement but it gets the job done and basically with this deck it's if we get a bad hand we should at least be able to put on like a 2800 beater we should be able to at least end on like heretic seals of heavenly spheres which can bounce a card during robert's turn and then tag into either a Goliath, which can just shut him out of the extra deck until he uses the battle phase, uh, save us another turn. Or we could tag into something like uh, Chamber Dragon Maid. And then she'll search the Tiding, which is another bounce. We've got quite a few bounces this time. And if we get a good hand, if we get something like with Soul Charge in the hand, or we just get a bunch of extenders... Uh, this deck can go absolutely crazy. We can we can use the guard dragons, actually. For the first time since I started this, we have a combo for them. And they can summon out, like, Photon Dragon, which goes into Dark Matter Dragon, which mills three dragons, which allows me to go into more dragons. We can make Boral End and Boral Load, sometimes with an actual rocket in the graveyard, so we can use this negate, and then we link this off for other stuff and bring it back. It's It's pretty neat. If it, if it gets a good hand. I have no idea what Robert's going to be planning, what he's up against. Um, there's a chance this performs really well against him. There's a chance this performs really poorly. Um, I guess we'll just have to find out. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really worth... I mean, the side deck, there's a whole bunch of spell trap hate in case he's got a spell trap centric deck. Uh, we've got the delinquent duo if we know we can go first and we know that's going to hurt him if he's also on a graveyard deck, not putting these in. A couple more extra deck cards, Phantasme if we know he's on Lynx, uh, Drago if we know he's on Lights and Darks, and this thing, Buster Dragon. At first I thought this wasn't all that useful, because it just turns all monsters into dragons, um, but in a monotype challenge, uh, it, it's possible that he's playing something like Earth Machine that really want you to have machines on the field, in which case making this first turn might just be an FTK. Hard to say, hard to leg, who knows if we'll even get there. Uh, again, this deck is kind of inconsistent in what it can do, but hopefully I'll be able to show off some cool stuff, and if not, we've got an even better deck for last time, so let's roll on into whatever's next. Alright, here we are, let's go, rock, paper, scissors, I've won oh every goodness. time so far, and I'm going you to have. win again. I'm using a die this time, let's see if it- god, I've even just... the die betrays me. <laughs> I've got the mind games, Robert. Ugh! And no this one. was a very going first hand. We'll see how this goes. Um, this is a very not great hand. This this deck is really weird in that it's just basically like, it's mostly extenders, right? And the puzzle mm -hmm. is like figuring out, can these, ex how far can you extend with these extenders? Because the problem is, right, that there's a lot of things that require exactly like four monsters. And if I can't get to that, if I end up like, you know, miscalculating and only put three on, um, there's not really a halfway in between. There's things I can do True. with two and things I could do with four, but otherwise I'm just going to waste, waste resources. And I don't want to do that. Let's start with Foolish Burial. 
Okay. I'm going to foolishly barrel bury Tempest. Dragons? Yeah. Okay. I've gone with the dragons. And then we're going to use Return of the Dragon Lords. And we're okay. going to bring Tempest back. Tempest returns. Tempest says hello. All Howdy. right. Nice to meet you. And then we're going to reveal Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. There's alt. You've got Tempest alt, a fascinating combination of things to have on the board. Yeah, there's a lot of things. The spheres. So these two dragons are actually going to make, drumroll please, Protector what? Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. God's flat fuck is this. <laughs> As this card is, you can send one destruction sword card from your deck to your hand. Then you can special summon a Buster Blader monster. Yeah, Buster Blader's you a dragon. You are activating its effect. You've and used... And you've got a response, which makes me worried. What do you got? Imperm over there? Oh, what are you going to do with this? Certainly I wouldn't find a way to Buster Lock you, would I? <laughs> I think <laughs> don't think just just let it it's fine it's good I think I am going to imperm this all right unfortunate because I think there's a level there there are some tuners that you can do okay redox not unfortunate enough for you okay oh wait we need to banish these two yeah Gonna banish these two. Oh, we're activating Redox in hand. Summoning the Redox. <gasps> okay. Banishing that will give me drafts. Mm-hmm. It's just a little draft dragon. And then I can normal summon drafts. Interesting. Okay, that's not what I expected to happen. Yep. Little level four lower. Link one. We're gonna make LP. LP. Oh, and Robert, fuck. I have two oh, dragons this is on not the field. Good. Which allows me to make Agrapain! Agrapain. <laughs> you have Ag... Oh, I am fucked. <laughs> uh, I did not realize how... God damn. Uh, Behold, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon and Dragon. And now you can make the giant asshole dragon. I had accounted for everything but Agrapain. Behold, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. They said he didn't matter, but now he does... Matters right. a lot. So Jesus I get Christ. to let me remind the chat because a lot of people haven't seen this thing. Really cool art, though, by the way. I can send True. three dragons with different names from my deck to the graveyard, and then you must banish three monsters from your deck. True. So we're gonna send this, this, and I think what well, haven't we used? Blaster, right? Yeah. Oh, you just have blaster. Oh, that's fun. Um. Okay, well, this is going to reveal what I'm up to here. That's what I'm hoping, and that will decide the rest of the turn. I'm going to banish. Oh, this always just reveals everything. Oh, this is <laughs> wonderful. This is wonderful. I will banish these three. Ah, the Infinitrax and the Karakuris. Um, Okay, let's banish Levionaire. Oh, oh. Oh, cool. You'll just be able yeah, to summon... I got an yeah. Eclipse. Oh, I am so fucked. I got an Eclipse Wyvern. He's pretty cool. Um, let's activate LP now that the zone is free. Um, Chamber Dragon Maid. Let's just search out a tidying. Gotta be tidy after all. Gotta clean up after your dragons. Okay. So we are going to use the Dragon Maid to make Pisty. Okay. And then we will summon Inferno by banishing the Eclipse Wyvern and the Drafts from our graveyard. Okay. That will, of course, trigger the Wyvern, which gives me back the Levionaire I banished earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five monsters into... Boral There's End Boral Dragon. Boral End Dragon. It's the end for you. It might be. I hope you get the point. Let's uh, put this back. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine, alright? I'm not gonna lose sleep over messing up just ever so slightly. 
Um, can I do oh, this? There's a rocket for Boral Edge. <laughs> That'll work. We're going to get these two and we're going to make spheres. Okay. And I just did that because that allows me to put three dark monsters in the graveyard. So let's summon the Levineer. Oh, for the hand rip effect. Yeah. Okay, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. That was a non-essential card in my hand. Starting with three cards and... Okay. I could have... That's fine. It's fine. I've still got... You can't beat... We got Spheres plus Boral End plus a set card and a 3,000 attacker and you're on four cards. What could you possibly do? I'm going to do some pretty basic stuff here. Okay, heavy forward. That's what I'm saying. It's a brutal dozer. I think I just lose it to this. <laughs> I don't think. Because you've just got Dragon Rulers next turn, you've got Levianir on board, and you have Tidying. Yeah, some people may be I'll... upset I went so hard, but I can't show mercy, I'm too far behind! Well, I'll play it out for the audience's sake. Special summon one we'll earth machine do. from your hand. All right. Okay, I'm going to summon Harvester off of that. Uh, okay. All right, we're going to grab... Anchor Drill summons from hand. Harvester grabs from Harvester deck. Harvester adds from deck. And if anyone doesn't know Infinitrax, all the level fives are like... Tribute an Earth Machine to summon. Yeah, this just does nothing into this board. I don't even think it's worth playing out. I'm going to say <laughs> go to Ape 2. I'm just, just not yeah. going to do anything. <laughs> I was prepared. All right, for this and you're right. I am going to go first this time. And let's see what I can get out of the deck with Pot of Desires. Pot of Desires. Let's see what I banished from the deck with Pot of Desires. Okay, uh, nothing I'm going to lose sleep over. Okay. You didn't get all three of your uh, Brutal Dozers gone? No. I assume you have three oh, Brutal Dozer by this time. It's like a common in my pack. Let's go for the Forceful Sentry next. Ah. Wow, uh, <laughs> there is nothing I could put back from your hand <laughs> that does anything for me. Yep, this Holy is... Holy shit, that's a bunch of graveyard dumps with not a single OPT among them. Nope. Well, I mean, the Dragon Shrine is actually an OTP, but, you know, it's I only have one anyway, so if you want to get rid of that, you can. I think I have to hit the Return of the Dragon Lords. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. God, this hand actually turned out to be awful. I mean, my hand isn't exactly great either, as you just saw. <laughs> You can you can quadruple foolish burial in a dragon ruler deck. I don't think you're in trouble. Yeah, I uh, mean, what what honestly, what is that going to do? I get to summon one dragon ruler. <laughs> let's normal summon a Karakuri Nisamu. Ah, he's nice, Amu. And then I am going to activate Brutal Dozer. I'll sack off Nisamu. Use Brutal Dozer. I'm going to get Shoveler out of the deck. It's shoveling time. And then I am going to summon... River Stormer? The reason to run this deck, it's River Stormer. Aha! Search any gonna Earth gonna machine. Activate River Stormer. I'm going to send away Drag Shovel. Now I have to make some considerations about what happens next turn. I'm really curious about the drag shovel. Like, are you actually playing spin turn or is it just a name? Oh, I am 100% running spin turn. <laughs> I, I didn't think I that was usable add... even in like limited format. It just like changes battle position, doesn't it? You'll see what it does. I'm going to add an anchor drill to hand. Okay. Uh, then I am going to Monster Reborn Targeting Drag Shovel. Ah. We'll summon it. We'll activate it. And I will grab Spin Turn from deck. I can read. Target one Earth Machine in attack position when Monster Reborn controls. Change the battle position and destroy it. Ah. Or you could target and an Earth it is Machine your turn. a Spell Trap. So I know about Foolish Burial, Foolish Burial, Tidying, and... This one. 
shrine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to have to make some very careful decisions about what I do with my turn. I'm going to send that. The question okay. is... What else do we send? Let's send White Stone of Legend. Just got oh, another interesting. Dragon tour. Okay. Okay. So we're going to... Activate Foolish Burial, of course. I'm shocked, I tell you. Send Eclipse Wyvern. Yep. And Eclipse Wyvern is going to banish the alternative White Dragon. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And then we will Foolish Burial. Mm-hmm. And we will send the Infernos. Okay. And then we'll use that dang old Inferno effect. Yes. We'll banish... I guess... Oh, wait... Ooh, that's... Yeah, let's try this. Banish these two... Infernos. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I know Tidying, Blue Eyes, and now Alt. Yeah. Although Alt okay. is going to come down here and say hello right now. And reveal the Blue Eyes in my hand. Yes. Summon it. And I am required to spin turn. I mean, you don't have to. You could... <laughs> you could get destroyed, I mean, if you wanted to. All right, and that means I get to show off a new card. The one mystery in my hand. Premature Burial. Oh! And I am targeting God damn the it. White Stone of Legends. Wait. And then, Robert, it's eight? time to make a level 8 dragon that I got out of your pack just today. I'm not sure if you remember no what level shot. 8 you put in your jacket. No! <laughs> and let's just go ahead and dump 5 into my graveyard. Surely that'll help dragon rulers a little bit, right? Oh, well, fortunately you didn't dump any new dragon rulers, and that's what I need to concern myself with this time around, I think. Yeah. Oh, that just adds the... Yeah, I get, I get another blue eyes. All the blue eyes in Blue Eyes City. Can I do anything interesting from here? Unfortunately, I've already used the blaster effect, so I can't Holy shit. that. You have card destruction. There is only one way to get card destruction in our draft. Yeah. You're telling me you pulled the ultra rare <laughs> chaos dragon and the secret rare card destruction out of my pack? Uh, the card destruction wasn't from your pack. I believe I got it out of one of the, like, Dark Beginnings or something. It's in one of the earlier sets. I'm pretty certain. Um, let me make sure I'm not screwing I thought it was over. only in starter decks. Hmm. Yeah. Up until a certain point. Because uh, that's why I put it in my Chaos pack, was as a cool thing to pull at Secret Rare. Maybe I did, and I'm just being confused. I don't know. Okay, let's send these two off. Spheres. Spheres, okay. And then we'll banish this, and I guess, I guess the tuner. Yeah. Just bring this back. And that's all I could do. And we're just going to get over your river stormer. I don't want okay. it to exist anymore. Not ideal, for sure. All right. And, of course, the tidying. Yeah, really, oh, good. <laughs> it's just two bounces. You could beat double compulse, right? You could add the second spin turn. Okay. Uh, I am going to activate drag shovel. You do have another spin turn. I do have a second spin turn. <laughs> <laughs> Banishing ten uh, cards. Still got two spin turns in there. Yeah, and I also have a Goliath here. All right. Goliath ain't no thing. We'll activate River Stormer from Grave. Okay. Storming the rivers. Summon River Stormer. We'll use Goliath. We will equip it to River Stormer. Ah, I see. And then you get to search another thing. That is correct. Let's activate River Stormer here. Of course, of course. And I'm going to add off that River Stormer. Let me guess. Unearth Machine Monster. 
There's a real good chance that it's going to be an Earth Machine monster. How devious. Is this one of those devious licks I've heard about on the Tiki Talk? Let's add my good friend Bony to hand. <gasps> but wait, Bony? Bones? Bony. Bones. Hoonamads. Hoon Normal summon Sam. Anchor Drill. Activate Anchor Drill. Okay. Summon Nisamu. All right. Activate Bony. <laughs> gotcha. Let's see. Change the battle position. Oh, this is target one Karakuri. Does Nisamu do anything if its battle position is changed? No, it's just when it's destroyed by battle. Okay. Okay. Hello there. I am big. General Grievous. <laughs> Sorry, General Kenobi. I did. I, I you messed did it up in reverse. You call I did. yourself the number one Star Wars fan. That's something I frequently call myself. It's true. That'll be that'll uh, be next episode. I'll introduce you as the number one Star Wars fan. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna send away Boney and Nisamu for Burebu. Ah, I see. It'll activate Burebu's effect. I. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna just gonna stop that. Hmm, I had a feeling. Yeah, I've got a feeling. Cool. Uh, I will summon in that case. Let's go for Nisamu again. He's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, and what do I summon? What do you've got here? Neither of these are tuners. You could make a rank four machine. Unless I did summon the Goliath and just locked you out of the extra deck. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna go to battle and attack with Drill. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, I will use this and we're gonna bounce the... Uh... I don't know where is it. An Isamu. Isamu? Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna run that over by battle. All right, I will not continue this attack. Are you sure? You to find out. <laughs> Maybe Chaos ruler two. hungers for your machine. I'm gonna set two back row. It's twice as many. And it's your turn. Okay. I was supposed to have that much back row turn one, but apparently, it's the things that I have, like, 20 of that I don't draw in this series, it seems. Only the one of. I only draw one of. <laughs> okay. This is a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah. We're just going to use this. We're going to banish these two. Okay. And summon a blaster. All so right. I started blasting. Let's beat over this river storm. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then we'll beat over this one. I'm going to put that back in the extra deck. No, you're not. You're going to banish it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to banish it. Oh, yeah. Which That's is similar. arguably better. Yeah. That's very much better. And... Uh, that's all I got. All, all right, right, fam, now's your chance. If you can OTK me through 2800. Okay. I am... Do you got the rank 11 trade? Not sure. I know that this play at least gets me something that I can do, and something is better than nothing here. I'm going to activate Brutal Dozer. Brutal. Brutal Dozer will get us... I don't have any copies of that left. Oh. Oh. Gotta check your banish pile. Oh no, so the problem is what I isn't what I banished, it's what I've drawn into here. Ah, I see, I see. I'm gonna summon Harvester oh. from deck. Okay. I can't use its effect. Its effects are negated. But I can. Which is a pity, because if they weren't negated, you could make them become the sum of their two levels, so they'd be level seven. True, ah. I can use my strategist from hand. That's the thing I drew into that I'm unhappy about. Ah. Uh, and we are going to summon 
a burrito from my extra oh, deck. Delicious. And I will summon Bony 2.0. Yo, what's up, Kuza man? And then we are going to go to battle phase. And I'll see if I can get maximum damage in here. All right, all right. 2,800. I'm not liking it, but it's not awful. And yeah, being able to draw a card would have been pretty nice. And then... It's got to be I have to end my turn there because... The other thing I need is a light. All so you right. have a chance at just owning me here. Can I just own you? Do I have the Oni Pony? Unfortunately, 2800 is a hell of a lot of attack. It's a fair amount. It's difficult to find things that have more attack than that. Did I summon the alternative white dragon? I feel like I did because I, I searched it with did. that and then got it. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be... disturbed by the fact that you're considering alts. This is going to be really here. silly if I didn't, but let's activate React Redox. I will discard okay. the Goliath. Yes, we will summon the alternative white dragon. Yeah, that's a good one. He's, he's pretty nice. Does some stuff, maybe some things from time to time. Uh, let's see. I guess we want to get rid of that too. So we'll go ahead, activate this. We're going to banish one of the, oh no, we'll just get the these two out of the graveyard. Let's start There's blasting that. again. And we'll just go to battle. Okay. The 3000 gets over the Pareto. Yep. And the 28 gets over the uh, booze man. Yep. Although you take no damage. So all you've got is a negated boy and not much else. The question is, no, that's not a question. The whole time I've been sitting here like, man, I wish I had done a thing. And now's my chance to do that thing. There's spheres. Spheres came back. It's spherical, Robert. Let's normal summon Harvester. Another one. All right. Let's grab from the deck Anchor Drill. Okay. Feeling like Metallica over here. We got the Harvester of Sorrows. Ready to just devour my soul. Activate Harvester here. Oh. Targeting Harvester. Ah, two level fours. I did not think you could do that. Two. Uh, cool. I'm going to overlay it's not that big of a threat. It is Gear Gigant Cross. Okay. It's not that much of a threat, but I still feel like you got some stuff. So I'm going to bounce it. Okay. And I'm going to summon the maid that I always wanted. Don't read too much into that. Indeed. Give me another tidying. Deck thinning. The movie, the game. All right. Let's see if you've got anything next turn. I could summon a dragon ruler. So there's, you there's can. that. Um, but I'm critically low on dragons. Although being able to do this helps. Activate drafts. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, we're just going to send off another blaster. Oh, you've got another one. Yeah, I've got many dragon rulers. Unfortunately, that one can't attack, so it ain't doing a whole lot. Um, have I already banished the Disbuster Whelp? I have. Let's see, we're going to make this anyway. Because it okay. has Link Arrows that I enjoy. And then we'll activate the Tiding in the Graveyard to summon it All back. Right. Excellent. And then it's your good friend, LP. Oh, this do it's, things. It's it's time again, Robert. Oh, this this is the giant it's asshole time dragon again. combo. Oh my god. The biggest asshole in the world. But um bum but um. Uh we'll get this. Mm -hmm. And then we are going into Agrapane. 
Not to be confused with Agrabah, which is a place from Aladdin. I'm feeling in some agar pain right now. Yeah, and then this would be really good if it had any material, but it does not. Go ahead and use this, and geez, what do I what do I have left? Not a whole lot. Uh, fuck it, we ball. Granted, you right. only have um, <laughs> you don't have very many monsters left, do you? I do not. I uh, I will banish. Ooh, it's gonna be. Oh, it's gotta be three up. Yep. It's Guess gotta, it's be, gotta be, me. be these three. Oof. Wait, you had another dro dozer the whole time. I did. Huh. I would have searched that. Oh wait, and yeah, now this is this is just over. Okay, for some reason yes, I was is. like calculating things, and I was like, I'm not sure if I'll have enough, but I haven't summoned Tempest yet. And there we go. The power of the Guard Dragons oh, is too God. strong. Twenty-four, fifteen. This was very strong. This was stronger than I thought. I, I'm not gonna lie. For a while there, I was sitting there looking at like. Two blue eyes and a fucking uh, a Morphage Goliath in my hand. Like maybe I miscalculated, but I just happened to stall enough to get you it. Did not. Go forth, yeah, this Dark was... Matter Dragon. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if I mentioned this during my deck profile, but it's something I talked about a lot during draft. Uh, this format exactly really makes monster-based interaction especially powerful. Mm -hmm. because you don't have hand traps available to you. So whichever player is able to set up monster-based interaction more quickly was basically destined to win. This deck was hoping to get into enough trap cards or any of my turn one nonsense going first, like Clockwork Knight would have been a game-ending card yeah. against your deck. <laughs> I uh, saw I that. That's, that's the it. one that it's the trap that makes it so that uh, all your monsters are machines, right? Yeah, it makes all monsters on the field machines. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll let you know, I was citing I had a Buster Dragon in the extra deck, which turns all your monsters into dragons. Oh, excellent. <laughs> which makes uh, me wonder, if we got both of those out, what the hell happens? <laughs> are, are they... I think the second one takes precedent. Anyway, uh, so the hope was to be able to establish a large number of trap cards turn one, because I have searchable trap cards, plus some going first tools, uh, but that just did not play out, partially because I lost the die roll and partially because my desires drew me into all of my one of combo yeah. pieces that I need to search from the deck and none of the 20 trap cards plus three turn turn one spell cards uh, in my deck. And I just, uh, like, this was going to be an uphill battle no matter what. Your deck is sick, though. <laughs> just have all... Your deck is incredible. I, I, I can't believe I was sitting here beforehand like, shit, what am, how are these going to work without Graceful Charity? And it's, they work pretty well. If I had Graceful, it would be even more insane. Because let me tell you, if I, I can draw into Soul Charge, Robert, I'm ending on, like, Boreland, Boral Load, Titanic Galaxy, Tiding Set, Spheres, like, I could, this deck can go absolutely brazy with the right hand. But with the wrong hand, which we didn't see too much, but like I, I, I'm testing this, and like 50% of the time, it's fears pass, and that's all I can do. So I just happened to get exceptionally lucky, and you got exceptionally unlucky with your desires. Yeah, the the strategist exactly kept me off a of Burebu play that is easy 8,000 damage plus plus a banish on turn two. Mm -hmm. I. Yeah, yeah and being I able, could I, imagine that going a number of different ways. I could see the other, there's a level 9 Karakuri that can banish stuff as a quick effect. Assuming you have, like, the frog. The frog Karakuri? Yeah. The little hobby no, guy. No, 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 no. You pretty much saw all of my Karakuri stuff except um, Nanishi. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Cause yeah. Yeah, I, I was stocking up on the Earth Machine stuff, too, and I, like, almost have enough, but this was just just a little bit more powerful. And the question, yeah, I, it is. The question, of course, is: Do you know what you're going to ban? 
because there's a lot of stuff here that's obviously very powerful, but we're going to be going into next episode where it's mono attribute. And you know what really sucks in mono attribute? Like most dragon of the dragon rules. rulers. <laughs> like, yeah, if yeah, I play a attribute. fire deck, blaster might be decently, but I don't think I have the fire pool to handle that. Mono attribute is a pretty is a pretty good format for my card pool. I uh, the card that I've most been considering banning actually didn't come up this episode, which is Giant Trunade. Oh yeah. I uh, Giant Trunade is a major advantage for your card pool over mine because like I said, I basically have zero monster based disruption. So my turn ones have to be based on trap cards, and Giant Trunade fucks that up entirely. Yeah. Uh, it's also just a deeply unhealthy card, and I've hated it basically my entire life. Uh, <laughs> it's just not good it, for the it game. It is weird how we've come full circle. The first, like, five episodes, it was me with all the really powerful trap cards, and now you're the one relying on them. Yeah, and it's because uh, I have no good turn one monsters. Yeah, there's not uh, a whole so lot I have in to the go game. Into... No, so you've got like Avramax, Apollosa, Borolode. Yeah. Boral and, uh, Boral and Boral End. Yeah. So you've got four of them. Granted, Boral End I've doesn't negate like... unless I get a rocket in the graveyard. A problem you had plenty of this game. <laughs> Uh, with the giant asshole dragon. Yeah, you could ban uh, There is dragon. also the giant asshole dragon itself, but I think with the upcoming chaos... Let's see what the co coming chaos rules are, are going to make a big difference. Yeah. Because we've got the mono attribute, and then we had another one I think we've replaced. It's going to be monster mash. Yes. And then we've got the one that's like a budget where like we can only spend so much money. <laughs> so we've got mono attribute... And then we have Monster Mash, and then 80 price, and then half of all cards must be from this week. That's going to be a weird one. That's going to be a wild one. And then no cards that have ever been on the banned list. Which pretty much kills this deck. <laughs> this yes. is like, all I the think, dragon rulers gone. I think I'm going to do what I did last week, which is make a ban that is both helpful for my card slightly helpful for my card pool but more helpful for the format i think we have to ban giant trunade ah going for the rare banning a card that wasn't even played this episode yeah it was actually the card i was most worried about going into this week because again i have zero good turn one monsters which means if the turn two player has an otk and giant trunade the game just ends yeah and if, i mean i only had two of them i was citing them but i didn't think you had like I, after that first duel, I was like, "Oh, the only turn he's play or the only trap he's playing is like spin turn. No big deal. I don't need to bring in the giant trunades for this." But fortunately, you just didn't draw into your traps. But yeah, I, I can understand. No, I, I can understand like having one of those cards that's like such a build around. I think that happened with me and a uh, MBT in the the second season. We both just had three giant trunade, and rather than ban it, we just like, guess I won't play traps then. <laughs> Unless Which is great chainable. if you've got a lot of hand traps. Not so great if you've banned Ash Blossom. <laughs> yeah. So you can look forward to that. Giant Trunade banned. Mono Attribute coming up. I, of course, got another Chaos Coin. Jules, if you haven't already put that up there, put that up there. And until next time, good luck. And what the hell do you do against this deck? The dragons just dragging you through the mud, buddy. Ha -cha 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 -cha. They did. And welcome back once again to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, episode 16. I'm Hardleg Joe, if in you didn't know. Joined by the Oppenheimer of Yu-Gi-Tube, the RJB Zero. I sure hope I become Death Destroyer of Worlds this episode. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I read a history book. I read the novelization of it. And um, I, I feel like he didn't like the idea that he was Death, the Destroyer of Worlds. So, so that's actually a misconception about what that passage is about. So this is a fun thing I actually like to talk about because uh, there's a great book called Bomb that talks about this subject. So the reason why he said that phrase, it's from a legend, fable, story, whatever you would like to call it, uh, in which this prince has to has to fight against 
some people and, and kill them and also send some of his men off to die. And some of the people, I think like one of his family members is on the enemy side and he can't, he can't do it. He can't make the decision. Uh, and one of his advisors, I want to say, uh, becomes a, like reveals that they're a god. I don't remember which one because I don't actually remember what culture this story comes from off the it's top Hindu, of my head. It's Hindu, I believe. Okay. There's a, there's a Lincoln Park song where they have the whole um, quote. I believe it's from the Verdict text, and it's uh, Shiva who takes on their multi arm form and tells yes. the prince to do his duty. Exactly. So it says, Now I am become Death Destroyer of Worlds and tells the prince it is the prince's job to make this decision and also these people are going to die no matter what the prince does uh, because death will come for them eventually yeah. and so that's why, why Oppenheimer said that was to convince himself that what he had done was necessary that yeah. him introducing this thing was necessary so I think it's really interesting that it's become this idea that he's like now I am the great destroyer no it's him being like no I'm I'm just a dude who was meant to do this <laughs> I'm just one dude and a whole bunch of people were gonna do this anyway you know the battle exactly. wars are gonna happen people are gonna kill each other regardless you know I'm just I'm just one dude I'm just a little guy I'm just a little Oppenheimer <laughs> yeah <laughs> I've just got all I can think about. Uh, I haven't seen the movie yet, as I said, but uh, I was on Blue Sky, which is like Twitter 2. Or I guess now it's the, the official Twitter because Twitter turned into X. But they got a, X. some guy had a picture where they're like, yeah, I got high and went to Oppenheimer and sat in the front row. And they're at like an IMAX where the screen is kind of curved. And it's just him taking a picture and it's Oppenheimer's face filling the whole screen, but his head <laughs> looks huge. And it's like, Please, bomb seller, I need your strongest bombs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you can't handle my bombs, Oppenheimer. <laughs> Just scrunched up face, Albert Einstein. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're here to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! If you missed we last are. time, we did mono type. This time, mono attribute, which uh, should be a little less restrictive. It's pretty much just play light or dark, whichever one you have the most staples of, right? Yep, pretty much. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yep. So we'll be doing that. And if you missed last time, we also banned Giant Trunade, which was kind of interesting. I think it's the only time we banned a card that didn't actually see play in that episode. It is a very format warping card. I've, I've yeah. said this before. The problem with the difference between our pools is that you have a lot of going first boss monsters. Mm -hmm. And I got none of them which means that if i'm going first the only way i win is if i've got trap cards and if i've got trap cards and you've got giant trunade now yeah. you're winning the game again the, the existence of tri giant trunade whether it sees play or not um just sort of sets up this this um this mood where you don't want to play traps because you know no matter what you do they could all just be bounced back to your hand at any moment and so, yeah, we finally got rid of that. And with Harpy's Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, and Giant Trunade all banned, all the mass spell trap removal is gone. Except, I guess, Vision Hero Witch Raider. That doesn't count. All the easy spell stuff is gone. <laughs> so that just leaves us with something like MST, Twin Twisters. So the Age of Spell Traps is back. And while I'm mentioning the ban list, real quick, Jules, just put up the whole ban list. Let people take it in. Let them see the greatness we've got and keep it up there as we go ahead and take a drive to the pack opening county all right we're back at it again we're opening packs we're doing good coming off a win and we've got we've got some pretty cool decks for for this attribute i mean we've got dark magician again it's in the name dark deck and i mean in general there's a whole lot of really good dark spellcaster stuff um or we might try earth machines it really depends what we get here we're looking for those two, and anything that's not those two, we're just preparing for the future, which is a little bit more nebulous. Uh, we're starting with Dark Beginning, as always, and getting just about nothing, as always, but uh, we'll go ahead and take the Dust Tornado. It's, it's Spell Trap Removal. All right, starting where one always must, at the Dark Beginning. Uh, that's a second confiscation. Yeah, I'll take a second confiscation, sure. What will be revealed by this dark revelation? Oh, hey, dark magic attack. Do I already have a dark magic attack? Dark magic. 
Okay, I do. I probably don't want to, but nothing else here is good, so yeah, we'll take it anyway. Maybe maybe if our Robert's on a big back row heavy thing, we can put one in. All right, Legendary Collection 2. I will not say anything about this set. I'm not going to say anything, because I know what happens when I open my mouth about this set. Hey! Rewarded with the Destiny Hero Malicious. This is a great card for my Dark Pool and also for my heroes. Malicious in the second Malicious enables my Vion and my Denier. Both very, very good cards for me. We will take the second Malicious. We are online with heroes. Heroes actually have a game plan now. The light is always the most epic before the dawn. Oh, Utopia! We finally got a Utopia! We've had Utopia the Lightning forever! <laughs> we finally have the ability to summon it with our big rank 4 package! Hell yeah! Premium gold. That's a Black Feather Dark Rage Dragon. That's a hell of a name for a card. What do we got here? Uh, This card's bad. Uh, mind control, however, is very good. How many of that do we have? We have one. I will take a mind control. Oh, the bling came back. So it returned to the bling. Um, mm, tempting. I already have Lava Lava. Doom Caliber didn't work for me. I don't have any black wings. I have three of this. So by process of elimination, two dark holes. Things are getting a little dark. Wing Raiders. Whoo, that's a lot of rank fours. Uh, I think I'm actually full up on Forbidden Chalice. I am definitely full up on Forbidden Chalice. I think Honor Arc is the call here. That or Cairn Gorgon. I have two Cairn Gorgons. And Honor Arc is an Aqua, which is crucial for my tier limits. Wow, that gold, they, they really do have infinite gold here. Oh, hello. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if I could use this, but if I can, it'll be very funny. Big spider. Biggest one. Premium gold infinite gold. Big eye. I'll take big eye. Well, that tempest, it's, it's going. Uh, Heavy Train Iron Wolf would be good. It is an Earth Machine, but I'm pretty sure I already have one. Yeah, and you are... Oh, wait! Wait, the Shino Bird! Um, uh, Shino... Shino Bird. We got... Yes! We could get another one! We could get another Baroness! Alright, let's do it! Add Baroness. Alright. The Infinity chasers we've got infinite chasers here yo that's a jackal king also an infinite track tunneler but i think this is the bad one uh yes this is the bad infinite track i will happily take my third jackal king yeah this would be my third jackal king i will happily take my third jackal king Dark Saviors! This has Sky Strikers in it, which I never thought I'd build, but I got a bunch of them. If we can get more Sky Strikers, that would be cool. And Shizuku! We don't have a Shizuku yet. Let's take a Shizuku. That that helps quite a bit. Alright, Infinity Chasers! This has the Infinitrax, which are Earth Machines. And... Oh! Mega Clops! I am not sure we can make this. But if we do make it, it's unstoppable. It's just... How are we doing on infinite tracks? We've got so many Ixty. We'd have to make like one of each of them. We, we can't turn it down though. We've got to try to take it. It's secret. If we could find a way to actually make it, maybe even in another deck, this would be like unstoppable. With Soul Charge? Yeah, maybe with Soul Charge. Good, po good point. Mystic Fighter. That's a La Play. Oh, that's a Calamities. Oh, that's a Calamities. So, fun fact my Earth Machine deck is disturbingly good at making Calamities.
<laughs> it's really, really good at making calamities. Uh, I will take the very fun dragon itself of all the worm monsters I've taken. This one is the one that excites me. Okay, Tune Chaos. This is a surprising reroll target. This has Keeper of Dragon Magic, which would be really good for the Dark Magicians. Let us get the fusion summons out. And it also has like Micro Coder, Pot of Desires, Pot of Extravagance. And there's the Desires. So I guess we have to take another Desires, even though I, I don't like Desires in this format. Dual Overload. <laughs> Oh, I think I found a machine payoff. Unfortunately, I've gotten Halk banned before this card could be used with Halk, but uh, that's not that big of a problem. Oh, Infernal Divisor is pretty good too, but Aurora Dawn is just solid. Okay, maximum gold. This has Transcode Talker. If I'm ever going to make my Cybers pile work, I really need one of those. But I'm not sure I could I could I could reject the Boral Dragon and also the house dragon maid that I I have the I have so many dragons and I have the one that searches. I've already got no, this is yeah. We're taking the Boral Sword. We've gotta get it. It's it's a dark, it's a dragon, it's it's yeah. Boral sword. Dimension. <laughs> Yes! The second endless engine our gyro system! Let's fucking go! <gasps> oh, yeah. I a little bit wish this were Discoliseum. That's a slightly better card for us at this point, but I will not say no to the second endless engine our gyro system. All right, last of the regular packs, Crystal Beast, once again, here to be a disappointment. Just just rolling on down. I guess this is a level seven, two level seven dragons. Hey, I can make that. Um, if you Pendulum Summon, you could do this. If it's Ixy Summoned by using an Ixy, which I can't do. Um, this card is destroyed. So it sucks, but it has 3000 attack. Sure, it's better than anything else here. Let's let's go into the bonus packs or the chaos packs. Power of the elements. Ooh, I think that's one of the better Verna Sylphs out there. You can add a Verna Sylph from your deck to your hand. Yeah, this is a very good card in mono attribute. We this is just about the best card for this week that we could have pulled out of Power of the Elements. I will take it. The Verna Sylphs are so good in Limited. And finally, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. That's a DD Crow. DD Crow's pretty good. Oh, a Starlight Rare Super Poly, by the way. But I'll take a DD Crow. Not bad. And it's on to the Chaos Packs. Is that three Starlights? That's a good point. That is three Starlight Rares in one pack. What is with this pack opener? <laughs> three Starlight Rares and a Secret Rare, and I take the Ultra. <laughs> All right, we haven't gotten a whole lot of good Earth Machine stuff, but there's some of that in my Chaos Pack. So let's see what we can get here. Machu Mech is really tempting as a level five, but it's a light machine. I think I just want a second River Stormer. I think that just might give me the the heads up this this uh, episode, being able to, to to get another one out and search another one. So yeah, I'm gonna take the the second River Stormer. And now time for the Chaos Packs. Starting with Hard Legs Pack. Mm. Not much, not much to speak of. Uh, the <laughs> rare 10,000 dragon. I don't think I have any dragon rulers. Yeah, I'll take Ghost Mourner. I still don't have a Shien or, yeah, I don't have a, a, a legendary six samurai Shien or a battle Shogun Shien. And so Kageki probably isn't going to get me anywhere. All right, chaos pack number two. 
Ancient Gearbox is an Earth Machine. No material is funny, but we couldn't play it. Am I gonna take the fucking Ancient Gearbox? It's added, you could add another Earth Machine. Yeah, it's just extra, it's just extra searching. Yeah, if we're just gonna take Earth Machines, we've just gotta take Earth stuff this time. I think we've gotta go for that. Hard leg pack number two. There's my 20th harvester. Yergi Auger's an okay card. Uh, Psychic Eraser Laser is pretty good. That's good for us if we're going second. Here's a Fossil Warrior Skull Bone. Is this card any good for us? Ish? It's either this or Psychic Eraser Laser, and Psychic Eraser Laser isn't like, um, it isn't like Ultimate Slayer in that it doesn't stop your opponent from responding to it. So I think I'll take the Skull Bone. And now Robert's pack. Well, there's a Earth Machine. It's not a great one, but it exists. Uh, math mech is, oh, I already have three mathematician breakthrough skill. I'll go, I'll go for the link monster. We'll try that out. See how it works. Starting with, oh, I finally have beret. <laughs> I finally have beret. I am taking beret. I have needed a level seven Karakuri so badly. <laughs> Last week would have been so much easier if I had Beret. And Robert's second pack. Ducked down. We could get another fucking Trigate Wizard. Just prepare that. We could get another Necro World Banshee for our third Zombie World. We could get a Balancer Lord, which is probably the best pick. Legendary Six Samurai. This is not one that helps with extension, but it does help with things. Someone in chat is saying Magic Drain is funny. Yeah, we can't play it this time, but it does help with my uh, my my Cybers pile if we ever get to it. So there we go, a pretty good collection of things. Maybe the Earth Machine, maybe the Dark Magician, maybe the Shino Birds. Hard to say, hard to leg. We still got a couple re-rolls though. We can see what we can get. And finally, out of all of the packs, the finally, finally pack, my last Chaos pack, that's an app cologne. I do have a fair number of Shadals. And none of the rest of these cards really speak to me. God, I really need to find a way to get to Schism, don't I? All right, that is that. And it's time for the rerolls. All right, we got the rerolls for Mystic Fighters. And I've got six rerolls. Uh, I might not use all of them here, but I want to go until I get something good, because the only other thing I want to reroll is Raging Battle, which has, like, nothing in it except for one for one. So let's see if we can get something great here. And there's Final Sigma, which, you know, uh, we wanted a Math Mech card. There's the Secret Rare. I guess we're spending the rest on Raging Battle. We're gonna start by re-rolling this one. Ooh, HFD is banned. It is very, very banned. Uh, Whitestone of Ancients, however, is not banned, and it's a pretty good card. Yeah, we'll try for another one. Oh, I have to pick one, damn it. Okay. All right, so since that last one worked so well, we're gonna go ahead and try to re-roll Eldorado. We've already got a micro coder, which is pretty good. Well, if we can get the Romulus or we can get the, um, the the Battle Shogun, that'll be really good for future episodes. So let's, we could try a couple of these and see if we get anything better. So IP's banned, Eldlich is banned, Kage Musha Knight is not better than Micro Coder. Uh, pack number two. Oh, I gotta select one, whatever. Okay, attempt number two. Urgent schedule. Let me urgent, urgent. Yeah, especially for today, that would probably be better than the micro coder, especially since I still don't have a transcode talker. Maximum gold, second re-roll. This is not getting better, is it? Okay, finally, re-roll raging battle. Can we get one for one? Nope, nope, that ain't anything good. 
Unamas. Hey, there's one of the good things. I will take a Chaos Dragon Levianir unpunished. That is a rewarded by the reroll, by the way, folks. For my pity pack, I'm going to go into Those Who Stand Against Kings, a combination of Metal Foes and Zodiac, one of which could be very good for this week, one of which could be very good for future weeks. Let's bust it open. Starting off with a Mithrilia. Mithrilia and Gold Driver are both pretty good for us, but Gold Driver is more necessary to the deck. I'll take Gold Driver. All right, those who stand against Kings pack. No, oh, yes! Yes, we pulled it! Hell yeah! I have no idea when we're going to get to use this card. Folks, the, the Chaos rules from here on in are extremely, are extremely, extremely restrictive. I have no idea if we're going to even get to play this card. But oh boy, am I gonna try. <laughs> yes, Electromite, let's go! Oh, this makes all of my mythical beasts worthwhile. It makes all of my metal foes worthwhile. Oh, this is why I went into this pack. Pack number three, there's another Mithrilium, there's another Metal Foes Fusion, and another Counter, and another Gold Driver. How are we on Counters? We have one. We already have a Fusion. Melcaster's pretty solid. Unfortunately, we can't use the card that we get off of it as a Pendulum Scale. Yeah, I'll take Melcaster. Alright, there's another Mithrilium. I am doing so well on Mithrilium. It might actually be the second Mithrilium. Mithrilium is very strong, to be fair to it. I'll take Para. All right, last pack of those who stand against kings. Oh! <gasps> Tell me I have a Zodiac monster. I have a Whiptail! I have a Whiptail! Oh, I have Dryden Whiptail! Oh, are you kidding me? That's so good! <laughs> Let's fucking go! It's Dark Magician again. We're, we're playing Dark Magician again. I, and Critter, and I Wish I Was Dead, and, and Coral, who you probably don't know, but they're, they're a friendly person on the Discord who's helped me build stuff. We have decided that we're playing Dark Magicians, right, buddy? <laughs> Can't argue with that. And yeah, a lot of it's, you know, it's either this or Earth Machine. I think Robert's probably going to run back the Earth Machine. A mirror match might be fun at some point, but uh, right now I'm more confident in my ability to play this than my ability to play the, the Earth Machines. Especially because I think this is probably the best chance that we'll have in order to make this work. Um, as you know, this deck is... Very weak to spell trap removal in particular. If they hit the eternal soul, then everything dies. But with a uh, giant true nade out of the picture and things like nightmare um, Phoenix not able to be played, uh, well, I guess you could play it. What what's that like fire? If Robert has a fire deck, he could play nightmare Phoenix. But the uh, spell trap removal at a premium at a mo at the moment. So I think we might have a chance to do this. And of course, the fact that we've now got two Magician's Navigation, which we can get with Trap Trick, which can also get me Storming Mirror Force, Lost Wind, Compulse, all the great things that we already have that disrupt everything. And of course, just Dark Magicians being a dark deck, it means we still have access to things like Gofu. We have access to Cyberstein, which I I know is kind of a, uh, like a double-edged sword. Yes, you get to summon a fusion monster, but you're down a lot of life points. But when that fusion monster is Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, uh, which just makes sure that all my back row can't be hit, that's that's just absolutely astounding. Like this, even if we can't necessarily get Eternal Soul, this backed up with something like a Storming Mirror Force is just a nightmare for Robert to deal with. Can't get rid of the back row, but he also can't get rid of this with anything but attacking most of the time. Well, I guess it's affected by stuff if Eternal Soul's not out. But if we can get all three of those, it will really be good. Um, we've also got a really neat combo. If we can get, like, Gofu plus Magician Souls, that allows us to make this in a very roundabout way by going through Muddy Mud Dragon, of all things, and fusing with Crossroads Dragon. 
<laughs> which is a fun, nice little combo. And we've also got Verte. We can make Verte, use the polymerization, make the Dragon Knight or the Amulet Dragon if we want to. Or even possibly the Dragos Depelia if we made this earlier. Um, and if we once we know what Robert's on, we can bring in like Super Polymerization. We can bring in Garua, which is almost guaranteed to be live if he's playing monsters of the same type. Um, and speaking of the side deck, just a whole bunch of other like sort of go second options or options that'll be really good. If we know he's on specific stuff, if he's also playing a trap-based deck, this does nothing, this does nothing. In fact, they kind of hurt us, because we want our Dark Magical Circle. But if he's playing a whole lot of spells, or if he's playing like a Fusion Archetype or whatever, being able to flip either of these is going to hurt him a lot more than it hurts us. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of like tech cards or anything. We're still on the two delinquent duo. I keep going back and forth over if this is good, but we've been winning the coin toss consistently. And even if we don't win the coin toss, like, you know, what's Robert going to keep in his hand after the first turn? Stuff like Soul Charge, stuff like uh, Monster Reborn that helps him recover. So being able to delinquent duo and hit all of those, even going second, might be pretty good. And if not, we can trade it out for traps. We've got Dark Hole when we know we're going second. Uh, Labyrinth Archfiend is funny, maybe a little slow, but again, it depends on what Robert's on. Uh, Keeper of Dragon Magic, just another way to get to our fusions more quickly. And if nothing else, an 1800 Dark. This is something else that also might get traded out for this, or maybe even Phantasme, if we know he's on a Link deck. And then everything else is just the Dark Magician package. Uh, running three might seem a little bricky, but now that we've got two Navigation and two Trap Trick to get him out of our hand, plus this, like if we open with Dark Magician plus this, that gets us into the Dragon Knight. Because we can discard it to search the Polymerization, and then use the effect to summon Dark Magician out of the graveyard. Uh, this gets us Dark Magician to our hand while also being an Honest. Uh, this summons Dark Magician, this gets us Circle, which gets us Eternal Soul. It's just a just a pretty solid package. Uh, I guess Soul Charge is kind of a tech card, but honestly, like, when the point of your deck is to summon Dark Magician every turn, having a card that does that is just really good. Especially if, again, we have to end up, if we end up having to do something where, like, we summon this, uh, but we can't get to Eternal Soul, so it's not immune, and then it gets destroyed... Being able to just soul charge it or monster reborn it back, pretty strong. Assuming this can be, yeah, this can be summoned back. Why wouldn't it be able to? Uh, that, that's silly. So yeah, pretty good. There's still a chance we brick. There's still a chance that Robert has like all the spell trap removal in the world and we die. But I want to get something Dark Magician related banned. Or more likely, probably Deliquid Duo or something like that. Maybe Gofu? We'll see. We'll have to find out in the next segment where things I, i'm bad at transitions <laughs> oh i considered not doing this again i have a very strong pool of light monsters by way of galaxy soldier and Sidra. i have great dark monsters and the dangers but the draw of the machines to create machines to OTK to Bray Doe is too powerful, folks. So I'm coming back to this. The fact that we are no longer locked under machines makes my life actually quite a bit easier. Machines with different attributes are not quite as synergistic with this deck as different types of monsters with the Earth attribute, namely by way of the Vernisylphs. Vernisylphs were revolutionary for this deck in the TCG as well because it allows us to be extendable. We are no longer totally reliant on the normal summon of our Infinite Track Harvester. We can discard guys to continue extending and get our pluses even after Hardleg uses some back row. This also lets us do our Karakuri combos much faster by way of letting us actually summon the Nisamu that we get off of our River Stormer the first time we use it. This is an extremely powerful lineup of just three monsters that I think will help me out a lot, not to mention the fact that we now have access to hand traps and I've got two of the best ones in the game, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion and Max C, the hard leg bane itself. The rest of my deck is pretty much catered to go first and do this combo more, double monster reborn to continue our combos. I'm not on soul charge because the goal of this deck is to OTK and I have no big boss monsters to summon, so comboing off like that doesn't really work out for me. We've got the double heavy forward, a confiscation, a forceful sentry, 
some back row that we can search, some back row that we can't search, and our extra deck is tricked out with some earth boss monsters that we can summon now that we're not locked into machines. Our side deck, as always, is for going first or going second against monster heavy stuff or spell and trap heavy stuff. Now that giant true nade is gone, I'm thinking there's a possibility hard leg will get a little bit too overconfident with his trap cards. And I think things are going to be a little more evenly matched this time. Let's get into the duels. I am ready. All right, let's rock. Let's go. Let's, let's be one. Let's do this. Let's do hey, this. Hey, no! I finally won rock, paper, scissors. I'm going first. Let's do this. Oh, come on. I'm just a little guy. I'm just, Woo! just let me go first. Also, I'm not losing. a bad card to open with going for. Holy sh... Walker well, moly. Um, that's a large number of very good cards. I... Um, it's like one good card. And that's true. It really is just things. the one good card. That's fair. I'm going to make a mildly suspect decision and put back Dark Magical Circle. Hope you don't oh, get it back. Okay. Uh, and then... So that means you've got to have, like, Compulse or something. I have... Earth Monsters! Ah... This is it light or dark at all? No, it is not. Let me summon a guy. Who's the guy I'm going to summon here? The art on Forceful Century is so strange. It's just a dude being like, stop. But like it's, really dramatically, it's got like motion blur lines. It's it's not even that. It's just the framing oh of it, right? Oh my god, like, I'm so bad at Yu-Gi-Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! The distraction I, technique works. The Infinitrax are all the same color. I thought that this one was brutal. Those are... No! <laughs> well, you're fine. You can make the level nine. I've looked at this. You would think I could do that. Oh, wow. I have once again totally thrown the series. Uh, <coughs> I mean, what I could gonna have do? prevented this. What am I going to do? Make a Gofu? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yo, know, how's it? How's it going? How's yeah, it hanging? like that. That that go food does things. Yeah. Go food yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you nailed it. You got me. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hi there. Hello there. I will prevent my damage if possible, and. Yeah, I guess this is my only real option. This is not the direction I expected you to go with this. Okay. Dehark. The Dehark Charmer. Okay. He's got 1850. And oh, one slightly thing I know, bigger than my guy. Yeah, which number is bigger than the other number? And I didn't get compulsed. All right. True. Uh, and now I'll set a couple cards. Hmm. Could be anything. Could be hmm. literally anything. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, now you show up to the party. Let's normal summon Nanishi. Oh, hello there. Uh, let's synchro summon. A lady. Eight. <sighs> Make eight feel great. True. Let's use our Bredo. Good luck. You can't <laughs> shift me to defense position. I'm all Link Monsters. That is true. I am going to activate its effect. That's the guarantee. That's the smart move. Mm. But, but, there's also the chance that I win it big. These are the things I must consider. These are a few of my favorite The thing, uh, the, the win it bid, a big option just seems unlikely at this point. Okay. Huh. Let's summon this guy. This doesn't... Summon a car quarry, and then when the battle position is changed, and then this thing doesn't change its battle position. Not yet, it doesn't. Let me tell you, this would be going a lot better if I knew that that was Shoveler and not River Stormer last turn. <laughs> or not uh, Brutal um, Dozer. Yeah, I mean, I don't even have any attack. Okay. Um, That's fine. Oh, I have to crash it. I forgot that that's how this works. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you can crash this, but you won't be able to draw a card off of it. That's also fine. 
It's not what I like to hear. Could you at least at least humor me? Be like, oh no, my monster, whatever will I do? Oh, this can only summon a level four or lower. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> oh, hello. <gasps> oh, if I had figured all of this out earlier. <laughs> A severe lack of playtesting on Robert's behalf. Oh, no, it's just me getting... I've been playtesting this all week. It's just me getting banned off this garbage platform for calling <laughs> them out for being racist that's causing the problem here. Uh, oh, I thought this okay. changed its battle position when it... Well, whatever. We're going. Oh, it's only if it's an attack position. Dark solos. Dark All right. control. Oh, Dark thank control. God, a monster that does something. Let's go for Harvester. Aww. Come on. This time I know what I'm getting is Brutal Dozer. Stop doing things. Let me have this. You already confiscated my right. hand. Not having a great day. Dark Magician's not here. I don't have the rod. I don't have the staff. I'm gonna grab Trencher. Trying to fight machines. We're going to special summon. None of these remove dark without destroying it, unfortunately. Yeah. Pretty sure uh, like five pool, especially if you're locked into Earth's pretty slim let's pickings. Activate River Stormer. I'm gonna grab another Nisamu. <laughs> Surely this this the same problems will not happen to me in the future. More like uh, nice Amu. All right, let's go. <laughs> Indeed. Let's activate the uh, Trencher and Grave. I'm going to hit the Shoveler. Chainsaw, Unfortunately, right? this has to be summoned in defense position. And I'm going to banish this Nisamu to activate its effect. We'll add a spin turn. Freaking spin let's... turn. Go to battle phase. I'll attack into dark. All right. Goodbye, dark. You did well. Yoink. You did a good. Um, activate. I get to yeah. summon a dark monster from various places. I mean, could be could be anywhere. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna grab that. Okay. I thought uh, it summoned it from the deck, not spent, not added it to hand. Rip. There we go. We both, uh, we both. Maybe. <laughs> if I had known that, I would have gotten the thing that does stuff when it's special summoned, you know? Indeed. Uh, okay. So, you know, you know him. You love him. Okay. He's we're the ultimate wizard. Do. Uh, yeah. I'll toss this out right now. I need stuff unfortunate but you know we gotta Ooh, get him one. okay dark magic attack <laughs> get it out of here get them all out of here we may not uh, have heavy storm but dark magician does sure ha -cha 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 -cha. hilariously i could do this twice but i'm not going to i don't need to to get two spin turns that's twice as many so, I drew the other Magician's Souls. Oh, excellent. Good, good. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Um, yeah, fuck it. We'll just send those off. Oh, yep. Fantastic. <laughs> this is what I love to hear. Um, Ooh. Karibo, if you don't mind. Uh, oh, fuck, oh, I forgot about Max C. Oh, I could not imagine a better draw here. Holy yeah. shit, except maybe that one. Okay, what's the plan? Let's, yeah, let's do this. I, I am going to activate my River Stormer. I will detach my Brutal Dozer. And I'm going to grab good old Boney. Surely this time this will work. Can't link Karibo, just have 600 attack. Just enough to get over a right. position storm. Normal summon. All right. Activate. All right. Special summon. Synchro summon. Synchro Shoka. He's big. Here he is. Sink. Good old Brebu. Let's summon the second Boney. 
Boney 2.0, and then, and then, Hard Leg Joe, I will activate Monster Reborn. Reborn the monster. And I will target Nishipachi. Okay. Nishipachi's effect will shift uh, itself. Burebu's effect. Uh, we will take out your back row. I will chain said back row. Boo! Okay, that's fine. Rainbow. We'll be fine. I uh, special summon this asshole. Big. Boo. Ray. Do. But it came back. That's fine. Uh, Nisamu 2.0. Another one. All right. To attack, River Stormer. I feel like this is probably more than lethal. Is it more than lethal? Oh. Maybe. Probably not through Link Karibo. But we're going to find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Aha, eat that. Zero. Okay, let's do this. The attack of smallest to biggest, just in case I've got gores that I can activate through Lost Wind. I, uh, I don't know. I don't. Just know. in case, it's fine. Just in case. Hey, wait, we did it. Hold up, hold up. It worked. <laughs> I got confiscated. That doesn't count. We're going back. We'll run it back. Okay. Now that I know I'm going first, and now that I know what I'm up against, and now that I know you're a coward, I'll be able to fight you down. All right, unsurprisingly, I will go first. Oh, I'm absolutely shocked. You should be. You should be. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. I have drawn a single summonable monster. Okay. Exciting. Let's... I can actually do things with this hand, I think. Probably. Uh, let's blind Cosmic Cyclone. Oh boy! If you're running that, that means that you've got one of the dudes that Giga punishes me for doing Earth Machine. I do. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna hope here. Uh, let's go, Brutal Dozer. All right. Let's do this. Let's Dozen. summon. Do rag shovel. Gotcha. What does this get me? Pretty much nada. But it does give me a little bit of extendability. I am going to use my trencher here. The Let's go river stormer. What a surprise! You you should be absolutely shocked and chagrined that this is occurring. Uh, I think I'm going to try to stop you here if I can. Ooh, there's the Lost Wind. Okay, um, that's not the worst thing in the world. I can no. use my Trencher here. Summon back my Shovel. Shovel! Yeah, and then we'll do this. Off you go! Spinning and turning and doing his thing. And then we will set this and pass the turn to you. I wonder what it could be. God, Lost Wind is such an asshole card. I don't want to ban it because I feel like there are <laughs> much more bannable cards, but I swear the number of times I lose to exactly Lost Wind. Lost Wind's great. It's my pal. And All point. right, here we go. Um, Let's special summon this this time. Okay, that's fine. Uh, We're going to use this effect. Send that off. That's all card also fine ah i see well this ought to make things a little more evenly matched um i hope you weren't saving two really good cards in your hand robert i may or may not have been saving at least one really good card <laughs> uh i will not activate a fast protect in response to that hey monster reborn okay so yeah, I think I have to do this for now. Hello, Link Karibo. 
That's Just fine. Karibo and hope you don't draw anything good. Oh. Does that do everything? <laughs> I love it when my deck does everything. Okay, uh... alright, here we go. <clears throat> Let's summon from the extra deck Infinitrack Goliath. Already? That's fine. Lost Wind will not save you. Uh, <laughs> let's activate River Storm. We'll send away Goliath. We'll summon River Storm. Uh, Goliath's effect to equip to River Stormer. Weird. Uh, activate River Storm. Add Nisamu. And now you can't activate Lost Wind this turn, right? You just uh, said it. Maybe. You can activate it next turn. You can't. That's how this card works, right? That's how traps work in general. Yeah, but some of them say shit like if you can activate <laughs> this this turn. I'm pretty sure Lost Wind doesn't. I'm pretty does sure not. we've gone through that kind of thing. Okay, all right. We got this. Uh, okay, let's normal summon Nisamu. Uh the log. Let's activate good old Boney. Summon Boney. And now it is time for the Super Shogun himself. It's Boo Ray Boo time. He's a Shogun up. He shogun is thing. my Boo Ray Boo. What can I say? Um, yeah. Let's summon from the deck. I have a couple of options here. Uh, so I could hold the Inashichi, but if I do that, I won't have the second dude bro to attack with. That's so close to lethal. I think that might still not be lethal. Hold up. Uh, 3000 plus 28 is... Oh no, it's definitely still lethal. Okay, yeah, that does the trick. Uh, so we are going to take this opportunity to summon Nishipachi. I will activate it. I'll switch it to defense. I won't chain a thing. I will use Burebu. We'll banish the Linkaribo. Goodbye, Linkaribo. And then we will summon Burado. Ah, oh, feels good to actually get to do Karakuri combos this time, Hardlight. <laughs> Big, big burritos coming on down. And here is the bony. And that should just about wrap it up on this one. Unfortunate. Yep, and I'm just, I'm sitting here on, um... Yeah, is that exact? Yep. Yeah. Sitting it here with is... Soul Charge and Monster Reborn in hand. Oh, rip. And it's like, yeah, what, what was I going to summon back? The only monster I opened with was Souls. I could summon the Dark Magician, but then you just spin turn it. I could maybe do a play where I, like, summon back one of your things and then Soul Charge and make a Link 4, and then you just spin turn it. Uh, unfortunately, I guess I just didn't play enough back row removal for the searchable spin turn. Which seems like a shade, like I don't want to ban the spin turn. I guess go ahead, let's do a third, third. All dude, right, let's do a third. Out, let's see what we can do. Figure out what happened. Oh, this is a damn good hand. <laughs> ah, I see. Is it still a damn good hand? Uh, it's mildly less damn good, but it's still absolutely playable. I, uh, I'm going to discard this confiscation. Okay. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Cyberstein. What the fuck? I'm going to activate Cyberstein and summon a Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. The shit is this card? And then I will set a couple cards and end my turn. We'll see how good your Cosmic Cyclone does now, Home Slice. This is still really solid. It's not ideal, but it does a lot <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's go heavy forward. Oh, you actually do play spells. I do play spells. I just haven't drawn any of them. I'm going to add the 
brutal dozer from deck to hand. Brutal. I think this is the play that loses to back row the least. Uh, let's normal summon Harvester. The Harvester, Harvester effect. Of let's get... Physical. Shovel. Fizz shovel? Yeah, that the the very same. Let's go shovel. We're digging. We do be digging. All day, every day. Let's ban this brutal dozer. Let's add spin turn. I and then let's activate the second Brutal Dozer. Let's go. Brutal oh, Dozer all day. Oh. Brutal Dozer money gang. We love summoning Earth Machines. We'll use each effect once per turn. What the heck? I didn't use the Brutal Dozer effect this turn. You discarded the first one. Touche. Oh, shit. There's a world where I could have done the Beredo thing here. <laughs> I... Let's do this. Hello there. Activate. Detach trencher. Storm oh, my still rivers. Theoretically, could do that. I'm just not sure if it does me any good into two back row. I uh, let's grab Boney. Um, I don't know why you call him. His name's like Kuzumin. It's because this it is a deep cut through my stream. There was like, when I first tested this deck, I spent like five hours straight testing it. And every time <laughs> I changed the, the word bonds a little bit more, and it eventually ended up at Boney, which is also an Earthbound reference. Uh, or is it a Mother 3 ref? Anyway, it's a, there's a video game involved. Let's attack with River Stormer. That's a lot of damage. I'll allow it. Okay. Yoink. It's not all the damage. Main phase two. I uh, let's set a back row. Pass the turn. Uh, battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, attack. Whee! Spin. Yeah, he's not as good if you don't have the eternal soul. <laughs> True. <laughs> hoping I'd be able to get to that a little bit faster but so far uh no haven't been working out very well let me tell you this match I'm feeling very very good about that graceful charity ban yeah uh let's activate river storm it, it might be that it might also be you know I, I let I let a certain someone convince me that delinquent duo could win was like oh it just wins the game on its own if you resolve that you're done and uh no, no, you're still fine. <laughs> Not okay. only are you still fine, but me being down a resource where, like, if that had been a monster, I could make a play. Well, this card ain't doing me any good. Let's do the thing. The thing. Oh, I goofed. I was supposed to use the anchor drill to summon that. Oh, well. Call me John Carpenter, because we're doing the thing. All right, here we go. Boo! Ray! Boo! Boo Ray Boo's effect. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, we're going to summon Karakuri Money Gang. We love summoning Earth Machines. Nanishi! Activate Trencher. Grab Shuvel. The Shuvel! Activate Shuvel. Uh, I'll banish this here bony. Grab spin turn. And Synchro ooh. summon. Boo! Ray! Go! <laughs> Boo! Ray! Do is a fact. Uh, this time I'll grab Nishipachi. Switch Nishipachi. No. Boo! Ray Doe. Uh, Monster Reborn! Reborn the monster! Let's grab... 
This feels highly unnecessary. Misamu? Right yeah, but what if you have a mirror force? I How must would... resolve the Burebu. That's why the good lord gave us Bure! Oh, you have this too. I do. Well, I get the lost wind back. You do. Uh, now, the cool thing here would be if I hadn't used that monster reborn, I could get back my Harvester, and then I could summon Super Dora by uh, <laughs> combining Harvester with Bure now. But uh, I did not plan that far ahead. Let's summon Nisamu. Uh, and I am going to summon an attack position. I will activate Bure now or Bure, put it in defense position, I will draw, and I will activate Bure Boo to take out this middle guy. Magician's navigation. Not ideal. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm okay with this field, though, so let's just go battle phase and see if we can swing in for that last 200. You did not hit the mirror for- Oh, no! Okay, I'm, I'm not that pressed. Uh, main phase two, I will- Switch River Stormer to attack and set a mysterious back row. And I don't think there's her. anything I could draw. And honestly, just looking at it, it's like, you know, what else? What else could I possibly ban? The fact that you have that searchable pop card, um, certainly it just changed and then destroy. Ooh. It only destroys monsters, so I guess it doesn't stop the the uh, Dark Magician deck entirely. But still. A searchable monster pop is more than I can deal with. Whee! Spin turn has a second effect. Destroy that opponent's... Oh, okay, so it does destroy the spell traps. Yes, it does. Gotcha. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> uh, I do want to, before you get the oh. opportunity to ban this deck out from under me, I do want to show this off. <laughs> <laughs> Just so crazy. All Of all the Earth Machine stuff, you would think that, like, oh, they've got all these powerful things, and it's it's the spin turn, which I've had chances to get, and I'm like, eh, it's that dumb trap. It changes battle positions. You can only use it once. Maybe if it was a continuous, it would be good. But, uh, no, it's surprisingly it's, powerful. It is funny to me that that's your opinion on spin turn, considering the fact that I without a Machina engine available, I'm pretty sure Spin Turn is the reason to run this deck. Well, like OTKs. The idea is to go in with Earth Slicer and just pop like four cards and then attack for like 8,000 damage. You say that as if I have pulled an Earth Slicer. <laughs> you haven't? Oh, shit! I didn't put everything else to attack position, no! Oh, wait, it, doesn't, it uh, I, halves yeah, attack. Yeah, I have, Never I have 200 attack. Yep, okay. Well, you know. Thank you, good. How how long have we been here for? Only 40 minutes include. Okay, let, let me have one more shot. All right, all right, one more. Let's well, see if I could get a decent hand this time. Oh, the, it really does not matter what kind of hand you got, I am sure, given uh, this, the contents of mine. This feels pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty strong. That seems like the point of the deck. Yeah, let's we'll get that. There it is. Um, I was convinced that this card summons from the deck first, but that's not how it works. No, it turns out. That. And then we'll activate the Magician Souls. Ooh, okay. You opened pretty damn good this time. Yes. Correct! And then we'll... Oh, I just, it just shuffled the deck because I sent a Dark Magician. Rip. They couldn't let you summon stuff, could they? Okay. Wow, okay. This is just the whole engine. Yeah, this is what kind of I was hoping the deck would do, you know? Have some, some pretty cool stuff. Some pretty cool things, maybe, from time to time. Let's just get that. And then we'll go boop and boop. I can't and... imagine what any of this is. And, uh, yeah, let's make a Dehark. Okay. All right, there's a card I can draw that wins me this game, and that is not it. Okay. I uh, Let's go, Harvester. The Harvester, Harvester of Sorrows. I'm going to add 
the brutalist of dozers. And yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. Ah, okay. Uh, I see you have found the problem magician. with my deck. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with all Infinitrack decks. <laughs> They kind of need to, like, do stuff, you know, have some things. Um, let's banish. And then we'll use the Magician's Rod. Just okay. trigger that off, add that oh. back. Okay. Um, you know what? This is extremely funny. Activate Monster Reborn. <laughs> it's my Dark Magician now. <laughs> sure, buddy. Have fun with it. Battle phase. Yeet. Just fine. Allow me to search. It only I will. makes me stronger. It's not like I've stopped you from searching the rest of this game so far. Yo, what up? What the <laughs> fuck almighty hard leg Joe? Just keeper of dragon magic, you know. No, he's a dark monster. Yeah, he does dark monster things. Uh, main phase two. I will set a back row. Fox, we'll thin turn. turn. <laughs> Dark Magician, the well-known Earth Machine Xyz monster. All right, let's normal summon this. Mm -hmm. we use the effect. We'll discard a card to search polymerization. Okay, that would mean that you can summon the what's his futz, the dragon fucker. Uh, Possibly. Let's, let's imperm that. No, come on. Be cool, it's my birthday. It's a little <laughs> birthday boy. Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, and it's in the Eternal Soul column. Yes, it is! Mm. Whatever, nerd! <laughs> Monster Reborn. Target your Dark Magician. Take my Dark Magician again. <laughs> This concerns me. I was never meant to get this far. <laughs> What's wrong, um, buddy? You don't like having a dark magician on your field? I mean, it's great. I've got two 2,500 dudes. I'm enjoying this greatly. Battle phase? Okay. Attack? Uh, sure. W w I'm so confused. What's to be confused about, buddy? There's nothing special Why is th Why is this working? Uh, main phase two. Well, uh, you can't torrential me. No, I can't. Uh, let's just use Compulse. I will take back my Dark Magician. Sure. Uh, I will add a... Anchor Drill? Okay. All right. I... Um, let's go ahead and activate Eternal Soul. I will special summon a Dark Magician from my hand. Oh, you can do that from your hand. Huh. Oh, yeah. It's pretty neat. i uh, get out of here. I knew you were waiting on that normal summon. You're going to uh... have all the level fives in your hand if I have anything to say about it. I'm glad at least, you know, the people who waited around through me getting completely decimated in <laughs> silence. To see dark see Magician what... Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is this is what was supposed to happen. It just didn't didn't work out very well. Yeah, you know, we might as well get this now. Ooh. You know, just in case. Yeah. We have it. Uh, let's go ahead. Just break mm. out the rod. Your rod may be powerful, but what can it do when there are two magicians in play? I mean. I just, just crash the magicians, you know. Oh, but then um, there will be no magicians. I mean, for now. That's fine. I don't think you understand. I control the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. So do I. Not anymore, you don't. Ow. Get poked! Hopefully we don't get demonetized. Oh, this activates during your turn, too. Guess what, Hard Leg Joe? I hope you had a good time with this field. Ow, my most of me. Yep. <laughs> um, well, I guess you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, and you're gone. 
Goodbye. We love to see it. Wait, and why now did I go to main phase play. two? What the heck? I got locked into going to the end phase? Oh, it's dumb. Well, um... I had a thing I could have set. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that thing I do. Cash Tira Fenrir. So it is. Uh, so it is. And shall then be. Anchor Drill. Anchor Drill's effect. He's anchoring. Summon the Brutalist of Dozers. He's anchoring for a hanker. Activate him. We'll summon a shovel. Such nonsense! <laughs> we'll activate. Why'd I get to Fred summon him? <laughs> I guess I'll just have so, to make sure for now on, whenever I use this, I always hit go to main phase two and not end phase. I guess. Uh, let's overlay... Uh, the, the, um, uh, these two. It doesn't matter. Go for River Stormer. None of this matters. Okay. <laughs> we'll send away a shovel. 5,000 on now. Pitch I have another treasure. eternal soul, Robert! <laughs> <laughs> okay, can, 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 can I at least get a chance to show you something? I came up with a cool combo. I want to show the people. Ooh, okay. Just just give me one does more turn. It, it doesn't turn. require you to control the dark magical circle? No. Okay. I... You could destroy the dark magical circle if you, it really makes you feel better. Uh, you know what? Um... I you, you you know what you've you've had it rough hard leg Joe I think I can I think I can afford you a dark magical circle. <laughs> In these trying times, a dark magical circle really helps. I will out. not Fenrir your circle. I appreciate it because I know I knew exactly what my top deck, and I was like, I could do the combo here finally. All right, this is what I was hoping for. So Hello, we get, Gofu. We get Gofu. All right, Gofu. I will. I I won't spin turn it. I appreciate it. Here, I'll just turn this off. Okay. I will also will not Fenrir. Um, we'll activate Ooh. this. This is or, four whole monsters. You know. Yeah. Uh, special summon this card. Okay. So here's where things get spicy. Okay. Are you ready for the spice? So ready. Um, so we use... I haven't already summoned Link Karibo, have I? No. Okay, good. Actually, let's do Link Karibo first. Hello, okay. Link Karibo. Now you have at Pretty least nice. three effect monsters on the field. Yeah. And then I will use um, Link Karibo and the other token mm -hmm. to make Crossroads Dragon. <laughs> what is this? It's so cute. It does, it's, you know, it does some stuff. And then I will use Gofu and the Magician Souls to make Muddy Mud Dragon. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> and we'll activate his effect using uh -huh. himself and a dragon to make the Dark Magician oh. the Dragon Knight. So there you go. You know, okay. now I can banish your stuff. And then if you spin turn me, he's just dead because I don't have my Eternal Soul because it didn't let me set it. Not that it matters, because, you know, I fucking... <laughs> I had already lost anyway, but that was the idea. You know, I've got three Gofu, I've got three of that, and uh, I could maybe do some stuff, and it just didn't, didn't work out. I got all of my, like, revival cards and tech cards. I, I really do feel like it's this is less of a thing of your deck winning and more of a thing of my deck losing. <laughs> I have discovered that in a battle of a thousand bricks, sometimes it doesn't come down to the better player. It comes down to divine intervention. He who bricks less, bricks last. Yes. Yeah, and I think I'm going to have to pull a Robert here and uh, think about what I want to ban. I mean, Understandable. obviously, the, the thing that was the most detrimental was the spin turn. The fact that you've got searchable... Um, just removal for spells, monsters, everything completely turns things down. But then again, like realistically, what's prob probably the more deadly card, like confiscation that lets you see my hand, even though I think you only have one, um, evenly matched, which can just get rid of anything if I do happen to get up. <laughs> so I'll, I'll have to confer with my council and see what's up. 
You'll have to tune Fair in enough. next time and see what we do. Especially because, now that I think about it, next episode is the Monster Mash episode. It is. You thought things were restricted before by type or attribute, nah. Now it's all monsters, all the time. No spells or traps. Which makes it kind of difficult to ban a spell or a trap. I guess I could get rid of Fenrir. I do I do dislike the Fenrir. Well, we'll see. You'll have to tune in next time and figure that out. He's just a guy. He's just and, a little guy. Until then, good luck. And boo ray do Boo ray do And welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, Episode 17. I'm, of course, Hard Leg Joe, if in ya didn't know. Joined by the... One second, we don't need to do a second take. I, I can relook this up. No, that's the wrong tab. The Bobby Pickett of Yugi Tube. That's what this you are. This time you had to do the Googling. Oh, no, that's <laughs> not true. I need to do the Googling. Bobby Pickett. Let me Google yeah. that one. I, I'm not surprised. It's one of those things where um, everyone, I feel like, should be familiar with Bobby Pickett, but no one is. They're probably, if you think about it, one of the most successful one-hit ah. of all time. I know exactly why this is. Uh, famous uh, for writing a song after which the format we will be playing today is named. Correct. If for you don't we know, shall do the mash. The, we'll monster the monster mash. mash. Yeah, Bobby Pickett's the guy who made the monster mash, which I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, one of the few songs that has been like number one multiple times in non consecutive years. Like, it, it topped in, like, 1976, and then again in, like, 1983. Just, like, years after it was released. <laughs> it just, it, it comes and goes, you know, just how it is. And, yeah. And wrote a bop. Yeah. And we're doing, we're doing Monster Mash today, which, if you don't know somehow, it's all monsters. Spells, get them out of here. Traps, no way. All we need is monsters today. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. I have a strong monster pile that may involve some dragons you, you're familiar with. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do some uh, uh, <clears throat> serious work in my draft today. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Before we get to the draft, though, Jules, if you would, put up the ban list. Let people know. I forget if last time, I don't think I had decided... But I did finally decide what we're going to ban, and we are banning Maxi. That's right. I finally get to ban Maxi. It may be legal in Master Duel, but it's out here. I'm tired of dealing with it. Even though it was barely in the series, I don't want to have it here. And I especially don't want to have it here in the format that's nothing but monsters. That would be a nightmare. So we got it out of here. Should make this just a little bit more fair. Fair in my my advantage. <laughs> True. <laughs> that's that's what fair means. Pan Maxi. Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> I mean, when you're the three three duels behind, I'll I'll take that definition of fair. Oh, I appreciate it. Such a kind gentle. I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here. And comment in the comments if you're glad to be here. As we go ahead into Pack All Street. right, here we are, back at it again. Twitch chat is here. They're being adorable, as always. Cats and Zombos. And we're opening for Dark Beginning 1. And just because it's Monster Mash format, just because we can only play monsters, doesn't mean I have to only pick monsters. If I get a good spell trap here, I can pick that. Um... I guess Card of Safe Return is a good spell trap. I've got that. Thousand Eyes Restrict is also good. Um, I think I already have, like, one of those, though. Although that may work for my Relinquish deck, which is a good idea in general. But not necessarily a good idea for um, Monster Mash, because good luck making rituals or fusions without any spells. But that's unlikely at this point. I think we just go for the card of safe return, because Dragon Rulers is probably my best deck, and like, who doesn't like drawing a card every time you summon from the graveyard? Oh, we finally made it through one of these deck restrictions. Those... The deck restrictions, as opposed to the gameplay restrictions, have been weirdly difficult for me to get through. But we finally beat our uh, kryptonite, I guess? 
and I'm ready to draft again. This week, it's Monster Mash. We are going to be pulling some monsters. But in addition to that, we're also going to be looking for things that are not like not light and not dark for anti-chaos. And we're also going to be looking for second copies of things and first copies of things for Bylander and Extreme Highlander, respectively. Look forward to that. Let's get in to the polls. Chaos Draft. Beginning with the beginning, the dark beginning. Oh, hey, that's an upstart goblin. Oh, there's a Relinquished. Relinquished is really cool. I'm a big fan of Relinquished, but I cannot find a idea. There's, there's, there's nothing coming up that will allow me to play this card. I will take my one of Upstart Goblin. Shock the photon. Oh, hey. Kage, Tokage, do 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 do. Just another rank four extender for my rank four pool. Called it a spool almost for a second. Weird. All right. Star Strike Blast. Uh, a second strategist is actually not bad. I've been... I've been struggling a little bit with my Karakuri pile because I can't run Pot of Desires in it because I only have one of each tuner. I'll take an Ishipachi. Battle Pack, Epic Dawn. Oh, hey, Pot of Duality, turn, turn, turn. If I make like a trap-based deck, this might be good. It's either that or the Buster Blader, but I think I only need one Buster Blader and I think I already have one Buster Blader, don't I? I have two Buster Bladers. I don't need a third Buster Blader. I'll take the Pot of Duality. This series is long enough. It's starting to feel like a Duelist Saga Doom Caliber Knight. We don't have a Doom Cal. That'll be great for Extreme Highlander. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. This has more Dragon Rulers in it. Can I get even more Dragon Rulers? Another Redox, perhaps? No. We did get a Drafts. I think I already have three drafts though. Dragon Ruler. No, I have two drafts. That would make this more consistent. I kind of want to reroll to get one of these two, but I think just getting anything, having three and three of each is probably good enough. Master Revan, what are you implying about what happens in a tag duel? <laughs> All right, Legendary Collection Kaiba. We are, to some extent, looking for Blue Eyes monsters. What do we got? Another Defusion and another Delinquent Duo. Is this our third Delinquent Duo? That seems kind of nutty. No, it's just our second one. It's that or Card of Demise or Trade-In. All of these are really good. I think we've had enough hand destruction in this series. I'll take the trade-in for blue eyes things. The most premium of gold. Oh, hey, Effect Veiler. Yeah, we're taking Effect Veiler. A hand trap in the all monster format? Hell yes. Flames of Destruction. A second Nightmare Cerberus is actually not the worst thing in the world. Oh, actually a second Nightmare Cerberus is great for Bylander. We definitely want that. Light's Revenge. No, oh, hey, Denko Seka. That's a really funny thing to get. I think we'll get the Denko Seka. <laughs> this would be really good in fucking Dragon Rulers if we weren't playing um, all monsters. Power, power, Borolo Dragon. Yo, I've been waiting for you to show up. Ooh, we love ourselves some Borolo Dragon. Utopic Onomatopoeia is obviously ridiculously good for our Automat deck, but we, we gotta take Borolo Dragon. We've gotta take Borolo Dragon. Toon Chaos. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. This is like everything we wanted out of the Chaos deck, like all in all in one thing. We've got Code Generator. Uh, let me look at how we're doing on that code. We've got one Generator, we've got one Radiator, we've got Micro Coder, we've got Exporter. These are all the ones that let you Link Summon from your hand. They're all kind of rare. Uh, desires, I know we have one of those. Having another, oh, we have two. That would be the playset of Desires. We've got to play for what we can do. We've got to play for what we do this turn. So I think we got to go for the code generator this time because it's a monster. Maximum gold. 
Oh, this is a tough one, actually, because I do now have a payoff for the statue, dude, but that's an Appaloosa. I can't not take an Appaloosa. We're taking it. Armageddon! Oh, hey. Zero Boros. You know what? I didn't have quite enough broken rank four mon Link 4 monsters. Let's just take another broken Link 4, shall we? Big attack. Biggest one. It's time for the force to get dimensional. Scareclaw Triheart at secret rare. Yo, this is a beast warrior. Isn't this like a great tri-brigade payoff? Must be Link Summoned. All face-up monsters in the field are changed to defense position, unaffected by the activated effects of defense position monsters. Yo, wait, this card is actually rad. I'm suddenly picking up tons of tri-type payoffs. Oh yeah, and this is just a generic Link? This card is like, this card is like Baguska, but like, better? Yeah, we'll take Scareclaw Triheart. This card is very, very strong. And finally, Crystal's Revenge. What the heck is this? Ninja Shadow Mosquito. Two plus level twos, can't be destroyed by battle. You take no damage. All monsters must attack. When an attack is declared, activate one of these effects. Attach a material and place a hallucination counter. Um, their effects are negated. Inflict damage equal to the attack of one monster with a hallucination counter. Very weird, very strange, not very good. And we'll take the extra deck monster. I think that's that's probably the better bet. It's secret rare, I haven't seen it before. I do have one Chaos Daedalus. I haven't used it yet, so I'll take the new thing. And then we go into the Chaos Packs. And finally, for the last of our main pack opening, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Yo, the Chaos Creator, I will absolutely take this card. This card is phenomenal for Monster Mash format. Chaos pack number one, gotta have me some fun. What can I get? What will I regret? I've got a whole bunch of stuff and, and a pet, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is a good hand trap for hand trap format. Let me check my Infinitrax and my Six Samurais real quick though. Yeah, like I don't need either of these. I could take this. I honestly think Seravis is probably better. It's a dragon, it's a hand trap. And plus, I always like drawing. He's ancient and ascended, chat. What more could you want? Kicking off our chaos packs with the hard leg chaos pack. No shot, no shot, hard leg Joe. You aren't allowed to have anything that I don't have. Chaos Ruler, the chaotic magical dragon. Oh, my dragon link uh, skills are going to come in clutch this time around. Oh boy, I will take the Chaos Ruler. God, I love this card. And then pack number two. Another one, another one, another one. Big ass rock. We've already got a Utopia the Lightning, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've got a Utopia and the Lightning. I think we take the big ass rock. Let's find a rock. I mean a big ass rock. All right, the second hard leg chaos pack. Oh, too bad. I don't get to use the second Alpha the Master of Beasts. Man, it's been a while since I pulled this card the first time and got it banned. Uh, without it, this pack is a little bit suspect. God, this could have been. This could have been the freaking Sin Machina Citadel. Uh, oh, well. I can't. I really cannot complain. I, I should just shut my mouth. What does Shell Knight do? Mm, I'll take an a set. All right, an RJ's Chaos Packs. What do you got, brother? Let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing all the time. Uh, this actually could be very good for my Dragon Rulers. Not today, obviously, but someday. Scrap Recycler is also pretty decent, but I haven't seen one of these yet, so let's go ahead and take this while we got the chance. All right, and now for my Chaos Packs. Yo, is that an Erebus? That's not bad. 
Uh, Debris Dragon, however, is incredible, and I've been waiting to pull a copy of this. I will grab Debris Dragon. And Chaos number two. Kage Musha, that is a six samurai. Let me double check again. I always forget. I almost said Sax Samurai. Very different musical. Wait, do I not have a Kage Musha? Wow. Well, I guess we pick up a Kage Musha then. Get one of those and see what we can do with it. All right, RJ Chaos Pack number two. What do we get? We got not a lot. I could take the Icarus attack that's pretty good for our Tri Brigade stuff. Kageki is pretty good for six Samurai. Oh, wait, I have a Karakuri Watchdog Sizen. Let's take Sizen. That's very strong for our pool. Okay. All right. This has been <laughs> honestly incredible. I had one thing to complain about, and it was the stupidest, most first world problem complaint ever, which was getting the second alpha instead of getting a Machina Citadel. But you know what? We take those. Okay, re-roll, trying to get hand traps all over the place. Five Ds. Ugh, five Ds nuts. First re-roll of maximum gold El Dorado, hopefully the last. Dragoonity Knight Romulus is cool. This is a searcher for Dragon Ravine. Do we have Dragon Ravine? No. Okay. Okay, come on, hand traps, infinite gold. Last time we got a good witch, this time we got a dark witch. <laughs> One more time, maximum gold, El Dorado. What do we got? Firewall dragon. Okay, duelist saga. Last time we got a Gozuki. Can we get a hand trap? Well, honest is a hand trap. One more pack. One more pack. This is my last reroll. What will you give me, Maximum Gold El Dorado? Yes! Oh, we call that rewarded by the reroll. Let's go. It's always the last reroll that I get. I will take the Rocket Tracer. Oh, that is so goddamn good. So now I have Rocket Tracer, and I have a couple of other Rocket Monsters that I can make with it. If I can just activate a card on the field, I can summon out any number of rocket monsters and that's an instant chaos ruler. We will take those. Oh my God, what an incredible opening today. I could not have imagined, I couldn't have dreamed up better pools than we got today. All right, so looking over all the secret packs, it turns out that there's not really any good ones for this particular episode. Most of the packs with dragons in them are oddly specific and contain a whole lot of spells. The drag unities in particular, which have like three cards we really want, are mostly feel filled with cards that are locked into drag unities, and there's no way we could pull enough of them to make that strategy work. So we're just going to end up having to pull pity packs for a future episode to prepare for then. And one of the things we're considering is the Six Samurai pack. I have a pretty good collection of them. I could use one more um, Gateway of the Six. I could use the Link that searches it. Obviously those are ultra rares, but there's the red and blue ones or the red and purple ones that like tag out of each other that can create an infinite loop if you have Gateway and I already have two of them. So if we can uh, just get some of those, those are both rare, then this will at least be a success in that regard. And we're not starting off great. It's like Zanji and her. I think we just have to go for the other Kage Musha so we can hopefully get our, um, our, our Synchro off more reliably. All right, hopefully the next pack got something better. Let's flip it up. And, oh wait, Kageki. Do I have three Kageki already? I do. Okay, so I have three Kageki. I think we just want to go for the red one. I think the red one is the one that we... The, I mean, this is the one we're looking for, and that'll be three. So now we just need the purple one. Okay, pack number three. So if I have Kageki and this guy, this guy just grabs me another one. Yeah, so I guess this is probably the best of the three. I'm trying to learn six samurais on the fly. All right, two more packs. Can we get the link? Come on, ultra rare. You aren't the ultra rare that I wanted. I was hoping for a better ultra rare. 
Uh, Xi'an's Dojo is another one that gets, like, counters and stuff. I think we want that. The fusion is not great. Yeah, you need, like, three monsters, and it doesn't do a whole lot. I guess we should get it just so we have it. Yeah, I already have two Dojo. Well, we'll get the one that we don't have, the one that's harder to pull. And one more pack. Come on, one more. Show me that Link. Give me the Link monster. They did not give us the Link monster. They did give us a great Shogun. They gave us six Samurai United. I think the United is what we want. Yeah, because we don't even have one of those. And this is just like generic draw power for the whole engine. Shien isn't necessarily searchable. Yeah, we'll get the United. So, not the best. We didn't get everything we wanted, but maybe that'll help us next turn, or next episode. As for this episode, let's go into the tank and see what we can come up with. We're back on dragons, baby. It's dragons once again. We are breaking out the dragons, dragging them back, some might say. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's very similar to what you've seen before. I mean, Dragon Rulers is just one of those decks where if you play a deck full of dragons, you could do a whole bunch of stuff. And we've got enough dragons to do that. Plus, we've got fire monsters. I think I already explained in a previous episode the idea of, like, lone fire into lone fire, just filling the deck up or filling the graveyard up with fire monsters that you can then use for blaster. Although I don't remember if we did this last time, but now... We can end this by going into Glow Up Bulb. And Glow Up Bulb, plus any of the level 7 Dragon Rulers, which we almost guaranteed to get, and if not, we've got the Ascended of Thunder, who's also a free level 7. Well, that allows us to go into Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, which is going to mill 5, let us add a Hand Trap possibly to hand. But even if not, just milling 5 dragons into the graveyard only makes our deck more powerful. And if we do that with Glow Up Bulb, we can then summon that back out of the graveyard and use this and that to make Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, which is mostly known for its ability to, like, negate spell traps and stuff, but it still negates monsters too. And at 3200 attack with a quick effect to negate, that's, that's pretty powerful. That's difficult to get rid of, especially if it's backed up with something like a Heretic Seals. You know, this is any two dragons. This is the worst case scenario we get this, and then we can just tag it either into another Dragon Ruler, so we've got something for next turn, or we can tag it into a, a Morphage Sloth and just keep Robert out of the extra deck. Just a, just a nice, fun little lockdown time. I mean, it'll have zero attack and defense, so it's not great, but it's still, still good enough, especially when we can just recover and build things back so easily. Uh, of course, two level sevens go into Big Eye. That's actually the only rank seven we're playing this time. Uh, we do have a Draco Sack in the graveyard, but I find we don't really need it because we've got such a robust Link package. It's not too difficult to go into Appaloosa and in a in a an episode where it's all monsters and only monster effects, Appaloosa might as well be an FTK. Um, and then there's also Boroland, which I'm not sure if there's any out to this other than a Kaiju. You build this and it's just like a quick effect negate that can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. 3,500 can attack everything. Uh, without spell traps, I'm not sure how, how you how you get rid of this. And getting it is pretty easy with, with all of the, um, whatchamacallit, the guard dragon stuff we have. The guard dragons allow us to go into uh, Prime Photon, Dark Matter, Banishing stuff. Um, and of course, just the fact that if we top deck Gofu, that's a Raten. Raten solos on his own sometimes, especially in a limited format. Our only real problem is just going to be if Robert's, like, main decking a whole bunch of Kaijus or, like, a Lava Golem. I think a Lava Golem would absolutely devastate us. Um, so we just gotta kinda hope that, because we're going big on these, these big attack monsters. Um, other than that, we've got our own stuff. I mean, if, if he does, and he ends up going on his own, like, you know, spree of getting big, untargetable things, not only do we've got three Kaijus, but we've also got some Time Lords which are nice little effects for clearing things. This is non-targeting, non-destruction removal. This does target and it bounces, but your opponent can't respond to it, which is which is always nice, you know, spell speed four. If he's on links, we've got Phantasme, which is something I almost played in the main deck because it's a dark dragon, level seven, very useful. But if Robert happens to be playing something that just doesn't go into links, this isn't going to be all that useful. 
And then we've just got a couple other hand traps. Some Ghost Bell, a Cerevis, and then the two extra decks. An extra Draco Sack, and an extra Spheres. If uh, it does end up that these are going into grind games, having a second Spheres will be useful. But at the moment, we pretty much just want to have everything we can to set stuff up. Because the, the cool thing about using all the guard dragons is that this combo, not only does it end us on like a Boral End Dragon plus a Spheres, or like a Boral End plus a Red Hot Abyss, but it fills up the graveyard in the process. So even if he does have a Lava Golem, like, next turn we're going to have all three uh, Dragon Rulers in the graveyard and the ability to summon all three of them. And even if we don't make anything, just having all these big attack monsters that we special summon might be enough to just attack over him and go for game. So that that's that's what I'm hoping we can do. There is a chance we still lose, but this deck is very consistent, even without spell traps. And I think we'll be able to drag another win as we drag Robert through the mud and another dragon pawn or something. Just go, go to the next one. This looks good, but it doesn't look beating dragon rulers good hard legs dragon ruler pile or dragon pile in general is unbelievably strong with chaos ruler giant asshole dragon agrapane and a whole host of stupidly good cards that are incredibly good at tutoring themselves hard legs pool is just about as good for this format as it could be and mine is sus for this format and so we are on the latest one of my terrible Gofu plus Therian piles, but this one lets me play a actually genuinely good engine in my tier limits. I have a fair number of tier limits now. It's pretty easy for me to get into my combo, and with that, I can do a number of fun things. I can summon a turn one Dragostopelia. I can summon Kaleida Heart if I'm going second. I can do a large amount of resource looping as long as I can keep putting tier limits in the gray, which is pretty easy in a deck with this many danger monsters. The other thing that this deck is does is it summons Cyberstein and then summons the last warrior from another planet. So neither of us can summon monsters in a format where you can't use spell and trap cards. It's a little bit of an asshole move. Now, you'd think, you would think that then it comes down to deck out, because all hard leg has to do is start setting monsters. But I do actually have a combo that prevents this from going to deck out. If I have Gofu plus an extender plus Cyberstein, I can go into the last warrior from another planet after summoning Nightmare Griffin. And if the last warrior from another planet is not in a linked zone... Nightmare Griffin prevents it from destroying all monsters I control, but allows it to still use its continuous effect. It is the most scumbag combo possible in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But I really need it in order to win this week. Other than that, my deck just does some fun things. The tier limit combo is obviously fun. It can summon Shen Shen on turn one and do a number of fun link things, including summon Scareclaw Triheart, a card I've been very excited to see in my collection. Our Therians this week, as usual, are a little bit cope, but Therian Reaper Foom is a piece of repeatable interruption and, crucially, is an Aqua Monster, as is Danger Nessie. This allows us to get a critical mass of Aqua Monsters into the deck, make it so that we can almost guarantee that we get an aqua monster in hand which means that one armageddon knight sends us off to the races this deck is really really fun to play in testing but is really not great going second that's why our side deck is almost all going second tools things like Cyframe gear gamma our few kaijus that we have access to and the yazi mari mari combo for an easily tutorable item that we can do if hard leg does get to get a piece of interruption on the board if we can still get to destrudo we can still pop off with mari mari that's why we're going into that in the side deck and cyber dragon plus chimera tech mega fleet is good at dealing with Boral End. This deck is really fun. I really hope I get to pop off with this deck. And failing that, maybe I'll summon a last warrior from another planet plus Nightmare Griffin. Let's get into the game. Right, let's jump into it. I'm ready. I'm right. ready and I'm picking rock. I, I mean, trust I'm in picking... my dice. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold just, up. Just ignore the fact that I lied to you. <laughs> it's fine. These things have it's right. just metagaming. Hmm. Just go team venture. Hmm. 
<laughs> it can't. I swear I am rolling a die, hard leg Joe. All right, here we go. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's okay. We need the extra length, considering how hard you're going to dumpster me in the actual duel. It's just going to be super fast. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, no! We no! Did it. We this is the worst won. possibility. I got it. Oh, and you're, you're, you're a dead man. Tony this dead hand man. is not awful for going second. Check it out, Lone Fire. I... Uh, yeah, that's as good a Valor target as any. Oh, shit. And that I just... know my Tengu plant rules. <laughs> Negate that face-up monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. So it really just... I mean, there's no harm in trying it because 500's not gonna... Yeah, I'm just dead anyway. Well, sometimes you gamble and sometimes you lose. It's a hand trap for All right, here what we go. Say? Oh, boy, and I opened most of full combo. Let's do what? this. I'm going to activate Tenyi Spirit Nahata. Okay. Green. Uh, and I am going to normal summon Armageddon Knight. Ah, I see. And what are you going to send to the graveyard with your Armageddon Knight? Oh, I don't think you should worry about it, hard leg. Ah, I see. That is a very effective thing, I will say. You and don't seem overlap. to be activating it, though. In due time, hard leg Joe, in due time. Okay, so another fool you foolish burial, so you could foolish burial. I did. We just That's get kind another... of my signature move in this series. All right, uh, we're going to send away Tier Lament's Happiness. Ah, I see. You finally got two of them in there. Anyway, here's D. No! <laughs> Wait, hold up. Get it out I of can there. chain to that. <laughs> Fucking Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Yes, Begun. sir, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Begun. The hand trap wars have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to summon a, t a Kit Kalos. I, I thought we were free of the Kit Kalos. All right, I guess I could have done this earlier. Let's just... It's just hitting Unfortunate. With the as well. Um, what do you have in the graveyard? Does that actually help me? Um, I hope not. Let's see. <laughs> this is a little bit awkward. All right, let's go battle phase. Let's see what All you've right. got going on. Uh, well, I mean, my life points aren't any different. They're 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 there. Welcome to life okay. points. Okay. Population me. Main phase two. Hmm. I'm just going to link these off. <laughs> I'm seriously considering it. Uh, oh. Yeah, let's actually do that. Uh, I'm going to link off for Dark. Ah. And yeah, Dehark. I'll take your DD Crow. The Dark <laughs> Charmer. Is it? I guess you don't have the uh, the little uh, holograms on the, the art, do you? I don't. They like show. Okay. It's really weird. I'm looking at it to Hark. They, they cut him out, but they seem to have the frame around him. So there's a very light white square just floating around. <laughs> it's very strange. Okay. Uh, that's what I've got for now. It's your go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I drew into two copies of a card that I needed to only draw one of. Okay. So I, I think we can try this again. So. Okay. It's going to cost some stuff. We're going to activate There's Dragon, the Dragon Ruler, Ruler Infernos. I figured we'll this was coming. The Lone Fire, and we have to lose the Keeper of the Shrine. Okay, Ooh, that's that. two dragons down from the graveyard. Normal summon White Stone of Ancients. Here's the second dragon, and now we're off to the races. Okay, off what do you to have? to the races, here we go, Chaotic Ruler. I just realized that that is a level 7 non-tuner and a level 1 tuner. This is yep. bad news for me. Let's just fill up the graveyard with a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Ascendant of Thunder. It's pretty neat. Well, let's see here. And then... Gloomy. If this card is destroyed, you can add a dark from your deck to your hand. So... The thing I just realized, right, is that I, if I summon Ascendant of Thunder, I'm taking, like, all the damage. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's not like important. So, it's so much damage. <laughs> Fuck it. We ball. All right. Here we go. We're, we're balling. We're going for it. Okay. Battle phase. Yeah. I am going to... We'll attack the Hark with 3,000. All right. Well, let's see what I'm going to grab off of that. Um, those are some interesting possibilities. If I do that, it's going to be hella telegraphed. Just say something was hella telegraphed. Uh, something I, if, <laughs> if I added a particular card to my hand, you were going to change how you did the rest of this turn drastically, and I need uh, you not to. <laughs> I just heard hella telegraphed and I was like, hella graphed. <laughs> hella graphed. <laughs> All right, 2700. To the graph. Main phase two. What do we do from here? Decisions, decisions. Okay. I think what we're going to do is. One of these. That Make asshole. The heavenly spheres. Give us a little bounce, a little interaction on your turn. You know, everyone likes that. And I could summon back the chaos ruler, but that's just it'd just be a twenty five hundred wall, and hopefully I won't need that. Especially since with the white stone of ancients in the graveyard, I can summon a blue eyes white dragon. It big. Alright, what am I gonna draw? Woo! Not a bad choice right off the top. Let's go for Gofu. Oh, the vague shadow. Uh what can you make with Gofu? Go food yourself. Uh, the totally original joke we've never made before. <laughs> I like to pretend. All right. I'll allow it. Okay. I this am going to... may be to... bad, but I'm going to see what you can make first. Well, uh, you are about to find out. I'm going to normal summon Armanite. That is unfortunate. Okay, what do you send this time? What am I sending this time? You have another... Um, do you have a Rukalos? God, I wish Darkwing Blast were in here. Um, <laughs> what do I want to send? I have a couple of interesting options for what I send here. I know you got a Destrudo in there somewhere. I think one way or the other. This is going to have to be the move. One way or another, you're going to find me. You're going to get me. Yeah, God, I get you. This is you, you. not a good move, but I'm going to go for it. Interesting. Uh, okay. What other fusion okay. do you have? I have one that was pretty meta ah, a while back. Ah, Dracostapelia. True. Uh, yeah, I think I have to bounce that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to actually chain my Dragostopelia here. Yeah, and just make sure I'm level one so I can't do the stuff I want to do. Yeah. And Because you've already summoned Chaos Ruler. Yeah, surprise, it's a floodgate. <laughs> I had no idea a floodgate was coming. What a okay. surprise! I I'm gonna attack your floodgate. Yeah, that's to be expected. So uh, you could still make a rank four or a link four, or whatever, or some kind of weird synchro, but at least I get to survive. Unless you got something that can deal a bunch of burn damage. This is actually not the worst option I've ever had. I have, like, two options, neither of which are great, but one of which I think actually gives me something to work with next turn. Can it defeat that... the Ascended of Thunder? Not immediately, but ah. soon. Shen Shen. Shen Shen Pass, let's go. I see. Basically the same thing I did, where it's like, yeah, if you want to do stuff, um, it's going to cost you, you your battle phase. 
Hmm. And I'm just realizing, actually, I was like, eh, you know, the, the, the turning the blue eyes to level one, no big deal. It might have been a bigger deal than I realized. I happen to know from the last time we played that you have a Hope Harp or a Titanic Galaxy. Is that what it's called? The Hope Harbinger Titanic Galaxy? Yeah. And that card would own me right now. <laughs> what if? It, uh, it negates spell traps. <laughs> Oh, it negates spell traps? I thought yeah. it negated monster effects. Never mind. No. Nope. You still have the giant asshole dragon, and I don't yeah. want to deal with that. He is still big. We do big things. Uh, okay, so any card sent from the field to the graveyard is banished instead. You can return one banished card. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to do that effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to return any of my banished dragons? Uh, it, it, cool. yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Tempest, Ruler of Storms. Yes. We're going to banish this and Infernos. Mm -hmm. Hello there. I will trigger the dragon, which will give me the sparks. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use these two. We're going to make a big eye. <laughs> Oh, that's a little bit. The of a biggest eye. And yep. we'll ban. Oh, okay. That's right. And we'll just take the shin shin. Yeah. Um. Oh, hey, what is this effect again? When a, your monster declares an attack, return a banished monster. I need you to not read that. <laughs> hey, hey! I'm tap dancing crusty. That's what I like to hear. Uh, how much? Wait, is this just it? There's no way this is... Oh, this might just be it. Shit. Uh, let's go ahead and banish Effect Veiler and DD Crow. Mm-hmm. Bring back the Chaos Ruler. Mm-hmm. Uh... Wait, no. Big Eye can't attack. Oh, wait, but that that's still correct. more than enough. Yeah. Normal summon. <laughs> oh, goddamn Tiny it. little dragon! He's got just enough attack. We'll go oh, over. Oof. Yeah, I'll put that back. What do you got an effect failure? Holy shit, what? What what could you activate? Oh no, did I do something This is wrong? the funniest response I could possibly have to this situation. <laughs> <laughs> that monster loses 15 to the attack. <laughs> I will tell you, I kept in the Ten Yi Spirits over something like a, a, a Photon Thrasher for the remote possibility that one of my Gofu tokens stays up on the field and you decide to try and target it with an effect or an attack. Well, <laughs> touche, you live to fight another day. I'm, I will tell you, I'm not sure what I could possibly draw to not lose this game. That is a good point, but I mean, I have, have 900 life points field. and a zero attack monster. Um, let's see. Can I dig my way out of this? Okay. I hope to whatever lord exists out there that I'm doing this right. I cannot leave a thousand attack point monster on my field, and unfortunately, I don't. I don't run two spheres. I wish I was dead. Was telling me I should run two spheres, and I'm oh, like, no. there's no way I need them. So I can't just <laughs> easily link this off into something useful. So instead, I have to do something a little brazy. I'm gonna oh. make Link Supervisor. Okay. And then we're going to make. Um. LP. Okay. And then we're going to use the supervisor and the magical dragon to make this. Protector which can of course wealth. send something. Okay. Use the LP. We'll summon Oh, they do both point to uh, the same zone. That's Yeah. <laughs> it took me a while to figure that out. Uh, okay. So, at this point... 
think we summon this one. Just another little dragon. And okay. then we turn that dragon into this. Okay. Then we activate this. We're going to summon back... Oh, I could what? summon a banished card. That's pretty neat. Oh, it's any zone that two monsters... Okay, yep. Yeah. So he came back. Uh, and then... We're gonna use that and this to make Agripay. Okay. Alright, here comes can... the giant asshole dragon. Yep. Asshole dragon returns once again. Prime photon into <laughs> dark matter. Let's just fill up that graveyard, shall we? Get all the rest of the dragon rulers in there. Oh, this card. For sure. <laughs> Definitely do not want to draw that one. <laughs> uh, probably that guy. Oh, or this one. Yeah. Ah, Cyberstein. Yeah, that's a good one. The beer root. Wait, you got two Cybersteins? No, I did, you fuck. know, don't worry about it. <laughs> I am worrying about it. Okay, and finally, one, two... Three, four, five. All right. Moral end. That's a big field you got there. So yeah, now I've got a bunch of big things on my field, and hopefully you won't be able to just attack over it and annihilate me. And all it okay. took was all my focus. Yeah, I think you've got it. I don't I think I it. have a passage to a monster with 3,900 attack at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Oh, my God. All right, here goes. I will be going first. It'll shock you to find out. Of course. I wouldn't okay. expect anything less. Well, let's start with this thing. Oh, hey. It's yeah. It's Nahana. I think you have a 0% win rate with uh, using Nahata. So uh, my my Yang Zing deck used Nahata. Yeah, let's go ahead and just effect failure. Okay. We'll stop uh, you from getting one. I know you can immediately just make another one, but it seems like you need two Foolishes in order to get your tier I, started. I normally don't. <laughs> <laughs> but in this instance... Uh, the Bagoo. Is Bagoo's gonna activate during the standby? It's a bit risky, but I'm gonna have to try it. Okay, we're gonna start with drafts. Okay. Yep. Discard the Infernos. Summon the Storm. Alright, the, the Storm has arrived. And, you know, if the Bagooska wasn't here, here's where the Chaos Ruler would be. If True. I had one! <laughs> <laughs> But I do not. So instead, we're going to use these two and make Destructor Whelp Swords Person. Okay. And we're just going to send an extra dragon to the graveyard. Okay. Just like a nice dragon in the graveyard. Um, I can think of a number of people who would appreciate a nice dragon in the graveyard. Yeah, you know, we've all, we've all been there from time to time. This might just work. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to use Tempest. We're going to banish uh, these two little baby dragons out of the graveyard. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to use these two to make my boy, you know him, you love him, Ra-10, Ra the Heavenly Ten. General! Yeah, so about that. Well, I guess I needed Ra-11 this time. But up ba 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 you do still have two dragon rulers in rotation, so you're not in, like, terrible shape. Yeah. Let's go ahead. We have to use the one from our hand. We're going to make this. We're going to glow up bulb. Oh, now you can just chaos ruler anyway. <laughs> hey, God, I, I could, love this deck. I could have done love this so deck. much more. <laughs> I really should have just kept the Baguska. I mean, you would have you would have been able to do this main phase yeah, too anyway. Yeah, I would have so. done this main phase. It's not too like I prevented that much. And had a raw ten in addition. Yeah. The good news is yeah. you don't have any 
more summons this turn. No. No, I do not. Get rid of that 3,000. So if you have a GoFu, I have just turned it on. But you know what? And sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. Woo! That's literally my favorite card in the deck. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to do it. Uh, here's Cash Tier of Fenrir. Ah! He's my fave. Uh, the good news for you is that this hand doesn't do much besides that. I mean, that alone is still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's attack into the Chaos Ruler. We'll activate the effect. We'll take out the Chaos Ruler. And I will activate Ghost Ogre, taking out the Fenrir. Oh shit, am I just dead now? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you have? The chaos ruler? Well, I I mean, big token, big token, you can big just token. summon a dude. I can't. You better hope I, I don't think, draw send it of thunder. I think I still have an out. It's not an ideal out, but it is still an out. Yeah, monster mash surprisingly fast for when you just have monsters. There's so many like. It's so easy to just put big numbers on board. I have an acceptable thing I can do here. I don't like it in particular, but it is a thing that I can do. Uh, let's activate Therian Duke Yule. Story of my life. And then... <laughs> Equip the Fenrir! I'm going to normal summon Armanite, and what I will send is Destrudo. So like Armageddon yeah. Knight's just so cool with the goggles and the little, like, red handkerchief and everything. It's, yeah, it's a very cool card in a number of ways. Let's Arm go... Armageddon Knight mate when, Konami? Try hard. Oh, shit. The fuck? I thought a synchro was coming. This ain't a synchro at all. This is weird Gofu. <laughs> or not weird Gofu, weird Baguska. It's Baguska at home. Look at him, big sword arm. All face-up monsters on the field are changed to defense position, unaffected by the activated effects of defense position monsters. Okay, so I have to build a big link to get over this thing. I cannot simply put my primal token into attack mode. True. Uh, or do the things that I wanted to do. So that is tricky. Uh, let's go for these two. Mm-hmm. Hello? And I'm in defense. Uh, I do have enough to still summon this, right? Yeah. It ain't easy, but I can do it. Uh, let's go... Yeah, I have to summon the other two dragon rulers. Okay. There's that. Uh, normal summon white stone of legend? Yep. Wait, what? Oh, no! <laughs> no! Accept yes. tokens! Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. Well, that's unfortunate. And I could do it another- it wouldn't have enough attack, and I needed to have enough attack is the problem. Like, if it doesn't True. have enough attack, it doesn't have enough attack! I, what can I say? The number is smaller than the other number, you know? You win this round! I'll take it. I, I just have to pass. <laughs> Everything uh, that hurts me is a baguska. <laughs> true! <laughs> That's actually not true. I feel like I have like a 0% win rate after summoning baguska. <laughs> uh, oh, for a second, I thought this was only during the main phase. I was scared as shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So we'll bounce what? that. Oh, because it's not in defense position. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. It was it was one of those linky monsters that you hear so much about. Uh, let's summon this dude. He's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, uh, and that's just the end of the game because I just decided not to activate a card in my hand. Not awesome. that it would have helped me, but uh, let me tell you, I... Uh... Oh, wait. I get to do this anyway. Deal Limits, have this be my guide. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have hope this take you. the wheel. No! 
You don't appear to have built God, anything imagine useful, seeing RJ. a single aqua monster over the course of a duel. Do you have a lot of aqua monsters in the deck? I have, like, <laughs> 11 of them in my deck, and half my deck searches the rest of them. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I got this. What is this, a uh, thousand defense? Yeah. There we go. Time, let, let's give a hand. It's National Secretary's Day. Hey. Backup secretary going in for game. I mean, she doesn't actually go in for game. A big manly token has to do it, but she helps. There we go. Before this even connects, I'm banning Chaos Ruler. <laughs> Fuck that card. Every time I'm like, okay, I've kind of won the resource uh, game here. You're just like, oh, I'll just summon a level one token. Yeah. Or the tuner. Level one tuner. All right. Playing so many level one tuners just because like, yeah, it plus any dragon ruler is chaos ruler. And that's just mill five. Let's well, so see. You uh, want to oh, well. do one more? Let's try one more. I want to actually get to get to do this thing. I'm to pick rock. Okay. Uh, sure. I win the rock, paper, scissors, snap. Let's go Good first. Job. You I, got it. This hand does most of the combo. Let's see what I can do with it. So I'm going to summon Gofu. Gotcha. And activate Gofu. Yeah, I'm curious to see what this combo is. You got to see most of my combo. I ended up doing the, the whole Dragon Ruler combo. There's a way to do it first turn, if I get, like, the right hand. But, uh, not if you, uh, Valor me. <laughs> Alright. That Valor on that first turn was like, oh, I've lost. Oh my god, I have the full combo. <gasps> Are you ready for the full combo, Hardleg? I'm prepared! Give it to me! Alright. Get let ready me see for this. It. Let me see into your mind's eye. All right, dark. There's the dark with the white square around him. Jules, zoom in on the white. Oh, well, now it's gone. Nightmare Griffin. Nightmare Griffin has a summon animation? That's pretty cool. That? Normal summon Cyberstein. <laughs> Activate Cyberstein. I've got a cool combo. Normal summon Cyberstein. Summon last warrior from another planet whose destruction effect doesn't activate thanks to Nightmare Griffin. Have a fun turn. Tournament registrations will be starting in 30 minutes. This is very rude. You have to ban <laughs> Cyberstein. How could this happen to me? So what is this? Uh, neither player can summon monsters. But I want to summon monsters, Rob. We're playing monster match. Oh sure. Check it. Ooh, gonna search for a dragon? See, I can set a card. Yeah, we'll go with this. Okay. There we go, and there you go. Alright. I mean, to be fair, you can't search anything either. Or you can't summon anything either, so. That is true. I'm that glad, said. Glad you did. If you had done this to me first turn, I would have kicked you out of the series. I would have been like, <laughs> what, what, what do you think this is? We're here for the entertainment of the people. God, if I hadn't drawn into my the only two Therian Duke Yules in my deck, <laughs> turn one of game one. So you need the Therian been -okay. to be in the deck? No, it's just the fact that if it was literally any other card, if it had been um if it had been Foom, I would have been able to fuse using the Foom and then been able to later put the Foom in my graveyard. Uh, and then I could have summoned Yule with a Foom behind it, which is an additional negate on top of the rest of my combo. <laughs> or it's a it's a bounce in addition to the rest of my combo. I but see, was, I see. Yeah. Uh, deeply infuriating that it was that one instead of the other. So you were you were fairly close to this combo happening, but you did also have effect Valor. Yeah. I mean, Effect Failure doesn't do a whole lot. Really. It, it allows you to summon more stuff. So there's that. Well, you would have you would have been able to Effect Failure the Cyberstein. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. I drew it now. Um, okay. Yep. Set this card. End mm -hmm. my turn. Mm -hmm. Go ahead into your turn. And we're going to activate Effect Failure on the uh, last warrior. Go ahead and attack. It'll be funny. What do you have that summons on death? <laughs> you don't have anything that summons on death, but you do have um, you do have White Stone of Ancients, which summons during the end phase on death. 
and Effect Veiler wears off at the end of the turn. You don't know me. You know I eat my breakfast cereal. I could have stuff, you know. What, what about the uh, fiber jar? Shh, gonna end my turn on that. No, oh, come on. So rude. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta be so rude? This combo is a little bit ridiculous in Just this a little, format. Especially, especially in this format. It's like, hey, you know the format where you can play in only monsters? No monsters. I don't know what your tribute setting, but I'm gonna... Oh, it's a Cypher. <laughs> yeah. I assume you're playing Cyframes, right? Uh, Yeah, I'm on Cyframes out of the side deck. Ah, I was playing him in the main, I guess because I had the uh, the one guy. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can't, yep. I literally can't, good job, you did it. Your you deck it. has a singular out in this, against <laughs> this, and it is drawing blaster plus burner. Oh, yeah, I guess that, I was trying to, I'm looking, I'm like, I don't think I have literally anything. And, yeah, I guess I, I have the, the blaster. I always forget he can do that, because he's also very big, very strong. Yeah, I'm looking up like, what if, what if, what, what do I have at the side deck? Well, I got Time Lords, I got Kaijus, those ain't helping me. <laughs> True, because you must summon them. Okay, I'm glad this deck took a dub. Okay, we, we at least got to see it. If you're wondering why Last Warrior from another planet was on the thumbnail, that's why. I scared you into thinking this was going to be something it wasn't. <laughs> and I wanted it to be Kaleido Heart. Oh, you do have the ability to summon Kaleido Heart. I do have the ability to summon Kaleida Heart. Oh, okay. I thought it was literally just like Kit Kalos and you were just like, yeah, it's a resource engine, you know, it's it's there. So so turn one, Kit Kalos turns into Dragostapelia off of one card, as long as I, and say it with me, draw into an Aqua Monster. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to play more Aqua Monsters. Surely there's a whole ton of good Aqua Monsters in this game, right? It's you not know, just the one archetype. Good <laughs> There are good Aqua Monsters. I've got Double Danger Nessie. I've got Therian Reaper Foom. I've got some pretty decent Aqua Monsters to play with, but... I forgot Nessie was an Aqua. I thought it was like a Sea Serpent or something. It is. Uh, One of the reasons Casino Tier was so good. Well, either way. I think I think we've seen just about anything. We don't need to do a whole nother duel. I don't think we do. Yeah, we've seen just about everything this deck has. Anyway, most of the stuff I I already wanted to show was, uh, you know, stuff you had seen previously. I try to play something different, but everyone's like, Joe, your dragons are so good, just keep playing dragons. They're very good, and even having banned Chaos Ruler, it's still probably the best deck available to us in this format. Yeah, there's still a whole bunch of stuff there. Although, what's no, the, the next thing we're looking at? That one's going to be interesting. I Is actually it next have... week the Cheapo Week? Yeah, we're doing the Broke Boy Yu-Gi-Oh! callback. Because if you don't know, on this on this um, program we're using, they they actually give you the prices for the cards. So next week, we're doing $80 decks. You you can only yep. spend $80 on the main, uh, extra, and side. So we've got to try to be as cheap as possible. Which is going to be interesting, because again, my, my deck's all these, uh, you know, dragon rulers. So I'm like... These old cards are either very expensive or very cheap. It's not, never going to be in between. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have banned Chaos Ruler in case you in case you tried to use up your entire budget on that. I will yes. tell you, Kaleida Heart and Fenrir are both fairly expensive cards. Yeah, this this might be another good good week for Hardleg. We'll have to see. I'll have to look into it. Uh, either way, if you want to see that, you'll have to check it out next week. And until then, good luck. And have fun. Welcome back once more to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, episode 18. We're, we're getting up there. We're, we're, we're going high numbers. Our, our Chaos Draft is almost old enough to drink. It's old enough to vote. So there's True. that. Yeah, pretty pretty interesting. I'm, of course, Hardleg Joe, if in you didn't know. Joined by the Merly of Yugi Tube, the RJB0. <laughs> <laughs> it's great because I've been working on tier limits for the last like five, six episodes, and the second I start to get close to a to a core for it, I just get absolutely slapped upside the head. You're talking about in in Omega, or were you actually building these in Master Duel? Oh no 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 no! In in Chaos Draft. Ah okay. I finally got to them and I played them and you played Dragon Rulers and I just ate shit immediately. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't quite work out. But yeah, that's I, I bring up them early because we just got the... At the time of recording, we just got the big, huge Master Duel ban list recently. I don't think I ever saw your thoughts on that. Do you have thoughts on that? I'm not even sure if you play a lot of Master Duel. I don't think I've actually touched... So I actually just started a Master Duel masochist run that ah. I've been having a lot of fun with. Uh, but I haven't touched, like, competitive ladder climbing Master Duel since the like first three months that it existed ah okay yeah well if you, you missed it they, they they're it looks like they're finally starting to hit some of the awful stuff that like day one we were like why is this legal like they finally banned rongo oh good yeah rongo now what about out the of bug <laughs> block dragon they haven't hit the bug yet but i have a theory right because when i talk to ocg players one of the most common things they say is they're like well, if we got rid of a back C, that would make Block Dragon and Rongo and uh, Galaxy Tomahawk broken. Mm. And I was like, well, we could just ban those. And they're like, but those are like fan favorites. I don't want to give those up if that's the cost of banning Max C. Like, Why? You seem to be afraid of them, but, you know, they seem to be <laughs> accounting for that. They're basically banning those things first. And so so that when Max C does get banned, you can't be like, oh, all those weren't banned for Max C. They, they were banned mm -hmm. beforehand. See, they were already broken. It's fine. So that's that's my prediction on camera. December, the Christmas gift we deserve. Banned Maxi. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So uh, that that's that's my Master Duel uh, podcast for now. We should get back to Chaos Rap, though. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Yes. Uh, Jules, go ahead and put up the ban list. Let everyone see what's on there, including the new thing. Chaos ruler, the ruling chaos ruler of chaos, or whatever. It says like chaos like three times in its name. Either it way, does. it's it's gone, which means my dragons are like they can't be played anymore, right? I'm sure. I'm <laughs> sure there's nothing in your in your deck that would make the dragon rulers playable. There's nothing I could do. It was just chaos ruler, and now that that's gone, we'll be done. Just ignore everything. As we go into the pack opening. Oh yeah, we're preparing today's episode. We're doing Broke Boy Yu-Gi-Oh. $50 True. and under. I think last episode I said 80, but I was like, that's too high. We need to do 50. Yeah, I, I will tell you, $50 hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that $30 makes a big difference for me. It was a bit, I mean, I, like I said, I, I, I think we were talking about this beforehand. I had like three or four decks that easily fit underneath this. It wasn't just the Dragon Rulers. I was kind of surprised when I was like, I think we need to lower this, otherwise it's not going to limit us at all. And you're like, oh no, all my livelihood. <laughs> yeah, uh, my Pendulum deck, my Tri Brigade deck, and my uh, and my Earth Machines are all like 150 bucks. That's that's absolutely crazy. And me over here, I could build <laughs> Math Mech for like 30. Still have room for a side deck and everything. Just just crazy. Prices in Yu-Gi-Oh! are obscene. But that's a topic for another time. For now, let's go and jump on to Pack Opening Street. Just take a stroll down the lane. Whoosha! Pack Opening Dimension. This time, with a different hat. The top hat, temporarily banished. Because I'm here on Twitch, as always. You want to say hello, Twitch chat? Maybe do some cats in the chat or something? Look at them. They're so adorable. Some of them got sunglasses. And uh, they, they, they paid a bunch of subs for me to wear the bunny hat instead. So I'll be like, hello, check out the bunny hat. If I pull something exciting, I could be like, <laughs> is that something exciting? So we got that. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of bunny hat, Joe, and if you prefer top hat, Joe. As for today, there's not a whole lot of uh, strategy that's going into it. At this point, our collection's pretty robust. I don't know the price of things off the top of my head, but I think we already have a pretty good budget deck, so I'm not particularly looking for anything. It's mostly just the same stuff we've been looking at before. More dragons, more math mechs, maybe some, some dark magician stuff. Who, who knows? Cybers things? Not in this pack. In this pack, we're getting, we're getting almost nothing. Uh, Nobleman of Extermination is a funny card, though. Let's let's go ahead and take that. You know, uh, 
maybe if I was better at resolving Nibiru, we'd be in a different situation than we had. That was, to be fair, the very first time I had ever resolved a Nibiru in my life, but my deck is performing excellently. I want to continue building on my tier limit strategy. I have a couple of other things going on. Let's see what we can draft. Starting, of course, with the beginning. The Dark Beginning. That's a Snatch Deal. A Snatch Deal banned? I'll take a Snatch Deal happily. Snatch Deal is, in fact, banned. Okay. Um, There's DNA Surgery. DNA Surgery is a very funny floodgate. Yeah, I'll take the DNA Surgery. Order from Chaos. I'll see number Utopia Ray. You know, I do have a Utopia. I do have a Utopia the Lightning. This would give it an extra material. Why not? Sure. We'll throw it in there. Legendary Collection 3. That's a mind control. We take those. Mind control's actually kind of sick. I will happily take mind control. Okay, Battle Pack Epic Dawn. Oh, hey, Ring of Destruction. This has worked wonders for Robert. Maybe I'll be able to make it work too. All right, Legendary Collection 5Ds. I don't know what I want out of this set, but there are some good things in here. Naturia Beast is one of them. Oh boy, Naturia Beast is good for Earth Machine. We take those. Uh, a Nanishi plus a uh, plus a level three tuner of any sort. Sorry, a Nanishi plus a level two, like an Infinitrack Harvester is Nat Beast. Very good stuff. 5Ds, no, oh hey, one for one. I've been looking to get this. This is on my list of things I really, really need. It would be good. Now we have it. Yay me. Invasion, vengeance. It's a invasion, it's an invasion of vengeance. The vengeance do be invading. Uh, Christron Quan. I have a concerning number of Christrons in my collection. It's a quick effect synchro. We've got plenty of those. What does this Preta plant do? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, this card is really, really good. And the reason why this card is really, really good is because if you use it as link material, then we can use Triantis or Sundew to fuse off our opponent's monsters without Super Poly. This card is really good. Sing it with me, chat. Clash of Rebellions. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Um, uh, um, ignites are neat. I don't like. I don't like chicken game. I think I want to go for the waterfront. I think we want to get that kaiju engine on board. Except we already got three waterfront. Uh, do we already have three hat tricker? We do have three hat tricker. Screw it. We'll take the chicken game. Why not? We'll open up this can of worms. This set has not exactly been saving me so far. Dark Saviors, what do you got? A lot of cards for hire. Ooh, that's another Allure of Darkness. How many of those do I have? I should really be considering running three Allure of Darkness in my decks this week. That's basically graceful charity for my decks. Break the shadow. Oh, Twin Twisters. Hey, how's it going? Nice to have some of the best, you know, now that all the big mass removal is gone. Twin Twisters, really good, especially in Dragon Rulers, where whatever we're pitching, we just get to use again. Genesis Impact. Uh, a second Nightmare Unicorn is actually great for Bylander. We definitely love to see a second Unicorn, unless I already have a Unicorn. I have one unicorn. We'll take the second unicorn. That lets us play it in Bylander, which is great. Light's Revenge. Oh, hey. We're talking about milling cards earlier, and this, this is a dang old milling card. I tell you what, I have a pretty good rank four package, and this makes it a little bit better. I don't already have one of these, do I? I'm like certain that I don't. This was like a prize card for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're taking Minerva. Tips Halo, Minerva. All right, Power of the Elements. 
I said it at the beginning of this, the card that I need more than anything else is Tear Lament's Meta Noise. Didn't even get a single Tear Lament's card. I didn't get a single Tear Lament's card. All right, Legendary Collection Kaiba. This is a lot of Blue Eyes stuff. I've got a lot of Blue Eyes stuff. Oh, hey, Dragon Shrine. That's pretty good. Do I already have three Dragon Shrine? I think I might. I have two of them and I have two Foolish, so I'm not sure if that's necessarily worth it. What's Dragon Revival Rhapsody? I gotta control a Spellcaster for that. Uh, it's not great. I could take the third Mirror Force. Do I already have three Mirror Forces? Never mind. Yeah, I, I think it's just Dragon Shrine. I think we just take the last one because this is already banned. Shrink is outdone by other stuff and everything else here is just like a goofy goober card. And finally, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. Kawaki mm, Mary Supplier is a cool card. We'll take that. And finally, the Crystals will have their revenge. Oh, hey, uh, another Heretic Seals? That's pretty good. I think I already have like three spheres, if I'm not mistaken. I have two. It's that or what is G Golem? If this is normal or special summon, add or summon one Pebble Dog from your deck. Not special summon except Cybers. This card is sent from the hand of the graveyard. Add a G Golem. Do I have a G Golem? Yeah, I do. I have a rock hammer. I don't have a pebble dog. Do I really want the third spheres? Don't want Numeron Dragon. I'm pretty sure. Unless I have the thing that like does the OTK. Draglubion. Do I have a Draglubion? No. Draglubion not here. Rock hammer is better than pebble. Uh, pebble searches rock hammer. You need Maneer for the G Golem. Mm, eh, it is a Cybers. It's better, and I don't think we need a second or a third Heavenly Spheres. I didn't even play the second one last time, so let's go for this. It's Chaos Pack time. Oh, starting with mine today. Doing a little bit, getting getting a little bit spicy. What do I got? Um, Kageki is pretty decent. Uh, Ninja Grandmaster Saizo is also kind of funny. Shadal in Incarnation is not what I want. I just chose not to put Shadal Schism in here. I'll take a second Wendy. All right, and now we have our bonus packs. Hard Leg Chaos Pack, number one. Flip them up. What are we going to get? Uh, there's an Eternal Soul. There's a Fossil Fusion. Machina Redeployment. I'm pretty sure I still don't have, like, any of the Machina cards. Yeah, I've got like a one. Those are like impossible to get. Uh, I think we just want the the third anchor drill. It's not the the best infinite track, but it is one of the play starters. Chaos pack number two. Um, tin goldfish is all right. A second land for is not bad for Bylander. Take the second land for all right, Chaos Pack number two, what you gotta do? Exchange is funny. High Ritual Art is funny. Um, ooh, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Now, that's not Maxi, but it's kinda like Maxi at home. Fuck it, I'm gonna take the Spooky Dogwood, it's very funny. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna try that out and see how it works. I like the Spooky Dog. Hard Legs Chaos Pack. Let's go. Uh, Infinitrack stuff that I already have. And uh, the Vampire stuff that I don't want. Underdog is a really interesting card. During your turn, negates the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent controls. During your opponent's turn, negate the face uh, effects of all face-up monsters you control. Hmm. The Iris Sword Soul is technically a Sword Soul card. Yeah, I'll take the Iris Sword Soul for sure. All right, and then RJ's Chaos Pack. Show me what you got. Anything good? Anything, uh, oh, <laughs> RJ! <laughs> you have finally gifted me the Cyber Dragon Nova. I have, I have the pri, I have the things. 
We got the Ulta. I haven't been taking any dinosaurs, so that doesn't work. But this, we have so much Cyber Dragon stuff, and now we have a payoff. Absolutely taking that. Not sure if we'll make it work this week, but one of these weeks. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And the last pack of the Chaos Pack opening for the day. Um. Machina redeployment? Garter card had two Machina monsters from your deck to your hand? Yeah, we'll get the redeployment. This was not an inspiring opening. Let's see what we can do with the rerolls to make it a little bit more interesting. All right, and pack number two. Don't scroll down. We're not done here. What do you got? Uh, Balancer Lord. I think we might have to take the Balancer Lord. I mean, Indigo Eclipse is good. It's a level 8. It's special summons. I already have two of them. I'm not really playing. This is something that, like... Uh, unless I'm mistaken... Do I have... No, I don't even have a Balancer. Oh, I no, I have two of them. Yeah, this is the one where it's like, pay a thousand, normal summon a Cybers in addition. So you just get an extra Cybers. It's either that or maybe like the Six Samurai, but this is not like the best Six Samurai. Arc Brave is all right, uh, but I don't think I want to. We're going to take the Balancer Lord. We'll take that. And with that, all we have left to do is to get our rerolls. Okay, we've got 10 rerolls today. We're going to try opening Power of the Elements first to get ourselves a tier limits common. Surely that's not too big of an ask. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so a tier limits common is the number one thing that we want, but a furnace self common is also not bad. I honestly think that we take the thawing mountains. We may return to this pack later. Ha ha, it's reroll time, starting with Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Let's see if we can get that redox on there, baby. Well, we got the Redox baby, so I'll, I'll take that. That counts. We'll, we'll add that into our pool. Why not? Infinity Chasers, can I get a good Infinitrack? Spin Turn. I have learned the ways of the Spin Turn. It's mightier than I expected, although I don't, I don't have the thing that searches it, I don't think. Infinitrack. Yeah, I don't have the one that actually gets you to the spin turn. I think I just want another chainsaw. I think the chainsaw is like a good one to get. And it's secret rare, so I think we'll, we'll just take the chainsaw and be happy with it. Okay, the next pack that I am thinking of opening is Maximum Gold. We're going to reroll Maximum Gold. I got Terraforming out of it, which is a pretty good card for my Earth Machines, but I still don't have the main card that you need to, to do that earth machine thing. So we're going to reroll maximum gold. Um, we're going to reroll it again. That's an ash blossom. I am getting the, the cards that I can't use. I, okay. Another Apollosa, which I don't need. <laughs> oh, this is getting worse by the second. Yeah, we gotta re-roll this. These rolls from Maximum Gold have been terrible. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another Apo and another Rhoda that I can't use. You know, I could just take the second Apo and say it's for Bylander. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the second Apo. Rerolling maximum gold. Can I make it even more maximum? Well, Alistair's banned, which means magical meltdown is use. Oh, wait, another Chaos Dragon Levianir. No. No, as much as I would like the Levianir, I, I gotta try to go for the Transcode Talker. We're gonna, we're gonna re-roll it again. We're gonna try and hope that if we offer that as an offering, we can get something even better. Ah. Uh, well, 
you try and sometimes it doesn't work. Do it called by. Do I have three called by already? I have two. We'll we'll go ahead and get the third called by. All right. And for my pity pack, I am of course choosing none other. It couldn't have been anything else but the brand new secret pack out of Master Tool, Guardian of the Sacred Summit. I've been trying to cope on Yang Zing and Sword Soul for the last forever, and I cannot wait to open this pack. Let's see if I can get a actually decent Sword Soul pool. All right, pack number one. What can I get from Guardian of the Sacred Summit? Wow, I really hyped this up for nothing, didn't I? Um, Chi Wen is good. We take a Chi Wen. Next pack. Ooh. Not looking good, folks. Not looking good. Zhao Tu is a tuner. We'll take that. All right. Pack number three. We really just want a synchro out of this pack. Longwan, Taya, and Emergence, all extremely good cards. I think out of all of these, we probably take the Emergence. All right, pack number four. My heart is racing right now. Blackout at rare. Not great. Uh, Taoshi is okay. I already have three Blackouts to get two of them in the same pack. It's just devastating oh actually shinjun is all right i'll take a shinjun all right last pack this is probably my last chance ever to get a sword soul synchro i saw white what was it oh it was chung ying Ooh, making me regret not taking that long one okay this is a pretty decent synchro monster i uh, I don't know how we build up to this, but I'm sure we'll find a way. Okay, all right, we can work with this. So this we can summon, this is a this is a level 10. We can summon it off of Danglong if we want. And it is generic. Yeah, this card is nuts. Uh, this card is really, really good. We will take it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we finally have a reason to play this deck. I didn't get any additional copies of Moye or Taya today, uh, but that's okay. A couple of other super rare Taya's will make our lives much easier, and we do already have two Sword Soul Emergents now. So we take those. You know, I feel kind of bad playing dragons again, but as the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the dragons have been working surprisingly well, and they work even better in this format. This little broke boy Yu-Gi-Oh thing we're doing under $50 really, really gives me the advantage for the Dragon Rulers because even though they're high power, the fact that they're all banned means that they don't have a whole lot of value here. I mean, my entire deck is under $20 and it's just because I have a whole bunch of things like Soul Charge and the Dragon Rulers and such. Even the extra deck is is not all that expensive. There's a couple things in there, but a lot of the, the Guard Dragon stuff is banned as well. So, I mean, well, I guess we'll have to see if, if RJ has anything on that level, but otherwise it's just playing Dragons again. And y even though uh, Chaos Ruler is banned and that kind of prevents me from really milling everything, I can still do a lot in this deck. And, th and that's helped out even more by a Galactic Spiral Dragon. This is a one of, but I can get, search it off of Eclipse Wyvern, which is really easy to put in the graveyard through a whole bunch of different ways. And then once I get this, if I have two light or dark monsters on the field, I can summon this and then make all the monsters level eight and then go into things like Prime Photon Dragon for OTKs, which can rank up into Dark Matter if I haven't done that already. Or I can just go into Titanic Galaxy. And let me tell you, Titanic Galaxy plus spheres is really hard to deal with because they can't just walk over the spheres because if you don't know, this has an effect that redirects attacks to itself and also negates spells. So we're doing pretty good and, you know, stuff like Card of Safe Return doesn't hurt either. Our, our one big flaw, I guess, is maybe going second. We don't have as many extenders as I would like. There are certain hands that can still brick on this if we get... 
Well, I don't know, it's getting, it's getting exceptionally hard to brick these days. It would have to be, like, an oddly specific hand. If you can get, like, any of the, the baby dragons along with, uh, really just any normal summonable monster, you can usually get into at least something. If not a spheres, then some kind of synchro play, which we've had a couple. And a lot of these we can make a Varum, which is, you know, if you crash this, it destroys the opponent's whole field. Or Black Rose Dragon, which destroys the opponent's whole field. So I'm hoping even if we do go second, uh, if, if, if RJ ends up setting a whole bunch of stuff or establishing a board, my hope is I'll be able to make one of these two and then just clear that. And then from there, win over the resource game by being to summon back the Dragon Rulers every single turn. And then we've got, we've got Book of Moon to help. Uh, side deck, we're playing Kaijus, we're playing Hand Traps, we're playing Anti-Hand Traps because Ghost Bell really hurts this deck. And we got some Spell Trap removal and some Bouncing in case we need it. So yeah, I won't go over the, the bits and pieces, you've seen this a lot. Hopefully RJ will, will finally ban something that, that stops this for, for certain. Maybe the uh, the Blaster, maybe the Dark Matter Dragon, maybe one of the Guard Dragons or Spheres itself. That really puts a hamper on like every Dragon deck. We'll see. I've got to win it first, but I'm feeling pretty confident. Well, last week I called my deck Casino Tier, and this week the moniker is even more appropriate. We are bringing back Tier Lament. I am so determined to summon Kaleida Heart this week, and I have brought the absolute bargain bin in order to do so. Kaleida Heart is by far the most expensive card that I have access to in this extra deck, uh, or in this deck in general, and it is barely scraping in under the wire at $49.14. Let me tell you, I had to leave out some fun tools like my Lavalval Vol Chain, Kashtira Fenrir, Arch Nemesis Protoss, Chaos Dragon Levianir, a bunch of very, very important cards for my deck to have follow through in order to be able to run my guy in the extra deck. I am so excited to do so this week. The main combo is much like the combo you kind of saw last week, which is to summon a Nightmare Griffin and summon a Kaleido Heart or a Dragostopelia behind it. It's very easy to do so as long as we can get a tier in the graveyard and an Aqua Monster to fuse it with, then we can make the combo. In order to facilitate that, we've got three copies of Armageddon Knight and one Mathematician to send things to the graveyard. All the dangers, except for Thunderbird and Jackalope, because Jackalope's expensive and Thunderbird is bad. And we've got our three Gofu to give us a little bit of additional combo power on top of that. Once we're sending cards to the graveyard, things like Destiny Hero, Denier, and Malicious can be very, very clutch. Malicious is, of course, Malicious, and Denier allows us to cycle our Maliciouses and it summons itself from the graveyard as an extra bit of material. Just like Destrudo, that allows us to extend in ways our deck is otherwise not capable of. The only major weakness this deck has is not being able to get cards in the graveyard. If we run into that problem, we're in a little bit of trouble. Fortunately, we've got a lot of cards that put things in the graveyard. We've got our Triple Allure of Darkness to draw us into our starters, Double Foolish Burial, a couple of copies of Dynamiscus, this is a fun one because if I have a tier element in my hand after making Kaleida Heart, Dynamiscus triggers Kaleida Heart, which is kind of sick. We've also got triple super polymerization. This is a fun little trick. This helps us deal largely with hard legs dark monsters. However, if we can get a light monster into rotation, super poly can also deal with things like Titanic Galaxy and Hieratic Dragon of the Heavenly Spheres. If we can put a light monster on board, we can force the spheres, chain super poly, and we've taken out Titanic Galaxy, the spheres, and whatever it is that the spheres summons. This also takes care of Borland if we really need to do that. So uh, this card is very, very strong for us, needless to say. It also, again, if we get a tier into rotation, can trigger our Kaleida Heart. I'm going to be relying on this card a lot to fuse things off into Mud Dragon of the Swamp or Predaplant Drago Stapelia. The rest of our extra deck is just Bargain Bin Boss Monster. We've got our Nightmare Griffin in order to get the combo going, our Boral Sword and our Boral Load, and a bunch of materials to get us there. Uh, also, Black Rose, because... You know, uh, we've got the materials to make it in Destrudo and clearing the board sometimes is good. And Castell is something to do with our level fours. Our side deck, as always, is built to determine whether or not we are going first or second. Our Kaiju lineup this time includes Jisukiro. You can tack off an opponent's monster to summon Jisukiro. That's another light monster on the field that isn't a dragon, which makes his board a little bit more weak to Mud Dragon Super Poly. We've got uh, a bunch of other stuff that you really don't need to worry about. Just 
just know that some of these cards are better against dragon rulers and some of them are better against math mac two decks that hard leg is wholly capable of wrecking my ass with let's see if we can get out of this one begin. the rock paper scissors to end all rock paper scissors this is an important one for me i'll tell you that let's go Fuck! oh it worked no <laughs> now i just have to not brick that is not a brick that's many things uh, a brick is not one of them this is kind of a brick this is exactly what I was worried about. There, there's certain cards that, like, I keep being like, I don't think I should play this. And everyone who's helping me build is like, they're so broken. You can't not play them. But if you draw all of them, then it's a problem. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my options are multitudinous. This is, this Your is a little bit of a runneth tough over. Call. It do. All right, uh, Set one let's pass. <laughs> take a risk. Ah! Sure, that's not ideal, but <laughs> oh. Great. Oh, you don't say. Not a bad draw off of that. Uh, read nothing into this. Burly. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess, there you go. Check it out. All right. Uh, let's actually go Gofu next. Go, go, foo! Alright. Token. I'm gonna summon a couple of tokens. Token. And we're going to normal summon the guy. Oh. Yeah. So many things. We're gonna send away a halfness. We'll activate that halfness. I thought I'd escape the tier limit plays. And yet you have not. It again. has only just begun, Hard Leg Joe. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's do this. Just I'm going to add... Yeah, let's do that play. I very much like that play. I haven't gotten to pull that play yet. I'm okay, so I'm going to add Tierlament Suliac to my hand. I'm a dead man! Uh, and next... And next, I'm going to I uh, I'm gonna do a humble linkro summon for a space insulator. Ah, eat one and of these then, if your apartment has bad airflow. That's that's me right now. <laughs> that's me in this heat. Wishing you had the then, space insulator. True. Let's hit a foolish burial here. Oh, this okay. is. A little bit suspect because I am going to be doing this at something of a minus. Right. But I don't think I'm going to care that much. I mean, um, I'm a pretty big board. I don't think one minus is going to affect things all that much. Uh, fair. Let's not activate that effect for now. Let's actually activate Kit Kalos's effect. Ah. I'm going to summon that Rhino Heart from my grave. Oh, okay. This is and not quite the yoinky sploinky, but it's it's very similar. It's adjacent. It is. What's the cousin actually, of the yoinky sploinky? Funky the boy. <laughs> zippy slippy. Okay, yeah. let's send away a Merle. Black comment, Merle. comment in the comments, chat. Which are you, the <laughs> hunky dory or the zippy slippy? <laughs> <laughs> I, you All know, right. I didn't even intend it, but the hunky dory makes sense with rhino heart and a fish. One's a True. hunk and one story. There we go. All right. Speaking of hunks, let's summon ourselves a Kaleida Heart oh. here. Uh, and I didn't hit any of my new shit that I wanted to do, so we're just going to do my favorite next move and four. summon Nightmare Griffin. Ah. Let me see if I want Nightmare Griffin's effect. That's a lot of allures of darkness yeah. right there. I do not need to activate that effect. Holy crap, uh, instead, Lois. I'm going to set a back row. See what you have to do. A with back the row too? Come on, RJ. You already know that I have a back row in my hand. Whether or not it's the same one is up for you to decide. Haven't I had it hard enough? Okay, the question is... Have you had it leg enough? Shut up. <laughs> no one needs your shit, all right. Okay, so I'm going to lead with one for one. We're okay. going to send off Dragon Ruler of Sparks. Uh, that is all right by me. Burning it down. And we are going to summon 
uh, the White Stone of Legends. We blue eyes him. Another two. Uh, I have no response to that. Okay. I will activate Premature Burial. Mm-hmm. I will revive my Galactic Spiral Dragon. Hmm. Okay, so you haven't normal summoned yet. I have not. Interesting. Galactic Spiral Dragon is a 9, or an 8, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So this isn't a synchro as of yet. No. It could be a, it's a Link 2 we're going for spheres. The spheres have to activate during your opponent's turn. Uh, yes. Okay. Once per opponent's turn, if it's in the extra monster zone only. Okay. Uh, I will allow this. Alright. Normal summon Magna Rocket Dragon. Okay. That's, that's your normal summon. I think... That's okay. I will activate the effect of Galactic Spiral Dragon. Okay. Uh, all monsters you currently control become level 8. I know what that turns into, <laughs> and I do not particularly feel like dealing with it. No, it's I, fine! It's fine! So, that's okay. Let's see what you got. Alright. Eight's Ahoy. Yeah. We're gonna make Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Okay, that's fine. Right, uh, battle phase. Uh huh. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna attack over this collider part. Okay, uh, I'm gonna Soliac here. Of course. Why wouldn't you? I'll hit the Magna Rocket here. We'll send away Kaleida Heart. Interesting. We'll then activate Kaleida Heart. Summon back the Kaleida Heart. We'll send away a... Let's send away a... Murley. Murley for now. The U of U. We'll activate... That's me! Yeah. That's the one. Uh, we are then going to... Activate Kaleida Heart. And we'll chain Merle. Interesting. We'll summon a Kit Gallus. Ah, I see. Ah, you had the other Merle in hand, you rogue! Alright, and we'll summon the Kit Gallus in attack, so you can't just attack over Magna Rocket. Gotcha. And I got a blue eyes. Uh, you do. This is an attack. You're not lying to me. I can't see over under the holograms. Sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah, it's definitely an attack position. Mm, okay, well, main phase two. Okay. Uh, wait, why can't I activate this? If it's uh, soul charge, you did go to battle phase. Uh, uh, <sighs> yep, I'll just surrender that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey! was... Tier limits got a victory. Kaleida heart guide us. I I forgot. I, for some reason, I thought it had to like destroy a monster by battle, or like you know, you had to actually do something during your battle phase. I didn't think as soon as you entered, it was just over. Uh, and yeah, all my my hand was just two soul charge. <laughs> oh no! So it's like yeah, soul charge is great. You can get big combos, but if you open them and then not a whole lot of monsters to get your play started, it's like. What am I gonna do? And you just had game on board, I'm pretty sure. If not, it would have been yeah, pretty Yeah, I close. definitely did. Yeah. I have yet to find a side deck configuration for this deck that I don't hate. So, let's see if this... Oh, good! I love to see this hand. This is a great hand. God damn it! I warned them this would happen! <laughs> I warned them and they didn't believe me! They were like, oh, no, you'd be insane no. to take that out of your deck. You don't understand, well, Joe. let's see if this does the trick. We'll start with a Gofu. We got the tokens. All right. Normal summon Merle. Merle be my guide. 
Um, that's not the malicious. worst. That's not the worst mill in the world, is it? I. Uh, it's a. Mill? Yeah. Um. What does this do for me? This doesn't stop you the way I want it to, but it is a mill. Let's activate Mally. All right, and we are going to do... Oh, um, I'm going second, aren't I? Uh, huh, no, okay. I, don't have um, I did not, I did not first. make this plan around the fact that I'm going second, because there are some very good cards available to me if I'm going second. <laughs> uh, that I did not have available to me potentially going first. The question is, do I prefer to go for that? Can't believe you're playing kaijus. <laughs> <laughs> this particular kaiju has a use that I will explain to you after the match. Um, let's summon Space Insulator. We're going to see if we can't turn off Soul Charge this turn. BS Coral Sword. Battle phase. Oh, okay, I'm not dead. Let's attack. You are not quite dead. I did not open with a single extender. That Mally was going to be big for me. Oh, okay. Uh, I will not activate a fast effect at this time. It will shock you to find out. Good to know. Uh, I will activate a fast effect at this time, however. And I think this all but turns off Soul Charge. Yeah, essentially. Which I do love to do. Okay. If, if I got Main another draw, two. I have a chance. I can maybe do something. I just gotta believe. Let's set ourselves a back row and see what you got. All right, come on. A decent draw. That is a decent draw. Uh, I'm still not out of the woods yet, but card of safe return certainly helps. That is a good card. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, Monster Reborn! <laughs> Give me that Jizakuru, <laughs> baby! <laughs> sure, sure thing. All you, boo. Let's take it. Yeah. No, I will not be activating that effect at this time. Ah, uh, summon from your... Wait your grave. Oh, yes. I forgot about that particular stipulation from Card of Safe Return. I ran into that in episode, what, three? <laughs> the All Monsters Are All Types episode where I ran like five of this card. Yeah, I was really hoping I'd get something like that. Uh, the Naked Man Will Not Save You Today, Hard Luck okay. Joe. Drag a try. That's okay. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay. Get a blue eyes. One less thing that I have to worry about. Uh, Has blue eyes. Premature <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I did it. Now I can draw a card. You may. Yay! Da 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 da. And then we will activate burner, discarding the blue eyes. Oh no. Uh, that's fine. Hello there! Nice to meet you. Dragon Ruler of Infernos is my name. Thinking, thank, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna send these to Make Spheres. Okay. Uh, okay, let's activate the Dragon Ruler Inferno. Let's. He's burning. Banish these two. That's fine. Hey, how's it going? Heart of safe return. Give me another draw. Pretty good. It's it's going it's going wellish. It's like being Welsh, but with fundamental differences. <laughs> if you've got the uh, the tier lament uh, Sullyek or whatever, you just hit spheres with it in my end phase, and it's just negated forever, and then I just dead forever. And anything that a Boral Sword attacks, it just honests itself. So I'm like dead there. Uh... I'm trying to think if there's any other way I have around this, but I don't think there is. It's times like these, I kind of wish I had played my uh, my big eye, but I didn't think it would come up then. <laughs> <laughs> I went oh, glad to hear that. 
Big Eye was actually a major concern for me this week. Yeah, no Big Eye this time. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, this is going to take most of my cunning. No, all of my cunning. Mm, okay. The most cunning. Yeah, let's... We're going to have to get rid of the spheres. Go for Protector Rick Wealth. Spheres. Protector Wealth. He's protecting. Send one destruction something. Yeah. Uh, no shot, for sure. You would never no, do such a thing. Well. What, are you going to union <laughs> carrier me? Fun fact! I did actually uh, open a union carrier this week. Oh, don't tell me uh, that! <laughs> okay, so we are going to... Robert, I'm going to banish a light in the dark. <laughs> and another light. Oh, Chaos, Dragon, Levian Ear. One. I am going to have to do something about Most that. Likely. Um and the thing I'm gonna have to do about that is activate effect veiler. Well, consider this effect veiled then. Oh, actually, let's go into battle phase. Okay. I am going to run over your murder. I thought you couldn't do that this turn. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be able to? I had it in my head that you can't go to battle phase the turn that you do that? I, Am I just I thinking can't of a totally I, I different I can't attack card? with Levy and Ear if it uses its effect, but I think if you negate it, it doesn't doesn't operate that way. That is bizarre. Um, yeah, I will Boral Sword that attack. I will attack with this then. Okay. Um, yeah, that Valor was a little bit of a throw, wasn't it? I mean, not entirely, what? unless you really need that Merle on board for some reason. See, the thing is, a Link 4 is a little bit of a problem for me. Ah, I see. A wee bitty problem. A wee bitty one. Right, oh. Uh, Let's go here. <laughs> the second spheres. And... Oh, we don't like there to see go. that. Okay. And... Um, oh, good of you to I show up. And I just have to now. do this now in case you have something that can stop it. In case you have another, like, tier limit. Nope. Just have to bounce and... Now it's your good friend, Amorphage Goliath. A good friend is a <laughs> bit a strong of an turn. For now, if you have ship. Needle Nose Dragon or whatever the hell it is that's like a 1900 that does piercing, I'm dead. It's very funny. I can summon two guys. If I could summon a third guy, I would win this <laughs> game immediately. I. But yeah, I did not have to activate that Veiler there. I thought it would, the Levianir still wouldn't be able to attack, at which point I would not be concerned because of the Boral Sword, and I would get to keep my Suliac for later. But I did not get to keep my Suliac for later, and now I'm in trouble. Uh, we spot a uh, We're going to go, Fu. We are going to normal summon Destiny <laughs> Hero Denier. What? What now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good card I'm to mill. Denied. What could I? You should be. Uh, you will be denied this victory if I have anything to say about it. Let's go, malicious. Malicious rhymes with delicious. I'm so tempted to keep your Amorphage Goliath on the board. <laughs> Let me tell you, sir. But you will have a blaster, which will end my life if I do. So we're just going to summon the Mally. In attack mode. Good, good gonna go into battle ah. phase <laughs> yeah just attacking over both of them yeah all right i live to fight another day unless there's some kind of link you can make if you're playing agave dragon 
I don't think I have access to burn damage here. I am unfortunately required to let you I'm know. Required by law to let you know. That card may not necessarily be what I need it to be. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take the slightly less risky play here. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go Nightmare Phoenix. Okay. I will not activate its oh. effect. Okay. And then I will summon my portal sword. He's sorting. What do I have the ability to do right now? Oh, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, this is, there's a lot of tough calls going on in my hand right now, but I think this is the right one. All right, let's go ahead and start by doing that thing that you said you wanted me to not do. Yeah, that's not something I can stop oh, right go, now. Go, blaster! Draw the cards! There's the card to save for turn. Okay. All right! Um, go, go, pebbles! Oh, okay. Get me We're the redox! Uh, attack mode. I'm not afraid. The dragons will have you. I've never seen a... a more, less afraid, man. Yeah, That's I'm fine. Very unafraid. There and there. I don't like that <laughs> sound. I don't like hearing that. Wait, 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 wait. I might be able to. Okay. So let's use these two and make Guard Dragon Agrippe. We, Lincoln, uh, you so far don't have the zones for Agrippe? I don't at the moment. Uh, gosh darn it. <laughs> Activate this. All right. Defense. Oh yeah, two. Okay. All with safe return. And okay. we'll activate stores. Oh, I did not realize you had access to that right now. Yeah. Um. I am a little bit regretting not killing that part of safe. <laughs> return. I think I would have been in bad shape if I tried for it. Anyway. Yeah. There's still have a normal summoned. All right, I think we grab Armagram. What the hell ass balls we doing here? Oh, oh. that's so good. Such a good card. Uh, pretty strong. Yeah. Activate this. Send those two I'm off. Keep going. We'll summon Tempest. We're going to activate the Armagram. <laughs> Going to summon him from the graveyard. Card of safe return, carry me out of this! My <laughs> god, this card is really uh, doing you a lot of work. Um. Alright. Activate Armagram. Uh, you're negated. Oh, I just realized I missed. I have to veil her. Uh, oh! And I have the cold by! <laughs> no! Wait! <laughs> cold by the grave! Do do! Cold by the grave! Oh Woo no! Oh no! Augustus! So, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four. Make a Boral Sword of our own. A Boral Sword of your own. That's a little bit of a problem for me. I Battle will not face. lie. Okay. Attack your Boral Sword. Uh, there goes my Boral Sword, eaten by your Boral Sword. Yep. That's fine. Boral Beats! And then I can... Oh, it has to be an attack position monster. Alright, you get to keep yes. your token! Oh my goodness. Oh, this has been so tense! Tenseness, thy it's name is one. me! And I have nothing else I could do that is of any use to me, Batman. Your move. Can you out All a right, single bull goes. sword? I think I can. Please don't. I, let me just make sure it doesn't have any protection I don't know about. No, I mean, that card in your hand could mess me up. Uh, let's activate Denier Engrave. Deny. Okay. Uh, Denier's effect. We're going to put back Mally. And we're going to activate Mally. Then, uh... Um... 
just, 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 uh, just, just gonna. <laughs> Cerberus. Wait, it's not a main monster. It's That's not. okay. That's actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, because we have... Nightmare Unicorn. I should have gone for a different card here. We do have Nightmare Unicorn. I keep not putting it in the zone where I would get its second effect. Does it work? It does! Let's go! Oh, I have defeated the rulers! Damn it. Oh, oh. we've done it! <laughs> Yep, and this is... <laughs> I went in just like, you know, this is pretty good. The problem is, if I get all my graveyard stuff in one hand, I'm gonna be in trouble. And I just opened with, like, two graveyard revivals, Levianir, a dragon ruler, and card of safe return. And as you saw, like, if I had card of safe return and a handful of dragons, it would have been Jover. I would have gotten everything and drawn cards... But if you get all your draw, all your True. revival, and none of your things to make your plays, you're just screwed. And I don't know, maybe I could I could have made Boral end there, but like, you know, Boral Sword could at least do something. Boral end is just kind of big if you don't have a uh just kind of there. Yeah, although yeah. now that I think it would have been the better one. I thought the nightmares were more expensive. I didn't think you'd be able to afford them in this format. They're super cheap. They have common and rare reprints at this ah, point. Ah, okay. Uh, how long have we... I fe it feels like forever. It's been so intense. We can go and do one more. All right, let's do it. If you're, if you're up it. for it, we'll, we could do one more. I am up okay. for it. Maybe you'll get to see why that Jizukiru is there. I'm picking paper again. Yeah, let me see if I could if I could actually... Yeah, now this is the kind of hand I was hoping to get. Okay, granted. this is this is an interesting hand. We'll see if it does the thing that I yeah. want. Yeah, I mean, granted, most people I feel like have seen a lot of these uh, Dragon Ruler combos at this point. Ooh, opening with the Eclipse Wyvern. That's brutal. Yeah, the Eclipse Wyvern's neat. I got the Spiral Serpent Dragon. Now. Galactic Spiral? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Let's storms. Get these two out of the graveyard. Yeah. Of course, I know you're on the veilers now, which is a problem. But you could veil something that I know and love. Something that I care about <laughs> deep within my heart. You wouldn't do that to me, would you, Ronald? We're going for... Did you just call me <laughs> Ronald? <laughs> <laughs> it's a name that we haven't gotten that you know we haven't gotten it wrong in that way yet. Normal summon. Uh, yeah, go off, King. Yeah. Howdy. It's your boy, mm -hmm. LP. He's an EP mm -hmm. LP boy. He is that. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. Boulders. He bouldering. He's bolder than you might imagine. So they say. Does Galactic Spiral Dragon have an effect that special summons it? Yes. Oh, okay. What's its effect that special summons uh, it? While this card is in your hand or graveyard, if you control two or more light and or dark dragon monsters. Oh, okay. It's a pretty, pretty That's easy pretty thing. pretty easy to and get. And then it's banished when it leaves the field. There you go. Agropain. Not ideal. Okay, hit me with the Veiler. I know you got it. It ain't Activated waiting on Tempest. nothing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do yeah. that now. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So it's fine. I've still got an off ramp. I've still got a backup plan. Uh, let me just think about this for a second. What do I want in the graveyard? So I can summon anything from the deck. Okay. Uh, this one. Howdy. Ooh, pretty decent one. And I can activate the Galactic Spiral Dragon. Yep. I can activate its effect to make everything level 8. Yep. Um, Enter the Giant Asshole. There is kind of a world where I just wait on the Giant Asshole Dragon. Like, let you do the Agrapane thing, let you do all of that, and just hit the, hit the big guy. I wasn't thinking about the Giant Asshole. That might actually be the better play, now that I think about it. Uh, I am shocked that you didn't people think of have that. Seen it. Yeah. Let's, let's just do this is what I was really thinking. I mean, I've already lost, so it's fine. Got Hope oh, Harbinger, yeah. which you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And then we got Spheres. 
Cool. And then we set one. Hmm. So it okay. makes, you, you know, it's a, the, you've got a spell negate and a bounce. It's like two, two thirds decent. of your hand. Plus this back row could be okay. anything. Let me see if I can do the thing I really want to do with this hand. Yeah, uh, let's go foo. I see. Let's activate go foo. Go for it, king. You know what? And I think that's if I if I'm gonna have to ban something, you've activated that every turn. I have. It's a pretty decent yeah, one. Yeah, and I um, mean it hurts me a little bit too, but I feel like my GoFu line isn't nearly as strong anymore. And that's something that needs to be hit at some point anyway. And I almost so put let's... it in this deck, except for the if you <laughs> open with non dragons, you're screwed. It's a really funny one. Out of here. Well, that's rude. I've been called that from time to time. Goodbye. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do this thing. Okay. Being all malicious. That's my signature move. Let's attack with malicious. Uh, let's get the heck out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me, you I had got no that idea this was coming. Too. I have something. You're not. You're not, weary traveler. Uh, what do I want? What would make me happy with my life? Uh, let's. I mean, we're already in the battle phase. Let's just put this on here. Nah, you can have a blue eyes. <laughs> That's fine. You can, you can, you can take it. Um, I think I actually don't want. I think I'd rather have the tumor. Ooh. Ooh. No, that's fine. Okay. Main phase two. Uh, I'm going to set it back. Uh, All right. Fast turn to you. Sounds neat. Well, that's like the worst top deck of all time. Probably. Well, actually, hold up here. Could I do something very funny? The answer is yes. Yes, I could. Ooh, we like funny. We do. I think I need. I think I need more of my resource engine. That's what I need. Okay, let's do Redox. I'm gonna banish this and one of the Dragon Rulers. Yep. We'll just get big Rocky Boy out here. We'll activate this. Cool. Let's go ahead and search De Debris Dragon. Oh, spicy. Yeah. And, uh... You call it Deborah Dragon? <laughs> you know. I love it. Gone through some life changes. All right. Fascinating. Now I get my blue eyes. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go ahead and battle. I'll get rid of a token. Oh, wait. No, I should have attacked Mal... Uh, I should have attacked Malicious. I guess Malicious gives you access to another Malicious, assuming you have three. Hmm. But it's also an effect monster. That's... Okay. It is acceptable. Okay, main phase two. Mm-hmm. Let's... Normal summon Deborah. Let's go ahead and... Interesting. Ooh, that is kind of funny. Uh, what could you mean by this? There we go. Okay. And Spheres 2! <laughs> Electric Boogaloo! Hey! They're back and ready yeah, for more balls. Just like me for real. And... Do I put up something else just to stop you from killing me in half? I don't want to be killed in half, is the thing. Uh, no, there's no way. There's no way. We're fine. Kind of you to put a second light monster on the field, hard leg, Joe. Uh, I, I thought it would be the tier, though. Wow. Guess I should have put another thing on, on field. Um, 
the good news for you is I don't know what I do with yeah. the rest of my turn. Here. I there there was another there's a world where I made another play, and if I had, I, it, I'm realizing it would have been funnier. Let's set a card and blind a right. lore. Surely this doesn't go badly for me. Uh, it didn't. Immediately discard. It went funnily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two times in a row. Let's see. Ah, oh, good. We love to see the... <laughs> Your two best um, cards in this, this uh, matchup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Swamp Dragon solos. Just lose next turn. You've got like every dragon ruler ever. Oh, you don't actually have every no. dragon ruler ever. You have exactly Graham. I have boulders and Graham. And possibly a dragon ruler in your hand. I was I was really hoping that uh, oh, you know, once redux. I got Cyframe Lord Omega on here, I could put back the Tempest and have that for next turn. But you saw to that, didn't you? I you know, did. You know, Let's soul charge. Ball. To make a level nine. Now and there are a, a number of things. <laughs> you got bar on the floor. I, hilariously, I do own a copy <laughs> of uh, Geo Math Mech Final Sigma, but um, it's probably not going to get me. No, there's a lot of waste out of that. Uh, I think we just You're just gonna make Boral Sword just... again. <laughs> We're just going to make balls. <laughs> I don't think I have another option. Uh, oh, because of what I drew off the allure, I don't think there's anything else that this hand does. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay. Hilariously, I think the actual play there was probably Boralode. Put that back. Boralode was more likely to get me there than Boral Sword. Yeah, and now my magnificent play won't work. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, but I... Actually, I'm not. The people deserve to see it. Do like All right, this, Graham. Though, you, know. you and me, round two. <laughs> uh, I guess we get rid of those. Yo, what up? All right. Get negated, scrub. Get switched to defense position. Oh, I can't even beat over you anyway. What are you afraid of? <laughs> uh, oral end I guess <laughs> alright alright here we go that. Mm -hmm. storms let's okay fuck it just going for this again spheres every day all day <laughs> um, okay. go go redox uh, let's do this yeah. right this time. <coughs> you and you. Mm -hmm. Redox goes here. Tempest mm -hmm. activates. We'll get the mm -hmm. second debris dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, we normal summon debris. We activate. Yeah, hilariously, Boralode would have been the better card here. Um, it's not good, but I want to make it, all right? So I'm. that's what I'm going to do. Okay. We're going to summon this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go into... Varum, the Magistus Divinity what Dragon. What is this? He's pretty neat, you know, does stuff. Uh, battle face. We'll just attack it. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. Go debris okay. dragon. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that is. I really just underestimated how much removal I would need to deal with this. A lot of my stuff was set around like making a go first board, and I don't have enough go second tools. Yeah, and I. This what's is funny is too is weird. like I could have made that you know um, in the last couple games. I think I had a chance to make it, and I'm like. But, but all, all Boral Sword has to do is switch it to attack and then I die. <laughs> uh, well, yes. Unfortunately, this doesn't do anything. 
I had that. There was a there was a world where I could have tribute summoned that <laughs> when you had the super poly set. What do I? What do I have in grave that I confuse off of? Half? You have mud dragon. I mean, I'm curious. We're gonna find. Oh wait, that's actually a yeah, good card. Draco Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty neat, or it would be if I didn't have this. Get out of here, Drago Stapelia. Uh, no, yeah, don't make me level one. Come level on. One. That's uh -huh. rude. You're rude. Plus, why you gotta be so rude? Uh, well, that's fine. Level one, and now I have a level seven. Don't mind if I do. Mm. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> if you had left that level four, I wouldn't be able to make anything. Unless I got pep. Yeah, so this is awkward because I don't have a decent link three for this situation, or a particularly decent link two. I could go into Verte, but then I wouldn't have the life points to also summon a uh, Boral Sword. So, I think we probably do what I was supposed to do last turn. Ah. Sold. All right. Surely you can't deal a thousand life points worth of damage to me. Uh, not with that attitude. Uh, and then. Oh, you didn't bring back Oral Sword. Nope. Uh, because I'm making the OG. Ah. <laughs> The moral load. And you know what? I will reduce your debris dragon's oh. attack. Wait, no, don't come back. I wanted you to stay on the field. <laughs> come on, man. Well, soul charge. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, for two. Hmm. I will allow it. I will not reduce your debris dragon's attack any Another further. One. Uh, well, you know what they say. It's like Mad Stan in his prime. Just gotta blow it all up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Just gotta right. get rid of all of it. Just gotta... And you know what? You were making fun of debris dragon so much. But in the end, it will be them who deals the final thousand dear life points. I can't battle. What what am I thinking? What what did I Soul I'm Charge? I'm so stupid. <laughs> what <laughs> the other material can't be fooled. Um I do it. <laughs> well, Oh, my kingdom for the monster reborn I took out of this deck. Yeah, yeah this was so <laughs> upgrade. Now I'm, like, stuck with this. If you top deck... Uh... Just got a top deck Merle. It's okay. Fine, whatever. You know what? I'll stand brave. <laughs> All right. I'm not afraid. Let's go. Go, Debris Dragon. Oh, my God. That's the most hilariously bad draw under these circumstances. Uh, yeah, you've absolutely got this. It is the danger big <laughs> <laughs> No, Debris Dragon! <laughs> you had your shot! I will not be defeated by Debris Dragon uh, this Oh, is there some way I could summon the Debris Dragon back? Oh, man. It's hilarious. If I had summoned that Boral Sword, it's, or Boral, or Boral Load, wow, there are so many of them, uh, that turn, instead of Boral Sword, I probably would have been in very good shape for the remainder of the yeah. duel. There's there's a lot of mistakes made either way, but, you know, still, you know, again, it, it, it's so weird how uh, it feels like a lot of times we have, like, fairly good matchups. Like, this was back and forth. We were both top decking. We were both on the edge of our seats. And it was just ruined by awful hands. Just, just like, the worst hands imaginable. <laughs> I got my yep. first two duels. It was just, like, I think I'm running six or seven uh, revival cards, and I just drew two to three of them in both duels and didn't have anything to revive. And I feel like we've had duels previously where you're like, yeah, I have 12 copies of this in my deck, and I didn't draw it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, that's, it's chaos draft. It's gotta be chaotic. 
Uh, real quick before we go out, what's next week's thing? I didn't even look. Ooh, that's a good question. Is next week the half of all uh, half of all cards we play must have been pulled ah, this week? Ah, that would have been really good for this week. My pulls were excellent this time. The other half of your deck will have to carry yeah, this week. I don't think I could play enough dragon rulers. I mean, at least they'll have that. Ooh, but I'll get to open. Hmm, I can very selectively pull from the master packs to find really good stuff for next week. Oh, that's a good point. You get master packs or uh, secret yeah. packs next week. Although that's I think funny. Uh, you're up to 11 wins, so two more wins, and RJ has the whole season. So you have to tune in to see if he steps one step closer or if I can snatch it back. Until then, good luck. And have fun. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode 19. We're almost to 20. We've almost made it there. We have almost doubled the capability expected from this series. Oh. Of course, I am Hardleg Joe, if and you didn't know. Joined by the Titan Speaker Man of Yugi Tube, the RJB Zero. I there were so many ways that that could have ended where I would have <laughs> known what you were talking about, and it just okay. Back to Google we go. You do not know the Titan. You're, you're not hip with the kids. He doesn't know, chat. Everyone in the chat. Make, oh my god, it's a skibbity toilet <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, good old, good old skibbity toilet. I am... It, it's weird because, like, I, I feel like a lot of times when I talk to my friends, I am skibbity toilet's biggest defender. But it's not even <laughs> that I, I think it's, like, great. I'm just like, yeah, you know, it's all right. It's It's got a compelling storyline. It's, it's really good at cinematography and stuff. And... The amount of vitriol and hatred that people have for that just makes me seem like I end up having to defend it. And it's like, really? I'm like, it's moderate. It's okay. <laughs> the latest stuff's been pretty good, though. And yeah, I guess you haven't, you haven't watched it. If y'all at home have watched Skibbity Toilet, let me know who your favorite warrior is. I kind of like the, the plunger toilet, or the plunger cameraman. He's, he's pretty neat. He I, cool I do stuff. like Titan Speaker, man. He's got a good look. Oh, yeah. Some of the designs on this are, like, oddly iconic. I don't know what it is about, like, guys with cameras and speakers and TVs for heads, but it's, it's just got a vibe to it, you know? It's got, it's it's giving Doof Warrior. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I, I actually don't know what Doof Warrior is. Is that from, um... Have you not seen Mad Max Fury Road? Uh, I, I think I have, but I don't remember the characters. So the Doof Warrior is this incredible looking dude shredding it on a three necked flaming guitar oh he's that guy show. okay he does nothing else yeah and he, I've, he rides on the doof mobile i've seen that guy i didn't know his name was the doof warrior <laughs> oh yeah he's the doof warrior the doof warrior on the doof mobile interesting but yeah we're, we're here to play Yu-Gi-Oh. jules if you will put up the band list if somehow you missed last week's episode a sad state of affairs, another loss for me. And I had to get rid of GoFu. GoFu is gone. We will no longer be making the Go Fook Yourself meme. It is retired. I was about to say, <laughs> for the last time, we can say Go Fook Yourself. Go it's Fu. gone. Yep. <laughs> Just takes off Pat in remembrance. So yeah, we'll have to do that without without GoFu this time, which should be a little difficult, because this time we're doing something interesting. It's half of all the cards we play this week must be pulled from this week. And the way we've divided that up is like, you know, if you're playing a 40 card main deck, 20 of those gotta be from this week. Seven of your extra deck cards, seven of your side deck cards, they gotta be brand new stuff. So the pulls are going to be even more important than they have been. Anyway, let's, let's check them out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump on into that. Do you, do you have a name for the poll dimension this time? Ooh, let's see. We were on pack opening street last time. Yeah. Uh, let's 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 look at let's uh, let's attend the draft manor. Yes, draft manor. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 to the pack station. I'm here with Twitch chat as always. I mean, you you understand by now. We're like 19 episodes in. If you don't know what we're going on here, I'm not sure if you ever will. Um, but but I should probably mention just in case we forgot it in the intro. Today's chaos rule: half of our deck must be cards pulled this week. 
So the pack opening is more important today than it's been for a while. We're going to have to find cards that we can absolutely use. Fortunately, the other half we can use is old cards. And we have a whole bunch of like math mech stuff. We have a whole bunch of cyber stuff. I think we're probably going to go with that. So if we can find any other cyber stuff, that would be really good. Otherwise, anytime we see a card that's just useful on its own, um, even if it's something we already have, it is going to be very useful. Let's flip up Dark Beginning. And not a whole lot, but Gravity Bind. Oh wait, Nobleman of Crossout. Um, oh no, that's a face down monster. For a second I thought this was the one that did spell traps. Yeah, I think Gravity Bind. I mean, it's a Floodgate and we might have to go into that. We have a bunch of Ixies and Links, so we can maybe get out of that. Let's, let's, let's find it out. Well, folks, this is going to be an interesting one. This is the most important draft we've done yet since possibly the beginning because this draft is half of our deck for the week. Our our deck is going to half come from this week, uh, this draft. I, I'm really intrigued to see how we're going to strategize around this. Maybe Hardleg has already formed a strategy around this draft. I don't actually have one. I know that we have to do half of the main deck, half of the side deck, half of the extra deck. So we're going to have to probably take some suspect extra deck pulls this week if we want to have any kind of extra deck going into this week. I'm actually going to keep a running tally of how many extra deck cards I've pulled. Just so that I, like, have a chance of getting an extra deck. Also, another interesting thing, I'm using YGO Prog for this draft this week uh, because uh, YGO Pro deck ain't working. So YGO Prog, which is the dueling simulator put together by Neil before me and is the one that I use for my series I Challenge You, is going to be our salvation for the week. I won't be able to do my chaos packs for the week on this, so we're going to have to do that a little bit later. But we're going to do our main draft tonight. Let's see what we got. Starting with the beginning, the dark beginning. Uh, Fisher is a pretty good card. I think if there are any of these cards that we're actually going to use in a main deck, Fissure is probably the one. Let's take Fissure. The world. Oh, hey, Horn of Heaven. I have to tribute a monster to make it work, but I mean, it does work. Sacred Phoenix of Neftis is also pretty good. Magical Hats is funny. I'll take the secret rare. I'm not sure if we'll play it, but we might. All right, premium gold. What do you have for me? That's a whole Caius the Shadow Monarch and a Forbidden Chalice. Ooh, those are both bangers. Oh, those are both very, very good for this week. But I think Forbidden Chalice is the pick here. It's unfortunate because it is redundant for us, but we are going to take it for this week's draft because it's just such a good card for the main deck for the spell trap lineup. Bling! Oh, yo, is that Book of Moon? I think I think I already have three Book of Moons. Let me check my Book of... No, I got two Book of Moons. And you know, now I can use one this turn, so let's go ahead and take the third Book of the Moon. All right, Legendary Collection 5Ds, give me a Synchro. That is in fact a Synchro. It's an okay Synchro too. Not one of the ones I would have hoped for, but we'll take it. Raiden. Uh, Compulse? Do we take the Compulse so we have it? I mean, we could have Big Hands, man. He is Big Hands Horse. I do have some level three or lower tuners. Uh, yeah, we'll just take a fourth Compulse. We already have them, but that'll let us play more traps in our deck. All right, high speed riders. That's a Cyframe Gear Gamma. That's a card that I could just take for the week. Uh, compulsory Evacuation Device is also just phenomenal. Let's take the Compulse. The Saga. Oh, hello, Ophion. Hello, Soul Charge. Hello, Dimensional Fissure. Uh, I think I already have three Soul Charge. No, I have two. This would be the third one, and it means I can play one this, and it doesn't take up one of my slots, so... Sure, we'll get the third soul charge. All right, 
Breakers of Shadow. A tuning Magician is kind of cool. Ooh, but a Monkey Board is extremely good. Oh, but Engraver of the Mark is cute for the week. Um, uh, Hagoita is also pretty cool because we do have Speedroid things that we can work with. So next week, we won't be able to play any card that's ever been on the ban list. That precludes Monkey Board. Uh, by Lander, I already have two Monkey Board. Anti-Chaos, that does allow for Monkey Board, but I'm not sure it allows for the rest of my penned deck. Uh, Extreme Highlander and Tag Duel. I think we have to take the Hagoita, actually. Since we're thinking about level fives for this week, I think this card is going to be more usable for the near future. Revenge. Oh. Oh, Exiton Knight. That's that's pretty neat. I think I already have one, but two is funnier. All right, Wing Raiders. That's a Mystical Space Typhoon. Ooh, that's also a Cairn Gorgon. Mmm, these are all good cards. I think we have to take the MST to have back row removal. We have extra deck monsters we can go into, so if I want to do rank four stuff, I can. Let's take the MST. MST is also good because if he's on math, if he's on math mech, this can force the uh, the super factorial. It's a duelist. They're dueling. Oh hey, Perry Knights. Oh wait, Cybers. They're act. We're we're in the land of Cybers now. If this card is used for link material. You can target one other Cybers in your graveyard that was used as material for that link summon. Special summon it in defense. Not great, but it is something. Uh, we also got Jack Wyvern. This is a machine. Let me just make sure I don't already have three stack revivers. I feel like I've grabbed... No, I haven't grabbed one yet. Sure, we'll get a Cybers. We're in Cybers country now. Shining victories. Uh, no. Oh, Den Den Duke. Yeah, let's take... Let's, ta let's take the Daika Duke. Force! Oh, hey, it's Clara and Ruska, you know, the, the, the Vel Ventrilla duo. You always wanted one of those. We got another two Cybers, all Link Monsters gain 500. It's bottom right and left. That's another Link Monster we can use. We're going to take the Flame Administrator. Let's administrate, shall we? The duelists are to live by strict rules. Those rules say that you must play 50% cards that you drafted from this week. That is the code of the duelist. That bit took a while to work up to. What do we got here? Um, oh, yo, Destiny Hero Dangerous. <laughs> Gives me other hero things I can go into. The Ascendant of Thunder is just a phenomenal card. I think we actually just take the Ascendant of Thunder. Strike! Ooh, Rocket Synchron! That's that's so good for my dragon pile. Uh that does that does a whole lot of stuff, especially if I go on Chaos Dragons or something. Uh yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> Probably not using it this time, but I'm taking it. Alright, Flames of Destruction. Is that a degrade buster? That's actually a pretty good card, right? Banishing two Cybers monsters from your graveyard? We're probably not running Cybers this week, if I'm going to be real with myself. How about Link Streamer? Also very good. Oh, Space Insulator. This is a pretty good extra deck card if we've got, if we need to do extra deck things. Yeah, we're taking the Space Insulator. Power. Oh! <laughs> oh! make this uh this whole series a little more evenly matched wouldn't you say wouldn't you say <laughs> dark savior so ooh, that's a mirror force monarch stormforth is also kind of cute i'm not against either of those cards for this week but i think it's got to be the mirror force assault ooh uh, code talker the Fire Phoenix is also good. This is Cybers. It's a Link 3. What are its arrows? Left, bottom, and right. During damage calculation, if this card attacks, you can inflict damage equal to this card's attack. 
And if you do, your opponent takes no battle damage. This card is destroyed. Destroy one monster your opponent controls. During the next standby phase, after this Link Summon card was destroyed, you could special summon it. That's not half bad. This is pretty good for extending, though. Do I already have a Code Talker inverted? I do, and I don't think I'll be playing two. I think it's better to have a wide variety of things. Hopefully we don't need just like two Code Talkers. It locks us into Ignisters. Uh, I don't think it does. No, it doesn't lock us or anything. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take it. It's rare. Do I have Super Poly? Oh boy, do I have Super Poly. Oh. Oh. Diamond, you're a genius. Diamond, you are a genius. Diplexer Chimera is a Super Poly target versus Cybers. That's incredible. That's an amazing pick, Diamond. Holy shit. Deplexer Chimera as a super poly target versus Cybers. What a genius move. Chaos! Oh, hey. Start. Oh, wait. Code generator. Code generator. If a Cybers you control would be used as link material for a code talker, this card in your hand can't be used. This is exactly what we need. We're taking it. All right. Mystic Fighters. <laughs> oh, I already have a VFD. Let's take Tempest. This also plays nicely with our speedroids. All right. El Dorado. This also has a whole bunch of Link stuff in it. We might get something worth playing. Oh, boy. ho, <laughs> Maybe I'll be Tracer. Maybe I'll be Tracer. We already have a Verte, I'm pretty sure. We don't have much we could do with it, but we already got a Verte. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the Rocket Tracer. I I think that's that's what we want to take here. Toon Chaos. Oh, Stardust Dragon is not a bad choice for us. Dark Flare Dragon also pretty decent. Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. Two level three monsters. You detach two materials from this card. The activated effect becomes both players draw one card. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow is great for speedroids. And finally, the crystals will have their revenge. It's just what they do. It's just what they do. Oh, hello there, Celine. You're a nice Link 3 that I could maybe make. There's the Bolt Star. What the heck is this? The Earth Bolt Star. Sending one other monster from your hand to the graveyard. It loses 500. You can only special summon the once this turn. During the battle phase, fusion summon one Earth Warrior from the extra deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. I mean, it is just a rank 6 I could special summon, right? Is that better than having this? I think I want a Selene. If I don't already have one. And I don't already have one. Yeah, we'll take the secret rare. Oh, this is ultra. Well, we'll take the secret rare. It's fine. And our last pack of the main draft, it's Crystal Revenge. That's a DD Crow. We will take ourselves a DD Crow. That's pretty good. Let's move on to the Chaos Packs. Time for the Chaos Packs. And I don't think I put any Cyber stuff in here, so... There's nothing in particular we're looking for. Uh, Ghost, this is this is pretty neat. There's still there's still copium for the for the ritual. Yeah, let's get one of these so we have it. All right, we are so back. The the pack opening simulator on YGO Pro Deck is back, which means it's time for Hard Legs Chaos Pack. Let's open it up. Oh, that's an Earth Slicer. Earth Slicer is just about the best Infinitrack we could have gotten here. Uh, it is the rank nine. When it destroys an opponent's boss by battle, you can attach it to 
this monster as material, but you can also detach any number of materials from this card and then target that many cards on the field and destroy them. Very, very solid card for us to pull. Uh, unfortunately, not great for the things that we want to play this week, but there's really nothing in here that we want for this week. Yeah. This will be, yeah, this will be great for, for anti-chaos. Earth Machine is going to go brazy in anti-chaos. Okay, Chaos Pack number two. The Zectrike we've already got. Another Ixie import. We could have three of them. Oh, Link Slayer. Troll No Monster, special summon this. Discard. I think we want the Link Slayer. I think this is like in a, in a format where we're not going to have a whole bunch of spell trap removal. This is both a Cybers Extender and spell trap removal. It's everything we could want. It's everything we could need. Let's Let's take it. What do we got? No, <laughs> the second Electromite. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Okay, are you ready for this? If I take this Electromite, I can play Pendulum during Bylander week. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely going for the second Electromite. I want to play Pend. I will do whatever it takes to play Pen. And RJ's pack. I think he has even less cyber stuff in here. There's a rocket. We did get Tracer, so that helps ish. Sure. Starting off with Encode Talker, I could also take the Sawani for my. I, for my Yangzing stuff or Gear Gi armor if I want to do Earth Machine this week. Let's take the Swanee. This improves our Yangzing pool for the week. And Chaos Pack number two. Don't go down there. What are you? <gasps> Decode Talker. We got, we got a Code Talker from, uh, thank you, RJ. I appreciate it. You gave me exactly what I needed when I needed it most. Last pack coming on through. Uh, so, so pretty good overall. We still get our bonus packs or our pity packs, though, so we'll have to see what those do. For my second Chaos Pack, was that a Rite of Aramisir? Hold up, didn't I pull a Water Enchantress forever ago? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing anything else I'm going to play this week. Let's grab the Rite of Aramisir. <laughs> All right, so I said that we were going to do a whole bunch of rerolls, and I've got some extra marked down, but what we really need more than anything to make our Cybers pile come together and get us off dragons is to pull a transcode talker, and it is only in maximum gold. So I am going to potentially just use all seven on this. I'm going to keep opening until I run out of rerolls or we get the transcode talker. We did not get it here. We're going again. We did not get it here. We're going again. We did not get it here. So we're going again. Attempt number four. No. Going again. Number five makes me feel alive. A Link Karibo is good, but it's not why we're here. Reroll number six. Oh, there's a night beam. We've got one more shot. One opportunity. Mom Spaghetti, lift up your hands. Transcode Talker, let's see it. They did not give us the Transcode Talker. I am sad. I'm a sad, sad man. But we can we can pick one of these to, to add. Uh, I think we want to take the night beam. It's kind of boring, but like, you know, it does it does what it needs. The Herald would be nice if we were playing Rituals, but we, we do, I don't think we're going to be playing Rituals this week. We need to prepare for the stuff this week so we can hopefully win so we don't just like lose out of the series. And Night Beam is going to be really good for dealing with things like Compulse that RJ might have. Because they can't chain it. They just, you, you can't chain it. It's pretty neat. So we did not get transcode, but we still got we still got uh, the the pity packs. Maybe there's something there we can get. Maybe. All right. So after looking through things quite a bit, our options are looking pretty grim. Almost all of the good cyber stuff is in one pack. Soldiers of the Storm, 
and we already opened that one. And a lot of the math mech stuff, we also already opened that one. So we're really kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of trying to make this deck playable. The only thing that remains is Electron Illusions. This is the Altergeist slash Live Twin Pack. Now we do have a Lilla already, so if we can get one kiss a kill, which is which is a rare, I think, or a normal or whatever, then we at least have a package where one summons the other that's a free Link 2. We have this Link 2, so if we could somehow get the, the evil twin kiss, uh, kiss a kill, then, then we've got that package which can at least generate us a little bit of advantage. We've also got quite a bit in terms of Altergeist, two Multifaker, a Meluseek, a Silquidius, Conquery, two Manifestation. If we can get something like a personal spoofing or a protocol, uh, that'll improve things quite a bit. So there's some stuff in here that might work, if not for this week, then for next week, but uh, I'm not sure if any of this stuff will be playable. Unfortunately, it's just the, the best of what we have left. Let's flip it up. And well, I mean, there's there's the kiss -a kill We got it with nothing else. We already have three backup sec uh, secretary. I almost said sanctuary for some reason. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. We've got we've got the list. Let's try number two. Flip them up. And there's our there's our ultra rare, the the alter guys memory gnat. This is tempting, but because it takes specifically alter guys, like I've got better cybers payoffs. And Alter Guys don't really even want to make this. This is probably better if we do get things. Uh, I think I'm going to take this. Pack number three. Well, I got a Meluseek. We've got a Prima Banshee. I don't think we want this one because this is the Link 3. Yeah, they, they, you know, the, they don't make that and they, it's even harder to make. This is just pretty good in general. This card can attack directly when inflicts battle damage, target a card, send it to the graveyard. If it's sent to the graveyard, add an Altergeist from your deck to your hand. So especially if I go on a trap-based deck, I can just like summon this, send it to the graveyard for Link Karibo or Al Mirage, and then search like a Meluseek. And then if I have any traps, I'm, I'm golden. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take this. This might be doing something. Pack number four, and there we go. There's the there's the kiss a kill. So we've we've officially got the the evil twin engine. I whether or not we can get it off, I don't know, but but we got it. We'll take the super rare, especially because nothing else here. I mean, maybe the one time passcode might be good, but uh, yeah, we get we got it. And number five, what do we got? I can another one. Holy shit. Another ultra rare, another fucking kiss a kill. Uh, I mean the second one we could bring back. So that actually gives us some like replayability maybe, or we could just get a second protocol. I think I'm gonna take the protocol. The protocol's harder to get. We'll go for that, and and hopefully that'll that'll do what we want to do. If this was the one that popped, maybe, but because it's the drawing a card, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. So there we go. Wait, is that only four? No, no, I got two of them there. Okay, yeah, we'll add that to the collection and see what we can come up with. All right, everyone, you ready for some more dragons? Because if so, you're going to be disappointed. We got we got Math Mech today. We're, we're playing Math Mech. Um, there's definitely not enough dragons to make this work. And even if we could, I'm not sure if I want to continue playing that deck. It's very hard. It's very complicated. And this, by contrast, is a lot easier to play. And I think it fits the Chaos Draft a little bit more. One of the problems with Chaos Draft that we've talked about a few times is the idea of if you spend all this time building a boss monster and it loses to Compulse, you've just wasted a bunch of resources. There's still a sense of tempo in these games. And I think the math mechs work a lot better with that. There's a lot of ways to get diameter or to get stuff for the follow-up and just make like a rank four every turn or a link every turn. Or, uh, you know, and if they don't get rid of those, then you can rank up into a big link four. So that's the idea with this. We've, we've used our 20 cards, which are the top 20 here, 
These are my, my older cards to basically just facilitate a rank four package. And then we've got card of safe return because this is bonkers. We've got the super factorial, the one monster reborn. I'm not on the soul charges because I feel like those keep screwing me over. I don't know if I'm just bad at using them or uh, if, if I'm just cursed or whatever, but we're putting the other two in the side. We are playing the one from the, the packs from the cards pulled this week, but only because there's so little to work with. I can't believe as I was going through, I, I think I hit like 10 cards and I was like, that's enough good stuff. I don't really need to focus on that. And I really should have focused on that. I should have tried to get those pulls and maybe done some some re-rolls re, uh, re on those instead of trying to get Transcode Talker because we're playing some stuff like Perform a Pal Whip Snake, like uh, Stack Reviver, which is not particularly good in this mostly rank four package. We're on like Cynet Conflict, even though we only have one code talker. And the same thing, we're on the one code generator, even though we only have one code talker we could make, which is Decode Talker. And, um, I mean, similarly, we're on the Dawn Dragster, and the only way we can make it is if we have, like, a tuner and this code generator. And so it's very unlikely, but we just don't have enough extra deck monsters to compete. Uh, for fortunately, you know, we have Link Bumper, we have Flame Administrator. These are both Cybers, just kind of generic Link 2s that are all right on their own. But they make it really easy to go into Avramax, so hopefully we'll be seeing some of that. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We've got this this core of like fours and math mechs that can hopefully make big stuff. And if not, we've got a whole bunch of traps and, and ra random cards that, that might be able to help us if we pull them. Uh, some of these like Mad Hacker could go really hard. I'm sure RJ is not prepared for this. Uh, it's like non-targeting stealing a monster. Evenly matched, really great to have for this week if we can pull it. Um, and then Gravity Bind. This is going to be, if RJ doesn't have a lot of spell trap removal, and he's not on a Link or Ixy deck, this could, like, solo. If, if he ends up playing a whole bunch of, like, fusions and stuff, or going into, like, a bunch of main deck cards, this, this might go absolutely brazy, so we'll see. As for the side deck, it's a bunch of other stuff we had left over that's almost useful. Like, Punishment is pretty good, but not when you want to go into the extra deck almost every turn. Um, this is just, like, a level 4. That That's how down bad we are. Like, the stuff that didn't make it in here was mostly, like, level 4s and, like, desynchro if he's on a synchro package. And then in the main deck, we got called by the grave because we need our graveyard stuff to resolve. And we need, uh, we basically need to stop his effect failures if he has those. So we got three of these just in case he's on those. We've got uh, two more soul charge if it feels like these are going into grind games and I want more stuff to pull things out of the graveyard. Twin Twisters for back row removal. Uh, Meluseek, just some more removal. We got one that we pulled this week too, so the two of them together are pretty nice. Um, and then another Laplacian. This is another, like, if it goes into a grind game or if he's got a whole bunch of removal, this might be better than, like, a Zero Boros. But most of the time I found in testing that, like, I resolve this once with the Super Factorial, and then, you know, you have a choice on subsequent turns when you have three three level fours. If you want to go into this, or you want to go into a Link 4, and I think the Link 4s are a little bit more powerful. But who knows? We might switch them out. So that's the tactic. It's really going to rely on, you know, what we can, what we draw. If we get a good handful of Math Mech stuff, we win. And if not... It's, it's gonna be a problem, but the same is true for RJ. His deck is hopefully going to be equally janky, but I guess we'll have to find out and see. Well, this can only go well. Uh, <laughs> this deck is really something else. I decided to go with something a little bit different this week. I'm playing around a little bit with my speedroid pool, which I didn't expect to be as good as it is, but especially going into this week where I have the double Tempest and the Den Den Daiko Duke to play with, I have a lot of incentive to try out this strategy in a way that I haven't before. None of my strategies are going to be optimal going into this, so I might as well try something that has a lot of synergy with what I pulled this week. Enter the speedroids. 
it as one primary combo, and that's using Aurora Dawn to get our Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion out of the deck, and that allows us to use our Denglong first of the Yang Zing. This is one of our most versatile cards, allows us to search for a disruption and also go into a variety of synchro monsters in the extra deck, some of which are absolute monsters like Geomathmech Final Sigma. There are a couple of other ways to get to Denglong, namely a couple of level 1 tuners like Mind Master and Unknown Synchron that we can summon alongside an elemental hero Stratos, either off of the normal summon or off a hero lives, and we have a few emergency teleporters to back it up. Uh, Virtual World Team and Yan Yan is also the number one psychic that we can go into just because it combos extremely well with the speedroids. The speedroids themselves do a number of things. They can summon rank threes, of which we have a couple of very strong ones, one of which is basically a negate. Hello there, Bella. And they can also get us into Rubber Band Shooter, which is the main source for our ability to go into Aurora Dawn. After that, um, it's um, I, it's pretty much up to the mirror forces and the disruption that I have to get me through. This deck is a little bit light on threats. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble finding a way for me to build a deck that was both compliant with the week's rules and had a lot of power to it. So this at least has a fair amount of consistency in getting us to our main guys. Uh, you'll notice the red-haired hasty horse here. This is a very funny card that's basically Cyber Dragon, except you can summon it once you have monsters on the field, which means that it doesn't conflict with the hero lives or terror top and is very good for going into things like our Chung Ying off of Deng Long. This is a really, really cool deck. I think it's going to be fun to play. I think there is a decent chance that I get steamrolled by either Dragon Rulers or Cybers, and I have pretty decent side deck cards to deal with both. Namely, my main tech for this week in the side deck is the same one we had last week, Super Polymerization, which is extremely mid against Dragons, but is extremely good against Cybers, thanks to one of the cards I pulled this week in Deplexer Chimera, which takes two Cybers monsters, which means I could just eat up Hard Legs board. I'm really hoping we get to see this, or, you know, our evenly matched or our effect veiler or our ghost bell pretty much anything that'll help us get out of this and the rest of these are pretty much the best cards that we have left out of our opening this week maybe maybe i'll get to live the plasma dream let's get into the duels i expect this one to be a interesting Let one let us begin so is All right. our final battle hmm. yes uh oh oh no i get to go first I'm sure, this, go. I'm sure this <laughs> hand does something. <laughs> this hand does something, I tell you what. Uh-oh. He's thrashing. Oh, I'm that's thrashing a thrashy about. boy. Let's go ahead, and this will reveal immediately what I'm doing. Hello there. Oh, wow, that's good. Okay. I hope you're prepared right. for a calculator. I am... I, you know, if you have to rely on a calculator, it means that you didn't learn. <laughs> Go ahead and get our friend You won't Alan. always have a calculator. Oh, Go okay. Alan. Oh, yeah, you will be surprised to find out I did not open with a hand trap. Good. Th th that's becoming <laughs> kind of a problem now that I have to worry about. Effect Veiler, and I know you have at least one in perm, right? I've been known to have hand <laughs> traps before. I've been known to play them from time to time. Uh, let us go ahead and it's time to do the Sigma grind set. Yep. And then that, of course, lets me search the Super Factorial. It's Not just regular Factorial. It's this Factorial is super. Super. Thanks for asking. Um, let's see here. The unfortunate thing is if I don't make an Ixie out of Sigma, it gets banished. And I kind of want all three in the graveyard, although... Then that will be the final Sigma. <laughs> that will be the final! Uh... No other Sigmas after that one. Okay. I think I got this. This will still work, right? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to use these two. Mm -hmm. Hello. Wicked. Hello. Normal summon. Okay. Activate. We're going to bring back mm -hmm. the addition. Oh, shit. Uh, that's 
really bad. Surely you will not have a second Cyber Slink 2. <laughs> Possibly. Surely not. Possibly. Um, well, you control, you can banish one Cyber Monster. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. Because then I would not have enough. And that was the whole point of this. So... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make... Link Bumper. Okay. They're bumping! Uh, no, I still can't use that. Hopefully that won't come back to bite me. And... Zooty Zoot! Avramax! There he is! Oh, surely I have an easy out to this card this week. And then I will set three. <laughs> Holy shit, that's three cards. <laughs> Uh, all the back row, all the back row. I will simply hit the super factorial. Well, I mean, you did. Truly, Congratulations. I am the greatest. <laughs> you have hit the super factorial. Okay. So I, I might be able to do something. You just have to not discard exactly one particular card in my hand. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Use the All right. Effects. What do you get? Let's send, I guess, Got a this one, one in five chance to end my life. Okay, so I do do that. <laughs> He's so All ah! right. Hey. <laughs> God damn it. That's a good thing um, to hit. Oh, no. Um. Was that the one card you were hoping on is the mirror force? I had I had plans. Um, <laughs> the thing is, the the negate that Laplacian now has access to is really devastating for me. Yeah. Although I'm not sure if you know this because this this tricked me up a few times. It is only for this turn. After this turn. Oh, it's turn, only gotta be for this turn. Yeah, it's it's only the turn it's summoned. It doesn't have like a negate every turn. I made that mistake in testing. <laughs> I was like, what? I thought I had a negate! It's like, no, just the turn it's made. After that, you're on your own. Set one, yeah. set two, setting all the things around the world. All right. Okay. So we're gonna use, we're gonna use our good friend, Alan. There goes Alan. Uh, we're gonna bring back Diana. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we are going to activate addition. Oh boy. We will bump up this one. Good old 3k. Alright. And then we will make... Another Alan Bursch. <laughs> hey! Two of them things. And then we'll just search another, uh, another diameter. Alright. Why not? Uh, can I do anything with that diameter? Not really, but I don't have a solid way to answer that, so I think I just gotta go into battle. I'm gonna go into battle and hope this isn't like Morphing Jar number two. It's an incredible card. One of the best, they say. Ah, okay. Alright, go in for 3,000. I'm gonna take it. No Tragodia. All right, and you can't do Gores because you got something face down. There's another 3,000. And now I summon Zeus, which I pulled this... No, I wish. That would be incredible. <laughs> Isn't that also banned? Uh, I don't remember. It might be. It's either it, it, it might. I might just be thinking about Saga. All right, let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. All right. Let's summon a... Speedroid Terror Top. Oh, fancy. Uh, okay. Mm. I will allow for this. What oh, talk talk. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. You're Borgen. I am Borgen. Borger. So they tell me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. Let's activate Borg. Oh. Yeah, we're playing speedroids this week, baby! Oh, okay. I thought this was maybe just an engine to do something. 
Oh no, I mean, it is an engine to do something, and that thing that it does is summon speed roids. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sure. We're gonna make a All level right. eight. Oh, you bet I'm making a level eight. I said I was playing speed roids this week, and baby, I intend to deliver. Oh, High well, speed I'm roids. Let that go through. <laughs> Um, Horde of Heaven! Yeah, I'll use the fucking kite drake. Wait, it still gets its effect? Yes! Oh, we'll see how much good that does me. We'll see. Uh, oh, if it's... Okay, add a speed... I thought it's. A, I thought you were about to destroy all cards on the field. Oh, no. God, I wish. Uh, I was like, I thought I, I negated would... the summon. What happened? I'm going to add Speedroid Red-Eyed Dice to my hand. Things are getting dicey. They... <laughs> you might say. I did say. Uh, let's try for this thing. It's not my favorite thing, but we're going to try for it. I'm going to summon Ohaja Kid. Summon my Den Den Daikaduk. Right. All right. Um, and we will summon... Oh, oh, okay. Virtual World Jizha. Yeah, take that. I could have, I could have stopped that, but unfortunately, I didn't hold down left click. I bet you could have. Oh, uh, if you were thinking about on the summon, I oh, Haja Kid oh, summons it's... as part of its effect. Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, uh, that makes sense. Let's. I was, here I was sitting here like, did I not hold it down? I thought I had it. I guess I just missed the window. Here you were, stuck in the middle with me. Uh, I have the ability to do a pretty funny play. No, I don't, because I can only summon wind monsters for the rest of this turn. Okay, we're 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 just we're we're going. Uh, we're going to battle. In fact. Oh, okay. And I can't do that. Main phase two. <laughs> Avermax, <laughs> hell of a card. Yeah, uh, I can only attack him. I am going to have to activate Zhezhe here. So let's do that. I'll banish the now useless Kite Drake. Goodbye, Kite Drake. And the Takatom Borg? Yeah. And I'm going to send to the grave this card back here. Oh, I might as well use it then. Ah! <laughs> Ixi import. What? <laughs> I can attach your uh, uh, speedroid tear top as material. Um. It's pretty okay, neat. Now, what? now I got two um, materials. Even bigger, Zeus. I do not think I can win from here. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. You're hoping to make some kind of a link play after that? Uh, God, I had a really, really good monster I could have summoned this turn if I weren't wind locked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's the story of speedroids in a nutshell. Man, these would be good if you could summon anything other than wind. There's some pretty good wind monsters, but there's not enough wind monsters. Yeah, I'll let you take your victory lap on this Yay! one. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. I was I felt like I was so close to getting to getting out of this. Fortunately, I... That kite drake. That kite drake felt like such a powerful play. It was so good, but it just wasn't good enough. Yep. And unfortunately, right. it's just like, yeah, I just got the god hand that time. I mean, you can't really blame anything on that. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, um, this actually, this hand mm. does the thing, except I drew the card! Ah! Okay. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I, I've i never heard of a garnet in my life. Let's go Terra Top. A terrible top. It's got blades and everything. They tell me. Is is this is uh, this like an action scene? Like, is it the one top, and you're just seeing like it's moving so fast, it's got like the the reaction lines, or is it yes, like a string I of tops? Yes, I think so. 
I think it is one top and you're seeing the like you're seeing the line of play. You're seeing it bouncing around. Yeah, it's making the big S Zoro. Uh let's normal summon Stratos. Interesting. Stratos. We'll add Stratos. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, this is a moment where I really, really wish that I had successfully finished side decking. But we'll <laughs> we'll work with what we got. Gotta go uh, fast. Sonic the Hedgehog. I am going to summon rubber band shooter oh oh hello and then we're going to activate the takatan board in hand i don't see no rubber band on that and then we are going to link summon <laughs> mecha phantom <laughs> beast aurora dawn come on our aurora dawn <laughs> uh, i didn't think you would bring in the mafia here come on with the okay. aurora dawn all right, here goes. We're gonna summon this. We're gonna summon this. We're gonna summon this. Three of them things. And we're gonna activate the Aurora Dawn. I see a gosh we're darn O Lion. Oh, you bet there's gonna be a gosh darn O Lion. He brings shame and that to O Lion is going to synchro into Ding Dong the Long. You know, I invented Chaos Draft to get away from modern Yu-Gi-Oh! RJ, and now you got Tier Lament and Aurora Dawn combos. This oh, let is me just tell like you, Master this, Duel. This combo is not that good. Um, <laughs> now, I, I, I have to figure out what I can do with my turn from here. <laughs> There's kind of a world where I get a very, very powerful card on the board. And then also a world where I whiff and die. Huh. You got like a danger you got to activate or something? Um, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just going to set two to pass. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Neat. Yep. Yep, my deck is very powerful, Hardplay Joe. Ah, oh, I see. I, I need see. you to understand that. Uh, it's a very good deck. Fortunately, I've run into a problem that I think you've had before, which is that uh, I, by doing a certain thing, I put myself off doing other things that are also certain. Mm, hmm. I feel you. 2,800 defense. That is a lot of defense. I think beep, I beep, have beep. to go for this first, though. We're gonna we're gonna start thrashing. As expected, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna normal summon firewall. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, let me think about this. There are within me. There are two wolves. One that works really well if you've got monster removal, and one that works really well if you've got negation. And I cannot decide which one will be better. Yeah, let's let's put you. I'm more afraid of those back row than anything. Howdy. Nani. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's just uh, blow it all up. Well, you have indeed forced it. Here's the nine pillars. All right. So I was kind of screwed, no matter what I did. True. All right. Okay. Going to special summon Link Slayer. I love that you can just keep going after that. It's pretty Imagine neat. being able to normal summon and then play a combo. It's an MST. Okay, good. Yeah. Most good indeed. Um, Ex exclusion. And I'll just go to battle phase. Holy shit. And we'll just run over that token. Nonsense. Less material for you. True. And also, I can't run over anything else. <laughs> also true. All right. All right. That's an okay card. It's normal summon. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh oh, got something cool brewing over there. I can keep Aurora donning. Yeah, because it could tribute itself. It could destroy a card on my field if you feel like it. Hmm, I am very tempted. 
Uh, that's that's me. The fruit of another really tempted me right here. Uh, let's normal summon Stratos. All right. To activate Stratos. Okay. Gonna add Stratos. Truly groundbreaking stuff we're up to today. Seems logical. All right, I'm gonna roar it on. It can sacrifice any monster. Ah, I see. And that does not... Gotcha. Well, let me see. So Rordon can be used as Link material. He just can't do it the turn it's summoned. Correct. All right. Well, let's bounce it back so you have three less material then. Okay. Uh, let's... I don't know, battle phase? Okay. 19 direct. All right. Simplified game state. I know one of those yes, two sorry. cards is um is Stratos, and you've already searched two Stratos, so you can't possibly search a third Stratos. Uh, all I right. can't because the the other two are in my graveyard. We're thrashing. We're thrashing around. Thrashing and bashing. I mean, I could just attack, but then you would just get another Yang Zing, right? That is the effect. <laughs> what a normal summon diameter. Ooh, we diameting. Oh, I can use this? Oh, I've got another Cybers in the graveyard. I thought it had to be a math mech. Uh-oh. That changes the calculus just a little bit. Okay. Um... All right, all Concerned. right. Concerned. Let's go ahead. Yeah, howdy, guys, howdy. Be good. Yeah. Let me search. Yeah. I want it. That's a problem. Time to get circular. I've only got Never one, but you only need is one. the one that gives you a negate. <laughs> that too. Do they all give you negates? No, it's just diameter. Oh, yeah. Well, I I Which may is... or may not have have punted this <laughs> by way of not putting the diameter somewhere that is not the field. <laughs> uh, I was I was really expecting you to do so. I did not I I I don't think I have properly ever read a math mech card, and I was clearly not going to start today. I get about halfway through these cards effects, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's the vaguely the one that does this. It's the did one. Did not realize it was both vaguely the card that summons a guy from your graveyard and the guy that negates. Yeah. Um, let me see here. These two, and we're gonna make Light Dragon at Ignister. Rip. Okay. And we'll use that effect. Put that back in the graveyard and yeah. pop your thing. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And we just go to battle. Yep. Now is our final battle. It's a House of the Dead reference. You don't appear to be summoning anything, RJ. I am not. <laughs> well. Okay, well, now I feel a little bad for uh, letting you resolve that, <laughs> that compulse. <laughs> I was hoping to keep you off the things. I was hoping that you were hoping for that. Well, that's fine. A fun fact All about right. Circular, if I use it, I can only attack with one monster anyway. Oh, God, this is just the best card I could have possibly drawn right now. Got that up, the second MST? Uh... No. I, I feel like, I mean, I don't want to assume, you know, maybe you've got something cooking up there, but I think I may have chefed up a win. You, you may have. Just call me uh, Chef Hardleg, Master, Master Cooker. That's, that's what they call you, for sure. I uh, can't see you on things. You Chef Dance. Oh, uh, the, good, good. You deserve a little chef dance. Ow. Let's activate Nessie. Ah, I hit my funny bone on the... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not it's very... The little wins. <laughs> it's not very funny at all. <laughs> what do they call it? No! <laughs> oh, hey. You appear to have hit the Nessie off of the Nessie. 
I need you to not read into that too much. Uh, you uh, can add a danger from your deck to your hand. I, I, you know? <laughs> what? Is your hand like one Yang Zing and one danger? <laughs> you just happen to get both of them. I need you to not concern <laughs> yourself with these things. <laughs> Oh, poor RJ, running around with his heads full of eyeballs. Okay, um, I think I can win the game here, right? I would be shocked if you could. Well, the thing is, Thrasher can't attack. And... Pff. I have a measly 7,900. Yeah, you got most of your life points. And I'm running out of... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I thought I was running out of Ixies. But it turns out I have the one oh, that yeah, you sent Oh yeah, I compulsed back. it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Go for 3,000? Yep. Okay. For a second I was like, oh wait, I forgot to play around Gores. <laughs> in, in a, you know, in a format like this, it's like, if you pull a Gores in one of those earlier ones, it's like, ah, I might as well play it. I mean... Yeah. Um, and then I could do this in the battle phase. Yep. Is that, is that it? Is mm. that, do I... I assume it can attack. I hope I didn't misread that and just waste my, like, Find only out. interaction. Oh yeah, I could still attack. Okay, 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 we did. I was worried but I didn't. Uh, you got we should have prepared. Another win! I don't need the dragon rulers. I don't need any banned cards. I just need one circular and a dream to get me another chaos coin. Ha cha 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 cha. You got it. You you definitely got it. Man, I this was this was never gonna work out. <laughs> Are neat. You should you should keep playing them. It might it might work out for you. You know. I was like, they do something cute. They're kind of cool. They, they have a thing. <laughs> no, it's funny. I'll, I'll I'll let you know right now. But, well, I guess. Did you want to do another duel? Try to see what you could do. Maybe uh, take let's something. Let's do a, Let's do another duel. Let's okay. see what we can. Let's see what we can do. Do you want to? Do you want me to take something out of my deck? Something that you're considering banning to see if that makes a difference. Oh, no, but I, I will, I am going to, I am going to pre-side just a little bit so you can see the funny side deck tech okay. I've got going on. Sounds this good. Is, this is a very funny side deck tech I have access to. We'll be right back. Right. Okay, we have a plan. We can finally see what RJ was planning. The RJ stands for the real journey that we're going to oh, be going shit. on. Oh, shit, except I drew into it. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we're gonna activate Terror Top. Hello, Terror Top. Every 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 world is a world in which we're activating Terror Top. I'll activate Taka Yep. Okay. Uh, I, don't even know what I the will. Tomborg is supposed to be. It's not a toy I've ever seen. I know. I'm really. It's it's. I. It is almost certainly some Japanese thing that we are not privy to. Okay. What's my actual plan? Because that's our normal summon. That only synchro locks me, right? We are going to. I mean, I could do. I could just do the combo. I can just do the combo if I want. And so we're gonna just do the combo for now. All right. Uh, and then I will use my normal summon. We're going to not normal summon that one. We're gonna normal summon this one. I like how you're not using rubber band shooter for its effect. It's just a wind uh, link. <laughs> I would be using its effect if I didn't draw into all of the speed roids ah. that I can get its effect off. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. <laughs> Too many speed roids. All right, Aurora Dawn, let's go. All right. We've had enough fun this game. They're back. Summon the tokens. Yep. Gonna use it. That's, that's, that's how you know Aurora Dawn likes the Mary Jane. You know, it's always token. <laughs> gonna, gonna need to be token after this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's 
so I know why. <laughs> um, God, that so almost does what I need it to do. It so severely almost does what I need it to do. So many catastrophes. I. The good news is, I didn't draw my dang long target this time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get an extra card. I didn't even know dang long searched. I forgot. It does. This is uh, one of those cards that some like some say its primary purpose as what, a card. When, when it came out, I was just like, "Oh, this is broken." And at the time, what a deck was about making uh, decks that like would survive the ban list. So if something was mm -hmm. obviously broken, I just refused to play it. So, like, there's these weird gaps in my memory where it's just like, ah, I don't know what Denglong does. I don't know what Summon Sorceress does. I never played it. Okay. Um. Surely this deck can do something after this. Not this turn, it can't. All right. Uh, let's set a mysterious back row. Could be anything. It could be literally anything. Could be figuratively uh, anything. Could metaphorically be anything. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Surely you didn't open Mystical Space Typhoon. I did not. I okay. did open something funny, though. So, Ooh, there's that. I do like funny. Yeah. Um, so, let's go ahead and activate Mathmex Subtraction. Let's just minus your uh, attack by a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I guess we just normal summon this. Sure. Okay. And... Alrighty. And... Oh, if I'd done this a different way, I could have had a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh. Well... So, I'm, it's pretty much guaranteed what that back row is. And unfortunately, Al Alan Burchard is just like, do a thing on summon. So, I don't yep. think I could make... I don't, I don't think we could make our good friend Alan today. Hmm, unfortunate. Not this time. Uh, instead, we're just gonna make... We're gonna make this. Uh, let's go ahead in the extra monster zone. Because I'm feeling spicy there it today. Is. Yeah, light dragon. Um, let me see, you searched that, that trap, right? I've never heard the, the of The nine thing. pillars, yeah, I can see it here, okay. Uh, um, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Shuffle that card into the deck. Brutal. There are only like seven pillars, surely there aren't actually. Okay, so we go to battle. Okay. Uh, we're just, we're just getting rid of the board on. I don't want you to have that. Honestly? Thank you. <laughs> that Aurora Dawn keeps me from being able to summon a crucial monster. Okay. We're going to set that. We're going to set that. That's a lot of back row. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Um, boop, 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 boop. Ah, that's, that's funny. This is very funny. Should I try to be funny? I think I should try to be funny. I just hope... All right. So I am going to activate Reborn the Monster, and I will take your Aurora. This card is link summoned. I'm gonna. That's sure. Sure. Yeah. Oh, because you contribute a guy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tribute the Aurora Dawn. That's cute. Uh, well, I mean, this was this was going to accomplish functionally the exact same thing, no matter what happened yeah. here. So yeah, here's the nine pillars. There we go. I just had to bait out the nine pillars, one way or another. Um, should I blow up the Denglong level five tuner? I'm not wholly clear on how. What just happened to my nine pillars? Uh, let's see. Is there some reason I can't activate trap cards currently? Uh, the gates. Oh, and then destroy. I think because you didn't shuffle it into the deck, it didn't work because it was in the graveyard or something. There's some weird, like, interaction there. At least when that's what I think. spell trap or monster effect is activated, and it just says that card... 
What? <laughs> I, I don't know. Someone in chat. Oh, uh, whatever. Coder, figure this out. This is swanny. This was going to happen an identical way, no matter what happened here. Yeah. It's fine regardless. The only the only thing that sucks is that I have one less material. Okay. What are we gonna do here? Stuff. Things, perhaps. Can you beat perhaps. over twenty three hundred? Yeah, I'm going to normal summon Teratop. Interesting. Alright. Add red-eyed dice. Gotcha. Alright, we're going to activate the red-eyed dice. Or we're going to activate Dead Dead. I was going to say, red-eyed dice doesn't do anything in the hand as far as I'm aware of. Uh, it will do something now, however. Let's see, what do I want to do with it? Change so I have a level. really cool card that's going to immediately get eviscerated by a single copy of Compulsory Evacuation Device. <laughs> so I'm not particularly compelled to summon it at the moment. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to make this a four. So level five synchro or a level nine? Eight? Holy shit, I can make the funny dude. I'm not going to make the funny dude, <laughs> but I can make the funny dude. Uh, uh, funny. Let's go for the slightly less funny, but uh, similarly effective dude. Let's go for Kite Drake. Oh. Kite time. Oh, Boom. you're going to destroy all of the... Co come on. Boom. I had gravity binds. Gravity binds? <laughs> It's, it's very funny. I got it an earlier pack, right. you know? Like, Mister's Let's... like, what happened? <laughs> Everyone just left. <laughs> Everything disappeared. <laughs> it's so rude. Uh, I'm going to banish two wins from my graveyard. The dragon rulers have betrayed me! <laughs> <laughs> Tempest, what are you doing over there? Orqua. Yeah, I really probably shouldn't have said. Well, I mean, I guess the the chances that you had something that destroyed all the spell traps were pretty low. All right, main phase two. I'm gonna set a back row. Uh, and two pass the turn. Oh, I think I'm just dead here. Probably, maybe. Uh, let's see. That does very little. Oh, wait. Uh, this has just been my entire okay. experience playing against you while you're playing Math Max. Is you being like, oh, damn, I can't do anything. And then just like five minutes later being like, oh, no, I just win the game yeah. on the spot. I have discovered. Behold, Code Generator. Ooh. And then I will summon the most wicked kid. So wicked. Why well, didn't... Oh, I have to make a code talk. I thought it was just if it was used as a link material. That guy looks like I yield my code. time! <laughs> okay. I, I think, I think I'm probably head. dead. Maybe. Well, I guess that's gone. Probably. There's no way yeah. you have two more wins in the graveyard. There's, Certainly uh, not. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's, oh, yeah. Haji Kid. Oh, hello. Is he like pointing his finger guns? Yeah. That American flag hat. No That's not a speed roid. Doesn't have to be. It just <laughs> has to be a tuner. A goita. Okay, you get the token. We're just, we're just. <laughs> I still didn't get to do the funny thing. So the funny thing that this deck can do against Mathmech exactly is I have three copies of Super Poly, which I can Super Poly away all of your cybers for the uh, the fucking Salaman Great. No, it's not the Salaman. <laughs> it's Duplexer Chimera. <laughs> Can't believe you're playing Duplexer Chimera. 
I pulled it this week and I was like, oh, hey, that's really good against Math The only good was Super Poly. Uh, oh, wow. Destroyed this has my been. Battle, right? Yeah. Yeah, surely that'll help you out. That, that'll help. There's this more than damn. Yeah, my, my <laughs> spicy tech that I drew this week was a uh, desynchro. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Would have been really funny if I drew it, but I only had one. It didn't work out very well. All right, uh, a shockingly fine. good match. Yeah, I'm I, surprised I didn't get annihilated on the spot. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's one of those things where it feels like half the time we play, and it's like, wow, this is really one-sided. Then we get to the third match and realize that one of us just got very lucky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I will say, I realized halfway through the match, I was like, uh, uh, in deck build, I was like, this deck is extremely good at making Geo Math Mech Final Sigma. Mm. Extremely good at it. Just pumps the dude out like it's nobody's business. The problem is it does that very well on turns where I've made Aurora Dawn, and therefore have an Aurora Dawn taking up my extra monsters. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still a 3,000 who does a lot of damage or whatever, but... Yeah. That's true. He does do a lot of damage, but man, uh, not 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 as good when you have to make him on a turn when you've you've made Aurora Dawn. That, I probably oh, yeah. could have used a, like, a, 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 like, Psyframe Omega or something. Something like that, yeah. I mean, that's fun fact. I have an Omega. I didn't play it for that exact reason, because every time I was like, I, could I make a 12? Yeah, but I, I have a link, so it doesn't really do a whole lot of anything. But I could do it. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, so the thing I had been considering last turn uh, is my Swordsel Chungying <laughs> that I've been sitting on for this whole time. <laughs> Problem is it just dies to exactly compulsory evacuation yeah, device. Yeah, there's so many cards in it. So I guess that brings up the question is, what are you going to ban? Are you going to hit Compulse? So this is an interesting situation. So next week, next week, what is the chaos rule? The chaos rule is we cannot play a card that's ever been on the ban list in any number. So if it's ever been semi-limited or limited, it's it's gone. Oh. Yeah. So like in next week's format, I don't have to worry about dragon rulers because they've they've all been they've all been banned. Yeah, and I believe uh, circular is on the list currently. We're just yes, going by the TCG list, not the, not the OCG. So, and after that, we've got Bylander, we've got Extreme Highlander, and we've got um, we've got Anti Chaos. Yeah. And of those, two of those weeks, you can't play the other monster that I'm really considering, which is Avramax. Unless I have two uh, Avramax. Unless you have two Avramax, that's a very good point. If you happen to have pulled two Avramax out of the Chaos Pack, <laughs> that would that would just end my life. Um, what cards have I been have I been concerned? I could like hit your Super Factorial, but in like Bylander and Extreme Highlander, those cards like the the Math Max aren't nearly as consistent. Yeah, in that format, unless I have it again. It for those people who don't know, Bylander, we have where you have to play, uh, you have to play a card at two. Can't play it at one. Can't play it at three. So you have to have two of whatever card you're building. Uh, and I will let you know, I do have two Allen version and two Laplacian. I just don't That's have. A good point. <laughs> I don't have two Super Factorial. I don't have two Circular. So unless I pull one of those in the next two weeks, it's pretty safe. I won't be on this. So I still think probably the correct ban this week is either Avramax or a Dragon Ruler. And I think the answer is I should ban... I'm going to ban Avramax this week. That, that I seems think I'm like going to ban Avramax. Idea. It, it Avermax always... is an extremely good card at any time you can get two linked monsters on the board, you just win the game. Yeah, and I'm starting to get enough cyber stuff that it's, it's really becoming a problem. It was one of those things you had to build around last time. Well, plus in general, you know me, it always feels bad when you have to ban a card that doesn't show up. And Avramax yeah. absolutely like won that first duel. 
It did. Uh, I would have been in okay shape if I had drawn the super poly or if you hadn't discarded exactly the mirror force. Yeah. <laughs> but with Avramax, no mirror force and no super poly, I was in a little bit of trouble. Even with the mirror force, like, yeah, you destroy him, but, uh, you know, he shuffles back something when he leaves the field. And then, like, you know, Soul Charge, Monster Reborn, anything could just bring him back, and he has all his effects and everything. It's yep. crazy. So, probably good. You know, I can put him on the thumbnail now. It'll be nice to see him off. I'm glad we're we're finally getting rid of a lot of these big Link monsters, making it really difficult. We're now down to, like, Boral Sword battles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should be interesting. So, yeah, check that out. As we said, next week, anything that's ever been banned completely gone so you won't be seeing dragon rulers for sure probably not going to be seeing math mechs unless i come up with like a weird cybers pile and uh I don't know. you will be spared from tier limit you'll be spared from tier limit you'll be spared from, i mean you can't play stratos <laughs> it's true i can, uh, many of my decks are in a lot of trouble this yeah next week. i mean i'm just looking at my hand here and it's like i've got foolish burial and monster reborn like i can't play those anymore those are oh yeah, one. I've got Monster Reborn, Soul Charge, Mirror Force, Super Poly, yeah. all of which are cards I cannot <laughs> play in this format. This this might be trickier than we think, so tune in to, to check that out. And until then, good luck! And have fun. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode 20, the big 2-0. We're officially, between the two of us, we don't have any more fingers. We can't go True. higher. We you'll, are done. We are done. We are out of fingers. Yep. You'll just have fingerless. We'll, we'll have to get a special guest or something, or maybe you, you people will just have to know the numbers without the fingers. Hopefully you're smart enough for that. By the way, welcome. I hope you, <laughs> what am I saying? Why am I insulting the audience? <laughs> as soon as they get here? No, no, you're all lovely. Welcome. Hi audience. I'm you glad, all suck. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you sub you're smart enough to subscribe. That's the important part. True. I'm true. of course, hard leg Joe. Joined by the PJ McGuire of Yugi Tube, the RJB Zero. All right, let's head over again to <laughs> Google. <laughs> I'm making you learn so much. That's secretly why I invited you on here, just to get you to learn a bunch of random trivia. A major leader in labor movements, the United Car Brotherhood of Carpenters. Is this because we've been talking about unionizing all night? Uh, somewhat. He's frequently credited as the father of Labor Day. He was the one who ah. kind of spearheaded it in becoming a holiday. And we say that because we're recording this today on Labor Day, which is not Labor Day for us because we we're not in any kind of YouTubers union. Those don't exist at the moment, so our boss is just like, you gotta put out content, you gotta keep doing it. But it's fine. This work is this is more this is this is fun work, you know, you have fun here, right? Usually. You usually. Hopefully Except today. when I'm trying to play what was Speedroid versus Math Mech. No, no, no it's fine, it's <laughs> Actually, fine. I say that. I had a blast getting absolutely dumpstered by Math Mech last week. <laughs> I hope that I hope that if I lose this week I have as much fun as I did. I can either have no fun winning or have a lot of fun losing. I'm happy with either of those endings. Yeah! I suppose there's also having fun winning, but I, uh, looking at my track record with my decks, that seems unlikely. <laughs> it's difficult. Some of the decks you have are clearly meant for no one to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this isn't one of those today. It's going to be hard today because today's chaos rule, if you don't remember from last week, is uh, we cannot play any card that has ever been on the TCG ban list. Whether it's been yep. banned, limited, semied, if it's been there, it's gone, which means... If nothing else, no compulse. That You say if nothing else, as if uh, that takes away my Armageddon Knight, my Stratos, my <laughs> Hero Lives. That takes away all my e tellies that I've been using for Synchro Plays, the Soul Charges, the Monster Reborns. Pretty much everything that's made up my collection so far is it, unusable. It takes out a whole week. lot of stuff. But that, that in particular, you know, I always say in, in this... This series is almost defined by compulsory evacuation device because it's so easy to get, it shows up almost immediately, and anytime you put like two monsters together to make an extra deck monster, you have to ask yourself like, does this play lose to compulse? Because it's gonna, like that or something True. equivalent is gonna be there. And now it's gone. Now we don't have to worry about that. Now is the age of punch in the box. That's that's a serious threat again. <laughs> We're back to punch in the box. If we're even playing that. 
Yeah, and also, if you missed last time, Jules, go ahead and put up the ban list for everyone. We're trying to make that a regular thing. And then, uh, last time, my boy Avramax finally off to become the world legacy. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been beaten by Avramax that much, but every time you put, like, two cyber monsters on the board, I have to start wondering if my hand traps are going to make it that far. He's one of those things that you, like, giant trunade, where it didn't necessarily come up. It was more the fact that because you knew it could show up, you had to build around it. You had to make sure, like, do I have something that outs Avramax? Because he's one of the few yep. things that Compulse does not hit. He can't be targeted. True. So he's gone. A lot of other stuff is gone. We're going to have to pull some things, but not too strong of things. And then hopefully build some fun decks. And perhaps we'll even get a mirror match. That's what I'm predicting. I guess we'll You're find predicting? out. You're predicting? That's really concerning. <laughs> Let's look into it as we jump into... The pool hall. Ah, get it? Ah. <laughs> ah, ah. All right, here we are. The pools for episode 20. You can't see it, but I'm holding my feet up as well. And Twitch chat is here doing cats in the chat, being nice, being adorable as they do. And if we, we somehow didn't mention it at the beginning, which hopefully we did, today's uh, chaos rule is... No card that has ever been on the TCG ban list can be played. Whether it's been forbidden, limited, or semi-limited, if it's ever seen the list, even for a week, it's not allowed today. Which means Dragon Rulers, completely out. A lot of my Cyber stuff, completely out. Although not all of the Cyber stuff. There's, there's enough Cyber stuff that we can still play, and Earth Machines are practically unhit. So those are the two things we'll be pulling for this time. Earth machines and cyber stuff. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hold back from taking any of those power one ofs, those power cards from early in the series that, that are usually really good, unless there's like nothing else to pick. Um and in this case, like, well, painful choice is banned anyway. What is it like jar of greed? Yeah, we already get polymerization. Um Let's take Banisher of the Radiance. He's funny. All right. So, you know, <laughs> I, I feel like I, I, feel, I feel like speed roids are a viable deck, right? To buy, 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 anyway, we're going to be opening packs this week. We have a lot of things to look out for. We're going to be looking out for Earth Machines because this week we are not allowed to play cards that were on the Forbidden and Limited list and basically no Earth Machine ever was ever Forbidden or Limited. We're also going to be looking out for Tri-Brigade and Tri-Type stuff this week. For Anti-Chaos, that is a very, very good lineup. Unfortunately, both Shireg and Tri-Heart are dark because Konami specifically was trolling me this week. Uh, we're also going to be looking for some additional maybe even speedroid stuff who knows let's get into the pack opening all right we're starting off really strong here uh i don't think i've ever seen seen an opening this strong hilariously so uh, limiter removal is a really good card for machines uh but hilariously we're gonna be playing machines this week and limited rule uh, or limiter removal has been limited before it has been limited before. There, There is a leg. That's true, Emperor Stove. We do have a leg to represent the hard leg. For perhaps, for the sake of intimidation, we should take the leg. Has Mask of Restrict ever been limited? It's Mask of Restrict, weirdly, has never been forbidden or limited. I think that's probably the take. I don't know what hard leg is going to be tributing. But maybe he will. A door of chouse. Uh, dice foon. Again, we were just talking about we might need for future episodes. There, there's an episode where we can't play a card if we own more than one copy of it, and I'm pretty sure we don't have dice foon. And this also is something that like might be spell trap removal in a format where we're not allowed to play any other spell trap removal. So, sure, we'll pick up one copy. Star strike blast. That's another Inashichi. We do love to see that. In fact, I am going to just take that Inashichi. Legendary Duelist. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler? Effect Veiler. 
Effect Veiler is very good. Now that I got two of it, it's even better good. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. That looks like a reroll to me. Uh, Lightning's pretty good for our speedroid potentials. If I'm going to ban something from Dragon Rulers, it's going to be Blaster. So let's keep up that vibe, and I'm going to consider re-rolling this for our Redox. Are you ready, kids? One, two, three, hit it. Clash of Rebellions. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, hey, another Trick Clown. I've been waiting my whole life for a Trick Clown or a Hat Tricker. Uh, let me look at how my Perform Mages are doing. Perform Mage. Uh, I've got three Hat Tricker. I've got three of these. Another Trick Clown. That allows me to play it in... Hmm... The question is, do you really want another Trick Clown? As it stands, I can play it, like, that'll allow me to play it in the 2 format, but not in the Extreme Highlander format. But I don't have any way to dump it in the Extreme Highlander format. Yeah, screw it. We'll just take it. High Speed Riders! Contrary to popular belief, this actually is probably a pretty good pack for me. Is that a Psyframe Lord Zeta? I kind of want to take another Speed Rider Ohachi <laughs> kit. Yeah, let's get Zeta. I've actually weirdly been ha having trouble with being really good at setting up level 7's turn 2, but not having anything to go into with level 7's turn 1. Infinite gold! Oh, hello there, Hope Harbinger. There's also a mistake. Could get to a mistake. Uh, yeah, we'll just take the second one. This will allow us to play it in Bylander. Chaos Impact. That's a gallant granite. I will not lie. I have been looking for some rock monsters to work with. Two level four monsters. You add a rock monster from your deck to your hand. Special summon a rock monster from your hand. Gallant granite's pretty decent. I'll take it. Good for our impending rock plan here. Light's Revenge. Oh, oh, hey. Uh, do I already have a Galaxy Soldier? I have two Galaxy Soldiers. I could get a third Galaxy Soldier, and then that would allow me to make the Cyber Nova Dragon that I got and go into Cyber Dragon Infinity. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and take the Galaxy Soldier. Mystic Fighters. Hey, look, our third lightning dragon ruler of drafts. I guess we'll take lightning. This will complete our set of tempesty things. And that frees us up to re-roll Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. That seems pretty good. Let's do that. Infinity Chasers. This has the Infinitrax. We like those. We did not get an Infinitrax. I guess, I guess we take the spin turn. Sure. Let's move on. Ancient Guardians. Show me the second Dogdo Abyss! I was just about to make a joke about the second Ogdo Abyss. Folks, we can play this in Bylander. <laughs> we can now officially play Ogdo Abyss in Bylander. And the cool thing about Ogdo Abyss in Bylander is we also have two copies of the, uh, the Ogdo Attic a continuous spell that's basically just repeatable monster reborn for Ogdo Abyss. Yeah, we're taking that. We are so taking that. We are absolutely doing the Ogdo Abyss thing. Revenge. Ooh. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Now there is a secret rare card. There's something that might be use. How many Kaijus do I have again? I know I have quite a few. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's only one, but anytime you can have a dark hole that summons and then searches kaijus, you're, you're doing pretty good. The Grand Creators. Okay, so the Grand Creators is a funny one for us right now. So we have Rite of Aramisir and we have Water Enchantress. There are good cards in the Grand Creators for us. Holy shit, there is also Foxy Tune. Um, wow, that's not bad. How far are we from, from Extreme Highlander? Because Extreme Highlander is the reason for us to do adventurer stuff. We are three weeks from Extreme Highlander. Yeah, I can take a Foxy Tune now. Absolutely, I can take a Foxy Tune now. 
Maximum Gold. This has the Transcode Talker. It's what we've been waiting for. Any Code Talker would be nice. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, we got it right there. We don't have to do the rerolls at all. We, we rerolled enough last time. Da 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 We'll take, we'll take the Chaos Valkyria. I think it's just a good card. And finally, Crystal Revenge. Sure, we'll take that. That's a Cybers. It might, it might work out. And now for the Chaos Packs. Hardleg's Chaos Pack is very powerful for a couple of strategies that we're on, namely Earth Machine and Speedroids. There's a Den Den Daiko Duke for our Speedroids. We do like to have a couple of copies of that. Cucumber Horse is very funny. That's not good, though. Uh, yeah, let's take the Den Den. And now for the Chaos Packs. As always, both me and RJ, this entire series, trying to get Machina, Machina Force, Machina Force. Uh, probably won't happen this time, but, you know, we like, we like to pretend. It's at least an Earth Machine. I'm half tempted to get the Saki Tama because it's just another, another thing. This specifically searches... Oh, it's three Earth Machines. Yeah, I probably need to take that, even though this is, like, really good in general. Although we didn't get any Earth, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's rare. Let's take it. Now for the second Hard Leg Chaos Pack. Always paying attention to that bottom portion. That has the real good stuff in it, but not this time. This pack is suspect, as they say. Red Time Emitter is pretty solid, and it'll be pretty good during Extreme Highlander format. I think that's what we're going to grab here. And the next one! Uh... Oh, hey, Redox. I can get a third Redox. Unfortunately, I think I already have three of the Trencher. Let me just double track, double check. Yeah, I got three of those already. Do I have three Revolving Switchyard? No, I have two of those. Well, that does make the Earth Machines a little bit better, so let's just take that third revolving switchyard. All right, and then it's time for my pack. That's another wind-up magician. This is a card I pass up frequently. We love the Reshidol uh, uh, incarnation that I put into this pack because I forgot that it wasn't Schism. We do not have a single baby Cerasaurus, though, so we'll take that. And then RJ's stinky little packs... Walking around, not doing anything. Uh, I guess I could take a Raiden that gets some stuff in the graveyard. Scrap Wyvern and needs a scrap monster. And I don't think we have a scrap. No, we don't even have a scrap to summon it. And this is technically an Earth Machine, but only for Gyrgyas. Battle Fader would be funny. Do I have a Battle Fader? I do, I have one, and I'll probably want to keep it that way. Yeah, let's just take the Raiden. What do we got? Oh, we got the Cyber Dragon Nova! Yo, wait! <laughs> Yo, wait, we got the Cyber Dragon Nova! We have acquired it! It's here! Infinity is online! Motherfuckers! When are we going to use it? Who the hell knows? But we can now, and that's the important thing. All right, last pack. Can we get like a second Nova or something? Oh, well, Lightning Vortex. Breakthrough skill is not a bad trap at all. Yeah, I already have one of those. I think I want to keep it that way. Is redeployment? It would be if I had any Machinas. I guess I have exactly two. So this does search them. Probably better than nothing. Sure, we'll go ahead and take it. Why not? And there we go. We got quite a few things. Not a whole lot for this episode, but we still do get our rerolls. Maybe we can get that decode talker heat soul. That would make all the difference. All right, maximum gold. What you got? Mmm, bunch of banned cards, by which I mean Eldritch and no other cards worth looking at. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah. Ooh, hey, Trunade. 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 Hey, Tr
Hey, True Nade's kind of sick. Hey, True Nade is kind of sick. It's not Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds, but we will consider Hey, True Nade as our reroll this time. All right, and now we have the rerolls, and I'm pretty much using all of them on Ghost from the Past, Second Haunting, unless I get extra. We're just trying to get Deco Talker Heat Soul. If we can get that, it'll be good for our Cybers pile. Uh, Code Radiator, pretty nice, pretty nice. I think we want the proxy, we keep the old proxy horse still, but no, let's try again. Number two. That's not, that's not anything. That doesn't mean we'll take whatever. All right, our next re-roll is going to be from Ghosts from the Past. This is a pack that is chock full of metal foes. That's not one of them. Mm, let's try again. Nah. Update jammer's cool, but we already have it. Not looking good for our hero, is it? Huh? Wow, we're just really striking out on ghosts from the past. Uh, let's try it again. Metal Foe's combination is an okay Metal Foe. Yeah, we'll take the combination. Okay, tap number three. Rose Spectral of Dawn. I'm done. Tell you what. There goes number four. That ain't, that ain't nothing. Vampire. Sure. Pack number five. Feeling alive. Feeling dead. Feeling... Oh, no. Yeah, let's go into infinite gold. Let's do it. Let's try it out. This has a bunch of really cool stuff in it. <laughs> Scott Maxi. Uh, Galaxy Cyclone is kind of cool. Do I have this one already? I think we just keep the M7 here. It's not great, but we'll keep it. Pack number six, come on! Uh, ghost tricks. Okay, lucky number seven. Show me that number seven. Let's flip it up. It's a uh, code explorer. Okay, we got one more shot. One opportunity. Mom spaghetti. Let's see it. Can I get the decode heat soul? Show me the heat soul. I did not, I did not get it. A sad state of affairs. And finally, for my pity packs for the week, I am taking my one crack at the ultimate traditional art. We've been pulling some pretty nutty punk things and I wouldn't mind some Karakuris on the side. Let's see what we can get. Starting off with another amazing dragon is not bad, but I think the real winner here is the second copy of Zay Amen. Amazing Dragon is going to be very helpful for us if we want to take Punk into Bylander Week. But so will Zayaman. Zayaman's a super rare in the Grand Creators. Amazing Dragon is an ultra rare there as well. Hmm. I think the chances that I can run Punk in Bylander are very, very low. So I might as well go after the Zayaman while I can get as many of those as I can get. Next pack of the ultimate traditional art. Ooh, there's the Dragon Drive. What a card for the punk archetype. We're grabbing that one right now. Looking real good on the punk front. Third pack of the ultimate traditional art. <laughs> Second Dragon Drive. Uh, Not awful, TBH? Uh, one Psychic Tuner, one Non-Tuner Monster, or one or more Non-Tuner Monsters. We really need a Deer Note in order for Dragon Drive to be a successful option for us. I think we actually take the Shirakusai here. Yeah, let's grab the Shirakusai. That way, if we pull a Rising Carp in the future, we don't need to take that. All right, next pack of the ultimate traditional art. And there's the rising carp. Uh, asking ye shall receive, I suppose. There's also dangerous gabu, but we already have a copy of that. And I get the feeling that you can really just search that whenever you want it. Uh, this is very funny because this opens us up to go after adventurer stuff when we go back into the grand creators later. Imagine this was pep though. Imagine this was pep. Pack number five of the ultimate traditional art. I was a Synchro, but it wasn't one of the Synchros we were most interested in. A Karakuri Seal Shogun Buredo is a card we already have two of, to my knowledge. No, we do only have the one Buredo. 
Uh, a second Charakusai isn't probably that important, so I think we should go after the Beredo. Not a bad haul from the Ultimate Traditional Art. Missing out on Deer Note feels a little bit bad with Dragon Drive in our lineup, but I'm sure we can find a way around it. I'm happy with what we've got. Let's go into the deck build. Well, clickety-clack down the track. What's that sound? Why, it's lots and lots of trains. We've got big trains, small trains. We've got, well, we don't really have small trains. We've mostly got big trains and machinery because we're playing Earth Machine today, baby. Yep, we're finally breaking it out, specifically a go second build meant to either OTK or just, just destroy everything. And I mean, we've got a lot of tools to do that. We've got Gustav Max. We've got Liebe, we've got this if he forces us to go first, but we can make like the Seven Sins, we can make Earth Slicer, this thing just like blows up everything. We've got Vespinado for piercing, we've got two River Stormer, which effectively searches everything in the deck. And we can even make like Mega Clops, along with stuff like Ancient Gear Ballista to really just hammer home those OTKs. Pretty good deck overall if it doesn't uh, just annihilate Robert. It also does a really good job of setting up the graveyard, setting up your hand, so that you can make turns on subsequent plays. Which is something we've always said, right? Like, you can't really go all in on big heavy boss monsters in this format because the removal's so easy. You gotta have stuff where you can follow up on the next turn. And this has quite a few, like, one-card starters in Harvester, in, um, in uh, Flying Pegasus. Both of these are just normal summons that you slap down and immediately get you something. If you can get the, the Switch Yard on board, then like that searches you every turn. This gets you two cards immediately out of the deck for a Link play. This searches some of your one-card starters. Um, and all the all the Vernasilf monsters. Like, if you open one of these, you're just, like, solid. So we're pretty good and we're on that along with a whole bunch of hand traps because a lot of those really good traps, things like Compulse that are usually at a premium in this, this format, can't be played because anything that was ever banned or limited is completely banned. And Compulse, too strong. Bottomless, too strong. Mirror Force, Raigeki, Dark Hole, a lot of that stuff is gone, which just leaves us with things like Ghost Ogre, Effect Veiler, and then the one in permanence, the one evenly matched. And since we're on a go second deck where I'm just looking to hopefully negate RJ's stuff and then go in with a big number, we're playing three Forbidden Chalice. That's my tech card of choice. And of course, if he makes us go first, then we can always set this and use it as disruption. Um, other than that, the side deck is just a bunch of stuff. I assume that once Robert realizes what we're on, he'll make us go first. And in that case, we do have more traps we can bring in. Needle Sealing and Crackdown are probably the two second best traps I have access to. If he's on a whole bunch of spell traps, if he's playing like a control deck, we got Twin Twisters, we got Cosmic, we've got Night Beam. MST, ironically, can't be played, but the rest of these can. Uh, we've got a couple other uh, extra deck cards. These are good in specific situations, or if we happen to get in a more grind game, if it ends up being evil, or not evil, even. And then, perhaps most interestingly, if, if RJ decides to go on machines himself, if he's playing the Earth Machine package, Cyber Dragon is banned, because it was at one at some point, but Toon Cyber Dragon is not and neither is Cyber Dragon Core. Both of these count as Cyber Dragon on the field, which means we can put these in and then basically just turn his entire board into a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. We've got two of these, four of these, so hopefully that should give us some pretty good sighting stuff if RJ goes on that. I'm not sure what other big decks he has, and this was, this was surprisingly difficult. There's so many times trying to build where I'm like, oh, and I'll put in a monster re- oh. Oh, I can't. It's, li it's limited. But uh, I, th I think this is pretty good. This is pretty solid. But I mean, I guess we'll find out. Boo-ray-do. 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 We are back on the Karakuris. This time we're going for a hard second build. Now, there are a lot of decks I could have played this week. I have a pretty decent blue eyes list I've been testing, but all the things that those decks have in common is that they have no repeatability. If I get donked on the crackback, they have nothing that they can do. This deck is extremely flexible, extremely capable of OTKing, and has things that it can do if it doesn't get there. So we're back on the Karakuris. I'm wishing that we had some additional extension here. 
The Monster Reborns and Soul Charges helped me a lot last time, but this time we have more Verna Sylphs than ever before and a couple of extra tools like Solar Wind Jammer to help get us there. As long as we can stick a non-tuner and a tuner, we can start going off. Uh, and that's the plan for this deck. We of course have the basic Infinitrack things, we have the Trencher, we have the Shoveler, we have the Brutal Dozer, and we have the Starters. We have five Verna Sylphs now, including two of the Flowering Fields, two of the Thawing Mountains, and one of the flourishing hills we've got a couple of cumungus in here that's an earth monster for the vernicels but it's also a kaiju and we want to be going second if we can just knock out hard legs best interruption on the board then we can go off and we can remove all the rest of it with boo ray boo everything else in here is to some extent a hand trap or a searchable piece of interruption and then a crackdown because crackdown is the best not banned piece of disruption that we have access to second to only about terrors of the overroot i would say which i'm citing alongside black horn of heaven in case i'm going first pretty much everything else is various forms of going second tool because that's what i aim to be doing in this deck more ka kaijus uh nibiru in case he's on some math mech nonsense we've got the evenly match to clear up the board and we've got some hot back row removal in case we get there this deck is really strong to an extent, I need to draw some of my going second tools and I need to draw some form of extension, be it my solar wind jammers or my Verna Sylphs or one of my one of my infinite tracks in the opener. I'm hoping that we can get there. Let's see what we can do without any of my normal extendability or consistency tools. And so it begins the great duel of our time, but who will win the mm. rock, paper, scissors? Oh, oh I've been beat. You've been beat. It's unfortunate for you. No, you're making me go first. <laughs> well, you should How be happy, you do RJ. This, Joe? Don't you want to go first? How could you do this to me? You could set up mm. all your negates and everything. I mean, what I really want here is to get into it. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to start off with a Vernasilf. We're going to discard a Karakuri. We're going to get ourselves a Karakuri from the graveyard. I see, I see, I see. Yes, yes indeed. I'm going to activate a Brutal Dozer. Brutal. You know what? Let's do this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grab a Trencher. It's not bad. Um, this is so awkward. Kill Dozer refers to a short story from 1944, a film and a band fascinating fascinating and unexpected um let's um all right no one was killed God, or injured so by by the the real life killdozer except the guy himself he, he ended his life after he was done with that but he apparently right. had a vendetta against the mayor and drove it through town hall and the mayor's house as well he should have let's go for an anishi yeah, destroy the uh, This is a joke. <laughs> for legal reasons, for legal this is a reasons, joke. joke. <laughs> Alright. Uh Beredo. Destroy the government in Minecraft. <laughs> uh let's grab a Nishipachi. Nichipachi's effect, switch it to defense. Let's get ourselves a draw. Holy shit, the best draw in my deck. Don't mind if I do. Okay, oh, um, now we are well and truly off to the races. The question is, do I want to go in or not? Do you want to go one step beyond? I did not prepare to have this combination of levels in front of me, and I am feeling sad that I didn't prepare because <laughs> I have the opportunity in my hand to just end your life with this normal summon uh, but unfortunately I didn't put the card in my extra deck uh, that would make this work because I could not imagine a scenario in which this happened <laughs> <laughs> Go um, that to you. I'm gonna normal summon Harvester alright Harvester of Sorrows uh, I'm gonna grab Drag Shovel Dragging me down, baby! Yeah, that's what you're doing. Let's activate Drag Shovel. All right. I'll send away my strategist. Goodbye, strategists. Uh, activate Drag Shovel. I'm gonna banish... I'll banish the Nishipachi for this. Well, I had Spinter. 
in the spirit. And then I'll activate my harvester. Target Buredo. Oh. And we're going to make Super Dora. <laughs> Fancy. Oh, Number after a million 81. years, we actually got there. Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora. Choo choo. Now, uh, Joe, I'm extremely tempted to continue extending here. I'm very, very tempted to do so. And if you want to, King, go ahead. I, I do you. like the idea of setting myself up for next turn. Yeah, let's let's keep that party going. I'm gonna activate Trencher. All I'm right. gonna summon out Brutal Dozer. It's really, it's always weird to me that the thing that's essentially a giant chainsaw only has 500 attack. It is kind of wild, isn't it? It feels like it should be the opposite. And All there's right. the River Stormer. And I will activate the River Stormer. Let's I'll put away the shovel. Rivers. Uh, I will not Dora myself here. Ooh, and what do I want to search off of this? I've got a lot of good options for this search. Yeah, it's literally every Earth machine. Search it and is. Earth machine. I think what I want... It's a tough one. It's a little bit of a tough one. I'm trying to think. It is kind of weird that machines really, like, the only... The only, like... I'm not even sure if you call it a type in... I guess it would be a type in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where, like... You know, they're obviously machine archetypes, but for the most part, it's kind of divided by attribute, right? Like, there's Earth Machine decks, Light Machine, and a subsection of Dark Machines that kind of has to do with Cyber Darks and Desperado Barrel Dragon and stuff. That's true. That's true. And they all specify the attribute and then machine. Yeah. And, like, there's, That's very you know, funny. There's, there's some Light decks and some Dark decks. Like, obviously, Orcus is, like, a Dark deck. But um, I guess they're kind of a dark machine deck, too. But it's, it's, there's not really, like, you don't see that. There's no, like, fire warrior deck. Like, I think they kind of tried to make that, but it, it didn't really go, go across very well. All right, just getting another harvester for next turn. Yeah. And then I'll pass on that. That seems like a not terrible lineup Ooh. of things. Fancy. I'm going to start with urgent schedule. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, you are. Oh no, this card is like this. Oh no! Here we go. It's the mirror match. Walking around. What you think about that? I got a bot, but the mirror match. Okay. <laughs> Let me read how this card works while we're at this. Oh, uh, me think about how I want it to work. Uh, yeah. One level four lower and one five or higher. God, can you, uh, you imagine how good this card would be if I had pulled it ever? <laughs> oh my god. This is just a Karakuri synchro. This is a one card Karakuri synchro. It's pretty neat. Okay, and so we've got a 10 and we've got a 4. Because I've summoned a Earth Machine, I'm going to summon a Heavy Freight Train Derecrane from my hand. Da, 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 da. That's gonna have to be fine. All right. For now. Uh, All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's turn this on because I do want to respond to the actual summon. Yeah, I do have to spin turn this. I cannot allow you to to Dora me. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Um. All right. In that case. Ooh, do I just win from this position? <laughs> I think the chances are a little bit low of that. You could probably fuck me up pretty bad. Let's go ahead and make Ancient Gear Ballista! I had one Ancient Gear Monster or one Gear Town. Yeah. I, I you know, I've gone past the, the stuff from Season 2. Zero Ancient Gears? No. I'm a new That's man. That's true. This is the first ancient gear. We have <laughs> now officially summoned an ancient gear. Um, I'm just furiously Googling so many things right now. 
Strong. I'm really curious what you what you got like a effect mailer over there or I think you- that's <laughs> going to have to be fine. Okay. There's the gearbox. Okay, what is the gearbox going to search for here? Stuff and Yeah, things. it's going to add a thing. Yeah. One of these. Oh, Anchor Drill is a 500 defense guy. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. So we're going to activate Revolving Switchyard. Questions, questions. We'll activate the Revolving Switchyard. Well, you've got a third <laughs> dude in your... I do have a third! You do! Crane. You have the third Derek Crane! I have all the okay. Derek Cranes of Derek Crane City. Staring it up like you wouldn't believe. Right. All right. Okay. We're going to activate Trencher. Okay. Summon out the anchor drill. Yeah. Hello there. We're going to we use anchor the anchor drill. drill. Going to use the anchor drill, and you've got to use that to summon the Dara Crane if you're going to use Dara Crane again. Okay, uh, yeah, this is a great time for a card I had just totally forgotten I had in my inventory. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Yes. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, all right. So I think if you had resolved that revolving switchyard there, I was... Normal Summon trouble. Flying Pegasus. What the fuck is this card? Summon the, uh, Dare Crane out of the graveyard. Oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the extension! Uh, let's just okay. use this. Let's target the Dare Crane, and they'll both become level 10. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go ahead and make... I mean, your superior Dora is pretty good. But how do you feel about a Gustav Max? Ooh, it's got a little animation where it's where the cannons extend. It's pretty That's nice. wild. Anyway, it's pretty yeah, nice. I'll take the two grand. Take two grand, and that'll activate the Dare Crane, so I can pop the Super Dora. And I will chain the Super Dora. Um, we'll detach Barreto. We'll target the Super Dora. All according to Kaiku. And then, RJ, I will use Ballista's second effect to blow up the uh-huh. switchyard and target your River Stormer, reducing its attack to zero. And okay. then I will summon Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Liebe. Oh my god, it gains exactly <laughs> the attack that it needs. You had 2, everything! <laughs> All the Earth Machines, baby! Ha cha 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 cha! Holy. <laughs> Big train! How did you. How did you just keep going? <laughs> you just kept putting cards on the board. You can't stop the pain train, baby! Oh, oh that was awful. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll have to do it. Oh. I was too slow. Oh. Well, my deck's built for going second anyway. We'll see what happens. Oh, God, this is the worst going second hand I think I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to activate a Vernisilf of my own. Oh, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'm just going to dump our good friend Trencher, and we're going to summon Metal Cruncher. Yeah, we'll activate this effect, and let's go for this, this, and this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's activate Revolving Switchyard. Yep. We're going to normal summon this. Mm-hmm. And that'll activate the Dare Crane. And mm-hmm. we'll get our search. Okay. Let's go ahead and get... Tunneler. Okay. So we summon our level 10. And mm-hmm. that'll activate the Switchyard. We can summon a level 4 from the deck, and it becomes level 10. Yep. Oh, it anchor, it's not negated, so I could just anchor drill here. Yep. Sure, why not? All the extension. Cool. You just get every- God damn! 
I was like, I've got, I've got the hot earth machine tech. I was bringing a harvester to a super dreadnought fight here. <laughs> So, when did you get all this Earth <laughs> Machine stuff? I, I've just been slowly collecting it. I didn't think it would be as good as it is. <laughs> Obviously, it's really good. Uh, okay. And then, we're going to activate Brutal Dozer. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to summon Brutal Dozer, but I am not going to activate its effect. Because, you see, RJ, I don't want to be locked into Earth Machines. There's something I've pulled out of your pack that's also a machine that's actually very useful here. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, god damn oh. <laughs> Cyber Dragon Infinity! <laughs> Everything you do is what I do, but better. <laughs> and, uh... I just save that for next turn? I could do one more thing. Thing. Wait, no, I won't have... Okay, yeah, that's that's more than enough. We'll save some resources for next time. Okay. Holy shit, that's not a bad draw. Uh... Now, if you've got Lava Golem, yeah, boy. I'm screwed. Uh, let's go... Normal Summon Harvester. Okay. Activate Harvester. Uh, yeah, we don't want you to get an advantage. I'll That's pitch. roughly what I anticipated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I will activate Fenrir. And, yeah, we'll hit the Fenrir. Or the Infinity? That thing. The thing, yeah, it's an F in it. And yeah. somewhere there's an R. There's an I. There's an I, too, and an N. Okay. Yeah, that's I wasn't fine. that far off. Okay. What's the game plan here? Summon trains. <laughs> that's roughly it. Uh, you did sniff it out. This is indeed a Verna Sylph. Oh, that's so adorable. Look at little bunnies. Not the Verna Sylph I would have wanted here, no. but it is a Verna Sylph nonetheless. It does give you recovery I, for next turn. I am going to... Well, it what came back. Next? But the effect has only been used once per turn. Yes, which is unfortunate. And Fenrir is a machine, so you can't make the, um, the Earth Slicer... <laughs> No, I can't. That is that is definitely an issue for me. But you do have a machine if you got a dozer or something in hand. There's at least something worth tributing. Yeah, and that's <laughs> what I'm gonna do. All right. You keep, you keep calling the shots hard, like Joe. I know this deck so well. I haven't even played Earth Machine very much. I just really like it. It's a deck I want to play more, but the patrons haven't voted it on a uh, on ladder climb yet. No. Instead, they're making me play That's Valence. <laughs> you ever played Valence, RJ? I have not played Valence. It's like DDD how, levels of complicated. <laughs> oh. It's it's like all the complication of a pendulum combo deck, except for zone mm -hmm. placement is critically important. Important. And also you have to like move stuff into other zones, but you can only move them adjacently. So it's not, it's not enough to just place them in the right areas. You've got to be thinking like, okay, if I place this here, <laughs> I can move it here and then do something once it's moved. Like you, it's literally, you got to think three steps ahead. Okay. So I know that your line, okay. I know that you do have a line to do the thing. If I remember the materials for your stuff correctly. Um, so unfortunately that means that legitimately whatever I put onto the board, you'll be able to kill me as long as that is a monster in attack position. So I think I do have to go to River Stormer, detach my trencher. Oh, okay. And hope for the best. Weird. I thought I didn't know that was I, okay. I thought it would give me a chance to activate something after you summoned it, but no. And I think the thing that I have to add here. Remember when you banned Regulus? 
<laughs> when you've got another. You really got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a negate. I can't handle the negate. Wait, no. It's a... uh, okay. Fine. If if I know your deck's capability, I don't think it actually matters that you couldn't do what you were thinking of doing. Uh, it, it might slightly. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and start by using our good friend Trencher to get back mm -hmm. our good friend Harvester. Literally nothing I can do here matters if you can make the play that I'm thinking of. Oh, wait! That matters. Oh, I can't make that unstoppable. Yes, that actually changes things. Yeah. That gives me the chance to survive the Liba play. Uh, potentially, yes. Um, all right, well, if that's the case, going for this. Okay. Uh, let us change places. Mm hmm. Let's normal summon Anchor Drill. Mm hmm. Activate. Mm -hmm. Summon this trencher okay yeah we'll just use that oh, effect turn them the both dude. into level nine yeah that just does everything yep i think so oh i can make it with a metal cruncher too there level nine i was really just trying to play around that i think this does it this is what three four five six seven Wait, that's not enough. Uh, wait, no, eight. Yeah, this is enough. No, okay. you've got it. You've okay. definitely got it. We got it. For a second, I was like, this this has to be enough, right? Yeah, I will. Well, I guess, did you want to do another another duel of this, or are you trained out at this point? <laughs> no, I'm happy to do another duel of it. Uh, I have probably a quarter of my deck is going second cards and all yeah. i saw was engine i uh, saw like five normal summons yeah i mean i i have a whole bunch of going second cards i put in a whole bunch of going first cards because i thought thought you would be uh making me go first and i was right but i just happened to get all my engine stuff instead yeah and i guess the big question the the weird thing about a mirror match right is like what do you ban in a duel where my deck is just the same as your deck, but with fundamental so, differences? That's actually really easy for me. In the long run, the only thing your deck has over mine, really and truly, is Derecrane. Oh no! If it weren't for exactly Derecrane, the ability for your deck to extend is drastically reduced. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, that or Revolving Switchyard. Yeah. It's probably actually Revolving Switchyard. Because that's the problem. I haven't actually been able to draft the rank 10 portions of this deck. Ah. Yeah, I remember I was trying to get machine stuff earlier, and I was going for the Infinitrax, and all I kept getting was Derecranes. <laughs> and Derecranes, yeah. good and everything, but unless you have exactly, like, other level 10s, or in this case, like, the Flying Pegasus... It doesn't do a whole lot. And I forget if Flying yeah. Pegasus is even in any of the packs we're opening. It's it's pretty rare, though. And yeah, this hand is more like what I expected. <laughs> well, let's see how that goes for us. To be fair, I'm not completely dead, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. That's it, like, 90% of the time, because its effect is negated anyway. I just want to get it out of the deck and into the graveyard. True. Yeah, we'll see. I um, do still have one funny combo that I haven't shown yet, and I'll, I'll wait. Maybe I'll get it this time. Probably not, we'll see. but you never know. Let's go for the River Stormer. All right. We'll activate River Stormer. We'll detach that trencher. I love River Stormer. He's, he's just... His, his songwriting can't cool. be compared. You know, Weezer's just Indeed. such a great band. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, <laughs> That's, if you don't know, chat, the lead singer of Weezer's name is Rivers. Because he was right. raised in an ashram, which is like a hippie commune. Fun fact. Alright, let's swing this in. Yeah. Oh, wow, incredible. <laughs> you, you open with the box. You can Boy. devour it if you wish. I do wish. It is mine. Interesting. So we just. I will not let you start with an earth monster in grave for your Verna Sylphs. Okay. 
Uh, end phase. Let's get urgent here, shall we? Yeah. Uh, let's go for... Ooh, I know. I'll do this. Eh. Pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, so we got these two. Their effects are negated. Whatever. We've all been there. We all know. Uh, I don't have... I don't play more than one Ancient Gear box. I'll let you know that, so I can't... I'm shocked, I, I tell you. Nothing to search with Ballista. Um... Yeah, you know what? Let's go for this fucker. They're they tell me neat. he's a genius. <laughs> that girl's a genius. Oh, 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 oh. All right, you got something to say? No? Okay. I got nada. Trencher. So far. Bring back yep. Harvester. It's the Harvester of Sorrows. Full of music today. Uh, and I've got a dare crit. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that it's going to give me the trigger for this at some point. <laughs> oh, there. Okay, well... Hopefully, maybe after everything resolves. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Okay, well, you. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you can't. Some, you lose some. You can't do it now. <laughs> All right. Well, I finally get to show the thing. Let's go ahead and activate Harvester's effect on Derek Rain. Getting a twelve. <laughs> what are you going for fucking seven <laughs> sins? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! You're not gonna let me make the seven sins? It's funny! I desire to 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 play my Karakuris for once this duel. You've been so sinful, RJ! You must be punished! Alright, uh... I'm not sure this actually stops you that much. I mean, it stops me from making the seven sins. That's the funny play That's I want true. to do. You can hard make it, and then you can use its effect on your turn. <laughs> Just, like, banish all the monsters? That's pretty neat, right? Uh, okay, well, I've still got the Brutal Dozer. True. Maybe Brutal. Yeah. And you got the Ghost Mortar as well. <laughs> uh, we got the Verisilf, too. Oh, ah, ex this? God! <laughs> it I must be so nice! <laughs> Drawing absolutely everything all the time. Must be nice. Yeah. Um, the question is, what do I even send? Because I just realized it's send a card, but I can't summon back the same card that I used. Correct. I could, I could so summon could have back, back that harvester. Ghost Bell. <laughs> Ghost Bell's neat. Uh, you could summon a Karakuri with that. Yeah, if I had any. <laughs> and I could summon back a level 4 or a level 2. Yeah, I should have saved this. <laughs> a mistake was made. Let's go ahead and use these two. Anger Knuckle. We got the Knucks! And... Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I mean, I guess I might as well. Ow! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell was <is> that? <laughs> That's Ghost Mourner's second effect. Oh, it's a defense position. Until the end of this turn. Well, you did it, RJ. You had you had the hey, Ghost Mortar and the hey. Imperm, and now there's nothing I could do. I don't have any good licks. No, I finally I get to make. play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you kept me off all the weird numbers. All right. Uh, I'll detach my Brutal Dozer. And I will acquire... Additional There are problems. a lot of cool things that I can get here, actually. I'll get a second Brutal Dozer. Another one. All right. It's normal summon. Trencher. Activate the anchor drill. Gotcha. Gonna summon Nanishi! It's Nanishi, everybody. Ah. 
weird. Uh, and then I will synchro summon Karakuri Shogun Model 00 Booray. We'll activate Booray. We will grab Misamu. Hello there. And we will activate Kunamzan from my hand. I hate, by the way, that this card is required to summon itself as a tuner. <laughs> you can't choose whether or not it's a tuner. It is always a tuner. Very strange. You will get a tuner and you will like it. It's weird because that's how most tuners are. I wonder why they didn't just make it a tuner on the card instead of giving it an effect that turns it into a tuner. I think it's because you can still summon it from the deck buy a Karakuri monster and, like, let it not be a tuner then. And that is actually a very useful effect for me here. Hmm. Uh, let's go Buray Boo's effect. We will summon... I think we want the second Nanishi here. Another one. And then I'm going to take this opportunity to clear up some zones with a Goliath. Oh, hello there. Be and gone. then we will activate Trencher. I'll summon back Harvester. Harvester's effect. All right. I will add a shovel. Shovel. Uh, and then I will activate Brutal Dozer. Ah, it feels good to Karakuri once more. <laughs> it feels good to own machines. <laughs> it does. Uh, we'll sub in an anchor drill from deck. Interesting choice. Uh, oh, I guess because we you will synchro right. summon. Yes. This deck is not all, uh, whatever that other summon type is. <laughs> uh, Xyz monsters. Alright, there we go. Doggo. Uh, and then... And then... We will synchro summon. Another. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, this is hilarious. We're gonna sack off the anchor drill for the shovel. Alright. Activate shovel. Uh, I will banish one of my Nanishis. Alright. And add Spinter. This is fine. And then... I'm fine. I'm not dead. I, try I will special it. summon the second Burebu. You got two of these things? Yeah, I do! Alright, we're going to use the Burebu. Oh, and they're not once per uh, turn. For some reason, I not. thought the newest one might be once per turn, perhaps. No, it's great. Uh, and then I'll summon... Isamu? In defense... Why defense, you ask? So that I can switch it to attack with Blu-ray. Oh, okay. And Everyone get all triggers. the effects. All the effects. All the effects everywhere. Sure, I'll activate an effect as well. Oh shit! That actually messes things up a little bit. Just uh, slightly. <clears throat> just ever so slightly. Uh yeah. Okay. Put those out there. Uh, what did I draw? I drew that. Not to worry, I do have a thing I can do here. I think the move here is just to go to battle phase. Do you, do you, I think I should just be going to battle phase. I'm surprised here. you could even do anything. I feel like you're out of zones. Uh, I can exceed summon still. <laughs> Too low to make Earth Slicer? Yeah. <laughs> no. I think I'm still All alive, right. though, right? I Maybe. think you probably are. Uh, let's go Beret into Trencher. And then... Yeah, sadly, you banished Beret my Boo. Otherwise, Anger Knuckle could bring him back. Now he is all Anger, no Knuckle. Beret Boo. No, I think this still does it. I think this actually <laughs> does it by the skin of my teeth. 
just barely, almost exactly. Oh my goodness! All right. Well, at least oh, I got to play go. Karakuris yeah. once again. <laughs> you got to get it. You got the salty run back. I mean, I still won. Like I said, I, I was hoping I'd get to summon the seven sins, but you know, we got it. I was also hoping uh, I have a because I thought that we were going to be in the mirror match. Uh, Cyber Dragon is banned, mm -hmm. but I have two Toon Cyber Dragon, and I have two Cyber Dragon Core, and I've got the uh, Chimera Tech. That's so. That's <laughs> what I was furiously Google searching was if Cyber Dragon Nashter and Cyber Dragon Core had 500 attack or defense. <laughs> I was just like, I cannot let this resolve if either of those has 500 defense. Uh, those... But it didn't end up mattering. No, we um, didn't get to use it this time. But it was a funny idea that might have resolved, you know? Yeah. So this is an interesting situation. Uh, I know that Math Mech is not going to be a good deck for you for the next two weeks because the Math Mechs are not great at two. Uh, and they're especially not great when you're not allowed to use light monsters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think the next one, it's, ex you... it's uh, Bylander and Extreme Highlander, right? You're talking about the Is next it Chaos Extreme rules. Highlander before before Anti Chaos? Uh, let's go check real quick. Oh no, you're right. It is Anti Chaos. Okay, so yeah, and... this deck is nuts for Anti Chaos. I don't think you summoned a light or dark monster the entire match. No, and I also still uh, have like the Dragon Rulers, which are like there's a couple light and dark dragons, but I can make them work elementally. And then Bylander. For those people who don't know, because I'm pretty sure we came up with the idea of Bylander. I don't think anyone's heard about it before. Bylander. So Bylander started as a uh, a challenge in I Challenge You. If I won too much the week before, <laughs> I had to spin a wheel of, of challenges, and one of them is Bylander. Bylander is where you have to play two, no more, no less yeah. of every single card in your deck, including your extra and side deck. Yeah. Um, Everything must come in pairs. You can also call it the Noah's Ark Challenge. Two of every card! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I don't know that this deck can function by a lander. I know that Dragon Rulers might be able to. Maybe. Anything's uh, going to be difficult because all the consistency goes down and any of those power one-ofs are zero-ofs unless you got exactly two of them. That's a funny thing. So this week was uh, tough for me in a way that Bylander I don't think will be because I have two or three of basically every consistency tool yeah. out there. <laughs> but every consistency tool out there has been limited or semi-limited except yeah. for apparently revolving switchyard. <laughs> uh, Trains were just never great an... enough. You make them go first, so they, they, they don't do much. Is there another level 10 Earth Machine that I have to me metagame around besides Dara Crane? Dara Crane is the only level 10 I have right now, and I'll let you know that it, I do have three copies of it. Yeah, I think I have to ban Dara Crane yeah. because the ability to use Dara Crane, because that's the thing, the ability to special summon Dara Crane from your hand meant that you could continue playing through my disruption, and that's what happened to me game, game one and yeah. then game two. I, I just drew all my normal summons. Because that's the thing. Even if you can't uh, make the, 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 the rank 10s, right? Like, because a lot of the level 5 Infinitrax require a monster on the field, that allows you to stick something like a Harvester and also get a level 5 on board. You could just tribute off the Dare Crane. Yeah. And then on subsequent turns, if you've got, like, the Pegasus or whatever, then you just bring it back and have big fun. So that does... That keeps me off of most of the level 10s unless I somehow get, like... I don't know, Night Express Knight or something. <laughs> something like that. But Night Express Knight can't summon itself from your hand. There's a world where the move is Revolving Switchyard, and I think that that's not a bad move. But it's only good right now because it searches the Dare Crane. <laughs> because it searches the Dare Crane, exactly. Well, it also, Revolving Switchyard does let you summon an extra dude from deck. If yeah. You I mean, it searches, I think, any level 10. So if I do get more level 10s, it'll be good. But I don't know if they're just very rare, but I haven't seen anything like Knight Express Knight or the uh, the Rocket Arrow, ex not the Rocket. There's that other one that's just like, if you control an Earth Machine, you can summon it and it's a level 10. I do not have that. I have not seen them, I don't believe. So yeah. even if so I, I did get it's... them, I'd be starting from scratch, essentially. 
Yeah, I do think it's got to be gotta be Derek Crane. Ripperoni Derek Crane. I think that's what it's gotta be. He clickety clacked yeah. down the track too loudly and got banned for noise complaints. <laughs> Because I, I could ban Blaster, and that's ultimately... But ulti I think this deck is genuinely better for the next two weeks than Dragon Rulers Oh, are. yeah. This was just... It was so, it's so efficient. It's easier for me to play. I know this deck a lot yeah. better than all the Dragon Rulers. I hopefully won't make a lot of misplays. So, yeah, you can look forward to that. Next week is Bylander, two of everything. Uh, I, of course, I think you're sitting at, what, 11 points? So if you get two more wins, series is I over. I know, that's where I'm at. I'm having trouble getting two wins. Yeah. But if I can get two more wins. At this point, I've got so much advantage, so we'll, we'll just have to see. Can RJ get two more wins, or will I claw back from the brink of defeat? Check in next time, and until then, good luck! And choo choo! Choo choo! And welcome back to the Yu Gi Oh! Chaos Draft episode 21. I am, of course, Hard Leg Joe, joined by the planet Zeist of Yu Gi Tube, the RJB Zero. One of these days, I'm gonna. All right, here we go. <laughs> I it should have had it ready. Yeah. All right. Well, see, this time I picked something that I picked previously. I was hoping maybe you, like, learned on your own and figured some stuff out, but no. It seems your education ends when soon as the cameras turn off. Oh, we're in Highlander 2. <laughs> yes! Highlander 2 this time! I, I thought I was going to be so prepared this week for, like, the Noah of, <laughs> uh, of Yugi Tube or like, something. Nope, you hit me again. Yep. We went back to high. I mean, when you think about it, it it's kind of crazy that they made a Highlander sequel. Because I mean, I assume you haven't seen the movie, but you know the catchphrase, right? Yes. There could but they only were like, be "What one. if there could be two Highlanders?" Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's the spoilers for an eighty like, or a movie from the eighties, but in the end, there is only one. There shouldn't be a Highlander <laughs> two. There's, Big shock. This and. Um, you know, later Highlander movies found more elegant ways around this, but Highlander 2 is notorious for, like, the first one was about immortals who were fighting in this mystical duel, and then Highlander 2 takes place in, like, a post-apocalyptic wasteland, and they're like, actually, the Highlanders are, uh, or the immortals are aliens who have had their mind, their memories away erased, and Earth is like a prison that they're fighting on. And then when they send more prisoners over here, it resets the game. And then the Highlander becomes young again. It's weird and science fiction-y in my fantasy, it, but the, the laziest way possible. It sounds like, I feel like there's just a problem. This is very similar to the problem with people being like, oh, they were in a coma the entire time. This was a coma <laughs> dream. It was Aliens is a very similar fallback. Like, failure yeah. of imagination. Like, immortals duking it out? That's an entire world I've never, you know, I, I haven't encountered before. You know, there's a lot to that. The mixing of different cultures' gods and things like that? That's cool. We can work with that. But then it was aliens the whole time, and we just, like, called them gods because we didn't understand. It's just like, <laughs> man, I've seen that a million times. Why'd we have to go there? there? Yeah. And there's a title card in particular that this this movie starts and it's fairly grounded, at least as far as the, the earlier ones, for like the first ten minutes. Mm -hmm. And then the main character goes to an opera and there's just like a wiggly flashback and a title card that just says, The Planet Zeist 500 years ago. <laughs> 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 it's like, well, that's one way to kick things off. That's the first reference of Alien. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and the reason that's that's related today is because we're doing Bylander, which I believe is something you invented, RJ. Yeah, this is a thing I made as a deck building challenge that I could be inflicted with if I was doing too well in my series, I Challenge You. The you rule is out. you can only run, you should check that out. But today we are only allowed to run two of any card, no more, no fewer. Yeah, exactly two, which is surprisingly difficult. You know, with Highlander, you go in and you know that your deck's not going to be great. You just put as many one-card starters and, like, plus ones as you can. But Bylander gives you 
the feeling that maybe you could make something, and you you just quite can't. At least nope. not with the list that we have. Like, be, having to run everything, not only does it necessitate that, like, you're going to be less consistent, uh, but it, it makes it so, like, the extra deck and the side deck are both 14 cards. I kind of miss having that one card. Yeah, and, like, you think... I've been looking... I have been preparing for this week, and even coming into this week, I'm like, oh, a bunch of my cards I have only gathered... Like, all of my good extra deck cards I have only gathered once, one of. Yep, so this is going to be tricky. We're going to have to... The pools are really going to have to do a lot. So let's go ahead and jump in to the public pool. Pool. Splash. Yeah. <laughs> here we are once more in the zone of pools, as always with Twitch chat. Look at them, just, just being adorable. They're so nice. Cats in the chat. Great times. And uh, as we hopefully established, we are we are opening for Bylander. Every card must be played at two, which means any power cards we have one of, we're looking to collect second copies of. And fortunately, a little gentleman by the name of I Wish I Was Dead really helped me out. He put together this list, Jules, if you want to put that on the screen. Just a nice little list of all the power one of cards I have that I should look for when opening this up. Really, really helpful. Thanks to that guy. And let's go ahead and flip up the Dark Beginning 1. And uh, not a whole lot here worth grabbing. Senju of the 10,000 Hands maybe helps with rituals. Mm, uh, I think I'm just going to take the Messenger of Peace. So uh, it is becoming less of a secret that my pool is not prepared for Chaos Draft to have gone this long. A lot of my cards were really, really good early on and then got banned. I drafted to pull uh, to play into a lot of those power cards that then got banned. And while I have some really powerful strategies, I've got a great pendulum lineup. I've got my uh, Earth Machine deck. I've got my tier limits. Those are absolutely devastated by the next few weeks worth of rules. And by the fact that Hard Leg just has an objectively better Earth Machine pool. I have a Karakuri deck, and I'm going to be drafting for that. I have a Blue Eyes deck, and I could draft for that. But it's really, really going to come down to what cards I can get second copies of this week. And I have a very specific list of which ones I want. Let's see what I can pull. All right, starting off with Dark Beginning 1. What can we get from this one? Mm, that's a copy of Nobleman of Extermination. Nobleman of Extermination is a card I am definitely interested in. No, screw it. I'm taking Limiter Removal. Do I have a second Limiter Removal? No, I don't. Damn. Okay, well, I'll take the Limiter Removal anyway. It's a pretty good card. Premium Gold. Let's... Oh, hey! A second Eclipse Wyvern. I've been trying to get a second one of these, and now we have one. A legendary Collection 5Ds. I have no idea what I want out of here. The third Naturia Beast? Maybe a Shooting Star Dragon. Get myself a Stardust Dragon? Yeah, I'll get a free Stardust Dragon off of Shooting Star. Why not? Clash of Rebellions. Boogie, boogie, woogie, woogie, woo. Ooh, Ferret Flames and Chicken Games. Either one are decent. This would be good draw power for this time. How many Ferret Flames do I have? I have one. Ferret Flames is good removal, but probably not good enough to be played in Bylander. So I'll save that for Highlander. We'll get the draw power. All right, Breakers of Shadow also has a million things that I need in it. And High Speed Roid Hagoita is one of them. And the reason why that is, is because I am looking for a copy of Junk Converter this week. If I can get a second Junk Conver Converter, a second High Speed Roid Hagawita means that I can go into a Karakuri Buredo off of a single Junk Converter. We're going to take that. Break the shadow, don't be so shallow. Oh hey, I believe this is on the list. We should take another one of these? Yes. 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 This pack opening is starting to feel like a saga. A uh, saga of disappointment and 
Harpy's Featherstorm is a very funny card. We could make this like a Tri Brigade payoff. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, folks? We run a single Harpy monster so that we can run Featherstorm uh, and use that as our payoff for um, for Simorg. That's not bad. I've had worse ideas in my life. Shining victories! Oh! Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I don't think I have one of those. No, no, I do not. And nothing else here is worth getting, so sure. Sure, we'll get a crystal wing. Savage Strike. Wait, we already did that. Okay, the Infinity Chasers. Fingers crossed. I need a win this opening. I need a win this opening. Mm. The third Goliath. Invasion Vengeance. You must pay a penance for your sins. Oh, we could get another Machine Angel ritual. Do we have a Machine Angel? We got one. Sure, we've got a whole ritual toolbox. This might work. It's a Skolgios. Ooh, or a Topologic Zero Boros. That is not a bad card by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, that's like a genuinely great Link 4. Hell yeah. Circuit break. Ooh, a second Baguska. I could do the Bagu shoe. What can I say? I think I already have Bagu. I have one Bagu. I could have two. If boo bagoo, you can too! Although also Destrudo. How am I doing on Destrudos? I have none. I have none, so means if I grab this, I wouldn't be able to play it this week. I wouldn't be able to play it next week because we're doing anti-chaos, no lights or darks. And the week after that, I could play it at one, but I don't think I want to pay half my life points in such a slow format. So, yeah, we'll take the Baguska. I think, like, five of the cards I need are in that set. The Grand Creators. That's a Exosister Stella. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is a Dracoback. Dracoback is a uh, an adventurer card for a Rite of Aramisir. Uh, and it's also good if we're going to be running a couple of things in Extreme Highlander. Dark Saviors doing laborers. We got a Eagle Booster. We got a Plague Spreader. What are our Sky Striker stuff looking like? Well, we got one Eagle Booster. Sure, we'll grab another one. All right, what do we got now? Power of the Elements, one of my favorite sets. What do you have for me? <gasps> Excuse me? Excuse me? Holy shit. Wait, how many? Hold up. I have one Verte. Okay. Okay. What do I need to open to pull Fusion Destiny? What do I need to get Fusion Destiny? Do what? Wait, do I already have a Fusion Destiny? I have one Fusion Destiny. Holy shit. I can Verte into Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer in Extreme Highlander format. Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Power of the Elements! Power of the Elements, I love you so much. Power of the Elements, you are my favorite set in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Let's go, DP! <laughs> and finally, Crystal's Revenge! Well, there's the second Super Poly. 
I could I could play the second super, but nothing else here is good. We're taking the we're taking the super poly. Starlight rare too. That's worth hundred and eighty dollars if you get it. All all right. Uh, okay, and that just leaves the, the 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 chaos packs. Time to get chaotic. Oh, I won't be able to use that card for two more weeks. But let me tell you, when I do, battles of legend crystal revenge. Um. Jimp chain chaos pack number one i don't think there's anything in particular we're looking for in here just generic stuff psychic eraser laser is pretty good if we don't already have one of those let me check no i've taken a psychic feel zone see that of the sword soul uh another candle how are we doing on incantations again That would really help the ritual package. Yeah, let's let's take the candle. We'll try that out. All right. Let's go. Hard legs chaos pack. I recognize my pulls aside from a notable exception have been kind of terrible today. My list of things I need to reroll is mounting higher and higher and higher. And my chances at winning anything in the next couple of weeks are very low with what I've been pulling. But we have to have faith. You always have to have faith. You have to believe in the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards gave me DPE. I am inclined to trust them this week. <laughs> This here is a whole wind monster. That means that in uh, that in the anti chaos week, I can run her. <laughs> I take every I, I take back literally everything I've said about this opening so far. This is incredible. Okay, chaos pack number two. Ixie Import is very funny. Engraver of the Mark is something fun. The Drytrons, I wish I had ever gotten, but I did not. Let's... Do I have an Engraver already? I mean, yeah, we, we played one earlier, so that'll come back. Wound Class Par. It's added to your hand except for drawing it. You could special summon it. That's pretty decent. Sure. Yeah, we'll take the the un class bar. Okay. What do we got? Oh, cork shooter's rad. This card's awesome. Okay. I think that's gonna be what we take here. And RJ's packs, always disappointing except when they're not. Uh, Dark Greffer is okay. Let's just get the Ryko. This will be good for Extreme Highlander. All right, all right, I gotta calm down now. My Chaos Pack has some cards that I'm really looking for this time around. Uh, I am primarily looking for Karakuris. If I can get one of the two Karakuris I'm looking for, I'm happy. If I can get Yang Zings, a second copy of any of my Yang Zings, I'm happy with this pack. There it is, Sizon. Sizon is exactly the card I needed. This opens up my Karakuri pool a lot. I only had one copy of Sizon before, but now I have two of all of the important tuners from Karakuri's. Very, very good pull. Okay, payoffs pack number two. Gores, the Emissary of Darkness even. Do I already have a Gores? I do not. Well, I guess I'll take a Gores then. Sure. All right. Second me, Chaos Pack. And I got a Cataster and a Lanferinkus. 
interesting. Let's take the Crane Crane. Uh, Catastor is not going to be usable for a little while for us. All right, re-rolling Mystic Fighters to hopefully get a Super Factorial, or if nothing else, I think, what is it, Math Mech Subtraction? That's also on the list. See if we can get either of those. That is neither. We're going again, baby. Mystic Fighters number two. Uh, multiplication. Do we already have that one? Math Mech. We already have two, yeah, so we don't even need another one. Uh, Monster Gate's probably more interesting. All right, reroll number one of Maximum Gold, OG edition. Uh, another Takitam Borg. Uh, not things that we want. Reroll number two. More things we definitely don't want, including a number of banned cards. Real number three. Transcode Talker is all right. It does. It is a generic Earth. Yeah, we're actually going to give up the Transcode Talker. I don't think that's good for us. The Fighters number three. Super Rejuve. That might be neat. Show me that Super Factorial. That's not a Super Factorial. It's another multiplication. Mmm, Jackal King is so close to being something we need. We actually need the Master Cerberus out of Fist of the Gadgets, but this is not that pack. Last reroll. Mmm, a second Mountain Smasher isn't terrible. Gives us kind of a reason to go into our Power Tool Dragons. Let's spin turn operate on turn one, but I'm not totally sure that's worth it. I'll certainly take it over what I had before the second or the third Goliath, um, but not ideal. All right, last chance at the Mystic Fighters. Will we get the Super Factorial? No. No, we got a Division, which I don't think we even, we don't even have one of. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, previously, we got the Dark World dealing, so I'll probably take... Uh, do we have a Monster Gate? That might be good this time. Yeah, we'll take the Monster Gate, because we can use that potentially, but that's... It's, uh, yuck. And for my pity pack, I have a little bit of a bad idea. I'm going to go after Pearlescent Cyber Dragons. This pack has... A few things that I actually want for specifically this week. I want Cyber Emergency in case it allows me to search for a copy of uh, Solar Wind Jammer, or I could search out a copy of Galaxy Soldier. I have a few light monsters that I want to be running in my Karakuri deck, and this would allow me to run uh, Galaxy Soldier with a little bit more impunity. And then the other thing is a second copy of Cyber Dragon Nova. This would less, let us use CDI, which gives us something to do with our Infinitrax that we didn't have before. And finally, potentially Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon to help us deal with the Earth Machine Pile that Hardleg has access to. Pack number one, we're starting off with Cyber Load Fusion. It's not an ideal card, but it could potentially get us into a Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, which is just kind of an OTK card. All right, next we have the Chimeratic Rampage Dragon itself. I will happily take this. It's not like our best card that we could get, but we've got a fair number of Cyber Dragon monsters and it can become a major menace, especially if we can get our Seeger into play. Pack number three, the second Rampage Dragon isn't ideal. What if I did take a second one? No, it's a bad idea. I only have one Seeger, and this card is really at its best when you have more than one Seeger. Or it's at its best with Seeger, and I can't run Seeger if I only have one. We'll take the Nashter. All right, next we've got... Ooh, punished for taking the Nashter over the Overload Fusion last time. I think we take the Fear... I think we take fear here. All right, last pack. If we get a cyber emergency or a Nova out of this, we'll be extremely happy. 
<laughs> Didn't see either. Ooh, we are getting a little bit punished for our hubris this time around. This was a little bit of a high roll pack for us, and I didn't get what I wanted out of it. But we've got some tools to work with. I'm not totally against what we've got. So I am not prepared at all for Bylander. Turns out, uh, while I have been getting a lot of two ofs of things, uh, extra deck monsters was not one of them. So even though I have a pretty good, like, Earth Machine core, I have a pretty good Math Mech core, a pretty good Cybers core, the problem we've run into is that I have no payoffs for those, because anything that's, like, really good that I could make, I don't have another copy of. There's no, like, Link 3s or Link 4s that I have doubles of. So instead, we're going back to the main deck, and we're playing something janky as hell. This is... Shino Bird Sky Striker, SSSB, is, is I guess I'll call it. Um, <laughs> and basically the whole idea here is, is to just run RJ out of resources. Um, we're going to start with a very high intensive play, which is the Shino Bird thing. Uh, we've got Incantations, we've got Manju, we've got, uh, where is it at? Pre-Preparations of Rights, and we've got Chicken Game along with the Terraforming. So the idea is, hopefully, if we go second, between that and stuff like Guan Yun and the Hand Traps, we should be able to just basically tear apart RJ's board. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is non-targeting monster removal and non-targeting spell trap removal. Not just one, but you return three cards. So these can absolutely disrupt, like, everything that RJ's built going first. Especially, again, in, in combination with stuff like Guan Yun, Book of Moon, Forbidden Chalice. We've got a lot of spells that can disrupt stuff. And the fact that we have the Amano Iwato means if RJ has a whole bunch of monster effects, we can normal summon this. And a lot of people think this just turns off monster effects, but it doesn't. It turns off all non-spirit monster effects. And these are spirits, so these can still go up, just absolutely clean things off. And of course, you know, these also can summon Emano Iwato in such a way that it doesn't return to the hand. So there's a chance we could get a little locked down. Most likely, though, that won't be able to close the game out. But from there, I'm hoping that by removing a bunch of ritual stuff with the searches we got, all that'll be remaining is this Sky Striker package. We've got two Ray, two Widow Anchor, two Eagle Booster, two Afterburners, and then two Kagari and two Shizuku. So we can search the afterburners with Shizuku, um, use it on the next turn to essentially pop two cards. We should have enough spells in the graveyard after doing all the ritual stuff. And then we can make Kagari add it back, make a Shizuku add a second copy. We essentially get like three uses of each of these, potentially four, depending on how we want to do things. And I'm just hoping that like, you know, between that and the initial push with the spirits will be able to beat RJ on the resource game. Now, unfortunately, like I said, we don't have very many good links, which is why we're probably going to be focusing more on Afterburners than Widow Anchor, because even though we can steal stuff, we can't do a whole lot with it. We've got some, uh, some rank four, so we can perhaps make those, and we've got Cross Sheep, which is like the most generic thing, and there's a chance we make this, and then we can do like a ritual and we draw two, discard two, or something. But uh, yeah, overall, this is going to be a very rough episode. I'm hoping that RJ doesn't have anything more competent, because if he does, we, we've pretty much lost this one. Um, now, that being said, we do have a couple other things in the side deck. Um, if the resource game isn't working out or if the rituals aren't working out, we can basically just go on Sky Strikers and play with a whole bunch of traps. Or we can take out the Sky Strikers and put in a whole bunch more uh, ritual stuff. I originally had Cyber Angel Frash in here. This thing's actually kind of neat. 3,000 double attacker with burn damage. If RJ's on an extra deck heavy deck, we may put this in. That just gives us more options to make more things with the, the ritual monsters. Uh, Kamungus, if he's got some really big towers somehow. And then the rest is just a whole bunch of traps and stuff that we could put in. Helps, uh, especially if, if, if RJ's on a go second deck and makes us go first. Then most of these are coming in. And this, in particular, the punishment with the Omega is pretty neat, because then I can recycle some of the stuff. So, yeah. Unless RJ's on some very janky stuff, I'm not sure if we'll have a chance. But at least I got to play Spirits, so, so there's that. You know, maybe it's Spirit time.
And we're back on the Karakuris. This is a probably better version of the Karakuris, at least comparatively to the the power of the format that I've had before. I wanted to do something new and interesting this week. I had a really interesting build that could send away nimble monsters to get a bunch of free material for things like Apollosa. But uh, that deck ultimately, most of the time, just doesn't do anything. This deck can do some cool things by way of one of the cards that works really, really well with the Nimbles, No Punk Foxy Tune, which also solves a major problem the Karakuris were having in the past, which is they can't get monsters in the graveyard in order to resurrect off of things. The Karakuris tend to sit in your hand doing nothing until you manage to get something going, something to put them in the grave. In this case, Foxy Tune not only discards Karakuris from our hands, but it provides a tuner for us, and it can do so without normal summon. Zayaman and Emergency Teleport are also really, really great tools for this deck because Zayaman is an earth monster, which means we can go into Naturia Beast. The plan for this deck, drop the cat, knock him flat. If I can put down a Naturia Beast and at least one Karakuri Synchro, the rest of the game is extremely easy for me. I can continue resurrecting my Karakuris in order to do things like OTK, and it's pretty easy to play Protect the Castle with Naturia Beast. This deck produces Naturia Beast a very powerful percentage of the time, partially because of the existence of Quillbolt Hedgehog in the deck, and Foolish Burial being able to put that away. Even more powerfully, I could Foolish away the Infinitrack Harvester and Monstery Born it to not only get my Foxy Tunes effect to summon Zay Amen, but also get a second summon off of Emergency Teleport frequently, or just the normal summon of another Zay Amen, giving me not just the ability to go into Naturia Beast, but also the ability to go into a Karakuri Synchro turn one, which turns on our Karakuri Cash In, which is a negate as well as a trigger for the Karakuri Synchros. And it does so twice, by the way. It's not a hard once per turn, so if it is sent to the graveyard, then I can still trigger my Karakuris. The rest of the deck is facilitated that happening. The small Infinitrack package, the plan is to basically just never draw these cards unless I'm foolish burialing one of them away. Uh, and so I'm running exactly six of them. Uh, and then Karakuri's. Inashichi is cool because it can search out the cash in and is a level two earth monster. So if I have the ability to Vernisil for a tuner or Foxy Tune or Emergency Teleport for a tuner, then we can make Nat Beast turn one. Uh, and it is good for searching the consistency, getting us to tuners into rotation. This deck is really cool in a lot of ways that my previous Karakuri decks have not been. Uh, let's just hope that the plan where I summon multiple Karakuri Synchros and Nat Beast on turn one continues to work out for me. I've got a side deck that's largely based on whether I'm going up against a going first or going second deck. We've got Kaijus if necessary. Cyber Dragon Nashter is really cool for a lot of situations, including allowing us to discard even more cards from our hand. There are some matchups where that's useful. Uh, Ring of Destruction is here just in case Hardleg has planned for me to play Earth Machines again and has brought Cyber Dragons of his own. We got a clear them so that he can't go into Chimera Tech and of course evenly matched because this deck does modulate fairly well into going second. Uh, I'm excited to play this deck. This is a really, really powerful build and it has the ability to absolutely go off a lot of the time. I'm looking forward right, to let's it. Let's go. Let's Ooh, do it. Uh, I'll We're go fighting. first. Aww. Uh, this does not do the thing I wanted it to. Um, ah. So we're going to... We're just gonna... We're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna set a couple cards. Um, do I want to do another thing here? What are you gonna do? Stab me? Headline. Man said just before <laughs> being stabbed. I'll pass here. Okay. It doesn't feel great. But it's what I gotta All right. do. Unlike you, I drew a monster. And I will uh -oh. normal summon that monster. Monju. It is a mon uh, with ten thousand hands. I'll uh, fucking uh, uh, imperm that. Okay. Um. Well. Hey, <laughs> let's then. go. <laughs> so I mean, I not. I say that I I laugh at this, but I. Uh, I'm not doing much better than that right now, so. Yeah. Um, 
No, I'll just wait. I'll wait. All right. Give me a card. That's Can you be Oh, that is the funniest card it could possibly be under these circumstances. <laughs> Are you ready, ready, hard like Joe? Hit me with it. Make me laugh. Is it another Manju? All right. I'm going to activate Foolish Burial. Ow. <laughs> this is Foolish. what I wish I had drawn turn one. All right. We're going to send away Quillbolt Hedgehog. Uh -oh. Going to normal summon Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Interesting. Gonna activate Quillbolt Hedgehog. Okay. Level five. Is it Speedroids again? Oh, buddy. Uh, my deck has a motto this <laughs> week. I'm gonna knock you flat by summoning the cat. Let's go, Naturia Beast, baby! <sighs> Hope you weren't. Planning on activating spells in that ritual deck of yours. I kind of was. I was kind of hoping to do that thing. I got the feeling. Pastor. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. Of course. Of course it would come now. Why wouldn't it? Um. Fuck it. I activate area zero. I uh, negate. Right. Yeah, I guess I might as well. Let's go ahead and activate this. What on God's flat fuck is that? A cam doll. It's an incantation. It Pretty is neat. that. The right summon Talus Mantra. Yeah. Okay. I get search. Search a ritual monster. Who wouldn't want to? I think that's fine. Uh, let's go for this one. And now I'm going to turn. Okay. Not much I could do with Naturia Beast. Um. He just comes hilarious. in. Hilarious. How little attack this card has. But I can't kill both your little guys. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> they have zero like a, attack, RJ. No, no dudes <laughs> in my possession that can do that. You would think. I would think. I'm thinking it rather loudly. Oh right my goodness! Um, battle phase. I am much more scared of rank fours than I am of level six monsters. Oh, okay. I, uh, I will end my turn. Sure. You know, Why not? Draw, fucking kaiju off the top. I wish. I wish. I wish I was a fish. Alrighty then. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, I can play Yu-Gi-Oh now. Uh, how effectively will I play Yu-Gi-Oh? That's still a little bit in question. He's but one of us. <laughs> I am going to normal summon Karakuri Watchdog Sizon. Okay. I'm going to uh, activate Hedgehog. Sure. Cool. Um. See, here's <laughs> here's the thing. A level six synchro in there? I do. Um, I've got a Barky on. <laughs> <laughs> no spells, no traps, no anything like that. Uh, I'll attack. All right. There's still one thing that does it. We've got to continue fading kaijus here. Ouch, my and eventually, most I will draw a second tuner. You just watch me. All right. I do not like the sound of that. Let's activate Talus Mantra. Okay. We will reveal the peacock that you already know I have. Yeah, that's fine. And we will summon the other candle. Ooh, okay. You knew I had to have it because it's Bylander. Why, why yep. wouldn't I have it? <laughs> All right. 
What are we up to here? Okay. So we are going to activate. I'm going to chain. And I will chain. <laughs> and I will chain. Oh, come on. How come yeah, you don't get to use buddy! spells? <laughs> I get to use spells. That's rude. You're rude. Very much so. Uh, I still right don't then. have any tuners. <laughs> no, <laughs> what is you don't need on? a tuner. You've got you've got two synchro. You don't need more. I know, but every turn, you're we march closer to you having a kaiju. Uh, at which point I lose the game. Well, we're gonna go to battle here. Uh, okay. I was wondering I when you I think would. this is what I'm going to do. I'd assume so. Yeah. You see, in order to lower your opponent's life points, you must attack directly, and if there's <laughs> monsters in the way, you must destroy them. Oh my god. Your movements um, are too predictable. <laughs> main phase two. This is such a silly way for me to have to do this. But I think I do in order to make it the most likely it can be that I have a play next turn. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to activate the trencher in my hand. Okay. And that's my move. That's my whole move. 90 million tuners in my deck. <sighs> All right. No. No, you don't. I do. The problem is I also get screwed. Potentially. Let's try this. Hello. <laughs> A mono Iwato. Okay. Imano, Iwato. Monsters cannot activate their effects except spirit monsters. Yeah. Spirits um, can still activate their effects. So that would stop my Nat Beast? Yeah, I'm yes. pretty much forced to chalice this. Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> How much attack does that give it? Oh, I'm so stupid! <laughs> Thank you. I, I had it in my head. I just decided in my head that chalice only grants 200 attack. No. <laughs> You're very welcome oh, I, for this game. I appreciate it. I have just um, donated it to you. <laughs> Uh, somewhat. I mean, the problem... Oh, okay, he stays. Okay, um... This isn't awful. It's not ideal. Uh, all confiscation here. Oh. What the goddamn flippy <laughs> fuck is going on here? Uh, I got stuff. I... Some things, maybe. We're going to take out the Shino bird. All right. This is so bizarre. How bizarre. Da, 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 Battle da, da, phase. Da. Just gonna attack with Barky on. Okay. I swear, my deck has great capability. I have just continued to draw into not that. Oh, okay. Literally any one of the, like, 12 tuners in my Excellent. deck would have been doing. Okay, let's no activate shot. area zero now that we have stuff can. to do. Oh I my mean, god. You saw my hand, didn't you? Look at your opponent's hand. Yeah, you know I've got stuff. Yeah, I've got but... got stuff and things. Oh, my God. So let's activate this. Yeah. Target Ray. And we're going to chain right, the gonna Ray. Whiff. We got a whiff. Probably. I mean, I don't we have got a whiff. Many. No! Hey, there's one. I will add a Sky Striker card. Mm-hmm. It does not do much, but it does do something. So we'll All set right. that. Okay. And then during the end phase, I'll go ahead and get one of these. That's a good card. It is. It's pretty neat. I like it. Battle phase. I need you to understand just how much of my deck instantly ends the game right now and how little of it Like, wait, what? Do I not have three spells? I thought I had three spells. Well, fuck. No, you only had two. Well, 
But she came back. Okay. Um. Mm, and I cannot set any back row because you will afterburners me. I will pass the turn. Uh, step of the battle phase. Main phase two. No. End phase. Yeah. I will do that, and because this is Bylander, you know that having one Shizuku means I must have a second one. True. Let's get Widow Anchor, shall we? Okay. That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad for me. Oh, ahi, aha. So we will afterburners, of course. Mm-hmm. Blow up. I'm shocked, I tell you. Blow that up. Destroy a spell trap. Uh, please do <laughs> please do be my guest oh I messed that alright let's widow anchor interesting uh, take control yes mm, don't like that not a fan and let us activate Shino bird calling mm -hmm. I will Banish the Shino bird from the graveyard. Mm hmm. And then I will normal summon Ray. That's exact. <laughs> oh my exactly god. Exactly. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> Let me tell you, Hard Leg, more than <laughs> half of my deck at this point wins me the game. I, like, I'm surprised 70% too. I'm just... of my deck. <laughs> Are you, you, I play Sky Strikers and Rituals, and you had that beast, and somehow I still won. I can't. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, wow. holy shit. Alright, duel number two. This one uh, is twice as duel. Let's start off with this one. Oh. You and your confiscation. Wow, uh, none of this does much good good at all. Let's take out the area zero. Yeah, that's probably the best one. And so then I'm going to normal summon an Inashichi and right. add cash in to my head. One, change the position if you do negate that until the end of a turn. All right. I will set a card and pass the turn. <laughs> Uh, okay. Did you top Target deck the area three, zero? You control one effect monsters. Okay, so if it's face down, that doesn't do anything, right? Correct. Okay. Did I, I know about that, Pokemon? Yes. Oh, well. You knew about yeah. the ray. You didn't know yeah. about the second area zero. I kind of had a suspicion, <laughs> let me tell you. I can't you. believe out of all the cards in my deck. Oh, God. Right. I need you out. to know how ridiculously consistent my openings have been in testing. And how unbelievably unplayable everything I have gotten since has been. Yeah. I, I got it. I got oh. uh, let's battle. I should be able to... Yeah. Okay. Rip. Okay. Gotcha. So we got rid of the Karakuri, which means the trap is off for now. Let's play this over here, which is not giving away anything. It's the Lost and Wind. Or is scrapped. Infirm, I knew about two things. But do you remember what you knew about? You showed a shocking amount of competence at OTKing me before. <laughs> that was like turn 18, all right? You gave me a lot of time. All right. I am going to set a monster and pass the turn. Okay. Okay. Set this. Activate okay. it. Target. Look at the top three. Nothing. All right, then. I will simply battle your face down. All right. <laughs> 16. Hell yeah. It well, worked. Well, you don't go quietly into the night. <laughs> No. Boo. no, I don't think I okay. do. That's fine. 
If you're that down bad that you're setting stuff like that, I... I'm so unbelievably down bad. Yeah. <laughs> Think it'd be better just get rid of it. It sucks to not be able to get the double um, <sighs> pop off, you know, but... Now I have three spells at the grave, so there's that. All right. Uh, let's just keep using Area Zero and hoping we find something. That's not nothing. Hey! Yeah, I'll do that. It's essentially the same thing, you know? Um. Except this one steals a guy. Yeah. Okay. That fits. Yep. 15. Mm-hmm. And then I'll set a card. Could be anything. Mm -hmm. And your move. Okay. Emergency teleport. Okay. Zay Amen. Oh, Zamen. Activate Zay Amen. Okie dokie. 500 less than That's right, I've got a foxy, got tune, foxy tune, buddy! Hit me with your most foxy uh, tune, RJ. Let's... I don't have an infinite track yet. I am going to send away my trencher to summon Zayamin. There's two of them things. There are. Let's normal summon Kunamzon. And right. sure, why not? I'll activate Zayaman's effect. Zayaman, the game 600? Yeah, buddy. All right. 900. So yeah, I'm going to activate the second <laughs> Kunimzon in my hand. Uh, all right. Let's see. If this card is in your hand. You can change its battle position. If you do special summon, this is a tuner. Also, you can have special summon on the extra deck except for machines. Okay. So All right. You're locked into Earth Machines now. I am. You can make it eight. Make eight. Feel great. That's the plan. I do feel great. Good. I'm glad. Let's go Beretta. Oh, big. Uh, yeah, I'll get my lost one back. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. Uh, I do not that's... want you to get the extra monster and the card draw. Fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. And set this. Okay. Uh, let's go battle phase. Okay. I'll attack into the Shizuku. Gotcha. Ray will summon herself out. Hello, I'm Ray. Nice to meet you. Uh, and we'll go end phase. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do this. And we'll go ahead and do this. Another call by Unfortunato. Ah, you say as if I have been getting so lucky the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Questions, questions. What do you do? Do I have a question for you? I do have the other ray. Okay. But its effect is negated, so I can't do the, the tricky thing that I want to do. Um, I can make Kagari. Kagari's okay. cool. And she can add back the... What are we targeting here? Afterburner. The afterburner. Okay. Uh, I am going to use cash in here. Okay. And I will switch probably Kunim's on. Yeah, and then I will go ahead and activate the Lost Wind so you don't draw off of that. Makes sense. And also it makes you 14, which is slightly less. True. True facts. Uh, poo 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 poo. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and battle. Let's All right. Do the battle thing. Beat over Barreto. Yeah, I'll cash in here. Unfortunate. I didn't think you could use both of those effects <laughs> in a turn. 
<laughs> yep, it is not an OPT. It's wonderful. I love it. Oh, uh, it doesn't help me with the fact that you have lost winded it, but you know, we yeah. take what we can get in this match. Let that's, me tell you. Now they say that's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa. Um, oh, I haven't used my other Shizuku. For some reason, I thought I had gone through two of them. Uh, okay, let's Shizuku then. We do not love to hear it. Shuzuku! And let's... Oh. I have, however, gone through most of the stuff. Oh, it's different than the cards in your graveyard. Okay. I was like, what? I thought I had another Widow Acre and another Afterburners. This um, is not nearly as useful. Now well, let's switch Kunim's on. Would that that worked, Buredo. <laughs> Would that that worked. Let's go to that place. Neat. All right. Ray comes back. Oh, he's only got 14. Can't yep. beat the Ray. <laughs> this is so depressing. Her sword is bigger than your two swords. Um. God, the quick effect. Yeah. Moon is literally just fucking. Yeah, I you am can't... going to pass the turn. You can't smash, so you must pass. Let's go ahead and you know, if nothing else, this is the final one. I have I have no more Sky Strikers. Ah, uh, good. There's just another entire half of your deck available to you now. Yeah. Let's let's grab this one. All right. Finally, I drew a sp <laughs> drew a ritual monster. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Candle. Mm -hmm. Talus. Mm -hmm. Activate. Get me the thing. Mm -hmm. I do like the things. What can I say? Uh, why couldn't you set that? Ah, uh, this is still worth doing though. Let's go ahead and use it. Mm -hmm. Fire it off. We got the peacock. Welcome to television. And let's bow. Yep. Uh, 19 is bigger than 14. So they tell me. So I've heard. I did go to an American school. Oh, you don't take the damage. True. Well... Okay, and then you're going to turn into two tokens, and I don't really want you to be two tokens, so let's just fire this and hope we get something. That is not anything. Well, you know, sometimes you don't want two tokens, but sometimes that's what you get. Call me the 420 Blaze It Man, because I'm token. Oh, good. Yes, this card. The best card in my deck. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Is it a bro I can't believe this worked! I'm so sorry, Archie. Yeah. Oh, uh, so <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a <laughs> whole thing. You successfully did that. The, the tokens, go tokens. Yay me. I survived. Is it exact yep. There yeah. we go. Another, another 2-0! Holy sh... <laughs> <laughs> I can't... Literally, if I drew a tuner, one of, like, five tuners, or one of, like, seven resurrection cards for a tuner, at any point in either of those games, I OTK'd. <laughs> It just had so many things, and for whatever reason, I just, just I just had a million turns to just gather up resources. I opened I, both <laughs> trenchers, both oh, games. I uh, I just I just had I drew into exactly the combination of cards that lost me the game. Just like yeah. both games, my deck just gifted me the exact combination of cards that lost me the game. I assume you want to try it again and see if you yeah, can uh, see if you can get get a good good match here. We'll go rematch. Will you um, get the double trencher again? I didn't. 
I did receive an entire move. Oh. Um, that's a that's a whole thing. Uh, you know, I will say, I think Confiscation has an almost 0% win rate in this series. <laughs> it's like the Delinquent Duo. It feels like it should be crazy, and it just doesn't do that much. I think it's gotta be the Ray here. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Because that gets right. me under Shizuku, and Shizuku gets me everything else. Well, let's normal summon Inoshichi. Sure. Okay. I'll allow it. I'll grab cash in. Cool. Mm -hmm. And as per usual, it seems, I am not allowed <laughs> tuners. No tuners, no monsters. I. It is just unbelievable. All right. I am well. just in shock at how little tuning I am allowed to do. Let's do that. You know what? Let's do something a little bit different this time. Chicken game. Okay. Yeah. It's time for a game, Archie. You often compare yourself to Edison, and yet you know nothing about Thomas Edison. Uh... I will... Whoa. Stop freaking out there. I'll set a card. Mm -hmm. And I'll set another card. Mm. Your move, home slice. Slice away, if you dare. Let's draw a card. Darn, I was hoping you would forget the chicken game is reciprocal. <laughs> um. None of this does anything. Yeah, it's the, the only two draw power I have at two is I have two chicken game, which I hate playing because you're just giving your opponents draws unless you can get rid of it. Or, and, um, Pot of Desires. I had two desires, Pot but I mean. <laughs> All right. This is is about what my deck can do right now. Just confiscating uh, everything. You're sitting on a ghost ogre at the moment. Okay. You don't know that. Could be anything. I think, awkwardly, we have to take out the ghost ogre in hand. Yeah. I mean, it's the one that does something. <laughs> yeah. The other two are useless. I mean, uh, you could confirm Hilariously... I am required to attack your face down Ghost Ogre. Oh, yeah, because the car quarries have to attack. It's an effect that, like, normally does not come up. But apparently today is the day for things that that make my life hell. Well, see, it, it's fine. That never come up to come be, up. Because of Chicken Game, you don't take any damage. Uh, speaking of which, let's, let's go ahead and draw another card. Yep. Let's get in there. Um, all right. Candle. I drew into the ritual spell. Oh, good. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right. Talismandra. Yep. Go ahead and search me that ritual monster. I'm going to hope that we can keep you from doing that. <laughs> Sure. Or more importantly, that it matters. Fine, I guess. Whatever, go ahead. At least I've got a bunch of defense walls. What are you going to do, attack him with 500? Uh, let's flip some in Quillbolt, Hedgehog. Oh, hello. I am going to... Four? Got an armory arm in there? Activate Brutal Dozer. Oh, okay. Brutal. And we'll use Brutal Dozer's effect. Uh, no. No, you won't. Rip. Um, that's fine. The chalice uh, is forbidden to you. This is a silly way for this to get there, but it still gets there technically. Let's normal <laughs> some size on. Oh, hello, pupper. Uh, and I'll end this madness. No, I wanted that. That was going to draw me a whole bunch more cards, probably, maybe. Let's go for good old Boo-Ray-Boo. Boo Boo-Ray-Boo. And I will go ahead and activate his effect. Okay. And I'll activate Ghost Ogre. And I will call by. 
Unfortunate. And we will summon the second Sizon. And because I possess a tuner and it is an Earth machine, I <laughs> make Quillful Hedgehog. Sure, why not? Uh, and I will Synchro Summon Buredo. Ah, delicious. Buredo's effect. Oh, look at him. I probably should have put that in defense and then switched it to attack. Just for that extra 500 damage. Yeah. I mean, for the extra 3,000 damage. Uh, oh, maybe it would just be 500. Well, yeah. I'd be doing more damage, is the point here. Yeah. Uh, the point is damage. Yeah. No! Oh, that's a pretty cool card. Um, this Mandra had a headache, and now he's banished. Battle phase. Let's swing it. Campbell! I was going to say, fun trivia fact, if you don't know about the incantations, while they're on the field, you cannot summon out of the extra deck. Amazing. I think that was last episode, you're like, I'm worried about rank four, so I'm going to take out the four. I'm like, you do not oh, have okay. to worry about that. <laughs> um, how many spells do I have in my graveyard? Three? Three. Hey, let's go! Oh, for da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da 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 da the loot, the loot, the loot after burn. Yeah. Um, destroy a spell trap? Yes. Two for the price of one! Alright. And works. then we will normal summon the other ray. No, oh, and none of these are once per turn. No. no. No, they're not. So, let's get this back. Okay. And let's use the effect to get the afterburners back. Yeah, and I am going to cash in here so I can at least <laughs> get draw. something out of this entire affair. I will draw a card one way or another. Well, that's a pretty good card for me to have drawn last turn. <laughs> yeah, All sure. Right. Uh, okay. And you go to defense when you attack, so you yeah. don't take any damage. All right. In phase two. Red gets traded out for blue. Card gets set. And let's go ahead and grab the Widow Anchor. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll go Vernisilf. Oh, it's a pair! Did you know that the Vernisilfs are all dead? They have little halos. They're the spirits oh, so they of do. forlorn animals. <laughs> they seem really sweet and innocent, that. but they are actually, like, the forces of, of winter coming to, like, reclaim the souls of the dead after the seasons change. It's pretty dark. Ask Golden Nova about it. He can tell you. I may. <laughs> For the time being, let's grab Burebu. Oh, he just comes back. Yeah! He's just, he's just back again. Uh, let's see if we can't force ourselves a Widow Anchor. Uh, it is not Widow Anchor. Ooh. We love to hear it. Special Summon, right? Yeah. Main Phase 2. Activate Kunum's on. Uh, okay. And I will call by again. Oh, out of here. Fortunate. Now, Burebu happens to be dinky, <laughs> but it does possess an effect. Aha! Oh, that doesn't stop it from being banished. Ayo. Alright, you're done. Um. Alright, let's see if we can draw into something good. Alright. Let's go for, oh, let's see. Ray's negated and I've used both of them. They'd have to, but this could just like, when uh, you could just change the battle position and I just, just die. True. I just die. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's activate chicken game. Yep. 
Let's get dangerously close to the edge. Perfect. Activate candle by revealing the Shido bird. Wonderful. Talismandra. All right, and we will get the Shido Baron. Now dad's home. And I probably should have stolen your thing so I could use it as tribute, but that's fine. I'll just use these. And we will bounce everything back where it belongs. And then we'll go to back. You fool, this is where I draw into my final Verna self. <laughs> uh, sh you might. That is a level five, so there's entirely a chance that you uh, don't do anything. If you draw into like a Doom Dozer or whatever, another Brutal Dozer, I win. And you can't activate Chicken Game because there's not enough. You're kidding me. This is the one game that I don't have a trencher in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my deck was so, so good. It was so up until close this to match. greatness. I will say this, this format ended up being very interesting. We couldn't quite OTK each other. It's like halfway between like a slow and a fast format. God, and of course you're at exactly 100 less than I am. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is great. It this worked is going out awesomely. perfectly. All right, let's send away a trencher. Okay. You... Ah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna try and take out a token. <laughs> <laughs> it's my only Shit. chance. Well, surely he won't draw a manju. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a weird one. Are both of my Shino birds? Okay, I do still have another calling, so there's a chance I could get one. I would just need the tributes. All right, let's normal summon. Act. Oh, no! It's like one of the strongest normal summons! It is very good. It doesn't do much for my deck if I don't have a tuner, is the thing. Which is strange, because usually Infinitrax are known for their Ixies. Oh, wait, I just re you probably don't have two River Stormer, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> ah, yeah, Riverstorm is kind of hard to get, but it's the one. See, that's the thing is I, I could have played Infinitrax, but all I had was like two Riverstormer and two of the uh, Vespinato. So I'm like, I could, I could make those. Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. Okay. Widow Anchor. Give me this one. Mm-hmm. Manju of the 10,000. Oh, so, <laughs> some people just have the power of God in anime just, on their side. What the fuck? I can't. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Why did I, I have this? I spent an entire match waiting to draw into one of the 20 tutors in my deck. And you're just like, every turn, you're just like, oh, the one card in my deck, the one two of in my deck that I needed? Don't the mind if I do. Sure, why not? I'll take that. <laughs> oh, God, I'm banning wow. Blaster. <laughs> Blaster? <laughs> Blaster didn't even show you. Sure, you don't want to get rid of the, 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 the Sky Strikers? What are you going to do? Summon Ray in Anti-Chaos? Oh, yeah, I guess the, that is next week's episode. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so you're just saying, like, no, I'm not allowed to play, um, not allowed to play Dragon Rulers next week. Correct. I guess, I guess that's a good strategic band you're preparing for next week. <laughs> it's just that I can't imagine, like, Blaster just sitting at home on his day off, and then he gets the email telling him he's been banned. He's like, what? I haven't even been to work today. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? Uh, someone oh, is getting it sued. It happened because my deck 
just couldn't be bothered. My deck <laughs> just decided today it wasn't happening. That's fine. The, the Shino Barons are wind. I'll be able to make them work without Manju or the incantations, maybe. Uh, this is going to be tricky. All right. Well, there we go. Once more. I, I am what? Now I need three more wins to win the series yep. and you need two? The, the series, it, it just turns out that Chaos Draft is required by the fates to go the full length. <laughs> It's just... It, it, <laughs> I just always catch up later on, baby. I'm never good at the beginning, but I get there. I get there. So yeah, you'll have to tune in next week. We're doing anti-chaos, no lights, no darks, probably more Earth Machine stuff. So you can check that out. And until then, good luck. God, I'm, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> and welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, episode 22. I don't know about you, I'm feeling 22. I'm feeling 22. Yes, and I'm Hard Leg Joe, if and you didn't know, joined by the Kyle Rayner of Yu-Gi-Tube, the RJB0. Oh, I'm so close to knowing that one. Oh, okay, that's why I know that one. Okay. I I'm curious where you're going with this one. You want a green you... lantern? Yeah. <laughs> He's one of many uh, green lanterns. Is it because lanterns. is it because their the the en their enemy is chaos? Is that what it is? Uh no. I I picked the green lantern because uh I like the green lantern and I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> That's a good okay. I'm just like <laughs> there's I'm no significance. I have yes. no idea. You think I know about comics? No. Anyway, I, I was really was a, into comics a... for a short period of time. Really into Green Lantern, and then I'm glad. Like all things with comics, you know, it just keeps going. There's no end to it. I don't know anyone who like keeps up with it forever. Everyone has a period where they jump on and they enjoy the ride, and then eventually it's like. I was hoping this would have a climactic ending, but the nature of comic comics means it can't. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nothing ever ends. It just keeps going. In some ways, it's like life in that way. True. I'm very glad that you uh, that you smoothed over my impeccable transition that I began there. Oh, I apologize. Uh, no, no, no. It was it was quite possibly the worst segue ever attempted. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of segues, uh, I should let you know that today's chaos rule is anti-chaos, which if you don't know, means we're not playing lights and darks. We're focusing on the oh. other four elements. Earth, wind, Sweet. fire, and the other one. September. Yes, September. It is September, so yeah, there you go. Yeah. And if you, you will, Jules, go ahead and put up the ban list for now. If you missed last episode, what was that? Did Derek Crane get banned last episode? Blaster. Blaster. Last episode. Yeah, that's why no, I couldn't remember. I've lost too it. many times in a row to remember which ban. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It was it was Blaster, which didn't show up, but you you pretty much banned it so it wouldn't show up today because I would have been playing Dragon Rulers if not for that. Exactly. But with Blaster and Title both gone and me only having one Redox, not really working out this time. Unfortunately, I have to find something else. What exactly will I be able to build? We have to see the polls for that. Let's go ahead and jump into um, the, the polls. Let's keep it simple the, today. The polls. The yeah. Polls. All right, here we are back at it again, doing more polls, and uh, we might be in trouble. Anti chaos is is not great with what my collection is. We just went through, and it's like. Everything good we've been building for has light or dark, except for Dragon Rulers, but with Blaster Band, there's not much we can do there. Uh, we, we could do in, Infinitrack slash Earth Machine again, but with the Heavy Freight Train Derecrane Band, there's, like, our, our pile is significantly worse than RJ's. We can't make our rank 10s anymore, and there's not enough easy 10s to get. That still may be what we're going in, but there's also cope for six samurais because most of the good ones like Kageki and Shizan aren't light or dark. There's Fire Fist, which is of course all fire. And we have a Varta, which can work as a negate within Fire Fist or just a fire deck in general. If we can get Fire King stuff, that'll also work. Um, we've got enough rock stuff to maybe make a fossil deck. I've been wanting to get fossils, but there's just not enough good rock stuff, especially since we aren't opening the pack that has Adamancipators in it. 
Um, and then the final one, which I have written down and I forgot off the top of my head, but I can look this up real quick. Um, oh no, that's all of them. Earth Machine, Six Sam, Rock, and Fire Fist. There's those four decks. We're going to be looking to get things for those. If we can't find anything for those, then we go in, go ahead and try to plan out for uh, Extreme Highlander. See what we can get there. If there's anything that like, looks neat and we don't have a copy of it already, we take it. Nobleman of Extermination is alright spell trap removal for Extreme Highlander, but only if we don't already have one. We do... Nothing else here is really that interesting though, so we'll just take the third one and maybe we'll use it at some point. Who knows? So this week... <laughs> this week is going to be interesting. This is the week that our Earth Machine pile could be fully realized for the first time ever, but after last week, I kind of hope we never run that again. I have another idea, and I'll give you a little bit of a hint. It's about to get fuggin' whimdy in here. Let the games begin. Let's flip those cards up. What do we have here? We have a Relinquished. Okay, um, sure? Legendary Collection 2. Well, do we... Is that the third Super Poly? Do we already have three Super Polys? No, that is the third Super Poly. We don't have great targets for it, but now we can run it at three and not have to worry about stuff. Premium gold, the original gold. That's a forbidden dress and a Stardust Dragon. Ghost of a Grudge is kind of a sick card. Uh, if your opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, the attack of all your monsters <laughs> or all of your opponent's monsters becomes zero. Uh, Ancient Pixie Dragon, also a sick card. If you activate a field spell, it lets you draw a card. And then you can also kill a monster on the board, which is sick. How many of those do I already have? I have none. I will take it. Wing Raiders. Uh, there's no way we're playing Lost. We're playing Raid Raptors this week because they're all dark. Do I have three Call of the Haunted already? I have two. Let's go ahead and take the third one right now. Why not? Duelist Saga. Don't think there's anything that's on my list out of here, but this set is kind of a banger. It's a little bit of a banger. Ooh, that's not a bad pull out of it either. Masked Hero Dark Law. If we can get a mask change second, this card is very, very good for Extreme Highlander. A saga for the duelists. Oh, hello there. Pretty sure I already have three of those. Uh, your band this week. Do I already have a Malevolence in? I feel like that's something I must have taken. Good old Duel Link special. No, I don't have one yet. All right. So we can at least take this. This is another rank four that might be good in Extreme Highlander. Battles of Legend Armageddon. I think this one has something sick in it for me. I think what it has is Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion. Let's go. I had a copy of it before, but this insulates me against drawing it and against hitting it on off of Pot of Desires. This is great. This makes it much more likely that our Aurora Dawn combo goes off. And Aurora Dawn is crucial for the deck that we're going to be playing this week. Mystical Fighters. Well, there's the second suit. I wanted this last week. They couldn't give it to me this week, but I got, well, I mean, I'm taking it. I'm not sure if we'll ever get a chance to play Math Max again before the series is over, but, uh, you know, now we have two. Maximum Gold, the original gold. This does not inspire me. I will take the red-eyed dice. It's at least it's at least an option for us to work with. All right, El Dorado. This has Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai. If I can pull that, it'll absolutely make the Six Samurai a playable deck and maybe even stronger than anything RJ has. So if we don't get it here, we're going to use all our rerolls on it and try to get it. Uh, Xcode Talker is really tempting. Urgent Schedule is really tempting. I mean, we're going to take this for now, but we're going to re-roll and see if we can get that. 
Uh, that'll pretty much decide, like, you know, if we get three of this, that makes our Earth Machines really good. And if we get the Battle Shogun, then that's probably better. And for our final pack of the main opening, it is Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. Odd Eyes Phantasma Dragon is a sick card for pendulums. No, it actually sucks. What am I thinking of? But given that there is literally nothing else in here that we want, I'll take it. Finally, Crystal's Revenge! Uh, Doodle Beast Stego. If you control no monsters or all monsters or dinosaurs, special summon this. Add a Doodle Book. I mean, it's a level 5 Earth that you could special summon. What is the Doodle Book? Uh uh uh. When a dinosaur is targeted for an attack, negate the attack, special summon a Doodle Beast. I think we just take this one. Dragon Nails, no, this is a dark, yeah, we'll just, we'll take that. And then we go to the, to the, the Chaos Packs. Hard Legs Chaos Pack number one. What do you have for us? We've got an Iris Sword Soul. We've got a Gladiator Beast Mermillo. We've got another Gladiator Beast Mermillo. Uh, riveting stuff here. <laughs> I'll take Fossil Machine Skull Wagon because it's a funny card to send off of uh, Dogmatica Punishment. All right, this is probably the last chance we'll get to finally pull a Machina out of here. Like, the, we've both been pulling the whole season. We're on 20 episodes. Can we see the Machina? Uh, not this time. Got the Weathering Soldier. Do I already have three of those is the question weather no i have two and we might play the rock deck uh i everything else we've already got three of these we're not playing the ursartix yeah let's take the third weathering soldier hard like chaos back number two uh starting off strong with a bunch of cards that i don't care about um, none of these cards are really doing it for me, so I'm gonna take the Lavalval X Lord because it's funny. Okay, attempt number two. Show me the Machina. This is not the Machina. Skull Convoy. I guess we just take the other machine. Maybe something we can do with it. The Dark Machine doesn't help us. And now it's time for my Chaos Pack. There's a rocket recharger. Again, we probably don't want another copy of that so we can maintain it for Extreme Highlander. You know what? Atlantean Dragoons. I should be more practical than that. Uh, let's grab the Necker World Banshee. All right, RJ's packs. I don't think he has anything that'll be particularly useful in, in this situation. Oh, Pot of Avarice. Do we already have a Pot of Avarice? I mean, that is draw power, and with the Earth Machine deck, we do fill up. We already have one. Could get a second one, maybe. What does Cyber's Wizard do? Target one attack position monster, change it to defense. If you do, your monsters cannot attack, except to attack that monster. But it does piercing. Sure, sure, we'll take that and see what happens. All right. And now for the last Chaos Pack, what just happened? Uh, oh, a second Pot of Avarice is not bad. I've been struggling a little bit with cards in hand in the Speedroid deck, and Pot of Avarice would help out with that a lot. I, it is very easy to put guys in the graveyard in that deck. I will actually take that quite happily. Okay, RJ's other pack. What do we got here? Breakthrough skill, another Kageki, another Spirit Reaper. Uh, do I already have the Breakthrough skill? I think I do. Yeah, and that's another one we want to keep at one. Can't play, can't play, can't play, can't play, can't play. Although Jura Ghetto might be nice. Don't have a Jura Ghetto. Do I have the hands? I do not. So I guess we just take the Jura Ghetto for the, the Extreme Chaos. And uh, yeah, all we got left is our rerolls. Let's see if we can get that Battle Shogun, shall we? All right. We are, we're going to, I'm trying my best just to get more rerolls. I'm trying, but we're going to start with Maximum Gold Eldorado. The, uh, no. 
How about this one? Hmm. There's a King Calamity. No. All right, we've got up to 10 rerolls. We're going to start with El Dorado, potentially use it on all of these, and we're just trying to get the Battle Shogun. We're just hoping the Battle Shogun shows up. Try this first. Roll number one. That is not a Battle Shogun. Twin Twisters is all right, but uh, yeah, we're going to go for number two. Uh, no Battle Shogun, although Numeron is funny. All right, Mystic Fighters is a cool set for us this week because it gives us a potential third copy of Tempest. That's something I'd love to have. Let's see if we can pull it. A Debris Dragon is not bad. We'll keep that one in mind for sure. He has a Stamping Destruction. There's another Debris Dragon. Okay, come on. Tempest is a super in here. Okay... There it is. Okay, and with one reroll to go, we've gotten the Tempest that we wanted. Pack number three. Scrap Wyvern, still no Battle Shogun. Pack number four. Firewall, Moonlit Chill, the RJ special. Pack number five. Ugh, another one of those. Okay, pack number six. Got one of these, but we already have one. Let's go for number seven. Come on. <laughs> Don't make me use all pack number eight. <laughs> they gave me the weather painter. They gave me C. Numeronius. Pack number nine. Uh, area of the water charmer. All right, we got one more. Pack number 10. Not feeling too good about it. Nah, we'll just keep what we got. We'll keep the uh, the thing, the uh, the urgent schedule. That seems a little more urgent. We'll see how that goes. And finally, for my pity pack, if I haven't telegraphed it enough, go into the speedroid pack. Now, I should have taken the anti-magic arrows that I was looking at earlier just because this is going to give me all the level one machines I could possibly want, but I didn't think I was going to go into this pack this week. This is potentially really solid let's see what we can get starting with pack number one of warp speed toys we've got speed recovery and takitam borg both of those cards are extremely good i think i want to take the third takitam borg i've been having trouble getting wind extenders into rotation and this is like the best one all right pack number two uh hagoita for the super rare not ideal we would have loved to have seen a car turbo in that slot but we will take a shock surprise that's a pretty good card uh dent and daiko duke is also very solid as a rare but we have a lot of access to that card in particular next pack a warp speed toys there is another whoa there's so much going on in this pack oh my god okay speed lift extremely good card if you control exactly a tuner and no other monster special summon a level four lower speedroid monster from your deck uh, that does give us the extension. I think we take the speed lift. We've got really, really good synchro monsters to work with. I don't think we need the clear wing in order to play our deck. We'll take the speed lift. All right, pack number four of Warp Speed Toys. This pack has treated us very nicely. Ah, oh, another super rare we didn't really want. Uh, we do already have three Terror Top, but we don't have a Marble Machine yet, and that's an okay card. And for our final pack of Warp Speed Toys, what do we got? Ooh, the second Rubber Band Shooter. Yeah, I will take a second Rubber Band Shooter. We got all of the Super Rares except exactly the one I was looking for, and we didn't get... We didn't get the uh, Maleficent, Mal Malefic Magnet which I was a little bit hoping we would get. But that's okay. We got some pretty decent pulls. We rounded out my lineup of Speedroid Takatom Borgs. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get to cooking. So I could have run Earth Machine. I could have done that. But frankly, I didn't think it was worth it. The, the biggest advantage of my Earth Machine pile versus RJ's is that I have all the rank 10 trains. 
But unfortunately, without the heavy freight train Dare Crane, I have very few ways to make it. Uh, we did find a neat combo with like one of the, I think it was a junk card that we pulled, junk golem or something. But uh, I, I think making an entire deck around a one card unrepeatable combo, not particularly great. Plus, just from an entertainment uh, standpoint, you've already seen Earth Machine. Playing Earth Machine again, but but with less power, is, is not super interesting. So instead, we're playing Fossils. Because I believe that RJ is going to be either on his Earth Machine pile again or Speedroids. Those are the two things he showed off that are anti-chaos that could work. Both of them use high-level monsters to uh, accomplish things, and both of them also make big boards that don't have a lot of spell trap negates. So, here's my strategy, right? We've got Fossil Fusion, which if you don't know, fuses with cards in your opponent's graveyard to make these big OTK machines. Uh, I've got three of it. I've got three Weathering Soldier, if this is sent to the graveyard, it searches Fossil Fusion. Three Mathematician, to send Weathering Soldier to the graveyard. Two Foolish Burial to send Weathering Soldier to the Graveyard. And this other card also sends Weathering Soldier to the Graveyard. So we've got this whole side of the list is like we're going to get to Fossil Fusion no matter what. Row two, ways to get rid of RJ's monsters. We're going to go second and hit him with the Dark Hole or the Lightning Vortex or the Special Hurricane or the Kaiju Slumber or any of our many Kaijus. And then everything else this row is mostly just cards that are there to put more uh, damage on board. Uh, these are powerful, not enough to OTK on their own, but if you can get one or two monsters on, you're good. So we've got all the Verna Sylphs. Let's just get all of our monsters out of the graveyard. Weathering Soldier in particular has 2,000 attack. Uh, we've got Gigantes and Extender, Link Slayer, Monster Reborn to take anything left, Premature to bring something back. I didn't have a ninth one, so I just put this in because I thought it would be funny. Uh, and then this bottom row is just a bunch of tech cards. We got some spell trap removal, recycling. This is another target for Foolish and Miracle Rupture. Just puts another level four on board. We do have a couple level fours and links we can make. We're almost all rock, so it's not too hard to get into raw 10. Or we can make Pit Knight early if we do this properly. She can uh, lower the attack of a monster to zero, which makes these hit even harder. We've also got the Kokimiru Guardian and the Amano Iwato. If RJ does have a lot of monsters or monsters that can't be destroyed by battle, um, or we just don't draw into any of our removal, we can hopefully normal summon one of these, use their effects, and then do, do stuff. Or not use their effects, but in the case of Amano, just turn off all of RJ's effects and then do our plays without worrying about them being negated. Um, so that's the tactic. And there's only two problems. One, if I'm wrong and RJ's not on high-level monsters, I might be doomed. Just in general, there's no way to recover from that. Uh, and two, there's a chance that we brick. Part of the problem of playing something so consistent where you have, like, 12 ways to search it is that, uh, you might get, like, there's, it's possible to draw a hand of nothing but this. And then we might be a little screwed. Although this is neat, like if you already got Fossil Fusion in the grave, it draws you a card. Um, and, and yeah, we can always change things up with the side deck. Side deck, I assume after we go second, RJ is going to make us want to go first. In which case we've got Punishment, we've got Dust Shoot, we've got Trap Trick, we've got uh, Delinquent Duo. Uh, I Wish I Was Dead still wants me to play all this, and sure, I'll try it. If we can Dust Shoot and Delinquent Duo uh rj we might just be able to completely shut him down or if nothing else set up the graveyard for fossil fusion uh we've got the only playable hand trap in this format the earth ghost bell which might be useful and parasomnia pillow this is another like damage dealing thing i considered doing uh if you're unfamiliar with this card it's very neat and funny but the key thing is i equip it to one of rj's monsters and then if i hit it with dark hole or any of these other destruction cards not only does he lose the monster, but I get a token that has attack equal to that monster's attack. So I imagine something like one of the many Karakuri synchros. Put this on it, blow it up, get a 2800 attack token. That plus either of the fossils is just game. Of course, it's a two-card combo where I only got four, uh, five destruction cards. So not necessarily useful, but uh, we'll see. We'll have to see how the first duel goes and anything. I might replace it with the spooky dogwood. Who knows? 
Um, either way, we're near the end of the series. There's a lot of stuff I've been building to that I really want to show, so I'm just going to get goofy with it. You know, no risk, no reward. We're going to try our best. Oh, is it the COVID chills I got, or is it getting fucking windy in here? <laughs> it's probably the COVID. Listen, folks, I'm not at my best this week, uh, but I can't get much worse than last week. After last week's humiliating defeat, I got a little bit burnt out. I'm not going to lie, but I remembered that I had this in my lineup. I have a stellar suite of Earth machines in my pool. I have basically everything I need to run as good a Karakuri deck as possible this week, but I've played Earth Machine three times. I've lost two of them. I don't want to play Earth Machine. You don't want me to play Earth Machine. And after looking at my hands last week, clearly the gods don't want me to either. So I've decided the gods are dead. Consistency is fake. I'm going to play Speedroids this week. I love this deck. Uh, it does so many cool things. Okay, let me talk you through this. The opening combo of this deck, part of the reason why I'm running it, is a very consistent easy low to the ground pair of cards it really just takes any wind monsters including some special summons and we've got a load of them between our titles and tempests our, our tempests and and lightnings those ones our triple terror top our triple talk at tomborg our triple emergency teleport and double foolish burial we've got a lot of special summonable material and the capability to get into it with a lot of these other spell cards that allows us to do a combo that goes through rubber band shooter and aurora dawn and typically ends me up with a cyframe lord omega and a chunging on the board a pair of cards that absolutely shred most strategies being able to banish cards on the field and in the graveyard and the opponent's hand and getting a fuck ton of attack to attack over your opponent's monsters with a very strong set of things for going second that are a recurrable set of advantage thanks to my double soul charge and my double monster reborn and the fact that Tempest can just keep coming back alongside our repeatable resources like the Tarot Tops getting things like Takatomborg and our Denden Den Daiko Duke which could be summoned off the Takatomborg or the double yo-yo and keep making synchros and popping off. This deck does so many cool things so easily and I'm very excited to play it. The main deck is mostly made for going second. The reason is most of my cards do best when they can operate on both my turn and my opponent's turn. Things like Chung Yang, which can shred the field on my turn and then have an interrupt on the opponent's turn. Baron de Flore destroys a card during my turn and can negate during the opponent's turn. Omega is big. It can attack and do something during the opponent's turn. So I want to be going second to make the most use of those resources. So we're running the Double Book of Moon in case hard like is on things that stop me from using my special summons uh in testing things like el shadal window were a major problem i recognize in chaos anti-chaos that doesn't do us much good but book of moon deals with things like baguska as well called by the grave deals with hand traps and also can take out some cards in my opponent's graveyard to trigger the chunging without having to use up my omega and double infinite impermanence as a general going second tool alongside my hand traps our side deck is is modulated for going first, which the sec is also fairly good at. We've got a bunch of hand rip capability, largely for taking out kaijus and hand traps. We've got a couple of forbidden chalices. This is both an interrupt and it deals with things that Book of Moon does not. A third called by the grave. Double hey trunade for going second against trap decks. Triple mask of restrict for going first against earth machine. One Gadarla and two Menko. This card is a weird one. This is for good for going against OTK based decks, which which I don't anticipate even against those. I'll bring this in, but it's a nice tech to have around. This deck is really cool. It can do so many cool different combos, and I'm so excited to show them off to you. After last week, I wasn't thinking I could get excited about Chaos Draft again, but this week I am. Let's get into the All duels. right, here we are. We're beginning. This will be the most important rock, paper, scissors of my political career. Uh-oh. I have made okay. my decision. I regret my decision. <laughs> um, you don't have a lot of reason to. There's actually barely anything I can do with this hand. Uh, uh, 
It will shock you to find out I actually prepared to go second this time around, and I didn't open a second starter, so it's all ah. new. Ah, I see. Well, that is unfortunate, because I also prepared to go second. I do have a night beam, That's though. a whole night beam. Yep. That's not ideal. Well, I'm glad I hit that while I could. The question is, what can I do from here? And the answer is very little. Very little indeed. We love indeed. to hear it. Uh, I think all I'm going to do is run out Link Slayer. He's, he do be slaying. He's big. Let's get a fourth of your life points down here. Not a bad choice. Yeah, it's there's a chance that I get OTK'd from this position. Uh, but, I mean, you just, you just gotta have to go for it. We'll see. Okay, that does something. Not everything, but something. I'm going to start with the activation of Emergency Teleport. Alright. I guess a brick hand is ourselves. an emergency in some, some Let's get ways. ourselves a virtual world Hime Nyan Nyan. Ah, wind. And we're going to normal summon a Mecha Fan of Beast Dracosac. Ah, wind. Very windy, sir. Uh, let's... Will we see another wind? That is definitely wind. Here. Uh, we'll activate the rubber band shooter. Oh, you're actually I... activating the effect this time. Not just a uh, means to get monsters into the grave. It is absolutely going to be activated this time. The question is, what am I going to be getting off of it? I think I'm going to banish... A light in the dark. I'm thinking it's got to be Zhezhe here. Interesting. And I will grab either a Terra Top or a Taka Tomborg. I got right. the Taka Tomborg. Good. I think... Why did it pause after that? I don't know. I am concerned. You can say. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's special summon the Taka Tomborg. Hello. I will not be activating the Nyan Nyan at this time, I don't think. I think what I want to do here is activate Taka Tomborg. All and right. I'll grab red-eyed dice you are now locked into winds enjoy wind i am going to enjoy wind so much wind is actually one of my favorite forms of weather ah. i enjoy wind greatly and i've been meeting a strange number of people recently who don't enjoy wind it baffles me no we will not be activating when i had long hair i didn't like wind now that i have shaved head doesn't bother me that's funny i feel like an opposite way I love that with the long hair, I love that I can insulate myself against the cool. All right. Uh, let's grab ourselves. I'm going to pull a trick I forgot that you could do the last time I played this deck, which is sacking off the Auroradon itself. Ah. And then I'm going to go for a Pot of Avarice. Fancy. I am going to put back a lot of things. At least five things. I am going things. to put back exactly five things actually yeah when i state the obvious in every conversation i'm always right and it makes me sound smart all right come on oh rewarded oh that feels so good okay i'm so glad i don't have to use that card this turn uh let's summon ourselves a humble stardust dragon hello nice and animation. i'm gonna activate a lion yeah, we love the Master Duel animation for Stardust, and I'm going to activate Nyan Nyan. Okie dokie. I'm going to Foolish Away, a copy of Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. Alrighty. You didn't get to play the Dragon Rulers this time, but I certainly will. Maybe one day they will return. Oh, and then Hard Leg, I am so happy to introduce to you the newest member of my extra deck, the champion of flowers, the uh, Radiant Rose it's herself, the, the best level 10 synchro. You, you sound so unexcited, Hard it's a, Leg, it's Joe. A wind. It's, the the only, de fleur. it's the only wind level 10. I, <laughs> I could see it coming uh, from a mile away. 
Yeah, but uh, no need to be lame about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the question is, do I put back the Jiajia or do I put back one of my other wind guys? And I think I put back the Jiajia just so I have another synchro to work with here. Alrighty. Uh, and then I'm going to donk that Link Slayer. Goodbye, Link Slayer. And then let's go to the battle phase. All right. 5,500. Stardust? This is more than uh, a fifth of my life points. It is a tidy sum. Ah. Uh, main phase two. Did you draw into some cards you can set as well? I drew into a card I, I can set. A pity. Perhaps I should have saved the Link Slayer. Uh, I am not going to use Barone's effect during the standby phase. It'll shock you to find out. Fair enough. Nothing in my graveyard is better than a Barone de Fleuron. <laughs> so here's the thing. The reason why I'm not so impressed by your Barone de Fleur is because it's a turtle now. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Okay, that's fine. I am unimpressed with turtles. Uh, let us activate a foolish burial of our own. That's fine. And in this case, let's go ahead and send a Weathering Soldier, shall we? A-OK -okay by me. Uh, let's grab a Miracle Rupture. What the hell-ass balls is this? Just another Foolish Burial, essentially. And oh. let's Fossil Fusion. Let's not. Ghost Bell. Unfortunate. All right, if that's the case... We'll activate this. Okay, we're going to do it again. send Revival Golem. Revival Golem you, will be special summon. Okay. Uh, let's normal summon a Weathering Soldier. We got it. All right. And uh, let's go into everyone's favorite Earth Ixie monster. The Terribly Tired Tapir. He do be tired. Right, and then let's go into the battle phase. Got something for me? Uh, not according to my screen. All right, then. Cool. Glad we had this conversation. Yes, quite indeed. Infinite impermanence? Unfortunate. Cool. I. Uh, oh, I can keep doing this. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's try for it. Holy shit, that actually does everything. Let's go for an emergency teleport. Let's do this whole song and dance again. Uh, okay. I uh, I am going to banish Wind Pegasus Adagnister. That was a bad banish. I thought I still had a speedroid in my graveyard. <laughs> oh well, okay. Well, I mean I've gotta go for it, so uh there's going to be an obvious choice among these. Oh wait. That I forgot that that also counts as a speedroid. Yeah. Um I'm just trying to come up with reasons why I shouldn't do all this. Oh. Is the reason I shouldn't do all of this because I can just kill you right now and there's no point in showing you anything else that my deck is capable of? I mean, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything because if you want to go off, you can go off, but uh, you do have game on board. Yeah, we're just we're just going to try for game on board. Everything else can be back up <laughs> in case this doesn't work. I've got a whole huge plan and I don't need to show you that my deck is capable of it. Yeah, I didn't think you would be main decking the uh, the ghost spells. That's unfortunate. They are a very good non chaos hand trap. Yeah, I suppose they are. Oh boy, I'm going first. Yes. Uh, this is just about the worst hand my deck is capable. Of. <laughs> good to hear. I will not lie to you, Hard Lane Show. It's not a good hand. <laughs> um. I don't think I have ever seen something this bad. God. Uh, well, I'm just gonna have to 
hope this will get me there. I'm going to normal summon Yan Yan. Oh, hello. And I'm going to special summon the Taki Tomborg in my hand. Oh, neat. Two wins, both level three. You could make Wind MX Saber Invoker. Or a bug. A bug would also <clears> do it. <throat> Just going to have to set a card. Well, two cards. Ooh, okay. Play around we mech can, knights. I can work with that. I... That's technically a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Hopefully. If, if you drew a magic card, we're going to have a trouble. I don't want to see no bolts. You don't even have mana. Actually, and it this pains me so much to say. I'm going to follow suit. <laughs> ah. I see. Well, I might as well take care of this while I'm here. It's a called by. Good. Oh, that is hilarious. All right. All right. Oh, you couldn't have come at a better time, my old friend. I, uh, yeah, we can do something with that. Probably. It's a pity it's not Halloween right now. I have no idea what's going on here. Who about to find out? A normal summon's going to happen. I'm waiting It's going for it. to happen. I, this is this hand is so unbelievably bad, but it kind of does it. It kind of does it. Uh oh, actually it hella does it. Let's normal <laughs> summon Den Den Dyke Duke. Um okay. Let's flip summon Yan Yan. <laughs> is that a 3 and a tuner? Okay. Let's get a little spooky, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You're going to gain... Some amount of life points if you do something. Equal to half that monster's attack. It's going to be quite a few life points. Uh, not as many as one might think, but it's going to be some number of life points. I do enjoy Hilariously, life most point. of the things I'm going to summon do not have many attack points. Ah. So let's start with rubber band shooter. Yay. Oh, it's not half? No. It's equal to its attack? It's equal to the attack. That's brutal. It basically makes it impossible uh, for you to OTK me because no matter what you summon, I'm going to have that much uh, life points. Unless you have something that like go... gains life points in the battle phase or something. I guess that would work. Yeah, the half is if I don't gain any life points by this effect, then my life points get halved. But I've already gained some, so we're good yeah. then. Let's banish Wind Pegasus. Hello, Windy Horse. Uh, I'll go for Takitomborg Double Yo-Yo. Sure. Got the Take. Yeah, I'm not Let's... I wonder how many people are even familiar with Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Basically, it's Max C, but for life points. <laughs> yes, which normally doesn't matter a huge amount, but my deck really has to push through a lot of the time. Yeah. Let's... We were talking about the, the Earth Hand Trap being the only one you could play, and I was like, there's one more. It's not very good, but you can play it. <laughs> I mean, I also have another another hand trap, another elemental hand trap. In fact, another ghost girl that I can play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, this is the worst idea ever, but I'm actually just going to go for it. All right. No brain. It's just special summon. Give you all the life points. 600. It's fine. You've uh, I'm not going to use the onion. Uh, Let's go... Aurora Dawn. 21. Roradon's effect. Oh, the tokens are all zero. They are all zero. I this is I'll kind of the saving grace zero. for me right now. Nope. Uh, I will not activate Yon Yon at this time. I will activate Roradon. Okie dokie. This is part of why I can be okay with this, is this little combo gives you comparatively few life points. Yeah. I 
let's go for... What have you shown me so far? You've shown me a kaiju. You showed me a, a fossil Fox. fusion. You showed me some back row removal. Let's try for. You've seen comparatively this one. what? Let's go for. Cyframe Lord Omega. Oh, hello. Yeah. And then I am going to give you a million more life points this turn. Oh? Because uh, I am going to activate my Oliot here. That's still a zero attack token. It is, but it is going to trigger the Nyan Nyan in my grave. Oh, okay. Cyborg Cat. And then I'm going to activate the tempest in hand ah. i was not kidding about how many life points i'm going to give to you with this time around let's put back the or let's banish for now the double yo-yo and i've activated aurora dawn enough this match so far <laughs> we'll summon tempest my life points have officially doubled they're very very high and they're about to get higher it turns out i'm gonna special summon another new toy of mine the king of the sword souls himself supreme sovereign chung ying and we get much higher uh, and i'm gonna put back the double yo-yo all right cool and then i'm gonna activate a mega I will not chain my own Cicada King. Uh, we love to see you lose a Kaiju so that I can trigger my Chung Ying here. And while this doesn't help me at all with OTKs, if that's a Weathering Soldier, it was not a Weathering Soldier, but boy am I glad that I just banished that. Uh, I'm going to put my Cicada King forward. Well, let's go to Battle Phase and see if we can reduce those life points just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Just a wee bit. Your go. That's funny. You're funny. Uh, okay. So, Chenging is a spider God now. Damn it! <laughs> that's, that's just how he is. And, um... Uh, see what you got here yeah i guess we're just going to uh monster reborn and now it's our chen Yang. no <laughs> hello there oh god no nice to meet you uh let's go ahead and battle uh-huh let's get over this sticky string kaiju it's a lot okay. of damage a fair amount. Um, do I want to use that? I don't think I want to use that. Not at the moment. Not at this juncture. Wouldn't be prudent. And okay. there you go. No God, hey. that's a card I wish that I had last turn. Like a Messiel is back. You uh, want to activate a Mega again? Sentry. Uh, we'll see. Um, that's a lot of fun stuff you've got in You your can see there. why I've been in a bit of a pickle. The most fun one of them all is by far the Gamma Seal. Yeah. Uh, what does this do? Okay. Activate Tempest. All right. I'm going to banish from my graveyard the Takatomborg and the Rubber Band Shooter. Chen Ying becomes bigger. It does. Uh, okay. Not okay. Well, I'm gonna mega. Uh, okay. Okay. So far, so good. Try to think about what you might possibly be going into. Can't make raw ten because you have three different types. Um. Most of the Link 3s that I'm aware of are light or dark and cannot be played. Let's activate the Denden Den Daiko Duke in my hand. 
All right. I'm going to summon myself a red-eyed dice. Okie dokie. It's going to have to be... Kite Drake here. We'll activate Kite Drake's effects. All right. We're actually weirdly going to have to negate Chung in here. Oh, okay. He is negated. Uh, we'll go to battle phase. Are you going to crash it too? I mean, that's what it takes to get over that much. Yeah, I'll use Kite Drake's effect. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. floats as well. I will take... Holy shit, wait, that does things. Uh, fuck, why did I banish the Den Den? Oh, no. Okay, um, that's no biggie. I'm just going to lose the game. Don't mind me. Um, Hello, Terror Top. Yeah, and I'll attack it. If I Sega had realized... Game. I had it in my head that Kite Drake only has 2,700. If I had, if I had remembered that it had a full 3K, I wouldn't have <laughs> banished the Den Den, and I would have been able to go for, um, I would have been able to go for Barone okay. this turn. Okay, I but, have uh, two, that three, four, five. main phase two, I do still have a normal summon in my lineup. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. That's okay. Is that one of the cards that does it? Yes. So I know you've got the speedroid in your hand, right? Correct. Let's go ahead. Foolish and burial. Foolish okay. burial. Um, when a monster on the field activates, so we send this. We get yep. a dang old fossil fusion. Yep. Can't win the game from here. But I can I could do some pretty cool stuff. Okay, fossil fusion time. Okay. We are going to make Fossil King Skull Man by banishing those two. Big fossil. Okay. Hello there. Big sword. He big. He big. Very large. Oh wait, can I uh, actually? Let me let me do some quick maths real quick. Okay. Um, cause this guy, yeah. That plus that minus that plus that. Oh yeah, yeah, that is that is game. So premature burial. Yep. You knew I had the one left. We'll get the sticky string kaiju. That does it, man. Battle Foolish face. burial off the top. I have Truly two of incredible them. Incredible stuff. Yep, the 28, this can attack twice, and it does piercing into the yep. token, so that might as well not be there. And then the other thing I was thinking, because he can discard during your turn to summon something back, so I could have stolen the Chen Ying again. <laughs> if that I had kept the Foolish really Burial. really something. <laughs> foolish Burial All and right. Premature Burial. All right, we go into Not the third. Burial. But, I mean, I'm shocked I made it as far as I did in that one, considering I opened Den Den, uh, Dice, Double Nyan Nyan, and Atake Tom Borg. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to go first this time. Oh, you're going first? I have been punished. I, God, I don't like doing this, but it's sometimes what I have to do. Okay. I don't like leading with this card, but I'm gonna. All right. Pot of Desires. That did not get turn, better. Turn, turn, turn. That, that did not get better. <laughs> didn't get better. Okay. Didn't get butter. Half as delicious and twice as sweet. Let's go normal summon Yon Yon. I also, it turns out, didn't draw into a single one of my go first cards. <laughs> uh, it's the one of many things that I didn't open with. Uh, it's strange, let's... you got to pick. I thought you would go for what your deck was best suited for, what you started with. My deck is best suited for going second, but against an OTK deck, I have a shocking number of, of going first tools that I just did not draw. Oh, okay. Uh, let's... Oh, God. Uh, the Rubber Band Shooter. 
Here comes the rubber bands, the rubber bands. And we'll banish. Man. We'll banish Jeja. And I'll go for a Takatom Borg. I'll go for a Terror Top. I think and it's I actually Jiu Jiu. I thought they were Chinese. And there's a there's a famous League of Legends player who's uh, who's Chinese and who has a name a tag spelled something like this whose name is Jia Jia. Ah, I assume uh, you're right. So that's how I've always pronounced it. I, I was just being silly. I don't actually know. Uh, this is not great for me. You got a rubber band uh, shooter. It's not half bad. I do have a rubber band shooter. Clear wing? Dirty wing? Let's normal summon the Dent and Daiko Duke in my hand. Hello, Duke. And... He's got those funny shoes. I am shoes. very tempted to use Nyan Nyan here. I... And then, I am going to Foolish Burial away. A copy of... Tempest. You know, I used to think Nyan Nyan was wielding a sword of some kind, but now that I look at it, the tip isn't sharp. It's actually like a square of some kind. It's like a double-sided That's a good point. Um, it's like a USB drive or something. Something like that. Rocket stuff. All right. Something, 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 Elton John. And we will summon ourselves bar on the floor and then jewels when it's summoned if you can get a bar dropping on the floor sound effect like a clank <laughs> uh i'll put back the double yo-yo that i banished off of desires and by the way not only to jewels but to all editors out there there's a channel called okay. film cow they put out a whole bunch of uh sound effect packs you get free sound effects it's a lot of foley work just doing like hitting stuff with other stuff doing things you know um okay is turtle now i mean what can i say as it seems to go okay as what else you is. got um wakimiru guardian god fucking miracle rupture yep let's go ahead and activate this mm -hmm. we'll grab the fusion Mm -hmm. uh, show me the ghost bell if you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to have to, and you're going to Kwaki Bear Guardian it. How is it <laughs> and that there I it goes. consistently draw the worst hand my deck is capable of producing, and you just get, like, exactly the two cards you need every single time? You're Hard welcome. Leg. I'm. How does this happen? I'm super. Thanks for asking. Um, let's go ahead and banish those two. Mm-hmm. You do get a search with your Tempest. Yeah, I'll take it. So there's that. Hello there. Uh, reborn the monster. Let's just take oh, this bar on the floor, if you don't mind. Yeah. God, I would have loved a monster reborn. And there we go. I think that's probably gay if I had to be. But I should, should it let me go uh, first? Yeah, because this thing can attack three times against monsters, and every time it destroys a monster, it deals a thousand burn damage. Mm -hmm. Because fossils are just cool like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a great big convoy storming on in, in the, the thing. Oh, I didn't even need the... Well... Oh, I did need something. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, well... Wow, he the gods the just <laughs> don't want me to be the gods don't want me to be rid of this series. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I'm just trapped by fate. I went on a high risk, high reward thing, and I was like, eh, hey, you know, maybe this will lose or whatever. And I'm sure RJ's got something that could beat this, but uh when you open the kaiju and the fossil fusion, Literally what can I say? That's stuff. that's all you need. I just appreciate you playing high-level monsters, you know? If you had went back on Earth Machine and I was stuck with level fives, this would not have worked nearly as well. <laughs> if I Let me tell you, Hardleg, with the way my luck has been working, if I'd gone back to Earth Machines, I would have gotten three Brutal Dozers, <laughs> a, a Trencher, and a... That's literally what my opener was this time. My opener, it featured uh, two of my three Taka Tomborgs, the other of which... Uh, 
rubber band shooter decided to give me over the terror top. <laughs> Fucking rubber band shooter. They could have just I banished. Give, they could have give speedroids a searcher. They had to be like, it's random because games. Yeah, I I also opened with the Den Den Daiko Duke this time. Mm. I banished the I banished the double yo yo and both of my copies of uh, my both of my other copies of Terra Top uh, in order to get a Yon Yon. I uh, and then the ability to go into Tempest. So I basically both of these games. Oh, and then the and then the uh, the bell. Both of these games I managed to open with multiple copies of a card, and none of those multiples are any of my starters. I once again was just <laughs> incapable of drawing into. Uh, specifically, emergency teleport is a cursed card for me because ah. last match I also ran triple emergency teleport and never saw it. This was just. It just it is <laughs> unbelievable how <laughs> how capable my deck is of displaying the worst hands conceivable when I get into a duel with the you. The fates are just conspiring against you. I don't know what to say, man. They I didn't are. think the fossils would be nearly this powerful. <laughs> they shouldn't <laughs> have been hard like Kelly. They shouldn't have been. I set up everything. I was like, I'm going to go first. I'm going to put it. I put in like I nine cards to go first and didn't draw any of them. I ran four hand rip cards for going first hard like i didn't see any of them i saw one bell it's my only interruption yeah well i must fate do this to me to be fair even if you had looked at my hand i i do also have a uh, interrupted kaiju slumber in my hand uh, are you kidding me? I would have put back the thing that gets you to the fossil fusion. I don't care if you clear my board. My board makes like three synchros every turn normally. <laughs> yeah, that fossil uh. fusion just brutal, absolutely brutal. Um, do you do you know what you want to ban, sir? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't sit. He's like, what do you want to ban? Foolish burial? I guess that that'll do it. You could ban one of the kaijus, but that doesn't feel good. Uh, what else did Koki Miru Guardian just make rocks unplayable forever? Yeah, like none of. <laughs> if you if you want, we can wait until next time. I can send you my list, and you can try to figure things out. I might have to look at it. At this point, I don't know what to ban from your pool to keep this from happening yeah. to me. Uh, I think the the only thing you could ban would just be to like. Hit the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the weathering soldier, if you want to stop fossils forever. <laughs> Which... I don't want to stop fossils forever. I want to start drawing hands I can play. <laughs> we'll figure it out next time. What, what's the, what's the thing next time? Is that Extreme Highlander? Next time, so next time is Extreme Highlander, and I, I shouldn't even say anything at this point. I have an unbelievable Extreme Highlander deck, but ah. every time I have thought I have had a godly deck, I have been <laughs> capable of drawing I, just, like, ten vanillas. Yeah, and you can't exactly, like, ban for Extreme Highlander, because for those of you who don't know, it's, if you own more than one copy of a card, you can't play it. So it's 41 ofs, and they aren't anything that we have more than one of. So it's just going to be like a big pile of cards. I will have to do some soul searching because the last two episodes are the ones that I have that I have to think about. And what are you going to be playing fossils in your last two episodes? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You'll have to tune in to find out. Until then, good luck. And have fun. And welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, episode 23. I don't know about me, I'm feeling 23. Are you feeling 23? I'm feeling uh, a, 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 a number of numbers. 23 is not exactly one of them. When it comes oh, to Chaos okay. Draft, I'm feeling kind of like 37 30. at this point. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this Chaos Draft has been going for a very long time it, it's gone much longer than i anticipated you know we 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 had the rule of uh, the previous seasons where it was like first to 10 wins and i was like ah that didn't quite feel long enough so we just bumped it to 13 
Um, and I didn't realize that bumping it to 13 would increase the, the, the length of the series by like six weeks. <laughs> yeah. We really probably should have done like maybe 12 at the most or just kept maybe. it with 10. You know, a good series, like it's like a good magician's trick, you know, like you always want to leave them wanting more. True. The fact that it feels too short was probably a good thing, but you know, we learned these lessons together. Hopefully at least you're, you're still having a little fun. We still got like 10,000 people watching us. They're, they're obviously enjoying the series. Comment in the comments if you like in the series. Maybe consider spreading it to, to friends and stuff, you know? Try to True. get a little bit more popular. We could always use use some more views. You know, make a, make a Chaos Draft watch party. React to it on your stream. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm up to that, yeah. Anyway, we're already into this. I yeah. It's episode 23. <laughs> I usually give you a name. I'm not even going to bother this time. I, RJ's here. I'm hard leg. You don't know this by this point. Um, well, I guess someone invited you to watch it. Thank you to whoever did that. <laughs> uh, and today we are playing Extreme Highlander. That is the chaos rule, which is, if you're familiar with regular Highlander, it means all cards must be played at one. But in addition to that, we cannot play a card that's at more than one in our collection. We can only play something if we own exactly one copy of it. Which, uh, essentially, is, I assume, is going to put us back into, like, the first couple episodes, like, pile mode. Just a big old stack of cards, unless you've managed to compile some cohesive strategy. I get the impression that that's going to be the case. I will say that it has, there has been some drafting strategy dedicated to it, but there's only so yeah. much that you can plan for. Like, if you get your, like, second copy of a good hand trap, you're not going like, to leave it just for you're this not, episode. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Especially so, when, we, when the series is tied up. I think I forgot to mention that last episode. That's true. I didn't even realize we're both at 11 points. We only need two more, and it's it's anyone's game at this point. It is. Either way, it'll be decided by the next three episodes. We've got this one. We've got the tag duels next week. And then I believe the final episode, if it comes down to that, is going to be uh, we're just no chaos rule. We're back no to chaos rule. open. Anything is game. Anything is there. Uh, oh, and one final thing of housekeeping. We should mention what was banned last week, because last episode, you hadn't really decided yet, but you've come up with True. something. Yeah, so I decided to ban uh, the first hand rip card to be banned <laughs> in this series, which is your effectively five copies of Trap Dust Shoot that you own, yeah. thanks to Trap Trick. I don't need to be like guarantee trap dust shooting. It's it's once again we're we're banning something that hasn't seen any play in this series, but it was one of those things. I'm not sure if people noticed when they looked at my deck uh, last episode, but I do have two episode or two two copies of trap trap dust shoot and three trap trick, which means every deck going forward has the potential to just look at your hand and rip everything out. And you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna nip that in the bud. Just don't want to have yep. to deal with that for the rest of the series. And it's probably for the best. You know, if I lose this one, probably going to ban Confiscation or something. Just get that out of here. But, but we'll see. We've got to open our packs first. Get into that that uh, extreme Highlander vibe. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead into the Pack Planet. Ooh, science fiction. And here we are once again in the drafting corridor. And I'm here with Twitch Chad, who's doing cats in the chat. And we're going to be pulling for Extreme Highlander, which is which is going to be interesting. I assume we explained it at the beginning, but just in case for Twitch Chat's benefit, uh, we cannot play a card if we own more than one of it. So not only is it 40 cards of just one ofs, but if we even own two copies of it, we're not allowed to play it. So this is going to be kind of a tedious draft. We're going to be looking back and forth for what we have. Because if we own something, we're not going to pick it. We're going to try to get random stuff that we hopefully don't have any copies of yet. Um, like confiscation. I don't have a confiscation. And now I have one of it. Which means uh, RJ's hand might be in a little danger. Mm. How does this keep happening? How does this keep happening? 
I am building coherent decks with consistent strategies that can do things with multiple types of hands, and I am drawing the worst possible stuff my deck could concoct for me. I recognize my decks aren't exactly the least sacky things in the world. I, I will own up to that fact, but what has been happening the last couple of weeks has felt like punishment from the gods for not winning the uh, the series by episode 20 uh and here we are with three episodes left to go i'm gonna have to be very focused with my draft today because we only get three chances maximum to get this done the games begin all right starting at the beginning with the dark beginning feeling uh, this is feeling like a dark beginning for me after what's been happening the last couple of weeks. Uh, starting off with a ceasefire, I don't think burn is a thing I'm likely to run at this point, but I mean, it's something for sure. I could take a left leg. We could just get a leg up in here. Any of these things potentially going to actually help me against hard leg? I will take a leg for moral support. Legendary collection two. Oh, hey, gladiator beast war chariot. I don't think I have one of those yet. Granted, I have I've been collecting too many gladiator beasts for that to really like be something we can play this week, I'm pretty sure. Um what was the other one? Thunder King Ryo. I do not have a Thunder King Ryo, and this is one of the best just like normal summons you can put out. So we might as well take it, you know. Battle pack. Epic Dawn. That's a second premature burial. I think this is going to be weird. I think I want to pass this up. The reason I want to pass this up is because I currently have one premature burial. And I want to keep that for extreme Highlander. Because I already have two Monster Reborn and two Soul Charge. And I feel like those cards are both straight up better than premature burial. I'm going to take the Prideful Roar here, I think. The Light's Revenge! Ooh, Lazy on the Time Lord. Uh, break Sword's also pretty good. Do I already have a Break Sword? No, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure if I have a good way to get to, like, level 3s and stuff, but, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and try that. The Duelist's Alliance has been sealed. That's a whole Satellar Knight Deneb. What do I do with this information? How many hedgehog do I have? I have one hedgehog already. I'm taking the Deneb. I don't know that this does anything for us this late in the game, but I will take it. Hero's Revenge. Oh, hey, a fortune fair. Oh, wait. BLS? Soldier of Chaos? I don't think I have one of those. I do not. If I can get any high level monster on the field, this is another asshole that, uh, that RJ is going to have trouble getting around. Yes, I think I will take that. I think that might just be exactly what we need. Battles of Legend, Hero's Revenge. Unfortunately, there are two great cards in this set that I can't get because they were promos. Because they were promos. But a Foolish Burial, a third copy of that is excellent. I will happily take a third Foolish Burial. Let's impact the chaos. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Starving. Okay, yeah, I already had one. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that previous one. Um. Oh. Oh, Unchained Abomination. This is another Link 4 that I could maybe... What, one second. Um, Unchain? I got so... I got caught up in the previous one and didn't realize. I just got a... This is like the second big Link that's just like mostly generic that I can make. Ancient Guardians. That's the other Octoatic Ultra Rare. I... Uh, this card's kind of sick. I'll take it. Maximum gold. Oh. Hello, Imperm. Arc Light. I didn't think both of you would be coming to this party. I'm pretty sure I have one of each of those. I have one Imperm. 
I have one arc light. If I take either of these, then I can no longer use them this episode, but I have them for the next episode. I feel like, I feel like in a limited format like this week, the imperm's not gonna be especially good. We want removal, not negation. Negation is good for st stopping combos, but most likely RJ is going to be ending on one or two things and Fissure would be more useful. So I think I'm going to take the second in perm. So I have this for like the last two duels where they're more high stakes. Dimension Force. Well, that's a Performa Pal. That's also a Parasomnia Pillow, a card I don't think I already have. I'll take the pillow. Burst of Destiny. Get a, get a whole bunch of stuff. I could take the Fluwanderees, Penguin Cleric, another Fluwanderees in the Scary Sea. Uh, we could get more Suship stuff. Oh wait, Apex Predation. If you control a normal summon or set monster, destroy all special summon monsters on the field. So the end term, you cannot normal summon or set. I don't already have one of those, right? No, no, I don't. That's a pretty good trap. That's a, you know, a field wipe. That might be pretty, pretty darn good. Let's take that. And finally, for the main opening, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. Um, it, yeah, I'll take Breeze. And finally, from the main sets, the Crystals will have their revenge. Oh, hello, Excess Code Talker. It's a pity that you're banned. Got Royal Flash or Flush, Royal Straight. I tried to say straight and flush and said flight. Uh, toolbox, if you control a monster, reveal two equip cards with different names. They pick one to add to your hand, place the other on the bottom of your deck. Um, but I think the Tyranno, tribute one dragon during the main phase if a dinosaur is on the field. Or not, why did I say dragon? It's a dinosaur. Yeah, I don't have hardly any dinosaurs. Uh, it's gravity balance or toolbox. And I think, do we already have a toolbox? No. This allows us to play a couple uh, equip cards. Oh wait, this is continuous. This is every turn I can do this. Oh uh, yeah, that might be useful. Probably not, but we could see, we could see. We'll try it. We'll try that and then we go to the chaos packs. All right, now it's time for the Try ultimate set of chaos packs. Yeah. Um, Elder Entity and Tiss is not bad. That's not a bad one. There's a revolving switchyard. That's a funny thing for me to pull now. Weathering Soldier after last week is something I should be seriously considering, but it's not really within my strategy at the moment. I'll take the Tiss. Chaos pack number one. Will I get the Machina Force? Where we've been looking for the Machina Force. No. No, we didn't get a Machina Force. Uh, we didn't get anything really that we could... What, I mean, Fen Shuang is kind of funny. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I have one of this, but there's no way that I can use it because I have three punishment. So this will make punishment better in the, the following episode. So we'll go ahead and take that. Hard Leg Chaos Pack number two. There's a second Earth Slicer. The chances that I make another one of those are pretty low, but the chances that I use a second Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill feel pretty high. Chaos Pack number two. Well, Ghost Mourner. I don't already have one. That would be a one of. That would be the Hand Trap. Let me just double check that and make sure. Ghost M... No, no cards found. All right. One of hand trap to use this time. One of hand trap. I feel so fine. Get all the one ofs. Do all the one ofs. Doing them one at a time. Okay, and here's RJ's pack. He's got some stuff, you know, some things. We could get a second drowning mirror force, but then we wouldn't be able to play the one we've got. Uh, Doom Kaiser Dragon. This requires all zombies. And it's not even that great. Yeah, we'll just take the, the ice hand. All right, and now it's time for my chaos pack. What do we got? Breakthrough skill, gear gi armor, more junk synchrons. I've been avoiding the gear gi armor so far. I'll take it. Ooh, reborn Tengu's a pretty decent one though. 
how many reborn Tengu can I get by the last episode for me to not play speedroids? Uh, I mean, out of all of these things, if there's, like, if I'm not going to be playing any of these things, I might as well take the one that would be best for me to pick up if I can get them. I'll take it. And the other RJ pack. What do we got here? Backlinker. Very funny. Trapstun. Zaborg. I feel like I run into Kizan every single time. What does Backlinker do? If only your opponent controls a monster in the extra monster zone, you can special summon this card. You contribute it, shuffle all monsters in the extra monster zone into the deck. So if he's on a link strategy, that's pretty good. That does some stuff. I could get a second Sheehan smoke signal. That would make the uh, six samurais better next time. Yeah, screw it. I'm not playing Thunderbird control. Let's just go ahead and take the other smoke signal. That might be able to do something. And finally... My Chaos Pack one more time is going to give us Neptibus, a card I'm probably not going to be running. And not a lot else, honestly. Backlinker is a very funny card. If you're only your opponent controls a monster in the extra monster zone, you can special summon it from your hand. Contribute it, shuffle all monsters from the extra monster zones into the deck. Also, you can't summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. Very silly card. How many Absa routers do I have? I'll take an Absa router. All right, it's reroll time. We've got a lot of rerolls to do, 11 of them in total, starting with one thing of Abyss Rising. We're just trying to see if we can get anything better than what we had before, which was like, what, Nimble Angler? Um, Grand Ram is like a free summon. Planet Pathfinder, do I already have a Pathfinder? I do. Uh, Bagworm? Target one machine, take control of that until your next end phase. Sure, we'll try We'll try the Electromagnetic Bagworm. That'll be a nice side deck in case RJ goes in on a machine. God, we are still on 11 rerolls, and I still am not rolling well out of Maximum Gold Eldorado, so we're going to keep going at it. Uh, starting off, Cyber the Cyber's Gadget is pretty decent, but not something I really need. Mm, Oracle of Zephra is cool, but that's a card I already have. Mm, I'm just incapable of pulling a card that I need out of this. Actually, that's a lie. Area, the L Water Charmer Gentle, is a crucial card because... We can link it off with Mare Mare tokens. And while that doesn't give us access to something like a Link Karibo, I think it's still worth taking. And we'll look into this set again if we don't pull well, out, or if we do pull well out of the things that we are looking for down the road. The Dark Illusion! More like the dark ass. This is just this is just ass darkness. Yeah, we'll just keep whatever we had last time. Alien Oleanoides, sure. By far the more important set for us, though, is Legendary Collection GX. This set contains really crucial cards, especially Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion, a card that allows us to use our tier limit strategy without having to open with a couple of cards for it. It also lets us potentially get Dasher for our Destiny Hero strategy this week, and a third copy of Malicious, a card that is very strong in general for us. Starting off not so strong. This is a large set though, so I have to keep my I have to keep my nose to the grindstone with it. Mm, Dark Neos, not ideal. Number three. Not much. Uh, Duelist Saga. We pulled another Mirror Force out of it last time, and now we are paid off. Effect Veiler, Honest. I believe, what, what do I have as far as Effect Veiler? I have two already. We might as well just take the third one so we have a playset for um, when we play in a regular series again. Let's get, we'll get that dang old Veiler. God, I swear at this point, Instant Fusion isn't even real in this set. There's a power bond system down. Also a really good card. Oh. 
<laughs> this is so painful. Pack number five. Another E is okay. Pack number six. Oh, it's just taunting me with the system down at this point. Unfortunately, as much as I want to keep re-rolling this, I think I take the system down. And finally, power of the elements. Can we get a good, like, Verniself or a good uh, tier limit card instead of the, the Rika field spell? Um, well, there's a Havness. I believe like, that is one. Um, let me look at how we're doing on tier limits real quick. We got two Havness, a Merle, and a Rhino Heart. So this is not bad, but we really want like a Sheeran more than anything else. So, and we already have a Crime, right? Yeah. So let's just try another one and see what we can get. Uh, nothing here at all. None of the things that we wanted. Okay, last attempt. Can we get something good out of Poat? Can we be the Pote Goat? Uh, no. No, it doesn't look like it. They're giving us the, the weak Vernisilves. They're giving us regular sprites. Another Garua, but we only really want one at the moment. Uh, Mary Melfi's is pretty neat. Do we already have a uh, Melfi? No. Oh, Melfi's has two Fs. I do have Melfi's, but not Mary Melfi's. I have Wally. -E. Uh, I'm not sure how I could even make that. I think we'll just take the third Havness because that might work in the future episode. Probably the best that we could do. So we'll take all that. We'll pile it together. We'll see what kind of stuff we can come up with. Can we even make like a cohesive deck? Or are we going back to episodes one and two? Just a big old pile of cards. So I just found out that Legendary Duelist Season 3 has urgent schedule, but as a promo. But the YGO Pro Deck Pack Simulator still lists it as a pullable card, which I'm a little bit salty about for previous rerolls' sake. But we're going to go back into El Dorado. All right. Give me something. That's not much. It's a Deep Sea Diva. Ah, oh, I've been punished by the rerolls once again. I think Upstart Goblin is not a bad take here. We do have two double evolution pill. We'll take the UCT. Oh, that hurts. These pulls were not great. I'm starting to feel like I'm running out of secret packs at this point, but this time I'm going to go for a little bit of a Hail Mary. Our hero pool is shockingly good. We have a decent set of Destiny Hero monsters. We are starting to pick up some extra deck bosses in Dark Law and Sunrise. Sorry, not Sunrise, the other one, uh, Brave Neos. So it's not actually feeling like the worst idea to try and pick up some hero cards. And so there are some pretty decent ones in here. Let's see if I can get them. All right, pack number one of the first heroes. Starting off with a great one, Blaze Man. We love to take that. Pack number two, there's a favorite hero and a third copy of Miracle Fusion. I'm genuinely tempted to take the favorite hero here just because Miracle Fusion is pretty easy for us to access. And favorite hero, in case you haven't read it, is a bonkers card. Next pack, not a lot to speak of out of here. I'll take the Prisma. Pack number four. Or, ooh, Shining Flare Wingman is not one that we want to see. So that might be the take, weirdly enough. And pack number five. Another favorite hero. I'll take it. None of these cards were really inspiring. I was really hoping to see something from the super rare slot. Oh, my pulls this week were not great, which is not looking good for us for this week. But we still have... The ultimate hero in our back pocket. It's time for us to put Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer to work. Lo and behold, for the prophecy did finally come to pass. Once in a thousand years, it is true on the Chaos Draft. 
they actually play chaos which is which is what i got here we're, we're playing chaos today and like most Highlander decks, explaining everything in here might get a little bit tedious. So I'm not going to go over every single card and why I did it. But I've got them separated by broad strokes. Basically, these four up here, these are the payoffs. These are the things that you banish a light or a dark out of the graveyard. And then you summon them. Most of them are just big beaters, at least uh, these two. This guy can search Thunder King Ryo. That's, that's neat. Um, this guy is mostly just recycling on a big booty. Um, but this can uh, banish a card from the field and the graveyard, and this obviously can destroy several cards on the field. So we've got these four, we've got ways to resurrect them, and then from there it's just like all the best dark monsters I can play, and all the best light monsters that I can play. And by best, they usually fall into one of like two categories, or three categories actually. Uh, one is just big beat sticks. We've got a lot of things that are just special summonable monsters, that we can get on the field and do beat sticks. Um, the other one is plus ones, cards that upon summon or upon destruction either search a card or get rid of a card. Engraver of the Mark, Breaker the Magical Warrior, uh, Witch of the Black Forest, Sangin, Curry Bandit, uh, Tour Guide, which you might be wondering, Curry Bandit's not really a plus one. No, it's mostly part of the third category. It puts lights and darks into the graveyard while also searching me a spell. But it's also a target for tour guides. So if we get this and we have either of these two still left in the deck, we can go into one of our two rank threes, either Break Sword or Cicada King. And a gate or a pop, either one is pretty good. Um, we've also got one each of the live twins, which means if we get either one of them, we summon the other one. That lets us set up both of these because we just happen to have one of each. And then we also got one of Unchained Abomination. So we can put these two into that. Or some of our other... I mean, this these lock you into fiends out of the extra deck. So you've got to have a big fiend. Uh, we've also got the nightmares, which are also fiends. So if we can just get one other monster on board, we can maintain like one of these and have the other one as a quick effect pop. A bunch of tiny little engines there. And yeah, it's pretty much the same with the lights. You've got big special summonable monsters that, that do things. Um, you've got just like... I guess this isn't necessarily a plus one. But this can negate a summon, so it, it, you know, if RJ is going to invest resources into like a rank 4 or something, this can negate it. This pops a card. This searches a card. This sends stuff to the graveyard, which is why we're playing stuff like Garua and the Fossil Warriors. If we can get to this, which is actually not too difficult because uh, Ecclesia searches him, and so does Aiden if he's destroyed by battle. And Ecclesia also searches Aiden. Aiden gets Ecclesia. It's this nice little dogmatic engine that ends on Maximus. And then Maximus can send these to the graveyard. This draws us a card, pops a monster, pops a spell trap. Depending on what RJ has, we could we could do any of those. And we've just got like additional normal summon just to make more of our uh, rank fours. I know we, yeah, we have two of them. One's a pop, one's just like banishing cards. And this is just a nice tech against uh, any kind of back row. So that that's hopefully the monsters. Just summon big beat sticks. We want every card to be like a top deck of some kind. That either turns off cards, is a big beat stick, searches other cards, or mills stuff. So that if we got these bricking in our hands, we can hopefully activate them. Or if we've got these, we can activate those. Uh, and then the bottom row is just all the best spell traps I've got. Since we're playing so many darks and banishing them doesn't really bother us that much. Allure of Darkness to dig deeper. Um, Apex Predation, just like a board wipe, board wipe, board wipe. Um, targeted Removal, you have to discard a card for these, but again, we want Lights and Darks in the graveyard so that we can pay off our big monsters. Effect Negation, Summon Negation, Effect Negation, Stealing a Card. And hopefully, you know, the idea is that if we have enough monsters, we can just keep on the pressure. I'm assuming this will be a slower format, it's entirely possible that RJ has big combos still, in which case I'll be mega-owned by not by only playing three or four board wipes. But I assume this will be slower, so I'm going with the, uh, the assumption that we just want every top deck to be useful, rather than a whole bunch of combos or a whole bunch of board wipes. We've also got a couple hand traps, uh, Moonlit, Chill, and Dogwood. We're not playing these because they're not light or dark, but they're very good. Same thing with uh, Mimicking Maneater Bug. Depending on what kind of deck RJ goes, this thing may be nigh invincible. Um, we've got an extra trap in Magic Cylinder. I really didn't have that much choice between the traps I got. If the duels do go especially long, we can recycle with Pot of Avarice. 
And then I've just got a couple more light monsters and a whole bunch of dark monsters. There's actually way more good darks than there are lights. Um, which is why we're playing the Dark Arm Dragon in the side deck. If we end up realizing that we need to bring in the Skullmeister, the Jinzo, or the Shadal Dragons, maybe uh, RJ's not on an extra deck deck, so these aren't turning out to be useful, or maybe he's not on back row, so these aren't useful, we can bring in more darks and then add in the Dark Arm Dragon as an additional boss monster. And then just some spell trap removal. Um, extra deck, mostly generic stuff. I think I've got over everything. The only other thing I didn't really mention, we've got Zero Boros and uh, BLS Soldier of Chaos. This will close out games if we get to the point where we can get four monsters on board. Not likely unless we get the live twin set up, which is not too difficult. But this is actually fairly easy to make, especially with all the dangers being high levels. And I think if we could summon this out, RJ doesn't have a clean out to a 3000 attacker that can't be targeted. So that's, that's the closest thing we have to a boss monster. And yeah, hopefully this will be enough to, to outdo him. If not, we, we still got, we still got more chance. We got the tag duels coming next week. Should be interesting. But for now, let's see if chaos can win the chaos. Guess what? We are summoning DPE this week. I've got one DPE. I've got one Fusion Destiny, and I've got one copy of Verte Anaconda, and you know what that means. It's DPE Turbo. That's the plan for this deck. Everything else is kind of secondary to that. We're also running a little bit of an Evil Hero package. This lets us use another hot Fusion monster, Evil Hero Malicious Bane, the ever-faithful boss monster of my collection. We're going to be doing hero things, and we're going to be doing it fast. The rest of this deck is largely to facilitate facilitate that to take out back row in order to clear the way for my verte and get a little bit of value in the process. Otherwise, I'm just going to be hemorrhaging advantage for a monster that's probably just going to get compulsory evacuation device. Let's go into the card by card. We've got our heroes of choice, Malicious Edge, Denier for extra uh, link material and Celestial for extra draw power. And of course, our Adusted Gold. We've got a Kiss-A-Kill and a Leela. These are very good at making verte. We've got some dangers. Dangers can special summon themselves, giving us extra material for you guessed it verte and they're really good if you can go into the bls because then the bls is a towers and towers is pretty good i hear we've got some other special summon guys these ones are here to special summon if i don't control a monster to give us material photon thrasher is good for rank fours uh red layer i can summon on turn one link slayer i can summon on turn one and can destroy back row guan yun is great for going second fenrir is the ever present mascot of my collection we've got a spiral super agent to deal with back row and saki as a pretty good rank four and verte material. We've also got Gokis, Rescorpio, and Suprax. This is because this deck has the potential to just eat away at my card advantage, and having a couple of Gokis allows me to replenish my hand. These cards have pretty decent stats, and if I happen to brick on them, it's not actually a brick because Suprax can summon the Rescorpio from hand and you guessed it, we've got a Verte out of that. We've also got Zapion for the Heavy Storm effect to clear the way, which to search our entire deck, Bunny Blast to go into Dryden so that we can get some value off of that, and Ghost Ogre as a hand trap. Our spell cards are pretty straightforward. The Mandatory Fusion Destiny, the Spicy Dark Calling, uh, Change of Heart to get us extra material, some back row removal. Galaxy Cyclone especially is a very funny card because it could give me two pieces of back row removal. My hand rip cards, we've got a Forceful Sentry and a Delinquent Duo, an Upstart Goblin for consistency's sake. It helps in this deck. Runic cards. Runic cards are great. They're both disruption and potentially material for Verte. A Premature Burial to bring back my cards. Back to the front as a Chainable in case Hardleg is on like monstery born called by the grave something that banishes my dpe from the graveyard those types of things and the rest is disrupted back row my extra deck is basically everything you would have expected some synchro monsters some exceeds monsters some link monsters pit night early is especially cute because i can pop it with dpe and if i arrange the zones correctly it makes dpe not just a negate but or not just a destruction but also a negate and i think that's kind of sick and our side deck is for the going first versus going second choice and to help protect DPE, things like Forbidden Lance and World Legacy Clash to keep us from getting eaten alive by Chainable back row. This deck seems really solid, but so have all of my last few decks for the last few weeks. Hopefully our guy will get us across the finish line and then get banned. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. Let's go and win again. And here we are. Ooh, go Born team venture. To be kings, we're the princes oh, no! of the universe. Uh -oh. 
is not ideal. Yeah, I'm going second. Oh, you're going second? Hell yeah. yeah. I want Activate that Activate fusion card. destiny. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, descend from the heavens, defender of the dark city, enforcer of the dark laws, destiny hero, destroyer, phoenix enforcer. <laughs> I was going to have so much build up to this card, uh, but you know, uh, we take we take what we can get. Uh, I'll set a back row and uh, pass the turn. There he is. I mean, I don't... Well, touche, salesman. What can I say? Uh, okay. I'm going to start with a tour guide. That's a tour guide. It certainly uh, is. No response to the tour guide. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the Karee Bandit. That's probably fine. Wanna na Karee Bandit. Yeah? What are you gonna what are you gonna summon here? Uh some stuff. Maybe things. I expect perhaps. so. The You're Phantom overlay Knights of Breaksword. Breaksword. I this is as good a thing to DPE as any. Yeah. You're gonna force it anyway, and I might as well get the proactivity going. Yep. Just pop pop. And I will use its effect. Alright. Um Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Set two. So Pass. far, so good. Uh, yeah, hope you don't yeah. have heavy storm duster. Okay, that's. Good. I don't have the heavy storm duster live so far. I do, yeah. however, have a destroyer phoenix enforcer. Uh, I, I can't let you forget that fact. I think I'm just going to normal summon a destiny hero celestial notice destiny hero celestial it would be really easy to photoshop him into giving the finger <laughs> so it would close. <laughs> you basically just need to color in a little bit of white in yeah. one place you know i may have to i've retired from making yugi poops but i may have to make one <laughs> <laughs> it would have been uh, really good when it was banned on uh, master duel let's go to battle phase here okay this swing and with Celestial. All right. Your destiny heroes may be strong, but they can't hold up to the spirit of Neos. This, this, this he do be, he do be very spiritual. Uh, I didn't know we would be getting a hero uh, mirror match. A here. hero mirror match. That's true. This is, this is very, uh, no, thank you. I would not like to replay the attack. It's going to shock you to find out. It's weird. The animation still looks like you're trying to attack with Celestial. Huh. Like, I still got that little arc or whatever. I hope it doesn't stay there forever. Mm. That would be really bad for the entire duel to have this big arc. <laughs> okay, there it goes. All right, main phase two. The gotcha. question is, is there something else I want to be doing with my time? I mean, if you've got chainable back row, you've got chainable back row. Um, I do have chainable back row. Jesus fuck, that's just about the best one it could have been. It's it's pretty great, uh, and I think I'm gonna toss this one. Uh, As I was sitting here, I was like, "This is bad," but all I gotta do is wait for you to activate it, and then I can activate Karma. Karma. Yeah, Assuming and you were the, going the, to the, be able to do it no matter what. Unless okay. the Celestial could destroy it. <laughs> that would be great. No, unfortunately, I didn't come packing a card that could oh, okay. chain okay of course you do get to draw two i believe i think i have to have no cards in hand i think that's how that works um uh you can banish this card yeah you have to have no cards in hand okay okay, okay. i was remembering improperly yeah let's see what happens i'm gonna set a back row i'm gonna activate jackalope okay Jack all you want. Well, actually, don't. Actually, that would, <laughs> that would be. Let's that activate would be bad the jackalope for, for the monetization. Yes, it would be. I'm gonna you grab. Can, you can lope all you want. The lope part, I'm fine with. I'm gonna grab a big old foot from my deck. Ah, oh, alt art Bigfoot. Yeah, I got it from Gold Series. I figured I should use the Gold Series art. Oh, uh, and I'm going to 
take this opportunity to activate the denier in my graveyard. Denied. And I'm going to shock you by letting you know I'm not going to activate its monster sound effect. Oh, okay. Uh, and then let's go pre-mat. Oh. I'm going to summon back... What am I going to summon back? Good thing I Malicious the Edge. Enforcer. Yeah! Real good. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, towers. Ah. Ah, I see. Uh, do, 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 do. The opponent cannot target it with card effects. Well, those are those are what I like to target things with. Yep. All right, that's pretty good. I'll activate kind of pot of greed. If kind of pot of greed is real good. Dig into something better. Um. That's a yeah, whole. Yeah, I guess this this might do something. Lila? Go Lila! Pop She's... the back row! Uh, all back to the front, I guess? Ah. Uh, um, we'll summon back probably Malicious Edge? Yeah. More like Delicious Edge, am I right? So delicious. Uh, end phase, let's mill three. Cool. Oh, wow, you really are doing chaos things. Yeah, kind um, of. This is not a good card under these circumstances, but it's slightly better than not using it. Now, here's the question. Do I want to do a lot of damage, or do I want to do things? <laughs> things uh, are a type of damage. So they tell me. Ah. Like I said, not the best card under these circumstances. Yeah... Well, like well, a hand that, rip's a hand rip. I guess that forces my hand here. Here, you can have okay. this malicious edge on top of your deck. Sure. <laughs> Battle phase. We're uh, battling. He's a dude. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to gain the attack just in case you do draw like a Levianir or a BLS or something stupid like that. There you go. Now he's in towers with 4,500 attack. That is big. Big if true. Uh, yep, not much I could do about that. But I know right. what you're drawing, and I don't That's think you true. can use That's true. It's it. not very good. <laughs> Hilariously, the Celestial is doing me jack all for good in the graveyard right now. I'm going to attack in. Yep. Ouch. My most of uh, Your go. Okay. Fortunately, you don't get the effect if you don't destroy anything. True. I'm not going to um, have a, like, 7,000 attack BLS. Interesting. I don't think this works. But we'll find out. Set that right I there. Set a monster. Right in that specific column. I'm curious. Uh, yeah. Let's... Go to battle. Battle phase! Alright. Alright, buddy, let's get in here. What the fuck almighty is this card? Ghost Bird of Bewitchment. Oh, it's this card! It's, it's been a while. It's in another column, uh, so you shouldn't be able to activate. I guess it's already destroyed, so. Uh, that's my entire turn. You're good. Yay. Ah, uh, you came just too, too late, buddy. Too late. All right. Well, you got, you got this one. Hey! Game one goes to you, but that's fine. I've got some stuff. I can prepare. Well, uh, starting off strong again. <laughs> well, you know, the gods <laughs> just didn't want me to win this one. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just want it more. <laughs> sometimes you have 40 cards. <laughs> 41 of I will Fusion Destiny. I will tell you, my deck is exceptional at making DPE for an entirely different reason than just gifting me Fusion Destiny every turn. I see, I see. Well, that's funny. Sure, I'm not gonna get a chance to do this again. Uh battle phase? 
Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and about uh, face. Man. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Let's make so this a little hilariously, bit more evenly matched. Can I target two cards on my own side of the field? Um, One card uh, you control and one card on the field, yes. Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to go DPE. I'm going to target DPE and my face down monster, which is Witch of the Black Forest. Ah. Very uh, tricky. And I'll grab myself an adjusted gold. Okay, let's try this again. Lila's Leela. like, hold up, everyone. Uh, mine. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yep. There you go. Doobie, that's that doobie how it goes sometimes. Doobie, doobie, do. Let's get the dude. Fortunately, it can't attack or activate its effects. The best of both worlds. True. Um, but let's see what happens when I summon a denier. It's all the same cards. Yeah, I just we just opened with the exact same hand this time. Uh, let's summon ourselves a pit knight early. This is kind of a fun card to target with DPE. Um, this card points to this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed and sent there this turn. Uh, yeah, let's not. Cool. We love to see that. Um, let's go. Oh, there are so many cute things I can do with my turn now. I'm a big fan <laughs> of pretty much everything I am allowed to do at this point. Uh, let's activate the guy. All right. Uh, no response. The guy is here. Grab my dark calling. And I hear this calling. Uh... I feel like I might as well go for it now. I don't think this gets much better yeah. than you only having one back row. Uh, we'll go the Adusted Gold and the Mally Edge Engrave. For Malicious Bane himself. Delicious Bane. Coming back, coming back at the last, in the final hour. The Master Chef tournament registration is open. Thank you. Yeah. What do you think? Should I enter with this deck? I think it's uh, tournament ready. Okay. We'll attack. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, fine, but I exist. So <laughs> Certainly not ideal. Uh, main phase two. Uh, You're gonna fucking evenly match me again. <laughs> I can't. I literally cannot. It's not how this this format works. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. That was this game. Yes. Um, it did nothing. I think while well, it's ideal for me to make the most use of my DPE while I can, I probably should reserve it to force out what I think is a chainable back row. I, uh, you can only have like one or two, but knowing the luck that you've had in this series so far, I don't feel like challenging that. <laughs> so I am going to set a back row and pass the turn. All right. Not the best top deck, but let's see. I will activate Dog Immediate Dogmatica Ecclesia, the Virtuous. Dog Immediate, yes. yes. Um, that's interesting. Uh, no response. What Hello are we there. Up to here? I will activate the be. effect. Uh, she's kind of obnoxious, isn't she? Big hammer. That's fine. Uh, I will go for Dogmatica Maximus. What the fuck, almighty? It's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh... I will tell you, so I tested this deck largely against the uh, the Edo Pro Dogmatica AI deck, and this card has been a terror to my existence for the last <laughs> week. <laughs> I, I am... Uh... 
I, I don't know why I can't use Maximus to banish a Link monster from oh from my graveyard. Ah. Ah, I thought it was from either player's graveyard for some reason. Uh, mistakes have been made. Let us go to the battle phase. Fascinating choice. Okay. Activate Jurigeto. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go off, King. Uh, that's fine. Look at that goofy ass fucker. Look at his eyes. They're so all goofy. wiggle wobbly. Like, oh, I, I do love that he has like he's got uh, uh, Jura Ghetto's face is the Lovecraftian version of the paperclip from Microsoft Word. <laughs> He's, like, kind of a nightmare, but then, like, the face just has this goofy, like, Abe's Odyssey kind of look to it. Yes. Uh, okay. I am locked out of the extra deck. Yes. Um, uh, I will tribute these off for Maximus. For the Maximus? That's kind of amazing, and I do am required by law to DBE here. I know what that Maximus is capable of. Uh, There's the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, but that's ultimately fine. Uh, I can target my Mally Bane and the dude, and now you've oh, got Oh, it doesn't Nada. have to be... Oh. No, it doesn't! Well, DBE is a got, good Yu-Gi-Oh card. If you anything, you win, but I mean, you, you opened Destroy Phoenix Enforcer two games in a row. I've got to I don't know what people <laughs> expected me to do. Yeah, I did tell you a while back that I had pulled a card that was going to make Extreme Highlander kind of an unlosable episode for me, and that would be the card. Well, I guess I know it's a ban. I guess it's not confiscation. It's to Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Yeah, I had the, I had the feeling here. he was going to last me exactly one episode. He's gone. He's gone. Go. go. Bye. I, I'm done. Uh, I guess you want to do. Let's do a third duel. You want to. You want to do a third duel. Okay. Take, yeah. take out the DPE. Oh, uh, my deck looks uh, considerably less good if I take out the DPE. Let me see. Good. <laughs> That's how I want it. I want to. Right, let's. I want to face off. I want to go in an alternate universe where you didn't pull DPE. Where I didn't pull DPE. Let's yeah. see what I can swap in for the cards that are made in here exclusively for the sake of facilitating DPE. Swap, swap what you can. We'll we'll be back with a third duel. Uh, I guess my deck is built to go first. You still got I other guess. stuff you could do, I assume. Wow, this is the mo the best going first hand I've ever seen. I'm gonna set a back row and pass the turn. It'll be Pile of Cards Turbo. That's what this format was meant to be. I mean, right. it was that. It's just uh, four of those cards were <laughs> Fusion Destiny and the monsters I'm supposed to send from my deck to the grave. A power move. <laughs> I'm, I'm not afraid of uh, Imperm. I'll activate Danger Nessie. Oh, you've got yourself a Nessie. I do. That's A-OK. -okay. Hell well, yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> We love to see it, but you clearly have another danger. I do. I have danger Thunderbird. Very dangerous. All the dangers are rare. Now, surely I won't hit the Thunderbird here. I mean, Thunderbird has a reputation among all the dangers. Oh, you didn't get... That's nice. No, and I've got the, the other um, Dogmatica card. The one that doesn't see much play. I don't think I have ever read this card in my life. I didn't read it until this time. It's not awful, it's basically when it's destroyed by battle, summon a Dogmatica from your deck. It's just like Dogmatica Tomato. Yeah, essentially. So it's like, oh yeah, you can get Ecclesia, or you could get a Maximus, and he's like in defense position, so that's like 3,000. Like, you know, that's not awful. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Um, not a lot. This... That's very funny. Let's start off with a Night Beam. Ooh, unfortunate. I mean, I can't activate it anyway, because I hit my one normal summon monster. Hmm, what Apex Predation, do? pretty good, though. If I had gotten pretty that Pretty solid before, card. Yeah. That would have been a much... I mean, granted, you know, it destroys... Um, or does it destroy? Do, yeah, it destroys. So it wouldn't have worked against uh, DPE. I happen to get my good uh, chainable traps there. But it clears the rest of the board. Uh, it's Parasomnia Pillow. Oh, I love this card. 
It's a this very cool card. This is one yeah. of my favorite limited cards ever. Uh, Any deck where you can play Parasomnia Pillow, very fun. End phase, I end will phase. use the Parasomnia Pillow. I I'll mean, against a 2800 beater, that's like the best. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty solid. Best option, destroy it, summon a token, equip the token. Yeah, I love the token. I love that it's like... Wait, it's does like it have to be in defense? Psychic Baguska. No, I don't know why you put that in defense when it has zero defense. Oh, it's in attack position on my side of the field. Oh, is it? Yeah. I can't see because the token, uh, the little ah, apple, okay. hovery things. Um, I love Cursed Doll Baguska. It's just, it's such a good aesthetic. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to end here. I will tell you, my hand does jack all else. <laughs> I mean, you've got, oh, the that's a you've got the 2800 beater. You have the high ground. That's a solid top deck. I'll normal summon Ice Hand. Oh, icy. You know what they Battle say. Battle phase. Ice yeah. is nice for nice people who like it. I've heard that, actually, a few times. <laughs> Some say the world will end in fire. Some There's ice and then fire. I don't know. Everybody in high school memorized that poem. I've never heard about it. Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say the world will end in ice. For, from what I've known of desire, I side with those who favor fire. But from what I've known of hate, I ice is fine and would suffice. It's something like that. It's That's the abridged version. Huh. But not that abridged. It's a very short poem. Anyway, Mahama the, the, the Fairy Dragon. What the fuck almighty is this card? Uh, it's Magic Cylinder. Ow. <laughs> Plus Battle Fader. The best um, of both worlds. Your life points are looking dangerously low there, sir. They are pretty low. You're not wrong. I mean, what are you what are you gonna do? And it's got zero to attack. It's just a, it's just a big defense wall. Not big enough to get over the Parasomnia pillow. No, it isn't. No, I am not going to destroy my own pillow. Are you sure? Could. No. This pillow is mine. It's my emotional support pillow. <laughs> I emotionally support Cursed Plushie. Uh, okay. Uh, check this out. Normal Summon Sangan. That's a Normal Summoned Monster, yeah. Activate Visa Starfrost! Visa Star <laughs> the boy is here! Popping the Sangan. The Synergy! Think of the synergy, RJ. It's incredible. I do like the flavor that you have a level five and a level six tuner on the board right now. Yeah, it would it would be nice that I could. Oh wait, this is a tuner too. Did, yeah, did they're both tuners. It. That's that's very neat. I'm uh, not going to get hit with a punk amazing dragon this I'm turn. I'm gonna grab live twin kiss a kill. Oh, okay. I will let you know. I am also on this combo because it makes Verte very easily. Ah, ah, I see, I see. I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Nani. <laughs> Nani. Oh, I love this card. The this is genuinely creator. one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm a big fan of anything that summons banished monsters. I think that's just a cool mechanic. We are... I've oh, got, shit. I've got one, too. That's a minor problem for me, I won't lie. Just a little bit. It's the only thing okay. I had that really deals with the ice hand. <laughs> uh, Don't tell me you got Mirror Force. Storm uh, Mirror, Mirror Force. Force I, I do not have that. Uh, that's going to have to be fine. Yay. We'll use the ice hand effect. I will use this, and uh, I will banish a card on the field. I will activate ice hand to destroy this card. Maha. Oh. Uh, I got that confused. Wait, 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 what? Hmm? I per apparently did not summon the fire hand. I apparently chose not to can, summon the fire you hand. can special summon. Ah, freezing curses. Funny. That's funny. You're funny. I may be in trouble now. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it, the hands got the effect when they're summoned. 
So I was like, ah, you'll summon the fire hand and destroy it on summon. If I had known that, I would have used... Well, the problem with Phoenix Wing Blast on the Ice Hand, right, is that you just immediately draw it again. <laughs> it's really good for dealing with uh, extra deck monsters and not so much the main deck monsters. Okay. I can activate that card, but I will immediately lose the game. <laughs> Which is oh, yeah. not ideal. You have critically low life points. I do. Thank you, Mahama the Fairy Dragon. You're the best. So, hilariously, if I had clicked to summon that Fire Hand, I would have a very easy out to this BLS. Oh, really? Uh, however, <laughs> I may be in a small amount of trouble now. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. So we're gonna pass turn. Uh, no, I am not going to destroy my pillow. Are you sure? Yes. Like that my pillow guy. All oh, right, we that finally get to see this. Destroy his pillow. He just destroyed his own reputation. Will we get to see this? And you control no other monsters. Yep. <laughs> well, I did not see. I'm testing. I often opened this firsthand, and I did not realize it. I. Uh, that's gonna have to be fine oh this is I mean, in defense now Got some it is in defense that's well, okay this is not going to change the outcome of the duel let me tell you yeah i mean we already got the thing i just banished more cards yep it's another runic got all your runics i suppose i could have destroyed the kiss a kill but the battle phase is really my only hope at salvation at this point yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, well, I mean, I don't really want to leave that that up there to attack, so... I don't see the problem here. Fuck it. We ball. Oh, shit. My kiss a kill could make some pretty cool stuff if I used it right. <laughs> this is a very funny card for me to have drawn into. Um... This is honestly better if it hits itself. Yeah, Gosh, let's go! <laughs> Dang it, Photon it. Thrasher! Go, go! <laughs> Start thrashing! Battle phase. Let's swing. Spirit of No! <laughs> the spirit of Neos is coming again. He's uh, got those abs that you never forget. Main phase two. Well, it's set back. Master. Okay. Oh, it's Jover. It's so Jover. The curry bandit is here. Oh, again. no! <laughs> I have another monster. <laughs> Acha! I mean, it doesn't matter because this does it on its own, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that that's, was a that's kind of what I was more expecting. This like back and forth with the the, the spell traps and everything. Not DP turbo. <laughs> DP turbo, you know. <laughs> too strong, too fast, too furious. You know, Tokyo Drift, all that stuff. All of those things. Yeah. So, uh, are you you still sure about that DPE ban? Are you are you still sure that's what you want to do? Uh, yes, yes. You could okay. keep the uh, you can keep the Verte if you want to use it for stuff. I'm sure. I mean, that might be... The, the problem is, like, I could ban the Verte, but you have the, um... You still have... As long as you have the DP, you could find other ways to get into it, including True. using the, the Destiny Fusion. And I know that's not as rare. I feel like the Verte is a little bit more targeted, and at least it costs you 2,000 life points, and you can't do other stuff. And especially, you know, next time, where we're doing the Tag Duels, we're going to have True. some special guests on here... DPE is not as powerful when you're the only one who has it, and there's a whole bunch of uh, other decks and everything that can deal with it. And I'm going to be bringing the Chainable Traps. Plus, aside from the fact that it's a tag duel, there's no other restriction. So, for the first time True. in a long time, things are going off the chain. Off the chain, off the charts. You'll, you'll have to tune in to see it and see who the surprise guests are. They may surprise you. Until then... Good luck! And destroy a card on your side of the field and another <laughs> card on the field. And whoa!
welcome back to what may be the final episode of the Chaos Draft. I am a hard leg Joe coming at you in live 2D formed, joined by the Golden Nova of Yugi Tube. Golden Nova, hello Nova, how are you doing today? That is strangely accurate. Yeah, I mean you, you're, you you're pretty much just like the Golden Nova of Yugi Tube. You I really mean, nailed the experience. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's other people here, too. I don't know if you guys want to say something. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks. <Damn>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Getting the shaft like that, I see I'm not works. important to the series at all. You don't need to worry about me. I mean, you're good, but you're no Nova. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. I, I definitely... That's, <laughs> that's actually what... That's what the what, um, say, too. <laughs> it's uh, it's wow, also what people right. in progression polls say to me every week. Yeah. <laughs> Noah, Jake, and I are team not Golden Nova. <laughs> that is, in fact, what we are. We decided on that being our team name. How's it going, everybody? I'm Noah Jank. I'm joined here. Uh, RJ, the Jank monarch, the GOAT, the one who's been here since day one of the season, RJ. We killing it today or what? That is right. I'm joined by my illustrious teammate, Noah Jank, YGO. Mm, yeah. the, probably the best one on progression polls. I'll tell you, I've lost count at this point. Mm -hmm, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for those of you who are supremely confused, today's a chaos rule is tag duels. We're doing tag duels here, two on two. We each get a partner. I, of course, brought on former chaos draft champion, Golden Nova, won last season, if you didn't check that out. And uh, RJ brought Noah for some reason. Yeah, I, I brought don't know why, Noah because we here. have a long-running track record of whooping your collective asses in tag duels. I mean, there was yeah, only one time, you know. Once. <laughs> yeah, and it was a while ago, yeah, long-running. So you, all I know is I'm the only one here who hasn't chaos drafted, and that means I got all the experience I need. I'm so ready for this, baby. You're Let's a political get it. Let's get outsider, it and that's what makes you the best. <laughs> exactly. I'm like Sweden job. a little bit. You know what I mean? Exactly. I yeah. don't like these comparisons that we're making. <laughs> Also, I'm a very big fan of RJ going, if you guys are confused, while we're an hour into the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. Noah, Noah's here to make Chaos Draft great again. He's the outsider. He's going to drain the swamp. He's going to get all yes, of us. Sir. Yeah, so check King's out has been that. in there too long. <laughs> uh, and we, we, you know what? If you, you uh, what else do we have to do? Fuck. The, the band list? Put the band list up real quick, Jules. And then let's the just get list. into the pack pulling. This is going to be a long episode. I'm sure you can already see. Let's just jump into it. And here we are once more in the, the, the pool dimension for perhaps the last time. Who could say? And I am joined, of course, by my partner in crime, Golden Nova. Oh, and I'm ready to do horrible things on both the local and federal level. It's, it's pretty neat, you know? And uh, we're pulling for the, the tag duels. I'm not sure what we explained in the intro because we haven't recorded it yet. But just in case, you know, it doesn't help to be a little bit redundant. My pool for the, the tag duels is essentially shared between us. If we have three copies of a card, that means only one of us gets to have a play set. So, you know, there's, there's stuff here where it's like, well, maybe I have three, maybe I have two. Uh, we might want to get a fourth or a fifth copy here. Otherwise, there's not really any... Um, theme to the pools or whatever we can play anything the entire you know the world is our oyster yeah the entire pool is at our disposal so hopefully we don't use evil clones hopefully we can get something good let's flip up dark beginning and uh mm -hmm. oh hey a second card of safe return oh man that's not bad that that makes like every graveyard thing a lot better we've had one this whole time getting a second one would be good and it's like it's either that or fairy box right and that's like garbo yeah, yeah no i think out of all these safe return is our best safe bet. return obvious starting off strong will we be able to continue i mean hard to say all right folks it is time for chaos drafting once again and this time i don't face the chaos alone this time i'm joined by an illustrious uh former tag duel partner of mine with a history of helping me beat hard leg gaming and golden nova Yu-Gi-Oh. how's it going noah jank rj oh man i gotta tell you i'm doing just wonderful i woke up this morning man bright and early and i i, I thought to myself the winds of change are blowing today and i realize now why that is rj it's because 
I've been having a bit of a losing streak on my own progression series with Nova, and these winds of change are blowing in our direction so that we could get the easiest win of our lives. I agree. And with that, let's get started with the draft. Oh, yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right what are we looking at here? Wow, this is uh, something. Well, that's abysmal. It's Joey's world, and we're just living. Oh, the third fool. Oh, hmm. Ah. Um. Oh. How am I doing on super rejuve? I've got one. Ah, uh, but with only two dragon rulers and only one redox, is the super rejuvenation still really good? Yeah, it's not the same. Foolish, on the other hand. Yeah, we already have two. Getting a third one. Or, yeah. you know, split the difference, go zombie world, mess up some grave stuff. Either <laughs> or. The zombie world would screw up. I don't think we have, we don't have, like, Baller Rock. We don't have any of the, the cool stuff. No. Sadly. Let, let's just get the third foolish. That's kind of like zombie. It's like you're building zombie world. So yeah. yeah. That's good. Who needs you to zombie when foolish burials at three? <laughs> All right. Power of the elements. Oh, the game changer set. It is. That's a oh! Kurikara Divin Carnage. Damn, that's the <laughs> one right there, man. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Don't you can recycle it back you. with Salamangrate. That's true. And finally, the crystals will have their revenge. Finally. What the fuck is oily cicada? That sounds gross. Sounds like a move uh, just, they give you down by the bus stop. Hey kid, 20 bucks, you get the oily cicada. I don't know about that. My parents warned me about the oily cicada. Yeah, I mean, what yeah, are we've you got going better to level some advanced vibes. crystal beast ruby carbuncle? Yeah, I ain't I doing that. Not. Okay. And that just leaves us with the chaos packs. Are you ready? Oh, I am. I'm feeling the chaos, baby. All right. Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge, the last pack in the main draft. Ooh. Hey, is that a third sea moon? <laughs> That's the way, man. It must be done. Hard leg chaos pack. Number one, will we get the Machina gear frame fortress, whatever it is? That's the only thing anyone wants out of this pack. We have a bit of... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well then. Well then. Finally. <laughs> He has finally arrived! The I, dawn of the Machine Herald! I, I think that settles the, the Earth Machine... The, the Earth Machine pool just got a lot better, I tell you what. So I think that pretty much just cements it, right? Like, we're playing Earth Machine slash Math Mech? Yeah, I, th I think that kind of seals the deal on that, for sure. Mech Machine. Mech Machine. Mech Machine. Mech Machine. Mech Machine. Hard Legs Chaos Pack. Oh boy, let's go. Oh, the super rare ultimate slayer is not a bad rip. No, not at all, dude. I will happily take an ultimate slayer. Okay, we're starting with our first reroll. We've got three packs to reroll, starting with Mystic Fighters, trying to just get any any generic uh freaking uh, math mech card that might be good. Uh oh man. Magma. <laughs> You know, we appreciate the spirit. It just didn't get the assignment. Yeah. Can we get the common double yo-yo? Yes, we did. Also the secret rare oh. Chanbara, but I think Chanbara is probably a little underpowered for our format. Let's grab the double yo-yo. Okay, moving on to power of the elements. This has circular and vernasilts. Either of one could be good. This is none of those things. Power of the elements number three. Ooh, that's a that's a better better Vernasilf. Hey. Discard this in one Vernasilf. Send one Earth monster that can be normal summoned or set to the graveyard. <laughs> that especially if we're playing the fossils or whatever with the Earth machines, that would be oh. very very good. And it can foolish Citadel. <laughs> that that too. <laughs> it specifically cannot foolish Citadel. Uh, wait, Citadel it has can to be, able to be normal summoned or set. Citadel and can't be can... normal summoned or set. No, it specifically says that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I've run into this exact problem, and it's gotcha, so infuriating. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Okay, one more chance. Can we get the circular? No. No, it doesn't look like it. But the, the Awakening Forest is pretty good. We'll, we'll stick with that. Do I want to try for Legendary Collection GX? That's the next question. It's pretty high roll. It's a big set, and there are only a couple of cards we really want out of it. But imagine a third copy of Destiny Hero Malicious. I'll be honest, man. I'm imagining it, and it seems pretty good. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. What else am I looking for? Instant fusion. Uh, and rainbow Neos? I do have I do have Verte and Neos fusion. Let's see. <laughs> Let's try for it. That is pretty nice. Uh, that won't well, no, that's uh, nope. That's no. not the pack we want. And then the last five packs, Ghost of the Past, Second Haunting. Can we get the Decode Talker Heat Soul? Uh, no. Eventually. It's not. Hey, Test there's tiger. a third Mally. That's what Oh, we baby, wanted. you're right, Let's yeah. Go unpunished. Oh, yes. This is what we like to see. Pack number 10, let's try it. Go be there! Yes! I got the heat yes! soul! We did it! It's bad! Vindicated! I am selfish! I am wrong! <laughs> we got it! Oh, we got it. All right, ladies and non-ladies, we are once again playing the Math Mech Pile, but this time, they've got a lot of cybers to help them. We're on a whole bunch of Code Talker stuff, We've got Code Talkers out the wazoo in the uh, the extra deck, supported by Code Talkers in the main deck. I guess they're not Code Talkers, but like Code Exporter, Micro Coder, Code Generator. These let you link from the hand. We're just on all Cyber Extenders, Hand Traps, and then even more Extenders. And that basically, that's what we're trying to do, is go first, extend into Oblivion, make a big, huge board that just completely shuts down RJ and Noah. And then if we lose the coin toss, hopefully these hand traps and uh, some of these board breaker cards will be enough that we can play into stuff and not have to worry about it. Really, our only real worry is being hit with something like a Valor or a, or a Mourner or maybe even a Ghost Bell on like a Soul Charge, which is why we're playing the three called by the Grave. And uh, yeah, this, this deck is absolutely nutty when it's allowed to go off. If we can get like one soul charge, one codec, one card of safe return, and then just any two level four monsters. It's it's just crazy. It's just absolutely nutty. Or even just like one or two of these with a called by and like three extenders. We can go crazy with like a whole bunch of negates, a whole bunch of disruption and set up for next turn. Our only real flaw, the only problem we have is that in trying to go with consistency, there's a chance that backfires. If we open like two soul charge, two codec, we're, we're in some trouble. Or even just like, you know, one, one of these, one codec, one safe return, called by, and a hand trap. That can happen. It's like one in six or one in seven duels. It's not very likely. Most of the time we can get at least like two level fours on the field or even just two cyber monsters in general. Um, but if not, we might be in for some trouble. But what we'll see. You know, it's, we, we've played so far the last couple of weeks. I've been doing pretty good because I've been going big or going home. And today, it's, it's no more true than that. High risk, high reward. If we do it, we got it. And if not, well, it's, then it's all up to Nova. He won last season, so he's probably got something good. If there were any deck that was going to do it, this is the deck that's going to do it. This is our go second or our go last casino tier, also dark warrior link deck, a combination of two of the most powerful decks in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. And I have it at my fingertips. This deck is capable of putting out a million material by way of denier and our three copies of malicious, as well as setting up basically one card payoffs with our tier limits, being able to discard them off of our dangers. We've got three 
Nessie, two Mothman, a Tsuchinoko, a Jackalope, a Bigfoot, and a Thunderbird. It's even got Destrudo combos, which it can do without really using up any of its resources to go into Mare Mare. And the result of this is it can put out multiple Link 4s basically on demand with the possibility of including a Kaleido heart in the mix. This deck is incredible and even better at following up on Noah Jank's plays because he will be giving us access to Tempest in the graveyard to continue doing links with. Our side deck is largely for if we think that we, whoever we're going against is going to be in a position to OT chaos versus if we're going to need to clear board. So we've got things like Artifact Lancia, which deals especially well with the rock deck and also deals pretty well with earth machine and with math mech we've got cash tier of fenrir in case i'm the one who's going to be attacking first double battle fader to deal with otk's ultimate slayer to deal with basically any monster on board evenly matched in case they go wide a couple of spell trap snipes and gyoko and Nightbeam. a system down in case we're up against earth machine a copy of treacherous trapple in case suliak is not the move if we have to go into dragostopelia over kaleido heart then i want to have treacherous trap hole in the deck an arch nemesis protoss because it's easy to summon and absolutely devastates earth machine and a couple of copies of effect failure in case we are going to be the first ones to get the hand traps this deck is so incredibly spectacular and i could not have a better partner for playing this and speedroid with than noah jank yukio let's get into what i hope will be the last match of the series mm, it's no desk bots but their older cousins are pretty cool too. That's right, we're on the big earth machine pile and we'll be starting our plays with Infinitrax. Their effects will help us build up our resources so we can link and exceed into a variety of utility monsters, ending on Machina Citadel, a gigantic 3,000 attack body with a quick effect Raigeki that'll wipe away Noah Jenk and RJ's field. Assuming they don't have 3,000 or more attack monsters, but it does revive itself once per turn whenever one of our Earth Machines is destroyed, so it is a repeatable, omnipresent threat. The Verna Sylphs help here because it's an all-Earth deck, so we can revive our threats, and the Super Polymerizations are here to break boards. We have Money Mud Dragon and Garura to basically cover the whole spectrum of what any board could be, with some edge cases for Cybers, Lynx, and Branded. Look, it hits Darks and Fusions. You never know when that deck is going to show up. We also have a side deck that answers everything, and honestly, I don't know how we lose. Between hard legs, power of arithmetic, and my working class mechs, victory is assured. All right, gamers, you guys already know what it is. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. It's the deck profile. We're going to get this thing out real fast and nice like Fuji style. And that's what we're doing right here. No face cam needed. So we are going to be playing speed roids. The concept behind this deck is for the tag duel going first primarily. Speed roids can set up some pretty decent fields when needed. Uh, Shen Shen Barone, there's a lot of really cool uh, setups to go up first. And that's to tag into RJ who would be going second here. And that's why uh, a lot of these staples I think are really going to come in handy here. Uh, like Imperm, Call By, Soul Charge. I think a lot of these things are going to be really, really nice to set for RJ to use on their turn. And just in general, uh, just, you know, kind of rocking it with it. You know what I mean? The idea basically is really, really simple. Um, Speedroid combo, get some win stuff. Even if we're win locked by uh, way of Taka Tomborg or otherwise, that's fine. Because a lot of these dudes are wins uh, like Barone and Shen Shen which are great. Uh, Cheng Ying is not, so that's one to keep in mind. There is a very uh, simple and easy bake Aurora Dawn combo to set up with this deck. All we need is Rubber Band and a single one of these main deck monsters, uh, preferably a machine as it requires machines. Uh, but basically, you just go on from there, uh, set up a combo, blah, blah, blah. You can get a tuner on the field, uh, Deng Long, uh, Deng Long uh, Synchro Away into Omega. Uh, then you summon out the level one from the deck. This could be Pulau, uh, and from there, man, you're sitting kind of pretty. Listen, you guys know how to synchro climb. I'm not going to pretend like you guys don't. You guys know what the deal is. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Team go second. Oh, I oh, didn't realize okay. that it was not a guaranteed order. It's, no, it Our is. Our deck building may be um, well, he, see. Here's the thing. mildly suspect here's, for this. Here's the thing, right? Like, if we start this up, and let's say I win the coin toss, I will go first, 
and Noah will be the one up there. So if he has hand traps in his deck, he'll have the opportunity to use them. But then when it True. goes, it'll flip over to RJ. Yeah, okay. But if you win the okay. coin toss, then RJ or then uh, Noah just starts. Okay. 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 That, so that's okay, the cool weird that? thing about it. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll work with that. We'll I work mean, with I that, have yeah. no idea what I'm doing anyway. We're, Let's duel. We're both equally disadvantaged in that regard. The, the point is, this rock paper scissors is going to be serious, folks. Yeah, it's this gonna is going to be a big rock paper scissors. We ready? Yeah. Born ready. I also hit the ready button. Okay, right, there, we the go, ready button. there we all go. Right. There we go. It was me. It was me. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> Ooh. The most serious rock Ooh. paper scissors of our banned, career. Yo. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling oh, it. Aha! Oh, I've I got it. I get to go first. That is okay. All right. And I have not drawn the best hand. I drew suboptimally for this arrangement of things. I didn't draw the worst hand either, though. And I, we should mention before we get too far into it, because I, I briefly just said in the intro, like, hey, this could be the last episode. If you missed last time... RJ is on 12 coins. If you win True. this one, you get the 13th one. It's 13 to win the whole season. I still need two more. So if we win this one, then it's uh, it's one more. Just so people understand the stakes. Uh, anyway, let's... Call me a combination cattle and marijuana farm because these stakes have never been higher oh god Behold. all right uh, starting things off strong with the code generator and the best joke we've ever had yeah i'm ge generating the code what can i say uh, i will say normal summoning code generator is a good start it's pretty neat if you know what he does it's a pretty solid one yeah reading it and it's kind of nice you know? i will also say uh our not planning around what happens if we're going second on the first turn uh, may be mildly disadvantaging us in this exact matchup. <laughs> okay. So well, I'm going to send yeah, that and the I code expected. from my okay. hand. Expected that, idea. Um, and let's get two searches. Each one more search than the last. Okay. Let me read each of these. The Go ahead. code read. generator won't allows me text. to get a monster with 1200 or less won't. attack to my hand. Or to the graveyard. And then microcoder. Gets me a Cynet spell trap. Uh, this one to my hand. Subtraction time. And then we'll oh, add. No. It's math time. It's math. What's it like playing the physical embodiment of math blasters? Uh, pretty. I feel like a pro, you know. Oh, that is a nice. whole Cynet conflict. It's pretty neat. Okay. Yeah. I will say. It's a little bit of an issue. Okay. Let's subtract. Coder is uh, kind of like uh, you know, dang along a little bit. Searches out a counter trap. Does some stuff, some things, and then RJ, I have something new to show you. Something you may enjoy. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm wait, not sure I'm it? going to enjoy this. Uh, okay. This actually works better. Behold, Ardleg says trans rights. Hell yeah. Hey, trans code Based. talker uh, coming down. La la, la 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 And you just summoned, you have not activated its effect. That's I have fine. not activated the effect. Now I have activated the effect. Okay. You have and an we here. are going to DD Crow the code. No! Oh, wait, that's understandable. Fine. Oh! <laughs> Cold Mike, get out of here! Oh, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do some addition. Mm -hmm. We're going to summon this. And then we're going to make something else that I pulled this week. Something pretty neat. Uh -oh. Let's go ahead for um, oh, Decode heat Talker soul. Heat Soul. Ah, Christ. Free card. This is the card of our soul, by the way. This is our combinated form. Yeah, this is, this is the two of us. I'm the Heat, uh, Golden's the Soul. And mm -hmm. uh, that's all I got. All right. I could sometimes do more, but not this time. Transcode talker. Oh, our opening hand is not terrible. No, no, it's definitely not. And uh, I'm going to have to do some thinking about it. And by that, I mean none at all. We're going to go ahead and start off with the easiest play here I've ever done in my life. And special summon Speedroid Terror Top and activate Hell yeah! their Let's effect go. of uh, failure. Okay. Uh, Terror Top, Auto Top, as they say. Oh, yeah. Auto Top. Uh, nice. 
And I should absolutely just, like, draw a card while I'm here real quick. <laughs> just don't mind me. I don't really just, blame uh, you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, a fair yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. do. It makes sense. Sensible move. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, we're going to go ahead and spell some of the uh, attack atom board that we've just added from deck to hand. Gotcha. Hell yeah. But we got we to gotta leave a guy up. We do have to leave a guy up. I think leaving a guy up is pretty, pretty good. And uh, I would like it a lot more if I knew what you were that what that meant i've got you i got you okay awesome that's great i love that about uh, this. typing whoa are you colluding <laughs> between we are teammates colluding, as is our god-given right by the rules Collusion, of konami man. i'm Collusion. i don't i don't believe this look i'm the champion Listen, of man. chaos draft here i know how the rules work this there seems none. under the table <laughs> i believe a wise man once said screw something rules something i don't know i don't know yeah something like that my god what's up no what's You're up only receiving direct messages from friends noah jank <laughs> oh my god <laughs> dude my okay request all right so should we okay. talk about second second from the left discard leftmost that's okay. what i'm thinking okay okay i agree okay i'm all right. on the same page cool. all right, all right. Gotcha. lightning if going to discard nyan nyan and itself uh okay i'll allow it thank you so much man you're welcome all right. Just don't forget that I did this for you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, now that comes the time where we got to do some uh, thinking. And uh, by that, I mean, we're going to go ahead and I believe since we can't like attack or anything, might as well be the best to go ahead and just set up um, and get some stuff going. So I'm actually going to link here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, rush into the link. And, some quick uh, maths. Yeah, some quick maths. You could say that. We're going to no, go ahead and get the rubber no band way. shooter. No, no, no! That's Trust okay. me on this. It's, yeah. it's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. you. You see what I'm, you see what I'm going okay. with here. We yes. still, we still have, we still have a guy in rotation. That's fine. We still have exactly what I'm getting at, RJ. And we're gonna get more okay. guys in rotation as we activate rubber band shooter's effect here, uh, banishing wind Pegasus at Ignister. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much. We're gonna go ahead and uh, select two with different names. Okay. Den and, Den, uh, and you get the yo-yo. That yeah, we did. Uh, wow. Um, we are doing all right. Uh, uh, Noah terrible. Jink, are you say, seeing three monsters of the same name in your hand like I do? I may see three monsters with the same name in my hand, but in this instance, I only see two. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay. How does that like math work sure. out? I think my Omega is glitching. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. I, I also <sighs> think your Omega is glitching. Just wanted to make sure that we I'm, make sure I'm not insane. I'm sitting here like, is this some sort of weird code that you two have worked out? Before? I thought it was at first, and then I realized he was legitimately asking, and yeah, I was like, no. Instead nope. of play testing, we were just working out like a secret code yes. for us to play with. Exactly. Anyway, normal summon double yo-yo and activate effect. Targeting. Uh, uh we gotta target. Oh, the, I actually uh, love the way you think here. Daiko Duke. Target the Daiko yeah. Duke. Okay. We get dookie up in here. We're getting dookie, baby. So the thing Love is, the Green Day I, I know you have bar on the floor, and that's bigger than Transcode Talker. And yes. true. Yeah, so I think we're gonna have to go ahead and use this here. Oh man, that's a bummer. Um, yeah, that does kind of uh, in it sign at conflict. I guess the only thing I can really do here is activate Soul Charge. Yeah, we're gonna. Mm, oh well, we're just gonna have to resolve Soul Charge. Oh man, what uh, a bummer! What a bummer! What a bummer! Dude. Unfortunate. Jeez. But I mean, you, like, you understand, right? Like, there's there was nothing I could have done. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and proc Nian Nian here. Actually, get some I think more. That's uh, a great idea because I think thank you I think so much. We've got a guy we can summon that does some phenomenal things if we activate Title's effect in Grave. You are so right about these Title. words you're saying right now. Uh, Sorry, uh, Tempest, Tempest, whatever. Tempest. I was gonna I'm say, a Mermail player, every dragon ruler in my head is title. <laughs> title is I, I respect that. We're gonna go ahead and summon, uh, because now that we're not locked right there, we're gonna get out Supre Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign, Chung Ying, and we're gonna activate oh, Nian Nian. Oh, the guy. Targeting the double yo-yo. Hell yeah, we love to see it. We do love a good guy here, and we like to, uh, you know, we like to keep on, you know, doing little guy things. We'd love to do guy things here. It's a great time. Um, I wonder if we want to go ahead and do that now. I mean, we might as well press the advantage that we're in, right? We can, we can, yeah, we can, we can open up the field for ourselves for sure. Sure. So we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll banish, uh, you and, uh, get the you. Banish and, a light uh, in the dark. There you get the you and there. 
And Uri's favorite guy, it's Tempest, which oh, will oh, proc Chengying. Unfortunate. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking transcode. What do you think? That seems like it's probably the move. I agree, man. Oop. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So we got that going for us. Love that about us. Yep. Um, and I think, man, there's also a little bit more we can do, and we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna go ahead and summon Baron to four. You have to stop this. On the floor. Well, no, I don't. Uh, actually, go. Uh, actually, but. we can indeed keep going. <laughs> Yeah, believe it or not, we can literally keep going. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate the effect of High Speed Roid Rubber Band Shooter here. What? Uh, uh, we, we cannot summon the monster you think we can summon. Normal summon. Oh, uh, because yeah. because we activated Nyan Nyan. That makes sense. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what we're doing here. We're going to go ahead and, special and summon uh, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. And that's all right. That's okay, man, because we're going to immediately synchro summon away these two friends uh, into Virtual World Beast Juju. Ah. Hell yeah. Do we have two monsters from my graveyard with the same original type and attribute? Well, look at that, we do. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, Terra Top and Daiko Duke will get so uh, Heat tell Soul. Me. Uh, I should go ahead and do it, right, right Nova? Uh, double checking wordings here really quickly. Two or more monsters with the same original type and attribute. Oh, do they They still... don't have that, so yeah, go ahead. Okay. I was hoping to that save I... it for the Barone, but, uh, you know. I could not be more fine with that. Uh, yeah, honestly, sure. That's, that's like, ideal outcome here. Yeah, I think so too, RJ, and uh, I think uh, we're good here. I think we're good to just go to the end phase here. I think we can just go to end phase. All right, man. Uh, Golden McNova. Believe uh, <laughs> it or not, we're not going to stand by Barone. Okay, so it they will have... shock you to find out. So they have one negate. They have one negate, and uh, Chen Ying can't be destroyed one. Or, can, yeah, can stop itself from being destroyed. Okay. There you go. God, God, you <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, we gotta do it. Yeah, that's a hard one. Uh, might as well. Uh, negate the activation. Okay. Okay, so, mm -hmm. as long as we don't banish and that last card in hand does nothing, we're in the clear. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would have liked to have summoned the other guy that we had in hand, because I didn't just, see what you had. Just oh, don't well. forget the, the trencher. Oh, uh, what about it? Or don't, don't banish it. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, well, I think I'm going to normal summon far left just to get the search on, and we'll yeah. see where we go from there. Okay, mm, uh, I wonder what Harvester. Oh, wow. Interesting. We're I'm the Harvester deeply of unfamiliar with this play. Oh, I can't see anything you're doing. Oh, true. I'm uh, not sure what you're searching. Look, they know what we're on. Tunnler? Should I get Tunnler? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, there we go. That That's a good guess. I think Tunnler's a good card. What M. did you M. find, Hard Leg Joe, between last week and this week that makes this a viable deck for you? Uh, That's what I'm interested in. Okay, so Are Brutal you Dozer. Are on the Karakuris now? We'll see. The effect is negated, yeah, so we don't want to summon, so we're just going to get a Trencher. Yeah. That's a good mm. card, man. Okay. I hear good things about it. I mean, yeah. That's pretty nice. You fools. Okay, so I love gonna... that Brutal Dozer is like cyber goth colored. <laughs> Do you notice that? <laughs> it is kind of rad, yeah. Speaking of rad. All right. We're getting our rivers stormed. Yeah. We were it's fools for putting a water monster on the board. <laughs> we will suck it up with our hoses. The lead singer of Weezer will offer you no no uh, shade this day. Ah, uh, yes. The, <laughs> the river. The, man, I liked River Stormer more when he was more emo. Yeah. <laughs> Red Album was peak. Everything after that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's okay. Earth, Earth We're going to pat you on the back on the way out. Okay. Oh, shit. That He's hitting the whoa. Weezer joke. I'm hitting that the whoa. That is a Weezer joke. You're right. Thank you so much for the Weezer joke. Oh. Hey, we like Weezer here. We're kind of like Weezer in our own right. <laughs> something of a wait, Weezer. wait, wait! I, I, I just, I just realized, Nova. Um, yeah. Chen Ying only stops if it's destroyed by card effect. If you destroy it by battle, it can't banish anything. If you destroyed by card effect, you can banish one card instead. Yeah. So we'll need to get big enough or make it small enough to destroy it. Yeah, and we can easily do that. Uh, the Harvester's still there. We could change some levels around, you know, do a little shenaniganery, have some fun. 
Yeah, sure, buddy. You wanna you wanna banish my stuff now? How's that? Um, I mean, we could. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> might as well. Um, banish. target special it. I mean, there's no reason for us to not just <laughs> keep banishing stuff, right, RJ? Like, well, it's a so a Chung Ying's banish is a hard once. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out if anything that they can do in the big earth machine combo is requiring them to banish, which is why they're hesitant here. Well, I mean, the thing is, too, they've already used their normal is the big thing. That's true. I just don't trust this deck. The last time I played against it, I, like, negated everything, and then Hardleg had his entire combo left after that. <laughs> You're um, welcome! Welcome! Uh I mean, there's not going to be, I think, another opportunity for this to really come out. Uh, Tunneler can banish itself from the grave, but uh, that requires, of course, Tunneler being in the grave. Honestly, man, I think the move yeah, here is to I'm, banish River Stormer. I think that's a fine move, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. We're going to banish River Stormer, uh, and we are also going to banish... Let's take out uh, a math mech. Yeah, whatever, sure. We'll go ahead and get uh, addition out of here. We're going to activate Vernisilf of the Flowering Fields. Oh, funny. Oh, there it is. Okay. Funny. Discard Anchor Drill. We're going to add Rudal Dozer to hand. Okay. Rudal. We're going to Special Summon Anchor Drill. Okay. We're going to use Anchor Drill's effect. Okay. We are going to Special Summon Ancient Gearbox from our hand. There's oh, the wow. Ancient okay. Gear. I'm going to use the effect of Infinitrack Harvester targeting Anchor Drill. They are both uh... level sixes now. Uh, I Beatrice. will use the effect of Anchor Drill targeting Ancient Gearbox. They are now both level eight. What the? <laughs> so, it's there wait, wait, hold on. Um, wait. So, uh, wait, hold Earth, on. <laughs> Earth Dingirsu? Earth Dingirsu? Real? Say original oh, level, yeah. original yeah. level. So, so uh, you, level. you have fallen into a classic trap, Nova. Harvester says current level. Uh, it, Anchor Drill says original level. Oh. Wait, no way. <laughs> I, They're I, different. I ran no. into this in Karakuris. Wait, no, this they messed both, me they up both a lot playing Karakuris levels. and testing. Okay, they both say original. Yeah, okay. they both say original. Oh, right. they do both say original? Yeah. Okay. Only one right. of them combos with Buredo. That's what I know. That's so funny. All right, Earth Dink well, issue. Let's bring it out. We were going to go for 10, make Gustav, make Liba. That's not happening now. No, no, it's not. Noah Jenks combo will carry us to victory. It was a good one. Yeah, you doubted it. Was it was a good combo. I really do just think that's that's our only chance is if we can get five in the graveyard with Tunneler and then draw. I not sure if that's possible with what we've got here. Yeah, we have none in graveyard. We have three on board. We activate Tunneler, tribute this. Activate Trencher, tribute. Oh, we're just tributing the hand. This. Yeah, we gotta find answers. Uh, link off uh, one non-link infinite track, so we could just like Goliath for, for fun and profit, just to add yeah, another. Yeah, we can do robot. the alliance, uh, the alliance shuffle, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> the alliance shuffle. Yeah, you just load up on a bunch of Goliaths to fill up for trencher, or not trencher, uh, tunneler. Yes, it, it's with different names, though. Yeah, it's a pity we used the Stormer on the gearbox, because then we could have searched again here. Yeah. All right, here we go. Shuffle right. back five. Pot of Avarice to attempt to find the out. Can we get out of this? Well, that, Not that, with that, the, oh, wait, no, we're stuck, aren't we? <laughs> No, we are stuck. Um. Uh, Lord of all the things on that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and empty out the deck a little bit. I'm going to activate this, though. Wait, one second. Is that... <laughs> no, 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 no. Um. Their effects are negated, so it's not really going to help us. Whose effects are negated? Oh, the summon monsters? Yeah. Wait a second, hold on. Yeah, it's probably Activate better. Ballista. Pop. Oh, okay. Well, at least that <laughs> deals with it. 
How, how, what? Oh, and then you can <laughs> wait, crash the oh, it crash one it to of them. zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no okay. Oh, and it. Oh shit. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. We can't use that, but we can't go to battle. We can't go to battle phase. We're on the third turn player, wait, and wait, I can't let's attack. Go! <laughs> yeah, no! honest, I'm gonna be honest. This whole time, I was really confused why you guys were talking about battle phase. I thought we were on the fourth. <laughs> I thought RJ already went. No, nope. it's Noah Jenk so went first. Long. Okay, it's been such a long time. All right, now that's a board. <laughs> I think we should be going. Killer end board. Yeah, yeah. I think I just gotta pass it here. All right. Have fun. Right. Right. Show me what I got. Oh, I like what it's I got. It's just a no, matter of if they could do 14. I really plus. like what you got. Yeah. Uh, we've got some solid things to work with. I'm we really do. I'm regretting not running a rank seven. Yeah, I mean, that's um, whatever, dude. We have plenty of tools in the toolbox right here for this. Do we want to use the draw spell here? Uh, Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Allure of Darkness. There you go. Very good. Oh, oh my Ooh. God. Oh, far right, far right, far right. Those are some right. draws. Okay, okay. Uh, I feel like we banish uh, one of the archetype guys. You feel? I, I don't think so, but if you think that's the move, then by all means. Uh, are you I think thinking it's better to the hit... guy on the right? I am also. I'm thinking that's far right, yeah. The far right. Okay. We are going to banish the far right. Uh, okay. Thank is... goodness someone's yeah. doing it. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta do that. All right, uh, we're going to banish Destiny Hero Denier. Oh, yo, is that a Chungying activation? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, that's wild. Okay, we're gonna set some things and activate a guy, and the particular guy we're gonna activate here is Danger Nessie. Whoo, Look at that. Is that a Tier Laments Happiness well, that I just that... discarded? Dude, uh, what a what a crazy wow. random happenstance that just happened. I can't believe it. I've, I've never leg. seen a play like that in my life. In fact, uh, it's going to do something even crazier that I'm also hey, what's sure that, I've RJ? never seen before. What is that? Uh, it's going to shuffle back oh my God. some guys this in be. order to get a fusion monster. I cannot believe anything that I'm hearing right now. Yeah, this is, this is incredible stuff. And we're going to activate that fusion monster, shall we? Look at that, every tier. Look, let, give it up for Kid Kalos, everybody. Yeah, I, 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 Kid Kalos is truly, truly, uh, something we've never seen in our lives. The likes of this. Uh, no, I, I thought we had escaped the master duel, and here it's just tier laments and Shen Ying and and Baron the floor. <laughs> the same old what stuff. What can I say? Get good. <laughs> you, you it's, it's like I'm really playing Power of the Elements format. <laughs> it's true. Um, uh, and we're gonna summon ourselves a Rhino Heart. Oh Another God. shocker, I'm sure. We're going to activate that Rhino Heart, and we're going to chain block with Kit Kalos. That's crazy that there's simultaneous effects. I cannot believe it. It's this. amazing. It's really nobody's seen anything like this in their lives. We're going to send away a Merle. Wow, Merle triggers? What? Uh, this is this is truly unprecedented stuff we're seeing right here. Uh, and what we're going to summon is a... Greta Plant Dragostapelia, another card I'm sure you've never seen in your life. I don't think uh, I have. Interesting. And then we're going to, what do I have in my grave now? Ah, uh, we didn't uh, build any have... of the cool guys, no. rip. You build I a mean, bunch of um, spells. It is a bunch of spells. That's that's rough. Well, oh, it's, dude, it's really not I don't know rough. what we're going to do anymore. It, I, I don't know, know I Noah think... Jank. I think I don't this know, gets I, really, really tough. Just go to right battle here. face. <laughs> I think, I think, I think this is a struggle. I don't know if we're going to get out of this one alive. I, oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, sword, you're I not think, even going to gain any attack from the ballista. I, yeah, but like, why would I care? Let's, yeah, let's just go to battle. Phase. There, this is literally the most master duel field I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's pretty damn master duel. It's not uh, excess let's code. Let's start so. with. True. Let's start with attacking with Drago Stapelia. Ah, Gore's Order. Gotta play that Gore's Order. Let's attack with Baron. Understandable. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Wait. Then with Chung Ying. Wasn't that a face up Earth machine that got destroyed, Nova? It certainly was. Is, and then is there a reason I needs to be in the graveyard. Oh, okay. I thought it was hand or graveyard. Yeah, me too. And then we will activate Boral Sword. I'll shift 
uh, the Chunging to defense. All right, sure. you got Why the not? first one. Now that and we know we Chunging's here. Yeah, yeah, baby, so let's, let's go! It's still let's best go. out of three. Get back. Now calm down. We get to go first I'll this time. Bet. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. We're gonna get oh a better. No! <laughs> you got it. You okay, got to so be kidding me. Okay, so this hand is also mildly suboptimal under you these have circumstances. Have to be joking me. It's doable though. It's I... doable. It's gonna be great for next turn when uh, when it comes back around to me. It's gonna be amazing. Card okay. of safe return set. Okay. All right. Ooh, way, that's not a bad hand either. No, it's really not. Um, I've seen worse. No, I think we're gonna start off uh, second to right, man. I think we gotta walk rock. I think we, I think we do it. I think uh, we gonna, send it. Yeah, man, absolutely. We're gonna special summon a uh, speed right terror top activate effect here. Oh wow, the starter card. Little yeah, I know. It must crazy. be nice. We opened, uh, we opened our starter, the a, a card we have three of in the deck. Terror coming. You know, from it's not, top. it's not the worst thing in the world, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. No. Here. My kind of train of thought is, um. We can get the combo rock in here by summoning far left and then go into um, the link two, at which point we can then go into the secret surprise man. I agree. I'm a big fan of secret surprise man. Totally okay, we'll secret do that then. Surprises. We're gonna summon. Yeah, we have the surprises arise. We're gonna and we're gonna get one right here. We got a bunny on a horse. Oh, hey. red haired hasty horse. No, my not like this. List. The funniest guy. Well known for being the funniest guy. Uh, Truly so a now, silly little guy. Yeah, it's great that way. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and link someone actually into a uh, good friend here, okay. rubber band shooter, friend of the show. Guy, you're, do you you're have so a response smart. window right now? Uh, yeah. You think I should do it now? I think we have to do it now. We cannot give them this chance. Okay, we can work with this. Uh, we can absolutely work with this. I think we go for it. Okay. I think we're going Sounds to good. activate the effect of foolish burial. Okay. Seems a little <laughs> foolish to me. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, that that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and send... Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and send the Duke. Uh, I think that's kind of the move here. What do you oh, think? Oh, that Richie? was not what I was saying. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we send we send a little a little kitty cat. You yeah. know what, RJ? Yeah, I like cat. the way you think. Though I was my second. I think we're going to send the kitty cat. We're going to go ahead and send Megathan and Beast send away the kitty cat. Oh, this was not the kitty cat I was thinking. Rescue cat. We do have two kitty cats in our deck, and both of them are very good from graveyard. So I understand your I understand your confusion. Sudroid, a den den a Daiko Dukeman. Oh, hello there. He loves he loves hey how's it going? Is what he he's says. He's duking it up. He's the he finest loves... duke in all the land. He's... he's a good one, man. I can't lie. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate the Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms from the hand. Um, and we're going to do so. Uh, by and then we're gonna special summon it. We're gonna banish. I, that's, I agree. Yeah, man, absolutely. He's we're gonna got banish some two flash cards. Flash branded shoes. And boom. Uh, then I think we have uh, the floor is kind of open, but we are locked into winds, which is fine because guess what? We have a wind our, monster. Our best guy is wind. That's crazy. It's I can't. Pretty windy. It. Pretty windy indeed. Um, and from this point onwards, it gets actually really funny because this opens up a few plays for us. And I think the play we're going to activate first off here is Banishing Daiko Duke from my grave. Oh, uh, um, I like the way that you think. I think we got to try this now. No, I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to let that rock. That's, That's A-OK -okay because I don't think we've used our normal summon. <laughs> we have not. We have not used our normal summon. Um, but that Man. being said, this normal summon doesn't really do anything for us. My deck can do. There we go. It That's sets us up for next turn if we want to go into, uh, if we want to go back into the two. Yeah, you're right. We'll go ahead and rock it. We'll normal summon speed ride red eye dice. Man, must be nice to open monsters. <laughs> and I think we can actually go and link here, RJ. And I think we're gonna do that. We're I not think locked we're gonna in do that. Yet. Hey, it's Rubber Bandman again. We're gonna. Banish a wind synchro. Uh, in this case, it is going to be a wind the pegasus horsey? at Ignis. Hell yeah. It's always got to be the horsey. You know how I, I think. Uh, we, we're going to get select two here. We're going to um, select the two spinny boys. The two guys that spin. Two tops. Yeah, I'll take either of those. Happy with that result. That worked out okay. It's, it's not the best thing it could have been, but it's okay. It's not, um, but... 
kind of one of those situations where you kind of got to roll with what you got. Uh, yeah. And I think I'm actually content to go to end phase here. I'll be honest with you. I think we can go to end phase here. We can see what they've got in hand. Okay. Yeah, let's get Kaiju Silver. We just gotta, we just gotta go over one negate. That's not too hard. Okay. Too here hard we go. What see? we got? We got it. Yeah. See? Second, second from the left. Yeah. Of course. They got the horse. Yep. Get yeah. All right. Cool. Nice here throw, you go. idiot. Now it's a spider. Unfortunately, it is a spider. That's okay. Though. Okay. That's so right. now we we're in okay shape still. Just kind of build a not a not an OTK board because I can't do that right now and I have to remember this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Normal harvester. I'm shocked. I tell you, shocked. The harvester of sorrows has come for your livelihood. Um. Okay. So one of the left three, because we have the other ones. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Grab that. Again, I can't see when you go to search. Right, fair enough. I, I just assume you said we had the I'm other trying to three do the ones, thing. So I'm like the whatever the Take other. Take a look one at my is. deck real quick. Yeah. Look, look. RJ and Noah Jen clearly have this rapport. I'm trying to communicate. I know. I'm doing a bad job. It's okay. Uh, okay. Let's do scoop, scoop, McDoop. Scoop, scoop, Man. McDoop. That's what I've heard of. Yeah. That's that's oh that's the kill my favorite move. <laughs> Oh, right, the kill those. Yeah. That's what they call them. That's Launchpad McQuack. Think, That's what I think. You think you think we're letting this resolve? Absolutely, we are. Okay. There's much bigger targets. Sounds good to me. They've got something. I'm not I'm not liking that. They're just bluffing. They don't got anything. We have a graveyard. <laughs> this is a pretty big target. I think this is a <laughs> pretty like big this target. Is pretty much our prime target here. That's fine. That's, we haven't activated the effect yet, so we could just go into Goliath, right? Yes, oh, shit. we can yeah. actually. <laughs> Hard leg, you're a yeah, genius. This is the uh, okay, yeah. When True. summoned. True. True. And then it's just like, yo, what's up? And it came back. Uh, and not only am I going to equip Infinitrack Goliath as material. We have also special summoned a monster from the graveyard. We did! <laughs> so we will drop you draw a card! Draw a card! Draw a card! Draw a Uh, okay. Hell this feels yeah, good. now we've got business! Uh, Add the big okay, man! So. They know we have it! <laughs> Add it's big the man. big man! The Citadel! We finally did it! There he is. Oh, oh my shit. gosh. Well, um, this is a minor problem. Yep. Okay, so we will use this. Pitch Bigman. Send from deck. Uh, not not as Bigman. Yeah. Special summon the Bigman? The biggest man. The biggest man! Get That's that summoning. Large. There he is. Did we just summon out of the and graveyard? Let's draw a card! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Right, the return is so funny oh, for Oh, perfect, perfect. That could get the cruncher. Oh, you... God, yeah, let's get the... We're gonna get the crunch? Yep. Let's do the crunch. Let's... Let's get the crunch. Let's get the crunch. Uh, uh, the only question uh, is tunneler, tunneler every uh, time. Vernisilf tunneler. Pitch the pitch Vernisilf tunneler. Yeah, summon back the cruncher. Draw a card. Draw a card off the bear. Summon the cruncher. Dr get a draw off of the safe return. Metal cruncher. Um, get another search. We're on our opening five hand five, five cards still. Boom. Okay, I think was that incorrectly, but I didn't want to. It's fine. Say no and get nothing. Okay, we're good. What? That's all right. Um, That's an all right. We can just grab a whole bunch of different, just a whole bunch of different random utility cards, and then just yeah. whatever we pick up is good. Whatever we pick um, up, we could find something to do with it. I mean, what's love got to do with it? Just a secondhand emotion. Just remember, we Hard cannot look, I love attack. Your references. No, we can't. We cannot attack. attack. Also, as much as it pains me, on my screen, the um, the the spell we have, it it um, it looks like Machina Gearframe now, except he's got a spell border around him, <laughs> but the picture <laughs> is Gearframe. That's, That's awesome. That is bizarre. I was about to like ah oh, post this into Discord. And I'm like, wait, we don't want to give our opponents hand knowledge. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Actually, that would be blah. That's okay. Last game, I thought that Noah Jake had three copies of Double Yo-Yo in hand. 
uh, which would yeah. have been a um, an issue. Yeah, we do need to summon something <laughs> with like twenty four hundred so we can clear the board, though, right? Uh, thankfully, we can pop the river stormer and be good with that. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. For some reason, I thought I had five hundred attack. No, it's the uh, other way around. Um, so we can just go ahead and do that. Yeah, we'll just... let's just do that now. Boom. Get, get rid of everything. Damn. Pop goes the weasel. You know what they say? That's um, as it were. Thankfully, we have the life point advantage, and that's how you win in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that's true. We all know this. That's what I've heard. Yeah. I would just set but, the, yeah. the the two. Set the two. Do nothing else. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Is there? Okay. Because if you use it on your turn, all of those are going to go into your deck. Yeah. But if I use it on my turn, it'll go back, and then I might get even more stuff to hold us over for later. I get, go ahead. Why not? Okay. We're not. We're not uh, in this uh, for the long haul. <laughs> We're in this for the short haul. Yeah, we have to die young so we can stay. Pretty. I was just thinking about the trencher. I was like, we could just activate trencher to draw another card for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, can okay, we? Okay, so we got. Yeah, we don't have any more. But we can activate this one <laughs> at the second to the right. Second to the right. We could activate that and bring back the kaiju so they can't kaiju us. <laughs> Um, that is very funny, and, um, the question is, are they on kaijus? I don't. Good question. Hey, Noah Jank, you would tell me if you're on kaijus, right? Yeah, buddy, of course. Are you on kaijus? That's a good question. <laughs> it's a great question. So you didn't, you didn't, uh, account for the fact that they don't remember what's in their decks. <laughs> That's oh, true. you're right. Yeah, you're, you're, you're overthinking a lot here about people who barely even know what, how to, like, play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Bunny! Right. Pitch to Anchor Drill. That wasn't the thing I... Drill. Why would you put that in the graveyard? Interesting. Oh, because we're going to revive it right back. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Draw a card? Uh, and then we draw a card! Yeah! Pot of Greed times three! That's insanity. Chainsaw Man. Yeah, then we get a big... I love Chainsaw Man. It's pretty great. <laughs> I've never watched it. <laughs> well, this is just like Chainsaw Man. I don't know. I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like Chainsaw Man. This is probably. where we summon VFD. Probably. I hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Earth Machine VFD. Earth Machine VFD. <laughs> We're locked into Very it. fun dozer. It's just big. Infinitrack yeah, Earth Fucker. Real big. <laughs> the Bagger 288. It's a lot of... That's a lot of back row. Yep. And one of them okay. is a Machina Fortress on my side, which is not something you usually see set in the back row. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that's not an ideal draw. Not really, but I mean, I'm this thinking... is fine. Set the third guy and then do the second to right guy. I'm thinking Arby's. I am also thinking about that. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not. About Shut up. Arby's. You're lying. Arby's. Why would you lie like that? All right, let, let's take five and get some Arby's, guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the roast beef sandwich. I feel like we also want Nasty to set the cheese. one on the left. Sure, why not? Okay. All right, we're going to get blown out because I did, uh, chose to do that, but that's okay. Oh, you're going to get blown out all right, brother. All right, uh, let's activate no, this dude. It's insane. All right, um, it's a strong one. have fun. God no! Damn it. Hey, which one do you want? Which one do you want? Oh, Target the uh, whatever one. the monster or whatever. Oh, that's not the monster one. Damn. Um, well, we might as well activate. Put it on Metal Cruncher. Yeah, yeah. We are of the same mind. Just make it big. Okay. You don't got no He's effect. He's huge. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Less than ideal. Um, yeah, Citadel can be annoying. It's just got to targets, then okay. you die or whatever. Yeah, he's got a big chainsaw hand. He is also the chainsaw man. <laughs> okay. We have a disturbing number of chainsaws in this deck. Yeah. I'm going to activate Foolish Burial. How? Oh. <laughs> Foolish. So they tell oh. me. Thank you, Resolving. And so. I think that we send away denier right 
I mean, that's a very good pick, I think. Yeah, Denied. Okay, we're going to send away Denier. Ah, uh, Denier. Uh, and I will not be able to activate it this turn. Why not? Good. Most good in <laughs> Good. Why um, can't I activate it? Well, let me read. If you have a Destiny Hero monster on your field or in your graveyard, oh, Destiny Hero it's Denier. Not in the graveyard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I misplayed kind of majorly. Da, 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 da. This not still really. technically does the thing because we have a normal summon in hand. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, I'm going to activate Tempest from. Yeah, there. we're on the same uh, train of thought there. And I think we banish Yo Yo and Yo Yo, -Yo and Mourner. Yes, that's correct. Uh, I think that's probably the best one. Okay. It's either that or yo-yo and rubber band shooter. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's either or. Um, to be honest, neither really matters. It's fine. No, it okay. matters. Uh, I'm going to banish the mourner then. Yeah, sure. Okay. There's some in tempest. So that resolves. Speak. A dragon. Uh, and I'll normal summon ghost ogre and snow rabbit. Hmm, not what I was thinking, but I respect it. All right. Uh, and you then have a second I Barone will to Necro summon. God, I wish we are going to link summon Nightmare Cerberus and activate it, discarding Mally. Sorry, I'm going to need you to be more specific on what the hell that means. <laughs> the dude bro that does a thing during our turn. Consent is. Oh, Citadel. oh, okay. Um, yeah, might as well, right? Go ahead and force the activation. I mean, it'll, it'll get the crack pack on the next turn, but I mean, it's better that than like having to deal with a threat this turn. That's true, and it does, it will get the chance to target itself, but that's fine. I yeah, think. and I guess go ahead just to stop them from having the link material, you know. Well, the question is, do they have follow up, right? I mean, either way, you're gonna be gone. Well, so if I pop Citadel right now, right? Yeah. Then, no, you're right. The way that it's happening is a different way than I thought it was gonna happen. Yeah. Um, Unless yeah. they destroy something else, so that Citadel comes back, and then you could use the effect. Okay. And that's fine. We will let that go. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Well, now our entire graveyard's online. Uh. So let's Indeed. figure out what else we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, I think Denier has a lot of things to say about that. I Denier. agree. Uh, I think we actually want to start off with the Mally, though. That's respectable, man. I, uh, I, I think that's fair. He's got fuzzy arms. And now we'll activate the Denier. Yes. The Denier. Denier. And we'll activate him. What does he do when he's activated? Uh, he puts a guy back on the deck. Oh, okay. So you could just, like, malicious again. Right. Yeah. And it just occurred to me, I might be on only one link, too. <laughs> um, I don't think we... Climbing. No, I don't think we want to use it now. Okay. Okay. Uh, save it that for... actually messes with things, probably. Alright. Yeah, that's okay. right. We got a thing we can do. A phrase I love hearing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So now I'm in trouble because I only included one link to it. <laughs> What's Denier holding yeah, in his hand? Um, Is that a... It's not a great... So, yeah. you know the old uh, Destiny Hero trap card D-Chain? Oh, he's got D-Chain! Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's got the okay. chain Okay. I thought that was like a belt That's buckle. okay. I only mildly. <laughs> it also is it's his not belt actually buckle. going to come up now. Um, just, God damn it! I thought it was like some 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 sort of destiny hero, and he's like, "Don't let me, don't make me get the belt." I th unfortunately, <laughs> I think we have to. Pass it's kind it. of what's going on. This yeah, we is do. Not ideal. Oh God, no, but it could bad. be a lot worse because uh, we have a. Very it could be card. if I had a second link to. I just didn't think this deck was ever going to try and make a second link to. Yeah. It's also a very funny card that we have both on the field and in our hand right now. Okay, we're going to slice the earth. I'm going to get rid of the back row and my own metal cruncher. 
Okay. I think you I think got a pot. We yeah. chain. We chain what's in our hand, and we chain our back row. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to chain Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Aw, come and on. And I'm also going to chain Called by the Grave to banish the Citadel. Uh, uh... No, you're not. <laughs> Shit! Oh, yes! No way! Yes! No! That's an unfortunate, unfortunate oh, ghost that's spell. Brutal. Wow. But he came back. Oh, yes. Oh, From the that's graveyard? Not I mean, yes. don't mind if I do. Eesh. That's great. Rough. What um, a great card. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If I use Trencher, does that special summon it? But that doesn't lock me into Earth using the graveyard effect. It, it does not. Okay, I'm going to do that. You don't mind, do you? Oh, absolutely. No, please. <laughs> I uh, It does summon in defense position, though, so be careful. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. Mm, no, please, by all means. I want to draw another card. I'm greedy. Yes. I'm gr okay, good. Oh, oh. Perfect. Hello. Oh, that is a level four. It's me. I'm a balancer, Lord. I'm That's balancing. Not, good. not great. <laughs> Two level fours? It's math time. What's four plus four? The answer is rank four. <laughs> <laughs> math is fucked. This is this is that woke math you've heard so much about. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> yeah, all those numbers that are so woke. Let's go ahead and get uh, a yeah, circle. There it is. Yep. Oh, they're teaching that critical parabola theory in my kids' schools. <laughs> Hate that. Let's send Sigma. Gonna do that Sigma grind set thing. We're gonna summon. We're going to activate this. Oh shit, did a monster just summon out of the graveyard? I better draw another card about that. I mean, why not? Um, let me go ahead That's and just insane. search a thing too. We'll just get all the stuff. Mm. Mm. Draw a card. Um, do I have another math mech in the graveyard? I don't yet but <laughs> i might get some in the near future you know you never know i what believe you might we'll go ahead and do that and then you know one link material is the same as any other so we'll just tribute the alan Bershin and uh we'll bring back the circular and what do you know do we search from the graveyard let's just go ahead and draw God another damn. card shall we <laughs> Uh, I can't even be mad about that. Perhaps I should have saved the ghost ogre for a different... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Possibly. I mean, that worked out gorgeously if I dealt with the Citadel, but uh, I didn't. Yeah. It turns out. Not not quite. Uh, oh, I forgot. Transcode can't use its effect if you summon anything other than um, Cybers that turn. We love to see it. Uh, that's it's not like you have six cards in hand. Yeah. We'll just. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We'll be fine. We'll figure out a we'll way. We'll figure out a way. We'll just summon diameter, and I guess we'll draw another card. Why not? Oh my god. We're fine. We're good. We're both good and fine. Um. What am I thinking of? What do I want to do with my life, with my livelihood, that I could believe that I was a champion? Uh, Nothing good. That's what you think, and you yeah, be, it kinda is, man. be correct. Let's do this. Hello, it's yep. it's me. Um, it's me, Grungler Dragon. Yeah, I think we have Anne out to this in the deck. I'm sure we do. Yeah, you you've got you've got outs. Let's go You're ahead. Fine. Uh, yeah, I guess we detach this one, and we'll just pop, I don't know, this guy. Sure. And I think, unfortunately, that's all I could do at the moment. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're, we're we're kind of honestly, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Let's let's just punch him up. Yeah. Punch it up. But up, but up, but up. Ooh, punch it up. So we'll attack that. I can only attack with one monster this turn because of circular. Let's go! Yeah, good, okay. good job. I was really hoping that... RJ, that was really good, man. Good good defense. The light, Thank you. The Thank light you. dragon addict Nister is like when a cypher steals damage, you could summon something out of the graveyard. I was going to get another search oh, again. Boy. I was All right. really... Oh my god. We, okay. have, we have a draw that does it. We have, we have a draw that does it. Um, I mean, knowing what my hand is, this is going to be really interesting. See if I can actually do anything about this. Yeah, oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to get by on set five pass. 
Oh, uh, no. Somehow, right? It's okay. You got two cards. Uh, slightly oh, yeah, we're good. optimal. Yeah, a little bit. But um, you like that. We're going to just go into it. Um, let's go ahead and start this thing off right. Let's do it. Carrot top effect. Dark top. Um, yeah, let's just, you know. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, so I guess here is where we're going to have to uh, tip this effect to the grave. Uh, we're going to ban it as Trevor Bandman and uh, Carrot Top, I guess. Why not? Uh, yep. Yeah, it's just good to know. <laughs> Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Oh, that is that really bad, actually. Isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, except it negates it. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it's pretty <laughs> much the worst thing in the world, actually, RJ. That I'm is be honest the worst you. thing in the world. It's a year, probably you're the right. worst That's thing in the just world. Just about by, the worst thing in the world. Yeah. By a country mile. Um, uh, hard leg, how many cards do you have in your hand? Three. Uh, in the other deck? Oh. I don't know. That's that's uh, Nova. Nova, Nova. How many cards did you have left? I think he still had like four uh, in hand. Yeah, yeah, my my grip was so stacked. Dude, okay. let's just go to next game, man. There's I think no we way. go next. I think There's we go a... next. You guys got this. We one. got it. We did it. All, All right. right. Okay. Okay. Who? Right. Okay. It's it's all, right, all comes down to this. We've been here for an hour. Oh We've got to get a third so one. We've be... got to test it. Card of safe return MVP. That card is insane. <laughs> so good. That card is real nuts. You're gonna go first. Here I right. am, the Here final go. battle. That's a hell of an opener. We want to lead with that card on the far right. I think so, man. Let's go ahead and activate a card by paying a thousand life points. We're gonna activate confiscation. Go ahead. I, I ain't got no hand uh, traps. I mean, I think we take out the middle card. <laughs> Might as well. Why are you saying I, the I, middle I, card like the I can't see it? You don't have to be uh, hiding. Yeah. I mean, right. And I think we we go for the. We're just gonna we combo go here, man. Guy. We do. Yep, we're just we gonna combo. Full, yep. We do the combo. That was when combo. I went first. I opened with hand traps and graveyard stuff. Now I've got like full combo, and they're like, "Yeah, that's fine. You can go last." Uh, Jack and Tom board going to link summon into rubber band shooter man. Good luck, Nova. Do here. Don't want to get blocked yet, and we banish a wind. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, there was a different order that I would have done things, but I'm, you know, you've led us to victory. So. Oh, that's an oh! excellent, excellent. Never mind. There. Nothing matters anymore. We've. <laughs> Dude, you gotta believe. Sometimes man. you're just matters. too good at the game. What can I say? Sometimes you're too good at the game. Oh, We're gonna do this God. first, uh, and now I think we make the secret friend. I think we do make the secret friend. Oh, here. secret friend time! Super secret. Friend. All right, we're gonna link oh. off our uh, double yo-yo and our rubber band shooter into Mecha Phantom Beast that. Aurora Dawn. This isn't a secret friend. We've known about Dude. this. This was in previous episodes. No <laughs> secret. <laughs> He's very secret. Do we want Look to summon one of them is. in defense? Okay. We the no, we don't. The one episode. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Hard leg. What? One sec. Both of you guys. I need a second on the stage here. Uh, hard leg. You are going to learn a lot about Noah Jenkins in this episode, more than you've ever known. <laughs> uh, he doesn't use words like we use words. Okay. Oh, okay. They have a whole secret <laughs> meaning for him. <laughs> That's true. You're honestly <laughs> right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the Rorodon's brand new effect. Uh, special, we're gonna tribute <laughs> itself and a token. The rest of us are speaking English. Noah speaks English An Prime. You continue to have never seen in your <laughs> English life. Prime. English Prime. Yes. English Prime is here, and he's here to bring out the new guy, the new friend of Prog Poles. Dangle on first of the Yangzing. No, I banned him. He's the first, unless. Got a big triangle on his chest. I don't know what's <laughs> up with that. I don't trust no triangles. We're gonna triangles. get a token, and we're gonna add nine pillars. Ha, you didn't summon that token in attack. No! <laughs> it's all okay. ogre now. <laughs> what do we do? Audio peaked, um, ruined forever. <laughs> so so what I'm thinking is we use Denglong and a token to go into the light level eight. And yes. then that gets us the Yang Zig sure. from deck. Okay. And then we'll okay. still, by way of the spell in hand, we'll still have access to the nine if we really want it. I'm down with it. All right, we'll go ahead and rock it then. Omega, uh, Denglong effect here. Ah, We're going to get out everybody's favorite guy. Just hand ripping. Ooh, wow. Yeah, because why not? He's got them crazy Ooh. eyes. We'll watch out for him. He'll ah. cut you. He'll cut you so bad, you uh, 
You wish he didn't cut you so bad. Cut you so wait, bad? Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't know why I ref know that reference, but I do know that reference. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, and uh, I think we'll... Uh... And turn. Good idea. No, I don't know about that one. We are going to set Damn a card, it. but then we're going to activate another card in hand. What do you think, RJ? I think activating a spell here seems like a good idea. I agree. We're going to go ahead and e-tell here. This isn't an emergency. You're fine. Or well, you know. I'm going to report you to the teleport society. For you. Okay, I think it might, be, <laughs> it might be bug gaming here. No, no. Like make, bug gaming. make the other one. No. <laughs> make the other. Think, you coward. I think it's bug gaming here. I think it's bug gaming. Okay, so we have a token, we have a level one monster, we have a bug, and we have a guy. So I think this looks pretty good here. I think it I think it does what we need it to do. I think it does what we need it to do. We're gonna invest here. Right. Okay. And I, I think We will on, use uh, the standby phase effect because the dude has a graveyard effect. Indeed it does. Little old Omega. I just like always I always like to imagine him riding by like a fruit stand. He's like, yo, pass me an orange. <laughs> you just got that Something hand. Around. That is a really <laughs> ominous hand gesture, isn't it? It's a demanding hand gesture. Actually, it's not. It's like an Give accepting hand gesture. The I'm nine just, pillars on the field, uses a like... monster, a Yang Zing, on the field, and that can negate just anything, right? Yes. But they need to keep the Yang Zing on board. Honestly, I, I agree. We can play around a lot of other things, but yeah. that one is going to be bad. Okay. Do it. So. Hit him. You wanted a bug? Have a bug. Fair we enough. Got ourselves. We got two bugs. Earth now. bug. Uh, I think you kept calling it a I dark bug, it but it's a bugs. wind. Yeah, I think the time is gonna go here, though. Oh no, I said black bug. Ah. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and use uh, Omega here. I think that. Might I think be, that's uh, a fine move. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay. Their effect. options. Are you feeling lucky? Well, do ya? That's um, not the worst. That's eh, okay. That's Better ones. Kind of a starter. And then we do, you know, middle card. That's all we got. <laughs> Stampede. There it is. Okay. There it is. All right. I think we... I mean, we got to negate. Um, I feel like this is a good opportunity to use the one in hand. I agree. Uh, I'm going to re 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 Brutal Dozer real quick. Uh, if you're going to throw something from the hand, you throw something what Fit Trap Marine Deck defense position that expects. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and chain uh, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Yeah, unfortunately, you had a 1 in 5 chance and you hit the fucking Vernisilf. Very happy with that. I got lucky, dude. What can I say? It, that did hurt us a lot. We could have... That was like, if they had hit, if you'd hit literally anything else, we would have been fine. Don't worry, it'll come back eventually. Yeah, I wish I had better news for you, dude, but I cannot engineer a way out of this situation. Yeah. And as the Earth Machine deck, a lack of engineering knowledge feels like a slight... Sad it's gotta have players. engineers for your trains. Yeah, gotta move that yeah. gear up. He's gotta hope they can't kill us next turn. Sentries. All right, folks, battle phase. All right, end, end of battle. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, we are <laughs> okay. oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, well, that's guy. a that's a hand. This is this is not the worst hand I've seen in my life. I will not lie. I feel Dude. like we fire off the draw spell. Dude. Kind of uh, right away. Oh shit, that does give us a discard. <laughs> yes, so, dude, so we're thinking ahead here, man. <laughs> like how Noah's brain just works so much faster than our chase. I'm, I'm a uh, slow dude. person, let me tell you. Let's activate okay. Cerberus. We discard the dead guy, right? Uh, we discard the dead guy. Yeah, oh yeah, we actually, yeah. Yeah, we discard the dead guy. We'll discard Destrudo. Oh, you're gonna uh, use that? We'll pay half your life points? Oh, we'll no. see. We'll see if it's going to be important for us to do and that. I then think I we think have we a really good spell. normal summon here. It's, it's tough. It's a very tough decision. I think we go for the draw spell. I think we look okay. at our options first. That's fine. Sure. Uh, God, it just gets better. Okay, what are we banishing off this? I think we we banish the second from the right. Oh, this is crucial. Okay. We're going to banish yeah, Danger Mothman. Yeah, let's so, banish Mothra. Mothra needs to go. Let's do our normal summon now. Yeah, let's do our normal summon now. This does... Do the it. way that this works, if do we're it, do going it, it. to send a tier for this, uh -huh, uh -huh. we are going to lose a the, the, our extender in hand to make this play work. That's fine. You're in an overwhelmingly good oh, position. Oh shit! I just realized what the other card, the other spell card we have in yeah, hand. Yeah, dude. I, I okay. mean, I'm just sitting here uh, thinking, like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> 
never mind. I'm just staring at one of the best cards in our deck, and I'm like, I'm yeah, not sure summon. if we can make this play. Uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, let's normal summon Armageddon Knight. Yeah. Uh, debate its effect. That'll do it. That's a good yeah. one. <laughs> Should Havness. Okay, that's also worse. We'll activate the Havness. Sure. I have we'll summon Kit Kalos off the Havenness. Nessie in hand. Havenness. Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm going to summon Kit Kalos to the middle zone here. The we'll middle activate the effect. Uh, add Murley. He's Why would we add Murley over Rhino Heart? Uh, because Murley lets us uh, target a card, then um, sorry, or get close rather. Um, basically, there's a play, there's a universe where uh, adding Murley with Kickalos on the field allows us to mill eight cards. So That's true, but I feel like milling five is good enough with the card we have on the left. Okay. Because it lets us mill a card of our choice. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I I usually go for Murley just because I like milling eight more, but I mean either or. Mill eight feel great. I feel right. like I feel like targeted milling and having a guy on the board is more important. Use Merly. That's uh, let's go. Let's go to Strudo now. Okay. Oh, no. Seventy five hundred. Ouch! It's a pretty pricey Distrudo. It is. But I feel but... like it giving us. We have a clear board. You've taken monsters out of my hand. Us another you, Yang Zing you, on board. Quiet, you know quiet, what I have. Hush, I hush. don't know why you're being so cautious. <laughs> like, hmm, I've got to navigate this, this is, minefield. Okay, hard leg. You should know this. This is how RJ operates. Like, RJ could literally have lethal on the board and go, there's a universe well, where I engineer I, a looking, situation. I'm looking for lethal on board, okay? <laughs> you are, and I respect that, man. I... Uh, we have, we have a all counter right. active now. That's all that matters. All right. Let's activate Kit Kalos here, I think. I agree. All right. We're going to activate Kit Kalos. We're going to target Kit Kalos. Yep. Do the We're going to summon Rhino Heart. I agree. Uh, we'll activate uh, Rhino Heart. We will chain Kit Kalos. Let's get some mills. Yeah. Does a hero mill. And then one specific mill. Unless... Yes. And then oh, those we'll are good away. mills. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a pretty solid mill. And we'll activate the Merlian engrave. Jesus. Uh, our options here, we have Kaleida Heart and we have uh, Dragostapelia. Both of which I think, I the think move are is, pretty uh, good against Nova. You definitely <laughs> yeah, want to send mean... something back into my deck. You have four negates for four cards. I think, <laughs> like, I think we're okay. <laughs> RJ, this is a situation where you got to just fire off, I think. I'm man. looking for lethal, okay? All right, uh, I will. Okay, uh, I think that we go for Dragostapelia. Dude, no, RJ, go, RJ goes to eliminate Stan and go, and the little girl's like, "Hi, would you like eliminate for a quarter?" RJ's like, "There's a situation <laughs> where I engineer giving you a quarter and drinking a cold beverage." <laughs> it's just what I, I mentioned her. I was like, "Ah, oh, he don't worry. There's no way he could do lethal." Thinking that maybe he would mess up trying to put lethal on board. I didn't know it would take sure. this long. Like, There's a situation you can't, where he engineers a lethal Well, it's board. like he can't attack anyway. I'm not sure if he realizes that. Man. What? Are we not? Oh, we aren't fourth. Okay. <laughs> that makes life so much I easier for me. I haven't played yet. Okay. That's, <laughs> dude, this, this tag duel has been a, a bit of hoot and a holler. Oh, I, God. Okay. I'm just not doing anything with the rest of my turn. What do you think, Noah? <laughs> Dude, I mean, like, dude, we have a Link 4 that is very good. Are you talking about uh, the Cyber Sky? Or dude, honestly, about... this... Uh, dude, like, this are is such a good... Are you talking about Big Woman? I am talking about Big Woman, but, like, honestly, this is so good. Just set the far right and we'll rock off. It sounds great to me. All right, it's... <laughs> After all that, it's all you, Noah Jank. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It actually is. Oh, it's our Link's turn. That's great. Good. Okay, uh, yes, I will put a insect into my grave. Sure, why not? A monster okay. back. What do I got in the graveyard? Anything? No. My resources? <laughs> not fine. Um, can I be a Sigma male? Sigma. Will you allow that? I think oh, dude, Sigma's... chain Omega, that'd be so funny. Oh my god, if we hit the Sigma off of Omega. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Am I the greatest player ever? No. Okay, not That's not a bad hit though. It's a very good hit, actually. I'm not against that hit. 
Balancer Lord triggers when it's banished. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! That's true. <laughs> Summon from hand. That's so That's funny. Honestly, also okay though. <laughs> this is fine. This is absolutely fine. This is fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. Oh, wait. There is a thing I could have done here that would have messed up hard. It's like, fine. That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. Yeah, no, no reason uh, at all. We're not exactly in the biggest danger of dying here. Uh, yeah. Dude, looking at our board, I don't <laughs> think we are. <laughs> I think you're pretty fine. Let's go for our buddy, Alan. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Do we... I feel like we don't even bother with the Omni Negate here. Yeah, we're going to Cicada King this. Uh, we'll detach Nyan Nyan. Uh, okay. I agree with that, detach. I will negate that with Alan's effect because it was made with diameter. Uh, and well, this is where you change. Drag us to Pelia. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you will negate my ability to negate your negate. <laughs> <laughs> Literally modern Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> okay. We, we don't have very much, but we're gonna, we're gonna you know, whatever life yeah, you have, gonna... you're gonna face it on your feet, all right? <laughs> exactly. Code Go. talker. All right, Original. so we use it to get back the diameter. Give me back the diameter, right? please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think there's a chain that you do here. Archie. Cyber's exporter even do? It adds it back to my hand. Our code exporter. Okay, so we definitely negate the tar, or we hit the target no, for code. Yeah, talker, there's right? the, there's something in your, yeah, the, I think we're kind of on the same page here. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna DD crow away the diameter. That is unfortunate. Many, many minutes later. <laughs> okay, I'm going to normal right, oh, summon diameter. diameter. Oh, man. And I okay. am not going to use the effect. I'm going to decline, actually. So I'm going to use these two and make Transco Talker. Oh, okay. shit! Transco Talker gains attack. Battle. That's very funny. I'm actually. going to Yo! attack over the Yang Zing. <laughs> that is very funny. You fool. This is where I summon the Mare Mare that I sided into my deck. Main phase two. Activate the Transco Talker. <laughs> bring back Co Talker. That's <laughs> All awesome. right. All Amazing. right. Um. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. So there's two things we could do. I could... I could leave it all to the heart of the cards. Or I could make big number and hope they have no way to get out of it. Um Uh what's big number? Uh so it wouldn't be that big. <laughs> Never mind. Uh is it in one, two, three, four, fifth from the left? Yeah. Uh it would be big, but then it would get uh Dragos Topelia. They've already used Dragos Topelia. Next oh, turn, next they turn, would yeah. Us and there's no way I can like yeah. trigger it, is there? Yeah, we just we just gotta bounce it and hope they can't OTK us next turn. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's all we could do. Okay, sorry that took so long, everybody. But we've hey, they've, gotta. <laughs> they've taken a bunch of time. We've gotta do. We're it. taking ours back. Specifically, Whoa, that's a firewall. Firewall dragon. dragon. That is a firewall. Let's go ahead. We get to bounce one card because we're co-linked. Uh, let's bounce you. <laughs> Fair enough. And, uh... That's not the worst. There we go. It just means the, I can make it again. The dreaded firewall pass has made its return. <laughs> this is... mildly awkward as far as setting up additional disruptions. Eh. Uh, oh, holy shit. Wait, if we summon... If we summon a, a, a one of our guys... We can summon a different guy from graveyard, and that's uh, that's ten levels. Uh, I'm thinking that or right to get the last one out of our. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and each alley here, and uh, uh, we'll put you know, Nan Nan from the deck, which will proc Nan Nan in the grave. Yeah, Nan indeed. Yeah, uh, yeah. and that gives us a couple levels we can work with here. Uh, funny enough. You'll notice Jesus. that a level three tuner, a level four non-tuner, and a level three non-tuner. Yeah. We, uh, we, whoa, what does that did mean? the math earlier, so hello, bar Could on the be floor. anything. And there is a Barone to floor. Yep. Barone. So, we're going to go ahead and just, I think, pop the firewall. Yeah, go ahead. I think we just go ahead and pop the firewall. Oh, wait, what? I think so, too. 
I thought Cerberus said cards co-linked to it can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, if this card is co-linked, uh, but it uh, just says co-linked. Oh, you control. Okay, never mind. I control. Damn it. Ah. I thought that was gonna be very funny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that, Tempest in rotation is not the worst thing on Earth. It's not at all. We're going to go ahead and activate Foolish Burial. Uh, and we are going to mill a Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms. Ah. Whoa, Grempist. Yeah, it's true. And then we're going to activate his effect. That... Uh, we're going to banish some, some friends here. We're going to banish... Uh, we'll do O-Lion and Rubber Band. That boy was Yeah, that's storming. a pretty good move. Boom. Um, uh, how are we looking right now? Not, not the do Rubber we... Band, man. Yeah. yeah, we're going to keep our, our friend here in defense, but we're going to go in with the rest. Yeah, yeah I'm coward, surprisingly whatever. good with the few cards I had. I, mean, I broke through like... It's true, yeah, you definitely yeah. did. No, I agree, I agree. I mean, like, to be fair, I was helped because, uh, whatchamacallit, um, ah, yes. the Omega banished the, the, the one balancer lord. That was... If it weren't for that, I would not have had another say. enough extension to do what I needed to do. Well, well, it remains to be seen. Uh, you guys can uh, go right on ahead. All right. Okay. Four cards in hand. Oh. It's a little nerve-wracking. Yep. All right. Sorry. Okay. A lot of, Activate. a lot of thunking. You've got your tell. own terror top. No, you are... What the fuck, almighty? Burn yourself. I think you, uh, your thing's being weird. Again. Oh, my thing's... Okay. It's Burn Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and discard. <laughs> Do you... Okay, you discard. Is that really a possessorage? Yeah. Uh, yes, that one is real. Okay. We have. Uh, yeah, there's uh, two things we can do here. We can do Omega. We can do Barone. Barone might be good, but I don't want to branch chance off. I think so we're actually going to go ahead and do Omega here. I think that's not a bad play. Yeah. Boop. I don't know which Verna Sylph that is. Yeah, I guess you go I ahead and do it from play. the hand, right? Yeah, we can't risk the 50 50 yeah. shot. So, yeah. There you go. Okay. Chalice. Get chalice. Um, that's Targeting a Barone. little rough. Targeting Barone. Yeah. Uh, that's annoying. But, um... I mean... I it does also give us go. 400 attacks. So yeah, why whatever. not? It's big. Wait, wait, yeah. Summon the Railroad Stampede. Okay. Okay, we dare them to answer the Railroad Stampede. Yeah. Activate. And what's that going to summon? Summon it's a monster really from the grave. Machine from grave. Yeah. I the feel dozer. like we let it. You feel like I, we let it, let it? I feel like we let dozer? it. Yeah, because if they summon the brutal dozer, they're just going to have a negated brutal dozer on board, aren't they? What are they going to link it away for? Nothing that can get them game. So go for Stuff, it. Stuff, things, maybe. You don't know us. You don't know how we eat our breakfast cereal. Okay. Okay, so we've made it this far. We did. Congratulations, us. <laughs> by the grace, by the grace of Raw, we have made it this far. Yeah. Um. So let's see. I guess it's, at this point, I'm, I, I'm just we're just talking openly. You can use the effect of Railroad Stampede to make Brutal Dozer a five, and then we can make like Trencher, or we could make Ballista and search a box. Oh, that does search a box. Yeah. The boxes are cool. Sorry, um... Why is there a machine okay, of gear frame in the extra deck? <laughs> He's everywhere! <laughs> gear frame does not stop. The genius looks like a gear frame. He's got a link border now. He's been a spell. He's been a monster. He's everything. This is probably the best line I've ever seen in my let's, life. Let's do, okay, let's, let's do it right let's now. Let's execute the plan. Okay. Let's try it. That back row okay, is fake. Right. It's fake news. It doesn't exist. It's not real. We're just gonna. Oh, try we know. It. We know it's nine pillars. It doesn't do anything. Oh, it's anything. just yeah. I, I was being. Yeah, it has to be the card in hand. It turns out you were right. <laughs> we remembered. <laughs> it wouldn't have made, made 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 a much difference, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you probably would have. Genius. Play Fort genius. Just like this play we're about to make. Okay. Yeah. We're going trencher. Summon back the dozer. Okay. The got to read the, some the kill dozer. Game. Genius can target a card other than itself and a card you control and negate both. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't change anything, so we're just going to go ahead and fire it off. It's not good. Yeah, and he's not going for the Brutal Dozer. I know exactly the line they're going for, and it kind of fucks us up. Yeah. Wait, I think I might have done this wrong. 
No, I'm starting to see oh, if wait. my math is a little messed up right now. Wait, no, we haven't we haven't summoned a dozer from hand, right? Oh, but it doesn't have enough. Um, can we get the tunneler? Well, no, that might do it actually. Yeah, because no, wait, we can't that would search work. it off of the box. It's too oh, much attack. Right. How much attack does tunneler have? Yeah. Boom. This and that. Hello there. I am a Goliath. Hear me roar. Eat warp. Yeah, and we haven't normal summoned, so we get... That's true. Get box, and then... Wait, wait. Box can search, um, Harvester, right? Um, it can not search Harvester. Harvester has zero attack, 2100 defense. Oh, yeah, it has to be exactly 500. So we gotta go for Tunneler and just dig. Yeah, we just gotta dig. Dig, diggy hole, dig, dig, diggy hole. Truly, we are the dwarves. Yeah. All right, normal. Normal the box. Um, special summon the trencher using uh, the box. The tunneler. Living with a box. Ooh. And make another Goliath. Make another Goliath. Right here. And then we draw two cards and let the heart of the cards decide. Hold <laughs> up. God damn. Hold up. Are we cooking here? Can we cook? Are we cooking here? I really here? wish that I had taken the time to look for that apple. <laughs> okay, world, so we have to fire off. Short its turn. <laughs> Dude, shut up. You don't get to say that. Yes, I do. I'm very fast. Our timer, you do get to our say timer is 10 I minutes lower than time. theirs. <laughs> <laughs> like we can't uh, really say. To be fair, we we're trying to come back from. We we're trying to find the solution. You were just trying to extend even further. <laughs> I mean, I was just. Okay. I was looking for something to do with our cards, and I did not. Yeah, I mean, there's anyway, there's no world in which we don't activate that. Oh yeah, God, no. that's such a good draw. I'm just not sure what the um, cards we have. There's the one that summons when it searches, right? Or when it's searched. <laughs> oh, God, I hope this works the way I want it to. Oh, God, how I hope this works the way I want it to. Uh. Okay. It does not work the way I wanted it to. Why didn't it work the way I wanted it to? You're locked into Earth machines. That is exactly the reason why it didn't work. Well. All right. You know. We, we fought hard. Well, we tried our best. There's not much. Unfortunately, we just can't get into those rank 10 trains as easily as we were hoping. That's what I've been counting right, well, on. That's what I'm Is it scoop time? On. Is it scoop time? Uh, do, we just... do they have damage? Uh, we gotta let them do it. It's the final one. It's All the right. final Please episode. Please, God. Yeah, let us do yes. something. <laughs> oh, boo. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go for it. That's See you cool. They got less All stuff right. on board. We're fine. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Soul charge. I mean, it's not better than what we are. Just, just do it. It doesn't matter. We won. Just do it. I. Uh, yeah, you've just, just got to, damage. Just stop me from attacking or anything, dude. There's no uh, son of a. Uh, probably not. <laughs> just do it. I don't know, man. This is how the world ends. Not with a bang. Okay. But with a whimper. And uh, yeah, I mean it's <laughs> it's gonna be it's you're you're gonna be whimpering from this one, I think. I uh, oh dear, all right. Let's. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Right. I cannot believe I feel like that we could just finish there. with that. Let's just Dude, finish with that. Let's we just literally can. Thing. Yeah. Go for it. Let's just all right. Let's go for a Malian grave. It's a pity we didn't open the fucking super poly. That would have been so cool. Oh, can you imagine? Uh, all the things that could have happened. Yeah, although actually now I'm looking at their board, I don't think they have anything of the same All type right. or attribute. And then I will normal summon Destiny Hero Denier, and I will put back a Mally. Once more, denying me the ability um, to win my own series! Yes! Okay, you know what would have After been really funny, actually? Time. Hard leg. Yeah. If we had pulled Super Poly, Cicada King is a wind insect, Baron is a wind warrior. Ah, the perfect material Coral for Muddy Mud Dragon. Dragon. 
take this one home. Let's go, Actually, baby. You know what? I'm going to finish this one take with a card uh, that I started the series with and that Hard Leg chose not to ban, and it really doesn't make a difference here. Uh, but I feel like being just a little bit petty here. All special <laughs> summon from my hand by banishing, oh, hmm. I don't know, a uh, dark, a... Uh, a no, you can't, but... wind and an earth. I'll summon Arch Nemesis Protoss. Oh, hey. You are joking me. <laughs> now, let's see. There's, an, there's a world where we engineer a situation where we attack. <laughs> you could I... destroy all the earth monsters on the field. I mean, that would ensure. Certainly, I mean... we don't have anything in our graveyard. RJ goes to the graveyard. <laughs> we literally have Barone. <laughs> Yeah, we're just, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Wait, you don't have, hold up. That doesn't matter at all. Dude, uh, we have Barone. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, you've got, you, yeah. Earth. No response. RJ destroys the earth live on camera. <laughs> That's <laughs> true doing. villain I've arc. I've been waiting. Junior Journey has been holding me back. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Let's go. All this time. After trial and tribulation, after misplays and bricks, I almost I made a comeback. Fucking take a series home. <laughs> Boral we Sword did it. Dragon, do it. Direct attack! Oh my god, it's over! <laughs> we it's did it! It's finally over! Incredible fucking match to end it off, Hard Leg. Yeah. What a fucking <laughs> series you've made this. What? A game. Holy shit. Yep, this was certainly a thing. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that with the extra long episode. It's always sad to see him go, but you know, we got more stuff planned. We got more stuff things. I, I, gotta, I gotta thank you, RJ, for joining me over this whole summer. I know we've been talking yeah, for a while. For We're like, me. we shouldn't have made this 13 wins. Uh, <laughs> you've been here a lot longer than you <laughs> expected. I've trapped you in the series and now you're finally free. The monkey Finally, yeah. It's been incredible. I I have said it before, and even after 24 episodes of it, I hold hold it to be true that Chaos Draft is the way Yu-Gi-Oh! was meant to be played. It's certainly close. I enjoy it. And uh, also, Noah Jank, thank you for coming down here and helping RJ cross the finish line. Couldn't have done it without you, Noah Jank. You had there... the lines... You were the speedroid genius, and we maintained so our hundred percent win rate against absolutely, Noah and, and that's leg. really all that matters. And that's part of what makes RJ and I a very good team. RJ is a very slow, deliberate player. I am a very fast, <laughs> undeliberate player. The, the, uh, there, there's a, it's a good combination. It was, there. it was uh, accurate to give you the speedroid. You know, you are speed. <laughs> True, I like Lightning McQueen style. Yeah, we just gotta get that yeah, Linkara running gif, but replace it with Nova. <laughs> <laughs> or Noah. It was accurate to give me the tear limits because I was making you all cry with <laughs> hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, not nearly as long as their turn. Yeah. Although we were trying to we were trying to dig ourselves out of a hole. We were trying to trench. We were doing. By the way, you're, you're literally tunneling. Yeah. By by the way, Nova. Thanks for nothing. Hey. I, I wish I had invited someone else. Why'd you have to come here? <laughs> I played this on you. Know, I was winning up until... <laughs> I was scared <laughs> no, no, when, I was... You, when you agreed to have both Noah Jank and Nova on here because I was like, either one of these folks, if they're against me, I'm in trouble. <laughs> they're both very good. I appreciate you both coming down here. I'll have your uh, channels in the description. If you're unfamiliar Thank with you. Nova or Noah, please check them out. I don't know if you want to... We do a series together. Yeah. True. You want to tell people Watch about it. that real quick while we're at the end of a two-hour-long video? Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you've stuck around this long, then you really are the glutton of punishment that we need in our audience. Uh, audience. <laughs> Dude, Progression it's... Polls is a great series where you can throw your vote into a hole and see what happens. Change our card yeah. pool. And then Noah Jenk will play Hero Synchro again. <laughs> Progression oh, Pulse is a great series a great where series. me and Nova sit together and have all of our plays dictated by a French guy. It's progression with democracy. It's true. true. Perfect. And isn't everything better with democracy? Also, just 
God, just watch it. Press the like button on Go it. Go watch it. Go check yes. it out. There's a world where you engineer a situation in which we end up with a board <laughs> oh, that ends up my with a God. like button. <laughs> So go check that out. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for a wonderful season. And until next time, good luck and have and fun. Have, have fun. fun. Yeah. And play Chaos Draft. <laughs> or Chaos Cube coming soon, TM. And with that, ladies and non ladies, we reach the end of the season. Thank you once again for all the views, likes, comments, subs. And for the last time this year, let me give a big ol' hard leg shout out to all the high tier patrons who made Chaos Draft 2023 a reality. Their names are Davon Crushin, Cat Monarch, Dude Blade X, Shadow1317, Austin Glover, Chris W, Crystal Chaos, Ya Boy Slurp, Montry, Barbarians Are Us, Boomer Noob underscore, Clocks Work, Dallas Visaji, Default Titan 97, Dancing Joker, Elance, Emperor Lelouch, Ingame Magnus, Jeff M, JJ Squirtle, Koro, MBT Yu Gi Oh!, Nathan, Naw Dog the Razor, Quintingent, Sanguine Strawberry, Spooky, Taylor, Tengen Tapa Bob Ross, Tristan Marlowe, and Viscount Billy Esquire. All of you are awesome. I hope you had a lovely time with the series, and I hope that you'll join me in what I've got cooking up next. Until then, as always, stay frosty, Legos. <laughs>